Even though I ranked first in the college entrance examination, my classmates pointed at me and called me a waste, just because knowledge here cannot change fate, only becoming a professional can. However, before the job change ceremony, everyone can undergo special training to increase their job change success rate. The higher the success rate, the better the job change profession. But no matter how much I practice, the probability of job change is always zero. Even classmates with a 1% probability mock me. Zero Egg Brother is still better off eating for free, but at the job change ceremony, they all kneel before me. At this moment, I walked up to the stage with bated breath. The classmates below saw that it was me and started discussing. Isn't this the miracle making Zero Egg Brother? You are still the first in history with a 0% job change probability. Zero Egg Brother looks decent. Isn't it better to eat well than rely on others? Listening to the ridicule of the crowd, I walked into the formation. Just as I entered the formation, I heard a voice. Ding. Detected the transfer formation. The soul of Huaxia is activated. Immediately, a loud noise came from the sky. Everyone looked in horror at the sky, only to see the clouds gradually forming a huge vortex, from which tens of thousands of golden lights shot out. The formation master reacted first. Is it actually a transfer vision? The class teacher also looked incredulous. Wasn't his transfer probability zero? Could it be that he is about to successfully transfer? The nine continuous loud noises in the sky answered her. And each one was longer than the last. Just when everyone felt their blood trembling, the golden light in the clouds suddenly softened. However, a terrifying pressure descended from the clouds, pressing all the teachers unable to lift their heads. The students even felt a sense of submission from the depths of their hearts. As the pressure continued to increase, the students knelt down with a thud. Even the principal dared not look directly at the golden light at this moment, only able to vaguely see a golden palace looming in the clouds. After a while, the pressure disappeared, and the golden light gathered within me. When I opened my eyes, I saw all the students kneeling on the ground. At this moment, the transfer teacher wiped the cold sweat from his forehead and began to announce the answer. Su Chen transferred to the hidden profession, the supreme of 9-5. Upon hearing the result, I was a bit stunned. Transfer to the hidden profession. The supreme of 9-5? Does that mean I have become an emperor? The students in the audience also stood up one after another, bursting into loud cheers. This kind of job change vision is too shocking. Even the principal wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. He almost knelt down just now. This kind of job change vision is too exaggerated. It actually happened to someone with a job change probability of zero. And it even changed to a hidden job. Something that hasn't happened in a hundred years nationwide. Because the number of people with hidden jobs is too rare they have not been included in the rankings. Therefore, the current job levels are only primary, intermediate, advanced, rare, and legendary. I also got excited when I heard about hidden jobs. It seems that as a time traveler, it's not that I can't change jobs, but that the jobs in this world don't suit me. If they knew what the emperor represents, they would probably bow their heads and dare not look at me at this moment. Otherwise, they would be guilty of deceiving the emperor. At this time, the principal hurried over, warmly holding my hand wanting to check the strength of my job first. After all, there have been useless hidden jobs in history. The job change teacher also looked expectant. Just show one skill. I also want to see the charm of hidden jobs. I did not refuse, but directly opened the panel to check the skills. Is summoning the general Dian Wei my own skill? Then I consumed 30 spiritual power to prepare for the summoning. After a distortion in space, a gloomy wind carrying a strong killing intent, a figure in red armor broke through the air. Then, kneeling on one knee, the general Dian Wei appeared and paid respects to the Lord. At this moment, even the principal was intimidated by the powerful killing intent of Dian Wei, taking two steps back directly. Su, is this a soldier? I explained with a smile. He is an ancient military commander. Upon hearing this, the principal and the formation master were both eager and immediately released their insight spells to check the information. Unexpectedly, Dian Wei's eyes swept over fiercely, and at the same time, a strong killing intent emanated from him. The principal immediately put away his insight spell, his heart palpitating. The killing intent was too strong, as if thousands of people had once died under him. What surprised him more than the killing intent was that he had just failed to gain insight into the attributes of this summon. My insight technique, it failed. The principal looked at Dian Wei incredulously. Su Chen was also surprised. Even the headmaster's insight technique failed? Insight is capable of scouting out the attributes of low-level targets. Dian Wei was only a level 1 summon so it was logical how he could see through it. Su Chen's mind flickered as he checked up on Dian Wei's attributes himself. General, Dian Wei, level 1. Power, 600. Defense, 600. Spirit, 600. Body mass, 600. Skills, tiger and leopard riding. Loyal guard, 
Tiger Leopard Riders, summon 10 Tiger Leopard Riders to battle. Loyal Guard, all damage taken by the summoner will be transferred to itself until it is killed in battle. Su Chen looked at Dian Wei's panel and fell into shock. A level 1 summon with 600 points of 4 dimensional attributes? Even though he's Dian Wei, he's only a level 1 summoner. 600 points of attributes was almost equivalent to a warrior profession at level 20 upwards. Moreover, Dian Wei can also summon soldiers, and his battle power is much more than these 600 attributes on the panel. Another thing that surprised Su Chen was Dian Wei's passive skill, Loyal Guard. With this skill and he shared his fate with Dian Wei and hardly had to worry about his own safety. This career is too strong. Su Chen suppressed his inner excitement and put back Dian Wei. When Dian Wei disappeared, it was as if the crowd there had been given a sigh of relief. The expressions of the students on stage as they looked at Su Chen changed. My god, that thing just looked so fierce too. No kidding, I just got one look at me and I almost lost my incontinence. This hidden profession is strong and a bit scary. Too fierce, too fierce. It turns out that Su Chen is the hidden big brother. Student Su Chen. The principal faced Su Chen and solemnly said, Your summons seem to have some sort of protection that even the insight spell didn't see through. But even though I haven't seen the attribute values, I also believe that your profession is no worse than a rare profession at this stage, and may even be a bit stronger. Chen Yun and a group of homeroom teachers' eyes rounded as they exclaimed under their breath, Stronger than a rare profession. This year's luck is also too good. Two rare professions and a hidden profession that is even stronger than a rare profession. Congratulations, student Su Chen. The principal excitedly shook Su Chen's hand. I hope you can overcome the heavy challenges on the path of exploration, carry forward the spirit of the first high school, and become the pride of Nanshan City. Thank you, principal, for cultivating the school. Compared to the principal's excitement, Su Chen had already regained his composure. After being pulled by the principal for some praise, Su Chen walked off the transfer stage amidst the cheers of the crowd. In contrast to the quietness when he was on stage, Su Chen felt a hint of unreality. With a 0% fit, he had really succeeded in his transfer, and it was a very powerful hidden profession. The cheering continued and did not end until the principal called the next name. Su Chen returned to the team, his mood having calmed down long ago. To him cheering and despising were the same, but it was just the opinion of others. He does not think highly of himself because of the praise and envy of others. Nor will they be subjected to self-doubt because of the criticism and dislike of others. A new classmate took the stage, and the transfer ceremony that had been briefly interrupted by Su Chen resumed. After spending the morning, the South Hill 1 transfer ceremony ended with all classes completing their transfers. The principal delivers his final address from the transfer stage. I declare the transfer ceremony of South Hill 1 a success. This year we had a 65% transfer rate in our first grade, with one hidden profession as well as two rare professions. This is the result of our entire school working together. I hope those of you who have made the transition don't let up. Your path as professionals has just begun. Soon you will have the most important test of your lives, the Transfigurator examination. I hope everyone can train hard, improve their grades and do well in their exams ahead of the GCSEs. Tomorrow you will enter the school training replica for training. This is the perfect opportunity for you to acclimatize to combat and level up. As usual, the 10 people with the best grades in the training replicas will receive an extra bonus from the school. On top of that, I myself will be offering an additional prize to the first place winner this year. Good luck everyone. The principal's speech ended and the students were dismissed back to school. Today was their last reunion at school. Starting tomorrow, students who failed to transfer will have to find another way in and out, while those who succeeded will have to enter the training replica. Since the inception of the professional's education system, the first copy of all academy professionals has been a training copy. The strength of the demons in the training copies have been specially set and are not as dangerous as normal copies. It allows students to quickly adapt to copy battles, acquire practical skills and level up. The most important of these is leveling up. Newcomers will only be able to leave the training replica for the replica hall if they break level 8. This is because only after level 8 is passed will you be considered capable of handling a crisis situation. And the minimum level to take the Transfigurator Gauntlet is also level 8. The class hugged and chilled in threes. As usual, Su Chen sat in his back row window seat and waited for school to end. He'd trained so hard for the past three years that he hadn't had the time to deal with relationships. His classmates saw him as a lonely and cold character, and very few people approached him to talk to him. Aside from Gao Zhang, he was one of the few in the class that would seek out Su Chen to strike up a conversation. Just as he was thinking about it, Gao Sheng came up to him. You're really developed. Brother Chen, you can take me with you to level up in the future. Gao Zheng transferred into a sword and shield knight, an advanced warrior class profession. But more than himself, Su Chen's transfer out of the hidden profession made him happier. There's a sense of a good brother getting ahead. 
and you're following in his footsteps, it's fine to take you leveling, but there's a fee, Su Chen half joked, it's true what they say about people being happy, okay, 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 go ashore and slaughter the good brothers first, Gao Zheng waved his hand, then said with a serious face, without getting into all that nonsense, I think you can punch the leaderboard and get a top 10 reward, if we can get the top 10 award and the principal's award, the high school entrance exams will definitely be secure, if only high school played better, Su Chen didn't interrupt Gao Zhang's unrestrained thoughts and thought alone, before today, all he was thinking about was just a successful transfer, what competing for the top 10 and the principal's reward is simply too much to think about, and now topped with a career as a 9-5-er, he must fight for something, the top 10 rewards he knew were tickets to rare copies, rare copies mean higher experience and more props than normal copies, being able to get this reward goes a long way in improving your high school grades, the other thing is the principal's reward, not sure what it is, but it's certainly no worse than the top 10 reward, but these two items were not Su Chen's goal, his goal was the record for training copies, when you reach level 8 within the training replica, you will be teleported out of the replica, and everyone is competing to see who gets to level 8 first, the all-time best at South Hill 1 was brushing up to grade 8 in one day, this horrible record was set by Luo Qianzhan, a star student of the first middle school, and has been held for 8 years, Su Chen's goal wasn't just those rewards, but Luo Qianzhan's record for the fastest speed, now that you've been transferred to the 9 to 5, you have to do everything to the best of your ability. The mouthy Gao Zheng didn't know that Su Chen had already secretly made up his mind. After exchanging a few more pleasantries, Gao Zheng came to Su Chen's ear and whispered, passing on an inside message to you. The name of the training copy is called White Tiger Ridge Corpse Demon Cave. White Tiger Ridge Corpse Demon Cave? Su Chen's eyes flickered, feeling that the name was somewhat familiar. Never heard of it, have you? It's right if you haven't heard of it. Gao Zheng laughed. Training copies have traditionally been kept strictly confidential, and no raids have been leaked. It's to test our observation and resilience. It's a little difficult, but man watch out for you. The school bell rang, and Gao Zheng patted Su Chen's shoulder and turned to leave. Looking at his departing back, Su Chen suddenly knew why he had a sense of familiarity. Isn't the White Tiger Ridge Corpse Demon Cave the location of the three strikes of the White Bone Demon in Journey to the West? According to the theoretical knowledge Su Chen learned in his three years of high school, Copies of this world are projected from various parallel worlds, and a large portion of them were historical stories, myths and legends, and even novels and anime that Su Chen was familiar with in his previous life. It had occurred to him before that if the encounter copy was a story he knew well, it would certainly be a great advantage. Now that the dream has come true, the first copy of life is a story you know all too well. After the surprise Su Chen quickly regained his composure. It's not time to be blindly optimistic, and we won't know the specifics until we get into the replica. Leaving the school, Su Chen returned home. The home is an old, dilapidated property that was left behind by the original parents. They both disappeared in their copies, leaving the original with only this house and the money to get through high school. Su Chen was an orphan in his last life and doesn't feel lonely because he lives alone. He cleaned a tub of potatoes and maneuvered around the humble kitchen. Tomorrow's copy is a long one, and the fastest record is a day pass. That's why Su Chen needed to prepare some food for himself that was easy to carry, just as he was about to put it in the pot. Su Chen had a flash of insight. Summon Dian Wei from the summoning space. After the first time you consume mental energy to summon, the summon general will be stored in the summoning space. As long as the warlord doesn't die, no more mental energy needs to be spent to take it from the summoning space afterwards. See your majesty. Dian Wei clasped his fists and did the salute. Do you know how to cook no? Su Chen asked. What? Dian Wei glanced at the gas stovetop beside him and grimaced. I'd rather do it myself. Su Chen laughed. Dian Wei obliged and stepped back to the side. Su Chen boiled the potatoes and took him back into the summoning space again after making sure that Dian Wei didn't need to eat. During this time he also asked if Dian Wei felt lonely in the summoning space. Canonical indicates that it is dormant in space and does not generate consciousness. After finishing dinner and packing his food, Su Chen slept in peace, got up early the next day and came to school. All the students who succeeded in the transfer were taken to the public copy training ground by the school bus. The training grounds are oversized buildings similar to soccer fields. Entering through the gate was a huge square with giant light curtains standing on it. This is the public training replica of Nanshan City, a mega replica capable of holding a thousand people. A copy that allows newbies to initially acclimatize to combat and safely upgrade. The principal stood on a raised platform at the entrance to the replica and addressed the crowd. Welcome to the first copy of your life. If you need to form a team, please do so as soon as possible. Don't be nervous when you enter the copy. Just play normally. Let's get started. Everyone. After the principal finished speaking, the students in the square were immediately thrown into chaos. 
It was everyone's first time on a copy, and they all showed some excitement. The three of us together, the best combination of battle law and herding. There's a shortage of nannies, a shortage of big nannies. Any fellow knights to take it, two assistants here. As the crowd formed a team, Su Chen did not do anything, with Dian Wei and the tiger leopard riding soldiers around. Grouping up didn't mean anything to him, it was just spreading the experience for nothing. Once the teams were formed, the principal announced the start of the game after a brief introduction of the rules. The portal opened under the control of the formation master, and the huge curtain of light rippled. A leveling experience chart also appeared above the gate. Su Chen followed the crowd to the light screen door and entered the copy with a flash of his mind. The students entered their copies in order. For their part, the first school principals and teachers took their seats in the bleachers and talked amongst themselves. Who do you all think will get first place this year? The principal asked. The other teachers didn't say anything, they just focused on the homeroom teachers of class 1 and class 2. With a hidden profession and two rare professions around, they wouldn't dare to compete for first place. The class teacher of class 1 laughed. I think our class scout Song Yun Gusia and class 2 Su Chun have a chance. Chen Yun, the second class teacher, thought for a moment and said, Student Su Chen has a tough character. I admire him. As much as I want Su Chen to win first place, I still think Gao Song Yun and Gusia have a better chance. The principal and the other teachers nodded. What Chin Yun said was true. Although Su Chen awakened the hidden profession, but want to engage out Song Yun Gusia then still worse. Both of them come from prestigious families and have been professionally trained with abundant resources since childhood. Su Chen was not only competing with Gao Song Yun and Gusia, he was also competing with the accumulated resources of the generations behind them. It's clear who has a better chance of winning. The leaderboard jumped and all the students had entered their copies. Public training copy, White Tiger Ridge Corpse Cave. Difficulty, normal. Requirements for clearance, upgrade to level 8. The teleportation spell array disappeared, and Su Chen appeared in an extremely dilapidated world. Beneath his feet was a charcoal-colored earth, and a bleak white moon hung in the sky. Not far away stood a band of hills and mountains covered with dead wood and full of depression. This is the copy world now, and the temperature is much lower than the normal world. Sure enough, it was White Tiger Ridge, and Gao Zhang's intel was right. Su Chen looked around and saw no more students other than himself. It seems like everyone should be scattered among the copies. With a flash of his mind, Su Chen directly summoned Dian Wei. As soon as Dian Wei appeared, he washed away a lot of the gloomy atmosphere around him. See your majesty, Dian Wei made a salute to Su Chen. Su Chen nodded and activated Dian Wei's skill. Summon the tiger leopard rider soldiers. The teleportation vortex appeared and ten heavily armed soldiers appeared beside Dian Wei. These were soldiers belonging to Dian Wei's command and Su Chen could also directly manipulate them. Dian Wei's skills don't need to consume mental energy, they just have a 10-minute cooldown. But right now, the maximum number of soldiers that Dian Wei can control is only 10. This means that continuous use of the skill will not increase the number of soldiers. Su Chen checked the soldier's attribute values. Summoned object, Tiger Leopard Soldier. Power, 60. Agility, 60. Spirit, 60. Physical Fitness, 60. Even the soldiers have 64 dimensional attributes. This attribute was extremely powerful even amongst warrior professions of the same level. It's just a summon for his summoner ah. Without hesitation, Su Chen directly gave Dian Wei the command to attack. With a wave of his hand, ten tiger leopard cavalry soldiers advanced in a fan formation deeper into the white tiger ridge. The mountain range was overgrown with weeds and dead trees, largely obscuring the view. This makes finding the demons extremely difficult. But that's not a problem when it comes to well-trained soldiers. Soon, the sound of weapons swinging rang out. The dispersed soldiers made their successive gains. A kill alert pops up on the panel. Kill level 1 demonized rabbit spirit. Experience plus 11. Kill level 1 demonized rabbit spirit. Experience plus 9. Kill a level 1 demonized gopher spirit. Experience plus 13. A series of white light balls representing experience flew towards Su Chen. It seemed that the outer reaches of the white tiger ridge were all extremely weak magical creatures. These gargoyles are characterized by weak combat power but are spread out. Killing them is easy. Finding them and minimizing the time spent on the road is the hard part. However, Su Chen had no such worries at all, as he possessed a full 10 soldiers. This was equivalent to teaming up with 10 people, and the efficiency of killing monsters was multiplied several times while not sharing your experience. Only a few minutes had passed, and the experience bar had already come to a third of the way up. The efficiency was simply too high, more exaggerated than Su Chen had expected. At this rate, breaking the record might not really be a problem. After advancing through the mountain range for 10 minutes or so, a pillar of plain white light lit up. Su Chen welcomed his first upgrade. After upgrading, all attribute points were boosted. Attributes such as strength and agility were increased by 10 points. 
and mental strength was increased by 20 points. Additionally the skill level and the amount of mental energy consumed have been increased. However, for summoners the improvement of their own attributes is secondary. The most important thing is the improvement of the summons. Su Chen opened Dian Wei's panel. General, Dian Wei, level 2. Power, 700. Agility, 700. Spirit, 700. Body mass, 700. Skills, Tiger and Leopard Riding. Loyal Guard, Tiger Leopard Riders, summon 20 Tiger Leopard Riders to battle. Loyal Guard, all damage taken by the summoner will be transferred to itself until it is killed in battle. All attribute points increased by 100 with one upgrade. And the number of soldiers summoned at a time was raised to 20. Su Chen guessed that the attributes of the summoned soldiers had also increased. Opening the soldier panel. Sure enough all the attribute points were raised to 70. The increase in attributes of individual soldiers is much more normal than in the case of Dianwei. But their battle power also includes numbers. If you count the total. The overall battle power of the soldiers was even more terrifying than the boost from Dianwei. Su Chen unleashed Dianwei's skill again and another 10 soldiers were summoned. A total of 20 soldiers now topped the front to help Su Chen kill the monsters. It wasn't Dianwei's turn to make a move. And all the demons below level 3 were killed in a single slash. Soldiers charge all the way through the replica. Advancing unhindered like this. Su Chen quickly stepped into the level 3 to minus 4 realm. Compared to the outskirts of the mountain range, the demons were not just hiding, but possessed a preliminary sense of offense. It is easy to get hurt if you make a mistake in handling or judgment. For other professionals who needed to be careful, it didn't make much difference to Su Chen. With the Tiger Leopard Rider soldiers in front of him, almost no demons could get close to him. Even if he gets close, with Dian Wei's loyal guard passive in place, he won't be harmed per se. It's an all-around defense. With such a premise in place, Su Chen didn't even arrange for soldiers to protect himself. Instead, they were all sent out to cut down the demons in the woods. This maximizes kill efficiency. Level 2 and 3 demons were so weak in front of the Tiger Leopard cavalry soldiers. All of them were killed in a single slash. Su Chen followed behind the troops, leisurely as if he had come for a walk. Watching the warriors slash a small monster, he felt a thrill of clearing the map in his heart. Rustling. Suddenly there was a rattling noise from the bureau. Directly in front of them, the weeds kept shaking as a group of demonized rattlings scurried out of the ground. They escaped the soldiers by hiding under the ground. A dozen or so grayish-brown rat elves led by a half-meter tall pure black rat came at Su Chen. In the face of the attack, Su Chen was calm and composed, waving his arm calmly. A whistling blast of wind sprang up, and a bloody murderous aura spread out from his side. Space distorted as Dian Wei, who was wearing a blood-colored battle armor, appeared in front of Su Chen. Looking at the group of rats in front of him, Dian Wei smiled contemptuously, raising his hand violently. A giant war halberd appeared in his hand. District rats. Giggle. He jerked forward and swung his war halberd. Boss Rat Rat turned into two pieces and flew out. The rats that then met them were also instantly chopped into bloody pieces. Blood splattered everywhere along with dust. One click clearing. Kill level 2 demonized wildcat spirit. Experience plus 26. Kill level 2 demonized vol spirit. Experience plus 21. Kill level 3 demonized vol boss. Experience plus 35. A dozen or so demons died, and a large mass of experience surged towards Su Chen. Together with the decimation of the other soldiers, the upgrade light pillar lit up once again and the level managed to come to level 3. Su Chen checked up on his own attributes. Each of the four dimensional attributes increased by 10 points, and spirit increased by an additional 10 points. The four dimensional attributes of the Tiger Leopard Rider soldiers were also increased by 10 points again, while Dian Wei was increased by 100 points, in addition to the increase in attributes. The number of soldiers that Dian Wei can summon comes to 30. Su Chen didn't hesitate and unleashed Dian Wei's skill again, and another 10 soldiers appeared in the copy. A total of 30 Tiger Leopard Cavalry soldiers slaughtered the entire field under the command of Dian Wei. The demons in the mountain range were probably dumbfounded. Having seen a group come to kill, not having seen a group come to kill. After killing the swarm of rats, Dian Wei continued to advance deeper into the mountain range with his soldiers. Wherever the soldiers went, the demons were all wiped out. In the stands, the principal and a group of teachers looked at the leaderboard expectantly. The leaderboard will refresh the experience level of the professionals in the replica every hour. In a few minutes it will be the first update of the leaderboards and the crowd is curious to see who will get the lead in this hour. The principal looked to the individual classroom teachers. Does anyone have a prediction on what the rankings will be for the first hour? A classroom teacher shook his head. It's not so easy to tell what the first hour will be like. It has to do with each person's choices. Some may start brushing monsters at the outskirts of the forest, while others will choose to go deeper before brushing higher level monsters. Students who choose the latter will naturally have the first hour behind. 
Several classroom teachers nodded in agreement with this statement. The rankings in the first hour are less important, and it's mostly up to the hours afterward. The screen flickered and the leaderboards began to update. All eyes were drawn to it. Although the first hour rankings mean nothing, people still want to see who can be in the number one position. Even if it was only a brief appearance on the first list, it proved that this person had notable abilities. Looking at the rankings on the list, several teachers suddenly shouted out, Su, Su Chin. It was an outcome none of them expected. It was reasonable to say that with Su Chen's theory level, he would definitely choose to enter the depths of the forest to brush the monsters. After all, the low number and low experience of the monsters in the periphery were not very suitable for students who wanted to hit the ultimate reward. If you stay on the periphery for too long, you'll definitely have no chance with the top 10 rewards. No, that's not right. You guys look at his rank. Suddenly a teacher exclaimed, only to see that the leaderboard was clearly displaying Su Chen's level 3 rank as well as an experience bar of 8% progress. Below him all the clears were rank 1 except for the second third who had just broken through rank 2. Gao Song Yun and Gu Xia were both only level 1 due to the rush and ranked outside of the top 10. How is this possible? Rising to level 3 in an hour. All the teachers were dumbfounded. This, this isn't even done by Luo Qianshan, right? How on earth did he brush so fast in the outer area? He can't be cheating, a teacher said weakly. As soon as the words were out of his mouth, though, he himself became unrealistic. Because the person who could cheat in front of the copy and change the rules needed to be close to god level power. Several of the teachers looked at each other in disbelief, then scrutinized the other's names. It was found that except for Su Chen, everyone else's experience was in the normal range, ruling out the leaderboards going wrong. There is now only one possibility left. That was that Su Chen had broken the leveling record of one hour of monster brushing, and by a long shot. Back then, even Luo Qianshan had spent three hours to break through level three in a copy. Now Su Chen only used one hour. What a genius. After making sure that it wasn't a fake, all the teachers shouted in excitement. The principal was almost in tears with excitement. We have another genius in the first grade. After entering the copy for two and a half hours, Su Chen had already arrived in the middle of the White Tiger Ridge. The eerie, thick, dead trees obscured the sky, and the ground grew darker beneath his feet. It is extremely easy to get lost in a mountain forest without a reference point. But Su Chen realized that he was able to share his vision with the soldiers. This greatly enhanced his ability to read the road. The maximum range he could control Dianwei was 500 meters. And Dianwei could control the soldiers for another 500 meters. So theoretically, it's equivalent to having a global view within a 1000 meter radius. With no possibility of getting lost. The demonic level in the middle of White Tiger Ridge had come to level 5 to 6. Some demons with high defense had been able to resist a few slashes. However, if he met two or three soldiers surrounding him at the same time, he still couldn't escape instant death. Looking at the rapidly rising experience bar, Su Chen was secretly staggered. This speed far exceeded his imagination. And at this rate, he would soon be upgraded again. Breaking through level 4 in 2, 5 hours. If you were an ordinary student, breaking through level 3 in one day would already be considered excellent. Looking at this terrifying speed, Su Chen felt that he was one step closer to breaking the record of the first grade. Kill level 4 demonized chicken essence. Experience plus 42. Kill level 5 demonized fly lord. Experience plus 43. Kill level 5 demonized boar spirit. Experience plus 56. Kill level 5 demonized boar king. Experience plus 69. Su Chen kept moving forward with his team. And all the demons he encountered along the way were all slashed to death. Sometimes meet the 3 or 2 demons that you missed earlier. Su Chen would then teleport the soldier back to himself and take care of the stragglers. As with Dian Wei, soldiers that have been summoned can be stored in the summoning space. After that it can be summoned at any time and no longer requires a cooldown. With the continuous non-stop killing of monsters and adding experience, Su Chen managed to break through level 4 in 2 hours and 46 minutes of entering the copy. The upgrade light pillar lit up, and Su Chen received another upgrade. Upgrading again, Dian Wei's 4-dimensional attributes had come to 900 and the soldiers' attributes had also reached 90. Su Chen summoned 10 soldiers again. As the number and attributes of the soldiers increased, Su Chen's upgrade speed also increased. The 40 soldiers were looting around the forest like bandits, and there were fewer times that they even needed Dian Wei to make a move, continuing to go deeper. Su Chen saw a small team of students in the distance through the soldiers' vision. There were five people in the squad, and the five were huddled together back to back, looking nervous, obviously caught in the middle of a siege. Being able to encircle a group of demons in a squad of five seemed like quite a bit of experience. While Su Chen maintained his own forward direction, he sent Dian Wei that way. Looking at the level five magical creatures surrounding him, the squad leader, Wang Sledgehammer, turned pale. 
It was his reckless advance that put the squad in danger. Because of the low level and low experience of the magic creatures on the outskirts of the mountain range, that's why he took his squad all the way in, wanting to go deeper to brush the high level demons, but they really overestimated their own strength. These fifth level demons weren't as easy to deal with as the previous first and second level demons. The highest level in the squad was only just breaking through level 2 for him. The other clear level ones couldn't compete with the swarm of level 5 demons. Just as the crowd was feeling desperate and thought they were going to be eliminated like this, there was a rustling in the woods, and the sound of footsteps. Had someone come to their aid? The crowd looked and saw an old woman with a hunched back, a basket, and a kind face come out of the middle of the woods. This student is looking a little anxious, someone exclaimed. What classmates? This must be an NPC. Another person saw the signs. Boys, come here. The grandmother, seeing that they were surrounded by demons, directly pulled a handful of white powder out of her basket and threw it into the air. The powder fluttered in the wind, and the demons that had originally surrounded them quickly fled in all directions. The crowd was delighted to see this. They had really met a friendly NPC. Sure enough the training copies are still newbie friendly. Here, come here. After dispelling the demons, the grandmother beckoned to them again. The crowd dropped their guard completely and ran toward her. As he ran past, a fishy wind suddenly hit him. An eight-foot-tall, murderous military general came out of the woods. The military general was none other than Dian Wei, who had come on Su Chen's orders. Su Chen was currently checking out the situation over here through Dian Wei's viewpoint. Originally, I just wanted Dian Wei to come and kill some small monsters, but I didn't expect to directly stab the lair. Isn't this old lady in front of us the first incarnation of the white bone demon? Cut her. Without any explanation, Su Chen directly ordered. Fortunately, Dian Wei did not have the bad habit of honoring the old and loving the young, and took out his twin halberds and killed directly. The dual halberds swung and chopped, bringing up gusts of fishy wind. Behind him the crowd's eyes froze and their little legs trembled. They didn't know why such a powerful demonic creature had appeared in the training copy. And right off the bat, he went after an unarmed old man. When the old lady saw Dian Wei killing, she immediately spilled the powder in the basket, foreseeing that there must be something fishy going on. Dian Wei turned on fearless charge in advance, immune to all controls. The powder was sprinkled and did absolutely nothing. Death comes. Dian Wei kills in front of him with a swinging chop. The old lady's head hit the floor and rolled out. Grandma. Wang Sledgehammer's crowd was grief-stricken. This was the NPC that had just saved them. A drop of water should be returned. Not to mention that Grandma saved their lives. This revenge will not be repaid. I vow not to be a man. Wang Sledgehammer pulled out his hammer and led the crowd to kill Dian Wei. Dian Wei turned around in a single glance, his scarlet eyes shooting out boundless killing intent. It's like a demon god. My mom sent me home to collect my laundry. Wang Sledgehammer hemmed and hawed, threw away his hammer and turned to run. The other members similarly scattered. Beneath Dian Wei's feet, the recently dead old woman leisurely turned into a pile of white bones. Killed demonized white bone corpse demon split. Experience plus 2334. A single necromantic doppelganger had two. 334 experience points. That's dozens of times more experience than other demons. This trip really wasn't in vain. Su Chen said with slight surprise. Compared to other demons, necromancers weren't too strong besides having special skills. The difficulty in gaining its experience is to recognize its disguise. But recognizing the disguise was too difficult for this group of fledgling novice professionals. Most people would be as unsuspecting as the group just now. But in front of Su Chen, who knew the plot? There was no need to recognize this disguise at all. Gaining 2. 000 experience points. Su Chen's experience bar went up another big chunk. Satisfied, he recalled Dian Wei and continued deeper with his troops, continuing inside the mountain range. The level of the magical creatures came to the level 6 range. Some humanoid elves had begun to appear in the mountain range. Black shadows flashed constantly in the woods. Su Chen sent out soldiers to scout and soon made a discovery. Borrowing the soldier's vision, he saw one with scarlet eyes and black fur. The wolf like demonic creature stood in the middle of the woods. An insight spell hits. Information about the humanoid magical creature appears on the panel. A level 6 demonized coyote monster. It seems that the white tiger ridge demons will transform from essence to monster and take human form at level 6. Then let's try the strength of a humanoid demon. With a flash of Su Chen's mind, the tiger leopard ride soldiers quickly killed towards the wolf monster. Seeing the soldiers attacking, the wolf monster howled into the sky. In a flash more than 10 wolf monsters appeared from the woods. It is normal for wolves as pack creatures, to gather together. Wolf pack tactics are exactly what they are known for. More men fighting fewer men. But today these wolf monsters may have miscalculated. Su Chen's side was the one with more people. Wow. After a dozen wolf monsters surrounded a few soldiers, 
Dozens more soldiers killed out of the woods to encircle the wolf monster back. The wolf monster is flabbergasted as the fight breaks out. After transforming, the wolf monster's battle power was indeed strong, almost capable of resisting a single tiger leopard cavalry soldier. But Su Chen wouldn't give them a chance to fight one on one. The 40 soldiers cast a righteous swarm, slashing the wolf monster to death in a stress free mess. Kill level 6 coyote monster. Experience plus 77. Kill level 6 coyote monster. Experience plus 79. Kill level 6 coyote monster. Experience plus 86. Experience surged towards Su Chen like a tidal wave. And the experience bar would fill up again. At this rate, we will be able to brush up to level 8 and walk out of the copy before the sun sets today. Su Chen predicted in his mind. It was so fast that even he, who had been there, found it a bit surreal. In the history of the professionals he knew, every time he went down a copy was a mix of blood and tears. How did it get to him but it felt a little too easy. The top 10 rewards are firmly in place. And the principal rewards are almost a sure thing. Actually, the top 10 rare copy rewards are pretty much fine. After breaking level 8, the professional can go to the duplicate hall and pick their own duplicate to brush up their level. The duplicates have level restrictions in addition to their own. For example, certain duplicates can only be accessed at level 15 or above. There are also graded according to the quality of copies, divided into ordinary copies, rare copies and legendary copies. A normal copy is a copy that you can just enter in the copy lobby. Rare copies, on the other hand, are controlled by high-level organizations, top academies, prestigious families, and other major powers. Rare copies were much better than ordinary copies, both in terms of experience and props dropped, and they were the goodies that all professionals were eyeing. Being able to cultivate in a rare copy, Su Chen felt like he was a little closer to the topmost academy in this world. His goal for the college entrance exam was the three best universities in the Dasha Empire, the Imperial Capital Academy, the Kyushu Academy, and the Southern Heavenly Academy. Just like Tsinghua and Beihang University in the previous generation, these institutions had produced countless legendary professionals. To get into these three schools, you need to get a high enough score on the college entrance exam, and to get a high score, you have to try your best to improve your grade before the entrance exam. When it comes down to it, rank is the most important cornerstone of a professional. In the soldier's moment-by-moment -moment sparring, Su Chen's experience bar was stored full. The upgrade light pillar lit up and Su Chen was raised from level 4 to level 5. Breaking through level 5, the attributes of Dianwei and the soldiers were once again raised a notch. Su Chen activated the Dianwei skill and threw another 10 soldiers into the battlefield. A total of 50 soldiers conquered the mountain range for Su Chen. As you continue to get deeper, the demonic creatures are gradually liberated in terms of their combat power and aggressiveness. Su Chen directly arranged for two soldiers to follow him around, so that he wouldn't have to summon them temporarily every time he met a monster. Even though level 5 required more experience, Su Chen's upgrade speed was still not slow. This is due to the fact that there are more demons in the depths of the White Tiger Ridge and the upgrades have boosted the number of soldiers and paragon battle power. Unlike the professionals who still had energy stamina to speak of, Dian Wei and the soldiers were simply tireless and relentless killers. Just give an order and they can hack from the southern heavenly gate to the east road of Peng Lai without batting an eye and without drying up. Demons of lower strength were dealt with by soldiers rounding up and killing them. And when they encountered a small chieftain level, Dian Wei would take action himself. This division of labor avoided the soldiers from incurring casualties and did not waste Dian Wei's combat power. It's the most efficient division of labor for brushing levels. Dian Wei and the soldiers were like a leveling machine. Providing Su Chen with a constant stream of experience. Kill level 6 Coyote Monster. Experience plus 73. Kill level 6 Coyote Monster. Experience plus 79. Kill level 6 Coyote Monster. Experience plus 86. After this upgrade, though, the speed of upgrades has clearly changed. Su Chen observed the increase in the same amount of experience and found that the experience value required to upgrade at level 5 was exactly double that of level 4. It seems that level 5 is a small threshold on the path of a professional, and most people should be stuck at that level for a long time. The first 5 levels took him only 4 hours. At the current rate of speculation, the next 3 levels would take him almost double the time. If you want to further increase your upgrade speed, you can't just limit yourself to small monsters. Need to find elite demons like the white bone ghouls. If you can find a stage 2 white bone ghoul, or even find the ghoul cave, you can directly challenge the final boss. That would certainly increase the upgrade speed considerably. After thinking about it, Su Chen intentionally made the soldiers line up more spread out. This would expand the scouting range and increase the probability of running into a white bone ghoul. Time passed by, and the soldiers were frantically hacking their way through the mountain range. The experience bar filled up, and Su Chen successfully welcomed the upgrade. Rank, 6, 0, 16%. 
This time it took a whole two and a half hours to get to level 6. It's almost catching up to the time spent on the previous five levels combined. It took so long for him, much less for anyone else. Su Chen opened the panel to check up on the attributes of Dian Wei and the soldiers. Upgrading to level 6, Dian Wei's attributes directly increased by 200 points, and even his soldiers increased by 20 points. The attribute boosts gained from each upgrade will also increase when you break the level 5 threshold. After a long time of fighting, some of the soldiers were already in a damaged state. After all, the soldiers were only equivalent to level 5 fighters before, and it was normal for them to be damaged when faced with level 6 or level 7 demons. This can also be seen in the difficulty of other common professions attacking within the copy. Fighting a demon might be easy, but killing it consistently over a long period of time. Once injuries accumulate they need to be healed or rested to recover, and the time it takes to level up naturally goes up. Contrast that with Suchin who only used to manipulate soldiers to fight and that these soldiers would not get tired. Even if the soldier's status was damaged, he only had to release one skill. The idea flashed and summoned the tiger leopard ride soldiers. All of the soldiers in front of Dian Wei lit up with pillars of light, and the team was directly renewed once. All the old soldiers are back to full status and 10 new soldiers have been added, with a total of 60 tiger leopard rider soldiers on the battlefield. The force grew further. Not long after the upgrade, Su Chen was sweeping through the mountain range with his soldiers. A small family girl appeared in front of the crowd. Finally waiting for you, Su Chen's eyes flashed. Brothers, my daughter has some pastries here. The fresh-faced girl asked the soldiers as she waved. Yes, the blood-colored figure flashed, and Dian Wei appeared in front of the girl. The massive body instantly covered its entirety. The girl made of white bones was shocked and shaken by Dian Wei. Su Chen couldn't help but laugh at this. To scare a demonic creature like this was something that only Dian Wei, who was covered in a fierce aura, could do. This time, Su Chen didn't order Dian Wei to do it, but personally went up to talk to the white bone corpse demon. According to the story of the three strikes of the white bone demon, the white bone corpse demon incarnation is supposed to attract people to the corpse demon cave, where they will be killed by the main body. Killing it here only gains you experience, not the location of the final boss. That's why Su Chen wanted it to personally bring itself to the boss battle location. Unsurprisingly for Su Chen, after exchanging a few pleasantries, the white bone corpse demon extended an invitation to them. Brothers' bodies are so hardworking. Why don't you go home with your sister and spend the night? The girl winks with a soft voice. Good. Dian Wei and Su Chen agreed at the same time. Su Chen gave a somewhat puzzled look at Dian Wei, who scratched his head. Just like that. Su Chen willed his soldiers to follow the white bone corpse demon forward. During the period of following it deeper, Su Chen still arranged for soldiers to kill outside. Leveling while rushing was something that only Su Chen could do. After traveling through a rugged and hidden section of the mountain, a farmhouse appeared in front of Su Chen. The farmhouse is rustic but clean and spotless on the outside. There is not the slightest sign of that kind of residence for many years. Barricade. It looks like this is the boss battle location. Grandpa. Look at all the guests I've invited for you. The girl shouted joyfully into the house. Behind her, Su Chen also smiled. Cut. He uttered faintly, without waiting for his reaction. Dian Wei slashed his halberd diagonally from behind. The terrifyingly huge force came, and the white bone corpse demon split turned into a pile of white bones scattered on the ground without even uttering a scream. Watching the flower-like girl fall, a look of regret appeared on Dian Wei's face. Hoo hoo. A gust of cloudy wind hit the rustic farmhouse, which quickly collapsed and fell into disrepair. The illusions in front of him continued to dissolve, soon revealing a dark and gloomy cave entrance, the corpse demon cave, in which the white bone corpse demon proper is surely located. Su Chen raised his hand and pointed in the direction of the cave entrance. March, under Dian Wei's leadership, all 60 soldiers set off towards the boss cave. Looking at the small-sized team, Su Chen felt like he was calling this a boss crusade. Meanwhile inside the corpse demon cave, the only two people who transferred out of a rare profession at the transfer conference met. Gao Song Yun and Gu Xia stared at each other at the entrance to the boss room, both with wary expressions on their faces. As the most painfully talented seedlings in their respective families, they had been held in high hopes by their families since they were young. To the average person, the training copy content is hidden. But for these worldly families, there are no secrets as long as they want to know. With the copy information provided by the clan, the two made their way to the boss room unhindered. Unlike the other mini monsters, there is only one boss, and it won't refresh after you kill it. The copy boss has a huge amount of experience. As long as you complete the kill you can sit firmly in the first position. You also know the information about the hidden boss? Gao Song Yun drew his rapier and slowly got up. This boss had a lot to do with the final outcome. So he said he couldn't let it go to anyone else. Especially not to Gu Xia. Both of them have big families at their backs. 
and from the moment they enroll in school they represent their families against each other. Winning or losing the competition is not only about them personally but also about the face of the family behind them. Gu Xia didn't say anything, gripping the crystal ball in her hand tightly, the alertness in her eyes clearly raised. Snap, both of them pointed a finger at each other at the same time. The insight spell. The panel also shows the opponent's level 4. This was the minimum level calculated by the clan to be able to kill a boss solo. Sure enough, it's coming for the boss. Gao Song Yun assumed a fighting stance. Mage in the early skill level and the number of skills are not enough. On the front combat power how can not compare to the warrior. He had complete confidence in defeating Gu Xia and eating the boss experience alone. Gu Xia sensed Gao Song Yun's wariness and withdrew two steps behind him. She was also aware of the lack of frontal combat power of mages. Just as the two men were drawing their swords, a large number of footsteps came from the direction of the entrance. Gao Tsong Yun revealed a puzzled expression. Why is there another person here? Why are there so many people here for the promised hidden boss? Not long after, dozens of soldiers came out of the woods. Gao Tsong Yun was dumbfounded. Is this a tour group? Is this a hidden cave or a tourist attraction? Su Chen appeared in front of the duo carrying 60 soldiers in Dian Wei. Looking at this vast procession, Gu Xia also froze. Each of them wore a costume that was not of this world, and had a fierce look on their faces. The two recognized the commander at the front of the group as Su Chen, who had switched out of his hidden profession. Cao Song Yun looked at the dozens of people around Su Chen in a bit of disbelief. He knew that Su Chen was a summoner type profession, but isn't the number of summons a bit too unscientific? Where would other summoners get so much stuff out up front? But after a little thought, Cao Song Yun calmed down again. There are differences between the professions, but the balance will be largely observed. Su Chen's ability to summon so many things proved that his summons went for quantity over quality. Despite the sheer numbers, the individual attributes are certainly weak, and his holy sword knight happens to have ranged skills that are perfectly suited to deal with group attacks. After determining that the other party was merely bluffing, Gao Song Yun regained his confidence. What do you want again? He said to Su Chen. Su Chen looked at the two people in front of him with slight surprise, thinking to himself how these two people were faster than he was opening up. I don't want much. Give me all the boss experience. He faintly said. You want all of it and not much more at all? Gao Tsong Yun was shocked. But just with you you dare to solo the boss? After the shock, Gao Tsong Yun's expression immediately changed to mockery. In his opinion, except for the warrior profession with the strongest strength in the early stages that could single-handedly brush the bosses, it was impossible for all other professions. Today, I'll teach you a lesson. Gao Tsong Yun slung his greatsword across his body and assumed a fighting stance. All of you together. Don't waste time. He was confident in his profession of one versus two mages. A warrior is just invincible in the early stages. Not to mention he's a holy sword warrior. You said together. Su Chen respected Gao Tsong Yun's choice and raised his hand to point. Sixty soldiers rushed up instantly. How dare you come at me? An orphan living in a rotten building. Who gave you the courage? Gao Tsong Yun held his greatsword and rushed towards the tiger leopard rider soldiers. I'm a descendant of the Gao family. A knight of the holy sword. Just a sweep. Gao Tsong Yun swept back five soldiers with a sword chi sweep. The five soldiers didn't dissipate as he thought they would. Instead, more soldiers came up from other directions. How? How can you not be able to kill these soldiers in seconds? I'm a knight of the holy sword. Wow. Put. Gao Tsong Yun was swamped by the soldiers and slashed. It then dissipated into light within the copy. There is protection in the training copies. As soon as a student's blood level drops to a certain level it triggers a teleportation. Sending them out of the copy. Gu Xia froze in place, surprised at Su Chen's powerful fighting strength. Gao Song Yun, as a rare profession holy sword knight, surprisingly didn't even resist for three seconds. And that's not even counting the martial artist who's as good as a mountain. 9 to 5. I'm afraid the strength of this profession far exceeds their rare professions. After the high clumps of clouds dissipated, Su Chen turned his head to look at Gu Xia. Are you going to rush up here too? Gu Xia was pulled back into her thoughts by Su Chen and shook her head. I'm not going to be as stupid as he is. Su Chen nodded and turned around, leading the soldiers to walk into the boss cave. Gu Xia followed far behind, wanting to see how Su Chen fought the boss. The depths of the cave were eerie with white bones. Among the white bones, an old man fell on the ground, his appearance looking very pitiful. Help! Help me! Still pretending? Su Chen raised an eyebrow. Then he raised his hand and pointed. Die! The voice rang out, accompanied by an inviolable majesty. Royal might! Su Chen's offensive skills, the ability to unleash coercive commands on an enemy and suffer a mental attack if they refuse to carry them out. The greater the difference in spirit level between the two parties, the more significant the effect. Hiss ah. Suffering intense mental damage, the little old man on the ground instantly jumped up and showed his prototype. 
it was seen to shed its skin and flesh, leaving only a skeleton. With that, both hands were raised upwards, and the surrounding white bones quickly surged in, forming a white bone armor on its body. With a sharp hissing sound, the boss battle was finally triggered. Boss, Lady White Bone, Level 8. Power, 300. Agility, 300. Spirit, 300. Body Mass, 500. Skills, Ruthless Bite. Earthquake. Skills, Bone Spike Swing. White Bone Graveyard. All of you must die. Let me. Without waiting for Lady White Bone to finish her sentence, Suchin directly commanded 60 soldiers to charge up. 60 soldiers instantly surrounded him and swung their swords. The boss blood bar dropped rapidly. Mrs. White Bone was dumbfounded. The transient animation didn't even pass. And you guys cut me in half a tube of blood. E.V. Lady White Bone screamed and waved her hands. Countless skeletons surged outward like a tidal wave, directly repelling the soldiers. White Bone Graveyard. A large range knockback skill. The ability to effectively prevent crowdsourcing. The soldiers fell into a brief daze as they were jolted back. Don't over quickly recovered. Just by launching a siege, we can take down Lady White Bone. Eeyore. Another scream rang out as the soldiers repelled the tide of White Bone once again. White Bone Graveyard has a short cooldown and is a large group skill. This made it difficult for the soldiers attacking in groups to get close. Su Chen was about to split the soldiers into three and take turns attacking. At his side, Dian Wei took a step and turned to Su Chen, clasping his hands. Your Majesty. Su Chen understood what Dian Wei meant. The previous battles were not much of a chance for Dian Wei to make a move. And now I'm afraid that this White Bone Lady has stirred up his will to fight. Get on. Su Chen withdrew his thoughts of commanding and handed everything over to Dian Wei. It was just as well that he wanted to see Dian Wei's true battle prowess. Dian Wei arched his hand in thanks and turned toward Lady White Bone. With a grip of his right hand out of thin air, a giant battle halberd slowly took shape from a shadow and appeared in his hand. Stand down. Dian Wei let out his voice and all the soldiers withdrew backward, no longer charging. Lady White Bone sensed a strong killing intent and looked in Dian Wei's direction. With his halberd in hand and his feet in meteor steps, Dian Wei charged forward. The heavy armor hunted. Evil demon demon. Die and come. The war halberd swung out violently to meet Lady White Bone's bone spur swing. A white light flashed. And the huge sharp claws instantly snapped. Another stab followed. And Lady White Bone's blood bar directly bottomed out. It collapsed to the ground with a babble of dust. Just like that. Dead. Gu Xia muttered. Although it had been predicted. Seeing the results still shocked her. A boss with this attribute for her to fight would take at least one hour of grinding to defeat. And Su Chen's soldiers cut down one half of its blood in a few seconds. The martial arts general who came up behind him even cut him down in two slashes. This kind of combat power simply doesn't exist as an opponent within the same level or even five levels higher. Su Chen's strength completely exceeded her imagination. Kill the boss Lady White Bone. Experience plus 11,326. A large amount of experience poured in. And Su Chen once again received an upgrade. The boss experience was surprisingly large. Filling up the experience bar directly. Su Chen was surprised at the huge amount of experience the boss had. No wonder that Gao Tsong Yun must take the boss. If it was just a simple level 8 boss surely it wouldn't have this much experience. Schools are supposed to artificially increase the experience percentage of bosses. As a reward for discovering the boss level. In surprise, Su Chen quickly opened the panel to check the upgraded attributes. Name, Su Chen. Profession, 9 to 5, the only hidden profession. Rank, 7, 1. 3%. Power, 70. Agility, 70. Spirit, 160. Physical fitness, 70. Equipment, none. Props, none. Skills, summoning General Dian Wei, level 7. Imperial Might, level 7. Summon General Dian Wei, level 7 summons General Dian Wei. Who can be manipulated to fight? Consumes 100 spirit power. Emperor's Might, level 7 issues a mandatory command to a target within range. Refusal to carry it out will result in psychic damage and thought stagnation. Consumes 50 psychic power. After level 5, the gap between Su Chen's spiritual attributes and the other attributes grew larger and larger. This is due to the characteristics of the professions, and the further along you go, the differences in all four dimensional attributes increase for each profession. Professions such as summoner mage would be higher in spirituality, while warrior would be in strength and defense. Su Chen was more concerned about Dian Wei and the soldiers than the increase in his own attributes. After level 5, every time you level up by 1, Dian Wei will welcome a 200 point attribute boost. His four dimensional attributes had now reached 1, 400 points, while the soldiers had 140 points. By that logic, as they get higher in level, the more horrible their boosts will be. That means the gap between him and the normal professions gets bigger and bigger as the level increases, leading the group out of the cave. Su Chen realized that Gu Xia had already left. 
Compared to Gao Song Yun, Gu Xia was clearly more aware of the times. Handing the command of the soldiers back to Dian Wei, Su Chen sat down in place and rested up. What follows is an uneventful time of brushing up to level 8 and getting out of the training copy. Kill level 7 demonized mountain pig monster. Experience plus 113. Kill level 7 demonized coyote leader. Experience plus 126. Slay a level 7 demonized patrol wolf monster. Experience plus 121. Two hours later, Su Chen smoothly came to level 8. The moment he rose to level 8, the system's voice rang in his ears. Successfully passed the copy. Rewarded with two pieces of jade seal of the passing state. Passing a copy will earn you a shard reward. With a corresponding number of shards issued according to the difficulty of the pass. Note, each copy can only get one shard reward. Debris Mall. Three shards, randomly obtain a vocational skill below level 20. Five shards, permanently convert a copy into your exclusive territory. Ten pieces, randomly select a general card or a noble princess card. Remaining features to be unlocked. Is this the system's own lottery mall? Su Chen was a bit surprised, but then realized the end. What the hell is this smoking guefe? Ignoring some strange things, Su Chen understood what the system meant. Shard rewards are given out the first time you clear a copy. The appropriate number of shards are then issued based on the difficulty of the chosen copy. For example, for the same copy, choosing nightmare difficulty will give out more than choosing normal. Shards can be exchanged for various rewards in the shard arcade. Currently the mall is all about getting skills assimilating copies, and extracting generals. Knowing that skills could be exchanged in the mall sort of dispelled the last bit of worry in Su Chen's mind. In this world, there are only two ways for professionals to learn skills. One type of teacher is a former teacher who teaches by example and by hand. The other is unlocked through the appropriate skill book. And Su Chen's profession was not only a hidden profession or a profession that didn't belong to this world. This makes it impossible for him to learn through teacher instruction or skill books. He had previously wondered if he would only have two skills from now on. But the advent of the Shard Arcade had put his concerns to rest. And in addition to gaining skills, it's surprising that you can use shards to take over copies. Occupying a copy means having exclusive access to all the resources, experience, and props of that copy. It is important to realize that the only people who can hog copies are high-level organizations, top colleges and universities, and prestigious families. And he only needed five shards to forcefully occupy it, which was too buggy. Looks like there's going to be an effort to earn shards in addition to upgrades. Su Chen closed the panel and walked towards the teleportation light pillar. After a slight jam, he stepped into the pillar of light. Outside the replica, the principal and teachers were staring dead at Su Chen's outrageous rank on the leaderboard. Within nine hours of going in, Su Chen's level had already reached level seven. The number of brushes could almost be described as sick. They believed that even if a mature level 20 professional went in to brush the monsters, they wouldn't be able to surpass Su Chen. As a newcomer with few skills and low attributes, no one knows how he did it. Su Chen's achievement had completely broken the norm and shattered their perceptions. In a few minutes Su Chen will be coming out, right? The principal said in a daze. All the teachers nodded in anticipation of that history-breaking moment. The teleportation light pillar lit up, and Su Chen's figure appeared from the light pillar. The inexplicably imposing figure slowly walked out of the light pillar. The spell fell, and the first place on the leaderboard was fixed forever. First place, Su Chen. Break in time, 9 hours 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Watching Su Chen walk out, all the teachers stood up as a whole and ran towards the square. Breaking history, breaking history, the genius of our first school. The principal fucked his old bones and was the first to run to Su Chen's side. Student Su Chen, congratulations, setting the record for the fastest training copy ever. You are the pride of our first grade school, the pride of our South Hills. Immediately after the principal, a group of teachers all gathered around and grabbed to shake Su Chen's hand. Su Chen was shocked by the enthusiasm of the teachers and was slightly stunned. Reasonably the teachers are much more oppressive than the copies of the demonic monsters. As a teacher, there is nothing better than being able to produce great students. Su Chen's ability to set a near miraculous result would naturally make them happy. Looking around at the teachers surrounding him, Su Chen didn't find the figure of the first class homeroom teacher. I guess I sent Gao Song Yun for treatment. Gao Song Yun should be in an unconscious state after being forcibly summoned out of the copy. So the teachers didn't know that it was Su Chen who knocked him out of his copy. The matter should be exposed afterward. But Su Chen wasn't too worried. He was now a record-breaking hidden professional. And the Gao family wouldn't act rashly. After being surrounded and complimented by teachers for 10 minutes, the principal took him alone. Su Chen took a special bus back to the school with the principal and came to the principal's office. The principal is going to give him a top 10 and a special principal's award. Originally, these awards were to be presented centrally at the awards ceremony tomorrow. 
This is because the top 10 students from past years usually get their copies out the next morning. Even former all-time record holder Luo Qianshan was just two hours ahead of schedule. This time, however, Su Chen was a full dozen hours ahead of schedule. In order not to affect Su Chen's arrangements for tomorrow, the principal had to give him the award alone. Su Chen entered the copy at 7 o'clock in the morning and came out in 10 hours, and by now it was exactly 5.30 in the afternoon. The setting sun poured into the principal's office through the floor-to-ceiling windows, lending a golden edge to everything. Su Chen stood backlit, casting a huge shadow on the wall. The principal got up from the safe with his reward, and he pointed to a picture on the wall. This is senior Luo Qianshan, a former copy record holder who spent a total of 20 hours, 18 minutes, and 34 seconds to clear the level. I was expecting this to be the best graded student I've ever had, and I didn't expect you to show up. I've kept his record for 8 years and I'll probably keep yours for the rest of my life. The principal turned to Su Chen with considerable relief. 9 hours, 59 minutes and 59 seconds. This is nothing short of a miracle. After a few heartfelt compliments, the principal began handing out awards. First up is the reward for the top 10, the pass card for the rare copy of Magic Shadow Labyrinth. The principal handed over a black card with the logo of the Labyrinth of Magic Shadows on it. The experience of the demons inside is 20% to 30% higher than that of demons of the same level and there are tons of rare drops, also this copy will be more dangerous than a normal copy, but I'm sure you'll be fine, thank you, principal, Su Chen took the pass card, and then my personal reward, a reset crystal, it is capable of resetting the cooldown of any copy below level 25, and can be used 5 times on a single charge, Su Chen once again received the pure white diamond shaped crystal core in the principal's hand, the principal's reward was surprisingly a reset crystal core, which was a prop that couldn't be bought with money on the market, each copy has its corresponding cooldown, and you must wait for the cooldown to pass if you want to repeat the brush. Side cooldowns start at a minimum of a few hours, and can run into months or even years for more, and the reset crystals can directly refresh the cooldowns, allowing the professional to repeat the book without limit. Thank you, Principal. Su Chen solemnly nodded his head in thanks, knowing how valuable this reward was. The Principal nodded in satisfaction. I hope you'll use the rare copies and reset cores and try to level up before the entrance exams. Saying goodbye to the principal, Su Chen returned home with his reward. This principal reward far exceeded his expectations. With the help of the reset crystals, he felt that the two top academies were close at hand. The next day after Su Chen packed up properly, he directly set off towards the replica hall, training copy. While Su Chen had already headed to the next rare copy, the other students were still fighting in the training copies. Suddenly, the teleportation light pillar flashed, and Gu Xiao walked out from it. She didn't have to guess she knew she was second at best, because Su Chen's monster brushing speed must have been terrifying. She even felt that Su Chen had a chance to break Luo Qinshan's record. Walking out of the light pillar, Gu Xia looked towards the leaderboard. The moment she saw Su Chen's results, her entire body went numb. Having been shocked by Su Chen too many times, he was numb. I'm surprised it only took him 10 hours. It was exactly twice as fast as the record holder Luo Qinshan. Two hours after Gu Xia exited the copy, the first wave of clearance was welcomed, except for the first few top students. None of the students within the same bracket are much different. A large number of students passing at the same time period creates a wave of passes. Most of the students in the first wave of passes were at the top 10 level. They are the best grade in this term excluding Su Chen Gu Xia, and are the backbone of the school's war effort. One by one, students walked out of their copies, delighted with their clearance, as they excitedly looked at the leaderboards trying to check the rankings. Both can't help but see the name of the first place winner and that horrible pastime. Everyone goes through three stages when they see Su Chen's accomplishments. Stage 1 wondered if something was wrong with the charts. Stage 2 wondered if something was wrong with my eyes. And stage 3 crap. Crap. Is this for real? Shouting erupted from the crowd. Su Chen left second place Gu Xia behind for more than 10 hours. And shaking off second place. He's been shaking off the all-time record for over 10 hours. How on earth did he do that? How is it possible? Is Su Chen still a human being? My god, what Su Chen, Su Shen, the students who walked out of their copies on the square were all caught up in the discussion of Su Chen, some even forget to check their grades, who would have thought that Su Chen, who was originally destined to fail in his transfer and be used as an after dinner talking point, in just a few days, it appeared in a completely different light, Gu Xia stood by and waited for the top 10 results to come out, and the principal would then hold an award ceremony, after that, the top 10 will be uniformly sent to a location that rewards rare copies for leveling. As Gu Xia was staring at the leaderboard out of her mind, a tall figure appeared behind her. How much do you know about Gao Song Yun? The man's majestic voice rang out. Gu Xia turned around and met the mountainous man head on. 
Gao Tianming, head of the Gao family, father of Gao Songyun. He's here to investigate Gao Songyun being kicked out of his copy. Beside Gao Tianming stood the principal with a nervous face. Who knew exactly what kind of temper Gao Tianming had? If Gu Xia had anything to do with Gao Songyun's injury, I'm afraid he would have seized on the spot. Gu Xia coldly met Gao Tianming's gaze. I don't know. After saying that, she walked straight out around Gao Tianming. Watching Gu Xia leave, the veins on Gao Tianming's head instantly rippled. His son, whom he had high hopes for, was knocked out of his copy and put in a coma for the night. This would not only affect the ranking of Gao Songyun's training replica, but would also seriously affect his college entrance exam results. Gao Tianming slowly raised his head, his gaze fixed on the conspicuous name on the leaderboard. Su Chen took a car to the city center square, where there were three buildings, a municipal building, a replica hall, and a building that is the mission hall. The replica hall was the place where the largest number of professionals were gathered, and possessed a large number of teleportation spells. They provide access to all known copies within the city limits of South Hills. Replicas aren't called replicas as soon as they appear, they're called passages, and passages connect to the abyss. Within the abyss are countless parallel worlds that have been tainted, just like the demonized white bone corpse demon in the white tiger ridge copy. Characters and even legendary characters from these parallel worlds are tainted with magic. If a passage is left untreated, demons will pass through it into the real world. So whenever a new channel was detected to be created, the officials would send someone to impose a powerful one-way teleportation spell. In this way demons cannot cross the passage into the real world, while humans can enter. That's where the copies come from. In order to regulate the phalanx and facilitate the leveling of professionals, officials will also set up teleportation spells outside the duplicates to lead to the duplicate halls in the corresponding areas. The quest hall, on the other hand, is a bank for professionals as well as a quest center. You can buy loads of various equipment materials here, and you can also accept quests that others have rewarded you for. Relatively you can also sell valuable equipment materials, as well as post quests, before entering the replica hall. Su Chen first walked into the Imperial Exchange. Unlike training copies, killing demons in normal copies yields drop items. So Su Chen wanted to see what drops were worth collecting, lest he retrieve a bunch of trash afterward. The Hall of Quests was a spacious temple-type building, with hundreds of teeny tiny stone pillars holding up a dome that spanned a surprising amount of space. Various stone carvings and murals float on the surface of the walls, giving a solemn and magnificent feeling as soon as you walk in. There weren't many people in the Mission Hall in the morning. So Su Chen casually found a stone pillar and touched the ball of light on it. These orbs of light are the medium used to conduct transactions, similar to the ATM machines of the Blue Planet. Name, Su Chen. Gold, 563. Equipment, none. Props, none. Mandate, none. A penniless account. Su Chen secretly staggered. He opens the task page and checks up on the tasks appropriate for the current level. Acquisition of boar tusks, 10 gold coins apiece. Acquisition of bluegrass, 5 gold coins per serving. Acquisition of cannibal flower saliva, 20 gold coins per serving. Su Chen looked up and down. All of them were ordinary materials for ordinary copies, with pitifully small payouts. He jumped straight to the rare copy page and looked up the quest in question. By skeleton bone powder, 100 gold coins apiece. Acquisition of broken skulls, 200 gold coins apiece. Purchase of agave leaves, 1, 000 gold coins apiece. Jumping to the rare copy page, the payoff rewards really go up. Because these materials only drop from rare copies, and rare copies are not accessible to everyone, the value is inherently higher. After determining which few drops from the Demon Shadow Palace he was going to were worth money, Su Chen found another special quest. Obtain Princess Maggie's Necklace. 500. 000 gold coins apiece. Note, only the highest difficulty of the Palace of Magic Shadows to rescue the princess may drop. This task is good. Just in time to take on the highest difficulty yourself. After receiving the quest, Su Chen closed the panel and walked into the replica hall. The duplicate hall was a giant hall with various portals standing on either side of it. The portal is labeled with the name and level limit of the appropriate copy. The interior of the hall was crowded and noisy like a food market. Professionals can meditate and rest whenever they want, with no regularity in their routine. So the halls are filled with this scene day and night. The dragon hunting squad invites one level 20 prophet, with reliable members and guaranteed character. One level 20 mage. Spider nation. Dispatch now. Wilderness Mines. Missing a front row. Not picking occupation level 25. Come quickly. Yells come from all directions, making you feel like you're in the middle of a food market. It was Su Chen's first time entering the replica hall, and he didn't know the exact location of the rare replica yet. So he stood in the center of the hall to check for wayfinding signs, seeing Su Chen in his school uniform looking for a way out of the doorway. The two men looked at each other before leaning over. 
Little brother, first time in the replica hall, right? A man laughed. Let our brothers introduce you. Su Chen glanced at the two, standard stupid villain looks. He turned sideways, ignoring the two men's chit chat. There are clear laws in the duplicate halls that prohibit the use of any professional skills. Su Chen was afraid that he would do it accidentally. Seeing Su Chen ignoring them, the two men's expressions turned hideous. Fresh out of school brats, don't you know what respecting your seniors means? Without waiting for the two to continue talking, a man in armor came from the back and put his hands on their shoulders. Are you two lowlife sitching again? Chen, Chen, let's say hello to the newcomers. Get the hell away from me. I won't be so lucky the next time I run into you. The man in armor wrapped his arms around the two men to the door and pushed them out with one hand. He then turned to face Su Chen and extended his hand with a smile. Chen Yong, a level 26 knight, also graduated from the first middle school. Good day senior. Su Chen extended his hand. The other guy helped him out with two small problems and should be treated with respect. Just ignore this kind of people in the future. They are all gangsters. Chen Yong pointed at the door and said, Say, aren't you supposed to be in a training replica today? Why are you here in the replica hall? If you're not level 8, you can't get into the replica hall's replica O. I'm at full level 8. This way. Chen Yong scratched his head. Is it an early transfer day? We didn't used to get out this fast. Chen Yong gave Su Chen a few more notes before leaving to find a copy. Su Chen followed the guide and ascended to the second floor of the hall, where the portals all pointed to the rare copies. Seeing Su Chen walk up to the second floor, the professionals resting outside the portal all revealed puzzled expressions. This is a student from the first middle school. Right. Didn't he just transfer the day before yesterday? How come they entered the replica hall so quickly? Indeed. I remember that the training copies only opened yesterday. They shouldn't have come so soon. Is it possible that people are geniuses and brush faster? How can that be? Luo Qianshan is in the same class as me. And he didn't enter the replica hall until the afternoon of the second day in the first place. I guess it's been reformed this year and it's been moved up. Everyone watched Su Chen slowly approach with one word from you and one word from me. No one went up to take the initiative to talk. People's juniors didn't open their mouths. The seniors would look a little unsuspecting if they came up to them. Su Chen had no intention of striking up a conversation with anyone and directly walked to the copy of the Demon Shadow Castle and pressed down on the magic crystal. Rare copy, Maze of Shadows. Level limit, level 8, level 15. Difficulty level, normal. Difficult, at levels 8 to 15. It seems that the bonus copies provided by the school are organized for the students' levels. Su Chen didn't hesitate to directly choose the difficulty level. Each copy has only one chance to reward the Jade Seal Fragment, and the hard level definitely rewards more than the normal level, and the quests he chose would only drop at hard level. After the choice was over, Su Chen walked directly into the teleportation light pillar with a flash of his mind. Seeing that Su Chen had chosen to single brush the difficult level copy so decisively, the people sitting on the side were dumbfounded. Is this person trying to commit suicide? Surprisingly, he's soloing a difficulty level copy. Hasn't this person ever taken a theory class? You need at least 5 people in a group for hard level. It's over. Pay attention in your next life. The teleportation light pillar fell, and Su Chen appeared on a country lane with a huge castle in the distance. Rare copy, Maze of Shadows. Difficulty, difficult level. Requirements, defeat the boss and rescue Princess Maggie. Su Chen first summoned Dian Wei and 80 soldiers. After reaching level 8, the number of soldiers of Dian Wei came to 80. His own four-dimensional attributes were as high as 1600 points, while the soldier attribute was 160 points. Su Chen reached out and waved his hand as the troops headed off. Not far ahead of them were several ruined wagons. A dozen dead knights lay around the wagon. An old man was weeping, and by his side crouched the blood-covered knight commander. Su Chen walked up and triggered the dialogue, and the old man burst into tears and began to blah blah blah. Just as he finished speaking about how his daughter had been taken captive and how the demon king was so evil that he wanted Su Chen to come to the rescue, Dian Wei couldn't help but open his mouth and yell, You're old and crying, what's wrong with you? This roar directly froze the old man in place, thinking about life. Su Chen cried and laughed, slightly distressed this old man NPC. It's a good thing the NPC was still dedicated and finished the latter nonsense after wiping away his tears. After the old man finished speaking, the knight commander beside him stated that he would protect Su Chen and assist him in defeating the demon king. As soon as he finished his sentence, Dian Wei opened his roar again. Bold little thief. What are your intentions in approaching his majesty? The knight commander was also confused. The two NPCs had never been so speechless in their lives. Su Chen snickered in his heart and raised his hand to look at the knight commander's attributes with insight. Attributes are slightly stronger than the soldier, but nowhere near as good as Dian Wei. This is supposed to be the kind of friendly NPC that comes with the copy and will help the player. Su Chen had wanted to bring him along. After all, 
it was good to have one more combatant. Then, after thinking about it for fear of Dianwei's jealousy, he still refused to join the knight commander. After going through the plot, Su Chen commanded his troops to head towards the castle. It didn't take long for a one-linked scarecrow to emerge from the sides of the road. They have creepy smiles on their faces and sharp scythes strapped to their hands. Scary Scarecrow, Enhanced Demon, Rank, 8, Power, 120, Agility, 120, Spirit, 200, Body Mass, 120, Hey, Hey, Hey. A few scarecrows that jumped out let out strange laughs at Su Chen 80 as if the prank was successful. Su Chen casually pointed. The soldiers swarmed up, and several scarecrows were instantly hacked back into straw. Kill Level 8 Scary Scarecrow, Experience plus 300. Sure enough, the experience drops of the rare copies were just plentiful. Su Chen said as he looked at the panel. If you follow this experience increase, getting to level 15 before the entrance exam shouldn't be a problem. However, the rich experience also meant an increase in difficulty, and the four-dimensional attributes of these demonic creatures were already close to those of the tiger leopard cavalry soldiers. But while their attributes catch up, they are still far less numerous. Su Chen immediately dispersed his soldiers, and three to four soldiers rushed into the rice paddies on both sides in teams. Scarecrows buried on either side of the road ready to sneak up on them were instantly caught in the middle of a siege. Kill level 8 terrorist mushroom spirit. Experience plus 200. Kill level 8 terror goblin. Experience plus 300. The experience alerts are starting to swipe again. The sheer number of soldiers were not at all reasonable. Stabbing demons to death when they saw them. This bountiful experience also greatly surprised Su Chen. Now that's what I call brushing monsters. Compared to this place, the experience of those monsters in the training copies is simply pitiful. Su Chen led the soldiers to kill all the way to the castle gate and approached it. The moment they approached the castle gates, the pillar of escalating light lit up. After entering the rare copy for only an hour, he received an upgrade. Name, Su Chen. Profession, 9 to 5, the only hidden profession. Rank, 9, 0. 53%. Power, 90. Agility, 90. Spirit, 180. Physical fitness, 90. Equipment, none. Props, reset crystals. Skills, summoning General Dianwei, level 9. Imperial Might, level 9. Summon General Dianwei, level 9 summons General Dianwei. Who can be manipulated to fight? Consumes 100 spirit power. Emperor's Might, level 9 issues a mandatory command to a target within range. Refusal to carry it out will result in psychic damage and thought stagnation. Consumes 50 psychic power. As he leveled up, the attributes of Dianwei and the soldiers increased once more. The speed of the experience swipes increased once again. While the soldiers were massacring in the field of straw, Su Chen and Dian Wei arrived at the entrance to the courtyard gate of the castle. Dian Wei stomped open the rust-covered iron grill gate and followed Su Chen into the courtyard. It was a huge yard, bordered by lawns except for a path that led right up to the castle. Numerous age-old tombstones stood on the lawn and looked horrible. However, this creepy scene caused the corner of Su Chen's mouth to gently curl up. Those are experience values. Su Chen activated Dian Wei's skill updating the soldier status and adding 10 new ones. The soldiers continued to walk into the courtyard in groups of 3 to 4. Just as I walked into the yard, there was a strange clicking sound from underneath those tombstones. Before long, a ghastly white skeleton soldier burrowed out of the dirt. They had ghostly fires in their eyes and kept approaching the soldiers with sharp swords in their hands. Skeleton Warrior, Enhanced Demon, Rank, 10, Power, 180, Agility, 120, Spirit, 200. Body mass, 120. The strength attributes of these skeleton soldiers were already comparable to Su Chen's soldiers, but their defense and physique had not improved. Facing a siege of soldiers is all for not as long as you don't boost your blood. Su Chen raised his hand and pointed, and the soldiers immediately charged. The battle of the living dead is officially on. The tiger leopard cavalry soldiers continued to perform well, taking out a skeleton soldier in three or two slashes in a siege situation. But while his side was frantically outputting, the opposite side didn't stop either. Although the skeleton soldiers did not have an increase in their defense body mass, their numbers were very dense. The number of soldiers is no longer able to achieve a total encirclement of them. Sometimes in one-on-one -on -one situations, it was a bloody tussle. The experience bar is increasing at a rapid rate and experience tips are brushing up on the panel like crazy. Kill level 10 skeleton warrior. Experience plus 400. Skeleton bone powder plus 2. Kill level 10 skeleton warrior. Experience plus 400. Skeleton Bone Powder plus 3. Kill Level 10 Skeleton Warrior. Experience plus 400. Broken Skull plus 1. The fight brought about the first attrition on the soldier's side. However, Su Chen would always use his skills at critical moments to refresh the entire army's status. His army was endless, but the skeleton army on the other side was in constant attrition. 
After half an hour of frantic slaughter, the entire courtyard of skeleton soldiers were killed off and their corpses were strewn everywhere. This short half an hour allowed Su Chen's experience bar to come to 86%, which would usher in the next upgrade. Just as Su Chen gathered his soldiers and prepared to march towards the castle, a loud ringing sound came. In front of the castle gate, a huge white bone palm broke through the ground. With an ear-splitting rattle, a giant skeleton soldier burrowed out. Out came the elite monsters, and Su Chen raised his hand and threw an insight spell over. Skeleton warrior leader, enhanced demon, rank, 12, power, 600, agility, 400, spirit, 300, body mass, 600, skill, powerful strike. The four dimensional attributes are similar to the hidden bosses in the training copies, but that still wouldn't be enough to put in front of Dian Wei. With Dian Wei around, this elite monster was much better to deal with than the hordes of demons in front of them. This time, without waiting for Dian Wei to speak, Su Chen directly let him on. He knew that Dian Wei would get horny at the sight of such a big monster. As he expected, Dian Wei immediately told his soldiers to stand down after being instructed to do so. Taking out his war halberd from the air he charged at the skeletal warrior leader. Evil demons, chop. Dian Wei swung his halberd angrily, and a half moon chop fell. The skeleton leader took his sword and blocked it. And with a dang sound, his body trembled like his white bones were about to fall apart. Without giving his opponent a chance, Dian Wei spun around and landed another chopping blow. The powerful impact instantly destroyed the skeleton leader's skeleton. With a piercing sound, the skeleton leader scattered like blocks. Kill level 12 skeleton warrior leader. Experience plus 2000. Skeleton bone powder plus 10. Dian Wei retrieved his war halberd and glanced at the white bones on the ground. It looks like the skeleton leader hasn't let him have all the fun yet. Through this battle, Su Chen discovered the gap between soldiers and Dian Wei. This gap was not only in attributes, but also in combat skills. Dian Wei possesses great combat skills and can vary his offense in many ways, and the soldiers are still in a standing jacked up position, without blocking or some other action. I don't know if you can improve your soldiers' combat skills in the upgrades afterward. Su Chen thought as he restored the soldiers' status, then commanded the army to enter the castle. Instead of a castle, it's more like a giant labyrinth, whose interiors aren't even a normal house. As soon as you walk inside there are corridors leading everywhere, so intricate that it's hard to tell where to go. This can be a huge challenge for others just to recognize the road. But Su Chen's soldiers were able to carve out maps in his mind. Even the most complicated mazes can't be played with him with God's perspective on. Before the fork in the road, Su Chen divided the soldiers and others into different passages. Each fork in the road is equaled again until a road comes to an end and then returns. Utilizing such a method he would be able to etch all the passages within the castle into his mind. Su Chen picked a path and advanced separately from his soldiers. There weren't too many demons on this level but they were all types that hid in the shadows and sneaked up on you. Pust. A ghost-faced spider descended from the ceiling to try and sneak up on him, and was glued to the wall with a slap from Dian Wei. Kill level 12 ghost-faced spider. Experience plus 500. Spider silt plus 2. With Dian Wei's seamless protection along the way, Su Chen was able to focus all of his attention on the map. He had already dispatched his soldiers to walk through all the passages of the castle, but he still hadn't found the boss territory. When the map was all finished, Su Chen flipped around to check the three-dimensional castle map that was molding in his mind. This time he quickly noticed the end. Looking at it from God's point of view, the castle was full of passages, but the only one that went through the center. Apparently, there is a cavity in the center of the castle that cannot be reached by any road. The boss territory is hidden there. Su Chen didn't directly summon back the soldiers. Instead, he had them scattered in every corner to continue killing monsters. After a period of time, the upgrade light pillar lit up and Su Chen's level broke through level 10. Level breakthroughs and attribute increases. Su Chen's attributes were all raised, and his energy came to 200 points. Dian Wei's four-dimensional attributes amounted to 2, 0, 0, 0 points, while the soldier's attributes amounted to 200 points. However, this upgrade resulted in more than just an attribute boost, and the system beep immediately rang out. Martial General Dian Wei breaks through level 10, obtains new skill Fearless Charge. Obtains new equipment city breaking hammer. Tiger Leopard Cavalry Soldier breaks through 10 levels and is upgraded to Tiger Leopard Cavalry Senior Soldier. Soldiers get new equipment, broad bladed machete, curved shield. After a flash of bright light, Su Chen realized that the soldiers had changed a lot. The first is in the overall demeanor. The eyes have become more steely. The second is that the armor defense has been raised by one level. Then also equipped with a broader machete and a curved shield. It looks like the soldiers will receive a full upgrade every 10 levels and the generals will get new weapons and skills. Su Chen checked the soldier's attributes. Army, Tiger Leopard Cavalry Senior Soldier, Level 10. Power, 200. Agility, 200. 
Spirit, 200. Physical Fitness, 200. Equipment, Broad-Bladed Machete. Curved Shield. This occupation was too strong. Looking at the refreshed troops, Su Chin generalized in his heart. As you level up it's not just the monotonous stacking of attributes, there are updates to weaponry and skills. Since he's upgraded from an ordinary soldier to a senior soldier, his combat skills should have improved as well. He then tapped on Dianwei's panel to check the newly acquired skills. General, Dianwei, level 10. Power, 2000. Agility, 2000. Spirit, 2000. Body mass, 2000. Equipment, Peerless War Halberd. City Breaking Hammer. Skills, Tiger and Leopard Riding. Loyal Guard. Fearless Charge. Tiger Leopard Riders, Summon 100 Tiger Leopard Riders to battle. Loyal Guard, all damage taken by the summoner will be transferred to itself until it is killed in battle. Fearless Charge, doubles attack power for 30 seconds, gains constant domination effect. Another powerful skill that makes Dianwei's battle power even stronger. Every 10 levels you gain a qualitative leap. As he got higher and higher in rank, the gap between Su Chen and professionals of the same level would only grow wider and wider. Activating the skill, Su Chen updated the soldiers to 100. He then directed his troops to a wall. As long as you fight through this wall you will be able to enter the boss territory. Knives won't come in handy for punching through walls. Only blunt weapons. At Su Chen's command, Dian Wei took out his newly acquired giant city breaking hammer and moved forward. Bang. The powerful impact shook the entire wall. Bang. Bang. After a few minutes of holding up a huge hammer and slamming it, Dian Wei finally made a big hole in the wall. The huge cave in the center of the castle was revealed to the crowd. Su Chen led his troops into the cave. At the center of the cave is a huge skeleton throne with a woman in a dress chained to the ground in front of it. The walls of the cave were covered with ghostly blue torches that swayed continuously with the gloomy wind. After walking into the cave, Su Chen discovered a not-so-small problem. There is a large door in the wall directly opposite the skull throne. That means this boss territory had a secret door to enter, and they forced their way in by breaking the wall. It's a little tough, but it's good to be in. As the soldiers approached, a ghostly fire appeared out of nowhere in the center of the throne. Uh. -uh. Accompanied by a strange laugh, the skeleton throne instantly collapsed before being pieced back together piece by piece. The skeleton king floating in the air was reorganized around the ghostly fire. Boss war triggered. Boss, skeleton king, level 15. Power, 1200. Agility, 1000. Spirit, 1500. Body mass, 1000. Skills, summoning skeletons. Underworld fire. Sonic shock. Mission objective, kill the skeleton king and protect princess Maggie. It seems that the last level is not only about killing monsters, but also protecting the princess. Roar. The skeleton king roared, and countless white bones fell from the walls before converging into skeletal soldiers. The numbers are denser than those fought in the yard, and they would not only approach Su Chen, they would also approach Princess Maggie who was tied up in the center. Having to kill and ensure people at the same time must be no small challenge for the average professional. But to Su Chen, it was just a matter of an order. He immediately detached 20 soldiers to surround Princess Maggie. Then the other soldiers went to round up the skeleton warriors in the field. Soon, the sound of iron weapons clashing resounded throughout the cave. The panel swipes are back. Kill level 12 skeleton warrior. Experience plus 513. Skeleton bone powder plus 3. Kill level 12 skeleton warrior. Experience plus 496. Skeleton bone powder plus 5. Kill level 13 cave spider. Experience plus 586. Spider Silk plus 1. This time the experience swiped through the screen significantly faster than it had in the garden. Aside from the difference in the density of magic creatures in the two places, the soldier boost is also critical. Su Chen realized that after level 10, the soldiers were able to perform simple blocks with their shields, and the attacks are no longer monotonous chops and slashes. There will be some special variations. Such a boost allowed them to kill the enemy much more quickly, from the previous siege to now being able to easily solve opponents even one-on-one. -on -one. Under the soldier's onslaught, the number of skeleton warriors soon went down to half. The skeleton king raised his hands in the air and began to chant some sort of magic. Su Chen raised his hand and pointed. Shut up. A powerful command was directly poured into the skeleton king's brain. The chant broke off and the skeleton king wailed as he held his head. Dian Wei took a step out and took out his war halberd to leap into the air and swing his sword. With a single hit, the soul flames within the skeleton king's body weakened by a few points. Dian Wei swung his second strike and the skeleton king let out a sharp roar as he moved forward. Sonic shock, capable of damaging and knocking back enemies. Dian Wei directly turned on fearless charge and gained a hegemony effect immune to Sonic Wave's knockback. After the 2x attack power added chopping strike fell, the skeleton king's blood bar directly dropped to most of it. It was about to fly upwards in terror. 
The cavern was high enough that if it was allowed to fly into the air it would escape the range of Dianwei's attack. On your knees, Su Chen pointed at the skeleton king and said, his pupils glowing with a golden color. Wah! The skeleton king's body shook and stalled in midair. Dianwei leapt high into the air and zeroed out the skeleton king's bloodstain with a full strength strike. Kill the boss skeleton king. Experience plus 20,000. Get bronze level skeleton ring asterisk 1. Obtain source of ghost fire asterisk 1. Obtain skeleton bone powder asterisk 20. Successfully kill the boss of the replica. Please rescue Princess Maggie before the castle collapses. Once the skeleton king died, all the skeleton warriors in the cave were turned into a pile of white bones. The entire castle began to shake violently and would soon collapse. This copy is not completely finished until the princess is rescued. Su Chen told the soldiers to cut off the princess's chains and was about to pick her up when he was stopped by Dian Wei. Your holiness, it's better to let the ministry come down for such red faces. Su Chen, question mark, relying on the map in his head, Su Chen very easily ran out of the palace that was about to collapse with his troops. Dian Wei carried the fine-skinned princess all the way back to the old man. Upon arrival, the princess said thank you, my great hero and put the necklace around Dian Wei's neck. Rare drop princess Maggie's necklace. The princess and the old men then dissipated into blue light. The copy was cleared, and the teleportation spell appeared. Palace of the Demon Shadow Hard Level Pass. Get Jade Seal of Transmission Fragment Asterisk 3. The duplicate hall does not allow the use of skills nor the presence of summons. That's why Su Chen recalled all the soldiers before entering the teleportation light pillar. Dian Wei looked at the place where the princess dissipated for several seconds before removing the necklace and offering it to Su Chen with both hands. Su Chen took the necklace and snickered. Why is General Dian Wei blushing? It is the blood of the enemy. Dian Wei had a serious look on his face. Good good good. Su Chen laughed lightly and waved his hand to recall Dian Wei. I didn't realize that this thick-browed, big-eyed Dian Wei had a small mind. Today's kills were all skeleton soldiers where to get the blood of the enemy. Su Chen cleared his equipment and stepped into the teleportation spell with one foot. In the replica hall, a few professionals waiting for the replica refresh time looked towards the entrance of the demon shadow palace from time to time. Waiting for a copy cooldown is the norm for professionals. And to get through it they have to have some fun from time to time. It's been almost 4 hours and that kid hasn't even quit yet. He's not really dead, is he? I don't think so. It's not like this is the wilderness where a near death state would be forced to pass out. I've been to this copy before. Newcomers to the palace are bound to get lost there. They must be stuck somewhere. He can still reach the palace? The skeleton soldiers in front of him just killed him looking for mamas. Don't forget he picked a difficult level. The youngsters are so tigerish nowadays. It would have killed them to go down like that in our day. The teleportation light pillar flashed, and Su Chen walked out from the light pillar. A few of the professionals who were still discussing rubbed themselves out of their chairs. Crap. They didn't expect Su Chen to come outstanding. How does this kid look like he's not in trouble at all? Is this going down the book or washing his feet? Don't tell me he can get through a difficulty level copy by himself. Su Chen turned around and pressed the magic crystal in front of the replica. And a few large words were displayed on the portal. Magic Shadow Labyrinth. Difficulty level passed successfully. Passing time, 04:16:52. Congratulations on your third place in the past time rankings. This pass hint made the people watching explode again. My god. He really passed. A solo brushbook even made it into the top three. The leaderboards are full of battle team swipe scores. Demon demon demon. The youngsters nowadays are not reasonable at all. Su Chen ignored the murmurs that came from time to time and sat in front of the portal to meditate. One was to recover a little bit of mental strength. And the other was to take stock of the loot this time. First of all the most valuable loot. The 500. 000 dollar princess Maggie necklace has arrived. Next up was the bronze level skeleton ring dropped by the boss. Su Chen directly put it on his hand and gained 50 points of mental strength and 20 points of strength bonus. Within level 20, this is considered high quality gear. Then there are some rare drops, skeleton bone dust, shattered skulls and the like. These Su Chen was going to bring together to the exchange to sell after the end of the day. At the end of the day it's the jade seal of transmission pieces, and the hard level pass gives three of them straight away. Together with the last time, Su Chen had a total of five jade seal fragments. He opened the shard mall and prepared to exchange three shards for a skill once. Right now, he only possessed the single skill of imperial might himself, which was slightly insufficient. Debris mall. Three shards, randomly obtain a vocational skill up to level 20. Five shards, permanently convert a copy into your exclusive territory. Ten shards, randomly select a general card or a noble princess card. Remaining features to be unlocked. With a flash of his mind, Su Chen consumed the three jade seal fragments in his backpack. Occupational skills in progress. After a period of time, the golden light lit up in Su Chen's hands, gaining the skill successfully. Acquired the skill Emperor's Might. 
Emperor's Might. Apply an aura of Emperor's Might that lasts for 10 seconds to friendly units. The aura will inflict 30% of friendly's life value damage to enemies within a range of 3 meters. The effect can be stacked. Spirit Power Consumption. 2 asterisk number of targets applied. Ranged Damage Type Skill. Su Chen's eyes lit up. After the battle in the Demon Shadow Labyrinth, he realized that he really lacked a ranged attack skill. Troops are slow to fight in the flesh when facing large clusters of enemies. Having ranged skills now speeds up that time considerably. And the effect of the skill with the troops is another miracle. Applies an aura to friendly troops, dealing 30% of their life value to enemies within 3 meters. The skill effect may be average on its own, but that last damage stackable directly makes it a god skill. By applying an aura to multiple soldiers, the enemy will take several auras of damage during melee. Theoretically enough soldiers around could even just vaporize the enemy. With this skill in place, the speed of leveling afterward will be greatly increased again. Su Chen's level 10 experience bar was still halfway to full. He predicted that he would be able to break through level 12 today, and should be well on his way to level 15 before the college entrance exam. Closing the panel, Su Chen once again came to the copy. It shows 7 hours of cooldown left. He directly enabled the reset crystal and entered the copy once more. A few people next to him were once again dumbfounded. I can't believe he has reset crystals. I haven't even mixed up a single reset crystal in almost 20 years of breaking into the world. And he's got a reset crystal as a little brat just out of school. A supporting role. Compared to him I'm nothing but a supporting role. A supporting role that doesn't even deserve a name. They had wanted to take advantage of Su Chen's time waiting for the cooldown to come up and strike up a conversation. But who knew that Su Chen had actually used a reset crystal to enter the book once again. Su Chen's outrageous maneuvers time and time again made these old professionals sigh and feel the jaggedness of life. Entering the copy. Su Chen once again summoned Dian Wei and the soldiers. When you walk up to the old man to go through the plot, Dian Wei's eyes widened. Why you again? Didn't you give your daughter back to you? The old man NPC froze again, confused as to what Dian Wei was talking about. Su Chen smiled and pulled Dian Wei aside, giving him a rough explanation of the meaning of the copy. Dian Wei nodded in seeming understanding and finally whispered, the little lady of the house. Su Chen laughed, it will also reappear. Su Chen advanced with his troops. This one advanced much faster than the last, because the warriors had been upgraded, not only their attributes, but their combat skills had also improved. Not only will he use blocking, but he can also change multiple angles of attack and slash much more efficiently. This time Su Chen only took 20 minutes to arrive at the entrance of the courtyard, breaking through the iron grill gate. The upgraded tiger leopard ride senior soldiers took on the skeleton warriors. Soldiers with shield blocks will not suffer attrition like last time. They used their ever-changing blade techniques to break through the skeleton warrior's defense. The last evenly matched fight had become a breeze in this one. The climax of the battle was the moment Su Chun unleashed the Imperial Might Shock. The moment the skill activated. 100 fighting soldiers were enveloped in golden holy light. Layers of radiant golden light surged outward with them at the center. At the intersection of several circles of light, the skeletal warriors that received stacked damage were immediately annihilated into white powder. After the royal shock appeared, the skeleton warriors were defeated and wiped out by the soldiers in a matter of moments. Experience alerts on the panel are also brushing up at an unprecedented rate. Kill level 10 skeleton warrior. Experience plus 396. Skeleton bone powder plus 2. Kill level 10 skeleton warrior. Experience plus 402. Skeleton bone powder plus 4. Kill level 10 skeleton warrior. Experience plus 415. Broken skull plus 1. Worthy of being a ranged skill. Su Chen sighed in his heart. Imperial Might Shock combined with Soldier. This is an unbeatable combo in melee. After all the experiences in, the upgrade light pillar lights up. Su Chen broke through to level 11. Name, Su Chen. Occupation, 9 to 5, unique. Rank, 11, 2. 53%. Strength, 120, plus 20. Agility, 120. Spirit, 250, plus 50. Body mass, 120. Equipment, Skull Ring. Props, Reset Crystals. Skills, Summoning General Dian Wei, Level 11. Emperor's Might, Level 11. Emperor's Might, Level 1. Summon General Dian Wei, Level 11 Summons General Dian Wei. Who can be manipulated to fight? Consumes 180 Spirit Power. Emperor's Might, Level 11 issues a mandatory command to a target within range. Refusal to carry it out will result in psychic damage and thought stagnation. Consumes 100 Psychic Power. Emperor's Might, Level 1. Apply an aura of Emperor's Might to a friendly unit that lasts for 10 seconds. The aura will inflict 30% of friendly's life value damage to enemies within a range of 3 meters. The effect can be stacked. Spiritual Power Consumption. 2 asterisk number of targets applied. Having risen to level 11. His mental power had come to 250 points. 
and with the 50 points from the skeleton ring, it totaled 300 points. You can use Royal Might three times in a row, and Royal Might Hojo can still only be used once if it works everyone at once. Su Chen realized that the initial skill would follow the level up, and the Imperial Mighty Vastness didn't follow the level up. He guessed that all future skills would be the same as its and would need to be improved through constant practice. In addition to skill attribute boosts, summons have also received an upgrade. After breaking through level 10, Dianwei increases his 4-dimensional attributes by 300 points per level, and soldiers by 30 points. Dianwei's 4-dimensional attributes came directly to 2300, while the soldiers were 230. The speed of brushing monsters in rare copies is just fast. If in ordinary copies I'm afraid that I'm only at level 10 now. Collecting the panels, Su Chen led his troops to march towards the castle. After easily killing the gatekeeper elite monster, Su Chen arrived directly at the boss room with the map. Before the boss battle, Su Chen scattered soldiers throughout the cave. After the skeleton king summoned the skeleton warriors, he activated imperial mighty vastness. Golden ripples illuminated the entire cave, and within seconds hundreds of skeleton warriors were reduced to pieces. In the end, Su Chen used imperial might to restrict the skeleton king's movement, and Dianwei's three slashes cleared its blood bar. From the time the boss appeared to the end, it took less than five minutes, which was several times faster than the last time. That's the kind of enhancement that comes with upgrades. That's the beauty of Speedway. The boss dies, the castle collapses, and Dianwei carries the princess and runs out. Finally, the princess is returned to the old man. The copy is cleared, and the teleportation spell falls. This time, Su Chen only spent an hour to clear the copy. Outside the copy, not long after Su Chen entered the copy for the second time, the top 10 students of the first middle school training replica were then centralized and sent to the replica hall. As the best of the session, they also have access to training copies. Among them, Gu Xia was second, located after Su Chen, followed by the top students of each class. This ranking was actually in the minds of the teachers when they entered the replica and was basically expected. More surprisingly Su Chen's good buddy got a good 10th place. The two women he teamed up with also finished 8th and 9th, respectively. The first class followed Gu Xia to the second floor and met the top 10 students of the second middle school who were also going to enter the rare copies for training. As soon as the two sets of people met, the atmosphere became somewhat subtle. First and second are the only two high schools for transferees in South Hills. The two high schools compete year-round in student enrollment, tournaments, and high school grades. This competitive ethos also spreads from the school to individual students. Eight years ago, Luo Qianshan, the man of the hour in the first middle school, beat the top student in the second middle school with a crushing high school entrance exam score. Because of the star effect, the next few years, a middle school almost collected all the quality students in Nanshan City. Every year, firmly pressed the head of the second middle school. In recent years, the second high school has caught up again and also took the title of the city's top student last year. The 10-member team from the second high school stirred at the sight of a few people from the first high school. Here comes the first school. Here comes the first school. How come the one leading the team is Gu Xia? Where is Gao Song Yun? Isn't Gao Song Yun the number one in their class? Did something happen? If something happens to Gao Song Yun, won't there be no one left in the first grade this year? A bald, old-looking man came out of the second grade line. Where's the high clump of clouds from your school? The bald girl shook her head. Gu Xia led the group straight through, completely ignoring the idea of hitching a ride with them. The two rare copies of the school rewards were close together, with the portals separated by less than 10 meters. Gu Xia led the students of the first middle school to take their seats and get ready, while the people of the second middle school all looked over. Gu Xia's ignorance stirred their desire to pick a fight. It's a great opportunity to demoralize the first form. They began to talk in loud voices, with Gao Song Yun out of the picture. The first high school will be ruined this year. There's no comparison with us. Just look at them, shriveled up, and let the women lead the way. Not one of the men in the first grade has any balls. Every word pierced clearly into the ears of the one in the middle. Gao Zhang slammed the kettle down and stood up, shouting, Baldi, what are you screaming about there? Ko Yun's anger plays right into their hands. The bald man had a sardonic smile on his face. What? You're not convinced? Those who are not convinced can come forward and challenge. The bald head invited a boy out of the crowd who looked at Gao Zhang with contempt in his eyes. Introducing, Wang Wen Kai Wang Shen, number one in the second grade. Last year's top city student was his brother. His training copy clearance this year was 20 hours and 26 minutes, almost tying that low whatever from your school. If you have the guts, come out and compete with the king god. The bald guy laughed cheekily. He thought that when Wang Wenkai's results came out, he could directly shock the opposite side. Gu Xia sneered when she heard Wang Wenkai's score. If it was placed in the past, she would think that the other party had the qualifications to be arrogant. 
At 2026, that's a really strong score. It was two hours faster than her and only 10 minutes slower than Luo Qianshan, but the past was the past. And after seeing Su Chen's performance, she realized what a truly strong person was. So all she had left to say about those in the second grade was that she didn't know what she was talking about. The bald man was a bit puzzled. He felt as if the person across from him wasn't particularly shocked. Do you guys not realize the gold of passing a training copy that only took 20 hours? This kind of strength casually crushes all of you in the room understand? Gao Zheng didn't say anything. The opposite side's 20 hours was indeed very strong. But it wasn't even a fart compared to Su Chen's 10 hours. But he didn't want to use Su Chen's name to press the opposite side. Which would drag Su Chen into it. With Su Chen's character, he definitely didn't want to participate in this kind of miscellaneous shit. But just because Gao Zheng didn't say anything, it didn't mean that the other students didn't say anything, they had all seen Su Chen's terrifying results. What's 20 hours? Our school Su Chen only used 10 hours. A voice rang out. 10 hours? Are you fucking kidding me? The crowd in the second middle school laughed out loud. The fastest record is just 20 hours. And now there's a guy who's never heard of breaking 10 hours. How is this possible? The bald guy slapped his leg and laughed. There's a limit to how much you guys can brag, right? 10 hours? Why don't you say you blew up the copy? Is first grade unable to afford to lose and wants to start faking? Ha! Huh? The first school crowd was powerless in the face of the second school's ridicule, with Su Chen out of the picture. No one can prove the strength of these 10 hours. To be honest, if they didn't see Su Chen play with their own eyes, even they couldn't believe it. Just as the opposite side scoffed, the teleportation light pillar of the demon shadow labyrinth fell. Su Chen. It can't be Su Chen. Someone shouted. It must be. Su Chen didn't join us. He must have entered the copy early. Su Shen. Su Shen is coming. Gu Xia and Gao Zhang looked toward the teleportation light pillar. Su Chen was really coming? The laughter in the second center came to a screeching halt, and one of them looked at each other in disbelief. They're not serious, are they? As the crowd watched, a battle scarred squad walked out of the portal. Grey Eagle Squad. A squad of South Mountain University transmigrants with an average level of 20. They came down to the labyrinth of magic shadows as a team this time because they wanted to rush into the top three to get credits. Looking at the one who walked out who wasn't Su Chen, the eyes of all the people in the first middle school sank. The second formers began to scoff again. They had just almost thought it was real. The bald man stroked his head and walked forward. What? Where's that Su Chen? How come he's hiding and not coming out? To say you have no balls in the first grade is to say you have no balls. And you can't beat the grades and make up someone to brag about it. Bitchy or not? Crap. What's with this Su Chen? The Grey Eagle Squad's man suddenly shouted. They had just finished submitting their grades. Only to find out that they were only in fourth place. The only way to get credits is to be in the top three. And as Su Chen's name is stuck in front of them, there's no mistaking it. This person is faster at soloing than we are at teaming up. What kind of bigot is this that's coming to steal credits from us? Several Grey Eagle Squad members were in tears. For their part, all the students of the first high school gathered around to check out the names on the leaderboard. It's really Su Chen. It's really Su Chen. Baldhead and Wang Wenkai looked at each other. Dumbfounded. And where did this Su Chen come from? I've never heard of him before. They couldn't believe that training copies of 10-hour passes were real. As the crowd bickered, the teleportation light pillar fell once again. Su Chen walked out from inside, his originally smiling face instantly becoming serious upon seeing his classmates. The students immediately cheered as soon as they saw Su Chen. Su Chen. It's Su Chen. I knew he was in the copy. Su Chen is here. Someone's backing up first grade. When the Great Eagle Squad's people saw Su Chen wearing a school uniform, the expressions on their faces were wonderful. How is this possible? A student still in high school soloing a difficult level rare copy. Not only did you brush it, but it's ranked third. Faster than four of us in a level 20 group. I'm afraid he's only level 10 right now. And with 10 being able to rank third, I can't imagine how powerful he'll be in the future. Su Chen looked at the crowd with some confusion, not knowing why they were so excited. Instead of responding to the cheers of his classmates, he turned and pressed the crystal in front of the replica's main door. Palace of Demon Shadows. Difficulty level clearance successful. Time to clear. 01:14:36. Congratulations on setting a new clearance record and being ranked first on the leaderboard. Seeing Su Chen break the ranking of the Demon Shadow Maze, the crowd instantly exploded. No. 1. Several people from Great Eagle Squad were frozen in place in disbelief. On the sidelines, the students of the first grade cheered wildly. They weren't just happy that Su Chen had set a new record, but also because he had ruthlessly destroyed the second middle school's prestige. The people in the second middle school were dumbfounded, not understanding when a godly bigot appeared in the first middle school. Su Shen is bullish. What Wang Wenkai and what second middle school are all trash? Someone shouted in the chaos. 
Despite the cacophony of voices, the words shot precisely into the ears of the second formers. The bald man's veins rippled and he turned his head to Wang Wenkai. Brother Kai, can this be tolerated? Wang Wenkai clenched his fists, his eyes indignant. You can't bear it you're on. I'll bear it. Ha, Kai. Wang Wenkai turned away numbly, without a single thought of continuing to pick a fight. Are you kidding me? People can single-handedly brush difficult copies. Isn't this going up there to send them to their deaths? The chaotic scene gradually calmed down as the crowd in the second school turned off the fire. Su Chun understood the general situation under Gao Zhang's explanation. He was glad the guys didn't keep jumping on his face, or there would have been a few more Gao Songyuns. First grade was the alma mater that made him a professional, and no one could insult first grade in front of him. After a short little storm, the rest of the class began to prepare for the next copy. The difficulty of the rare copies was quite a bit stronger than the training copies, so they had to make a group even if they were playing a normal level. From time to time, gazes would fall on Su Chen during the process of forming the group. Su Chen's strength was unquestionable. Everyone understands that they can upgrade by leaps and bounds if they hug his leg. Su Chen was completely unaware of the rich mental activities of the surrounding students. He sat back in his chair and restored his mental strength through meditation, before that he could rely on upgrades to quickly recover his mental power. But now that the upgrading speed had slowed down, he would have to meditate on his own to recover his mental power if he didn't upgrade by clearing the copies. Right now, his total mental power was 300 points, and it would take at least 3 hours to recover all of it. Although he had reset crystals, he didn't expect his mental strength to become a hindrance to continuous swiping. At that moment, Gu Xia walked towards him. She took out two bottles of white potion and handed them to Su Chen. Focusing potion, capable of quickly restoring mental energy. Su Chen opened his eyes and looked at Gu Xia. Both of their faces were expressionless. The students beside them had sideways glances. This was the first time they had seen Gu Xia take the initiative to strike up a conversation with a boy. As the famous iceberg beauty in the first middle school, Gu Xia had always had an indifferent attitude towards boys. Even Gao Song Yun, who had previously been number one in the school, couldn't say a few words to Gu Xia. Now Gu Xia was actually handing Su Chen a potion directly, and it's a focus potion, which is a proper high-level potion. The surrounding students all whispered, Gu Xia meets Su Chen. This is not icebergs crashing into icebergs. It's true that being strong is the most important thing. It's amazing that you can make a level like Gu Xia fall over. Su Shen is Su Shen. Even picking up girls is so strong. Gao Zhang shook his head repeatedly as he watched the scene in front of him, cheering for his good brother in his heart. After Su Chen pondered for a few seconds, he opened his mouth and asked, How much? The potion would save a lot of meditation time and would be useful to him. And this kind of potion that could directly restore mental energy wasn't something that could be bought easily. At least they can't be purchased directly by low-level professionals. Is it useless to put it here with me? It's for you. Gu Xia said coldly, turned around and left. Su Chen shook his head. He was all about equal exchange and was not willing to owe others a favor. Two bottles of potions, and I'll take you to brush a difficult level copy once. Su Chen said. Gu Xia immediately turned around. Deal. So decisive? Su Chen laughed in his heart. Although bringing Gu Xia would take half of the experience, the two potions could be brushed twice as fast and the total experience value was still increased. Neither Su Chen nor Gu Xia were people who liked to talk nonsense, and after Su Chen drank the potion to restore his mental strength, the two of them directly entered the copy, leaving a group of students in place with eyeballs of envy. Boys fantasize that they are Su Chen, and can take the goddess down to the book and make a big pretense in front of her. The girls, on the other hand, fantasize that they are Gu Xia, who breaks through all kinds of difficulties under Su Chen's protection. Entering the copy, Su Chen once again summoned Dian Wei and the soldiers. As soon as he saw Gu Xia, Dian Wei blocked in front of Su Chen. Your holiness, red face, let me do it. He said that he was about to carry Gu Xia and run. But fortunately, he was stopped by Su Chen in time. Brother Dian Wei, aren't you overly sensitive to women? Su Chen cried and laughed. The contrast between Dian Wei's image as a calm and domineering general, who shatters every time he meets a woman, is too great. Dian Wei invited Su Chen to the side and said softly, your holiness, I'll be honest with you. Good. The end of the line is a lustful man. Pust. Su Chen laughed out. This Dian Wei was also too honest. Your holiness, please don't laugh yet. There is a second point. Dian Wei said with a straight face. You say, every time a woman appears beside you, I feel destined for the omen star. Su Chen quickly flashed through the little knowledge of the three kingdoms in his head and knew the source of this problem with Dian Wei. He died precisely because his last lord, Chao Chao, slept with someone else's sister-in-law and was brought to his door. Then Dian Wei fought to cover Boss Chao's escape being stabbed and killed by the chaotic army. No wonder Dian Wei was afraid of touching a woman himself. 
so he was afraid of history repeating itself. Su Chen smiled and patted Dian Wei's shoulder. Don't worry, I don't have any particular hobbies that would make you okay. Thank you, your holiness. Dian Wei paid his respects. Gu Xia, who was on the side, watched Su Chen chatting with Dian Wei and became more and more curious about Su Chen. The man had a poker face when he saw his classmates, but he could talk and laugh with his summons. After Su Chen pacified Dian Wei, he commanded his troops to move forward. This time, when he goes through the episode with the old man, Paragon has already started talking to him. The old man cried miserably, and Dian Wei was on the sidelines. I know, I know, it'll be out soon. What's there to cry about? After going through the plot, Su Chen rejected the knight as usual and marched forward. Why don't you guys bring that knight? Gu Xia opened his mouth and asked. The clan had given him copy cheats, and the only way to take a pro into the boss room was to have a knight join him. We're not short of his battle power, Su Chen said. Then how did you get into the boss room? Gu Xia was surprised. Was there another way? We smashed the walls of the boss room. Gu Xia? Question mark. Gu Xia advanced with amazement, and soon saw Su Chen's skill in passing. The best technique for getting through the game is to have no technique and crush purely by strength. Su Chen's army swept through the monsters in the copy like a tsunami. Difficult level copies that were difficult to challenge in the eyes of others were nothing more than chopped vegetables in Su Chen's case. Before placing the book, Gu Xia knew that he probably didn't need to play much, and just leave it all to Su Chen, but now she was not having to play at all. Just follow the army like a sightseeing tour. What a horrible strength this is. Soon after the team arrived at the courtyard, Su Chen unleashed the imperial might shock and eliminated all the skeletal soldiers. Su Chen's strength even gave Gu Xia a feeling that those skeleton soldiers were weak. However, an insight spell shone through, only to find that the attributes of these skeleton soldiers were not weak at all, and even one was enough for her to deal with for half a day. Why did the gap become so wide when they were all classmates who transferred on the same day? Could it be that the 9 to 5 is the existence of a legendary profession? Killing his way into the castle, Su Chen led his troops straight to the boss room, the intricate roads completely out of his sight. Gu Xia had read the guide and knew that the reason why this copy was called the Demon Shadow Labyrinth was because of the complexity of the path in the final castle. It was said that even people who had swiped the book a dozen times could not go right at once, and Su Chen was like going home only for the third time. How are you sure the path is right? Gu Xia couldn't help but ask. I memorized the chart. The troops came to a wall, and Dian Wei summoned the city breaking hammer to show Gu Xia the true skill of clearing a wall. Breaking through the wall, Su Chen and Dian Wei met their old friend, the Skeleton King. Again, powerful golden light lit up inside the cave, and Gu Xia only felt a dazzling sensation. After reaching out and blocking for a moment, he opened his eyes again to see the skeleton king turned into bone dust, and Dian Wei carrying the princess and running away. Gu Xia froze, brushing the book doesn't take this kind of brushing, at least give the demons some respect. A few minutes later, Su Chen and Gu Xia returned to the replica hall and set another record, and even though half of the experience was shared, Su Chen still welcomed the upgrade successfully broke level 12. Breaking level 12 gains points in all areas. The all-important mental strength has increased by 50 points. Dian Wei's four-dimensional attributes came directly to 2,600, and the soldier came to 260. On top of that, the number of soldiers that Dian Wei could summon came to 140. After getting out of the copy, the time was approaching evening, and Su Chen decided to take a rest trip after brushing one last time. Although there were potions to help with recovery, the body's fatigue was unquenchable. It must be supplemented by sleep or meditation. Compared to meditating and meditating Su Chen preferred to sleep. Sleeping in bed was the real rest for him. Su Chen drank another bottle of potion given by Gu Xia and prepared to enter the copy. Gu Xia, who was standing by the side, turned to leave when she saw that Su Chen had no intention of striking up a conversation with her. I'm going to the other copy. Hearing the voice, Su Chen then remembered that there was Gu Xia beside him. He'd just been so busy drumming up upgrade panels that he'd forgotten about her. Okay. Su Chen said in Gu Xia's direction, but he soon realized a problem. Gu Xia didn't reset the crystals, and the magic shadow labyrinth went on cooldown, so it was logical for her to go downstairs and find a normal copy. But instead of going downstairs, she headed deeper into the second floor, apparently just looking for the wrong spot. These are all rare copies up here. Su Chen opened his mouth to remind. I know, I'm looking for the ones at my house. Gu Xia's words drifted over from afar like a sharp sword stabbing into Su Chen's poor heart. Yeah. She's a goo. It's normal to have a few rare copies in the family. I'll have it later. Su Chen consoled himself. With that, he stepped into the teleportation light pillar. You can also. Gu Xia turned around just in time to see Su Chen disappear. Or you can come along. An hour and a half later, Su Chen came out of the demon shadow labyrinth. Since it was the last brush of the day, he didn't pursue speed, 
but instead cleared the monsters of the copy. The experience bar went up to level 1272, 36%. For this progress, Su Chen was very satisfied. At this rate perhaps he could reach level 15 tomorrow and then spend the rest of the day hitting higher levels. To get into the top schools, level 15 is the threshold, after which you have the chance to hit the top schools. But just because you've passed the threshold doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get in. It's safest to hit the higher levels, 16th and 17th. After packing up his lines, Su Chen headed downstairs. He planned to sell today's loot at the exchange and then find an inn nearby to rest. Outside the duplicate halls there are many inns that offer respite for transmutants to rest or get through duplicate cooldowns. As he passed by the first floor, Su Chen vaguely heard someone discussing the matter of the first middle school student breaking the rare copy record. He wasn't much interested in fame, didn't care what they said as long as they didn't interfere with his normal life. Coming to the exchange, Su Chen placed his hand on the magic crystal. Name, Su Chen. Gold coins, 563. Equipment, skull ring. Props, reset crystals. Mandate, none. Still with that shabby account, Su Chen switched to the trading interface. First up is that Princess Maggie's necklace, a drop that only refreshes once a month. Su Chen found that buyer and directly clicked on the transaction. Is there a deal going on? Yes. The necklace in Su Chen's storage space disappeared. Trade goods are being tested at. Task requirements met. Transaction successful. Scoffs. With a crunch, the deal was done. So fast that Su Chen was a little surprised. That's half a million dollars. A whole half a million dollars. And the deal was done in so few seconds? Su Chen hastily returned to the account screen to refresh. Name, Su Chen. Gold, 500,563. Equipment, skull ring. Props, reset crystals. Mandate, none. Was the money so good? Su Chen was a bit stunned. The parents of his predecessor passed away, leaving a total of just over a hundred thousand dollars in savings and an old mansion. With these savings and school aid, Su Chen barely made it to high school graduation. He had been saving his money for the past few years and felt that money was so out of reach. And after becoming a pro, he just got to half a million in that one moment. The ease with which this money came to him made it all seem a little unreal. Suppressing his excitement, Su Chen continued to sell the loot. After brushing the demon shadow labyrinth four times, his small storage space had been stuffed to bursting. During this time he also threw away some loot of little value. Open the backpack. Scarecrow had asterisk 423 copies. Skeleton bone powder asterisk 667 copies. Broken skulls asterisk 89 copies. Adherent cobwebs asterisk 153. Bronze level skeleton crown. Spirit plus 30. Defense plus 30. Bronze level skeleton crown. Spirit plus 20. Defense plus 5. Bronze skeleton extreme. Spirit plus 40. Battle strength plus 30. Bronze crown of skulls. Source of ghost fire asterisk 4. A backpack of stuff. Su Chen sold one item of loot at a time. After each item is sold, you have to mentally verify the price for fear that you will be cheated. Can't help it. Being poor for two lifetimes is just so finicky. After spending nearly 20 minutes, Su Chen sold all the unwanted loot. The final tally sold out another big hundred thousand dollars, which made Su Chen excited. The five hundred dollars, zero 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 was just a chance assignment, but the one hundred dollars, zero 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 was a steady stream of money that he could get whenever he came in. So in theory he's now a high earner earning over one hundred dollars, zero 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 a day. The purchasing power of money in this world is similar to that of Blue Star. A daily collection of over 100, 000 exceeds that of almost all ordinary people in this world, and the vast majority of bottom tier transients. It could be surmised based on the Greyhawk squad that they were 4 level 20 groups challenging the difficult level Demon Shadow Labyrinth. It consumes almost 6 hours and the copy is on cooldown for 7 hours. That means they can only brush the maze of magic shadows up to 2 times a day, and that's without problems. And with 2 swipes, that money would still need to be split equally between the 4, with an estimated 10. 000 each coming in. The 10,000 would also include the purchase of potions, weapons and equipment, etc. And in the end, it might only be 5,000 in hand. That is to say, there was at least a 20-fold difference between the daily income of a level 20 ordinary professional and level 12 Su Chen. And this gap would increase as Su Chen's level increased. Su Chen took one last look at the account. Money, 590,213. Full of happiness. Exit the exchange and find a hostel in the neighborhood. After simply washing up, Su Chen fell asleep with exhaustion, counting from the day he crossed over. Today was the best sleep he'd had. Getting up early the next day, Su Chen packed up and was about to leave when the system sounded. Debris Mall Limited Time Discount Day. Debris Mall Limited Time Discount Day. Every month the Shard Mall will randomly discount an item on a random day. Debris Mall. 5 Shards, randomly obtain a vocational skill below level 30. 
5 shards, permanently convert a copy into your exclusive territory. 10 pieces, limited time 20% discount randomly select a general card or a noble princess card. Remaining functions to be unlocked. Is it so lucky? Su Chan's eyes lit up. That discount is right on the most consumed item and it's still 20% off. He had exactly 2 shards left, so he could just draw the martial arts card once. Additionally he noticed that the extract skill option, which he had chosen once last time, had added shards. It seems that after each selection, the selected option adds pieces, disregarding the rest. What Su Chen was most interested in seeing right now was what martial arts generals he could obtain. Dian Wei's performance is already so so satisfying. What will the next martial artist bring to the table? With a flash of his mind, Su Chen consumed two jade seal fragments to extract the martial general card, whether or not to draw a general's card. Yes, drawing of general's cards from, with a flash of blue light, three cards with character portraits appeared in front of Su Chen. Water Margin Shotgun, Shi Wen Gong, Jenshin Silver Lance, Zhao Yun, Southern Song Ming Gun, Zhang Xian, the three cards hover above and below each other, with subtitles below the cards showing a brief description of the generals. Fired three gunmen. After scanning the circle, Su Chen's eyes directly rested on Zhao Yun in the center. The five tiger generals in the romance of the three kingdoms were loyal, brave and courageous. It can be said that every boy who has seen the three kingdoms has fantasized about becoming Zhao Yun. The other two were also more famous gunmen, but they still couldn't be compared to Zhao Yun. Without any doubts, Su Chen reached out and tapped Zhao Yun's deck. Faint blue ripples rippled out, and the other two cards disappeared. Zhao Yun's card then turned into a blue particle of light and exploded like a firework. Phew, the wind sprang up in the room, as sharp as a sword. A void rift appeared on Su Chen's side. Giggle, the sound of a sharp weapon breaking through the air. A blue-white photoelectricity flashed out from it. The white armor and silver spear Zhao Zilong came piercing through the void, with a body length of 8 feet and a majestic posture. He was worthy of being Zhao Yun. Su Chen marveled in his heart. Zhao Yun flashed his hand in the void, collected his gun and turned around, looking at Su Chen. Changshan Zhao Zilong, greetings to your majesty. Zhao Yun knelt on one knee and made a salute to Su Chen. The voice was calm and sharp, with a lot of verve. Su Chen nodded in response and raised his hand to point at Zhao Yun to check his attributes. General, Zhao Yun, level 1. Power, 600. Agility, 800. Spirit, 600. Body mass, 400. Equipment, Dragon's Guts Shining Silver Lance. Skills, White Horse, Lone Ranger, Akuba Yashinobu, Summoning 5 Light Cavalry for Battle. Lone Hero, when the number of troops of your side is less than that of the enemy within a range of 500 meters, all attributes of Zhao Yun and your soldiers except life value will be doubled with the difference, with a cap of 10 times. Very powerful attribute. Comparing to Dian Wei's 4 dimensional attributes at level 1, Zhao Yun's attack and agility are both 200 higher. Mental strength is the same, and physique is 200 less. These 4 dimensional attributes fit Zhao Yun's characteristics of being good at charging into battle and having high martial arts skills. And the skill lone hero means that Zhao Yun can swim the dragon through many enemies. Last but not least is Zhao Yun's summon troop, White Horse Boxer. Historically famous light cavalry. It can form a good match with Zhao Yun. The addition of Zhao Yun is more than a mere numerical increase. It also allowed for more possibilities for Su Chen's tactical arrangements. Dian Wei and his troops were the main force responsible for confronting the enemy on the front. Zhao Yun and the light cavalry, on the other hand, can play a role in disrupting formations, blocking reinforcements and so on, that's good, that's good, Su Chen was overjoyed in his heart, he didn't expect the system to be so conscientious, a 20% discounted general card can open a general of Zhao Yun's caliber, with Zhao Yun on board, today's brush will be much faster again, Su Chen waved his hand to recall Zhao Yun and headed to the replica hall after a little bit of packing, today's goal is to break through level 15 and we'll have one foot on the threshold of the top academy, in the office of the principal of the first school, the principal and a group of senior teachers were sitting around the table. They were checking out copies of the high school entrance exam simulation sent down by the provincial education department. Every year before the college entrance exams, each city organizes mock exams in advance. The mock exams are similar in size and format to the entrance exams. It allows students to both move up in rank as well as acclimatize them to the rules of the entrance exams ahead of time. Mock exams will open on the fourth day and will only be available to students who have risen to level 8 before then. Otherwise, you will have no access to the mock exams, and you will be taking the equivalent of a naked exam at the entrance exam. It's not unfair. It's screening for talent. Resources will only flow to the best students. The principal looked at the mock-up copy with a stony face. This year's simulation copy is very difficult. The teacher on the other side pushed down his glasses. Indeed. I didn't expect it to be a 10,000 person mega war copy. 
The simulation copy reflects the form of the college entrance examination to a certain extent, and I am afraid that this year's college entrance examination will be such a copy of the war. How many years has it been since we've experienced a copy of the war? It's been many years, said the rector, and we've had a long period of peace since the last great war. Recently the passages have been appearing with increasing frequency, and large numbers of magical creatures have begun to gather in the wilderness area. I'm afraid we're going to be at war again soon, and this change in the GCSE exams is a harbinger of things to come. The higher-ups want to promote students suitable for the battlefield to prepare for the war that will break out in the future. Chen Yun, the teacher of class 1, stood up. I believe our students in class 1 will have no problem. The principal nodded looking at the first class homeroom teacher. Is Gao Song Yun all right? It's fine. He woke up and said that his injuries had nothing to do with his classmates, and that he was knocked out of his copy by the hidden boss. That's good. I hope he picks up the pace. In time for tomorrow's mock copy. Let's get the mock copies out to the students so they can prepare ahead of time. Yes. The classroom teachers of the congregation each took a file from their desks and headed out the door. The document is an analog copy of the information released by the Provincial Department of Education. This mock exam will be a replica of the 10,000 man war as the content of the exam. So please prepare the teachers and students of each school in advance. The name of the simulated replica is The Bloody Battle of Changbanpa. Su Chen came to the replica hall and walked up to the second floor. Many of the students were found sitting outside the labyrinth of magic shadows meditating. They hadn't left the replica hall all night in order to brush up on their levels. Unlike Su Chen who had the reset crystals and had the strength to brush the difficulty level, they can only swipe normal difficulty, which has less experience than hard level while having the same cooldown. So if they wanted to upgrade as soon as possible they had to guard the door and not waste any time. Not wanting to disturb them, Su Chen softly walked towards the copy portal. Exclamation point. Gao Zhang suddenly shouted out, and the surrounding students immediately broke out of their meditative state when they heard Su Chen's name. See the school info? Ko Yong came up. What information? Su Chen asked. Takesa pointed to his pocket. Look at the communicator. Su Chen opened his communicator, and there was indeed an unread message in it. Seeing that Su Chen hadn't read the message yet, the surrounding students immediately looked forward to Su Chen's reaction. That's the thing about students. They always want to know how the schoolboy reacts to exam questions. If even the schoolboys find it difficult, they will feel more at ease. If the schoolteacher finds it easy, but they find it hard, it's over. Su Chen carefully checked his cell phone, and when he saw the end he couldn't help but read it out. Simulated copy. Bloody battle at Changbanpa? Isn't this where Zhao Yun became famous in one battle? Just drew Zhao Yun to Changbanpa copy. This is God chasing to feed? When the surrounding students saw Su Chen's surprised look, a hanging heart dropped. This war copy was a copy they had never touched before, and even the theoretical teaching had learned little, because in times of peace, the word war is so far away from everyone. As soon as they knew that the college entrance exam was going to be a copy of the war, they had been nervous all the way to the bottom of their hearts. It wasn't until he saw that Su Chen was also surprised that he gained a little bit of comfort. Even someone like Su Chen, who had just broken the school record, found it difficult, so it was normal for them to find it difficult. There were also people who felt that although it was difficult to take the war replica test, it was also an opportunity to bring their grades closer to high-scoring students such as Su Chen. Normal exam ordinary people definitely can't catch up with Su Chen. People pass in 10 hours. You spend 20 or so hours and can't even play it. But now it's a copy of the war. And the impact of individual abilities is cut to a minimum. The main test is teamwork, field command and many other factors. The reason why war copies are hard is because there are so many influencing factors and nothing on the battlefield is set in stone, and it's the lack of a fixed number that gives the average student hope. What if he or she is a war genius and becomes famous in one battle? Gao Zhang saw that Su Chen was a bit stunned and reached out to shake his hand. Even you find it difficult? Su Chen put away his communicator and did not comment. If the simulation copy was really the Battle of Changbanpa in the Three Kingdoms era, then he had a great deal of certainty. Not only does he have a copy of the bonus Zhao Yun in hand, but he is also familiar with this history. These are the advantages he is uniquely suited for. Upgrade as soon as you can. Su Chen left behind a sentence and walked straight towards the demon shadow labyrinth, choosing the difficulty level and teleporting in. As soon as he left, the students outside talked. Even Su Chen said to hurry up and upgrade. It seems like this copy is really hard. Upgrades are important. But teamwork and command is what makes war. Indeed. One man, no matter how strong, is nothing at all in war. As strong as you are can you fight one against a thousand? Obviously not. Su Chun has completely misdirected himself. Now he shouldn't be brushing alone anymore. Instead he should be playing teamwork. Yes. Go downstairs and find a team copy. Let's group up. 
What about Su Chen? Everyone looked at Gao Zhang. Gao Zhang shook his head. He won't team up with us. He knew Su Chen's character well, and he entered the copy so decisively because he was afraid of being pulled into a group by everyone. Then let's go. Someone waved his hand and the crowd followed him downstairs. Gao Zhang glanced at the copy of the Demon Shadow Labyrinth with some concern. With Su Chen's cool personality, it might have a big impact on his grades afterward. He shook his head and followed the group away. In the corner, Gu Xia got up and placed two bottles of focusing potion at the door of the replica, then went downstairs as well. Within the Magic Shadow Labyrinth, Su Chen didn't summon Dian Wei and only summoned Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun is only level 1 right now and must be upgraded quickly if he wants to be useful in tomorrow's practice test. So Su Chen didn't summon Dian Wei to steal Zhao Yun's experience. Within the rice paddies of the first level, Zhao Yun led his cavalry around like silver and white lightning. Wherever they went, the enemies were cut off like grass and flew in all directions. Although Zhao Yun was only level 1, by relying on the skill lone hero, the speed at which they could kill the enemy was no worse than that of Dian Wei with his troops. The labyrinth of magic shadows is characterized by a high density of magical creatures, with at least 100 terrifying scarecrows within a single rice paddy, and Zhao Yun will double his battle power based on the gap between the enemy and us. We only have 5 people, and the other side has 100, a difference of almost 20 times the battle power. The lone hero plays to the maximum limit. Zhao Yun and the cavalrymen directly multiplied their attribute points by 10x except for life. Zhao Yun was riding a white horse with bright armor and a silver spear, charging through the enemy lineup like a swimming dragon. I have to say, Zhao Yun killing the enemy was much more handsome than Dian Wei. Su Chen sighed in his heart, quickly rushing through the first level. Zhao Yun's level came directly to level 3. The experience of a high-level magic item filling a low level is still a breeze. Entering the courtyard, the dense skeleton soldiers trigger the lone ranger directly. Zhao Yun led his troops to settle the battle lightning fast. However, when a mini-boss was left at the end, Zhao Yun took a bit more time when he lost his bonus. This also allowed Su Chen to understand more about how Zhao Yun could be used. When fewer people fight more people, you can get an extremely strong combat bonus. When the odds are even or when there are too many to fight, it is not as efficient as when Dian Wei is leading the troops. That's why Zhao Yun is suitable to be a surprise army, striking straight at the enemy's big rear, resolving the courtyard and entering the castle. Su Chen utilized Zhao Yun and the cavalry's high movement speed to quickly eliminate some stragglers. Dian Wei was then summoned to smash the wall and the group entered the boss room. When the skeleton king summoned a multitude of skeleton soldiers, Zhao Yun and his men once again received a superb bonus. Instead of letting them deal with the stray fish, Su Chen gave Zhao Yun the order to behead him. He wanted to see Zhao Yun with this addition. Just what kind of battle power will explode? Giggle. The instant the order was given, a silver white bolt of electricity flashed. A loud sonic boom rang through the air. The skeleton king didn't even have time to react, instantly collapsing into a piece of broken bone. One hit kills. The skeleton king, who even level 12 Dian Wei took three slashes to open his skills, was killed by Zhao Yun with a single shot. This unparalleled battle power. Su Chen clenched his fists in excitement. He guaranteed that if the analog copy was really Chang Banpa from the Three Kingdoms period, that Zhao Yun definitely has the strength to kill seven and seven out like the playbook. As Zhao Yun's shot fell, Su Chen's level came to level 13, and the level of Zhao Yun and the light cavalry under his command came to level 7. After exiting the copy, Su Chen entered the book again with the reset crystals and focus potion. After two swipes in a row, the focus potion ran out. Su Chen entered the book again after recovering his spiritual power through meditation. This time into the book, Su Chen managed to break through level 15. Name, Su Chen. Occupation, 9 to 5, unique. Rank, 15, 0, 25%. Strength, 150, plus 20. Agility, 150. Spirit, 500, plus 50. Physical fitness, 150. Equipment, skull ring. Props, reset crystals. Skills, summoning General Dian Wei, level 15. Summoning General Zhao Yun, level 9. Emperor's Might, level 15. Emperor's Might, level 2. Summon General Dian Wei, level 15 summons General Dian Wei. Who can be manipulated to fight? Consumes 250 spirit power. Summon General Zhao Yun, level 9 summons General Zhao Yun, who can be manipulated to fight, consumes 300 mental energy, Emperor's Might, level 15 issues a mandatory command to a target within range, refusal to carry it out will result in psychic damage and thought stagnation, consumes 160 psychic power, Emperor's Might, level 2, apply an aura of Emperor's Might to a friendly unit that lasts for 10 seconds, the aura will inflict 50% of the enemy's life value to enemies within a range of 5 meters, effect can be stacked. Spirit power consumption, 3 asterisk number of targets applied. Upon ascending to level 15, 
Su Chen's spiritual power attribute directly came to 500 points, even without equipment. He could directly unleash the imperial might four times, and the power of the imperial might was positively correlated with one spiritual power level. This meant that with every raise, the power of the imperial might was increasing. The later the period, the greater the increase in spiritual power per level, the greater the increase in the power of the imperial might. On top of that, the newly learned divine skill emperor's mighty vastness was also upgraded to level 2. The range of the aura has been increased from 3 meters to 5 meters, and the damage dealt per second has been increased from 30% of the unit's life value to 50% of its life value. This skill increase looked at Su Chen for a shock. The increased range of the aura means that the overlap range increases, meaning that enemies are more likely to take plural damage. And for damage, it's not just a 30% to 50% boost, but also takes into account the soldier's own lifesteal boost. It could be said that this small boost of one level had allowed Su Chen's battle power to be plucked upwards by another large margin. With his current perception, he could no longer tell what level his strength was comparable to. Apart from himself, Dian Wei's four-dimensional attributes came to 3,500 and the number of summoned soldiers came to 200. Zhao Yun's level also broke through level 9, missing the last bit of experience to reach level 10. Su Chen sat down in front of the replica door and rested to meditate. Since the reset crystals and potions were consumed, he planned to wait in place for 7 hours before entering the copy. The good thing is that once you're fully in a meditative state, it feels like time passes faster. It was nearing evening, and a large new group of first form students had joined the replica hall. They managed to reach level 8 by 6 pm and qualify for tomorrow's mock exam. They are also the last group of students eligible to take mock exams. There are 500 students in this senior class, and the number of students who qualified for the mock exams is around a quarter. At this moment, 200 students of the first high school are gathering in the conference room on the first floor to discuss the arrangements for tomorrow's mock examination. Meeting rooms are places provided for professionals to rest and discuss tactics, and require rent to hire. In order to confer on tomorrow's exam, Gu Xia rented the largest conference room. This is because the original exam focusing on individual strength suddenly switched to a copy of the war focusing on cooperation. That's why the 200 students who were supposed to be going around brushing up their levels had gathered to discuss tactics. The one standing on the podium explaining tactics was not Gu Xia nor Gao Song Yun, but Li Fei Hu. It is said that his father was an officer in one of the war zones and so volunteered to take command. There are no individuals in the battlefield, only collectives, and the 200 of us are a collective. All are to act on my, that is, commands, orders and accomplish the tasks I assign. This is a province-wide mock exam, and we will be competing against all the schools in the province on behalf of the first school. I hope that you will complete your assigned tasks, and together we will strive for glory for first grade. The stage erupted in applause, with some students clamoring for him. Li Fei whose own strength belongs to the top 10 echelon, plus his father is a military officer, and what he says at the moment naturally has a few points of weight. Li Fei who looked at the crowd on stage with some complacency, the feeling of being courted made him feel good, especially since even those who used to be better than him are now at his mercy. It made him feel that this exam reform was designed specifically for him. The door to the conference room was opened, and Ko Young flashed in through the doorway, shaking his head at the crowd. He still hadn't been able to invite Su Chen to join their discussion. A flash of anger flashed across Li Fei Hu's face. He didn't expect his career as a genius commander to hit the nail on the head right off the bat. Cough. Li Fei Hu coughed dryly. Since student Su Chen doesn't want to join, we won't force him. As I said on the battlefield the individual has very little influence. And with 200 of us here, there is not much more than one of him, and not much less than one of him. When we enter the replica tomorrow, Su Chen's classmates will naturally realize that they can't do it on their own, and will subsequently want to join us. While Li Fei Hu was smiling falsely on the surface, in his heart, he was incomparably spiteful towards Su Chen. What's the point of even trying to level up? Brush through the sky is also 12, 13 levels, war copies of a few small monsters surrounded by killing can pick you layer of skin. You got lucky and opened a hidden profession and you think you're a big shot? We'll see about that tomorrow. Li Feihu swallowed his anger and began to speak to the people underneath about the do's and don'ts in a professional war. On the second floor of the hall, Su Chen walked out of the demonic shadow maze and turned around to press against the crystal. Palace of Devil's Shadow. Difficulty level passed successfully, passing time, 29 minutes and 42 seconds. Congratulations on breaking the record. With the upgraded Imperial Might Shock and Zhao Yun Strong Chop, Su Chen pushed his record straight ahead by 10 minutes, breaking the half hour mark. After him was the Fire Cloud Squad, a four man squad with an average level of 25. It's more than two hours short of his record of a solo level 15 brush. The Magic Shadow Labyrinth's cap level is locked at 25, which means no one else will be able to break his record. 
At the end of the last brush of the day, Zhao Yun's level managed to break through level 10. General, Zhao Yun, level 10. Power, 2000. Agility, 2900. Spirit, 2000. Body mass, 1100. Equipment, Dragon's Guts Shining Silver Lance. Skills, White Horse, Lone Ranger, Streaming Cloud Thorn. Akuba Yashinobu, Summoning 25 Light Cavalry for Battle. Lone Hero, When the number of troops of your side is less than that of the enemy within a range of 500 meters, all attributes of Zhao Yun and your soldiers except life value will be doubled with the difference, with a cap of 20 times. Streaming Cloud Thrust, Zhao Yun's next attack will receive an agility attribute bonus. The higher the agility increase, the higher the damage of the attack. Zhao Yun managed to level up to 10, and the lone hero cap was raised from 10 to 20x. This gives it more bonuses against clustered enemies. In addition to this, Zhao Yun also gained a new skill, Lu Yun Thorn. This skill grants bonuses according to movement speed, which maximizes the speed bonus provided by the lone ranger into combat power. This gives Zhao Yun's decapitation ability another huge boost. Zhao Yun isn't perfect. Though, in terms of attribute points, Zhao Yun's biggest weakness is in his defense. Compared to Dian Wei at level 10, Zhao Yun's strength attribute was comparable. His agility was 900 higher, and his physique attribute was 900 lower. And compared to Dian Wei, Zhao Yun has no overbearing skills and is more susceptible to control skills. That's why Zhao Yun needs to be used more cautiously, to avoid him being controlled and taking a lot of damage. After checking Zhao Yun's attributes, Su Chen packed up his things and prepared to go home. Self level 15. Martial arts level 115 and 110. He did what he could to accomplish what he could. Tonight, even if I stayed here and brushed up all night, I wouldn't make another big breakthrough. Why don't you go back and get some rest and give it your best shot in tomorrow's practice test? Packing up his things and going downstairs, Su Chen didn't see the other students of the first middle school and guessed that they should go down to the team copy. He refused to join the discussion of 200 people. Not because he looked down on the other students, but for several reasons. First of all, he felt that these 200 people had no experience in war and did not understand the background of this replica, and it would only be a waste of time for him to participate. Secondly he had 200 soldiers to command under Dian Wei's command alone, plus Zhao Yun's cavalry. He could command enough without ordering others or listening to them. One person can form an army. No need to team up with others. After settling the loot at the exchange, Su Chen went straight home. The next morning, Su Chen arrived at school on time. A teleportation spell had already been set up on the playground, and the principal and class teachers stood waiting. Seeing Su Chen walking alone, the principal and the class teachers stopped their discussion. The principal was a bit surprised. He had already asked the class teacher to inform the students to go down to the team copy the day before and stop practicing solo, while Su Chen showed up alone. Mr. Su Chen, why are you here alone? Where are the other students? Su Chen calmly replied. They teamed up for a team copy. I didn't join. This, the principal's expression stalled, not knowing what to say. He couldn't speak harshly in the face of the strongest student the school had ever seen. After politely greeting the principal and the teachers, Su Chen stood alone in front of the teleportation spell formation. He knew the principal and teachers would be worried about his performance in the war replica. But he wasn't going to respond right now, the best way to break the skepticism was to act. Not long after Su Chen, the other 200 students who were qualified to take the exam also entered the playground. They didn't go home all night, but practiced in their copies. Mental energy could be restored with meditation, but there was no time to change clothes. Compared to the cleanly dressed Su Chen, the others looked a bit lousy. The crowd walked to the teleportation spell and stood in front of it as the teacher welcomed and instructed them. Looking at the calm and collected Su Chen, the students talked. Su Chen is so clean, he wouldn't have even gone home to rest last night. Oh my god. Everyone is so flustered practicing all night long, and Su Shin even went home to wash up, worthy of being Su Shin. Not necessarily, I see that Su Shin comes out clean every time he comes out of a copy. Gods don't get their hands dirty when they fight copies. How many levels do you guys think Su Shin has brushed up to? I'm guessing at least 13. Exaggerated. Level 13 at best. Su Shin is powerful but not as good as a legendary profession. Yeah, only legendary professions can brush up to level 14 and up in just 3 days. Level 13 is scary too. I'm only level 9 now. Hearing the crowd call Su Shin one after another. Li Fei who couldn't help but open his mouth. What Su Jin Su Jin? I said there's no use discussing solo ranks on the battlefield. So what if he's at level 13? The few of you goods together can make him suffer. A few students lowered their heads and stopped talking when they were scolded by Li Fei Hu. Li Fei Hu turned his head to look at Su Chen. And his calm face made Li Fei Hu very unhappy. What kind of Yakuza are you pretending to be? When you get into the copy. I'll let you know what the horror of the battlefield is. As exam time approached, 
The principal stood in front of the teleportation spell for his final speech. Class, I know this year's sudden reforms have taken everyone by surprise, but there's no need to be overly nervous. It's hard for us and it's hard for other schoolmates too. I believe everyone has already had the relevant training yesterday. Just play normally when you enter the copy. Mock exams are about to begin. Please get ready. After the principal finished speaking, the students checked their personal equipment one last time. Ten minutes later, the time for the unified exam was up, and the light blue copy portal opened. As with the training copies, an experience level list is displayed above the portal. Students are automatically synchronized with their name career level once they enter the copy. Students, enter your copies in order to honor first grade. The principal finished and stepped aside, revealing Stonehenge behind him. Simply touch the stone pillar to enter the copy. Su Chen stood at the front of the line and was the first to walk up. Everyone stared at Su Chen with bated breath. Although it has been known that personal strength is not the deciding factor in war replicas. Still, the crowd was looking forward to see what level this new number one in the first school would be able to brush up on. Su Chen touched the crystal with one hand and his figure disappeared in front of the teleportation door. His level experience appeared above the portal in synchronization. Name, Su Chen. Occupation, 9 to 5. Level, 15. Level 15. Level 15 in 3 days. Something. Su Chen's rank fell on the heads of the crowd like a bolt from the blue. The best achievement of the rare profession was level 13 in 3 days. While Su Chen was level 15 in 3 days. This meant that his profession was already comparable to a legendary profession. The teachers were too stunned to speak. It was an achievement no one expected. Gu Xia was silent and bowed her head. Although she was mentally prepared. She didn't expect the gap to be so big. She hadn't rested at all in the past few days, relying only on meditation, bouncing around between several copies in a row to frantically level up, and even then only getting to level 11. Gao Songyun clasped his arms in silence. Su Chen's rank completely wiped out the thought of revenge in his heart. It's impossible to win, at least on your own. Li Feihu was so angry that the corners of his mouth twitched, cursing in his mind, selfish and devoid of community spirit, just leveling up and being powerful on your own. Such people are social tumors. Imperial assholes. After a brief moment of shock, the crowd rejoined the line to enter the replica, organized by the principal. The highest level since then has been 11, with no higher levels appearing. The huge level difference with Su Chen was like a rift in front of the crowd. Frightening. After all the students of the first school entered the replica, the principal returned to the viewing stand half joyful, half sad. The other teachers had the same look on their faces when they saw the principal. If Su Chen's rank was placed in the past, they were afraid that they would faint with excitement, but now they were happy, but they couldn't be so purely happy. After this perverted rank of Su Chen, it also foreshadowed his extreme lone wolf style. He had probably never teamed up with anyone else since he became a transmogrifier. This made them worry about Su Chen's performance in the war copy. In a battle of hundreds or thousands, one man is no more than one man. Ten minutes after the teleportation spell opens, the exam enters the final five minutes of preparation. Over the playground, Another provincial leaderboard was generated next to the school leaderboard. The mock exams are provincial exams, and 5,000 students from more than 100 transient colleges and universities across the province will be competing in the same replica. The provincial leaderboards, on the other hand, will show the students with the top 100 points from the practice exams. Points are awarded exactly the same as high school grades, and are scored according to the student's performance in the replica. The composition of each student's points is divided into two parts one of which is the replica score. For example, kills, assists, healing, and other behaviors that the replica can detect, the replica will score. The other part is scoring by a viewing panel, which consists of professionals selected from the top. They will grade students on their presence, command, cooperation and other subjective behaviors. The two scores are added together to give the student a final grade. Right now the replica hasn't started yet, and the rankings on the leaderboards are temporarily replaced by experience levels and in first place was still Su Chen's piercing level 15, Nanshan City No. 1 Middle School, Su Chen, level, 15, points, 0, below Su Chen were students from other schools, with the highest level being no more than 13, the principal looked at the rankings stifled, if Su Chen was placed in the previous years, this score is highly likely to take the provincial top prize, Tendai City No. 1 Middle School, students all enter the copy into the preparation stage, the principal of Tendai No. One middle school on the stage looked at the leaderboards with a smile at the corner of his mouth. This year he brought out three three-day grade 13 super talents and is imperative for the provincial top spot. A teacher next to him said worriedly, Principal, you let the three of them brush the books alone all the time without going to participate in team copies. Will this have an effect on their ability to play copies of the war? 
The rooftop principal smiled contemptuously. What do a bunch of brats know about war and cooperation? The fight still depends on individual strength in the end. Students from other schools who go for team copies will fall behind in rank. And by going all out on leveling, we can put a big gap between us and them. Just don't bother with those teamwork points as long as you end up with enough kills. This world is a world of heroes after all. As soon as the words were spoken, a second leaderboard appeared. The Nanshan No. One middle school student named Su Chen boasted a rank of 15. I'll beat your cow, the principal of Tiantai No. One middle school jumped up from his chair with a miso. This kid isn't honest. A copy of war he plays individual heroism. It's useless to brush so high level without knowing how to cooperate. Individual strength is useless. War depends on teamwork. The teacher next to him ignored the principal and stared at the grade in awe. Level 15 in 3 days. Nanshan City won't have a legendary profession this year. Waiting halls. Exam copies will have waiting halls set up before you enter. Students will wait here for 15 minutes before entering their copy. This is to ensure that students from cities across the province can access their copies at the same time. It is also a time for students to learn more about replicas. Thousands of student figures converged in the waiting hall, and in front of them was a light blue board with information about the replica. Unlike the other students who were excitedly discussing, Su Chen quietly checked the copy introduction. Zhangdong Province Simulation Test Copy, Cheng Bampo Bloody Battle. Candidates will play the role of Lu Bei's soldiers to cover the retreat of 100, 000 people. Mission objective, block Chao Chao's soldiers and protect the people from evacuating the replica area. Mission penalty, whenever a people dies, candidates within a certain range will suffer untreatable damage. Special mission, points will be awarded for protecting key figures from the replica area, and candidates across the map will receive blood restoration. It really was that Chang Banpa, the characters and events all matched up. Su Chen secretly rejoiced. While Su Chen was happy, the surrounding students were in doubt. Protect 100, 000 people? We can't even take care of ourselves and we have to protect 100, 000 people? What kind of soldiers did the other side send after them? Skeleton soldiers or coyotes or something? A hundred thousand people to protect, and we're only five thousand. Isn't that a bit too hard? Is there a hint for the key person? Do we have to find it from 100, 000 people? After reading the copy, Su Chen stood in place and closed his eyes, the emotion of anticipation rising in his heart. He was looking forward to this replica, to how the heady battles of the Blue Planet would be adapted. Around him, students from various schools were holding teams under the command of the strongest man for final tactical arrangements. Li Fei who organized the crowd of Nanshan No. One middle school and cast his sights on Su Chen. Just now was the last chance he gave Su Chen. But unfortunately, he still didn't apply for membership. From now on, he, Li Fei Hu, would not give Su Chen any more chances. Just wait. I look forward to the look on your face when you ask for help. Li Fei Hu blared at Su Chen sinisterly. Wait for the countdown over the hall to end. The 5,000 candidates simultaneously dissolved into light and dissipated into space. Exam begins. Somewhere in Jiangnan province. Inside an all-encompassing closed room. Sitting there are 10 senior commissioners. Who are the very same viewing and grading team for this mock exam. In the Dashia Empire. As long as the exam is an absolute secret. Only senior personnel are eligible to view the video within the copy. This is a protective measure for students. The empire will not allow other powers to study the vocational skills of students through outcast video. The room is surrounded by 10 giant screens that change viewpoints according to the intentions of the 10 experts. The leader of this viewing group was the Minister of Military Affairs of Zhangdong Province, Zhang Yunfei. As the examiner and head of the marking panel, he has a lot of power. The other nine have a limit on how much they can add or subtract and no more than one amount can be added or subtracted. And while his ratings are unlimited, he can even dock someone's points if he's extremely disgusted with them. While the students were in the waiting space, the viewing team was already watching them. And Su Chen, who was at the top of the rankings, was naturally the object of the crowd's focused attention. After only a few glances, Zhang Yunfei had labeled Su Chen a few times in his heart. Condescending. Extremely out of touch. Lone wolf. Cold-blooded. In a nutshell. Don't like. After a general observation, a member asked Zhang Yunfei a question. Department Zhang, what do you think of this Su Chen? Zhang Yunfei didn't answer, but instead drew out Su Chen's information in a pile of files. Orphans, 0% fit, little human interaction, broken records. After extracting a few keywords and integrating them with the information in his head, Zhang Yunfei opened his mouth. Rising to level 15 in a short period of time indicates that the strength of his profession is good at this stage. But that's as far as it goes, the flaws in his character are hard to compensate for. Raised without love. No team spirit, lone wolf. Maybe some people would like that. But in my case he's a definite no-no. 
Maybe he could have swiped a high score on this copy, but I certainly wouldn't have given him a high score. The other members exchanged glances and felt that Zhang Yunfei was a bit preoccupied. Department Zhang, should we look at it again? Their school teacher's evaluation of their character is still good. Zhang Yunfei snorted coldly. If you were his teacher, you would definitely have a good opinion of him as well. Excellent grades can sometimes shield a lot of flaws. Believe it or not wait and see. The performance in the replica will tell you. The scene in the screen flashed and the candidates were transported into the simulation copy. Copy of simulated examination. Bloody battle at Chang Banpo. The teleportation spell array disappeared. And Su Chun found himself in the middle of a lush green mountain field. This should be the ancient Dangyang realm. Su Chen looked around. Surrounded by gently sloping hillsides. It is flat as far as the eye can see. On his side was a procession of refugees made up of the people in a line so incredibly long that there was no end in sight, either forward or backward. The length of a refugee procession of 100, 000 people can be almost 10 kilometers, and the distance of 10 kilometers can almost run through some small cities. All those who appeared beside Su Chen were students from the first middle school, and students from other schools appeared in groups in other segments of the refugee team. Su Chen surmised the approximate manner of this examination after a little thought. There are 100, 000 people to be protected, and those 100, 000 people should be divided proportionally among each school. The replica then transports the group of students to the appropriate segment, and the candidate's basic task is to protect the people in the appropriate segment. If the people in the segment die, the life values of all candidates from that school are deducted and cannot be recovered. How would the enemy attack then? Su Chen looked into the distance. According to the memory of his previous life, Chao Chao was sending his troops to pursue the attack from the northwest, which was the right rear of the team's forward direction. However, the replica will certainly not attack from the end of the line for the sake of a fair test. Therefore, Su Chen stepped out of the noisy crowd and looked at the hillsides on both sides. The duplicate will generate soldiers directly on either side. The whole copy is similar to a tower defense game where they need to keep the people safe while killing the enemy. What soldiers will be generated? From memory, Chao Chao had sent 5. 000 Tiger Leopard Cavalry. If there really is cavalry that's a bit tricky. This flat terrain was almost a slaughterhouse for the cavalry, making them almost unstoppable as they charged. Unlike Su Chen's calm analysis, the other students who had just teleported to the copy looked a bit frazzled. Where is the enemy? Where is the enemy? What are we going to do now? Follow them? Where are you from? Ma'am. And where are you going? A group of 200 students from a middle school, while following the procession of refugees, voiced various questions. Don't argue. Don't argue. Listen to my command. Li Fei who tried his best to yell. The effect was not considered obvious. Su Chen walked straight toward the higher ground, leaving the carts and provisions and the noisy conversations behind. Now that he was not aware of the neighborhood, he would have to ascend to higher ground if he wanted to get information. What did Su Chen do? Should we follow him? Su Chen must have found something. Su Chen's departure immediately drew the attention of some of the students. Don't fucking care about him. Listen to me, Li Fei Hu roared. Su Chen climbed the not so high hill and looked around. He wondered if there would be helpers like Lu Bei and Zhang Fei on the team, and where the key characters misses. Gone and Doubtfire are. Looking into the distance for some time, Su Chen presumed that his assigned position was in the middle section of the refugee line. Any more information would not be enough by his sight. With a flash of his mind, Su Chen directly summoned four white horsemen, have them reconnoiter along the front and back of the refugee column, as well as along the sides. Having risen to level 15, he already had 1000 meters of control over his summons. As the white horse rode off in all four directions, the field of view Su Chen gained grew larger and larger. Watching Su Chen send out the white horse cavalry to scout, the crowd in the first center erupted in a gasp of surprise. Crap, what is this? So cool. It should be Su Chen's summon. His profession is a summoning class come to that. We should send troops to scout too. Why are we standing around here? Not only the students of the first high school, but also the candidates from other schools noticed the fast-swept white horse riding. For a while countless insight techniques fell on them, but all to no avail. I can't believe I can't get an insight into the attributes. Is that an enemy army? They seem to be carrying out orders. They should be someone's summons. This summon is so cool too. The white horse rode at a fast-moving speed and it didn't take long to reach the scouting border. Su Chen further clarified the current situation through the intelligence that had been sent back. The white horses that set off to either side of the group rode into a wall of air at 800 meters. The boundary of the replica. The white horse riding toward the rear of the group reached the Su Chen command limit and saw the rear of the group just about a kilometer away. While Su Chen had already finished scouting the situation, the team from the first middle school had yet to make an actual move. The team was a mess under Li Feihu's command. Stop the fucking noise, those with scouting skills step out. 
those with scouting skills get out of line for me, Li Feihu yelled at the top of his voice, he didn't understand why these people had become so difficult to manage. At this moment, Su Chen came down from the hillside and slowly walked to the side of the group. As soon as he approached, the noisy group instantly quieted down, and everyone wanted to know what Su Chen was going to say. Su Chen organized the information and spoke faintly. 100,000 people, given to 5,000 men on average, about 20 men each. We have about 200 candidates at our school, and there are about 4, 000 teams to protect. Centered on the birth point, 2, 000 people in front and behind are the segments we're going to manage. I'll take the first one, 000 in the first half, and you'll split the next three, 000 equally. Move as fast as you can, the enemy will brush out on either side of the group. The crowd couldn't help but gasp as they listened to Su Chen. While they were in the clouds, Su Chen had already mapped out the copy so clearly, and aside from marveling at Su Chen's strong reconnaissance and reaction skills, everyone also noticed another outrageous point. Su Chen wants to protect 1,000 people by himself. The crowd was stunned by Su Chen's almost crazy words. 1. 000 people. According to Su Chen's algorithm, this was the amount divided for 50 candidates, and he wants to top it all by himself? Doesn't that mean that one person can stand up to 50 people? He protects 1. 000 people, and the rest of us split the 3. 000 evenly. What kind of operation is this? Can 1. 000 people hold it? Even if they're strong, they can't do that much alone. It's a bit arrogant. He said one tops 10 of us pretty much. One tops 50 is just too much. Seeing the crowd ringing with skepticism, Li Fei Hu, who had been robbed of the limelight, hurriedly seized this opportunity for sarcasm. One man in charge of one, zero 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 people. Why don't you fucking go to heaven? Refugees die and all of us lose life points. Wouldn't you get us all killed if you lost your guard? Su Chen scanned the crowd without any change in his expression. He actually anticipated this scenario. So he only stated a relatively conservative number of one, zero zero zero. I didn't realize it still raised questions. There's no way around it then. And the best way to break through the skepticism is to take action. Su Chen's thoughts flashed and a murderous aura surged wildly around him. With a roar, Dian Wei broke through the air. Greetings, your holiness. The roar assaulted the crowd, and the students who stood in the forefront felt their organs tremble. The chatter died down completely, and everyone collectively stepped back a few meters. Li Feihu even retreated from the front of the line to the end in a row. Su Chen once again scanned the crowd with an inviolable majesty in his eyes. One, zero 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 for me. The rest you split evenly. Move as fast as you can. As soon as the words were spoken, a trumpet blast came from all directions. Looking to the sides of the line, a large army was densely generated. Incoming, someone yelled. The crowd, frozen in place, immediately tensed and scattered in all directions. Now they had no more time to question Su Chen and could only follow his arrangement of the formation. Seeing the enemy troops appear, Su Chen walked towards the front of the group without looking back. The battle has begun. Observation missions, scoring panels. Zhang Yunfei was a little amused as he looked at the panicked appearance of the crowd in the screen. Look at these brats. They'll surely be all destroyed if they have to fight. One of the assessment members held up his glasses. It's their first time in a war replica. So there are extenuating circumstances. But there are still some candidates who perform well. Such as Su Chen who I think is good. Calm. Excellent reconnaissance skills and very accurate judgment of the situation. At the mention of Su Chen, Zhang Yunfei's face became slightly more serious. Tough standards must be used for strong students. He wrapped his knuckles on the table and addressed everyone. You are still being graded on a scale that is still stuck on individual ability. The reason I'm the head of the scoring team this time is to fix your standards. This Su Chen. I have the exact opposite opinion from all of you. Extremely poor team player. Competent but inactive. Dictatorial. The worst part is that he even had the intention of threatening his classmates. That alone is a straight up negative in my book. Being told by Zhang Yunfei. The other scoring members did feel Su Chen's flaws. If, I mean if, one member stood up and retorted, if Su Chen's classmates can really protect the next one, 000 people, wouldn't there be room to explain these actions of his? For example, not engaging in command is to play to the fullest in dealing with the enemy, and threatening classmates is to quickly dispel doubts and make them believe. Zhang Yunfei grinned. You have a good point, but is this possible? Saying that he can protect one, 000 people is exactly the kind of misjudgment of the situation that results from his overweening ego. Those soldiers aren't the weaklings in the novice copies. They're as strong as the demons in the hard mode of a level 10 copy. It's impossible to hold the line without relying on teamwork with these soldiers on the attack. The rebuttal member nodded and slowly sat down. It really doesn't make sense for one person to guard one. 000 people. 
It's just crazy. For every 10 people you lose you will all permanently lose one point of constitution. At their level, the meatiest warrior professions only have 200 points of body mass. All it takes is the loss of more than half of the people, and a whole school of candidates will be eliminated. This kid named Su Chen will pay for his misjudgment. Zhang Yunfei looked at Su Chen's back in the screen and said, Snap. Su Chen retrieved the new white horse rider sent out to scout with a ringing finger. White horse riding brought him information about the enemy. Enemy infantry was generated on both the left and right sides of the line in the same numbers, but they were just generating in place now, and hadn't attacked the team yet. This is, after all, an exam, and it won't take a candidate's life right off the bat. As he followed the group of refugees moving slowly, Su Chen was also constantly observing the surrounding area. After Dian Wei's shock, there were really no students behind him to follow. It was exactly the result he wanted, to be able to play freely. In front of Su Chen was another school section. They seemed to have just noticed the pattern, and a few of them panicked and ran to positions where they needed to play defense. A few people looked at Su Chen and realized that he was the only one for a long distance, so their faces couldn't help but show a sneering expression. Schools are in competition with each other, and when they saw that Su Chen was the only one guarding, they decided that their school would be eliminated immediately. Buzz. The trumpets sounded again on all sides. This time it was a call to attack, and the enemy soldiers began to march on the ranks of the refugees. Hearing the sound of the horn, Su Chen felt like he was really in that ancient battlefield. Dian Wei, this is your old boss. Su Chen laughed. What do you mean? Dian Wei queried. Martial generals summoned by Su Chen didn't have corresponding memories, so Dian Wei didn't know about Chao Chao. Su Chen raised his hand and pointed to the soldiers in the distance, meaning, fuck them hard. With a flash of his mind, 100 tiger leopard cavalry soldiers were summoned out by Su Chen. The soldiers who had been upgraded for the second time had gleaming eyes and held sharp swords and round shields, forming an imposing wall of men. The neatly aligned army contrasted with the scattered students on either side. A few students from the next school's mouths were wide open, completely dumbfounded. What the hell kind of profession is this? Pulling out so many people at once. Is he cheating? What does that mean? Instead of releasing all the soldiers, Su Chan released 100 based on the number of enemies. With a flash of his mind, 100 soldiers were split into two teams to meet the enemy forces on the left and right. Unlike the others, Su Chen didn't stay close to the group, but let the soldiers take the initiative. It's important to keep the battle lines stretched so that there is room for error. The enemy soldiers, covered in pitch black with black smoke lingering around them, made a mad dash for the group. As they were about to get close to the soldiers, Su Chen raised his hand and made a point. Enchanted soldier, enhanced demon, rank, 10, strength, 150. Agility, 120. Spirit, 100. Body mass, 120. Su Chen was silent. Attributes so low? The enemy soldiers' attribute values are similar to those of the smaller monsters in the Labyrinth of Magic Shadows. Facing the nearly 350 points of four-dimensional attributes of a Dianwei soldier was no fight at all. The first wave of the enemy attack wasn't too large, and 50 soldiers took care of the battle at a rapid pace. Kill level 10 demonized soldier. Experience plus 296. Kill level 10 demonized soldier. Experience plus 278. Kill level 10 demonized soldier. Experience plus 311. The panel was briefly brushed next to the screen for a while and then it was over. That amount wasn't nearly as much as if he were leveling in the labyrinth of magic shadows. However, Su Chen also understood, because considering that this was an exam, the difficulty had to slowly progress from low to high. That's how you screen for excellence. When the students from the other schools on the side saw Su Chen solving the battle in three or two moves, their confidence grew. Holy shit, the opposite side is hit and miss. It was solved so simply. Brothers, charge after me. Fuck him. Several warrior professions rushed forward with their long swords and short swords. After fighting the enemy for a while, he realized that things were not right. Damn, why is this thing so hard? It's over. It's surrounded. It's not that the opposite side is weak at all. It's that guy next door who's too strong. Several knights fell to the ground with miserable howls and were teleported out of the copy. Su Chen couldn't hold back his laughter. The crowd of scoring members in the Observer Corps froze as they watched the screen. They had thought that the ferocious-looking Dianwei was Su Chen's summon. Who knows where he pulled another 100 soldiers from. And these soldiers weren't cannon fodder. They wouldn't even lose blood when they singled out level 10 demonized soldiers. It's just broken and powerful. After watching Su Chen's performance, the crowd's eyes couldn't help but move towards Zhang Yunfei. Zhang Yunfei nodded thoughtfully. This Su Chen's strength is indeed good, but the school next door also has the existence of a formation that wipes out enemy troops without injury. The number of enemies will increase next, and if he doesn't cooperate with his classmates and relies only on himself, 
he will most likely be in a lackluster situation by the end. The other members of the Observer Corps nodded half-heartedly and continued to observe the battle in the replica. Another horn sounded, and a second wave of enemy troops attacked. This wave has the same number of soldiers, but twice as many. Su Chen didn't change his formation and used the last wave's configuration against the enemy. Some of the soldiers in this wave will be under siege by enemy forces as they become more numerous, but with the shield's protection, the damage taken wasn't much. In 10 seconds or so, Su Chen's side had resolved the battle. Looking to the perimeter, they were struggling just a bit against this wave of enemies. The front section that eliminated three fighters has been broken through by enemy troops, who are rushing towards the fleeing population. Su Chen pointed with his hand and the ten soldiers closest to that side ran towards the breached segment. Although that wasn't a subsection of his school, the experience value of cutting down the enemy army was his own. Relying on his 300 agility, the Dianwei soldiers quickly caught up with the enemy and swung their swords. Kill level 10 demonized soldier. Experience plus 296. Kill level 10 demonized soldier. Experience plus 313. Seeing Su Chen send his soldiers to help, the students from the next school threw him a grateful look. Su Chen didn't respond. After all, he just wanted to get experience, not to be a saint. Suddenly, the panel went red, and Dian Wei's physique dropped a bit. Su Chen immediately reacted to the fact that the first center was also broken through. Without saying a word, he raised his hand and summoned 20 soldiers to be dispatched to the other segments of the first school. The soldier has a maneuvering range of 1 kilometer, which completely covers the segments belonging to the first form. The reason he didn't do it before was because he trusted the other students. But if they couldn't hold on, Su Chen would definitely make a move. The canonical soldiers soon reached the lost segment. The enemy soldiers had rushed into the ranks of the refugees and were frantically hacking away. The warrior of that segment was eliminated, and the student of the mage profession seemed to have run out of energy and was knocking the soldier's head with a mace. There were several other milkmaids left, standing around in a hurry. Upon arrival, the Dianwe soldiers quickly target the enemy soldiers in the group and round them up. This is Su Chen's soldier, a girl shouted up. Hearing the name Su Chen, the crowd in that segment instantly sighed in relief. They then saw their enemies, who were hard to kill, being hacked into corpses by the Su Chen soldiers with a few slashes. Surprisingly, he was cut down in a few slashes. Are all of Su Chen's ordinary soldiers this strong? That's the difference between us and him. The 20 soldiers quickly dispersed to the perimeter after cutting down the enemy. They dispersed equally to other segments as eyes for Su Chen to view the situation. If there was a loss of defense, he would immediately send out his troops. This will give your classmates a workout and ensure that your side is not breached. The second wave of the attack ended, and the students immediately seized this precious gap to redistribute the battle. As more battles were fought, they improved. The segment that just got broken was because of the uneven career mix. Too many milkmaids and too few front row and main offense classes. We're short on fighters and priests here. Extra nannies. Less warrior. Come a warrior. Need ranged skill mage or nurse. Inside the observation room. The scoring panel had a new judgment on Su Chen's performance. Not only was he able to take care of the enemy troops in his own section, he even had the energy left over to help the others. Why do I get the feeling he hasn't really fired up yet? Minister Zhang, what do you think of this now? Someone asked Zhang Yunfei. This Su Chen not only guarded his own area, he also helped other students, and even helped students from other schools. Zhang Yunfei looked at Su Chen in the screen with a bit of wonder. He had to say that this kid really gave him some surprises. This round made Zhang Yunfei's impression of Su Chen change, but not completely. Su Chen has not encountered difficulties so far, and a person's true character must be reflected in suffering. There's no rush. Keep looking down. Zhang Yunfei propped up his head, his eyes changing slightly. A third wave of enemy troops appeared, this one doubling the volume of the second wave. Seeing the enemy army with a fierce aura in the distance, many students began to drum in their hearts. The oppression is just too much. Su Chen swept a glance at the enemy army and roughly estimated the number. This wave of enemy troops was about the same number as the skeleton soldiers in the Garden of the Magic Shadow Labyrinth. It looks like this is going to be on intensity. With a grip out of thin air, Su Chen summoned all the Dianwei soldiers. The students from the school next door had frozen. They looked at the scattered few people beside them, and then at the heavily armed soldiers on Su Chen's side. Why is there someone else over there? What the hell? Cam, this isn't an exam. He's here to brush up his experience. What's the point of comparing? I'm just going to order it. In less than a minute, Su Chen once again resolved the wave of enemies. A battle of this intensity didn't even make it necessary for him to release his skills. In contrast, I don't know if the school next door is weaker or if the career distribution is out of whack. The students at the end of their segments have been all but wiped out. After Su Chen sent his soldiers to finish killing the enemy troops that had broken through, he simply let them stay there. 
It's all about experience. Don't take it for granted. Compared to the dismal scene next door, the first form side performed even better than the previous round because they had rematched their careers before. The least of these is the segment in which Gu Xia is located. With the wide range skills of her profession, Ice Mage, she and her squad were able to dispose of the enemy troops relatively quickly. The other side of the coin is the segmentation of the high clump of clouds. His Holy Sword Knight profession also had ranged type skills, and with a reasonable squad configuration, it was fairly easy to handle enemies. Li Feihu's squad was the most luxurious, bringing five front rows, four mages, three shooters, three milkmaids, and one priest. And these were students he had handpicked to be at the very top of the school in terms of strength. Such a lavish setup yet only a measly 100 people were defended, not even meeting the minimum standard of 10 people per person needed to be defended. Li Feihu was steadily protected by the warrior in the center, only occasionally releasing two skills and ignoring the other segments. Su Chen's impression of him was already poor, other than the fact that they are playing a more fluid game. The rest of the group is just battling hard. Occasionally, if there was a weaker place, Su Chen would be the first to send the soldiers on duty to support them. Suddenly the middle section of the team was breached, and Su Chen quickly mobilized five soldiers to rush there. It was the segment of good brother Gao Zhang, and they had formed an odd combination of five warriors plus three milkmaids. The first few waves can still be tough, but in this wave without ranged skills, you can only be surrounded and defeated. At this point, two students had already been eliminated, and Gao was being attacked by five demonized soldiers. Although there was a nurse behind him to restore his blood, he would soon not be able to hold on. At the critical moment, Dian Wei's soldiers arrived, and after relieving Gao Zhang with their shields, they waved their hands and cut down the opposite side with a few slashes. Gao Zhang, who had escaped death, looked at the soldiers, this is, Su Chen's soldiers, I thought he had to defend one, zero 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 people, but he still has the energy left to support us. Gao Zhang's eyes trembled slightly as gratitude towards Su Chen rose in his heart. With Su Chen's support, the enemy soldiers were eliminated as much as possible, and the first form passed perfectly in this round. Just as the crowd was about to redistribute their occupations in preparation for the next round, a black void appeared in the distance. Black mist constantly roamed out of the hollow and was accompanied by flashes of lightning. In the next moment, a soldier with a huge figure stepped out from the black hole. They were four meters tall or taller. Their bodies were gnarled with muscles, and their armor glowed with the color of scarlet and blood. Elite monsters are coming, murmured Su Chen. The hordes of soldiers test the student's ability to do ranged damage, while the elite monsters test their ability to break through at a single point. This is why teachers emphasize the need to focus on teamwork on the battlefield, because one can't have a wide range kill ability and a strong single point break ability at the same time. Seeing the elite monsters come out, the rest of the class quickly switched to the main attack position. If it was the home of mages before, it's now the home of shooters who can sustain a single point of output. Elite monsters keep coming out, and every segment faces at least one elite monster. On the other hand, Su Chen's side had to face a whole ten elite monsters. Su Chen raised his hand and released his insight technique to check the opposite side's level. Demonized soldier leader, enhanced demon, rank, 12, power, 1000, agility, 200. Spirit, 400. Body mass, 1000. Skill, shock retreat. Slightly stronger than the demon shadow labyrinth skeleton leader, but no more than a few slashes in the hands of Dian Wei. Even if there were 10 of them, it would just take more time. In the observation room, the crowd stared intently at Su Chen within the screen. Last round when everyone thought he was at his limit, he summoned another hundred soldiers. This caused the crowd's jaws to drop, unable to believe that this was the battle power that a level 15 student could achieve. This should be his limit. Zhang Yunfei slowly spoke. He is truly powerful. And no opponent exists within the same level or even five levels higher. But his offense is too one-dimensional. Relying only on the slashes of his summons. Now the enemy's elite monsters have the shock retreat skill and aren't afraid of the crowd tactic. And he doesn't have any long-range attack means. He's going to have to team up with another member or there's no way he'll pass this round. After Zhang Yunfei finished speaking, the members nodded in agreement. Su Chen's power was undoubtedly strong but there was always a shortcoming in his personal ability. Even legendary level professionals were no exception. The crowd looked at Su Chen, anticipating how he would resolve this round of enemies. Inside the replica, the teams from the first school were ready to line up. In fact, with the right combination of professions, this single elite monster was a bit better to deal with than a large number of soldiers. The elite monsters moved slowly, and the group took advantage of this time to regain their energy stamina. Will Su Chen's side work? Someone suddenly asked. So God you also suspect that you have a brain wart? Not skeptical, I'm finding it slightly tougher. Su Chen has to deal with a whole 10 elite monsters, and there's no long range output. 
After the man finished speaking, the crowd suddenly felt that it made sense. The elite monsters had the shock retreat skill and weren't afraid of Su Chen's human sea attack, and Su Chen seemed to have only one means of attacking in close quarters as a warrior. Should we send someone to support Su Chen? Someone shouted. Gu Xia shook her head expressionlessly. Su Chen doesn't need it. She had seen Duan Wei strike, and she knew that these elite monsters were simply unbeatable in Duan Wei's hands. The corner of Li Feihu's mouth flicked up. How would Su Chen need our help? Everyone mind their own area. No support. He turned to look at Su Chen, expecting to see what he would look like next when he fell and asked for help. Love to pretend. Now let's see what your minions can do. Su Chen stood still and waited for the enemy troops to reach a certain distance before he raised his hand and waved it. At his side, Dian Wei understood and took a step forward. His eyes were glowing red, and he had long been unable to hold back his battle spirit. Wei Awa, with an excited roar, Dian Wei clenched his hands out of thin air and two giant war halberds appeared in his hands. Seeing Dian Wei use his dual halberds, Su Chen slightly froze, then let out a light laugh. It seems that this ancient battlefield with the constant sound of trumpets has made Dian Wei's battle spirit surge wildly. Then I'll let you have a good fight. With a wave of his hand, Su Chen told all the soldiers to retreat and make way for Dian Wei. Dian Wei walked out from the formation, his footsteps going from slow to rapid, then getting faster and faster, to finally running and charging at the enemy. He was dressed in blood-colored battle armor, with a blood-colored killing intent around him, and his aura was like a tiger as he charged forward, completely suppressing the team of ten elite demon soldiers on the opposite side. Little worm of the district, come and take your death quickly. The crowd was stunned at the sight of Dian Wei charging at the ten elite demon soldiers all by himself. What's the deal? The other soldiers are backing off. He's going to fight ten of them alone? How is this possible? The opposite side is a reinforced elite monster. Why? Why do I feel like his aura is suppressing the opposite side instead? It's outrageous, but it's Su Chen's summon. I think he'll win. Gu Xia shuddered slightly as he looked at the back of Dian Wei's charge. She knew of Dian Wei's strength and knew that a bloody massacre would follow. Come to die. Dian Wei's roar resonated through the heavens and earth, wielding his twin halberds and charging into the ten man line. Fearless charge. At the first moment of the engagement, Dian Wei unleashed his skills. Double your attack power for one minute and gain a dominant status that ignores control. With 3,500 battle points doubled again, it was simply not something that the elite monsters on the other side could stop. Coupled with the strong overlord body, Dian Wei was like a killing god descending at this moment. Giggle. A heavy halberd slashed down, and the elite monster standing at the front was killed by a slash. The wound cut diagonally from the shoulder to the crotch, and the entire body was chopped in two. There was no power to fight back at all, and the 1,000 points of physique of the demon soldier was no different from grass in front of Dian Wei. Giggle. With another spinning slash, the demon soldier behind him who tried to sneak attack was directly decapitated. The dark head spun in the air and flew several hundred meters before rolling down in front of the crowd. The students were dumbfounded and couldn't believe the scene in front of them. Crikey, 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 this, this fierce, brothers, someone tell me which side is the enemy. Su Chen can't be a hidden boss, or else it doesn't make sense. Brother Su Chen is so handsome. Li Feihu's entire face was red with anger as he watched Dian Wei kill the four directions. How can it be? How can it be so strong? This doesn't make any sense. He's open. He's open. There was dead silence in the observation room as all the raiders stared at the screen in death. They couldn't believe it was a mere level 15 summon. Monstrous aura. Strong martial skills. Unparalleled and terrifying battle power. How could this kind of summon be summoned by a level 15 professional? What's his occupation again? Zhang Yunfei spoke slowly. Hidden profession. 9 to 5. A member replied. 9 to 5. Zhang Yunfei muttered. Isn't this occupation a bit perverted? As a student leader, he had seen too many powerful professions, but there had never been a profession that he would find powerful to the point of perversion. Not even at the legendary level. Hundreds of heavily armed soldiers, plus powerful to supermodel military generals. Even if a legendary professional of the same rank was allowed to come, the probability of being able to defeat Su Chen was very slim. Zhang Yunfei silently switched screens to view the battle situation in other segments. He came to watch the little kid get pissed on by the demon soldiers, not to watch the massacre of the demon soldiers. It's too damn cruel. Killing gone is just like that. Giggle. Dian Wei kept waving his dual halberds in his hands, and wherever the halberds went, they immediately exploded into a mist of blood. Ten elite demon soldiers fell one after another. Defenseless. Killed demonized soldier leader. Experience plus 3031. Killed demonized soldier leader. Experience plus 3102. Killed demonized soldier leader. Experience plus 2987. For every demon soldier leader that fell, 
Su Chen's experience bar would rise by a segment. It was worthy of being an elite monster. The experience value given was just generous. In less than a minute, the reinforced demon soldiers died as much as they could. Su Chen's level 15 experience bar also came to two-thirds, after Dian Wei was killed. The students from the other segments also solved the corresponding elite demon soldiers. The third wave of the offense ended and the crowd once again went into recess. The number of people who have been eliminated floats over the replica. Of the five, zero 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 people who first entered the replica, only two, zero 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 were left at this point. Nanshan City First High School is at the top of the table with 12 people's damage. And with the exception of South Hill 1, all the other schools have suffered great losses, and some are even out of the whole school. The school next door to Su Chen section was then almost completely wiped out, leaving only the portion of the people Su Chen was protecting. When the students of the first middle school saw the scoreboard, they thanked Su Chen. It's a good thing we have big brother Su Chen to help us share one, zero 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 people, or else we'd be in deep shit. Yeah. Not only does Su Xin share the pressure, but he also plays support for us. I love Su Xin. Gao Zhang looked at the scoreboard with a lot of emotions. If not for Su Chen's hand he would have been eliminated from the game. And it's a small matter of eliminating yourself. But the point is that the loss of segmentation affects the rest of the class. Enemy attacks are continuous. And the loss of just one point affects the next wave. And the gap then grows wider and wider. Su Chen not only shared the pressure and gave support, but also gave them more time to adjust their career match. It wasn't an exaggeration to say that Su Chen was holding up the entire first middle school with his own strength. When Li Feihu saw that Su Chen had regained the support of the crowd, the anger in his heart continued to surge. He's just in charge of him alone. I'm in command of you all. It's a credit to me that first grade is number one, and you all have me to thank for that. As soon as his words came out, curses immediately rang out from the crowd. You shut the fuck up. Who didn't see you hiding back there all by yourself? Who said that? Li Feihu roared. Do you know who my father is? You dare to scold me. Instead of scaring the crowd, his yell ushered in more curses. Get the hell out of here. Your dad is me. You commanded shit. My grandmother would have commanded it better than you. Who kicked him? The sight of him annoys me. Taking credit for doing nothing. What a downer male. Li Feihu looked at the classmate who had angrily scolded him, and his entire body was dumbfounded. He's clearly the team leader. So why is he reviled by everyone? Su Chen took everything in his eyes. And for Li Feihu he only wanted to say that the eyes of the masses are bright. The short respite was over, and a fourth wave of enemies attacked. This wave is a mix of elite demon soldiers and regular demon soldiers. Su Chen sent Dian Wei and the soldiers to attack together and still resolved the battle without any pressure. The rest of the first school grew into the game and held the wave almost perfectly. Like the first school, the other schools did not produce another huge loss in this round. By this stage, all of the remaining candidates' career pairings are nearly optimized and everyone has already adapted to the rhythm of the battle of the copies, so as long as the basic pattern remains the same there will be no major problems. After successfully holding a wave, everyone's confidence came up and some even overflowed with joy for the next wave. Su Chen remained expressionless, and while the crowd was somewhat complacent, he once again released white horse riding scouts in all directions. He knew the story of Chang Ban Pa and knew that this copy wouldn't be just that simple. Inside the observation room, Zhang Yunfei watched Su Chen's movements and shook his head helplessly. Is this kid a student? It can't be some war god reincarnated. The rest of the scoring members nodded in response. In terms of combat, student Su Chen is already impeccable. Prepare to enter the next stage. I specifically don't believe that this kid still has an undercard. Zhang Yunfei opened the black box on the desktop and took out a magic crystal from it. Come on, show these smug boys what real war is all about. Inside the copy, while the crowd was excitedly discussing, voices suddenly spoke from the sky. Hello everyone. I am the examiner for this mock exam. The noisy crowd instantly quieted down, and Su Chen also raised his head to look at the sky. Examiner? Why did the examiner intervene during the exam? Intuition made him feel that this examiner must have appeared to say more than just a couple of words. The voice in the sky continued. First of all, congratulations to all of you who were able to survive the first four waves. To have survived until this round, your strength is up to par. And to test you all to your limits, your next enemies will be even more powerful. In addition to the enemy enhancements, the rules of the replica will change from the next round. The key point came, and Su Chen's brows tightened. A change in the ground rules would certainly have a huge impact. First of all, the segmented protection mode is cancelled, and now everyone will be harmed if the people die. For every 100 deaths, one point of stamina will be permanently deducted from everyone in the copy. Effective only within the duplicate, will be restored upon exiting the duplicate. The crowd was in an uproar as the new rule appeared. What? That's too much for us to protect. Geez, 
It would be a problem if another school dragged their feet. It's not fair. Why should we pay for strangers' mistakes? Su Chen gently nodded. He was very cognizant of this rule. That's the model that a copy of the war should be in. Who's going to give you segments if you're really going to fight? Comrades in arms on the same side just have to share the consequences. One glory for all. One loss for all. Rule number two. The copy protection mechanism for this exam is removed from the next round. Not waiting for the crowd to digest the first rule. A second, even more bombastic rule came out. As soon as this rule came out, the students in the examination room directly exploded. What? Did I hear right? To remove the protection mechanism. What's the protection mechanism? And what will happen if it's cancelled? It'll kill you. The protection mechanism is cancelled. You'll die in the copy as soon as you get a fatal injury. No. Why an exam? Why would you die? Is the examiner crazy? Do you know who my father is? You dare let me die in a copy you're done. Not only the examination room, but even the observer mission was a buzz. There had never been an examination where the protection mechanism had been lifted, and none of the other scoring members knew which game Zhang Yunfei was playing. Department Zhang, you can't be serious. Cancelling the protection mechanism will kill people. Proceed with caution. Department Zhang, we can't afford to take the blame if something goes wrong. Minister Zhang, there are many descendants of big families in the copies. Don't mess around. Zhang Yunfei saw the panic on the faces of the crowd and had a sly smile on his face. You academics are academics. You panic at the slightest thing. This, he tapped a magical crystal on the table, is a gadget from the war department. We use this a lot when we test new recruits. It creates a sign of fake death within the replica. Fake death? The scoring group crowd wondered. With the protection mechanism in place, those who are mortally wounded within the copy will be immediately teleported out of the copy and their bodies will disappear as phantoms. However, when the device is activated, the body of the person who is teleported out of the duplicate does not disappear, but remains inside the duplicate in a dead state. This way it is a fake death and can test the reaction of recruits in the face of real death. It dawned on the members, so it's all fake. The protection mechanism is still there, but the people in the copy will think it's disappeared. Zhang Yunfei nodded. Yes, although death is a fake death, their reaction in front of death is real. There are no protection mechanisms on the battlefield, warriors face real death head on. This one small initiative will reflect how the candidates will react on a real battlefield and filter out the talent we need. The members nodded their heads in agreement. Once these two rules were out, the simulated copy became a true copy of the war. They looked at the candidates who were once again in disarray in the screen and suddenly felt that this mock exam had just begun. Inside the replica, all the students were in a frenzy. Death is still too oppressive for students growing up in peaceful times. Protest. Protest. I request the termination of the examination. I'm not taking the test. I just want to go to college. I don't want to go to war. I don't want to die. I haven't even touched a girl's hand. Just the inclusion of a rule sent the crowd, which had been so confident a few minutes earlier, straight into meltdown. Su Chen ignored the surrounding noises and quietly observed the surrounding situation through his white horse riding vision. While he wasn't scared, he understood the fears of the other students. Because the combination of these two rules is so powerful, if the protection mechanism is simply abolished, then people will still have the determination to fight to the death. After all, their lives are still in their own hands. But in conjunction with the first one, where everyone has to deduct their life value whenever the people die, now the life is not just in their hands. If you miss, you have to die. If someone else misses, you have to die. When these two rules are combined, both strong and weak students will feel fear. But these classmates didn't include Su Chen. The addition of these two rules had a minimal effect on him. Because of the passive presence of Dian Wei's loyal guard, he and Dian Wei share a physique. And Dian Wei has a whopping 3, 500 points of physique. There were still 60, 000 people in the copy now. And even if all of them died, they would only be able to deduct 600 body points. These 600 points of body mass were enough to kill others several times. But for Dian Wei it was merely a minor injury. So other people's mistakes couldn't affect Su Chen. He just had to make sure that he was able to kill all the enemies. What's wrong with facing death head on as long as you're strong? Buzz. The trumpets sounded again on all sides. Hearing the trumpet sound like a death knell, the crowd wailed. This time the enemy didn't spawn on the sides of the line, but at the end of the entire line of refugees. Su Chen utilized the viewpoint of the white horseback rider to look out at the blackened mass in the distance. The cavalry, murmured Su Chen under his breath. The cavalry is coming. According to the memory of his previous life, Chao Chao precisely sent an elite tiger leopard cavalry to hunt down Lu Bei. Is this really going to kill them? Su Chen was a bit surprised. The difficulty of this wave has increased more than a little bit compared to the previous one. Cavalry and infantry, not to mention attributes, are not on the same level in terms of soldiering combat power. 
and this time it's a cluster generation that simulates warrior warfare, rather than being spread out like before. This meant that if everyone didn't stick together, they would have to wait for the cavalry hordes to break through one by one and flush them out. The phantom flashed and an information panel appeared in front of all the candidates. A copy of the Gangdong Province Simulation Test, The Bloody Battle at Changbanpo, Second Stage. Copy Introduction, A large number of enemy elite cavalry have appeared at the end of the line. All candidates are requested to line up for defense. Mission Objective, Block Chao Chao's cavalry and protect the people from evacuating the replica area. Quest Penalty, Whenever a people dies, all candidates in the copy will suffer untreatable damage. Special Mission, Points will be awarded for protecting key figures from the replica area and candidates across the map will receive blood restoration. After reading the information panel, the crowd once again murmured, the enemy generates from the end of the line, then we won't encounter the enemy in the first place. It's a good thing we're not at the end of the line, the guys at the end of the line are dead. Yeah, the guys in front will help us consume the enemy first, and we'll have a higher chance of winning the fight. The people were saying one thing to each other, glad that their side was not at the end of the line while at the same time regretting that they were not at the head of the line because the enemy sweeps from the end of the line, the more students are at the head of the line, the safer they are. As the group discussed it, everyone became acutely aware of one thing, that is, they no longer have a specific population to protect. It's entirely possible to move toward the head of the line and choose a safer place. Everyone thought of it, but no one could say it. No one can say the words of greed in public. At this time, Li Feihu stood out. Guys, our first school is the highest ranked school and the strongest fighting force. We should retain our strength and let the others consume first before finally exterminating the enemy. Everyone follow me, we're heading for the head of the line. The moment Li Feihu's words came out, everyone was stunned and marveled in their hearts. Shamelessness or look at Li Feihu. Escape can be said by him to be righteous. But this time no one sprayed him because it was a matter of life and death for the crowd. Before, there was a protection mechanism and people could still punch it. But now it's a death sentence. And no one wants to joke with their lives. Two, to go? Isn't that a bad idea? Just as the crowd hesitated, people from other schools were already coming up on the side. They looked terrified and rushed desperately to the front of the line. Come on, the fucking others are rushing up. These people are starting to run. If we don't leave we'll be in the last row. Hurry up, we all have one life. Why should we fight for others? Panic surged through the crowd at the sight of the others fleeing. For a moment, everyone in the first school began to flee to the front. Inside the observation room, Zhang Yunfei had an exaggerated grin on his face. Right on. Right on, that's the reaction he wants to see from newcomers. That's how new recruits react when faced with death. No one is not afraid to die. No one is willing to be someone's shield. Fucking usually look more heroic than one. And when it counts one runs faster than the other. Zhang Yunfei turned his head to the scoring members and said, Mark down all the ones that escaped. Don't let any of them go. Department Zhang, it's too harsh for you to just cancel the protection mechanism. These are all still just students. The grading member said as he recorded. Zhang Yunfei snorted coldly. We select warriors, teammates that we can rely on in the battlefield. Would you give your back to these people? The members of the scoring panel were dumbfounded. The students in the first school look like they're going to back out too. That Li Fei who was a great insider. The crowd's attention was drawn back to the first school to find that some of them had already begun to move. The screen randomly switched between a few yelling students before settling on Su Chen's face. Su Chen still had a poker face. As if so many things happening around him had nothing to do with him. What's his choice? Will he run backwards, or will he stay where he is? Everyone screens. Everyone's eyes fell on Su Chen's face. Originally, as graders, they were supposed to focus on each candidate equally. But this exam, Su Chen's light was too dazzling. The impact of almost every move he made was just too great. So much so that the exam grading panel almost turned into the Su Chen observation panel. He will definitely go. Zhang Yunfei rubbed his chin and said, even if his team is strong, it's impossible to defend this wave of cavalry hordes. People like him know their own strength best and would never do anything risky. I think he'll hold his ground. A member spoke up for Su Chen. He's a lonely character and retreating would be absolutely degrading. Zhang Yunfei smiled and shook his head. These scoring members have seen people who are especially gifted. Too little. They have no idea how much these pretentious geniuses value life. He was certain that Su Chen would evacuate with his classmates. And there was no need for him to risk his life. In fact, this exam was not even designed to remove the protection mechanism. After all, this is not an army test. However, Zhang Yunfei had cancelled the protection mechanism without authorization. And a large part of the reason was because of Su Chen. He was confident in his ability to read people. But Su Chen kept breaking his judgment. So he desperately wanted to pick out Su Chen's faults in order to prove that his ability to read people was fine. 
No one can escape the fear of death now that the opportunity has come. Su Chen was no exception. Inside the replica, the students of the first middle school rushed to the front of the line at the instigation of Li Feihu. After walking a hundred meters, they met Su Chen. Su Chen stood still, with Dian Wei and a hundred soldiers standing at his side. He brings a great sense of majesty just by standing still. Su, Su Chen, why don't you come with us? A classmate opened his mouth. Come with us, you're the strongest. You can't be consumed right up front. The students opened their mouths to persuade Su Chen, trying to get this strongest combatant to evacuate with them. Su Chen ignored the voices of the crowd and opened his mouth after making a slight calculation in his head. I have roughly calculated that there are about 20,000 people in our rear. 20, 000 people dying causes 200 points of damage to everyone. I'm sure there are a lot of you with less than 200 body mass points. So what you're doing now is no different than going and killing yourselves. After the words were spoken, all the members of the first form froze in place. They didn't realize they had so many people behind them. They were just thinking that running backwards would allow someone else to block the knife. But they didn't realize that such behavior would also get them killed. Without saying any more superfluous words, Su Chen summoned back the soldiers and moved to the tail of the group. With Dian Wei's protection in place, he wasn't afraid to die at all. His purpose was mainly to brush up on his experience. The experience value of the magic items in the test copy is equivalent to that of a rare copy in hard mode. And as the waves increased, the number of demons and the experience value increased. The other people's behavior of running away looked very good to Su Chen. This is totally creating a good place for him to single brush. The crowd of first middle school watched incredulously as Su Chen left, silently giving him a passageway. Even though everyone knew that Su Chen was powerful, no one thought that he could fight a whole wave of demons alone. So Su Chen's performance of walking towards the end of the line alone was like a heroic death in the eyes of the crowd. Did Su Chen even want to go to the front line? 4. Why? Is he not afraid to die? Su Chen is a true warrior. He chose to run into battle in order to protect everyone. Compared to Su Chen we are shameful deserters. Su Chen's expression was calm, and in his heart, he thought about how much experience he could actually brush in this wave, but in the eyes of the crowd, this was the expression of his generosity in dying. This calm expression dealt a heavy blow to the hearts of the others who were trying to escape. When everyone was running away to stay alive, he actually walked against the crowd to the front line. His behavior touched everyone around him. Gao Zhang squeezed out from the crowd. Today I, Gao Zhang, will die standing up. Saying so he quickened his pace and followed closely behind Su Chen. Gu Xia didn't say anything and directly moved to follow Su Chen. She believed in Su Chen, in his strength, and even more so, in his judgment. Girls are joining in. What's a big old man doing shrinking back? A boy yelled, stepping out of the crowd to join Su Chen. Add me one. I, Lu Gang, am not a coward. I, Lai Yu Hui, am not a coward either. I'm in. I've only been level 8 until now, but I don't want to be a shrinking violet. Add me. I'm in. I'm in. The crowd's emotions were completely triggered, and more and more people joined Su Chen's retrograde team, watching Su Chen lead the crowd toward the front line. The observation room once again fell into a silence. In their eyes, Su Chen's determination to run to the front line without regard for his own safety was an absolute hero. Looking at Su Chen's calm and determined expression, the scoring member's heart surged. It's hard to imagine this is what a newcomer does when faced with death. He completely put his own life and death at risk in order to protect the crowd. Heroes, absolute heroes. Zhang Yunfei stared at the screen in a daze. Su Chen's response once again broke his expectations and exceeded his judgment. Impossible ah, how could he not be afraid of death at all? Zhang Yunfei was shocked. Even the bravest person would hesitate in front of life and death, while Su Chen didn't seem to hesitate at all. After ruling out Su Chen being a facial paralyzer, Zhang Yunfei came up with the only reason. That is, Su Chen didn't make a choice in front of life and death at all. He didn't think he would die at all from the enemy's attack. How is that possible? That's a whole wave of enemies. And that's just not confidence. It's arrogance. Horns sounded as a fifth wave of enemies spawned at the tail end of the refugee line. On the screen, the crowd of the first middle school had already arrived at the end of the line. At the forefront of the battlefield, led by Su Chen, a total of 1,000 ranks of demonized cavalry stood in the distance like a black city wall. Scoring members held their breath and became worried about the students on the screen. The students demonstrated bloodlust, but you can't win a battle with hot blood and courage alone. The number of people on the candidate's side is only 300. A large part of them were students from Nanshan No, one middle school who were touched by Su Chen, and the other part were students absorbed on the road. 300 against 1, 000, and the opposite side is still elite cavalry. This horrible gap in strength cannot be bridged by any amount of courage. Way to go. The members of the scoring panel were cheering up the candidates. 
they were not supposed to be subjective, but they were really infected by the courage of the students. Zhang Yunfei stared tightly at the screen. Come on, it's time to pay for your arrogance. With the strength Su Chen was currently displaying was definitely not enough to defend against this wave of enemies. They're bound to get crushed. What do you do when you watch your classmates die one by one in front of you? Inside the replica, Su Chen led the crowd to face the elite cavalry directly in front of them. Not bad for an elite unit known throughout history. The tiger and leopard cavalry were linked together, releasing a huge amount of pressure even from a distance of several thousand meters. The moment they saw the tiger and leopard riders, the hot blood that had just been aroused in the hearts of the students was half-cooled. Most of them were now hardened to death. Su Chen turned his head to look and saw such a large group of people following behind him. I should have known better than to say anything, he muttered in his mind. It's fine if you don't come over. You'll split the experience, but you'll be able to split some enemies. With one, zero 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 cavalry on the other side, it would still be a bit of a stretch to have him come alone. But they looked as if they were about to break down as Su Chen swept over the faces of his classmates one by one. Nervousness, fear, despair, pain, all kinds of negative emotions can be seen on their faces. Su Chen understood their fear. He had the protection of Dian Wei himself, and as long as he didn't make a huge mistake it was unlikely that he would die. And these students are facing death head on, where one misstep could usher in death. Fear is fear, but not an emotional breakdown. He had to ask them to come to some confidence. Otherwise a collapsed team will only have a negative effect. With a flash of his mind, Su Chin directly summoned the 200 Tiger Leopard Cavalry soldiers that belonged to him. The 200 Tiger Leopard Cavalry soldiers blocked in front of the crowd, like a bronze wall. He then waved his hand violently, and 200 soldiers simultaneously struck their shields with their blades with a jarring sound. Boom! The knocking sound briefly broke everyone out of their fear, and they looked at Su Chen in unison. Su Chen's eyes glowed with golden light as he slowly spoke. Here, no one will die. His tone was calm, but it carried a powerful pressure that could not be violated. In that moment, no one could question him. After forcibly giving the crowd a tranquilizing shot, Su Chen continued. The most important thing in a cavalry attack is speed, and if you can slow it down you can greatly reduce the threat of cavalry. My soldiers will be at the front of the line to fend off the first wave of attacks for everyone. Please have all mage-type archer professions stay immediately behind my soldiers. Your task is to find ways to create obstacles to their advance before engaging the two armies. All warrior-type professions stay close to long-range attacking professions, and your job is to protect them. On top of that you need to quickly round up the cavalry after they slow down. Supporting professions protect your classmates as much as possible. It's been a pleasure fighting with you all. Good luck to you all. After saying that, Su Chen turned around and walked to the middle of the soldiers, standing at the very front of the group. And although the students were still panicking, they began to quickly follow Su Chen's instructions to form a neat formation. That's what command is all about. And the more you're in a chaotic situation, the more important it is. In addition to command, the strength of the commanders themselves is important. The ability to convince everyone is a very critical factor. Compared to Li Fei Hu, Su Chen could mobilize everyone with just a few words. That's absolute strength. A few minutes later, the crowd completed the formation as per Su Chen's order. It didn't take long for the death trumpet to sound once more. A few hundred meters away, a black wall of demonized tiger cavalry came barreling towards the crowd. The sound of horses' hooves on the ground was like heavenly thunder exploding, and the entire world seemed to tremble. This is cavalry charge shock. Formation, Su Chen shouted. All of the Dianwei soldiers held their shields high and stood firmly in front of the crowd. Go, Su Chen shouted again. With a roar of rage, Dianwei raised his bloody twin halberds and rushed towards the enemy formation alone. He was Su Chen's first line of defense to block the cavalry. Bang, Dianwei violently exploded into the enemy ranks, waving his twin halberds and slaying. Although the enemy cavalry was strong, it was still a hundred thousand miles short of rushing with Dianwei. However, Dian Wei is only one person and has a limited area of influence. The vast majority of the cavalry were unaffected by Dian Wei and remained in charge. As they approached a hundred meters, the long-range attacks in their own ranks began to power up, and all sorts of attacks and magic fell. Cold magic, great fireball spell, terrain alteration, slow magic, rain of arrows. Attacks as brilliant as fireworks slammed into the enemy army, producing various effects of varying sizes. After this round, the enemy ranks were no longer neat and began to become scattered. However, relying on the high-intensity four-dimensional attribute, the enemy army still didn't have a lot of fallen ground to rush to the front of Su Chen's position. This is your graveyard. Su Chen coldly looked at the tightly arranged cavalry line and raised his hand to point. Imperial might is vast. Buzz. Countless streaks of brilliant golden light surged out from the soldier's body. The emperor's mighty vastness, which had been upgraded to level 2, 
had a range of 5 meters and was able to deal 50% of its life value in damage per second, and Su Chen had the soldiers all staggered, so that the overlap area would increase and at the same time better restrict the enemy's movement. The enemy cavalry rushed in, colliding with monstrous fury and majestic imperial might. Imperial mighty vast is an absolute killer for clustered enemies. The enemy troops that broke into the center of the group did a massive amount of damage to the soldiers as well though, but with the overlapping imperial might swirling around, all that awaited them was death. The golden ripples were like a tidal wave, washing and cleansing the black baleful aura layer by layer. The 200 soldiers formed an absolute sanctuary of life, and the demonized tiger and leopard riders began to die in pieces. A familiar brushing pattern appeared on Su Chen's experience panel. Kill level 12 demonized tiger cavalry. Experience plus 531. Kill level 12 demonized tiger cavalry. Experience plus 514. Kill level 12 demonized tiger cavalry. Experience plus 501. Kill level 12 demonized tiger cavalry. Experience plus 553. Everyone was dumbfounded as they watched the enemy army fall in pieces in front of Su Chen's formation. No one could have imagined that the fight would come to this. When everyone was running out of gas, Su Chen unexpectedly still possessed an undercard. And it was such a powerful undercard. More than a hundred of them unleashed their spells at the same time. And none of them were able to inflict a sizable kill. And as soon as Su Chen's skills were released, he almost started the slaughter mode. What a horrible strength this is. Gao Zhang looked at the golden light of the imperial mighty vastness and suddenly thought of something. That's what Su Chen came to the end of the line thinking it might not be a heroic death at all, and just simply want to come and brush up on their experience. What was a choice between life and death in the eyes of others was merely more experience in Su Chen's eyes. Inside the observation room, Zhang Yunfei violently leapt up from his chair. Surprisingly, it's a formation type skill. This kid even has a backhand. The other scoring members were just as shocked as Zhang Yunfei. Whether it's individual strength or commanding ability, Su Chen has performed impeccably. Armies, martial arts, scouting, formations, this profession is just too powerful. Unlimited, unlimited, the crowd cried out. Zhang Yunfei slowly slid back into his seat, his eyes slightly despondent. Su Chen completely bowled him over, and he could no longer pick any problems. It was the first time in over 20 years in the business that he had ever looked at someone and seen them go wrong. Inside the replica, a large number of enemy troops died in the military formation. While the crowd was surprised by the terrifying killing power of the imperial mighty vastness, Su Chen was still calmly analyzing the situation. After several rounds of successive attacks, his side had eliminated 80% of the enemy troops, while the rest had bypassed the defense line. The heavy cavalry had to pull back and rest after the charge to build momentum for the next wave, and the time they pull away is when the offense is at its weakest. Su Chen had risen to level 16 in the third round and there were a total of 750 mental power points at level 16 plus equipment. Applying level 2 Emperor's Mighty Vastness to all 200 soldiers cost 600 points of mental energy. He no longer had the mental strength to unleash another Imperial Mighty Vastness. If you let your opponent form a charge it will definitely cause damage. Gotta end the fight here. Su Chen activated his skill, restoring the soldier's status and raising the number to 230. With a flash of intent, the 230 warriors turned around and chased after the enemy. The other students recovered from their shock and launched themselves after the soldiers. Mage professions such as priests and prophets released group acceleration skills to speed up the crowd. They originally came with the mindset of being slaughtered. Who would have thought that under Su Chen's leadership, they would now be chasing the enemy army. But after chasing them for a while, the crowd suddenly realized something. That is, the enemy is cavalry while your side is infantry. And the movement speed is simply not in the same class. Even Su Chen's soldiers couldn't oust the other side at all. Seeing that the demonized cavalry was getting farther and farther away, the hearts of the crowd hung in the air again. Even if there were only 200 cavalry left, having them launch a charge would cause horrific damage. It was deadly, and no one wanted to see the enemy charge again. Su Chen quickly realized this. He then raised his hand and summoned 25 white horse riders. Professionals do what professionals do. Against cavalry naturally you still need cavalry. 25 righteous men on white horses were lined up in a row. In a gallant manner. Su Chen pointed forward and spoke out faintly. Not a single one. After the speech, 25 white horseback riders rushed towards the enemy. The procession formed by white horses and silver spears was like a sharp arrow, crossing the battlefield with divine speed and stabbing the enemy army directly. The bright silver-colored white horse instantly rode catching the eyes of everyone in the arena. The crowd all subconsciously let out a soft sigh. It's so handsome. White horses and silver spears. What kind of fairy troop is this? So fast. They'll catch up with the enemy in no time. It's so cool, it's driving me crazy to watch. Can you win with this amount? Will you not be able to beat it? Make sure you win. 
Su Chin. Amidst the cheers of the crowd, the white horse boxer stabbed into the ranks of the demonized tiger cavalry like a sharp sword. Demonized tiger cavalry are heavy cavalry and rely on spear charges to inflict damage on the enemy. But spears are completely ineffective in tight formations. Weapons were restricted. Plus the white horse riders were attacking from behind. The demonized tiger cavalry had no room to fight back at all. Soon, the 200 demonized cavalrymen turned into an experienced tip under the lance of the white horse riders. Kill level 12 demonized tiger cavalry. Experience plus 531. Kill level 12 demonized tiger cavalry. Experience plus 501. Kill level 12 demonized tiger cavalry. Experience plus 514. Kill level 12 demonized tiger cavalry. Experience plus 553. 10 minutes later. The white horse boxer returned in triumph. The original silver white armor had been stained with the tainted blood of the enemy. But instead of affecting their aura, they looked even more austere, covered in dirty blood. The crowd erupted in applause as the 25 white horses rode slowly through the crowd. Su Chen waved his hand to retrieve the white horse rider in Dian Wei as well as a group of soldiers back into the summoning space. The next wave will start at some point. So now it's time to get them back in shape. After retrieving the soldiers, Su Chen looked at the crowd and realized that the eyes they were looking at him were almost drawn. Geez, I thought they were just scouts. I didn't realize they could fight so well. It's so strong and awesome. I want to summon such a strong team too. The summoner profession is too strong. It's 10,000 times more awesome than my mage or whatever. Thanks for the invitation. It has nothing to do with the summoner. It's simply that Su Chen is strong. He's right. I'm a summoner too. And my skeleton soldiers just got half trampled to death by one of their own. As the students in the scene were shocked, the grading team in the observation room were all numb. Zhang Yunfei's eyes glowed, and the emotions in his heart could not be calmed for a long time. Su Chen had given him too many surprises, so much so that he even wondered if Su Chen had cheated. Why would a level 15 profession have such a multi-dimensional offense? The offense he has shown so far is simply breathtaking. Positional warfare, pursuit warfare, man-to-man -man tactics, single-point breakthroughs, physical attacks, and formation moves. If he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, he wouldn't have been able to believe that a single person possessed these things anyway. Zhang Yunfei was so shocked, and those scoring members in the neighborhood were even more so. They were simply Su Chen's quacking group, praising him in all directions without any dead angles. It's outrageous. It's just outrageous. Who would have thought that those sassy looking soldiers would possess such battle power? He's still only level 15 ah, and he even has dual soldiers. Such a strong battle power. Is this occupation reasonable? It's just all around great. As Zhang Yunfei silently listened to the crowd's discussion, he looked up and glanced at the number of surviving copies. Still the same two, zero 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 people. Surprisingly, not even one person was eliminated in the fifth wave. This is something that has never been done before in history. The bloody battle of Changbanpa was originally a replica used by the army to test new recruits. And after all these years, the fifth wave was also known as the fifth gate of death by the instructors. The demonized tiger cavalry at this level managed to eliminate half of the examiners every time, because the fifth wave changed a lot from the first four waves. Not only did it change the offense, but it also changed the position of the offense. This is a huge test of the examiner's courage, ability to react on the spot, and so on. And today, the spell of the fifth pass of death was broken once and for all. Not just that it didn't result in a massive elimination, but that it didn't eliminate even one candidate. And the most crucial factor in this was naturally Su Chen. You could say he turned the whole situation around by himself. Zhang Yunfei slowly shook his head, wondering what those old guys in the army would look like if they knew. As we discuss, time passes and the sixth wave is approaching. It ends here too. Zhang Yunfei murmured secretly. Level 6. The final level of the bloody battle at Changbanpa. Since the establishment of the replica, no one has ever been able to pass this level. Inside the copy, a long horn sounded, and the sixth level opened. A paragraph popped up on the crowd's message panel. A copy of the Jiangdong Province Simulation Test, The Bloody Battle at Changbanpo, Phase 2. Final Level, Single Rider Saves the Day. Mission Objective, Block Chao Chao's Cavalry and Protect the People and Key Figures from the Replica Area. Mission Penalty, 1. Whenever a people dies, all candidates in the replica will suffer untreatable damage. Mission Penalty, 2. Loss of Key Person. 200 points of body mass directly deducted for all. Special mission, points will be awarded for protecting the key person to evacuate the replica area and successfully clear the level. This was going to be the key plot. Su Chen silently closed the panel. The difficulty of this level escalates again, not only to protect the people, but also to protect the key players. If a key character is lost, everyone deducts 200 body points. With 200 points of constitution, this damage could kill almost any level 10 or so professional. 
Su Chen thought quickly in his mind. The key players should be Mrs. Gon and Ah Do, and Mrs. Gon and Doubtfire were located at the front of the group, at a distance far beyond his control over the soldiers. If he moved to the front of the line now, then the back of the line would surely be all but dead. But if we give up and go to the front column, and an enemy army breaks through to take Mrs. Gon and Ah Do captive, then the end will be the same. A dilemma, Su Chen murmured secretly. As he was puzzled, Su Chen looked at the surrounding area and discovered a problem. That is, before the start of each previous level, the enemy army would first become on the border. Let them view the scale and give some lead time. And why hasn't this level spawned an enemy until now? Is it a special mechanic for the last level? Or is there something else going on? Su Chen frowned slightly, vaguely feeling that there was something wrong with it. The front section of the refugee line, where about 1,000 students gathered. A large proportion of them had fled from the rear of the line. Two men in the center of the group looked at the fleeing students in the perimeter with arms wrapped around them, contemptuous smiles on their faces. They were the top two students from Tiantai City's first middle school, and both of them came from the same big family in Tiantai City. Before entering the copy, their levels had risen to a terrifying level 13, and their professions were all of the mage class. As the favorites to win the provincial championship this year, the two of them are also known as the monster duo. Pyromancer Zhou Yen stood to the side with his arms wrapped around him, and beside him, Necromancer Zhou Han was preparing some sort of formation. Zhou Yin sneered. These stupid asses actually escaped during the exam. Their points must have been deducted. Monday Cold said. They're all just supporting characters trying to make it through a normal college. So deduct some points. That said, wasn't the intensity of the last wave too low? With so many people escaping they were still able to defend? Monday Chill shrugged. A copy of the war is nothing more than that. If they were to hold again in the last wave, they wouldn't score more than us. Right? Zhou Yen asked. Impossible. Monday Cold shook his head with certainty and raised his hand to point at the carriage in the group of refugees. The key players are with us. Just escort them through and you'll get tons of points. And for the first four waves, we both protected at least 200 people each. They also have to split the points equally for holding the last two waves. And the points don't count for much when it comes to each person. With single points plus bonus points, it's impossible for anyone to surpass us. Zhou Yen smiled and nodded. Far ahead. While the two were talking, Monday Han finished casting the spell. A gray circle of light spread out in all directions with him at the center. With the formation completed, Zhou Yen waved at the crowd that had just fled. What's his name Tiger? Take your people and lean into the formation and add some buffs. When Li Feihu heard Zhou Yen call out to him, he immediately nodded and agreed. He then greeted the students around him and leaned into the gray formation. Students, squeeze inside. Brother Zhou is adding buff to us. Li Feihu had just escaped here when he spotted Zhou Yan and Zhou Yihan. He knew that these two were powerful and were favorites to compete for the provincial scholarship. And apart from that, more importantly, the Zhou family behind the two of them was very powerful. In Li Feihu's eyes, strength came second to background. This was also the reason why he couldn't see Su Chen very well, an orphan in the district, but gained a hidden profession by sheer luck. How dare he steal his thunder and command the crowd to isolate him. However, he believed that once Su Chen's strong period of hidden profession passed, he would immediately die out. While the two from the Zhou family had a strong background, their family would always provide the best resources to make them a strong party. What garbage Su Chen? The Zhou family duo are the only ones worthy of being my Li Feihu's friends. Li Feihu fawned and smiled at Zhou Yen, leading the students who had escaped with him into the spell. This fool is quite amusing. Zhou Yen looked at Li Feihu and smiled. Don't laugh at him. For a groundhog trying to get a leg up, he counts as trying. Looking at the crowd that walked into the spell in turn, Monday Han licked his lips. That formation wouldn't add buff at all, but was a formation called the Altar of Death. His profession was Necromancer, and Death Altar was the exclusive skill for that profession. After releasing the formation, any living being that spends one minute inside the formation will be connected to Death Chains. Being hooked up to Death Chains takes damage for the caster and the caster's designated target for 10 minutes. For every target hooked up to Death Chains, he can spread out 1% of the damage capped at 60%. Because of the existence of this skill, the two of them weren't worried about the copy cancelling the protection mechanism or the damage that the people's deaths would do to them. After a minute had passed, Monday Cold retrieved the spell, and the apportioned damage shown on the panel had reached the 60% cap. Looking at his expression, Zhou Yen knew that the formation had been completed. Every time I look at this skill of yours, I feel that it's a bit strong and perverted. Zhou Yen muttered. Throughout the entire history of professionals, there were very few skills that could transfer damage, and all of these skills can only be learned by high-level professionals, and the fact that Zhou Han had learned such a divine skill at a low level was very powerful in Zhou Yan's eyes. Is it strong? Okay. 
Monday Han shook his head, it only lasts for 10 minutes, and also requires the target to enter the spell for 1 minute before it takes effect, B content, where is there a wound bearing skill that can last all the time and doesn't have to pay a price, Zhou Yan said, compared to your rare profession, my pyromancer's skills are too common, speaking of rare professions, Monday Cold looked at Li Feihu once again, that tiger something or other seems to be from Nanshan first high school, it's rumored that a hidden profession has come out of their school, Zhou Yan coldly grunted twice, it must be a piece of trash, right, otherwise with a big leg to hold, would this fool still run so far, Monday Chill nodded in recognition, then excitedly surveyed those who were hung with death chains, people who were attached to chains would die more easily, and the two of them had no mental burden about it, in their eyes, everyone else is just a mongrel, their lives are worthless, at the end of the fifth wave of rest time, a strong horn sounded from all directions, this time the bugle call lasted a long time, just as the crowd was wondering why the trumpet call hadn't stopped, they realized with a jolt that the distant hillside was beginning to give birth to group after group of enemy troops, what's that, someone exclaimed, the Zhou family duo followed the sound and found that a black mass of demonized tiger and leopard cavalry had unexpectedly appeared on the hillside, cavalrymen with black souls sprouting around them were neatly arranged all over the entire hillside, terrifying pressure rushed towards the crowd across hundreds of meters, all the students who came running away were dumbfounded, it was to escape the enemy that they came to the forefront, but they didn't expect this last wave of enemy troops to brush right up against their faces, it's over, it's over, run, we're dead, we're dead. The Zhou family duo stared at the mountainside in a daze, their hearts equally filled with shock, they didn't know why the enemy army suddenly brushed the middle section of the group, and there were at least five, zero 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 cavalrymen all over the hillside opposite, isn't this intensity a bit too much compared to previous waves, inside the observatory, the scoring members were also dumbfounded to see the team generated in the middle of the group, why did this level not prompt at all and suddenly spawn enemies in the middle, and it also generated five. 000 enemy troops at once, which was directly five times more than the last wave. That's not even close to a pass for current level candidates. Looking at the enemy troops generated in the screen, Zhang Yunfei sighed. It's over. I hope this kid Su Chen doesn't suffer any blows. The sudden comment froze everyone in their tracks. When the crowd heard Zhang Yunfei's words, they immediately sensed something in his words. Minister Zhang, isn't the difficulty of this last level too high? Zhang Yunfei shook his head, rather helplessly. The last level is really overdesigned. As this copy an impassable copy. What? Unable to pass? The crowd felt a bit incomprehensible. How can there be an impassable copy in the exam? All of those unmanageable passages have created an abyss that keeps spawning magical creatures. And there's no such thing as an impassable copy as a product of human processing. Zhang Yunfei slowly explained. It's not that it's impassable, but it's impossible to pass with their level. It's a copy of what turned out to be a copy of the test for new recruits to the war department. In addition to testing recruits on all their abilities, this copy serves another purpose. Aren't copies used to test abilities? What else can they be used for besides that? The crowd wondered. Zhang Yunfei said indifferently, Dismissal. Give all the newly enlisted recruits a dismay. The biggest difference between an army of professionals and ordinary professionals is the difference between the collective and the individual. The average professional will always think that their own personal ability is fine, and that others are none of my business. And the most important point of this test copy besides testing strength is to dismount the recruits. Every year, there are outstanding professionals who pass the first five levels. And most of them are strong and think highly of themselves. And at this point, the enemies of the sixth level will kill them in seconds in a crushing position. Crush their self-confidence with the naked difference in battle power and let them know that they are nothing but a piece of shit now. After I was crushed back then, I slowed down for a full week. Zhang Yunfei smiled miserably. The other scoring members were dumbfounded. What kind of sick training method was this? No wonder the gap between army professionals and ordinary professionals was so wide. So, Zhang Yunfei continued, to make sure to crush everyone, the difficulty of the sixth level is broken and increased, and it's impossible to pass at their level. Not even Su Chen? Zhang Yunfei looked towards the mountains of demonized cavalry in the screen and shook his head decisively. It was a full complement of tiger leopard riders, 5,000 in total. It consists of the heavy cavalry tiger riders and the light cavalry leopard riders. The demonized tiger cavalry was at the front of the unit, heavily armored and armed with lances, and was responsible for breaking up the enemy formation. The demonized leopard cavalry is located at the rear of the unit, wearing light armor and wielding long machetes, and is responsible for chasing down scattered enemies. The only way to face this configuration is to level up all the candidates in the replica by 10 levels. But the only chance exists for this copy. Zhang Yunfei suddenly said, if we can break out of the siege with the key players and escort them to the finish line, the mission will be over. 
Then isn't there still a chance? The crowd exclaimed. Those white horse cavalrymen of Su Chan are running fast. Zhang Yunfei still shook his head. This chance is almost non-existent. Even if they are fast, they won't be able to break through the encirclement of 5,000 cavalry. Realize that many famous legendary level professionals in history have failed to pass this level. Silence fell in the observation room as Zhang Yunfei's words completely killed the match. Since even the many legend ranked professionals failed to pass, Su Chen's chances were even slimmer. No one expected those questioners at the war department to be so ruthless. The crowd couldn't help but begin to sympathize with these candidates who had lasted until the sixth wave. Especially for Su Chen. They had a hidden worry. The more powerful you are the more self-respect you have. If you can't adjust your mindset in time after a failure, a complete fiasco could have serious repercussions for all of his future. The 300 students at the end of the line have been lined up. Nervously and expectantly, I waited for the last wave of enemy troops to arrive. Su Chen maneuvered his white horse to ride around and scout. Still no sign of the enemy generation was found. Suddenly the horn sounded. I don't know if it was the last wave or not, but this time the horn was very persistent. However, Su Chen didn't even see the enemy generated around him for as long as the horn sound lasted. Is it possible that the enemy is attacking from a position other than the rear of the line? The bugle call ended and a large line popped up in front of everyone. The front section of the team has been attacked by the enemy's main force. Please try to defend yourself. Something's wrong. There must be a demon when things go wrong. Su Chen frowned slightly. Is the difficulty of this mock exam too high? It's amazing that there's such a design as a sneak attack when the enemy's attributes are already strong. And that's with the protection mechanism removed. It's deadly. By Su Chen's side. The crowd that had already formed up to wait for the enemy was even more dumbfounded. They had all been ready to fight the last wave and end this horrible exam. But now you're being told that the enemy didn't go to the back, but suddenly attacked the center section? Isn't this a deliberate attempt to trick them? Before they could catch their breath, all of them realized that their panels started dropping their physique attributes. In less than a minute, the front section had been breached. The front section of the team they didn't even have time to get there. They could only wait for death in vain. The crowd that had managed to coalesce was once again in a frenzy. Why don't you give us any news at all? This is playing with us. This blood drop is too fast. There's no time to rush over. This is murder. This is murder. The crowd panicked with the occasional person trying to organize a return to the defense, but their voices were drowned out in the crowd. Su Chen retrieved the white horse rider after determining that there were no enemy troops generated at the rear of the team and made a quick decision. With that amount of blood drop, the others don't have time to rush to the battlefield again. He had to rush to the front line alone for support. Apart from for the sake of a large amount of experience, Su Chen was also trying to save the lives of his fellow students in the first grade. He's not cold-blooded. He was not exactly on good terms with his classmates, but he had three years of fellowship. If he had to watch his classmates die one by one in front of him, this he couldn't do. Not to mention that his good buddy Gao Zhang was in the mix. It has to be backed up and backed up fast. How do you get to the front quickly? Six kilometers would certainly be a missed opportunity if you relied on running. Thoughts flashed quickly, and Su Chen thought of a method. To talk about speed, that would be the only option left. The real protagonist of Nagasaka Slope, Jenshin's Silver Lance. General White Horse, Su Chen's mind flickered and summoned the military general, Zhao Yun, Z Z Z Z Z. In a blink of an eye, the wind and clouds stirred. Several blue-white currents lingered around Su Chen, and even space began to distort. The gusts of wind kicked up monstrous dust, and electric currents constantly surged and erupted in the space. It was as if Su Chen was wrapped inside a ball of lightning magic. The spatial aberration grew larger and larger, and the lightning surges became more and more intense. The strange change behind them caught the attention of the crowd, and they turned back to look. When they turned around, they all froze in place. The scene that looked like the descent of a god was too shocking. Countless electric currents danced wildly around Su Chen like thunder snakes. The violent energy kept surging and compressing. When gathered to the utmost limit, everything is silent. Then a little cold aura lit up. Giggle. A loud bang exploded. Zhao Yun came with his silver spear piercing through the void. Space trembled. The accumulated energy completely detonated and blue and white electric on shot all over everyone's eyes. Zhao Yun's armor was as silver and bright as frost in the white on, and his hand's gentian bright silver spear was sharp and eruptive. Zhao Yun threw off his cloak, turned around and knelt down in front of Su Chen, clasping his fists as a salute. My lord Zhao Yun, see your majesty, the class was a buzz. Su Chen still has martial arts generals. Su Chen can even summon martial arts generals. That's so cool, and that's such a cool way to come out. Where is Su Chen a summoner? He's a god summoner. Su Chen made a forward gesture, and Zhao Yun understood. He raised his hand and a phantom white horse was generated in the distance, then figuratively took shape and ran. 
the silver saddle shines on the white horse, suffing like a shooting star. This was none other than Zhao Yun's precious mount, the shining jade lion. The white horse came running. Zhao Yun brought Su Chen and rolled onto the horse, followed by a tug on the reins. The jade lion raised both hooves and hissed into the air. Your holiness, sit tight, Zhao Yun roared, and the jade lion shot out like an arrow, paired with a mount. Zhao Yun's 2900-point agility attribute was on display. Su Chen sat on his horse only to feel the wind blowing like razor blades. At this rate, it won't take 10 minutes to get to the battlefield. In the front part of the line, the attack of the demonized cavalry came down like a tidal wave. The originally disorganized group was dispersed by a wave of demonized tiger cavalry. Half of the 1.000 gathered students were dead in an instant. The remaining students who managed to escape the first wave of the attack were also crazy and stupid, almost losing their will to fight. Most of these people had run away and had little courage in the first place, and amidst the monstrous pressure of the enemy and the tragic deaths of their classmates, they lost every remaining shred of sanity. A complete emotional breakdown and a panicked escape in the copy. This kind of collapsed group was just lining up to die in front of the demonized leopard cavalry. They used their high mobility to constantly weave in and out of the crowd to slash and kill. Zhou Yan and Zhou Yihan organized a small number of people, plus others as a shield to barely hold off the first wave of the charge. Now they were constantly releasing various skills used to block the attack of the demonized leopard cavalry. However, they were just struggling to hold on, because on the other side of the hill, the demonized tiger cavalry was about to complete their formation. By the time the next wave charged, their formation would be completely broken up. Zhou Yan and Zhou Yihan's faces were filled with shock and disbelief. They couldn't believe that with their strength they were crushed like this. They were up to level 13 professionals, the topmost existence among all the candidates. However, the attributes of these demonized cavalry in the replica were surprisingly higher than them, and the number was surprisingly as high as 5,000. What the hell kind of difficulty is this? It doesn't even want them to pass. Li Fei Hu, who was hiding behind them, was already scared out of his wits. He didn't expect even the Zhou family duo to be powerless to fight back. Moreover, he had taken a chance before, thinking that the removal of the protection mechanism was just to scare them, and that it was impossible for the above to really let the candidates die. But when he saw the splattered blood and guts as the tiger cavalry charged, the fluke in his heart was destroyed. Giggle. The classmate in front of Li Feihu was slashed to the waist by the demonized leopard cavalry. A string of large sausages spun nine times in the air and landed on his face. Mommy, I'm not playing, I want mommy. In the observer core, the screen was full of the team crashing in the first part of the game. Zhang Yunfei raised his eyebrows. This was the normal reaction of a newcomer facing the battlefield. On the battlefield the enemy won't play by your rules. Sneak attacks and sieges are the norm. Watching the candidates being abused by the demonized tiger leopard riders on the screen. The members of the scoring team realized that the level was indeed as Zhang Yunfei had said. It was simply impossible to pass. It took Su Chen in conjunction with the last 300 students to dispose of the last wave of 1.000 demonized cavalry. And the volume of these 5.000 demonized cavalry would not help even if Su Chen was allowed to come. It really looks like it's going to be a total wipeout. Boom. Inside the copy, the seismic sound of horses' hooves resounded again. The demonized tiger cavalry once again charged at the remaining candidates. Everyone's face changed, and the students who were still gathered in clusters instantly collapsed and fled in all directions. Zhou Yan and Zhou Yihan also gave up the idea of protecting the key figures and fled along the crowd. Anyway, they had cast a spell to transfer damage, so even deducting body points wouldn't kill them. As long as they hid in one place and waited for everyone to finish dying, they would still be able to keep the number one spot by then. The two quickly fled the charging position of the tiger cavalry casting spells to kill the leopard cavalry chasing them along the way. As two level 13 rare occupiers, just escaping would not be too difficult for them. When the two men ran up the hill, they found that the wagon and the procession of refugees had been overturned. A woman has fallen out holding a child and is panicking and looking for protection. The two men stared at each other, knowing that this was the key figure. As long as you send the key players out of the copy, you'll be able to pass this last final level. But by now, Thousands of tiger leopard cavalry had surrounded the key figure. It's clear they're targeting this key pair. It's impossible. Even if he rushes in, he can't get out. And if he comes out, he can't escape the pursuit. Let's go. Monday Cold said indifferently. If a key person dies, everyone will be deducted 200 points of physique. Everyone but us has to die. And all we have to do is hide and sit back and enjoy being first. Zhou Yan nodded. And the two of them fled in the opposite direction without looking back. Just as they were escaping. A white stream of light instantly flashed past them. The thing was so fast that it flashed by without either of them reacting. They quickly turned around only to see that it was a man on a white horse. To dare to rush inside, 
this person doesn't want to die. Zhou Yan was astonished. Is that a candidate or something and why can he ride a horse? Who cares what it is? If you go in there, you're dead. After the white horse rider, the two men saw another candidate slowly approaching. His pace was slow and he walked like he was thinking about something. It was none other than Su Chen who had arrived from the tail end of the team. Zhou Yan and Zhou Yihan saw that Su Chen was also walking in the direction of the enemy. Just think it's a scared crazy person. Come on, they're all crazy. Let's go. The two were about to continue their escape when they heard the clutter of hoofbeats coming from behind them. A group of demonized leopard cavalry had already chased after them. Zhou Yan's complexion changed as he pulled Zhou Yihan and ran. The two of them had just finished killing a group. And now their skills were on cooldown with no means of resistance. It's just as well that there's a fool blocking the knife now to buy them some time to escape. The two of them ran farther and farther away, seeing that the demonized leopard cavalry was close to killing in front of their eyes, but Su Chen did not hide or evade. What a fool! Zhou Yan sighed in his heart but in the next second his eyes nearly erupted out of their sockets. Crap! The two exclaimed at the same time. Only when the demonized leopard cavalry was almost close to Su Chen, he slightly raised his hand. Dozens of heavily armed soldiers appeared out of thin air and instantly surrounded the leopard cavalry, brutalizing them to death. How is it possible? Zhou Yan's eyes rounded. Why is the combat power so strong? Zhou Yichan's hands trembled. This military formation formed with flesh is surprisingly also strong. Who on earth is this person? Why have I never heard of another summoner this strong? After summoning soldiers for protection, Su Chen focused on Zhao Yun. Through Zhao Yun's perspective, he had charged into the enemy side with the most enemy troops. Looking at the mountains of demonized tiger and leopard cavalry, Su Chen felt exaggerated in his heart. Why is the span between level 6 and level 5 so large? This difficulty feels like it doesn't want them to pass at all. It's a good thing the questioner was conscientious enough to leave a breaking point. That would be the key players. Mrs. Gone and Ah Do. Now all we need to do is rescue Mrs. Gone and Ah Do and bring them to the end of the line and we'll be successful. Easier said than done. But this was a siege against 5. 000 demonized tiger leopard riders. Su Chen didn't dare to slack off in the slightest. And wholeheartedly gave Zhao Yun his orders. He didn't summon the white horse riders or Jian Wei to follow because they couldn't keep up with Zhao Yun's speed. From now on, this will be Zhao Yun's home turf. In the center of the battle, Lady Gan and Ado had been captured and mounted by a group of demonized tiger and leopard riders. As long as they take it out of the replica area, then everyone in the replica will have 200 points of body mass deducted. This can be devastating for all candidates. But in the face of such a threat, no candidate stepped forward to resist. Because they were all scattered and were busy running away. Death and despair spread throughout the battlefield. The demonized tiger and leopard cavalry will give these fledgling professionals their first lesson in life. Inside the observer mission, the scoring team watched in silence as the tragedy unfolded on the screen. They were all worried about the candidates in the replica. Zhang Yunfei was equally reticent. As a soldier he naturally knew the suffering of war. Although the mock examination was harsh, it was also to prepare for the future of the Grand Xia Empire. These candidates must know that the path of the transmuter is a path of death paved with blood and tears. Suddenly, the screen shook. The dark battlefield was cut by a white line thrust straight through it. What's that? Zhang Yunfei's pupils shrunk. He stared at the white line, trying to figure out what it was, but it simply couldn't catch up with him. Widen the view range. The scope of surveillance in the screen increased, and the crowd finally saw that the white line was a military general riding wildly on horseback. What's this? Where did it come from? Zhang Yunfei exclaimed. They had been focusing on the front part of the battlefield before and hadn't seen Su Chen summon Zhao Yun. Seeing Zhao Yun stabbing into the battlefield like lightning at this moment, his heart trembled as if he had been hammered with an iron hammer. I've never seen it before. This military general. Is it Su Chen's again? Su Chen. Zhang Yunfei shook his head incredulously. It can't be him again. Inside the copy, cries and slashing sounds were constantly intertwined. The demonized tiger cavalry charged in waves, and the leopard cavalry slashed again and again. The ranks of candidates have long since collapsed, with numbers plummeting from 2, 000 at the start to 800 straight away. The people who needed protection also died 10, 000 people under the attack of the demonized tiger and leopard riders. All candidates who hadn't died yet had also been docked 100 body points. And Mrs. Gan and Ado are at the moment being taken captive by a squad of leopard cavalry. As soon as you leave the copy, then everyone deducts 200 points of body mass and death will come to the entire group. In a moment of despair, a white phantom stabbed straight into the enemy. Everywhere he went the enemy fell like grass. He headed straight for Mrs. Gone and Doubtfire. The soaring hooves of the horses sounded like the beat of a pale drum. Monstrous battle intent surged thunderously. Changshan Zhao Zilong is here. Don't be wild. Little thief. 
Zhao Yun stabbed like lightning into the enemy ranks that had kidnapped Mrs. Gan and Ah Do. The Genshin bright silver gun danced crazily in his hands, exploding a cloud of blood mist wherever he went. Zhao Yun's skill, lone hero, will increase Zhao Yun according to the difference in strength between your side and the local area. And with Zhao Yun barging into the midst of 10,000 troops alone, lone hero has triggered to the extreme of his current rank. The four dimensional attributes except for the physique points were directly doubled by 20 times. Zhao Yun's attack power is directly doubled from 2000 to 40. 000. The agility attribute was even directly doubled from 2900 to 58000. The speed at which the silver spear danced in his hands had already exceeded the limit of what the human eye could visualize. All anyone saw was a flash of silver light. Under the intensity of this attack, the soldiers who captured Mrs. Gan and Ado were picked off one by one. In a few breaths, Zhao Yun arrived in front of Mrs. Gan and Ado. Seeing their faces, Zhao Yun's eyes flickered as a sense of familiarity surged through him. Mount up. With a shout he grabbed Mrs. Gan onto his horse, and shielded Ado in front of him again. Su Chen's instructions were duly conveyed to send Mrs. Gan and Ado to the end of the copy. Zhao Yun clenched the reins and the shining night jade lion sped off once again. The very moment Zhao Yun saved Lady Gan and Ado, all the enemy troops in the copy locked onto him. The 5,000 demonized tiger and leopard riders abandoned all actions and turned to attack Zhao Yun. The students suddenly realized that the enemy troops were no longer pursuing them, but were running in the same direction. Returning from the dead, they couldn't help but look in the direction the enemy was running. Only a bright silver figure could be seen weaving through the enemy lineup alone, killing left and right with a woman and a child, completely disregarding the enemy. He's a hero. He saved us, the students cried out. In the midst of the crowd's despair, it was Zhao Yun who killed his way in to save them. He's carrying the key figure. Just send out the copy and we've won. Come on, you have to win. Please, please, please win. All the surviving students prayed. That figure fighting in the enemy formation was their last hope. Everyone in the observer corps clenched their fists, too nervous to breathe. All eyes were gathered on Zhao Yun. Everyone expects him to come out on top and win. Zhang Yunfei looked at the screen and trembled slightly. His cool blood that had been dusty for years boiled over. As a soldier, he had never been a fan or even a bit squeamish about individual heroism. But he had to admit that the moment Zhao Yun appeared, he shivered violently as if he had been electrocuted. It's too shocking. Too shocking for words. Heroes. Absolute heroes. That look out of the corner of the eye. The bravado of the millions of people who are going to be there. That mighty strength that saves the day. How can anyone not be excited and energized? Inside the copy. Zhao Yun didn't slow down the slightest bit in the face of the enemy army that was encircling more and more. The silver spear in his hand cut out a shadow of the spear. Like a dragon and snake dancing wildly. Batches of enemy troops approached and were killed. Tainted blood splattered everywhere. And wild sand filled the sky. What is there to fear when you ride into the world? Come on. More. General Chang Shang is here. Come and take your death. Zhao Yun hissed forward, sweeping back any obstacles that stood in his way. No one could resist his shots. No one could stop his advance. The hibernating dragon has been awakened to sleep, and a whistle moves a thousand mountains. This is the five tiger general Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun kept moving forward, and the end of the replica in the distance had come into view. As soon as Mrs. Gan and Ado are escorted into place, the copy ends instantly. Suddenly a black wind came and the yellow sand in the sky was blown up into the air. Su Chen, who shared his vision through Zhao Yun, frowned, knowing that this copy was coming with something again. As expected, the next second, a prompt popped up on the panel. Boss battle has been triggered. Good luck. Boom. As the earth-shattering boom burst out, a huge-bodied martial general was generated in Zhao Yun's path of advancement. He was nearly five meters tall. His body was covered in black soul energy, and he held a giant lance. Demonized General, Zheng Yi, World Boss, Rank, 15, Power, 30, 000, Agility, 20, 000, Spirit, 20, 000, Body Mass, 30, 000, Skills, Strong Shock Retreat, Soul Lance. Seeing Zhang Yi's appearance, the candidates who still had a ray of hope fell into an abyss. It's amazing that there's a World Boss when the last level is already so sick. This mock test doesn't want anyone to live at all. Can. Can that white horse military general fight? Fight? Someone still holding out for a chance asked. How is it possible? This, this is a world boss whose four dimensional attributes have broken through 10, 000 points. He can't be, even if he's stronger. It's hopeless. We're hopeless. I don't want to die. Not only the candidates, but also the people in the observer mission were confused. They all thought they could make history this time and break through the final barrier. But who knew there was a world boss on the last level? This is some kind of devil's copy. 
This time, Zhang Yunfei was dumbfounded. As the examiner, even he didn't know that there was a world boss in the last level. Because when they first took the test, they didn't even trigger the boss battle. The so-called world bosses are bosses with perversely high four-dimensional attributes that require a team to attack together in order to take them down. And there was no longer a team within the copy. Only Zhao Yun. It's still going to end here. Zhang Yunfei muttered. The appearance of the world boss had completely cut off their hopes of clearing the level. There's even a world boss? Su Chen was a bit surprised, but quickly calmed down. The world boss was certainly tough, but unfortunately his opponent was Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun has the Lone Ranger enchantment, and he is most powerful at taking the head of an enemy general in the midst of 10,000 troops. Su Chen only needed to interrupt Zhang his only control skill, strong shock retreat, and leave the rest to Zhao Yun. Forward, Su Chen's will pass through a thousand meters to point directly at Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun gripped his silver spear tightly, and the battle intent in his eyes was infinitely high. No one could stop him from fulfilling Su Chen's orders. Streaming Cloud Stab launched. A burst of electricity surged from Zhao Yun's silver spear. The Streaming Cloud Stab was able to convert movement speed into combat power. And at this moment, that was exactly the conversion process. With the battle transformation, the cold aura on Zhao Yun's silver spear grew sharper and sharper. It was as if it could cut through time and space. Watching Zhao Yun enter the attack range, demonized Zhang he let out a roar and was about to unleash a powerful shock retreat. Submit. Thousands of meters away Su Chen an irresistible imperial might pierced into his brain, forcefully interrupting his skill release. By the time demonized Zhang he raised his head again, Zhao Yun had already killed in front of him. Along with it came a roiling, insane killing intent. I am. Changshan Zhao Zilong is also. Giggle. A stream of light flashed by and the silver spear broke through the air. Zhao Yun held his gun and continued to advance. Behind him, world boss Zhang his huge body slowly fell to the ground. Boom! A huge shocking sound came. Demonized Zhang He whose four-dimensional attributes broke through ten. Zero 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 points fell to the ground. The world boss was surprisingly killed by a single shot. Everyone was dumbfounded. What was the operation of killing a world boss in seconds? No one dared to believe their eyes. This is a ten. 000 person copy of the world boss that kills 10 000 people in seconds what kind of level does this have to be at to be able to do this everything was silent and all the students in the entire replica were in silence after familiarity the mountainous cheers erupted again in silence all the candidates were wide-eyed holding their heads and roaring with joy we won we won we survived we can survive how can that be that's a world boss unbelievable unbelievable existence Killing a world boss in seconds, is this an operation that can exist in this world? World bosses are generated based on the battle prowess of the professionals within the copy. If he can kill the copy boss in seconds, doesn't that mean he can kill all of our candidates in seconds? The silver spear that pierces the stars, our hero. I'm going to cry. Nobody stop me. I'm going to have a big fucking cry. Mom. All the scoring members were also dumbfounded. No, it can't be. Inside the observer mission. Zhang Yunfei sat paralyzed in his chair. How strong is this? How powerful is this? Killing a world boss in one hit at this level. How is this? The scoring members shook their heads back and forth, simply unable to believe it. In their coaching careers, they had simply never seen such a terrifying presence. Not to mention their coaching careers, even in history. Records of killing world bosses in one hit were few and far between. If what is happening today is true, then they will be witnesses to history. Kill world boss. Experience plus 205,633. Kill the world boss and experience to your account. A white pillar of upgraded light rose from Su Chen's body, gaining this large wave of experience value. Su Chen's level directly broke through to level 17, and the level 17 experience bar came to halfway. Open the panel. Name, Su Chen. Occupation, 9 to 5, unique. Rank, 17, 46. 25%. Strength, 170, plus 20. Agility, 170. Spirit, 900, plus 50. Body mass, 170. Equipment, skull ring. Props, reset crystals. Skills, summoning general Dianwei, level 17. Summoning general Zhao Yun, level 11. Emperor's might, level 17. Emperor's might, level 2. Summon general Dianwei, level 17 summons general Dianwei. Who can be manipulated to fight? Consumes 350 spirit power. Summon General Zhao Yun, level 11 summons General Zhao Yun, who can be manipulated to fight, consumes 400 mental energy, Emperor's Might, level 17 issues a mandatory command to a target within range, refusal to execute it will result in mental damage and thought stagnation, consumes 200 mental power, Emperor's Might, level 2, 
Apply an aura of Emperor's Might to a friendly unit that lasts for 10 seconds. The aura will inflict 50% of the enemy's life value to enemies within a range of 5 meters. Effect can be stacked. Spirit power consumption. 3 asterisk number of targets applied. It was worthy of being a copy of the war. But this time, he had brushed up his leveling enough. The level threshold to get into the topmost academy is level 15. And he had already reached level 17 after one simulated copy level. The grades are already up to par. And with normal performance on the entrance exams he's almost assured of getting into two of the top colleges. The top colleges and universities have the best resources in the entire empire, and are a dream place for all professionals. Thinking of this, Su Chen felt slightly excited in his heart. After looking at his panel, Zhao Yan also managed to send Lady Gon and Ado to the end of the copy. Congratulations on passing the bloody battle at Chang Ban Pa. Jade Seal of State Fragment plus 5. At the end of the 6th level, all of the demonized tiger and leopard cavalry dissolved into phantoms. A teleportation spell fell from the sky. Many of the candidates who still survived immediately dug in. Even if the demons had all dissipated, they were not willing to stay in this copy for another moment. While some of the remaining people watched the hero Zhao Yan slowly return from the distance, they're honoring the hero who saved them. Under the setting sun, silver spears, white horses, and blood-stained marching robes. Who wouldn't look at it and say a heroic thing? Zhao Yun returned to Su Chen, rolled over and dismounted, and solemnly clasped his fists as a salute. Your holiness, I'm honored. Looking at the blood-soaked Zhao Yun, Su Chen nodded in satisfaction. After this battle, Zhao Yun had also risen from level 10 to level 11. Rest. Su Chen raised his hand and Zhao Yun dissipated into a phantom in the copy. Seeing that Zhao Yun was actually Su Chen's subordinate, the remaining candidates were shocked. They had thought that Zhao Yun was some sort of copy NPC or something else. However, they never expected that Zhao Yun, who could kill a world boss in a single hit, would be a summoner of the same candidates as them. That's actually his summon. It's too strong. Even world bosses can be killed in a single move. Wouldn't it be a matter of crashing a fart to hit us? He is my god. Thank you god. While shocked, the students didn't forget to cast a grateful gaze at Su Chen. Su Chen nodded slightly in response. Although it wasn't something he did intentionally. It was good to save these people. After the crowd thanked them, they walked into their own teleportation spells. Su Chen was about to leave when he suddenly realized that there was movement in the pile of dead people not far away. Intuition told him there was something going on there. Su Chen took a few steps forward, and a familiar figure came out from inside. Ha ha ha, I'm still alive. I, Li Fei Hu, am still alive. Su Chen frowned. It looked like he was using his classmate's corpse as a cover to hide. Looking at Li Feihu's expression of returning from the dead, Su Chen smiled faintly. He directly summoned Dian Wei and gave orders. Without saying a word, Dian Wei took out his siege hammer and walked over to Li Feihu. Li Feihu, who was covered in blood, was dumbfounded as he looked at the killing intent of Dian Wei. What is this? Hitting on me first? You? You? Hello? Put. Dian Wei slammed his hammer straight down, smashing Li Feihu into a pork chop. Su Chen whistled and walked into the teleportation spell as if nothing had happened and passed out the copy. Inside the observation mission, the members of the scoring team looked at each other and silently turned off the monitors. What just happened they didn't see. Cough. Zhang Yunfei coughed twice dryly, very naturally skipping over the little episode just now. In war, it's not uncommon to accidentally injure friendly forces. When all the candidates have teleported out, the simulation copy closes. The members of the scoring panel began to give final scores to everyone's performance. For Su Chen, everyone without exception gave full marks. Even Zhang Yunfei, who had been extremely harsh on Su Chen at the beginning, gave him a perfect rating. This is the first time in the history of the scoring panel that there has been a perfect score across the board. Su Chen deserves this score both in terms of personal strength and organizational ability. The congregation then graded the top performers among the candidates. Both excellent and very poor performance are considered outstanding. People like Li Feihu, who encouraged everyone to run away, were naturally given negative ratings by everyone. Those who did not excel scored a zero on the scoring panel and were ranked based on their kill score within their copy. After much deliberation, the members of the scoring panel completed their scoring of the highlighted candidates. The scoring panel scores and candidate points are combined to produce a candidate points ranking. Su Chen was riding high with 20, 000, 000 points, and Zhou Yan, who was in second place after him, only had two. 000 points. The gap wasn't even half a star, but was like a rift. Once scored, the test will next be sent to each school. One of the top 10 results will be score locked, which means that only the rankings and not the scores will be shown. This was a protection mechanism that the Empire had purposely implemented to prevent other forces from coveting the candidates. Zhang Yunfei put away his diffident attitude and stood up to salute the crowd. 
It's a pleasure to work with you all, and today we have the honor of witnessing the rise of a supernova. As the examiner for this one, it is my duty to remind you of this. Everything in the exam room is an imperial secret and requires absolute secrecy. We are not allowed to divulge the specifics of what goes on in the exam room to anyone without special circumstances. The crowd of ratings panelists nodded in understanding that without these protective mechanisms, other countries will be able to study the skills, combat characteristics, etc. of our strongest men from various exam videos, so these are absolutely confidential and only the top brass have access to them. After reiterating the confidentiality agreement with the crowd, Zhang Yunfei clicked to send the results. Nanshan First High School a large number of medical and counseling personnel were in place outside the playground. As soon as the teleportation spell fell, they swarmed over the already unconscious students. Su Chen walked out of the teleportation array and saw that the medical staff was treating the students who had died in the copy. So that's how it was, Su Chen muttered. He had been skeptical about whether the protection mechanism had been removed from within the copy. Because it's rational to think that the higher-ups can't possibly let students die in their test copies. But the scenes of blood and flesh in the copy confused him again. Now he surmised that the protection mechanism hadn't been removed at all, but that some sort of fake death mechanism had been added. After the candidate's bloodline falls below the minimum, the copy will still teleport them out. Only copies would simulate copies of their bodies to create the illusion of being cut down. After a little analysis, Su Chen understood the purpose of this mechanism. This was to exercise the candidate's reaction in the face of life and death. After all, there were no protection mechanisms on the battlefield. His shoulder was tapped and Su Chen turned around to find that it was Gao Zhang and Gu Xia. It's okay, what happened there at the end? The fight was over before we got there. It's nothing, it's just that the enemies have become a bit more numerous, Su Chen said indifferently. With a disbelieving look on his face, Gao Zhang reached out and pointed not far away. Really? Look at the group of people who escaped with Li Feihu. All of them are unconscious, especially Li Feihu. Heavily unconscious, it looks like he was heavily injured within the replica. I'm not too sure. Su Chen shook his head expressionlessly. After learning that the removal of the protection mechanism was false, those students who died did not actually die. The students were finally getting some relief, and those who were still awake began to gather together to discuss their grades. Mock exams will also provide a provincial ranking just like the entrance exams. Based on the provincial rankings, people can figure out exactly how good they are and roughly what class of school they can attend. In the viewing gallery, the principal and class teachers of Nanshan know. One middle school were glued to the provincial rankings, the results would be released soon, and they were worried about Su Chen's ranking. Although Su Chen was personally strong, he was not willing to team up with anyone. There is a good chance that a lot of points will be deducted by the grading panel. The principal nervously squeezed his glass of water and ate and spat out his tea. Eight years, eight whole years had passed since the last genius Luo Chinchan. During these eight years South Mountain One was silent and never produced another bright student. Now Su Chen's appearance allowed him to see a slim hope once again. With a buzzing sound, the light curtain belonging to the provincial rankings began to tremble slightly. Coming coming, the principal and the teachers all got excited. Top 10. Just squeeze into the top 10. The principal prayed in his heart. The light curtain falls and the provincial rankings are updated. Su Chen's name was clearly located at the first place of the ranking. Nanshan City No. 1 Middle School. Su Chen. Rank. 17. Point slash. The playground was abuzz with students as soon as the leaderboard came out. Oh my god. Su Chen is number one. Su Chen is number one. No shame. I love you Sajin. The teachers in the viewing gallery were also abuzz with hugs and cheers. The principal couldn't believe his eyes. First, surprisingly, is first. When Luo Qianshan was so dazzling he was only ranked ninth in the province. And Su Chen had actually directly killed his way to first place. As soon as the principal threw away his glass of water, he hugged the other teachers and wept with joy. It's only a practice test, but it's definitely something to be happy about to take first place in the province. Being able to produce such a stellar student has countless benefits for the future development of the school. Inside the playground, Gao Zhang excitedly held Su Chen's hand. Fat fat fat, you're a big cow. It's the first in the province. Su Chen cried and laughed a little. Why did he feel that he was happier than himself? Su Chen didn't care about the title of first place. He was more concerned with what he actually gained in the course of playing his copy. For example, he managed to raise his level to 17 and also obtained 5 pieces of the Jade Seal of Transmission. These are the things that will actually help you grow. After being briefly surprised by Su Chen's results, the crowd began to look for their own rankings. To their surprise, almost all of the students who acted with Su Chen received better grades. The results of the other group of people who followed Li Feihu's escape were almost all not so good. Wow, I can't believe I broke 1000 points. I also broke through. 
It's fortunate that I chose to leave with Su Chen at that time. Choices are really important. If we had chosen Li Fei Hu at that time, we would have been finished for sure. Guys, I'm 89, can I be saved? Shift gears and restart. Gao Zhang and Gu Xia both looked at their scores separately as well. With a total of 1, 735 points, Gu Xia is in the 36th position in the provincial rankings. Ko Young has a total of 1523 points and is in the 116th position in the provincial rankings. The two top institutions recruit 50 people every year in Gangdong province. As long as you are ranked in the top 100 in the province you have a chance to get into both colleges. So it seems that as long as Gu Xia plays normally in the college entrance exam, he has a chance to hit the top schools. And Ko Young was able to attend a top ranked quality college. Seeing her ranking, Gu Xia felt relieved in her heart. Gao Zhang then looked at the leaderboard with an emotional face. There was already a difference of 100 places between himself and Su Chen. It's a shame the top 10 don't put up scores, or I'd really like to know how much of a gap there is between the two of us. It won't be very big. Su Chen said, Tiantai City No. 1 Middle School, Viewing Gallery. An old man covered in solemnity sat in the center. The rooftop principal stood beside him gushing about how well his two grandsons were doing in school. The old man was none other than the current head of the Zhou family, Dojin, whose energy in Jiangdong province was very great. He came to Tiantai No. One middle school today because he wanted to see how Zhou Yan and Zhou Yihan performed. As the two key cultivators in the family, Zhou Zhen had great expectations for them. Behind Zhou Zhen were two other heavily made up young women, Zhou Yan and Zhou Yihan's mothers. The two couldn't look at each other. And after sitting in the viewing gallery for 10 minutes, they rolled their eyes at each other hundreds of times. A loud buzzing sound caught everyone's attention. The provincial rankings will be updated soon. The principal of Tiantai City smiled and said, Elder Zhou, just rest assured, the first place will definitely go to your two precious grandchildren. The Zhou family was one of the best in Tiantai and even in the entire Jiangdong province, and being able to climb this big tree would make his future path better. You're so sure? I see there's another level 15 student on the leaderboard, Zhou Zhen said in a deep voice. Strong brush leveling doesn't mean strong strength. That kind of untrained wild boy is probably scared silly going into a copy. Zhou Zhen was non-committal. Zhou Yan and Zhou Yihan were both trained by him. Having received all kinds of specialized combat training since he was a child, his actual combat experience was definitely a cut above his peers. The rank gap at the lower levels isn't too big, and can be completely made up by maneuvering and clinical reactions. What's more, both of them were also mages, and they would be very efficient at killing enemies if they cooperated with each other. The light curtain shakes and the leaderboards update. You see what I'm saying? First place is definitely. The rooftop principal turned around and froze in place. No. It doesn't make sense. The principal of Tiantai First Middle School was dumbfounded. The veins on Zhou Jin's forehead rose violently. The two people that their Zhou family had tilted a large amount of resources to cultivate had lost to a wild child who came out halfway? What's he got to do with it? The two women behind Zhou Jin shouted. They're shady. They're shady. My Zhou Yan is definitely number one. Why are you Zhou Yan first? It's clearly my family's Zhou Yihan who's first. Check the score. We want to check the score. The two women lost their previous modesty and yelled. Zhou Jin's brows furrowed and his face darkened as he sat in his seat and dialed his communicator. With his ability to check mock test scores it's just a matter of words. He knew that with Zhou Yan and Zhou Yihan's professions and levels, their abilities in brushing monsters were definitely number one among the candidates of this session. So the problem must have been with the judge's scores, and he wanted to see which scorer had misjudged his grandson's score. The communicator came on and both the principal and the two women went quiet. Old Zhu Ah. Zhou Xin directly and straightforwardly indicated his intentions. After the opposite party agreed, it took a few minutes before he returned to the communicator. After hearing the words from the opposite side, Jojin's god please stalled, and the communicator in his hand nearly slipped. Trouble you. Next time you come out for a drink. Jojin slowly put down his communicator, and although he tried his best to restrain it, a look of shock could still be seen on his face. Master, how is it? Is it my family Zhou Yin who comes first? What are you babbling about? It must be my family's Monday cold. Gramps, Gramps. Zhou Jin fiercely got up, his broad figure directly squeezing the two of them apart. Shut up, you two idiots. He bellowed angrily, leaving only a confused crowd behind. The Zhou family head. It's not an exaggeration to say that he has a hand in Tiantai City. No one had ever seen him so out of his element. Zhou Jin walked out of the arena with a grave expression on his face. That horrible score lingering in his mind. 20,000 points. That kid named Su Chen is surprisingly 20. 000, 000 points. Zhou Yan who ranked one place behind him, scored a mere 2,000 points, and was simply not in the same class. A genius is a genius, and a new legend is unfolding. After Su Chen and Gao Zhang had a late dinner, 
they went home and collapsed straight into bed. After a day of fighting, his fatigue value had been pulled full. Granted, the first of the analog copies didn't earn any substantial rewards, but getting to level 17 is the best reward of all. If it were any other copy, it would be impossible to level up twice in a row in a day. With his level 17, Su Chen successfully applied for a pass from the principal. The pass is the key to getting to the outskirts of the city. Outside the city is the magic gathering area, commonly known as the wilderness. The wilderness is dotted with passages that are too late or impossible to deal with. Because no one dealt with them, many magical creatures poured out of the passageway, and a magical gathering area was formed. In the wilderness unlike within a replica there are protection mechanisms and those demons are out for your life. Theoretically, you can only walk in the wilderness if you break level 18. However, Su Chen was granted special permission by the principal due to his outstanding performance. He didn't go to the wilderness for adventure or for fun. Rather, it's for experimentation. Su Chen opened the Shard Mall. Debris Mall. Five shards, randomly obtain a vocational skill up to level 30, level 20. Five shards, permanently convert a copy into your exclusive territory. Fifteen shards, randomly select a general card or a noble princess card, level 20. Remaining functions to be unlocked. Right now he has five shards, and the other items either don't have enough shards or aren't leveled enough. So he could only choose to convert a copy into an exclusive territory. It just so happened that Su Chen also wanted to see what effects the exclusive territory would provide. Wanting to test this ability, it's obviously not a good idea to get it in the replica hall. Those are communal resources, and there will certainly be a high-level investigation if the copies disappear. While replica lobbies are bad to get, the wilderness is great for this ability. The wilderness is littered with scattered passages. You can get a territory permanently just by clearing it once yourself and then converting it with shards. That's why he was in a hurry to apply to the principal to get out of town. As far as safety is concerned, he has full security. Dian Wei had followed him to level 17. General, Dian Wei, level 17. Power, 4300. Defense, 4300. Spirit, 4300. Body mass, 4300. Equipment, unrivaled war halberd. City breaking hammer. Skills, tiger leopard riding. Loyal guard. Fearless charge. Tiger leopard riders, summon 260 tiger leopard riders to battle. Loyal guard, all damage taken by the summoner will be transferred to itself until it is killed in battle. Fearless charge, doubles attack power for 30 seconds. Gains constant domination effect. Level 17. 4. 300 points of 4 dimensional attributes. Plus the divine skill of loyal guard. He had no problem standing and letting a professional of the same level fight him now. There are 3 days to go before the entrance exam. Within these 3 days he was going to try to break through to level 18 and then permanently obtain a territory. I wonder what the effect of getting an exclusive territory would be. Su Chen fell asleep as he thought. Early the next morning. Su Chen took a special car to the eastern wall of Nanshan City. The walls looked very tall, breaking through a hundred meters, all made of reinforced concrete. It was this wall that kept the demons at bay and allowed for the survival of the human race. Su Chen came to the exit barrier and handed over his pass. Several of the soldiers on duty looked at the passes over and over again. This pass is even real? When they saw Su Chen in his school uniform, they had thought it was another brat trying to sneak out with a fake license. But after rounds of checking, the pass was indeed genuine. The passes were only available at level 18. How could this kid in front of him be level 18 when he was still wearing his school uniform? Doubtful though. As long as the passes are real they have to release them. A guard came under the gates, which were several dozen meters high, pulled out a key and unlocked a small two meter high door. It's good to go. Su Chen nodded his head and took the pass, walking towards the door. A few guards muttered as they looked at Su Chen's back. Look at the uniform it's from the first high school. The same school as my nephew. My nephew is still in his training replica. And he gets to go out of town? I guess it's screwed up privileges. How can a student who just transferred not more than a few days ago be level 18? The wilderness isn't a school copy. And every year a few rookies have to come in and get killed. I don't care about him. We'll release the card if we have it anyway. Whether it's dead or alive is none of our business. Walking out of the city walls, Su Chen realized that the wilderness wasn't as dilapidated as he thought. At least on the outskirts of the city walls. It was still a bird's eye view. Once you get away from the city, though, it should switch a scene. With a flash of Su Chen's mind, eight white horse riders instantly appeared, scattering in different directions. At the same time their perspectives formed a huge map in Su Chen's mind. Walking through a section of clean road devoid of magic creatures, Su Chen reached the frontline outpost. After showing his pass, he entered the real wilderness. From here, no more plants grow on the earth and no more white clouds float in the sky. There were countless cracks in the ground from which bizarre rays of green or purple or black light shot out. 
Su Chen took out a map that marked the high-risk areas, supply stations, and other places in the South Mountain Wilderness area. Without unique landmarks in the wilderness, the average person can easily get lost. But Su Chen didn't have to worry at all. His mind would automatically generate a map along with the soldier's path. Just by comparing the map in his mind with the map of the wilderness area, he could clearly know his location. After thinking for a moment, Su Chen chose a passageway on the map that was labeled as Level 20 Pangod's Labyrinth. This passage is close to the city and has been documented as appearing for as long as six months. Officially, there are massive passage cleanup missions every so often. Passages like these that are low-grade and close to the city are usually cleared quickly. And there must be some very tricky issues for this passage to have existed for so long. In any case go and take a look first. Su Chen set the direction and set off. Instead of choosing to summon Zhao Yun to lead him, he chose to set off on foot. Zhao Yun's white horse and silver armor was too conspicuous in the wilderness. There are no laws or rules in the wilderness. It's better to keep a low profile and be cautious in this kind of fishy place. After half an hour of advancing towards their destination and dealing with a bunch of miscellaneous monsters, Su Chen discovered a problem. And that was that the wilderness was much larger than he had imagined. What doesn't look like a long distance on the map actually takes a lot of time to walk. As he was considering whether to summon Zhao Yun to take himself, the sound of an engine roaring came from behind him. A utility SUV drove toward him from a distance. Su Chen was instantly alert. There was little cover in the wilderness. As surely as he saw the other man, the other man saw him. Now it's up to the other side to see if they're coming from a good place or a bad place. If it's done with good intentions, it's all good. But if the other party carried malice, then he didn't mind killing a few people. The SUV approached Su Chen and slowly slowed down. And a man stood up on the open air trunk to greet Su Chen. Little brother Su Chen, why are you here alone? Su Chen recognized that person. It was Chin Yong who he had seen a few times in the duplicate hall. He was a senior in the first middle school and had helped Su Chen deal with a few hooligans. Good day senior. Su Chen greeted politely. Together with Chen Yong, there were four people on the other side. Two men and two women. It should be a small team. Chen Yong jumped down from the car and walked over to Su Chen. No one to take you. And you come to the wilderness alone? Su Chen nodded slightly. Seeing Su Chen's affirmation, a worried look appeared on Chen Yong's face. The wilderness is extremely dangerous compared to the urban areas. And you need to be level 18 or later to get a pass to enter. Often, though, there are young or ordinary people who want to see the world outside the walls. As long as the right price was given, the guards would turn a blind eye and let these people out of the city. Chen Yong thinks Su Chen is also a youngster who got out of the city by violating the law. After all, no one would believe that a newcomer who only transferred four days ago could level up eight and get a pass. Knowing that Su Chen was only one person, Chen Yong decided to step in to protect this elementary schooler. He couldn't help but let Su Chen into the back of the SUV. Su Chen didn't refuse. It just so happened that he also planned to take a ride. The fact that the two parties were able to meet means that the direction of travel is probably the same. There were two girls sitting on the trunk. One was tall and bulging with muscles, a warrior type occupation. The other one is small and thin, wearing priest robes, should priest or milkmaid profession. Departure. Chen Yong knocked on the roof of the car twice, and a man in the driver's side with a mage profession started the buggy. The SUV started and Chen Yong continued, you'll move with us today, and I'll get you back to the city by nightfall. It's a good thing it was us you ran into, or you really wouldn't know what to do. Su Chen nodded his thanks. Chen Yong, where is this little handsome guy from? and he doesn't introduce himself. Sitting across from Su Chen, the female warrior with a hot figure opened her mouth. Chen Yong introduced both sides with a tap of his head. After the introduction, Su Chen learned that this was a squad of two warriors, one law, and one nurse. Chen Yong is the squad leader. The female warrior's name was Yang Qi, a higher profession inferno warrior. Nanny's name was Shen Anning, and her general occupation was healing physician. The mage driving the car is called Old Dog, common profession archmage. After introducing each other, the topic of conversation returned to Su Chen. When Yang Qi mentioned the reform of the college entrance examination this year, the crowd suddenly thought that yesterday was the day of the mock college entrance examination. How's it going? How's the ranking on the mock exam? Chen Yong naturally asked. As soon as the words left his mouth, though, he realized they weren't quite right. One day you take a practice test, the next day you go into the wilderness alone. Obviously this is a case of failing a test and having mental problems. He looked at Su Chen with some concern, worried that he had uncovered his scars. Not bad. Su Chen replied indifferently, no emotion showing on his face. Although there was no emotion showing, the crowd guessed that Su Chen's ranking was definitely not good. Otherwise, they wouldn't have committed such near-death-seeking behavior as going into the wilderness alone. We can take you leveling for the next three days. Don't be discouraged. 
Chen Yong hurriedly came out to round up the conversation and steered the topic towards their mission objective for the day. Coincidentally, Chen Yong's group and Su Chen's goal was surprisingly the same, both being Pan's labyrinth. According to Chen Yong, that place's demonic creature level wasn't high, but the terrain was extremely complicated. Many squads have been worn out alive in there because they couldn't find the clues to get through and couldn't find their way back. And there are also western mythological demons in the replica with very bizarre skills. Some squads have escaped with great mental problems. These are the reasons why the cleanup of this channel has never been completed. Just a few days ago, the official bounty was increased, and those who succeeded in clearing the channel would be rewarded with 5. 000 contribution points. Contribution points can be interpreted as more scarce money, and can only be earned by completing imperial quests and contributing to the empire. Contribution points could be exchanged for many things that money couldn't buy, such as Su Chen's reset gem. That's the one that needs to be exchanged for its own contribution points, and it's impossible to buy it on the market. Not only did purchasing reset crystals require contribution points, even recharging them required contribution points. Contribution points are bound to personal bio information and cannot be inherited, transferred, bought or sold. This makes contribution points even more valuable. Chen Yong and the others had come for these 5,000 contribution points. After the deed was done, each person would have more than a thousand contribution points, enough to replace their entire body with the best equipment. Su Chen quietly listened to their chat from the side and got a general understanding of the passage. The hardest part of this Panchen's labyrinth is the complexity of the terrain. This was something he didn't have to worry about at all. After all, he was the human map after working with the soldiers. The other thing is those weird skills of the western gods that can drive people crazy. Then we have to see if they can scare Dianwei and Xia Yun. Near Pan's labyrinth, the surrounding terrain began to change. The original grey-red earth turned purple-black, and there were numerous swampy quagmires along the way. In order to keep the car from being scrapped in the mud, the crowd chose to get out of the car and walk. The driver, old dog, was a non-college professional, hadn't taken the entrance exams, and had worked his way through the wilderness. Seeing Su Chen following them, the old dog nonchalantly pointed directly at Chen Yong and said, why is he following us if he's not guarding the car? Chen Yong explained to the old dog, what to take care of schoolmates this and that, but the old dog doesn't eat that at all. He only recognizes two words, profit. We originally split five, zero 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 points between the four of us. One, two hundred and fifty each. Now you're pulling a guy halfway across the country and leaving me two hundred and fifty points short for nothing. How's that going to work? Chen Yong showed a difficult face. Bringing Su Chen down to Ben was indeed an idea he came up with in a brainwave without any consultation from the squad. Although both girls agreed, it only takes one to disagree to make it difficult. You guys don't need to care about me, I can go down the book alone. Su Chen's voice came from behind. The four men jerked back, unbelievable expressions on their faces. The four of them with an average level of 25 didn't dare to ensure that they would definitely succeed. And Su Chen had only just been transferred a few days ago. This isn't a death wish, this is what this is. Seeing that Su Chen's mental state was precarious, Chen Yong clenched his teeth and shouted, 250, the price of a fine mage's ring, wrapped up in me, deal, the old dog cheerfully got up to lead the way, as long as the money was in place everything was fine, this section of the road is full of swamps and muck that you can get stuck in if you're not careful, only an experienced man in the wilderness like old dog could tell the right path, as the few people advanced, Chen Yong kept following Su Chen around saying words of encouragement, in order to help his schoolmate get back on track, he had put in a lot of effort today, the group walked through a long swamp and came to a towering mound of dirt. Su Chen saw a deep purple crack in front of the mound of dirt, and the crack was filled with nothingness. This is what the replica looks like in its original form, and if left untreated, the demons will come to the real world through the rift. The five of them all stood in front of the crack after checking their equipment at Chen Yang's reminder. Be careful not to make a fuss in the copy. The old dog purposely stared at Su Chen. Follow Sister O. Yang Chi bumped Su Chen with her big opie. Depart. Su Chen touched the crack with his hand and soon appeared inside the copy. Original copy, Pan's Labyrinth. Difficulty, unknown. Passing condition, unknown. Entering the copy, the smell of dampness and decay hit his nose. Su Chen pinched his nose to quickly check the surrounding area. They were now in an underground palace. Right in front of them were five passages that led nowhere. Is there any mistake? It's so complicated as soon as it comes up? Yang Chi shouted. Not bad for a channel that's been around for six months. Chen Yong had already raised his shield and longsword as he spoke, wary of the enemy's attack in the darkness. On the other side, Nir Shin and Ning also released some sort of illumination skill to make the visual range larger. As a squad of level 25 professionals per capita, their teamwork was already well coordinated. The old dog half crouched and chanted for a moment before releasing a light blue puppy. 
The puppy ran at his command toward a passageway on the far left, an advanced insight technique that releases a spirit that can exist for a long period of time and probe the surrounding area. Wait a while, it'll take half a day to find the right path. The old dog rested in place after releasing the insight spell. The others were ready to rest while staying alert, preferring to go slow in this maze rather than go the wrong way. Su Chen looked at the old dog with some doubt. Why didn't he release a few more spirit bodies? Pathfinding with just one spirit body was too slow. Can't you just put in a few more spirits like he did to summon his soldiers? Why don't you release a few more spirits to speed up the pathfinding? He said as he walked over to the old dog. The old dog narrowed his eyes and glanced at him. Newcomers just watch. Don't ask such meaningless questions. I'm putting in an advanced insight spell. And I'm guessing you haven't even learned it yet. Advanced insight spells don't have the same cooldown as low-level insight spells, which have a cooldown. That's why it's just a pain in the ass to take you newbies and have to explain. Eh, cripes. Halfway through Chen Yang's words, the light of summoning suddenly lit up behind him, only to see Su Chen summoning 20 soldiers, in groups of four, running into the various passages. Ha, huh, I might be faster this way, Su Chen said softly. Across from him the old dog was dumbfounded. You're a summoner class occupation? Chen Yong said in a rather pleasant surprise. To summon 20 summons in one go, you're not bad at all. Yang Chi said, there's a limit to how far a summoner can be from a summoner, and you can't probe much distance at all with these things. The old dog made amends for himself. The crowd nodded. Su Chen's level wasn't high yet, and the range of activity of his summons was usually more than a hundred meters. Su Chen ignored the crowd and instead closed his eyes to carefully generate a map in his mind. A level 17 Dianwei soldier had an agility attribute of 430, which was already stronger than most professionals of the same level, and they are also like tireless machines that don't get tired at all. Soon the soldiers had taken each passage to its end. Su Chen identified the correct passage from it. Follow me, Su Chen said. What do you mean, so soon? Chen Yang was incredulous. It had only been a few minutes since Su Chen had released the soldiers, and in such a short period of time he was able to find the right path? Dead end path. Poisonous swamp. Spike trap. Correct path. Dead end path. Su Chen said as he pointed at several passages in turn. How is this possible? Old dog exclaimed. He had gathered some information about this passage, which about the end of the first level did have traps like poisonous swamps. Su Chen, as a student fresh out of school, couldn't possibly know this information. That means he did take every road to the end. Go with him. The old dog lamented, although he was unwilling to be refuted by a junior. The other party was indeed too much better than him just from the point of pathfinding. With the old dog's words, the crowd then packed up and set off after Su Chen. See, I told you that you can do it. Chen Yong patted Su Chen's shoulder and gave encouragement at the right time. He felt that if he could make Su Chen feel valued, then it was likely to bring him back on track. Su Chen relied on the map in his mind to smoothly bring the crowd out of the labyrinth and into a huge cave. The cavern was pitch black, and the overwhelming smell of corrosion wafted through it. After Shen Anning released the illumination spell, several people's goosebumps instantly rose. In front of the cave, a group of dark green toads had gathered. When illuminated by the lighting spell, all of the giant toads that were originally sleeping instantly woke up. They were as tall as a man, and the two basketball-sized eyes on their heads stared deathly at Chun Yong and the others. Drums. At the same time, the mouths of all the giant toads began to swell. Exit the cave, Chen Yong shouted. Anyone with any theoretical common sense knows that a swollen mouth is a harbinger of an attack by a frog demon. Several people quickly surrounded Su Chen behind them and exited the cave. Thumbs up. The toad's venomous attack followed. Some kind of strong acidic venom that splattered against the rock wall with hissing vapors. When the wave of attacks ended, the old dog instantly burrowed out and chanted a spell into the hole. Great ball of fire. A ball of red flaming fire then smashed down towards the group of demonized toads, and the flames lit up the entire cavern. Magic resistance. Those beasts actually have magic resistance. The old dog had a grim expression. A few people froze, not expecting a level 20 passage to be so difficult. The old dog was the only long-range offense among them, and they were even more helpless if the old dog didn't work. I'll charge in, and Ning follow milk me. Yang Chi slung his greatsword over his shoulder. Impossible. There are dozens of toads in there. It's impossible for these attacks to fall on you and milk you back. Chen Yong sternly refused. There was no way he was going to gamble with the lives of his teammates is the only way to return? When the crowd hesitated, Su Chen, who was tightly protected by Yang Qi, opened his mouth. Let me. No, your summons are only 20, and they certainly aren't considered strong fighters. They don't stand a chance. It's actually more than 20, Su Chen said. The crowd looked at Su Chen with some surprise. Originally they thought even 20 was a bit much, but now he's saying it's more than 20? So how many are there? 25. 30 isn't enough. 
Su Chin didn't reply and struggled to break free from Yang Qi's body, then stuck the attack interval and unleashed an insight spell on the cave. Enchanted Venomous Toad, Enhanced Magical Creature, Rank, 20, Power, 200, Agility, 100, Spirit, 600, Body Mass, 600, Skill, Powerful Magic Resistance. Spell damaging magical creatures with the highest attributes were already about the same as a paragon soldier. After Su Chen made a rough comparison of the enemy's combat power, he stretched out a hand to summon the soldiers. Sixty soldiers showed up and instantly filled the passage. Ha! Huh? The crowd was dumbfounded that there were so many. Stuck in the attack interval. Sixty tiger leopard rider soldiers swarmed in with their shields raised. The attack power of the demonized toad was indeed strong, and the soldiers' shields were corroded in just two attempts. In order for the soldiers to charge into the toad's formation. During this time, Su Chen also used his skill to update the soldiers' status once. When all the soldiers were in place, Su Chen's mind flashed. The imperial might is vast. A golden and majestic light blossomed from the sixty soldiers. The tightly stacked imperial mighty vastness matched the soldiers' frantic slashing. Su Chen's panel started the familiar brushing pattern again. Kill level 20 magical venomous toad. Experience plus 863. Obtain poison frog stomach asterisk 1. Kill level 20 magical venomous toad. Experience plus 871. Obtain poison frog stomach asterisk 1. Kill level 20 magical venomous toad. Experience plus 843. Obtain poison frog stomach asterisk 1. The effect was good. And a hint of a smile appeared on Su Chen's face. The first thing was that he had only sent out 60 warriors this time. So that only 180 points of energy would be consumed when unleashing the imperial mighty vastness. It wouldn't drain his mental energy in one go like before. Secondly he observed the damage pattern of the Royal Mighty Hulk. Originally, he was worried that Emperor's Mighty Vastness was also spell damage and wouldn't be too effective against the demonized toad. Now it seems that Royal Mighty Hojo is not mitigated by magic resistance at all. Which means that Royal Mighty Hojo is likely to be real damage. Realize that in the later stages the physical and magical resistances of the magical creatures are raised to horrific levels. And true damage skills can be able to completely ignore their defenses. Deducting blood by panel damage. That's why true damage skills tend to be godly skills that can only be learned later in the game. And he mastered them in his second skill. A few minutes later, the battle inside the cave ended. The crowd incredulously followed Su Chen into the mine. All the toads in the mine are dead, while about 20 soldiers remain. Su Chen waved his hand to retrieve the soldiers, and analyzed the next level in a cloudy manner. The few people standing behind him were not so relaxed. How could this be possible? All of them were level 20 plus professionals. A predicament that even they didn't have the means to solve was like a sprinkle in front of Su Chen. Su, senior brother Su Chen, how did you do it? Chen Yong opened his mouth and asked. Su Chen politely turned back to explain. First, let the soldiers rush into the cavern, then release the ranged skills. With that, he continued back to observing the mural on the wall. A few other people froze in place as if they were struck by lightning. Su Chen said it was as simple as accompanying his mom to a food market, but to them it sounded like nothing. Chen Yong suddenly remembered what Su Chen said on the way. I can go down alone, and couldn't help but sweat. This kid can't be serious. Are young people so fierce nowadays? Of the four, the old dog was the most at peace and even a little elated. Previously, Su Chen had crushed his probing ability, and he always felt a little bad in his heart for being crushed by a junior. But seeing now, Su Chen didn't just crush him, but crushed all of them equally. From one to all, it made him feel much better. After observing for a while, Su Chen took out a golden key from the corpse of the toad beside him. Find another part of the cavern. Insert the key, and a stone door slowly opens. Behind the stone door was a splendid hall with a hundred meter long table filled with all kinds of delicacies. Only the moment he saw those delicacies, Su Chen's spiritual power fluctuated slightly. Everyone be careful. There are control type skills. Before Su Chen had time to remind them, Chen Yong and Yang Qi pounced on the table and wolfed it down. The old dog grimaced as he pulled Shen Anning toward the outside of the hall. Mage-type professions were much less affected by mind control, but reckless professions like warrior-types couldn't resist it at all. Su Chen tried to wake up Chen Yong and the two of them, and found that it didn't work. Just as the two of them were binge-eating, an eye on a mural blinked. The mural then flickered and a demonic creature wriggled out of it. The two eyes were not in the frames, but in the center of his hands. It was pale, three meters tall, and essentially skin and bones. Hiss ah, with appalling screams. It gradually approached the two men who were eating furiously at the table. Su Chen retrieved its prototype in his memory. Lamia, the tyrannical eyeless monster of ancient Greek mythology. It is said to suffer from a curse that swallows every child alive at birth. It seemed that it was the source of this mind control. And as long as it was resolved it should be able to free Chen Yong and Yang Qi from the mind control. 
Ancient Greek monsters? Su Chen muttered under his breath. Then let's try the intensity of ancient Greece. Su Chen's thoughts flashed, and a burst of berserk killing aura gushed out. Summon Dian Wei. Put. A gust of wind rose, and Dian Wei, dressed in blood red armor, appeared at Su Chen's side. His monstrous killing intent spewed outwards, and even the Chen Yang duo, who had fallen into mental confusion, were shaken. The old dog was still dragging Anan out of the room when the spirit was about to give out. A wave of murderous intent hit him, waking him up with a jolt of fear all over his body. He thought it was a demon killing in front of him, but when he looked back, he only saw a stout, two-meter tall warrior standing beside Su Chen. Crap, what the hell is this kid? The moment Dian Wei appeared, demonized Lania cast mind control on him, with just a glance at the table. Nori swept away all the bread and cheese and cheese and curry with one hand. Harpies, how dare you drink me with pig food? He pointed at the demonized Lania and cursed angrily. Then he took out the giant halberd in one take out of thin air and threw himself at it, just to be on the safe side. Su Chun used insight to look at Lania's attributes. Enchanted Lania, enhanced demon, rank, 21, power, 1000, agility, 500, spirit, 1500, body mass, 600, skill, yoke of greed, a brittle mage, not a match for Jian Wei at all. Dian Wei's four dimensional attributes of up to four, 300 points completely crushed it. As expected, Dian Wei threw a war halberd first and nailed the demonized Lania directly to the wall. He then took out another war halberd in the air and swung it at it. The demonized Lania screamed and grew bone blades all over her body. Dian Wei held his giant halberd and broke them one by one, finally stabbing it directly into its large mouth full of wriggling teeth. Giggle. Playing the fool. Bring me your life. Dian Wei directly chopped off its head with a furious cry. Kill level 21 demonized Lania. Experience plus 4396. Obtain Lania's eye. Demonized Lamia instantly collapsed to the ground, turning into a black, dead mass. The entire gilded hall was also in instant disrepair, with lights out and artifacts dusty. The western food on the table was also black and gray one by one. The two of them, Chen Yang and Yang Qi, who were flopping on the table, still didn't know what had happened. All he felt was a lump in his throat, and he bent over violently and coughed. Illusion busted. Su Chen thought. All of a sudden, a shrill cry came from all directions. The murals around the perimeter of the hall began to collapse and shatter, followed by a deep, bottomless cavern. It was from this that the voice came. Something's coming up. Su Chen was instantly alerted and summoned 100 Dianwei soldiers with one hand. At this moment, the old dog and Shenanning had already detached themselves from the mind control. As mature professionals, they didn't stop to cast their spells immediately. Shenanning immediately cast an illumination spell, allowing the hall to regain its light. And once again, the old dog used advanced insight to make the light blue spirit leap into the narrow cave. Demonized Lamia children. Around 300 points in four dimensional attributes. Lots of them. After getting the information he quickly fed back to Su Chen. Su Chen, who had gotten the information, quickly distributed the soldiers precisely in front of each devil's cave. An attribute of 300 points was considered a very low level magic item at this stage of level 20. This kind of magic item that went for quantity but not quality was Su Chen's favorite because they trigger the crazy experience swipe mode. Each cave had an average distribution of three soldiers. Returning to their senses, Chen Yang Yang Qi and Old Dog also each guarded a cave. With horrifying screams, the demonized Lamia children rushed out of the cave. They are small and thin, with no eyes on their massive heads. There was only the large mouth and two nostrils that took up a full half of the face. They let out a heartbreaking roar, like they were trying to tear everyone to pieces. The scene had to be very weird and scary. However it was of little use. As the soldiers slashed down with expressionless faces, chopping a demonized air that jumped out of the cave into mush, killed demonized Lamia Sion. Experience plus 356. Gain Ash Asterisk 3. Killed demonized Lamia Sion. Experience plus 343. Gain Ash Asterisk 3. Killed demonized Lamia Sion. Experience plus 332. Gain Ash Asterisk 2. Su Chen's panel began to swipe wildly. He stood quietly in the center of the hall and began to observe the murals around him. Beside him, Chen Yong and the others were guarding their respective caves and selling their lives to kill the enemy. For level 20s, they could also deal with 300 point demons with relative ease. However, it was compared to Su Chen's Dianwei soldiers who didn't know how to get tired as well as couldn't make mistakes. Chen Yong and Yang Qi would inevitably miss a cut in their continuous swinging attacks. In the face of such continuously appearing demonic creatures, a single slash that goes astray will have a huge impact on the kills that follow, and this will continue to increase with their exhaustion value. Fortunately, there was Shen and Ning's healing and other supplies as a nurse, which kept the two from losing ground. The old dog on the other side, as a mage, 
Clearing out hordes of magical creatures was supposed to be his forte. A single large fireball spell can empty the entire cavern. But as the demons continued to pour in, he would have to get high and unleash his skills at the same time. Compared to Su Chen's soldiers, there is a lack of sustainability. The entire section of the demonized scions attack lasted for several minutes long. As the last scream ended, the scions were all but wiped out. The demonic attack ended, and Chen Yong and the others immediately sat paralyzed on the ground. As they were about to catch their breath and take a good rest, they suddenly saw the huge figure standing behind Su Chen. My, my shit, this, what is this? Chen Yong fiercely got up and shielded himself in front of a few people. Several guesses flashed through his mind at that moment. A magic creature? But it showed no intent to attack. Friendly NPC? But it didn't trigger a quest reminder. A sculpture? That's a strange placement. So many guesses. None of them correct. Because he subconsciously shunned the answer as impossible. Su Chen slowly turned back. This is also my summon. Marshal General Dian Wei. Chen Yang's mouth opened slightly. And his hand holding the sword shivered a little. Other than the old dog. Who had already been shocked. Everyone else reacted exactly the same way as he had. Is there any mistake? Not only can you summon a large number of soldiers and use ranged skills, but you can also summon military generals? Is this a career to learn? Is this in line with the principle of career balance? At this moment, in Chen Yong's eyes, Su Chen's image began to change. The original image of the cynical, self-seeking, prodigal student becomes illusory. He begins to transform into the image of the gifted, beyond the ordinary, ultimate genius. Getting a pass with that kind of power isn't a casual thing. Guys, can anyone solve this code? Su Chen's voice pulled the crowd's thoughts back. They somewhat scornfully bypassed Dian Wei and came to Su Chen's side. In front of Su Chen was a huge and magnificent stone door. The stone door is engraved with a variety of light patterns as well as intricate patterns. Those lines corresponded to each of the 16 precision locks on the stone door. This is clearly a coded door that needs to be figured out in order to crack it. I can't believe there's a trap door. The old dog said with some grumbling. As a veteran of many years in the wilderness, he had been down many wild copies. And one of the things that gave him the most headaches were some of the organs. These mechanisms are often very difficult to solve, either by getting stuck for half a day or not being able to solve them at all. What they hated the most was that sometimes they were stuck with these little mechanisms where they were obviously strong enough to get through. Chen Yong and the others were also frowning as they looked at the complex mechanism on the stone door. Being college graduates, they learned a lot about patterning and cryptography in school. But the question in front of me is clearly over the top. If they were taught egg fried rice in school, this combination lock would be making them a full meal. 16 organ locks. Each line interlocking. One wrong one has to be pushed back and start over. Sweat was already starting to break out on Chen Yong's forehead. And these patterns aren't patterns we're familiar with. The logical connections on them are hard for us to understand. Shen Anning further explained. Yang Chi duly chose to shut up, remembering her bearish persona well. Chen Yong's mind flickered, and an ominous premonition suddenly popped up in his heart. He felt sure that Su Chen was going to show them off with his genius intellect again. Every time the crowd is at their wit's end in scratching their heads, Su Chen would just fade out and click twice to solve the problem. It was horrible. Chen Yong felt like he was about to be abused by Su Chen with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. He slowly looked to the side, only to see Su Chen frowning, thinking for half a day before faintly shaking his head. Chen Yong's heart was relieved and he felt a bit dazed. Finally something he can't do either. Su Chen looked at the coated door and shook his head as he took two steps back. The writing on it he couldn't read at all. Plus high school cryptography tended to be shallow. If you are forced to use your brain to solve it, it can take up to 10 hours or even days. So he opted for a different ploy. Dian Wei. You do it. He stepped out of the way. And behind him, Dian Wei slowly walked toward the gate. The people next to him were all dumbfounded. Dementedly, he stared at the two meter tall, mountain strong Dian Wei. He. He can unlock the organ lock? The summoner's IQ is so high? Could it be? Could it be? That this stout, strong man is still a bit. Wise general. Boom. While the crowd was surprised, Dian Wei took out the city-breaking hammer out of thin air and smashed it on the door. With a hammer blow, eight of the sixteen organ locks were instantly broken. And even the stone door shook violently. Crap. Great wisdom. The crowd exclaimed. Boom. Boom. Two more sledgehammers slammed down. And the sixteen organ locks fell off. The stone door wailed and slowly opened to either side. After breaking the door, Dian Wei put away his city-breaking hammer and grunted coldly. Hoomph. Carver's ear. Chen Yong and his party were dumbfounded. No one had ever thought that playing with intelligence levels could be passed like this. No wonder the old saying that a force of ten, in the end, or their own strength is not good ah. Su Chen nodded his head in satisfaction, letting Shen Anning lighting open the way and leading the way into the final boss room. 
Ever since the display of absolute strength, the actual leader of this squad had become Su Chen. Entering the boss room, the surrounding scenery was very different from the scene just before. The original gilded splendor has become full of shabbiness here. In the center of the jagged and strange cave stood an irregular stone pillar as tall as a man. With the stone pillar as the center, a total of five concentric circles spread outward in equal proportions. Five concentric circles. Usually the appearance of something related to numbers in a boss room means it's related to the number of boss lives or stages. After Su Chen finished speaking, he turned to Chen Yong to verify his statement. It was knowledge he had learned outside of class, not exactly explicit. Chen Yong nodded his head silently, an unattractive look on his face. You're right, but why would a level 20 copy boss have 5 stages? They've broken into wild copies close to level 30 before, but it's never been 3 stages tops. This time there were 5 stages, so it's no wonder this passage lasted 6 months without anyone getting through it. Its complexity as well as the intensity of the magical creatures required at least a level 30 or higher team of professionals to be considered safe. Originally, Chen Yong was worried, but when he turned his head and saw Su Chen's face, is the fifth stage very powerful expression. He released. He knew that no matter what happened to this boss, I'm afraid that Su Chen would be able to fuck up the opposite side with little pressure. In the middle of the conversation, the stone pillar in the center of the concentric circle turned. Bubbling blood gushed from its tip. Is it coming? Su Chen raised his hand and directly summoned 100 soldiers to surround the stone pillar. He planned to activate Emperor's mighty vastness to vaporize the boss as soon as it came out. And five stages? I'll have you in seconds as soon as you come out. The gurgling blood grew violently larger and more abundant flowing down the stone pillar and into the ground. On the ground, they slowly fill five concentric circles along a set track. As the last great circle was being filled, an ancient music came from within the cavern. As soon as they heard the music, Yang Qi and Shen Anning's faces flushed. Sweat broke out on his forehead and certain parts of his body began to wriggle uncontrollably. Chen Yong on the side wasn't as exaggerated, but he wasn't much better either. When Su Chen saw the unusual behavior of several people, he immediately thought of the fact that Pan Shen had a reputation as a symbol of music and sex. There's mind control in the music. Su Chen exited to warn. The three men, excluding the old dog, came back to their senses with a jolt. Chen Yong shook his head and raised his greatsword to clear his head. Although Yang Qi and Shen Anning's faces were still flushed, their spirits had stabilized a bit. As long as one is mentally prepared, it is possible to resist by will in the face of ordinary mind control. Boom. The entire cavern began to sway violently as if it would collapse the next moment. The shaking lasted for nearly a minute before a huge monster stepped through the roof of the cave and descended from the sky. Roar! Amidst the roar that was about to shatter their eardrums, the crowd got a good look at it. It was nearly five meters tall, with a pair of goat legs, the upper half of its body was a human body, and its head was again a goat's head. On the sheep's head grew a pair of eerie horizontal pupils characteristic of sheep species, as well as a pair of giant horns. Pan, the shepherd god of ancient Greek mythology. Boss, Pan God, Enhanced Demon, Level, 22, Power, 1200, Agility, 1000, Spirit, 2300, Body Mass, 1000, Skills, Mental Disturbance, Trampling. When Pan Shen landed on the ground, he immediately began the Western God characteristic, chanting the name, I am the son of Hermes, Lord of Music and Poetry, Symbol of Panic and Nightmare, the Great, Imperial Might is Vast, Without Waiting for Pan Shen to Finish. Su Chen directly raised his hand to unleash his skill. One hundred soldiers swung their swords and swarmed up, plus the superimposed power of the emperor's mighty might. Pan Shen's not-so-thick blood bar instantly bottomed out, followed by two bars. This was followed by the third article. Three of the concentric circles of blood in the ground emptied instantly. Less than five seconds. Pan Shen was swarmed by Su Chen in five stages and only two were left. Roar! Pan Shen jumped high into the air in a lurch, which saved him from the soldiers' continued attacks. The surrounding Chen Yong several people had blank expressions, not knowing what words to use to describe the scene in front of them anymore. Boss fights can still be fought like this? People didn't even finish their transitions animation, and you just gave a beating off three stages. Is this fucking science? Is that fucking polite? Pan Shen leapt more than 10 meters, dodging the soldier's slashes. He couldn't stop shaking, and his dirt covered, grayish yellow skin began to peel off. Roar! It roared again the gray skin of its entire body fading away to reveal bright red flesh underneath. The pan god, who was already in a strange shape, was even less divine at this moment, turned into a naked lurid monster. Su Chen re-released the insight spell. Boss, Panshin, Enhanced Demon. Level, 22. Power, 2200. Agility, 2000. Spirit, 5000. Body Mass, 2000. Skills, Mind Control. Death Trample. 
Stage 4 Pantheon gets an amazing boost in all attributes. The spiritual attribute had even surpassed Dianwei's 4300 attribute points, and its two minor skills have seen an evolution. Upgraded from Mental Disturbance and Trample to Mind Control and Death Trample, the difficulty of this copy was indeed a bit over the top, Su Chen said in his heart. More than him, the other's expressions were even more horrified. Chen Yang's sword and shield was in front of him, and he opened the golden shield to envelop everyone, before the enemy could make a move. He had already surrendered his last card. Shen and Ning also released the healing aura and lighting spells in advance, fearing that it would be too late for the enemy to strike. Old Dog, on the other hand, decisively started chanting spells, hoping to help Su Chen out. When Su Chen saw the crowd's reaction, his heart also praised him from the bottom of his heart. Although the occupation and strength of Chen Yang's squad was relatively ordinary, but judging from their reaction in the face of crises and difficulties, they did not deserve the title of a mature squad. Die. The roar came as Pan Shen leapt high from the air, then smashed into the soldiers that Su Chen had sent forward. Death Trample. The soldier's blood level was plummeting at an unprecedented rate. Some soldiers with unhealthy blood levels had even died under its skills. Man oh man tactics don't work anymore. Great fireball spell. Fiery chop. While Pan Shen was in between attacks, Yang Chi found an entry point and charged up with old dog spells. Although the attack was successful, it caused limited damage. Pan Shen once again leapt backward, dodging Yang Chi's attack to unleash his skill. It stiffly broke off three fingers of its own left hand and spliced them together to form a bone shawl, blowing the bone cock. The woozy sound rang out, and the powerful mind control caused by Pan Shen's five. 000 points of mental attributes descended. In an instant, everyone suffered. Yang Chi, who was running, directly fell to his knees, and old dog Chen Yong and the others who were chanting spells and releasing continuous spells were forced to interrupt. Even the murderous aura in Dian Wei's scarlet eyes disappeared. Only Su Chen was still standing, but his spirit also wavered a bit. As his thoughts fluctuated, a rage inexplicably surfaced in his chest. That anger grew more passionate and spewed out as Panacea took control of the time. It was as if it was going to spurt out of his chest the next second. Seeing that Su Chen did not fall, Pan Shen once again accelerated the frequency of his Xiao sound. A burst of sound waves came barreling in, and everyone was unable to put up any more resistance. Submit to me. Pan Shen's unpleasant voice rang out, accompanied by the sound of a cocktail pouncing. Everyone fell to their knees no longer in control. The controlled Dian Wei was unable to use his skills and was vaguely on his knees. Right at this moment, the anger in Su Chen's chest built up to its highest point like a volcano erupting, that monstrous fury erupted from his chest, a sharp golden light stabbed straight out of his eyes, the mind control instantly disappeared, leaving only infinite rage, how dare you, make me submit, Su Chen spoke angrily, his tone carrying a fearful majesty, it wasn't ordinary fear, rather, it's when the son of heaven is angry, a million corpses will be killed, the fear that made heaven and earth tremble, kneel, Su Chen stretched out his hands and violently flipped them downward, a golden imperial might spread out in all directions with him at the center. Wherever the royal might goes, the music of Panshin swings away. The golden circle of light quickly pushed around, disarming everyone of their mental anomalies. The golden light slammed into the pan god, and its bone cock instantly snapped, its legs bending and slamming straight into the ground. It fell on its knees in front of Su Chen, kneeled down in front of the 9 to 5. Death comes. Dian Wei took out his war halberd after breaking free of his restraints and charged violently. Unable to disengage from control, Pan Shen was cut alive by Dian Wei in the fourth phase. Hiss ah! It bellowed angrily as the humanoid parts of its body began to fade, slowly morphing into its full goat form. Phase 5. Boss, Pan Shen, Enhanced Demon. Level, 22. Power, 5000. Agility, 2000. Spirit, 5000. Body Mass, 3000. Skills, Mind Control. Death Trample. Death Charge. All of its attributes were raised again becoming even more terrifying. But as long as the mental attributes aren't boosted, in the presence of a furious emperor, it would never be able to stand up. Kneel. Su Chen's irresistible imperial might resounded once again, and the golden-colored aperture once again charged towards Pan Shun. Pan Shun broke the ram's horn and blew his horn to resist the royal authority. It doesn't help. Imperial might descended, and it once again knelt down in front of Su Chen. Dian Wei turns on fearless charge, doubling his combat power and entering a dominant state. He leapt at Pan Shen and swung his twin halberds to slash him bloody. Boom. With a loud bang, Pan Shen groaned and fell into a pool of blood. Kill boss shepherd god Pan. Experience plus 20,000. Obtain silver grade Pan Shen bone shao asterisk 1. Obtain silver level Pan god mask asterisk 1. Obtain silver grade ram's horn armor asterisk 1. Obtain silver grade sheep's horn shoulder gator asterisk 1. Obtain source of blood asterisk 1. 
Obtained Earth of Ashes Asterisk 30. Get Jade Seal of Transmission Fragment Asterisk 5. Pan's Labyrinth. First pass through the passage. Receive a reward of 1. 000 contribution points. This passageway will be refreshed for 12 hours. Please apply the one-way teleportation spell before the magical creatures spawn again. Successfully clearing the level. The anger in Su Chen's chest gradually diminished and his emotions gradually returned to normal. He looked down at the fading golden light of his hands, somewhat surprised at his own reaction. Both in this life and the last he was almost never angry. Even in the dark times when the career fit remained at 0% after several years of hard work, he had never moved with so much anger. Exactly why? What causes one to unleash such fury? Su Chen couldn't help but think about it. When he associated it with the passage he had unconsciously uttered in his anger, he finally realized the source of his own anger. It wasn't his anger, but the anger of the hundred emperors of China over the past thousand years. 9 to 5. King of Kings. It is not to be controlled and checked by others, though it's normal to be controlled by a boss. And even if you are, you're only getting a little bit of blood knocked out of you by being up close and personal. With the thick skinned and thick fleshed Dian Wei around, he couldn't possibly be in any danger. But while he could be controlled, the majesty from the 9 to 5 could not. Emperors can be wounded. They can bleed. The only thing that can't be put in chains. If he were to submit to a foreign evil god here, then he would be spitting on the emperor's authority that had been built up for thousands of years in China. With this in mind, Su Chen's heart's respect for his own profession went up a level. He must not let the imperial majesty diminish by half in his hands. This chapter is crap, so you can skip one if you read the main text. Couldn't resist the big guys, was going to hold another one out. But my temperature is back up. Almost 39 degrees Lu. Can't use my brain anymore. Now the air I exhale is scalding and burning my nose in severe pain. I'll fuck his stinking warmth. Can't write any more for you all. It doesn't look good in the writing out. So I'll just have to do it tomorrow when the fever is gone. Here are just a couple of random words to talk to you on New Year's Eve. Watering down the word count. Don't worry this chapter should be deleted tomorrow afternoon and replaced with a new chapter. Just read the new one then. I hope you'll comment more, like more, and push for more. Your urges and support are my greatest motivation. Laughing. I hope you all can give a little more motivation. Ah, <laughs> Card crushing. I wonder who everyone can cross the new year with is in a little more I. I wonder who everyone crosses the new year with. I am this year anyway. Each person lost. I hope everyone can be with their girlfriends across the new year. Not adult even if. You study well. Grow up and then with the photo girlfriend. I hope everyone's new aunt and grandma will be more productive again. Can be better blessed. Blood Yuchen. Vision smooth. Rooftop you. Happy. Vision smooth. Every day happy. I fuck. So many typos. I wonder if it will affect people's understanding. I don't know. I hope not that many people see it. Stay up this late waiting for New Year's Eve. I hope you all have a happy New Year's Eve and a New Year. I'm not crazy. I just write wherever I think of. And there may be some confusion in logic. But I'm definitely mentally stable. I hope people don't get scared when they see this. I hope everyone's new intention of happiness didn't play. The family is happy. The heart is successful. The business is successful. Cam. I get a fever every New Year's Eve. What the hell kind of physique is that? Is it the New Year's Eve want want? It's just that the Wang Wang ate too much after hours. Red hot. I'm dry. Is it too much swearing? Evil. Hopefully it doesn't scare for into grandma people. I'm not crass cartography. Gee. I wonder how you all are doing this year and if you have harvested anything new. I hope you all get what you want next year. New year. New look. I'll do it. Cough. 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 I was 39 degrees in the middle of the night yesterday, couldn't sleep at all, and ran to the hospital at 4 a.m. The hospital's array of doctors are fortunate to have to be called up by me in the middle of the night to see me. I fuck. Han Turk is more fortunate than a fiction writer, so I hope you don't do too tiring work. At least there needs to be double breaks. Fiction writer's fart breaks don't exist. I do. Lucky money. Especially this little left armor. There is no human rights at all. Daisaku sister worship you a dozen words can earn hundreds of thousands I'm fortunate and hard work, 100 Sierra Leone and Leones, 000 only to earn each 5 dollars, I fuck, of course there's a big gap in what we write, and I know it, hopefully I'll improve in the future and bring you more well done skinny goodness, fast forward to new year's eve fun, cam, I'll be there, I still want to dunk the bleeping new year's eve party, but now that the head is about to burn off about to be abandoned Lou. I'm going to write about this area after you take an antipyretic on the demolition of the reform to go to bed. I'm dry. There's a bit of typos. I'm not crazy. And I'm sure I'll be able to give you all a normal update tomorrow. Don't worry everyone. Multi-eye single point of urgency. I'm in a normal state of mind. I hope I don't scare you all. This is a book of the Yellow Emperor's questions. 
Tell me a little about this book of mine. See, this is an emperor text for. As the name suggests, after Bai you will summon a variety of military generals. There are many more waiting to be unlocked. By the time to go to fight Cherry Blossom over. Beautiful country. He stick over. All kinds of put them muslin. Damn our thousands of years of ancient civilization. How can we be looked down upon by these people? The sight of those jumping around little caramels. Annoys me. I hope you can feel the beauty of our five. Zero 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 year old civilization in our writing. I hope you will feel the beauty and charm of our civilization for the next 5,000 years. I hope we can all love our own civilization. Our own country. It's not positive energy. It's not chicken soup. It's me saying it from my heart. There are good things in other countries and we have to absorb them. But we must remember that we are the dicks. For thousands of years, Wasia will always be the biggest dick. At the end of the day, I just couldn't go on either. I was going to write until 2000. But let's just leave it at that. Finally, I wish you all a new intention to be able to. Smooth, successful in school and happy. Worked well. Get a new year and new harvest. I wish you all a new year of crazy upgrades in muslin everything like the main character of the damn cool article. Go for it. The copy passed. And everyone breathed a sigh of relief. This boss battle was the one that brought all of their hearts to the extreme. And it wasn't just the mythic boss that scared them. The lurid-faced, perverted skilled pan god was terrifying though. But compared to the Su Chen who was murderous at the end and looked like a different person. The crowd thought Pan Chen was even a little cute and wanted to keep one. Chen Yang and old dog looked at Su Chen with palpitations. The terrifying pressure just now was still fresh in their minds. You feel it, do you feel that way? Chen Yong gulped. The old dog murmured. There is, there is a feeling of being put to death immediately. Chen Yong nodded his head in a hurry. Crap, you described it so right. On the other end, Su Chen recalled Dian Wei and the soldiers and turned to look at a few people. How are you guys doing? Is everything okay? This sudden turnaround scared a few people into waving their hands plus shaking their heads and leaping back several meters. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Su Chen laughed lightly, knowing that it was because he had just scared them with his ground appearance. In fact, even he was a little taken aback. After all, that was the wrath of an emperor. Not something that ordinary people could withstand. Not many people in this world can face the wrath of this pinnacle of power head on. Let's go after counting the equipment. Su Chen said. It was only after Su Chen's reminder that the crowd reacted to count their harvest. After everyone had pretty much checked. The crowd followed Su Chen and teleported out of the copy. Because of their clearance, the harsh environment around the replica began to dissipate. The corrosive swamps and dead ash began to slowly fade away, revealing the original color of the earth. If all the passages could be opened up, then in the future, the wilderness wouldn't be called a wilderness anymore. Su Chen said in his heart, without the swamp in the way, several people were soon back at the utility SUV. Chen Yong and his group were going to drive to the nearest wilderness supply point to refuel before returning to Nanshan City. Su Chen, on the other hand, declined the invitation to continue traveling with him on the grounds that he had to brush the monsters. Chen Yong and the others did not continue to stay. In this South Mountain Wilderness area, with Su Chen's strength, he could basically walk sideways. At parting Chen Yong gave Su Chen some camping equipment from the car. No matter how strong Su Chen was, it was his first time in the wilderness and there were some places that he probably wouldn't have thought of. Large marching water bladder. Water is cheap in town, but in this wilderness it can be more expensive than gold. Padded windproof sleeping bag, and while it's fine for you to meditate, trust me, there's nothing like a good night's sleep to restore your spirits. A big bag of pasties, made by my mom herself, 10 Michelins better than the compressed cookies on the market. Quick burning coal, windproof igniter, I see you don't have fire magic. These two might be useful as well. Almost there. That's all. Chen Yong checked again and said. Su Chen smiled and nodded, loading all the equipment into the storage space. Thanks. Not to talk about anything else. Chen Yong is the squad leader. His qualities of respect and care for his teammates are absolutely qualified. After exchanging a few more pleasantries, a few people bid a brief farewell and departed. The car drove out not far. Chen Yong poked his head out and asked Su Chen one last question. Little brother Su Chen, how did you do on the mock exam? Can you say the specific ranking? Su Chen waved his hand and said indifferently. A fluke took first place. Chen Yong sighed and retracted back into the car, feeling too embarrassed even though he had expected it. He went so far as to comfort the first place winner of the province's mock exams. The three-day, 18th grade fairy as a prodigal teenager for half a day. That's too much of a fall. Now he needs someone to comfort QAQ. Witnessing the buggy leave, Su Chen turned around and once again walked towards the labyrinth copy. Originally, Squad leader Chen Yong was required to notify the officials so that they could send a formation master to deal with this copy. 
But Su Chen took the initiative to take on this task, because the next thing was the real purpose of his visit to the wilderness. Experimenting with transforming exclusive copies will actually have an effect. As an emperor, how can you not have your own kingdom? Returning back to the front of the copy, Su Chen flashed his mind and consumed the five jade seal fragments he had just obtained from clearing the level. Whether or not to consume five jade seal shards to transform Pan's labyrinth into your exclusive territory. Yes. Selection successful. Conversion in progress. Transmission anchor being established. Copy parameters being modified. Monster icon is generated. Please select the type of monster you want to capture from it. Note, you can choose more than one. After choosing, the demon will join your army and will not appear in the copy again. Species 1, Enchanted Venom Toad. Population 71. Type 2, Demonized Lamia. Quantity 1. Type 3, Demonized Lamiachis, 343. Species 4, Enchanted Giant Gecko, 3. Category 5, Replica Boss Pan God. Quantity 1. Such a powerful ability to recruit the demons within the replica? Su Chen was slightly surprised. Originally he thought that this feature would just be exclusive copies to keep brushing. I didn't realize that even the demons inside could be captured to become an army. After scanning through the list and analyzing it meticulously, Su Chen understood the system's meaning. Theoretically all five of these categories he could choose to join the military. After selecting it, though, that species will not reappear in the copy, even if it refreshes. This means that by recruiting demons, the army will be stronger, but the experience of the copies will be less. Another thing is that these armies are non-renewable armies, unlike your own army which can be revived with skills. After a little thought, Su Chen gave up on those small monsters and only chose to add the final boss, Pan God, to his army. The first point is that all those demons are so ugly that it's a bit unorthodox to join the army. The second is that when they join the military, they are all demagicized and their strength is reduced. Sacrificing a lot of infinite experience for a less powerful mercenary just isn't really worth it. Lastly, I chose Panshin because he has a wide range mind control skill, and the boss's experience value is usually no more than 10% of an entire copy. Taking out the boss is the least impactful to the experience value of the copy. This look comes down to a perfect one-two punch. Choose success. Exclusive copies being generated. Exclusive territory. Pan's labyrinth. Generated successfully. Successfully set up a teleportation anchor point to access the copy anytime. Anywhere. Copies are updated every 12 hours. And the number of challenges will be stored if not brushed immediately. Up to a maximum of 5 times. The troop distribution of levels in the replica can be reset to suit different needs. Such as fast scrubbing or troop training. For the first time to unlock the exclusive territory. 5 Jade Seal Fragments will be given. You're welcome. And 5 Jade Seal Shards were given away? Not only is there a discount day, but there's also a new customer rebate. So it's a pretty user-friendly system. Unceremoniously accepting the 5 Jade Seal Fragments, Su Chen carefully studied the effects of the exclusive territory again. I have to say that none of the abilities that this Jade Seal Shard exchange has are cockamamie. Whether it's a martial artist or a skill like Imperial Mighty Vastness, or an exclusive copy, each is a super god skill. Recruiting demons aside, just from the leveling aspect, updated once every 12 hours, the update time is no different from the original. But after the original update you don't hit it and it stays there. Exclusive copies however are able to store the number of challenges. That is, you can wait 3 days to save up 5 times and then hit it in 1 day. You don't have to stay by your copy every inch of the way for 3 days. And you don't even have to worry about your copy not being played in time. And tweak the copy content as you see fit. If you want to quickly brush the monsters all together. The soldiers threw down the royal way how dang she live. If you want to practice, for example, you want to test the effect of Zhao Yun leading troops with Dian Wei, then you can line up the demons for practice as well. This exclusive territory is just that. Exclusive. It's simply whatever you want it to be. The copy was refreshed once directly after a successful conversion. Su Chen directly entered the copy without saying anything. As you enter the copy, a panel pops up for you to make adjustments. Su Chen cancelled the maze of the first level and the tedious deciphering session behind it directly, then throw the magical Lamia with control into the boss room, leaving the other demons unchanged. Entering the copy, this time he didn't go on Dian Wei, but switched to Zhao Yun to kill the enemy. The first level of magical venomous toad, Zhao Yun activated the lone hero to lead the white horse riders in the toadstools to wreak havoc, tainted blood splattered and venom tossed about. The experience value on the panel kept brushing up. The second level is more than 300 Lamiachis. There was still a stream of light bursting across the room left and right. However, at the end of the kill, even with Su Chan replenishing his skills once, the white horse rider was still depleted. Mainly because there is so little time left for them to move and pull in a tight space. With over 300 demons, 
getting touched a few times at random would result in a lot of life points being dropped. In the end, only Zhao Yun was left to kill the boss room alone, facing a boss impersonated by an elite monster, the demonized Lamia. Although Zhao Yun didn't have the spirit resistance skill, an elite monster still couldn't help him. Two points of cold light up, and Lamia's body is filled with several holes, and she falls to the ground in misery. Compared to Dian Wei's brutality and sadism, Zhao Yun's gunplay was much cleaner and more focused on a single move to stop the enemy. Pass the copy and the upgrade light pillar lights up. Su Chen once again received an upgrade, coming from level 17 to level 18. Open the panel. Name, Su Chen. Occupation, 9 to 5, unique. Rank, 18, 1. 62%. Strength, 180, plus 20. Agility, 180. Spirit, 1100, plus 50. Body mass, 180. Equipment, Skull Ring, Props, Reset Crystals, Skills, Summoning General Dianwei, Level 18, Summoning General Zhao Yun, Level 13, Emperor's Might, Level 18, Emperor's Might, Level 2, Summon General Dianwei, Level 18 Summons General Dianwei, Who Can Be Manipulated to Fight, Consumes 500 Spiritual Energy, Summon General Zhao Yun, Level 13 Summons General Zhao Yun, Who Can Be Manipulated to Fight, Consumes 550 Spirit Power, Emperor's Might, level 18 issues a mandatory command to a target within range. Refusal to execute it will result in mental damage and thought stagnation. Consumes 300 mental power. Emperor's Might, level 2. Apply an aura of Emperor's Might to a friendly unit that lasts for 10 seconds. The aura will inflict 50% of the enemy's life value to enemies within a range of 5 meters. Effect can be stacked. Spirit Power Consumption, 3 asterisk number of targets applied. Legion Information, General Dian Wei. Senior Tiger Leopard Ride Soldier, General Zhao Yun. White Horse Boxer, Pan Shun. Dian Wei, Level 18 Strength 4700. Sensitivity 4700. Essence 4700. Body 4700. Troops, 290 Senior Tiger and Leopard Cavalry Soldiers. Zhao Yun, Level 13 Strength 2600. Sensitivity 4250. Essence 2600. Body 1700. Troops, White Horse Cavalry 40. Other military types, Panshin, level 18 strength 1500, sensitivity 1300, essence 3000, body 1300. After checking his attributes, Su Chen realized that there was also a legion information updated at the bottom of the panel. Here you can view the attributes of all your minions at a glance, without having to go through them one by one. Both Dian Wei and Zhao Yun had upgrades following them, and their attributes and the number of soldiers they could summon had both increased, and the army also added a wonder soldier, Panshin. Su Chen suddenly felt like the Yellow Emperor in the ancient times, and there were some strange and exotic beasts in the troop in addition to the human race. However, Pan Shen's level had been suppressed to the same level as his own, and he had also undergone demagicization, reducing his attributes in all areas. It couldn't be compared to the same rank of Dian Wei Zhao Yun, but it was a lot stronger than the average soldier. Being close to a white John come to war, Pan Shen is still very cost effective. After sorting out the upgrade harvest, the happiness in Su Chen's heart was overwhelming. It's a happy feeling of growing in strength. The time was approaching evening, and the wind on the moors was gradually increasing. Because of the lack of vegetation, the winds in the wilderness are literally like unstoppable brutes, rampaging through the endless wilderness. No wonder you need windproof firelighters and specialty coals. Su Chen muttered as he took out the equipment left behind by Qin Yong. A hint of warmth flooded into his heart as he raised the campfire with his body shielded from the wind. He took out two pasties and placed them on the fire, the scent boring into his nose. I couldn't wait to take a bite of the pie and eat half of the sand. Blah blah blah. Su Chen directly summoned a whole 290 tiger leopard ride soldiers while spitting. The 290 soldiers raised their shields in formation with a heavenly aura, standing steadily in front of Su Chen. For him, keep the sand out. Eating is a big deal. And it makes sense to have nearly 300 people blocking a sand. In addition to the 290 sand blocking soldiers, Su Chen also sent out 20 white horse riders for scouting in advance. Anything that dared to disturb his meal would incur a horrific attack. In between side meals, Su Chen followed the habits of his predecessors and began to swipe his cell phone. Unlike cell phones, this world only has tools called communicators. The functionality is simple. With only two roles, calling and texting, this world is infested with demons and has no energy to develop the entertainment industry. Flipping through the short mailbox, there were many messages in it. Brother Gao Zhengda, 723 where are you? Brother Chen? I didn't see you at all in the duplicate hall. Goo goo. Summer Night Stars, 736 Don't you have to get off the books today? Goo pan. Summer Night Stars, 921 There seems to be a problem on Li Feihu's side. His father has come to the replica hall to see you. 
Stranger, 1011 are you Su Chen? You can't get away with what happened to my son. Between the guppies, the stars of the summer night, 1026 don't come to the replica hall for a while. I'll contact my father to take care of it for you. Big brother Gao Zhengda, 1136 crap boss, there's a couple of tigresses blocking you at the entrance to the replica hall. Don't come. Big brother Gao Zhengda, 1326 crap, Gu Xia is really fierce. Between the looks, the stars of the summer night, 1354 it's alright, for now. Guiding the stars of a summer night, 1631 where have you been? Principal Wang, 1653 student Su Chen, the matter of Li Feihu's injury in the replica is still inconclusive. But please rest assured that I will do my best to minimize the impact of this incident on you. Also please be careful in the wilderness. A copy of the National High School War has been finalized and will be sent to your mailbox at 5 o'clock. Nanshan City No. 1 Middle School Principal's Office. Li Feihu's dad came looking for trouble? Su Chen suddenly remembered that Li Feihu had met Dian Wei. So he could indeed identify himself after he woke up. It seems that the next time he wants to kill someone, he still needs to do it in a more desperate way. Su Chen's eyes flashed with a stern color. But this incident won't affect me for a while yet. As long as the principal doesn't reveal that I'm out of town, it's unlikely that anyone will know I'm in the wilderness. And it looks like the school and some of the powers that be seem to be on my side. Is that what that means? When you're strong, everyone and everything comes to your aid. If he wasn't number one in the mock exams, wasn't a genius, and was just an average student, maybe Papa Li Fei who will be able to rub him on the ground. Closing the short mailbox, Su Chen realized that the time was close to five o'clock and the copies of the Gao Gao War were about to be distributed. What will be the copy this time? After the end of the simulation copy, Su Chen suddenly realized that the reform of the college entrance examination was exactly the reform of the policy guidelines of the Great Summer Empire for the future. The Age of Peace had lasted nearly a hundred years, and much of the darkness had festered large enough to begin to stir. The abyss with widening rifts, more and more impassable passages, and the fall of god-level powerhouses. And it wasn't just the threat of demons. The smaller countries surrounding the Great Xia Empire were also starting to be dishonest. Passages appear randomly across the land. Though the larger the country, the more passages appear. In the pre-cataclysmic period, these passages brought countless demons and endless disasters to the Great Summer Empire. But after the Daxamites came through, these passages became replicas. More copies means more professionals that can be trained, and the country will naturally be strong. Putting death to the test says it all. But the neighboring countries of Cherry Blossom, Kimchi and curry are the opposite. In the early days of the calamity, they turned a blind eye to the Great Summer Empire's pleas for help and hunkered down in a bullet-ridden area. And when the Dasha Empire finished dealing with the demons and got back on the path of development and growth, they have shamelessly put forward the idea of a human community. Asking the Great Summer Empire to open up copies of their territory to them and develop together? What a different world. Same shamelessness. The Dasha Empire naturally refused with an iron fist. But over the years, these little people have gotten itchy again. When I first came to this world and learned all this history, not only was Su Chen not the least bit surprised by what these countries were doing, but he felt it was very normal, because he knew something was broken to the bone. No matter what parallel dimension he traveled to, if he was ever allowed to go to war and face Sakura or Kimchi, it would be a good kill. In his last life, he didn't have the chance to work with his ancestors to protect the enemy. So in this life, he must kill his way back to the present. In the midst of righteous indignation, the communicator rang. Su Chen detached himself from his emotions, only to realize that the pasty was cold. He put half a pie on the fire and checked for new messages. The moment he saw the message, he froze. Principal Wang, 1700 hours hello. Students, this national college entrance exam war copy has been determined. Elite candidates from all provinces and cities across the country will gather in two days at the war replica to fight for your respective futures. The main test of this examination is the teamwork ability as well as the ability to run quickly and fight in a long line. And the name of the copy is Seal the Wolves. Please work hard to prepare for your exams and have a good time. And good luck, South Hill City No. 1 Middle School Principal's Office. Su Chen looked at the name of the copy in the communicator, and the reflected firelight in his eyes gleamed. Seal the Wolf. Jux. Seal the Wolf. The high school copy turned out to be this pugilistic battle in Chinese history. The protagonist of this battle is Hua Jiaoi who was known as the Great Han's time-limited outsider. At the age of 18, he was crowned Marquis of Champion. At the age of 20, he was appointed General of Huzar. And he was the King of Living Hell in the eyes of the Xiangnu people. Hua Ziwei killed the Xiangnu army in this battle and fled to Wolf Jushu Mountain in Asari State. Afterwards, a ceremony was held on Wolf Jushu Mountain, which was called the Sealing of Wolf Jushu. From then on, Sealing Wolf Jushu was known as the highest honor for ancient Chinese military generals. Seeing the name of the copy, Su Chen's heart had begun to heat up slightly. 
Being able to experience this great battle to kill the Fei in person would be exciting just to think about. After the excitement Su Chen quickly stabilized his mind and analyzed the content of this exam. Unlike in the previous world, the questions of the college entrance exams were strictly confidential, and those who leaked them would even be imprisoned. Copies of exams in this world are always told ahead of time so that students have a general idea of what to expect. However, because these copies were all closed copies, people could only know the general direction of the test and could not train for it. But Su Chen was different. Su Chen was completely familiar with this history, and with the experience of the last bloody battle at Chang Ban Pa, he knew that the extent of the copy's adaptation would not be too great. If the last time Chang Ban Pa tested the crowd's ability to play defense, then this one will definitely test the crowd's offense. The battle that historically sealed the wolf's death. Hua Ziwei led his troops more than two, zero 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 miles deep and killed more than 70, zero 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 of the enemy before they reached Wolf Jushu Mountain. So this copy definitely has the test of long distances and long fights. This time, the opponents were also no longer slightly bulky soldiers like infantry or tiger leopard cavalry. This time they will be facing the Huns, foreigners who specialize in horseback riding and archery. They are best at pulling enemies with long range attacks and high mobility. If this faced these people, Su Chen would face a serious problem. That was that the soldiers of Dianwei's tiger leopard riders were not equipped with warhorses right now. They were all infantrymen. And infantrymen only end up being shot by kites in front of mounted archery. And Zhao Yun's ability is heavy on surprise attacks and decapitations. Too few in number as a frontal main force. Now the most reliable way is to get to level 20 as soon as possible. So that the tiger leopard cavalry can receive its second troop upgrade. If the tiger leopard rider can be equipped with a warhorse after upgrading, then it can solve the problem of frontal combat power. But, Su Chen took a bite of the pasty and his eyes flickered. What if we summon another general? What if you could summon a general suitable for massed cavalry battles? What if we just summon Hua? Then the battle will be perfectly fine. With his thoughts together, Su Chen immediately opened the Shard Mall. Debris Mall. 5 shards, randomly obtain a vocational skill up to level 30, level 20. 10 shards, permanently convert a copy into your exclusive territory. 15 shards, randomly select a general card or a noble princess card, level 20. Remaining features to be unlocked. Because of the first transformation copy, the system gifted him another 5 shards, so it was equivalent to no consumption. With the analog copy plus Pan's Labyrinth, he now had a total of 10 shards. In order to extract the Martial General card, he needed to earn 5 more Jade Seal Fragments. And in addition to the shards, he also needed to level himself up to level 20. Level 20, which you need to break through either to upgrade Tiger Leopard Ride or to unlock Generals. If he breaks through level 20, he will likely become the first level 20 candidate in the history of the entrance exam. Level 20, 5 Jade Seal Fragments, 2 and a half days left. A stern color flashed in Su Chen's eyes. It was difficult, but not an impossible task for him. After making up his mind, Su Chen's speed of eating the cake accelerated by a few points. Close the panel and take out the map. The duplicates in the duplicate hall all had level restrictions, and there was now Fei Hu Li's dad causing trouble. So Su Chen decided not to return to the urban area before the college entrance exam and practiced in the wilderness area. The wilderness area is very wild, both in terms of passages and replicas, and there are no level restrictions. Upgrading in the wilderness area is definitely more painful in terms of experience than the replica halls, but the ideal is rich and the reality is bony. Su Chen quickly realized that suitable passages were already very hard to find. Low-level passages like Pan's Labyrinth have long since been snatched up by others, and some of the remaining ones are almost all large passages of level 35 plus. Those passages had existed for so long that the surrounding area had almost formed a Jedi. The passage didn't work, so Su Chen's eyes went back to the copies. If the copies in the replica hall are official copies, then the copies in the wilderness are completely wild copies. Most of the copies here are under the jurisdiction of some gang power. There's no level limit. No limit on the number of people. Pay your money and you're in. Level 26 Pharaoh's Heart. Su Chen quickly selected a copy on the map. The gang that managed this copy was the Frying Sky Gang, which seemed to be a relatively famous gang. Such a wild name? Su Chen laughed lightly. After quickly eating the panel, Su Chen recalled all the soldiers to prepare for the road. He wouldn't brush up the experience in the Pan God's Labyrinth these days preparing to store up five times for the newly added military generals to be upgraded successfully at once afterward. As he recalled the military generals and was about to set off, Su Chen suddenly noticed the sound of an engine in the wind around his ears. I thought it was Chun Yong and the others who had returned refueled, but through white horse riding reconnaissance I found it wasn't them but a caravan. The convoy consisted of three vehicles with flags of unknown significance that looked like gang forces, contacting the information given by Chun Yong. Su Chen quickly realized that this group of people were running towards the passageway. 
Unfortunately, they were one step too late, and the passageway had already been transformed into an exclusive territory. Not only is the passage gone, but there's not even a copy left. Su Chen was not willing to deal with these people, but it was definitely too late to leave now. I'm not going to waste my breath, so let's do it the hard way. After thinking for a moment, Su Chen gently raised his hand. There was a flash of thunder behind him, and the silver armored Zhao Yun slowly appeared. Greetings, your holiness. Su Chen nodded slightly and pointed towards a few SUVs a thousand meters away. Expulsion. I am a wolf from the north walking in the boundless wilderness. Don't fucking sing, you dumbass. Who's the fool cursing? Dumbass curses you. Stop it, you guys. See if there's a light over there? What light? There can't be anyone else brave enough to camp in this hellhole. A few people in the buggy fleet stood up and looked off into the distance. Woofed up a woof, and a fucking light. Pick up the pace. There won't be any unafraid to beat us to it. Grass. Dare to rob our frying sky gang's copy. Don't know how to write the word death. Hurry up. 5,000 contribution points. The convoy gradually picked up speed under a chorus of urges. Upon approaching, the group determined that it was the campfire and that the surrounding swamp had disappeared. This meant that someone had fought their way through their frying sky gang territory and was now staying there to flaunt their power. This was a naked provocation. A provocation to the majesty of their frying sky gang. Pick up the pace. Fuck these thieves. Crap. Why is it thundering up ahead? The group suddenly realized that there was a constant surge of electricity in the area in front of them. Giggle. The fleet of buggies came to an emergency stop. They are still a little leery of facing the unknown. The gang members turned on their long-range lights to try to see who was coming. Soon, a man and a horse walked slowly into the light. The man was holding a gun in one hand, facing the light. A suit of silver armor was bright as a star in the light. Who is the visitor? Zhao Yun's voice was sharp and righteous. As soon as he exited, he directly spread throughout the wilderness, as if he could penetrate the hearts of people. The group of people from the Fried Sky Gang were a bit confused. The sound was a bit scary. In all my time in the wilderness, I've never met a tiger that was more tigerish than them. The group froze for a few moments before coming back to their senses. After reacting, they realized that although Zhao Yun looked ruthless, he was only one person. One man and one horse on the other side, and a dozen men on this side. Any way you slice it, the advantage is mine. After knowing the disparity in strength between the two sides, the Fright Sky Gang and their group slammed the door and got out of the car. They've never met such a dragon all the years they've been roaming the wilderness with the Frying Sky Gang. Today, I have to let the opposite side know who is the real king of this wilderness. A dozen men from the SUV rushed out and stood in neat rows. I'll get you for that. Where are you from? What's with you? A man who looked like the leader stepped forward and asked loudly with his hands spread out. How dare you come to play in the wilderness without even knowing about our frying sky gang? Don't you want to die? Zhao Yun didn't reply and stood still. Hello? Are you dumb? Our big brother asked you a question. A little skinny guy stepped out of the crowd and said. Zhao Yun still didn't reply and just watched quietly. I'll woo you woo. You really don't take us seriously. Boss. Fuck him. Good. You're on. The leader shouted. Ha. Huh? The little skinny man's eyes widened. Without waiting for him to react, the leader kicked him out. Nest. The thin man rolled three times to regain his footing, staring blankly at the magnificent Zhao Yun across the room. Lao San. You're a level 22 mage. Don't be afraid of him. Go Lao San. We're watching you. Fuck him. That guy just looks like a tiger. Two hits and he's deflated. The thin man gulped under the crowd's pep talk and stiffly removed his own staff. He trembled and raised his hand to release the insight spell on Zhao Yun. The insight spell lights up. Zhao Yun's wrist flicked violently, and his silver spear emitted a sharp trilling sound. Zhao Yun's shock scared the thin man to death and he directly fainted. The crowd of Frying Sky gang members behind them slapped their heads, feeling incredibly humiliated. Grandma's trash, the leader roared. Second you go. Yes, the bald man whose name was called took out a large broad-bladed sword and stepped forward. Watch me cut him down twice today. Zhao Yun's eyes flashed with precision when he saw the bald head out of the battlefield. The bald guy didn't care and charged with his knife raised. Level 23 Berserker. Blood boiling. Go to hell. Zhao Yun's eyes flashed as he rode on his horse and stabbed out with two shots before and after. The first shot pierced the root of the bald man's large sword, and the entire body of the sword trembled violently causing him to be unable to hold it at all, and the large sword came out of his hand. The second shot stabbed him in the root of his thigh, a stab that directly broke his defense, and blood gushed wildly. Whoa! The bald man fell to the ground with a scream. A dozen or so gang members were horrified. The bald head was the best in their battle power. Surprisingly even he was put down by two moves. Zhao Yun stood his gun on the ground and looked coldly at the dozens of people across the street. Leave now and you can still save a little life. The dozen or so gang members were dumbfounded. This was the first time they had been threatened on their own turf. 
Even though the bald man was killed in one move, there were still a dozen of them left. I'll gripe you in. Brothers fuck him up, the leader shouted. Charge. The surrounding brothers also shouted. Charge. Kill them. The fried sky gang will win. A bunch of people shouted for nearly a minute, their voices going hoarse, but none of them took the lead in the charge, instead, others took several steps back. I'll gripe you one. You guys get on, the leader shouted. Old, boss, you, why don't you get on? I'm going to be in command back there. I'm the brains. Charge me. At the leader's final charge, all the minions rushed forward. Zhao Yan drew his spear forward and immediately danced a silver white blade light in the darkness. Ah, ha, woo, wah. All sorts of miserable screams rose and fell. A bunch of unseasonable punks were killed without even recognizing their mothers. It was about to be all killed when the engine sounded. The leader got in his car and ran away. Su Chen, who was watching the battle through Zhao Yun's perspective, smiled. In front of Zhao Yun, do you think you can run away? In less than a minute, Zhao Yun had beaten the gang members into incapacitation. He then summoned the Jade Lion and in a few minutes caught up with the leader who had fled in his car. The leader's heart died when he saw Zhao Yun catching up. He looked at Zhao Yun's crotchet horse with a perplexed face, and then looked at his own car. The wide eyes were filled with confusion and disbelief. Open. Open up? Zhao Yun slammed his gun into the front tire of the SUV. The man tumbled over, and the leader's entire body was thrown out. He fell a dozen meters away, surviving because of the thick skin of the night profession. After Zhao Yun walked up to him, he fell to the ground and apologized frantically. Yes, I'm sorry master. I was wrong. Please let go. Let me go. As he spoke he fished out a copy of the entrance ticket from his arms. Su Chun ordered Zhao Yun to fetch the entrance ticket. The entry ticket says exactly what it says. Heart of the Pharaohs. It turned out that he had mistakenly encountered members of the Fright Sky Gang, realizing that he could enter without money. Su Chen felt very satisfied. I didn't realize there was a windfall. In his joy he ordered Zhao Yun to knock out the leader with a shot. This should be the fringe members of the Frying Sky Gang, who became scattered when they encountered powerful characters. And I have to say that Zhao Yun is Zhao Yun, handsome and brave at the same time. Every time he looked at Zhao Yun's superb marksmanship, the heart of Su Chen, who was substituting for the first viewpoint, felt a surge of pleasure. When Zhao Yun returned, Su Chen collected the entrance ticket and set off towards his destination. This time, while rushing, he summoned all the Dianwei soldiers to spread out in all directions. In order to reach level 20 before the entrance exam, he had to brush all the way to his destination. The wilderness is home to many magical creatures that have escaped from various passages. These magical creatures were of varying levels and in varying numbers. If you're lucky you'll encounter some beings with particularly generous experience values. But people don't normally use these demons as an option to brush up on their experience. Because on the outskirts of the wilderness, these demons don't cluster and are very difficult to find. You can't run into two lucky ones every now and then and try to level up. But Su Chin didn't have to worry at all. He had an entire army. The 260 soldiers were equally distributed within a 1 kilometer radius and conducted a carpet search of the perimeter. The monsters that other people couldn't brush. They did the same with Su Chen. Kill level 18 desert scorpion. Experience value plus 562. Get stinger asterisk 1. Kill level 22 overlord flower. Experience value plus 892. Get stinky stamen asterisk 1. Kill level 23 giant sandworm. Experience value plus 1302. Obtain Arthropod Long Legs Asterisk 5. The cool moonlight shot down through the clouds, adding to the silence of the wilderness. This desolate and filthy place should have shown little sign of creature activity at night. But on this night it was extraordinarily lively. Nearly 300 men rampaged across the moors with machetes. Kill level 18 Desert Scorpion. Experience value plus 562. Get Stinger Asterisk 1. Kill level 22 Buckthorn. Experience value plus 892. Obtain Stinking Stamens Asterisk 1. Kill level 23 Corpse Vulture. Experience value plus 1302. Obtain Long Knuckle Legs Asterisk 5. An experience alert constantly appeared on Su Chen's panel. The 300 Dianwei soldiers frantically hacked away at the demons, not even sparing the nooks and crannies. Because demons don't discriminate between animals and plants, even rocks can be demons. So along the way the soldiers turned almost the entire wilderness upside down. Whatever it is that looks like a demon will get two stabs from the soldiers. Sometimes Su Chen felt that he was a bit like a bandit who entered the village to sweep. Bandits to bandits. Such sweeps made his experience improve very quickly as well. Experience is gained much faster than in the replica halls. After walking in the direction on the map for nearly three hours, Su Chen finally saw some firelight. It was a supply point in the wilderness, right on his way to the pharaoh's heart. Supply points are in addition to the fact that you can get all kinds of supplies. 
As the word implies, it is also a place where professionals in the wilderness trade and buy and sell. A large number of professionals will gather there to sell props and materials. After a long time of brushing through the copies, plus the materials along the way, Su Chen's backpack was almost full, so he was going to clear a wave of backpacks at the supply point before heading to a new copy. Approaching the supply point, Su Chen gradually recalled the surrounding soldiers. He's not much of a wannabe. A dozen minutes later, Su Chen arrived at the brightly lit supply point. Giant tent after giant tent was joined together to form makeshift hotels. Each tent is almost equivalent to a guest room. Around the hotel are numerous vendors. Most of them are just professionals or merchants who specialize in buying props. Passing through a few tents at the edge, Su Chen walked into the fairground path. Seeing Su Chen's figure, those shrewd merchants immediately felt that big business had come. Dressed in a studentish school uniform, he looked like a fat sheep who could be ruthlessly slaughtered. Eh, little brother, do you want to come in for a rest? There's something good. You haven't tried that yet, have you? Come in and experience it. From 18 to 58, we have everything here. Amber stone, young man, the amber stone will keep you safe. Little brother, I've got some good stuff here. I'll sell it to you cheaply. Do you want it? Su Chen ignored all the stalls and vendors that came together. He was looking for merchants who specialized in collecting goods. Seeing that Su Chen didn't pay any attention to himself, the hawkers who had brought him to the door immediately transformed their faces. What's the point of pretending to be a big man, a poor man? The amber stone is not to be bought. You kid is out of breath. For the annoyance of these people, Su Chen was even lazier. The line of sight traveled through the crowd. And soon Su Chen spotted the target. Official shops. The official store has a big tent and other stalls and vendors. The tent bore the logo of the Imperial Exchange. Recognizing the sign, Su Chen lifted the curtain and walked into the yurt-like tent. Compared to other private vendors, the pricing given by the officials will not be high, but it is stable. Private vendors will give high prices for what they want and low prices for what they don't need, depending on their needs. And all prices given by official stores are based on market scarcity. Walking inside the store stood two professionals in charge of buying and selling transactions. After Su Chen made his intentions known, they opened the box above the counter, revealing the magic crystals inside. Su Chen placed his hand on it and the mall panel opened. As Su Chen was buying and selling, the two professionals continuously looked him up and down. They were amazed at how a student could be in the depths of this wilderness. The mind couldn't stop guessing about his identity. After a few minutes, Su Chen ended the operation and pushed the magic crystal back to the two. In the wilderness is not like at the exchange, where official personnel are still required to confirm that the material is correct before the transaction will take effect. The two professionals took the crystal and placed their hands on it. The moment they put it up, the two men's eyes froze and they stared tightly at Su Chen. What's wrong? Su Chen noticed that the two men's eyes were not right. The two looked at each other and turned their heads to Su Chen. Little brother, did you just come out of Pan God's labyrinth? Su Chen nodded his head. Some materials were copy special drops. You can tell which copy he just came out of by these special materials. Seeing Su Chen nod his head, the two men's faces became even more grave. One person gently leaned over to Su Chen's ear. Little brother, hurry up and leave the wilderness, or you'll be in trouble. What do you mean? Su Chen expressed his disbelief. Was there any trouble in the wilderness? From the time he entered until now, he hadn't noticed any difference between the wilderness and the urban area. Someone is tracking down the person who broke through the Pan God's labyrinth, and a group of people have already been captured before. What kind of a group of people? Su Chen's eyes flashed. It's a squad. Two men and two women. Hearing this, Su Chen's eyes changed subtly. Did something happen to them? We don't know yet, but the gang won't let them off easy. Pan's labyrinth has five. Zero 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 contribution points. That's not a small amount. Thoughts flickered in Su Chen's head. Although he had only met Chen Yong and the others on one side, they still gave Su Chen a good feeling. Anyways, he was also a teammate who had made a copy. So if he was capable enough, he intended to help out. After making his decision, Su Chen asked out loud, Which group? He confused the two official businessmen with this question. Four of your high-level teammates have been captured. Why don't you, a newcomer, run away and ask for such nonsense? Little, little brother. I advise you to stop having unrealistic ideas and run. Yeah, you shared the contribution points too. It wouldn't be good if they caught you. Su Chen shook his head, ignoring the words of the two men and continued. Tell me which group. This time his tone became grim, and a sense of majesty permeated his words. The two were surprised by Su Chen's aura and helplessly opened their mouths to reply. It's the Fried Sky Gang, one of the four major gangs in the wilderness. They raised a powerful squad not long ago to go on a crusade against Pan's Labyrinth. But the labyrinth was cleared early, and they narrowly escaped total annihilation when they encountered a powerful demon halfway through. 
All these things combined made them go completely crazy and come back and find your friends. Su Chen froze. Fried Sky Gang? Could it be the group that Zhao Yun disposed of? Are you sure it's the Frying Sky Gang? Su Chen asked with some skepticism. The two merchants nodded solemnly. Yes. When they saw Su Chen's dull face, they thought that he was afraid. So they added a sentence. Little brother. I know you think it's shameful to abandon your teammates, but there's no fear of being left behind. So I hope you'll think deeply. Are you sure they're sending out elite combatants tonight? Su Chen asked again. Yes. All outlaws. The best of the best. Su Chen. At the center of the supply point is a cluster of tents from the blowout gang. They are the managers of this supply point. In front of the group of tents stood a pillar on which several people, Chen Yang old dog, were tied. They looked bad, covered in wounds, and looked like they had been through a fierce battle. A group of people from the Frying Sky Gang stood at the entrance of the tent with arrogant faces, while the surrounding area was surrounded by circle after circle of onlookers. Chen Yong looked at his surroundings and then at his teammates, his face showing endless remorse. It was because it was the first time he had gotten so many contribution points, so they talked a lot about what gear to buy along the way, and what they said was heard by someone who had the heart to report it to the Frying Sky Gang. The Bombay Gang was outnumbered and they were outmatched and captured. Wealth does not reveal itself. He should know such a simple truth. But he, as captain, didn't take care to warn his teammates. It's still unknown what the blasted Sky Gang will do with them. But there are still two girls on the team. In the middle of thinking, the leader of the Frying Sky Gang spoke up. He had a purple beat up mark on his face that looked a little funny. But Chen Yong was in no mood to pay attention to those at the moment. He only hoped that the Frying Sky Gang would not go too far. Brothers of the Wilderness. You should all know that this is the territory of our Frying Sky Gang. When you're on our Fried Sky Gang's turf you should do follow our Fried Sky Gang's rules. These people are unruly and have stolen our entire 5. 000 contribution points. Do you guys think it's a bad rule? 5000 contribution points. The crowd of onlookers erupted in awe, casting sympathetic glances at Chun Yong and the others, taking 5. 000 contribution points from the Frying Sky Gang. This is going to be hard for them. I, the Frying Sky Gang, am not unreasonable. The leader continued. Now I'm giving them the chance to prove themselves, one-on-one-one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one with the same profession. And if you win, you can leave as long as you convert your contribution points into equipment and turn it in. Lose, the leader hand and hawed. The man dies and the woman is left for the brothers to enjoy. If you dare to touch my mother, you see if my mother lifts your heavenly soul cover. Yang Chi scolded. Ha ha ha, the leader laughed out loud. I love a hot horse like you. It's a blast to ride. Woohoo! Live ride, live ride. We're going to watch, we want to watch. A group of people around them shouted. The vast majority of the wilderness are outlaws who have committed crimes in urban areas and are of poor quality. There were also some professionals from the urban area in the crowd. And they could only shake their heads helplessly. They sympathized with Chen Yong's squad, but that was as far as it went. There was no way they could defy the blast gang to do anything. Unless they didn't want to hang out in the wilderness anymore. Amidst the uproar of the crowd, Chen Yong and his party looked very embarrassed. Chen Yong was groundless and felt ashamed of his teammates. Yang Qi reddened his face and cursed with those who were up in arms around him. Shen Anning's entire face had turned red, and when she felt those unkind gazes from the crowd, she only felt that they were more terrifying than demons. The old dog, on the other hand, had a deadpan gaze, staring out at the crowd. He'd been in the wilderness for so long, he'd made a ton of friends anyways, and when he had just cast a pleading glance at those friends in the crowd, he had gotten nothing but averted eyes. No one would be willing to offend the Fried Sky Gang for him. Since everyone is so vocal, let's start now, the leader shouted. There was a loud round of applause at the bottom. They say they're giving it a chance, but everyone knows it's a fight with a foregone conclusion. The explosive Sky Gang wouldn't let anyone escape from them no matter what. The leader pointed at Chun Yong and his group with contempt. First, which one of you goes first? Come on old lady, let's see if I don't remove one of your legs today. Yang Chi shouted. Yang Chi, let me do it. I'm the one who caused you guys to suffer, Chen Yong said. Captain, what are you talking about? It's everyone's fault. No one blames you, but I. Stop it, the leader yelled. When are you going to give me a bitter show? You first, he pointed at Yang Chi and said, a lecherous smile on his face. Let me see how much meat you have on that chest today. Good good good, boss fuck her over. Boss is mighty, love to see beating women. Beat her so hard she can't straighten her legs. A junior went up to cut Yang Chi's rope. The moment he cut it open, Yang Chi took out his greatsword from space and charged towards the leader. Her charge was fierce, but her form was very unsteady. The surrounding battle experienced professionals immediately saw that she was already in a state of negative injury. Shen Yong and the others had been beaten to death long before they were captured and returned. 
Now they were engaging the opposite side without any status. Seeing Yang Qi rushing up, the leader sidestepped and easily dodged the chopping attack, slapping her violently on her ass. Yang Qi swung his sword back and chopped, and was again dodged by the leader. Taking advantage of Yang Qi's opening, the leader kicked her hard in the abdomen, sending her flying. Aha! Boss do you know anything about compassion? I'm afraid I won't be able to conceive a child after this kick. Ha ha ha. Yang Qi fell to the ground and desperately wanted to get up, but was too injured to even curse. No more. Girl, you'll have to serve me well from now on. The leader turned back to look at Chen Yong again. You, next. Chen Yong looked at Yang Qi who had fallen to the ground, his eyes filled with remorse and heartache. After being untied, he struggled to get up from the ground. He still had a bow and arrow lodged in his left leg, and blood permeated a large area. The leader pointed at him, Hey, you're the captain aren't you? I'll give you another chance today. All you have to do is beat this skinny guy next to me, and you take the girl who was just there. If you lose the fight, the woman tied up in the back will be given to us directly without a fight. Hearing the leader's words, Chen Yong clutched the greatsword in his hand in death. Once again the responsibility rested on his shoulders. The lives of the two girls on his sword, his eyes gradually became firm, looking dead ahead. Must win, he must win today even if he puts his life on the line. Outside the official stores, Su Chen exited the door and headed directly towards the center of the bazaar. He knew the location of the blasted Sky Gang camp from the official professionals. Within a few steps, a professional came out of the tent after him. Hey, little brother, you're going in the opposite direction. That's the exit over there. Su Chen walked straight without looking back. I didn't walk backwards. The official professional froze in place with wide eyes. No way. Does that mean he's going to go after the frying sky gang? It's not just going to die. Hey, little brother. Don't go. You're still young. The official professional gave chase. He had to save the young life. Hurry up and go. The power of the frying sky gang is very strong. It's not something you can deal with at all. The official professional followed Su Chen closely along the way, persuading him bitterly. I see that your uniform is from the first school. Right, and my son is also in the first school, take my advice, don't go, you're still young, Su Chen didn't even turn around to take care of him, and walked all the way forward, the further we went, the more people we traveled with, they had all rushed to see what was going on when they heard that the fried sky gang was going to execute a group of people, during that time there were also those few vendors who had pestered Su Chen, when they saw Su Chen followed by official merchants, they knew that he was selling the goods to the officials, because they hadn't been able to slaughter Su Chen, it made them feel very unhappy. A few people even took the opportunity to dig at Su Chen as they rushed alone. Kid, you know what's going on there don't you? And you dare to go along for the ride. That's where the big men of the Fright Sky Gang are doing their business. They'll kill people. Have you kids ever seen a dead man? This hairless brat has seen dead people before. I think he's going to be scared out of his wits in three or two tries. Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah. Don't go around looking for your mom then. Hearing a few people's mouths say that the Frying Sky Gang had the potential to kill people, Su Chen didn't pay attention to them just accelerated his pace again. A few vendors laughed out loud when they saw Su Chen quickly walking away. Stop it. People think we're hooligans and get scared off. Being scared away by a few of our hooligans. Then he won't wet his pants when he sees the group of tough guys from the Frying Sky Gang later? This kid doesn't know what he's going to see yet. Let the wilderness teach him a lesson today. Several people also quickened their pace. They were very interested in Su Chen's next reaction. In front of the explosive Sky Gang camp, Chen Yong's battle had come to an end. He flopped to the ground in a charred heap, unable to stop the shaking in his body. Across from him, the thin man with the staff smiled out of the corner of his eye. Wubi you wubi, how can this kind of power be a captain? You're not half as good a fighter as a big-breasted girl. Chen Yong flopped to the ground, his face bloodless. He tried desperately to get up, but his legs were already unconscious. He looked at Yang Qi with a pained expression in front of him and thought about Chen Anning behind him. Because of his mistake, everyone in their squad was going down. Two lines of reluctant tears flowed. If only he could have been stronger. If he could be as strong as Su Chen, how could he fail to protect his teammates? But there were no ifs in everything. He wasn't Su Chen. He was going to die here today. Cry. Cry. I beat him to tears. The thin man laughed strangely. The surrounding crowd laughed and cheered wildly. These professionals from the city are more or less self-important. Now the Frying Sky Gang had sort of helped them out. The leader of the Frying Sky Gang stared at Chen Yong on the ground with some confusion in his head. The doubt actually came when he got them back. That's how they got through Pan's Labyrinth with their strength. Pan's Labyrinth, as a hardcore that had survived for so long, even they, the Frying Sky Gang, would not be willing to take the risk if it wasn't for the official increase. And now that this group of not-so-strong squads had managed to pass, was there someone else in their squad? 
He suddenly remembered the scene a few hours ago when a group of them were all but wiped out outside the labyrinth. Although they claimed externally that they had encountered a powerful demonic creature, they themselves knew clearly that the one who had fucked them over was a human being. Is the man on the horse with them? After a long moment's thought, the leader dismissed his suspicions again on his own. That contraption was so strong. It was obviously a big shot of some kind. There was no way it could have teamed up with this group. Then it looks like the group got lucky and happened to pass the copy. Determining that Chen Yong's few people would not have any more backhanders, the leader turned his head back to the pillar that bound the crowd. Get me that chick. And the guy keep fighting the skinny guy. Yes. Chen Anning was furtively grabbed by a few minions. And only old dog was left in Chen Yong's squad at the moment. As a native of the wilderness, none of the onlookers were willing to speak up for him at the moment. Fight or not. Look at you wimp. Just as Slim was about to launch an attack on the old dog, suddenly a patrol boy pushed his way through the crowd. Boss, the demons on the east side are all dead. When these words came out, the surrounding group of professionals were a bit confused. How could the demons in the wilderness be finished dying? Aren't they simply impossible to kill? The crowd thought it was this patrol boy who had committed a crime, but they didn't expect the leader of the Fried Sky Gang to stand up directly. What did you say? I, I said I was patrolling the east side and found the demons all dead. The leader's eyes flinched, and his face immediately turned into a pig's liver color. East, east, east is the direction they hit the man on horseback. And come to think of it only that kind of strength can clear a large area of demons. Had he come to the supply point already, what does he want at the supply point? Seeing the leader's face change drastically, the people who were originally unimpressed by this piece of news also speculated. They wanted to know what character could really clear an entire area of demons. And what kind of person would make the unbeatable leader of the Frying Sky Gang so alarmed? The leader panicked. Not completely disorganized. It was in his territory after all. And he couldn't afford to lose face. Moreover, that person didn't kill them at that time. So he shouldn't be aiming at their Frying Sky Gang either. He sent out half his men and told them to look for someone at the supply point and report immediately if they found someone on horseback. On the other side, he ordered the thin man to settle the fight quickly. He was now in no mood to watch the brawl. The thin man was instructed to start chanting spells without saying a word. He had lost face in front of all his brothers a few hours ago when he was stunned by a man on horseback. This time he was going to hold back a big second to kill the man in front of him and let everyone know his true strength. Orlando's spell mystery. Awaken my sleeping power. Inquisitive magic fireball. Give it to me at. Die. The last word of death did not come from his mouth, but from the midst of the crowd. The moment he heard the word death, his heart plummeted and his brain felt as if it had been stabbed with an iron nail. The large fireball that had been half summoned instantly went out, and his entire body fell straight to the ground. The onlookers were dumbfounded and looked at the fallen skinny man in disbelief. What the hell is this? Why did you fall asleep when you had the spell on? You've run out of mental energy? I've never seen anyone just fall to the ground when they run out of energy. The leader was contemplating what to do if he did find the horse rider. He was also confused when he suddenly saw the thin man fall unconscious on the ground. What's with this fool today? Fainted twice without even fighting. In the crowd's amazement, a figure squeezed out of the crowd and slowly walked towards the old dog. The old dog whose heart was originally as if it was dead snapped his eyes wide open and looked incredulously at the person walking towards him. Su, Su Chen? Seeing Su Chen appear as a student, the people next to him felt a little misplaced. The presence of a white student among a group of big, brown men is out of place in any way. What does this mean? Wrong place little brother. A newborn calf is not afraid of tigers. The boss's face is not right he still dares to charge in. Hurry up and get him out of here, or the boy will die here tonight. Hey, who's the kid to claim it? Su Chen ignored the surrounding noise. His eyes observed the injuries of Chen Yong's four people. The old dog and Shen Anning were still in good shape, with injuries but not fatal. Yang Qi should have suffered serious internal injuries and fell to the ground, unable to get up. Chen Yong's injuries were the most serious and were simply shocking. If Zhao Yun had been allowed to kill this group of people at that time, perhaps things wouldn't have come to this scene. Su Chen's eyes flashed with a murderous aura as he looked fiercely at the leader. The leader was upset about the horse rider, and the thin man's inexplicable collapse annoyed him even more. This glare from Su Chen directly triggered his emotions. You kid doesn't want to fucking live. Dare to stare at me. The leader stood up with a mischievous, menacing air. It scared the surrounding onlookers back a few steps. Su Chen's eyes were cold and ready to raise his hand when a person pulled him from behind. I'm sorry ah, boss Li, this my family children, do not know how to run around. That official merchant desperately pulled Su Chen back. He was also incredibly scared at the moment, but he really didn't want to see Su Chen get killed. I don't care who your kid is, today I must teach him a lesson. The leader roared. Boss Lee, he's still a kid. You put, you exchange also dare to meddle in my business. Don't you want to hang around here anymore? 
The official merchant froze at the sound of it. He helplessly glanced at Su Chen and slowly retreated back into the crowd. Looking at Su Chen's young face, the businessman's heart was incomparably heavy. This young man had an empty fervor to avenge his companions, but he didn't know that fervor was the most useless thing in the wilderness. The few vendors in the crowd snickered at each other when they saw Su Chen getting into trouble. They originally wanted to see Su Chen being frightened by Boss Li's means of executing prisoners. I didn't realize that this stupid tiger had rushed in, and now he had become Boss Li's prisoner. The fun became even greater all of a sudden. The leader stared at Su Chen and spoke. You unafraid of death want to save them, don't you? Today I'll teach you a lesson you can't learn in school. Put on your socks before you put on your shoes, and be a grandson before you become a master. You're a hundred thousand fucking years away from trying to glare at me. Kid, do him. The leader pointed, and a junior brother walked towards Su Chen carrying a double knife. The crowd of onlookers is up in arms again as the white boy provokes the black boss to be killed. I have to say that there was so much on tonight that they've been talking about it for days. This kid is finished. Hopeless. A student still comes to the wilderness. I don't think he wanted to live in the first place. Cool. 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 Tell him not to buy my amberstone. The gas is gone. The double sword's little brother came forward ferociously. Su Chen raised one hand, and the five Dianwei soldiers instantly appeared, without waiting for the man to react. Five machetes stabbed straight into his stomach from five directions. Giggle. The little brother fell to the ground, his intestines spilling out. Ha! Huh? Everyone was dumbfounded by the sudden reversal. What's going on? Why are there suddenly five people here? Crap. Straight up seconds. What is this? That kid is a summoner. Summoning five warriors at once. He's very strong. My god. Someone dares to kill someone in the territory of the Frying Sky Gang. The official merchant was dumbfounded. He didn't expect Su Chen's battle power to be so strong. And he just killed someone directly. Ah. And there was no reaction at all. Is this a student? The leader stared in disbelief at his bloodied little brother. How is that possible? That minion just now was at least level 20. And to this kid across the street with his school uniform on. 12 or 3 grade at most. How is it possible to die without even lasting a second? Seeing his little brother die in his own territory. The leader was completely tense. It was an intolerable insult to him. Give it to me. Skin that kid. A dozen or so of the surrounding minions swarmed up. Their faces fierce. As if they wanted to swallow Su Chen alive. Seeing that the Frying Sky Gang was getting serious. The onlookers retreated backward to clear the distance. Kill him. Kill him. Fuck him. Show this kid what the wilderness is. It's over. It's over. This kid won't even be able to keep his whole body today. Those five summons of his are okay, but they don't stand a chance at all against so many people. It's a shame. With his strength he could have made a name for himself. Pay attention in your next life. A dozen people approached, and without blinking his eyes, Su Chen once again waved his hand and summoned twenty soldiers. The onlookers were abuzz at the sight of twenty heavily armed soldiers once again on the field. What the hell? He even has someone. What does that mean? This kid is here to crash the party. Seeing twenty soldiers appear again, the minions panicked, without even giving them a chance to react. Su Chen raised his hand and pointed. Twenty-five soldiers surrounded it directly. The entire front of the blasted Sky Gang camp instantly turned into a slaughterhouse. The screams continued and blood and flesh flew everywhere. Everyone was dumbfounded. Who would have thought that such a massacre would occur in the territory of the Frying Sky Gang? It's over. It's over. What is it? This kid is simply heaven-defying. Seeing Su Chen's frantic slaughter. The leader went completely insane. He hissed and issued a bounty to all. Kill him. Whoever kills him will get all my contribution points. The onlookers were instantly agitated when this reward was offered. They are all outlaws who lick blood from the tip of a knife. And it's impossible not to be moved by such a bounty. Besides, Su Chen's soldiers were limited. And they surrounded with hundreds of people who piled up and also piled up him to death. Go on. Brothers. Avenge Bossley. Charge. Charge. Contribution points. Damn kid playing pig and tiger. Don't blame your uncles for not being martial. Kill him. As the crowd charged, Su Chen raised his hand and waved it. A tyrannical killing intent spread out around him. Dressed in blood red armor, Dian Wei appeared in front of the crowd. Giggle. With a blood colored blade shadow, the few people who rushed ahead were directly cut off. Columns of blood erupted, spilling out onto the faces of those behind them like they didn't need money. Ah! All the people in the house shrieked and stepped back as if they had seen death coming. Back off. Back off. He's evil. This man is evil. Don't kill me. I have kids at home. The businessman in the crowd was already dumbfounded. He was pushed and shoved on the ground, his eyes staring dead at Su Chen. He couldn't believe that the student he had just been protecting for half a day had even killed dozens of people without blinking. He didn't doubt for a second now how Su Chen had gotten the pass to enter the wilderness. His strength didn't need any protection at all. 
After being cut down several times, the crowd of onlookers was in disarray. A few of the vendors were pushing their way out desperately. They looked horrified and their faces were covered in sweat. Su Chen's god-killing performance became their nightmare. He, he didn't expect the person he had taunted all the way to be so terrifying. Right now they just want to escape and pack up and get out of here for good. Slow down and you're dead. But anyone who slows down and gets caught is dead. Su Chen ignored the chaotic crowd and turned his gaze to the leader. The leader fell to his knees, soaking wet between his pants. He couldn't stop his head from shaking. Dian Wei's appearance reminded him of Zhao Yun. And these two such terrifying battle powers were actually from a teenager. No way. Impossible. Su Chen raised his hand and pointed. And Dian Wei leapt forward to slash down. Giggle. The leader's head rolled down to Su Chen's feet. Su Chen looked at it faintly and kicked it away. He had already given them a chance. But unfortunately they didn't cherish it. Dian Wei slashed the leader of the Frying Sky Gang and turned to look at the stunned crowd. Seeing Duan Wei look over. Everyone winced deeply. Killing Aura. The monstrous murderous Aura in those eyes. There are no laws in the wilderness. And almost everyone has a few lives potentially on their hands. This is the reason why the wilderness people are also called outlaws. But just such a group of people also felt as pure as white paper in front of Dian Wei. The killing intent in those eyes of Dian Wei was simply not something that could be tempered by killing one or two people. My god. This. This is too fierce. I feel like he could kill all of us here. This. What level of summon is this? It's too strong. I feel like I'm going to piss myself. Who? Who pissed on my fucking foot? As Dian Wei shocked the crowd. Su Chen checked the status of Chen Yang's squad on his own. He untied Shen Anning and let her check Yang Qi and Shen Yang's injuries. After checking for a while, Shen Anning shook her head heartily. She said Shen Yang's injuries were too severe and would have serious after effects if left untreated. And with Shen and Ning's level and current state, it was simply impossible to complete the healing quickly. Seeing this, the old dog took two steps out and fell to his knees in front of the crowd. He asked the healing professionals in the crowd to save Chen Yang. I, the old dog, beg you all to come to the rescue of our captain. My old dog begs for. The old dog choked. Being a wilderness man, face time was important. Everyone wants to be facetious enough to call on their friends. Now he fell to his knees in front of the crowd, which meant losing face and never being able to raise his head in the wilderness. But even though he had gone out on a limb, the crowd remained as still as water, and no one responded to him. In fact, whether to save or not to save doesn't depend on the old dog at all. What everyone needs to know is Su Chen's meaning. Su Chen turned towards the old dog and helped him up from the ground. The voice then faded out facing the crowd. He who saves a life, is rewarded. For short words created a nuclear explosion of reaction in the crowd. With one call, all the healing professions rushed out. Su Chen, with the help of the old dog, chose a few of the most seasoned healing lineages. The combined efforts of several people restored Chen Yong and Yang Qi to normal in less than 10 minutes. Looking at Su Chen's one call and his kneeling down all unattended, the old dog understood. Superficial brotherhood is of no use at all. And it is still strength that counts for a man to stand firm. If you have a big enough fist, everyone is nice. And if you don't have a big enough fist, everyone wants to get you. For wilderness people, profit always comes first. The fried sky gang was eradicated, and Su Chen became the most powerful person here. Even though Su Chen appeared to be just a student, everyone still had to look at his face. After the treatment was completed, several of Chen Yong's people woke up from their coma. Seeing that it was Su Chen who had saved them once again, several people had mixed feelings and didn't know what to say. Chen Yong's heart was even more clogged as the captain, being saved three times while he didn't even have a way to repay. Su, brother Su Chen, thank you, I don't really know how to repay you. Su Chen waved his hand, just live well, you guys get well and I'll see you later. Seeing that Chen Yong was out of danger, Su Chen moved to leave. He had originally come to the supply point just to empty his backpack, now dealing with these stray fish wastes some time, so no more delays. Saying a short goodbye to Chen Yong and his group, Su Chen let Dian Wei make his way through the crowd and walked out. The onlookers looked sideways. Wondering why Su Chen just walked away. They had guessed that Su Chen was sent by some big family to take over the business of the Frying Sky Gang before they finished killing them. But now that the Frying Sky Gang is all dead, Su Chen is leaving without doing anything? Some of the people in the crowd who had cajoled and taunted Su Chen between them were too nervous to breathe as he passed by. But Su Chen didn't even look at them, not caring at all. Some people suddenly realized that in front of Su Chen, they and others were nothing more than grass and sand. What kind of Frying Sky Gang? What kind of Panshin replica? People don't care at all. He was just a road warrior. And he didn't care at all as far as killing people and the repercussions of doing so. He didn't care at all about who would manage and dispose of the supply point after the death of the Frying Sky Gang Gang. These things don't even deserve to be in his eyes. The official businessman didn't dare to strike up a conversation with Su Chen again. 
Just standing in the crowd as quietly as everyone else, he watched Su Chen gradually walk away. No one knew who Su Chen was. No one knew what his background was. But everyone knew that after tonight, another legend would circulate in the wilderness. Leaving the supply point, Su Chen continued towards his destination on the map. Just like when they came, 300 soldiers surrounded the perimeter and frantically swiped the monsters. Further in is the deeper part of the wilderness. The level of the demons has increased, and the experience gained from killing the monsters is richer. While brushing the monsters forward, Su Chen remembered a problem. The next replica of Pharaoh's Heart is also under the banner of the Blasted Sky Gang. The Frying Sky Gang was a large gang in the wilderness, and the ones he had just disposed of were just a handful. Having the strength to master the big copy of Pharaoh's Heart meant that the power of the Fried Sky Gang there must not be small. I wonder how cohesive the inner workings of this Frying Sky Gang are. Su Chen thought, if they were going to help their brethren get their revenge, then they would have to swipe people before they swiped copies themselves. He had to get to level 20 before the entrance exam and get another chance to draw a military general. No one can stop him from upgrading. Anyone who tried to stand in his way would only die. Inside the supply point. Soon after Su Chen left, many people within the supply point moved to leave. They were going to spread what they had just seen throughout the wilderness. Among them were also some members of the Frying Sky Gang who hadn't had the chance to make a move and had gotten away with it. They quickly left the supply point and headed for the copy of Pharaoh's Heart. It was their home base and it housed the real bigwigs of the Frying Sky Gang, Heart of the Pharaohs, home base of the Blowtorch Gang, outside the portal in the Heart of the Pharaohs, numerous tents surrounded the area, like the supply point just now, these were people who had come to do business, only on a scale a dozen times larger, in the wilderness, the big gangs basically derived their income from duplicate tickets and supporting industries, the economic benefits of the Heart of the Pharaohs as a large replica are immeasurable, inside the main camp tent of the Frying Sky Gang, the leader, Three Knives, was propping up his head with a worried frown. For nearly a month, the wilderness has seen many more large passages. Some were taken by the officials and some were harvested by other gangs. The Heart of the Pharaohs originally attracted a large amount of foot traffic as one of the few large replicas in the wilderness. In recent months they have had more and more competitors and business has been progressively worse. The Three Knives had been trying to think of a way to break the game, but there hadn't been the slightest progress. When he was beyond distressed, a few minions rushed in looking flustered. Seeing their constipated expressions, the three knives had one head and two heads. At this juncture, the last thing he wanted was to deal with trouble. Unable to help the group of people under him would always poke all sorts of holes in him. Have a fart, three knives yelled with a frown. A few of the order transmitting juniors cried as they spoke, recounting how Bosley had been brutally murdered. They wiped tears from their eyes as they talked, and a few sniffles would run down their noses when they got emotional. Unlike their sadness, the three knives' expression stretched open the more they listened and in the end, they were even a bit excited. When a few of them had finished, the three knives inquired eagerly, are you guys sure you're telling the truth, you killed them all in a few moves, not a word of falsehood, a thousand truths, the people in the neighborhood all saw it, they were very excited too, yes, everyone is grieving over boss Lee's death, ha ha ha, well, 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 three knives shouted, the people at the bottom were confused as to what this meant, why are you so happy that your little brother is dead, chief, Chief what did you say? I say it's a good thing they died. It's a damn good time to die. Why? Why would it be good to die? The crowd of juniors were confused, having no idea what the big chief was talking about. Why was he so excited to learn of his men's deaths instead of being shot? A few juniors were not clear, but the three knives themselves were clear as day. He has no grudge against the minions, and he's not crazy himself. He truly felt that the deaths were just right. A few dead minions and the loss of an insignificant stronghold didn't matter to him at all. He was looking at Su Chen as a person, a young man with great strength and unlimited gimmicks. A student lookalike steps into regiment gang members in front of the public, and it wasn't just any regiment. It was a complete spike. This will cause tremors throughout the wilderness. Among the idlers of the wilderness, the fastest spreading thing is all sorts of anecdotes. Su Chen's name would spread throughout the wilderness in less than a day. There would definitely be a lot of people who wanted to see his exaggerated strength with their own eyes at that time. He's been known to whip up crowds wherever he appears. If Su Chen appeared in his copy, then it would surely cause a large number of people to follow him. Foot traffic then means business, and his industries that revolve around replicas will be patronized in droves. With financial benefits like that, who cares about the dead minions? Wouldn't it be a good thing to trade their lives for the remaining hundreds or thousands of brothers to eat? You guys, stop that fake crying, three knives shouted. Hurry up and pack your things and go scout that Su Chen's movements for me. Make sure he comes to our copy. After a few of the minions left, Another minion soon came in escorting a few more, saying that they were spreading rumors in the camp. 
Three Knives' eyes lit up. What's the rumor? It says that we of the Blasted Sky Gang were wiped out by a regiment of brats. Yes, the Three Knives laughed. It seemed that Su Chen's story spread faster than he thought. Let me clarify. This is not a rumor. This is real. And that one called Su Chen will be coming to our pharaoh's heart soon. Instruct the brethren to spread the news. Ha, huh? a few of the minions were dumbfounded as well. Over the next few hours, thousands more tents were quickly erected around Pharaoh's heart. Relying on the powerful network of the blasted Sky Gang, Su Chen's story and the rumor that he was about to arrive at the Pharaoh's heart quickly spread through the wilderness. Life in the wilderness is monotonous and running around looking for fun is one of the few pleasures all wilderness professionals have. Often there is some windfall and they rush to run to their destination. And this time it's not just the wind that's blowing, it's the sky that's shaking. The reason for this is because Su Chen's story is so outrageous. What a middle school student single second bombing gang squad. One person solo to five. Zero 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 contribution point copy. One person clears the east side of the wilderness of all demons. In addition to these, there are some more outrageous rumors. Says he's the bastard son of a legendary level professional in the wilderness. Said he was a high school dropout who had a strange encounter in the wilderness to turn over a new leaf. There's also the claim that he's basically a demon incarnate and that his summons are all demonic. Amidst a host of outrageous rumors that were true and false, more and more people wanted to take a look at Su Chen's real face. Most of them didn't believe in Su Chen's existence, nor did they believe that Su Chen had the rumored strength. They just want to have fun and witness the rumor shattering. There were even rival gangs of the Frying Sky Gang that bitched that Su Chen was just a false image that the Frying Sky Gang had directed themselves to use to solicit customers. In fact, there is no such person. They are just tricking people into spending money. All in all, True or false, Su Chen's story spread wildly like a virus in the wilderness, and the pharaoh's heart, the destination he was traveling to, had already gathered in the thousands. Everyone waited for Su Chen's appearance with a half-hearted attitude. What is this situation? Su Chen looked around somewhat strangely. There had been a steady stream of SUVs driving through his neighborhood since a few hours ago. At first he thought it was a lot of cars on the way to pharaoh's heart, but soon he realized that several of the cars were simply the same one and they were checking out their position from a great distance, because the distance was far enough away and the other party did not show any intent to attack, Su Chen did not make a move to block, but the closer we got to Pharaoh's heart, the more these vehicles became more numerous, Su Chen vaguely felt that something was wrong, based on the signs on the cars, he realized that those cars belonged to the Frying Sky Gang, but if these people from the Frying Sky Gang wanted revenge, why didn't they just strike, and it looked as if they were afraid of getting lost and had been using their vehicles to guide them, even the direction they lead is their own destination, the heart of Pharaoh. What does this Bakudan gang want? Su Chen was a little confused about their operation. Doesn't matter though, as long as they didn't go straight for the jugular they had something to worry about. So far he has only shown the battle power of Dianwei and 25 soldiers. Enemies who had scruples about this kind of battle power didn't need to be on his mind at all. Inside the main camp of the explosive sky gang, there were constantly minions entering to report Su Chen's location. 20 kilometers. 10 kilometers. Sit down and rest. Forward again. Listening to Su Chen's bearing getting closer and closer to his side. The smile on the three knives faces had become more and more exaggerated. The turnover in the campground is growing like crazy. And the volume of just that past hour could almost be worth several days in the past. This is still just the turnover of the supporting industries. If we can get Su Chen to enter the copy. The copy turnover will also see a surge in the future. Su Chen was getting closer and closer. And the three knives were getting busier and busier. He stocked all the remaining supply points to Pharaoh's heart. All kinds of drinking water, fresh fruits and vegetables, dried food and snacks. Everything is sold at twice the price. For this kind of sitting on the ground behavior of the crowd is not satisfied but there is no way. After all, this was the only stronghold in Pharaoh's heart for miles around. Outside the base camp, more and more professionals joined in to watch the show. The newly erected tents had doubled the camp outward. Everyone is talking about the character who just caught fire not long ago. Are you guys saying it's really true that one person can clean up all the demons? Oh, rumor has it. I'm just here for the fun. It's been a while since I've seen so many people. Of course the rumors have to be exaggerated. Otherwise you would have come all the way here? So none of you believe that guy is strong? A newcomer is just a newcomer. How strong can he be? A man wearing glasses held them down and said faintly. You're all wrong. There's actually no such person. It's just a gimmick marketed by the Three Stooges. If he really killed so many of Three Knives minions, how could three knives not go for revenge? He's just tricking you guys into spending money. Crap. You're right. These three knives just sold me an apple for 300 bucks. Shit. Really? I spent 100 on a bag of dried sweet potatoes too. The three knives are simply not human. Make a dummy to fool us. Before Su Chen even showed up. 
The campground went into a frenzy of discussion after discussion. People are divided on the question of whether or not Su Chen exists. Most people now felt that Su Chen was a fake. A gimmick made by the leader of the Frying Sky Gang to solicit customers. Only a small portion of people stuck to their opinions because they had seen Su Chen with their own eyes. Time passed by, and Su Chen was late in appearing. A crusade against the Three Knives has begun in the camp. It became more and more apparent that he had lied to everyone and made everyone come all this way for nothing. The spectacled man in the crowd pushed up his glasses. Shasti, I bet a hundred thousand dollars that Su Chen won't show up tonight and that the Three Knives won't let him show up for days to come. Why? How come he won't show up if the Three Knives want him to? Someone inquired. Do you think that if Su Chen doesn't show up for a day, you'll be waiting here for a day? It feels like eh. I eye the purpose of this trip is to see that genius Su Chen. Hoomph. The man with the glasses sneered. As long as Su Chen doesn't show up for a day, the Three Knives will make a day's worth of money. So he's a complete fake as a person, but just a tool for the Three Stooges to make money. How can a supreme genius appear so easily? This is the real world not a novel. Crap. Big brother you're so awesome, how do you know so much? The water here is very deep, I'm not good to tell you more. No naturally understand. After the man with glasses characterized Su Chen, he calmly watched the next reaction. His words set off a furor in the crowd, which grew increasingly vocal about the three knives. The three knives had nothing to say about this, except that dozens of additional cold mountain spring water vending points had been set up. The crowd cursed the frying sky gang for a while, the three knives for a while and there were even people cursing Su Chen. After a round of cursing, the crowd's mouth is dry. Suddenly found a cold mountain spring water for sale, so they have to buy a bottle of recuperation. Just as everyone was laying down, suddenly a commotion started coming from the east side of the camp. The crowd in the center poked their heads into the distance, wanting to know what was going on. They didn't have to wait long, and the commotion soon swept over them like a tsunami. The message delivered by the crowd was only one sentence. Su Chen is here. The news put the crowd off again. What the hell? It's really here? I thought it was fake? Holy shit. There really is this guy. Didn't some guy say it was fake? Where is it? Where is it? Seeing is believing. Su Chen is here. Su Chen is here. The crowd in the center soon spread the commotion to the rear again. The news of Su Chen's arrival swept throughout the camp. Three knives standing in the frying sky gang base camp smiling. He looked forward to the stars and the moon and finally the people to come. Come on people. Make way for brother Su Chen. With a wave of his hand, hundreds of members of the Frying Sky Gang rushed into the camp to keep the path to the replica open. At the edge of the camp, Su Chen, who was wearing the uniform of the first middle school, was slowly walking towards the crowd. Seeing that huge group of people in the distance, Su Chen was somewhat shaken. He thought it was the heart of the pharaohs that drew so many people to it. It wasn't until he got closer that he heard the words shouted from the men's mouths and their deadpan behavior. It was only then that Su Chen felt that these people were coming at him. The excitement in the hearts of the crowd was completely released when they saw Su Chen slowly walking in the distance. Crap. It's true. It's true. It's really a student. Exactly as rumored. It's a middle school student. Is this Su Chen? He really slaughtered a whole gang of frying sky gang squads. If the rumors are true. More than just the blasted sky gang squad. He cleared an entire area of demons single-handedly. It's a fake. Right? I don't see any killing aura all over him. Yeah. It's so juvenile. Guys who've killed people don't still have those clear eyes. Anyone who dares to go up and try. In the midst of all the people's words, Su Chen walked into the camp. Now he was completely sure that the group was indeed coming for him. Because since stepping into the camp, everyone's eyes were locked on him. Those gazes were warm and curious, and seemed to want to memorize every pore of his body. What's going on here? Su Chen was very confused about how he had become a big star overnight. In order to avoid the sight of these people, he raised his hand and summoned 40 Dianwei soldiers to surround himself. It was as if he had lit a fuse with this random action, setting the entire camp off in an instant. I'm super. I'm super. I'm super. It's true. The rumors are true. Su Chen is really a summoner. Crap. I thought I'd come for fun, but I didn't think he'd come for real. These soldiers have such fierce eyes. They look nothing like normal summons. There's a murderous aura. There's really a murderous aura on these soldiers. I wonder how many attributes they have. Can we really clear out the demons with these things? Between Su Chen's advances, an insight spell was thrown at the soldiers who were helping to block Su Chen's line of sight. In the philosophy of the professionals, unleashing insight on a stranger would be seen as a provocative move. Because this is a test of the opponent's strength, this act carries an offensive intent. Privately, the crowd would not easily release insight spells, but there were so many people here that some of the ones with dirty hands took advantage of the chaos and released them. After the insight technique was released, what answered them was a precise imperial might command from Su Chen. On your knees. Puff. 
Three or two people in the crowd instantly fell to their knees, their brains unable to stop trembling. The release of the emperors might cause the crowd to roar again. Fuck, see that, see that, it's activated. Everyone, don't release the insight spell, something will happen. Unable to look directly at God, Su Chen can't be a god. In just a few minutes, Su Chen's appearance set off frenzy after frenzy in the crowd. Those in the middle of the crowd who hadn't seen the real thing yet were already restless. They climbed the pole and rushed to the roof of the car, impatient to see this rumored character. In the midst of a restless crowd, the man with the glasses remained watertight. He decided it was a business scam. Su Chen was a fake even if he appeared, and could not possibly have real strength. This kind of sensation can be achieved with just one actor with a couple of water boys. No skill at all. There were other gang members who had the same idea as the man with the glasses. They're here for the purpose of smashing. Now seeing the Frying Sky Gang's business so booming has stirred up their jealousy and anger even more. His grandma, she doesn't even want to lose her face, but she really got out some kind of Suchin. I didn't think he would dare to let that Suchin out, dare to sell his strength persona in the wilderness. Does he have that qualification? We'll fight if he dares to come out. Go, let this kid know the power of the wilderness. A few gang members began to move in Su Chen's direction. Their movements soon reached the ears of the Three Knives. As rivals for many years, Three Knives knew that these people were sure to come to smash the scene. Faced with the suggestion that his men step in to stop him, the Three Knives smiled broadly and refused. Let them on, they're just lining up to die. Seeing how confident the Three Knives were, the men hesitated. Chief, that's Su Chenjin. Is he really that powerful? Even though he killed our people, the rumors must be a bit exaggerated. Right, can that kid hold up? The three knives smiled and rubbed their chins. You've been in the wilderness too long to know what goes on inside the walls. With that, he pulled out a newspaper from behind him and threw it in the faces of several people. A few people spread out and were dumbfounded. Almost all the pages of this newspaper were dominated by Su Chen alone. No, one in the province in the mock college entrance exam, the once in a century divine genius of Nanshan City. The fastest training copy ever recorded. How geniuses are made. The glory of Nanshan City. Su Chen's thousand-faced life. Shocking the city. The only rare profession. 9 to 5. The crowd reacted when they saw this. Su Chen wasn't a legend that came out of nowhere at all. He was a legend back in the inner city. Several people looked at the various outrageous labels of Su Chen in the newspaper. Suddenly, he felt a deep sympathy for the gangs that had gone after him. Open-air campsite. The sky is just getting light. Su Chen advanced towards the copy surrounded by Dian Wei soldiers. Can't figure out why these people are surrounding themselves though. But as long as they don't get in the way of getting into a copy, it doesn't matter if they stand around and look at it. Pharaoh's heart is the only large replica in the neighborhood and offers an absolute wealth of experience. There was no way Su Chen would give up on this large copy just because of some irrelevant stairs. With the members of the Frying Sky Gang opening the way, Su Chen advanced straight along the passageway towards the replica. After walking out a dozen steps, through the soldier's perspective, Su Chen saw a group of people ushered in ahead. These people were aggressive and clearly different from the onlookers. Trouble coming again? Su Chen thought darkly. And what is this? The uniforms don't look like they're from the Fright Sky Gang. Su Chen didn't know who the visitor was. But the onlookers couldn't have been clearer as wilderness people. The oncoming gangs can be big and loud in the wilderness. The Yellow Sky Gang, the Sea Sink Gang, and the Winged God Gang, collectively known as the Sky, Sea, and Winged Gangs. The appearance of the three Tenkechi gangs caused the onlookers to boil over again. For Su Chen, the thing that the crowd wanted to know the most was whether or not his strength was that strong. After all, the rumors were so over the top that no one wanted to look at him. However, everyone knew their own weight and didn't dare to go up and challenge them. And the emergence of the three Tenkechi gangs has undoubtedly accomplished what the crowd wanted most. Holy shit, here it comes, here it comes, here comes the smash. Is it finally here? Our most anticipated segment. It feels like this kid is in danger. The people who are coming are not small players. Start the fight. Start the fight. Let's see the real power. Su Chen vs. Sky Sea Wing. This battle is going to completely ignite the wilderness. Brother Su Chen. Go for it wow. Fuck the opposite side. The wilderness people will never submit. Three gangs and dozens of people blocked Su Chen's way. The Dianwei soldiers made way. And Su Chen walked out amidst the mountainous cheers. On the opposite side, the same person walked out. The second leader of the Seaways gang, Vegetable Elder, level 29 great swordsman, the highest ranked professional among the dozens of people. Vegetable Elder pointed at Su Chen's nose and opened his mouth. Brat, your good day is over today. You're not learning at a young age. You're hanging out with the three knives and cheating. What three knives? Su Chen squinted his eyes in confusion. He's not Sauron, so how did he get mixed up with the three swords? 
and you're still pretending to be here for grandpa, you and those three knives are all wilderness scum, you're all just playing tricks to disrupt the order, today, grandpa, I'm going to take the place of heaven and beat you people into shape, eh, Su Chen yawned, he couldn't understand what the opposite side was saying at all, none of that mattered, though, because you could tell by the expression on the opposite side of the room, his skin itched, if you kneel down and kowtow to grandpa today, grandpa will let, you go, the opposite side of the dish Lao Air was still frantically outputting, and Su Chen directly waved his hand to interrupt him. When the crowd saw Su Chen waving his hand, they immediately sensed the smell of gunpowder in the air. It's finally coming, the first one is going to fight Vegetable Dick? It's so exciting, it looks like Su Chen is going to directly challenge the Vegetable Penis. Vegetable Elder is the most savage and ruthless one in all the generations of the Seaways Gang's combat power, so it's not easy to deal with. I hope he's a little more steady starting with the bottom guys first. It's easy to rip your balls off if you take too many steps. Yeah, you definitely have to pick the trash for the first one. Otherwise it's too ugly to play and lose on the first one. Su Chen didn't pick the vegetable penis, but instead waved his finger towards the position right in the middle of the line. The crowd let out a sigh. Although it was something they expected that Su Chen would not choose the second of the dishes. But after this incident really happened, half of Su Chen's image as a legend in their hearts had already dropped. According to the rumored battle records, Su Chen was definitely going to challenge the strongest person on the opposite side. It's true that the rumors are still exaggerated and the strength is not. Too bad. I thought it was so powerful. Facing Tenkai Tsubasa is awesome if you dare to go on. Let's hope he can resist until the vegetable penis strikes. Otherwise it's too boring. When Vegetable Elder saw that Su Chen didn't choose himself directly, his heart was also relieved. The opposite side doesn't dare to pick the strongest. So there must be some scruples. As long as there were scruples, it meant that he was not confident in his own body strength. As long as he's not confident, the rest is easy. Vegetable Elder smiled and waved his hand, motioning for the players in the center of the group to step out of line. This person was also a main battle class mage profession. Even if he lost, he wouldn't lose too badly. And he could also test Su Chen's moves. Vegetable Elder couldn't help but laugh in his heart. Ridiculing Su Chen's selection of people is completely punking himself. As he laughed, he was greeted by Su Chen's question. What's he doing out here? Vegetable Elder frowned. What, didn't you choose him yourself? Or is this too strong for you to switch? Realizing that the opposite party had misunderstood his meaning, Su Chen repeated the waving motion once again. Fade out. I mean, he doesn't have to come out alone. You'll be fine together. Ah, ha. Vegetable Elder's mouth was wide open, his eyes were round, and his facial muscles were constantly trembling. The gang members behind him were also in shock, completely unable to believe their ears. The surrounding onlookers were even more struck by lightning and instantly quieted down. The people who had previously mocked Su Chen for not daring to choose someone were completely dumbfounded at this moment. After a short period of silence, the entire room once again fell into a frenzy. God, that's fucking God, worthy of a legend, Su Shen. We thought he was picking the one in the middle, but it turns out he's letting everyone go together. Jesus, what's crazy? This is fucking crazy. So cool. When will I be able to say all together? He can't be serious. There are dozens of people across the street. Let's not talk about how strong he is, but the show is pulling out all the stops anyway. Kill. Fight. Vegetable Elder was filled with disbelief. Fight. Fight all of us? He hadn't expected things to go this far. There were nearly 30 people here, and he'd never heard of anyone who could beat 30 of them alone. A variety of emotions flooded the heart of the vegetable penis at once. Shame. Suspicion. Anger. Just as he was about to break into a rage. Su Chen turned around and walked back into the encirclement of Dian Wei soldiers. Vegetable Elder was dumbfounded, not knowing which set Su Chen was playing. Su Chen's actions also caused the surrounding crowd to fall into suspicion once again. SH, what do you mean? Not fighting again? I thought you said you were going to fight, but why are you hiding back? I see that he has a calm expression. It doesn't look like he's backtracking. There's one way to put it. These dozens of soldiers wouldn't be his entire war effort, would they? Although these soldiers look fierce. In the end they are just summons, to fight they are definitely inferior to real people. If you want to fight, come out and fight, don't hide inside. Su Chen returned to stand surrounded by Dian Wei's soldiers. He didn't want to play games with these people anymore. He had to end the fight in a hurry. And the one who was best suited to fight one against many was none other than Zhao Yun. Su Chen raised his hand and a violent thunder aura exploded out of thin air. The surrounding crowd froze in fear, completely unaware of what was happening. In the next moment, Countless electric awnings surged up around Su Chen. Hey, what's this? It feels like something big is coming. Heaven and Earth Anomaly. The appearance of this thing can actually trigger a Heaven and Earth Anomaly. 
the surge of electricity continued to accelerate, and the violet energy continued to gather and concentrate at one point. With a final giggle, Zhao Yun came out with his silver spear piercing through the void. The crowd only saw a flash of white in their eyes, and the next second Zhao Yun was already standing majestically in front of them. Zhao Yun's appearance completely triggered the entire room. No one had ever seen such an imposing and handsome summon. Holy crap, is this really a summon? This is too handsome. I'll do it. It's worth it to see the summon today. Look at his eyes. There is boundless killing intent in his righteousness. I don't know why, but I feel like he can really beat the 30 people across the street. I don't know if he can win the fight, but I know he must be especially handsome when he fights. Fight. Fight. Seeing Zhao Yun show up, the aura of the vegetable elders group instantly halved. They felt the spewing killing intent between Zhao Yun's brows the most. This majestic aura and killing intent was completely piled up with human lives. The moment they saw Zhao Yun, senior veterans such as Vegetable Elder knew that the visitor was definitely a tough opponent. However, hardened opponents were hardened opponents, and his side had a large team of 30 people anyhow. It's hard to say who will win or lose in a fight, and if they backed down in front of so many people, they wouldn't have to hang out in the wilderness in the future. Damn it, brothers, Vegetable Elder shouted as he held his strength. Set up a formation and follow me. Today we must show this kid that we wilderness people are not vegetarians. At Vegetable Elder's roar, the three dozen or so gang members quickly took up their positions. After fighting in the wilderness for so many years, their combat experience wouldn't be bad. In less than 10 seconds, three dozen people were lined up. Reasonable interspersing between different professions ensures that both defense and attack are maximized. As they nervously prepared, Zhao Yun on the opposite side stood still without any movement. When the opponent's formation was ready, Zhao Yun moved. He held the gun in one hand and shook it slightly, and the silver bright body of the gun immediately resounded with violent trembling. This violent trembling sound was as majestic as a dragon's roar, causing everyone to be shocked. That's awesome. That's just awesome. My blood is boiling. Vegetable Lao Air they are all scared silly. It won't really be a string of 30. Although there's a huge difference in numbers between the two sides, Su Chen's side's aura completely crushed the vegetable penis. It's shocking. It's shocking. Both sides were ready and Su Chen didn't waste any more time. Go! Zhao Yun received the command, shook his spear and charged straight up. The highly agile Zhao Yun burst out like lightning. The silver tip of the gun dragged on the ground, cutting a deep indentation. Defense formation, vegetable elder shouted. All warrior professions in the team had their defense skills turned up to maximum. As long as they resisted the blow, they would be able to backhand for output. But things didn't go as they thought. Zhao Yun didn't even meet the defense head on. He changed direction just as he was about to stab the enemy formation, instantly slicing around the front row and cutting into the formation from the side. The warriors in the front row only saw a flash of white in front of their eyes, followed by continuous screams from behind them. A bunch of mage archers didn't even have a chance to escape in front of Zhao Yun. Wherever the silver spear went, screams rose. Defense! Vegetable Elder yelled in panic. By the time the front row reacted and turned back to defend, Zhao Yun had already stabbed out of the enemy formation and distanced himself from them. The crowd once again turned to try and surround Zhao Yun, who immediately accelerated and shifted direction again. After a few shifts, a white lightning bolt stabbed into the weakest point of the group. By the time the crowd rushed to defend, Zhao Yun stabbed in from another direction. Zhao Yun kept stabbing in and out, and the group of 30 or so people kept attrition. Under Zhao Yun's tactics, the group of 30 or so froze without issuing a single decent attack. When the fight came down to the last six, the gang's ranks completely collapsed and scattered in all directions. Zhao Yun stood in front of the group of fallen members with his gun in a clouded position. It's as if you've just dealt with a few flies. The onlookers were abuzz. They had fantasized about Zhao Yun's victory, but they didn't expect it to be this crushing victory. The fight lasted no more than three minutes from the time Zhao Yun fired his gun until it was over. During that time, more than 20 people were shot and fell, while Zhao Yun was not damaged in the slightest. The opposite side could all be mature professionals above level 20. With their combat experience they hadn't even come across Zhao Yun's people. What speed is this? What strength is this? Hey, aha! Uh -huh. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's crazy. That's awesome. Fluttering like a dragon. Like a swimming dragon. Cut the back row first. Then play gorilla. The opposite side didn't even touch it. Whether it's from hard power or combat skills. Su Chen's summon is completely crushed. Brothers. We are witnessing history. 1 through 30. A new legend is born. Su Chen is a god. Su Chen is simply a god. Amidst the mountainous cheers, Su Chen commanded his troops to continue advancing. This time, when he put Zhao Yun on the field, his intention was to let him directly kill the opposite side in seconds to establish his authority, just in case some ungrateful person comes up behind them and wastes their time. 
but it was out of Su Chen's expectation. This time, Zhao Yun didn't use the streaming cloud spike for a spike, but instead demonstrated another set of strikes. Previously, Zhao Yun had used high intensity attacks to directly kill his opponents in seconds, and this time he also showed unrivaled battle smarts, gradually dismantled the enemy's battle force with high movement speed and high combat power, passing through all the flowers, not touching a single leaf. Worthy of being the Zhao Yun who could go in and out of Changban for seven times, end the fight. Within minutes, the news of Su Chen's one-man victory over 30 gang members spread throughout the camp. All of the original doubts about Su Chen went unanswered, and the rumors became more and more true. But amidst the chorus of cheers and praise, there were still questions. The spectacled man propped up his glasses, still unperturbed. Actors, still actors. The surrounding crowd couldn't look away and thought he was just pure tough talk. The three main gangs were defeated. You wouldn't say they were all actors, would you? Yes, the three main gangs are still actors, and they must have teamed up with the three knives, by them coming out to build up Su Chen's momentum, and at the end of the day, the money you spend will be shared equally among all the gangs. Holy shit, the three major gangs have all been killed, and I can't believe I can't beat your mouth. The man with the glasses sneered. Everything could be fake, everything could be an actor, unless the three knives dare him to enter the pharaoh's heart, the demons inside won't play along but surely the three knives wouldn't do that, after all, then their carefully woven lies would be broken. After hearing the glasses man's analysis, the crowd also began to look forward to Su Chen entering the pharaoh's heart copy, because it's the only way he can plug all the disbelievers. The news of Su Chen's victory over the three major gangs traveled back to the Frying Sky Gang's base camp, the three knives sat in their chairs and laughed at all. After this battle, it will take at least three months for the three major gangs to regain their reputation, and that was not able to fully recover they had completely become Su Chen's backdrop. Every time someone mentioned Su Chen in the future, his deeds of picking 30 would be brought out and recounted. Compared to this, the news of the demise of the Frying Sky Gang's regiment was much more extenuating. After all, people have failed in group fights, and it's normal for the blasted Sky Gang to fail in solo fights. It could be said that after this time, the Frying Sky Gang would override the three Heavenly Sea Wing Gangs and become the veritable number one gang in the wilderness. Upon learning the news of Su Chen's victory, Three Knives personally led all of his men forward to greet him. As long as Su Chen was allowed to enter the pharaoh's heart again to brush up on his leveling, then the pharaoh king would surely become the hottest large-scale copy in the wilderness. The fried sky gang is out in full force. Su Chen felt speechless when he saw another large group of people coming in front of him. Just as he was about to have Zhao Yun go up and abuse a wave, Three Knives with a group of players raised their hands high to show that they meant no harm. Su Chen once again stepped out of the soldiers surrounded, wanting to see what the opposite side was going to play again. This time, however, he was surprised, as the other party's attitude was a bit too good. The three knives first complimented Su Chen, stating that they had seen him in the Nanshan City newspaper. He then stepped into the main topic and invited Su Chen to enter the Pharaoh's heart copy challenge. Su Chen had no reason to refuse, as his original purpose was to enter the Pharaoh's heart. Seeing Su Chen agree so readily, the three knives even offered a one-time reset crystal, compared to Su Chen's crystal that could be recharged repeatedly. This one could only be used once. However, the energy contained in this reset crystal stone was worth three or four of Su Chen's. It was the only way that this crystal would be able to reset a large copy. The bigger the copy and the longer the cooldown, the more energy it will cost to reset. Reset crystals like Su Chen's one could reset five small copies, but only one medium-sized copy. And the energy that needs to be spent to reset a mega copy like the college entrance exam simulation copy with thousands and thousands of people is immeasurable. Su Chen was not polite and directly accepted the reset crystals of the three blades. A large copy will have much, much more experience value than a small or medium copy. Two consecutive challenges should get him to level 20 in experience. This meant that he didn't have to think about any other copies before the entrance exam. Seeing Su Chen accept the reset crystals, the three knives were even more delighted. Once you've decided to enter your copy, the next step is group time. The difficulty of Heart of the Pharaohs, as a large 100 player copy, is not comparable to that of a normal copy. That's why the three knives thought that even Su Chen would need something like a support class occupation. Mr. Su, what configuration of professionals do you need on your side? Hundreds of my Bombay gang are on standby for whatever you want to come. If you don't feel satisfied yet, the tens of thousands of people around here are at your disposal as well, and I'm sure they'd all love to get down to the books with you. As soon as the three knives' words came out, the news that Su Chen was going to pick someone to go down to the book spread quickly again. This time it was even more of an eruptive frenzy, with the scene going out of control for a while. After all, no one doesn't want to go down the book with a legendary character. To be able to follow someone like that, even if you don't do anything, you can get a lot of progress just by watching. 
Wow, Su Chen is really going down. Not only do you have to put down a book but you have to pick someone. Pick me. Take me one. Please. It's okay to sell your ass. Pick me. Pick me. Level 23 Law of the Sea Master. I know the flavor of the sea. Me. Me. Level 22 Holy Spirit Priest. Uncontrol. Negative cancel. Whatever. Let me do it. Level 25 Forest Healer. I have a huge amount of milk. Don't believe me until you show me. Before the discussion on this side was over. Another shocking piece of information came quickly from there. Su Chen didn't need to form a team. One person went down to the book. As soon as the news spread, men, women and children, without exception, were all in a state of great shock. This one sounds even more impossible to do than picking 30 in one. One person challenging a hundred copies. What kind of anticlimactic operation is this? It wasn't like there hadn't been such a thing in history, but those had been high-level professionals returning to challenge lower-leveled copies. As for Su Chen, he was merely a student who had just left school, and it was impossible for him to exceed the replica level. Even the man with the glasses was silent at the news. A person entered the copy. Now even he couldn't find an angle to question it. Blackie talk. Scream for me. Scream. Although Su Chen lost the news of teaming up with me, I'm proud of him, and lost track of teaming up with you. Who pissed yellow nourishment to wake him up? Too strong. One person challenging a hundred copies. Su Chen is forever a god. Don't get too happy. I don't know. You'd think he'd already passed? Yeah. It's just the next book. And I call it one person's next book as soon as I get in and out. One more person down Pharaoh's heart. And it's a success if you come out alive. The crowd was in disarray. Each in their own way. The whole scene was like a boiling pot of water with a lot of people. Sue. Mister. Sue. You may not understand. Heart of the Pharaoh is a hundred copies. A hundred copies. You. Are you sure you want to challenge it alone? The three knives were dumbfounded. Although he knew that Su Chen was very powerful, wasn't it a bit too much to challenge a hundred copies? And even that's not excessive. It's wildly out of line. If he dies in there, it'll be the end of all that's been laid out. Su Chen ignored off the three swords questioning and rejoined the soldiers surrounded. Zhao Yun opened the way, and an army resolutely had to advance towards the pharaoh's heart. Looking at Su Chen's determination to go, the three knives simply stopped trying to dissuade him. He shouted to all his men with a big wave of his hand. Double the price of squash snacks again and triple the drinking water. Extra stall fees for all. Roll up or get out. Finally, we're ready to open the betting on whether Su Chen will come out alive or not. Su Chen walked towards the duplicate portal amidst the mountain of shouts. If nothing else, he's going to have a huge breakthrough here. When the news spread that the three knives were going to raise the stall fee, everyone broke into a frenzy. This behavior of his is undoubtedly a reminder to open a membership to continue when the movie is at its best. One person brushing a hundred copies. This kind of battle that is so wonderful that it is enough to leave a name in history. Who would want to go halfway? I'll fuck your plague. 10. 000 dollars for a stall. Why don't you go and rob it? He's a gangster. He's just robbing. Okay. Goddamn three knives. For Su Chen this ten thousand dollars must be paid even if it's not. Although it's very upsetting. I have to watch this battle of Su Chen's. Pay up. Pay up. Grandma's 10. 000 dollars will be fed to the dogs. In order to know the development of Su Chen after he entered the copy, all of them were ruthless in paying the money. There was no way. Su Chen's charm was just too great. Before the copy of Pharaoh's Heart, Su Chen was making his final preparations. After more than 10 hours of brushing monsters in the wilderness, his level 18 experience bar had passed the two-thirds position. Unsurprisingly, this next book would definitely be able to rise to level 19, or even directly break through to level 20. And the jade seal pieces obtained from large copies are bound to be not low. He now has a total of 10 shards. And you can summon the warlord again by obtaining 5 or more. If he could obtain 10 shards at a time, he could even exchange another vocational skill. Su Chen reached out and touched the teleportation crystal, directly entering the copy. Large scale replica, heart of the pharaohs. Difficulty, difficult level. Requirements, defeat the final boss. As soon as he entered the copy, the surrounding clamor instantly disappeared replaced by the sound of roiling wind. The storm came wrapped in yellow sand, hitting Su Chen's face like a knife. You're going to give me a hard time right off the bat? With a flash of Su Chen's mind, 50 soldiers surrounded themselves and blocked the wind and sand. The yellow sand in the sky made the visibility drop to a pitiful level, and Su Chen could almost only see a few meters in front of him. That wasn't a problem for him though, because he didn't just have one pair of eyes. Raising his hand and waving it, 20 white horse riders spread out in all directions at Su Chen's command to scout for the enemy. With the vision of the white horse rider, Su Chen quickly grasped the surroundings. He was in the center of a sandstorm with no cover around him. 
The white horse rider probed out 1,500 meters and found no magical creatures. How could there be no demons? Su Chen pondered in his mind. Soon his eyes fell on the quicksand on the ground. Since there are no demons up there, they must be down there. He raised his hand and summoned all 290 Dianwei soldiers. The soldiers quickly spread out, then stabbed their swords into the ground. As expected of Su Chen, the ground shook immediately after the soldiers stabbed their knives in. The entire sandy area began to tremble, and the gravel began to flow rapidly. Puffy, a giant scorpion with a dark brown body rushed out from the quicksand, without any starting movement. Their three meter long tail spikes went straight at the soldiers. There was a crash as the tail spike sank into the shield. Such a vicious sneak attack? Su Chen felt a bit shocked. First a sandstorm obscures the view, then an attack from underground. If inexperienced, an ordinary squad would likely die instantly at this first hurdle. The inside technique was struck, and the attributes of the giant scorpion entered Su Chen's field of vision. Desert scorpion, enhanced magical creature. Rank, 23. Power, 500. Agility, 400. Spirit, 600. Body mass, 600. Very strong four-dimensional attributes that have comprehensively surpassed that of a canonical soldier. Without unleashing the imperial mighty vastness, Su Chen chose to fine-tune his soldier's stance to surround the giant scorpion. Although the attributes were high, the number of these giant scorpions wasn't considered large. Under Su Chen's adjustments, the soldiers quickly surrounded a giant scorpion. Nearly 300 soldiers kept throwing their swords at the 40 giant scorpions, and the sound of clanking swords and armor clashing briefly overpowered the wind. The panel alert sounded, and Su Chen welcomed a long overdue experience brush. Kill level 23 Desert Scorpion. Experience plus 1230. Obtain Stinger Asterisk 1. Kill level 23 Desert Scorpion. Experience plus 1215. Obtain Stinger Asterisk 2. Kill level 23 Desert Scorpion. Experience plus 1156. Obtain Stinger Asterisk 1. Soldiers who had dealt with the giant scorpions would be arranged by Su Chen to awaken a new batch of giant scorpions at the front. Dozens of giant scorpions were hidden beneath each area. At Su Chen's command, the team moved forward while killing the enemy. With the previous experience, the soldiers killed the giant scorpions faster and faster, and the experience on the panel swiped faster and faster. The storm grew again as we walked out a kilometer or so. The hurricane wrapped in yellow sand was like a sharp blade, and Su Chen realized that the soldiers' life values had begun to decrease. This is not a natural phenomenon. This is someone unleashing a skill. Su Chen quickly reacted and immediately raised his hand to summon all the white horse riders. The other side must be hiding in this sandstorm. White horses rode out in all directions, sending messages back to the perimeter. In order to focus on finding the enemy, Su Chen summoned Dian Wei at the same time. Let Dian Wei lead a group of tiger leopard cavalry soldiers to fight with the giant scorpion. He himself was constantly adjusting the white horse boxer's alignment according to the terrain map in his head not sparing any corners. After a period of searching, Su Chen realized that there was an area where the sandstorm was even more manic than the surrounding area. There must be something hidden in here. Su Chen raised his hand and summoned Zhao Yun. With a command, Zhao Yun on his white horse plunged headlong into the sandstorm. As Zhao Yun entered, the sandstorm in that area became more and more violent, as if it wanted to obstruct Zhao Yun's advance. Seeing this scene, Su Chen was even more convinced that there was a demonic creature hidden within. Zhao Yun unleashed his streaming cloud thrust, and his attack power climbed with the increase in movement speed, as it moved at super high speed. A dryad dressed in vestments finally appeared in front of Zhao Yun. Found you. Su Chen's eyes flashed as he released his insight spell. Death Priest, Enhanced Demon. Rank, 24. Power, 2000. Agility, 1000. Spirit, 2500. Body Mass, 2000. Skills, Sandstorm Burial. Servant of God. Elite monsters whose four-dimensional attributes were almost on the verge of catching up with Zhao Yun's. Sure enough, a hundred copies is just more difficult than a single copy. As Zhao Yun got closer and closer, the death priest began to swing his staff frantically. The power of the sandstorm further increased, and even Zhao Yun's advance was hindered. Its skill is not a hard control, but it does slow down Zhao Yun's movement speed considerably. Shift speed is reduced, and so is the attack power of the streaming cloud spike. The damage of Zhao Yun's charge has been scaled back considerably. Moreover, Sandstorm Burial's damage was very high, and Su Chen even doubted that Zhao Yun would be able to rush to the opponent. Just as Su Chen hesitated to take back Zhao Yun before making plans, the other party gave the solution. It released its second skill, Servant of God. A streak of yellow sand erupted from the ground, and then quickly condensed, transforming into a yellow sand soldier. In an instant hundreds of soldiers appeared around the desert priest. Seeing this scene, Su Chen smiled. It's called being smart. 
The appearance of hundreds of yellow sand soldiers directly triggered Zhao Yun's lone hero. His movement speed and attack power instantly rises to 20 times its previous level. One man and one horse stabbed into the enemy army like streams of light. Su Chen, who had substituted into Zhao Yun's perspective, only felt the surrounding scenery rapidly regressing. A flash of panic appeared in the face of the distant death priest. It would not know that it was its very maneuver of summoning the soldiers that had brought itself to its doom. The yellow sand soldiers surged forward, trying to protect the priests. However, in Zhao Yun's agility attribute had already reached 100, 000 points after doubling. At this speed, all obstacles are but a dream. Giggle. Streaming cloud stabbing. A white aura flashed. The death priest's blood bar instantly cleared. And he collapsed in the yellow sand with confusion in his eyes. Kill level 24 death priest. Experience plus 6534. Obtain desert scepter. The priest dies and the sandstorm stops instantly. The remaining yellow sand soldiers seem to have triggered berserk mode and quickly rush towards Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun shook his spear and turned around to kill the enemy once again. The white horse riders who were originally blocked by the sandstorm also killed the yellow sand soldiers under Su Chen's command. On one side, Dian Wei led his soldiers in a frenzy of hacking and slashing, while Zhao Yun led his white horse riders in a constant charge. The two battlefields started at the same time, and the experience alerts on the panel simply couldn't stop. Kill level 23 yellow sand soldier. Experience plus 1096. Get sandstone asterisk 16. Kill level 23 yellow sand soldier. Experience plus 1135. Gain sand gravel asterisk 36. Kill level 23 desert scorpion. Experience plus 1230. Obtain stinger asterisk 2. Kill level 23 yellow sand soldier. Experience plus 1065. Get sand gravel asterisk 55. Kill level 23 desert scorpion. Experience plus 1211. Obtain stinger asterisk 3. In round after round of slashing, Su Chen's experience bar continued to grow. It had to be said that a copy was still a copy, and its demonic density was several times higher than on the wilderness. After another 10 minutes of fighting, Su Chen successfully cleared the first level of demons. After using his skills to update the status of Dian Wei and Zhao Yun's men, Su Chen reorganized his formation and set off towards the second level. Outside the replica, the onlookers stared intently at the curtain of light over the camp. It showed the process of Su Chen's passage and the corresponding time. Suddenly at 56 minutes, the time on the light screen for the first level stopped ticking. There are only two situations where stopping the clock occurs. One is a pass while the other is a death. Everyone froze because 56 minutes was nowhere near enough time to pass. Holy shit. How did the timer stop? Su Chen won't die in there. It's over. The first level is dangerous. Something must have happened. Is there any chance it's over the top? Are you kidding me? It took me 3 hours last time with a group of 70 people. This is only 56 minutes. Surely it's gone. Without waiting for the crowd to speculate for too long, the timing on the light screen flashed again. The second level starts the clock. What? This is surprisingly the time it took to pass the level. It only took Su Chen 56 minutes to pass. There's no way this is possible. How can you get it wrong when the second level is even on the clock? Holy shit. It only took one person 56 minutes to clear the level. What kind of god is this? It took me two two hours just to find my way into Ben the first time. 56 minutes to solve a ground ambush and find the sandstorm priests. That's really something only a man of god can do. Walking out of the sandstorm area, a towering pyramid appeared in front of Su Chen. Hundreds of meters high pyramid stand steadily in the center of the desert. The ancient civilization of the heavy feeling comes, worthy of being a building that had been hailed as an ancient miracle in his previous life, Su Chen sighed in his heart. If not, who would have known that this magnificent building was actually a mausoleum? Which grave is covered so high? Dian Wei spoke up. Zhao Yun nodded in agreement. Su Chen, not bad for great wisdom, leading the soldiers closer to the pyramid. Su Chen saw its unique entrance. Although the pyramid's tower is nearly hundreds of meters, its entrance is only one person high. This is to prevent the pressure from crushing the inlet. Su Chen retrieved the soldiers, leaving only Dian Wei and Zhao Yun behind. It was really inconvenient to take hundreds of soldiers into this narrow path. Zhao Yun opened the way in front, with Dian Wei behind him, and the three of them quickly entered the huge tomb. The tunnel inside the pyramid remained narrow, ever so slightly wider than one person could pass through. However, as it gradually went deeper and deeper, it got higher and higher, reaching almost a dozen meters. It makes you feel as if you are traveling through a mountain canyon. After walking down a path that did not know whether to go up or down, a wide room appeared in front of several people. A dozen thick stone pillars held up this room, and in the center of the room sat a sarcophagus engraved with runes. Seeing this scene, Su Chen suddenly remembered the tune raiding novels he had read in his previous life. 
Just as he was thinking about lighting a candle in the corner, Dian Wei had already walked towards the sarcophagus. Without waiting for Su Chen to react, Dian Wei raised his city-breaking hammer and smashed down hard on the coffin. Get up! Boom! With a hammer, the sarcophagus instantly ruptured and dust rose in all directions. A myriad of thin voices instantly filled the room. That voice gives you goosebumps. As the dust cleared, Su Chen saw Dian Wei, who was constantly waving his huge halberd in front of him, and the black beetles that had already crawled over half of his body. Sacred Golden Beetle, Enhanced Demon, Rank, 20, Power, 100, Agility, 200, Spirit, 0, Physical Fitness, 100, The four dimensional attributes are low, but the numbers are almost frightening. Black beetles like a tidal wave were pouring out of the sarcophagus, and the number made Su Chen's dense phobia go straight to hell. Also feeling the same discomfort as him was the pugilistic man, Dian Wei. At the moment, Dian Wei was swinging his giant halberd haphazardly, trying to get rid of the beetles on his body. But as strong as his attacks were, he could do nothing against the tiny beetles. Wei Awa, Lord save me, Dian Wei yelled. Su Chen, who was originally still a bit scared, instantly burst out laughing when he saw this look on Dian Wei's face. I told you to be a tiger. Now you've got it. Unlike Su Chen who laughed out loud, Zhao Yun surrendered his body and stepped forward, holding his gun to help Dian Wei pick off the beetles. But his gun was also of little use against the sea of beetles. Su Chen laughed as he unleashed the imperial mighty vastness on Dian Wei and Zhao Yun. Gusts of golden ripples emerged from around Dian Wei and Zhao Yun. The power of emperor's might is calculated based on the target's life value. That was why the imperial mighty vastness released by Dian Wei and Zhao Yun was dozens of times more powerful than ordinary soldiers. As soon as the golden ripples came out, the sacred gold beetles that were in their periphery instantly died. A series of near-crazy experience prompts began to brush the screen on Su Chen's panel. The original terrifying swarm of beetles instantly turned into a massive amount of experience for Su Chen. After discovering the power of the golden light, Dian Wei and Zhao Yun immediately rushed towards the source where the sacred gold beetle had appeared. Kill level 20 sacred gold beetle. Experience plus 314. Get beetle wings asterisk 3. Kill level 20 sacred gold beetle. Experience plus 315. Get beetle wings asterisk 2. Kill level 20 sacred gold beetle. Experience plus 302. Obtain beetle beak asterisk 1. The beetles were low on individual experience, but there were just too many of them. A steady stream of sacred gold beetles transformed into generous experience packs. It made Su Chen's experience bar rise wildly at an unprecedented rate. This is simply a bonus level. Within 5 minutes, the last bit of the experience bar filled right up. The upgrade light pillar lit up and Su Chen successfully broke through level 19. Leveling up. Su Chen didn't rush to open the panel to check it out, but instead stared dead ahead. It was because he caught another sound amongst the buzzing sounds made by the countless sacred gold beetles. There's more than just the sacred gold beetle in this level. As expected, the stone walls around the room collapsed without warning. Countless chilling hissing sounds came from the darkness in all directions. Cobra. The dark brown cobras were each up to 3 meters long and arm's length thick. They spat out silver-colored letters. Their neck pillow scales wide open, and quickly glided towards Su Chen. The insight spell probes out. Dark King Serpent, Enhanced Magical Creature. Rank, 23. Power, 300. Agility, 400. Spirit, 200. Body Mass, 300. Skill, Dark Water. Another wave of quantity not quality magic. They don't have high attributes, but if they are not handled correctly they will be in a situation where they are under siege. If you're under siege, the damage done by the group is incalculable. However, the cluster type demons that were tricky for other professionals were just a bag of experience in front of Su Chen. Su Chen's eyes flashed as he raised his hand and summoned 200 Dianwei soldiers. The soldiers spread out in layers with Su Chen at the center, filling the entire space. The imperial might is vast. The golden light representing supreme imperial power lit up, instantly illuminating the entire space. The soldiers madly swung their swords and slashed, coupled with the constant imperial might of the vastness. The snakes were greeted with large swaths of death, and the screens echoed overhead. The dark king snake that didn't die in the first wave fired back at the soldiers. They pulled back to spray pitch black venom from their mouths. The soldiers didn't give any chance and raised their shields to directly block. The venom is not corrosive, and spraying it on the shield causes no effect. The counterattack failed, and the soldiers swarmed over the last of the king snakes and hacked them to death. Large clusters of experience surged towards Su Chen. The experience bar rose crazily. It simply couldn't be stopped. Kill level 23 Dark King Snake. Experience plus 603. Obtain Poisonous Fong Asterisk 2. Kill level 23 Dark King Snake. Experience plus 598. Obtain Poisonous Fong Asterisk 1. Kill level 20 Sacred Gold Beetle. Experience plus 315. Get Beetle Wings Asterisk 2. 
Kill level 23 Dark King Snake. Experience plus 614. Obtain Poisonous Fong Asterisk 2. Kill level 20 Sacred Gold Beetle. Experience plus 302. Obtain Beetle Beak Asterisk 1. The massacre continued for another 10 minutes or so, and Su Chen's level 19 experience bar was approaching 1 fifth. The experience of this level was too exaggerated, and it was more terrifying than any level he had encountered before. When the next time he could convert a copy, he would definitely come back to convert this one. The experience given by the swarms of beetles and snakes on this level was just too crazy, giving it away for free like it was no money. After making sure that the demons were all completely annihilated, Su Chen opened the panel and checked up on the fresh level 19 attributes. Name, Su Chen. Occupation, 9 to 5, unique. Rank, 19, 18. 63%, strength, 190, plus 20, agility, 190, spirit, 1300, plus 50, body mass, 190, equipment, skull ring, props, reset crystals, skills, summoning general Dianwei, level 19, summoning general Zhao Yun, level 16, emperor's might, level 19, emperor's might, level 3, summon general Dianwei, level 19 summons general Dianwei, who can be manipulated to fight. Consume 600 spiritual energy. Summon General Zhao Yun, level 16 summons General Zhao Yun, who can be manipulated to fight. Consume 700 mental energy. Emperor's Might, level 19 issues a mandatory command to a target within range. Refusal to carry it out will result in psychic damage and thought stagnation. Consumes 350 psychic power. Emperor's Might, level 3. Apply an aura of Emperor's Might to a friendly unit that lasts for 10 seconds. The aura will inflict 100% friendly life value damage to enemies within a range of 10 meters, the effect can be stacked. Spirit power consumption, 5 asterisk number of targets applied. Legion information, General Dian Wei. Senior tiger leopard ride soldier, General Zhao Yun. Senior white horse boxer, Pan Shen. Dian Wei, level 19 strength 5100. Sensitivity 5100. Essence 5100. Body 5100. Troops, 320 senior tiger leopard cavalry soldiers. Zhao Yun, level 16 strength 3900, sensitivity 5650, essence 3900, body 2400, troops, white horse cavalry 60, other military types, Panshin, level 18 strength 1500, sensitivity 1300, essence 3000, body 1300, after reading the panel, Su Chen's eyes immediately shot out with joy, there are just so many surprises with this upgrade, in addition to his own attribute boost. What Su Chen cared about the most was the boost in Imperial Mighty Vastness. It should be that this wave of beetle swarms and snake swarms had brushed up a lot of proficiency for the Royal Mighty Horde, allowing it to rise from level 2 to level 3. Although it seemed to be a small one level increase, the increase in skill effect was beyond exaggerated. First of all the skill range has been increased from 5 meters to 10 meters. This boost is more than just a superficial range boost, it's also a significant boost to skill damage. Because the damage of Emperor's Mighty Vastness is stackable. An increase in range means an increase in the size of the stacking area. If an enemy is standing still, the maximum amount of Imperial Might damage it takes per second depends on how many soldiers are in range. If it was a level 2 Imperial Mighty Vast, the damage range was 5 meters, indicates how many soldiers it can battle within 5 meters of it, and how much damage it can stack. The level 3 Emperor's Mighty Vastness now increases the range to 10 meters. The number of soldiers that could stand down within a 10 meter range was naturally higher, and the more damage they dealt. If you quantify damage per second by area, with the power unchanged, the range boost alone increases the damage of the Imperial Mighty Vastness by 4x, and the boost doesn't stop at range. The damage has also been increased from 50% of the target's life value to 100%. The most exaggerated thing was that the soldiers who were the targets of the Imperial Mighty Hoopla also boosted their life values. This indicates that the Royal Mighty Hulk has gained from all three dimensions. This boost could be said to have given Su Chen's monster brushing efficiency another qualitative leap. In addition to the Imperial Mighty, another surprise of this upgrade is the boost of Zhao Yun and White Horse Boxer. Zhao Yun had leveled up to 14 while brushing the demons on the wilderness. This time, within the copy it was two levels in a row, coming to level 16. When they jumped over the level 15 threshold, Zhao Yun and the White Horse Boxers received a troop upgrade. The White Horse Yippie is upgraded to a senior White Horse Yippie. Not only was the body's light armor updated but it was also equipped with a new weapon, the Short Bow. This was the first batch of soldiers in Su Chen's team to have long-range attacks, fills the gap of long-range output in the team. And Zhao Yun, as a general of the White Horse Boxers, was likewise given new weapons. General, Zhao Yun, level 16, power, 3900, agility, 5650, spirit, 3900, 
Body Mass, 2400. Equipment, Gentian Lance, Young Piercing Bow. Skills, White Horse, Lone Ranger, Akuba Yashinobu, Summoning 60 Light Cavalry for Combat. Lone Hero, When the number of troops of your side is less than that of the enemy within a range of 500 meters. All attributes of Zhao Yun and your soldiers except life value will be doubled with the difference. With a cap of 20 times. Streaming Cloud Thrust, Zhao Yun's next attack will receive an agility attribute bonus. The higher the agility increase, the higher the damage of the attack. As a general of the White Horse Guards, Zhao Yun also received a new weapon, the Piercing Yang Bao. In the Three Kingdoms, Zhao Yun was never known for using his gun. This makes many people overlook the fact that his shooting is also top-notch. Now that Zhao Yun had obtained the Piercing Yang Bao, it brought Su Chen back to this point. After the upgrade of the troop types, Zhao Yun and White Horse Boxer successfully transformed from light cavalry to mounted archery. It's not just the increase in combat power, but it also greatly enriches the team's offense. After looking at Zhao Yun and White Horse Boxer, the final focus is on Dian Wei. Dian Wei's four-dimensional attributes had been as high as five. 100 points. This attribute point could crush any single copy boss of the same level. The super high attribute values coupled with the presence of loyal guards, not to mention the demonic attack. Even if Su Chen took the initiative to beg for death it was very difficult. Can't die at all. Also, Dian Wei and Tiger Leopard Rider are about to reach the level 20 threshold. Crossing this threshold will also see them receive a troop upgrade. I wonder what kind of boost this one will get. In fact, Su Chen had been nagging at the fact that his Tiger Leopard Ride didn't have a horse. If he was given the choice for the next troop type upgrade, he would choose to equip the Tiger Leopard Cavalry with War Horses. But level 20 is all an afterthought. The most important thing now is to clear this copy. Based on the amount of experience in this copy, the second time down will definitely break level 20. If the subsequent levels are experienced, it's even possible to break level 20 on this one, suppressing the joy of upgrading in his heart. Su Chen led the team to continue to set off towards the depths of the replica. Outside the replica, the onlookers were once again in a frenzy. This time the time on the light screen was set at 1 hour and 32 minutes. Although this is also a time that would seem impossible to pass in normal times, there is the experience of the previous level. This time, no one thought Su Chen died in the copy anymore. Sure enough 10 minutes later the clock restarted. Su Chen entered the third level. I broke through the second level in an hour and a half. I don't have the strength to be shocked anymore. The second level is supposed to be a massive swarm of insects and snakes. I didn't expect Su Chen to pass so easily. Yeah, I would have expected him to be defeated at this level since his martial arts don't seem to have ranged damage abilities. Is that no ranged damage for Su Chen? That's not even useful for hitting us minions. An hour and a half. An hour and a half. The difference between a damn man and a man is greater than the difference between a man and a dog. Stop at old iron. Say it again it's going to break the defense. There's a decryption section in the third level. I don't believe he's still that fast. How dare you question Sushin. You just want to be punched in the face. The three knives and their men stared blankly at the time on the light screen. The shock in their hearts knew no bounds. After so many years of running Pharaoh's heart, this was the first time they had seen such a horrible result. If they hadn't made this light screen, he would have wondered if it was a fake. The junior brother looked at the light screen and muttered. This Su Chen is also too exaggerated. If we can dig it up wouldn't our gang be developed? The three knives knocked the little brother's head fiercely. What level are you? What level are they? People can hang out with you in the same place? He is the one who will step onto the path of the strongest and become the glory of the great Xia, leaving the second level barrier. Su Chen walked into the long downward tunnel. The base of the pyramid is large, so the area through which the downward path passes grows larger. Ancient Egypt was a land of animal worship, with various animal motifs carved on the sides of the walls. In addition to animals there are various deities made from a combination of animals and humans. Dog heads, eagle heads, sphinxes. Su Chen didn't know much about ancient Egypt and only recognized Anubis, the dog-headed man among them, for no other reason than the fact that the game he liked to play in his previous life had a hero called Doghead. The prototype is Anubis, the ancient Egyptian god of death. Just as the thought came to mind, a large, wide hall appeared at the end of the tunnel. This time, the hall was not only wide, but also strangely high in story height. The top is invisible. The bottom has a black and gold color scheme, and the walls are etched with a variety of mysterious patterns filled with mystical motifs. In the center was placed vertically a sarcophagus in the shape of a man, in front of which hung a scale. A few heart-shaped stones and clean white feathers are placed under the scales. Based on the pattern on the sarcophagus, Su Chen knew that it was time for Dian Wei's best puzzle solving session. This time he didn't even bother to look at the pattern, but instead looked directly at Dian Wei. Dian Wei understood and took out the city-breaking hammer from the void, then threw it to Zhao Yun as soon as he could. Zhao Yun looked at Dian Wei in confusion. Question mark. 
Dian Wei angled his chin at the sarcophagus. Brother Yun, over to you. Su Chen snorted and laughed. He knew that Dian Wei had been shadowed by the holy beetle in the last level. I didn't think that this thick-browed, big-eyed Dian Wei would be afraid of a tiny shithead. Hearing Su Chen's laughter, Dian Wei pretended to be calm and continued. Brother Yun don't be afraid. Just smash harder. Zhao Yun shook his head helplessly, carrying a huge hammer and slamming it down hard against the scales. Boom. Unlike Dian Wei's bravery, Zhao Yun had a sense of floating with all his hammers. With a hammer blow, the scale was instantly destroyed. Immediately after, Zhao Yun whirled around and swung his hammer, the second hammer smashing into the sarcophagus again. Boom. The sarcophagus shook violently and then fell downward into the ground. At the same time a shrill chirp came from above the great hall. Up there? Su Chen looked up just in time to see a rain of arrows formed by feathers hurtling towards him. Your holiness. Dian Wei took a step and stood in front of Su Chen, taking out his halberd and waving it in front of him. The spinning war halberd split all the feathered arrows. Bold rats, how dare you sneak up on his holiness. Dian Wei roared, his eyes ablaze with rage. Zhao Yun on the side likewise had eyes like lightning and threw back the city breaking hammer. One took out the silver white piercing bow and struck the arrow and drew it. With a whoosh, the bow and arrow shot overhead like lightning. The bow opens like the autumn moon traveling in the sky, and the arrow goes like a shooting star breaking through the sky. A tragic bird song rang out, and the eagle-headed, lion-bodied demonic creature above landed on the ground. Enchanted Griffin, Enhanced Magic Item, Rank, 24, Power, 700, Agility, 800, Spirit, 600, Body Mass, 500, Skill, Feather Arrow. A griffin landed and more birdsong rang out from above. Su Chen raised his hand and summoned all sixty white horse boxers. The white horse guardsmen strung their arrows and drew their bows, and a ground-to-air battle began. Whoosh! The white horse boxers strung their bows and fired a shower of arrows into the air. Their arrows kept hitting the demonized griffins as if they had a locking pendant on. Instead, the griffin gave a feathered return blow that landed on the shields of the cannon soldiers. The white horse boxer and the tiger leopard cavalry worked flawlessly together in offense and defense. His side's attacks kept getting the job done while the other side's attacks kept falling short. After a few waves of mutual fire, the demonized griffins finally couldn't carry on and began to die in large numbers. There was some romanticism in the way the griffin corpses and the roiling feathers descended in unison. Su Chen felt romantic, but Dian Wei didn't. He held his war halberd up to the sky and swung it wildly, sending bodies flying all over the room. Ugly bird, ugly bird, kill level 24 demonized griffin, experience plus 1536. Get Feather Asterisk 2. Kill Level 24 Demonized Griffin. Experience plus 1503. Get Feather Asterisk 1. Kill Level 24 Demonized Griffin. Experience plus 1481. Get Feather Asterisk 2. The number of magical griffins was small, but the experience of a single one was very substantial. Let's just say that large copies don't raise inexperienced demons. As the griffins died in large numbers, Su Chen's experience bar also saw another rise. Seeing that the demonic creatures in the sky above gradually decreased, Su Chen cast his gaze back to the human-shaped sarcophagus in the center. He didn't have to wait long to look at it before the sarcophagus began to tremble violently, and then it turned into a pile of yellow sand. Yellow sand gushed outward from the cave entrance, spreading continuously to all corners of the great hall. With a violent tremor, the yellow sand began to flow backwards back into the cave again. The yellow sand gathered and condensed at the mouth of the cave, gradually forming a dog-headed demonic creature. Anubis, the Egyptian god of death. Dog heads. Su Chen instantly recognized the distinctive dog's head and struck out with an insight spell. Anubis, enhanced magical creature. Rank, 25. Power, 2000. Agility, 1500. Spirit, 1500. Body mass, 2000. Skills, Yang Shriveling, Soul Flame, Death's Descent. Elite monster with all four dimensional attributes, at half the level of Paragon. Hiss ah. Anubis roared at Su Chen and the other intruders. Dian Wei looked around at the sound, and the instant he saw it he showed an unmistakable look of disgust. He pointed at Anubis' nose and shouted, Ugly monster, are you a man or a dog? Unable to take the insult, Anubis raised his hands high and unleashed his skill at Dian Wei. A purple light emerged, and Dian Wei's face instantly changed. It's young Wilt. Su Chen sensed that Dian Wei was different and released fearless charge to help Dian Wei clear his negative status. After experiencing that indescribable feeling, Dian Wei instantly erupted into a volcanic eruption of anger. His eyes erupted with fire as he took out a pair of giant halberds and charged Anubis violently. Dead dog, take your life. The completely insane Dian Wei didn't even give Anubis a chance to fight back. A pair of giant halberds kept striking, directly stabbing it into a sieve. Anubis whimpered and collapsed into the tainted blood. 
Kill level 25 Anubis. Experience plus 6687. Obtain death statue asterisk 1. Even though Anubis was already dead, the angry Dian Wei still didn't stop, and output half a dozen more at the corpse. Su Chen cried and laughed, and beside him, Zhao Yun and a group of soldiers were very confused. I don't know why General Dian Wei is so angry. Only Su Chen, who knew Anubis' skills, said he understood Dian Wei very well. Anubis died and the entire hall shuddered violently as the floor began to settle downward. Su Chen stabilized his stance and quickly checked the surrounding situation. The floor is clearly meant to send them to the bottom of the pyramid. The speed drop lasted 10 minutes or so before the floor slammed to the ground with a violent roar, dusty and loud, waiting for the dust to dissipate. Su Chen realized that they were in a space that was exaggeratedly large. The upper ceiling was almost hundreds of meters away from them, and the surrounding area was more than a glance away. The large space was so large that Su Chen could hardly believe he was still indoors, and there is not a single load-bearing column in this space, which is completely contrary to the principles of mechanics. In addition to defying common sense, what is even more exaggerated is the fact that the space is covered with soldiers that resemble terracotta warriors. Su Chen swept with a glance. There were at least a few thousand sandstone-sealed soldiers in front of him. Behind the thousands of soldiers stood a huge golden coffin. The gold casket is painted with a human figure, clearly a pharaoh symbolizing the supreme power of ancient Egypt. Pharaoh slept in solemnity, guarded by an army of a thousand men. Su Chen looked at the majestic golden coffin from afar, and the color in his eyes gradually blazed. Unsurprisingly, this is the last level. Ancient Egypt faces China, a battle between two millennia-old civilizations across time and space. As the emperor of the Chinese civilization, this was a battle he had to win. Su Chen raised his hands high and summoned all 320 senior tiger leopard ride soldiers as well as 60 white horse boxers. Formation, he droned down in a deep voice, his tone vaguely displaying the majesty of an emperor. The 320 tiger leopard riders formed a square formation in front of them, and the 60 white horsemen rolled onto their horses on one side. Dian Wei and Zhao Yun also sensed the change in Su Chen's aura, and their majestic battle intent spilled out. Dian Wei walked slowly to stand in front of the square formation, took out his twin halberds, and eyed the front. Zhao Yun summoned the Jade Shilin and came to the front of the cavalry formation with his silver spear in hand. After the formation was completed, a muffled thunderous sound erupted from the large space. The sand and gravel began to fall off the thousands of soldiers in front of them, revealing the desiccated human bodies underneath. There was a clattering sound of sand and gravel falling to the ground as the enemy's foremost army lifted the seal. They were all dried up without a trace of blood, holding up round shields and short swords, hissing and charging. Mummy warrior, enhanced magical creature. Rank, 25. Power, 600. Agility, 600. Spirit, 600. Body mass, 600. Su Chen raised his hand and waved, and Dian Wei led his soldiers to meet the enemy army. Take your life. Focus modes Dian Wei swung his twin halberds to kill the enemy, instantly harvesting a large group of enemies. The soldiers immediately behind them also engaged the enemy. Both sides of the soldiers had similar attribute values and similar weapons and equipment, and for a while they entered a protracted battle. Su Chen didn't hastily start the Imperial Mighty Swell because this was only the first wave of the enemy's attack, and there were still a large number of enemies at the back. The Imperial Mighty must be used at the most critical moments. Although the soldiers were evenly matched, his side had the variable of Dian Wei. Dian Wei swung his double halberds and slashed frantically through the enemy formation. It quickly made a difference in the number of soldiers on both sides. A difference in numbers means that your side can round up the opposing soldiers. The situation tipped over and enemy soldiers began to die in large numbers. When the enemy's numbers are sharply reduced to a zone, the second group of enemy troops lifts the seal. This group of enemy troops was joined by caravans in addition to infantry. Hundreds of chariots rolled in like a landslide. Su Chen raised his hand and waved, and Zhao Yun received the order. He tugged on his horse's rope and shook his gun. Gentlemen, follow me. With a command, Zhao Yun led the white horse riders forward. The cavalcade of silver spears and white horses shot out like meteors. After the enemy troops entered attack range, Zhao Yun raised his hand and waved it, and the white horse boxers drew their bows and shot arrows. A barrage of arrows ran towards the enemy, dealing the first wave of damage. Upon arriving, another wave of arrows were fired causing a second wave of damage. Each of the enemy's chariots was equipped with four soldiers, two spearmen, one bowman, and one driver. In return, the enemy on the enemy chariots fired their bows and arrows. For a while arrows flew in the sky and landed on the positions of both sides. Canonical soldiers have shield defense and take little damage. Zhao Yun's side produced some attrition despite dodging. After a wave of exchanging shots, the two sides closed the distance once more. Zhao Yun put away his longbow, flashed his silver spear, and led the white horse riders in a charge. With a silver spear in hand, 
What's the matter with the thieves? Zhao Yun roared and led the crowd around the local infantry battle, stabbing straight into the chariot ranks. Their orders from Su Chen were to obstruct the enemy's chariot advance. If the chariots are allowed to charge unhindered into their own infantry ranks, they are sure to do a lot of damage. Silver light flashed as Zhao Yun directly picked over a wooden frame chariot, and the soldiers on the chariot were directly crushed to death. The other white horse riders did not have Zhao Yun's strength, so they took on the war horses. A lance pierced into the horse's abdomen, and the horse toppled over in pain, similarly causing the chariot to topple over. Zhao Yun led the way, killing his way through the enemy lineup. The white horsemen were not to be outdone, and did their best to stop the chariot's charge. The upgraded white horse boxers have further improved their marksmanship and gun skills. This allowed them to completely crush the enemy's spearmen in short encounters. As Zhao Yun led his troops to kill, the enemy's front row of chariots instantly capsized most of them. The overturned chariots crashed into other chariots, causing a chain reaction. While Zhao Yun was turning the tide, Dian Wei's side also finished dealing with the first wave of enemies and charged forward to meet the second wave of enemy troops. All of a sudden, the sounds of hissing and shouting, weapons clashing, and arrows weaving tumbled in this underground tomb. The entire battlefield killed the dust that covered the eyes, and the blood light was monstrous. A massive amount of experience poured into Su Chen's experience bar, and experience tips constantly popped up on the panel. Kill level 25 mummy warrior. Experience plus 1634. Get armor asterisk 2. Kill level 25 mummy spearman. Experience plus 1656. Get armor asterisk 3. Kill level 25 mummy warrior. Experience plus 1611. Get armor asterisk 3. Kill level 25 mummy archer. Experience plus 1693. Obtain arrow asterisk 5. Kill level 25 mummy spear soldier. Experience plus 1652. Get armor asterisk 1. Killing here Su Chen still hadn't turned on the imperial mighty vastness. Because not even half of the enemy's war effort is out yet. The white horse riders disrupted most of the caravans. But were limited by their own disproportionately small numbers. It still allowed some of the chariots to crash into the frontal battlefield. The addition of the chariots caused a lot of damage to the frontal forces. Spearmen couldn't help the spearmen, but they still had a big advantage over the infantry. Faced with the addition of chariots, the soldiers of Dianwei could only fight for their lives. Trade massive attrition for local chariot tipping. Facing the sea of enemies, both the tiger leopard ride soldiers and the white horse riders suffered massive attrition. At the extreme moment when the situation was about to tip over, Su Chen activated the skills of Dian Wei and Zhao Yun to refresh the troops. The troops were back to their best and turned the situation back around. After more difficult fighting, the second wave of the enemy offensive came to an end. Just then, the two sarcophagi next to the golden coffin shattered. Out of it came two priests holding scepters. With a low chant, all the remaining soldiers in the space were unblocked. There were many more soldiers than the first two waves combined, and a third wave of attack opened. And it wasn't just the number that had gotten bigger. Su Chen realized that the soldier's eyes had become a bit blank. That chant had mind control type effects. If placed before, this control class skill would definitely give Su Chen a headache. After all, with the exception of Dian Wei, none of the soldiers, including Zhao Yun, have the ability to uncontrol. This kind of wide range control will definitely have a big impact on your side's combat power. However, for the current Su Chen, group control skills were no longer enough to be feared. The ancient Greek god of sex and music, now a Chinese mercenary, Pan Chen stepped out. Su Chen raised his hand and waved his hand, and the boss Pan God obtained by transforming Pan God's labyrinth appeared on the battlefield. Blow me, Su Chen shouted. At Su Chen's command, Pan Chen immediately cast his skills. His left hand twisted into a bone cock, then placed it to his mouth and blew. Music with magical efficacy spreads out in all directions, counteracting the opponent's chanting while also cutting down the enemy's aura. Pan God was taken out of the copy although it was weakened, but it was still a copy boss anyways. The boss's skills can still easily overpower two elite monsters. With Pan Shen coming down to resolve the mind control, Su Chen had no more worries. He raised his hand and pointed forward, and all the soldiers simultaneously charged forward. As the two armies met, the Imperial Might was unleashed. Level 3 Imperial Mighty Vastness instantly illuminated the entire underground space. The golden light that resembled a blazing sun scorched all the demonized souls that intruded into it. The moment they opened the Imperial Mighty Vastness, this Chinese division burst forth with the most powerful battle force. The army with golden light attached to its body was like a giant dragon crashing into the enemy forces. The enemy army had no resistance at all and was defeated. Batches and batches of enemies died, and a steady stream of experience alerts bubbled up from the panel. As the enemy army collapsed, the golden coffin at the end of the line trembled. The lid of the coffin instantly exploded. 
and a man wearing a golden mask on his head emerged from it. Boss, Tutankhamun, Enhanced Demon, Level, 25, Power, 8000, Agility, 4000, Spirit, 10, 000, Body Mass, 10, 000, Skills, Curse of the Pharaohs, Annihilation Phalanx, the 12th pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt was known for his horrific curses. The moment he showed up, he summoned a deep black spell. Immediately afterward, a bizarre chant began, and the spell formation slowly unfolded during the chant. The aura of death kept pouring out from the spell. What Tutankhamun didn't know was that three pairs of eyes were already on him a thousand meters away from the battlefield. Wielding his twin halberds, Dianwei roared and slashed as he kept advancing towards him. Zhao Yun, silver spear in hand ignored all the enemies and began to slowly accelerate towards him. With a calm expression, Su Chen stretched out a finger and pointed it at him, being watched by those three pairs of eyes. Whether it's any kind of card or any kind of mon, anyone who dares to light up a bloodstain will only die. Submit. A bolt of imperial might stabbed at Tutankhamun, instantly interrupting the spell he was chanting. A meteor-like stabbing strike then struck, directly penetrating his chest. The last two huge halberds swung and the head wearing a golden mask was thrown high into the air. Tutankhamun, the final boss, comes out for just one minute before he meets his demise. Kill level 25 boss Tutankhamun. Experience plus 36,210. Get Pharaoh's golden mask asterisk 1. Obtain silver level Pharaoh's eye asterisk 1. Obtain silver level cursed necklace asterisk 1. Get Pharaoh's heart asterisk 1. Obtain yellow sandstone block asterisk 94. Get transmission jade seal fragment asterisk 15. Successfully cleared the Pharaoh's heart, setting a new record for a replica successfully leveled up to level 20 to gain new skills and generals. The upgrade light pillar lit up and Su Chen's level successfully broke through level 20. Looking at the level 20 displayed on the cursor, Su Chen's heartbeat accelerated a bit. For all professionals, crossing the threshold of level 20 was a qualitative leap. And for Su Chen, the boost from level 20 would be even more terrifying. Su Chen opened the attribute panel and carefully checked up on the enhancements he had gained this time. First was the part that surprised Su Chen the most, the upgrade of the Tiger Leopard Rider. After breaking through the level 20 threshold, the Tiger Leopard Cavalry ushered in a new troop upgrade. Senior Tigers and Leopards are upgraded to Elite Tigers and Leopards. Moreover, this upgrade also happened to fulfill Su Chen's long-awaited expectations. The Tiger Leopard Rider soldiers were fully equipped with war horses. With a flash of his mind, Su Chen summoned the war horse. Dian Wei led all the Tiger Leopard Rider soldiers to roll over and mount their horses. Soldiers in black and gold armor with war horses in black horse armor. The 350 strong tiger and leopard cavalry was like a division of steel, emanating a majestic battle intent. That's the famous elite cavalry unit of history. In addition to the war horses, the soldiers were given the heavy spears needed for cavalry charges. The primary weapon was the spear, and the secondary weapons were equipped with short swords and shields. You can advance with a cavalry charge and retreat with a line of defense. This upgrade not only drastically increased the overall combat power of the tiger leopard riders, but also improved their tactics and the copy of the high school exam was Seal the Wolf. Su Chen remembered that there were a large number of long-distance running battles in it. Originally, he thought that it would be a bit difficult for Jian Wei and the Tiger Leopard Riders to pursue the enemy, but now with the troop upgrades, they can still be used as the main fighting force. Excluding the soldier upgrades, Jian Wei's four-dimensional attributes came to a terrifying five. Five hundred. And each soldier also had five hundred and fifty attributes. On the other side, Zhao Yun and White Horse Boxer had not upgraded their troops, but they had risen two levels in a row to level 18. Not only did you get a significant increase in combat power, but the number of soldiers also came to 80. The White Horse Boxers can complement the Tiger Leopard Cavalry very well as light cavalry, one to fight a frontal charge and one to fight a flanking attack. There are both frontal shield defenses as well as long-range output from archers. Such a team would be unbeatable on the battlefield. By this point, Su Chen was already confident about this college entrance exam but his upgrades are far from over. The second surprise he got from this breakthrough was that the copy actually dropped 15 jade seal fragments, together with the 10 jade seal fragments he had saved earlier. He possessed a total of 25 jade seal fragments in full. 25 shards means he gets both a new career skill and a new warlord. Either of these two things would be a qualitative leap in Su Chen's battle power. Reminiscing about the imperial mighty vastness and the powerful increase that Zhao Yun had given him, great anticipation surged in Su Chen's heart. What abilities will be gained and what generals will be summoned this time? Open the Shard Mall. Debris Mall. 5 shards, randomly obtain a vocational skill up to level 30, level 20. 10 shards, permanently convert a copy into your exclusive territory. 15 shards, randomly select a general card or a noble princess card, level 20. Remaining functions to be unlocked. 
counting the total number of shards, a total of 30 shards were needed. It was a pity that there were still 5 shards missing, or else Su Chen was planning to collect all of this copy. With a flash of his mind, Su Chen directly consumed 5 jade seal fragments to exchange the vocational skill, occupational skills in progress. After a period of time, the golden light lit up in Su Chen's hands, gaining the skill successfully, acquired the skill gleaming miles, sparkling, allows any unit of your side to enter a state of free conquest, in which the unit is no longer under the control of the summoner and is no longer subject to the summoning distance limit. Note, when a troop completes the summoner's order, or is forcibly recalled by the summoner, it will be released from free conquest and returned to the summoning space. Note, generals in a free campaign are treated as professional units and are able to enter and exit authorized copies on their own. Note, when the level of generals and troops is the same as that of the summoner, all experience gained during the free conquest state will be provided to the summoner. When the level of generals and troops is lower than that of the summoner, all experience gained during the free conquest state will be prioritized to be used to raise their own level. Note, all generals and troops will be leveled up at the same time as the summoner when they are at the same level as the summoner. After reading the complicated skill introduction, Su Chen's heart was shaken fiercely. If the previous vocational skills were all about the combat power aspect of the enhancement, then this skill completely widens the boundaries of this profession. The appearance of hanging gleaming miles made Su Chen truly feel like an emperor. Just kidding, how can you be an emperor and still make copies yourself? A real emperor only needs to point with his hand, and his generals can slaughter the copies with their millions of troops. That's what an emperor is. That's what a 9 to 5 career skill is. Looking at the panel, Su Chen's excited heart could not be calmed for a long time. Although this skill did not bring about an explicit increase in battle power, it definitely qualified as a core skill of the 9 to 5. First of all the first point, the freedom of the generals has been increased tremendously. Although Su Chen could manipulate the military generals to fight, he basically hadn't done so. After all, he was just a high school student about to graduate compared to the military generals who were so successful in battle. Whether it's combat skills, on-the-spot reactions during battle or judgment of the situation, he can't possibly compare to a thousand famous generals who have been through a lot of battles. What he did had always been to give the appropriate orders to the generals with his own knowledge of the copies. The generals would then use their own judgment and ability to fulfill Su Chen's instructions. After entering the free conquest mode, Su Chen likewise only used to give one command. The rest can be left entirely to the generals and soldiers. And there's no distance limit in free conquest mode. This will greatly increase the freedom of the generals to maximize their abilities. Secondly, the second point is that the generals are able to come and go as they please in the free conquest mode. This would allow Su Chen's future ability to brush the scriptures inspection to be boosted tremendously. Su Chen was perfectly capable of letting the martial arts generals enter different copies and start brushing at the same time. The time it took to paint only one copy can now be used to paint two, three, or even more copies. Although at low levels, generals in free conquest mode would not provide experience value to Su Chen. However, experience exclusivity could also allow martial arts generals to gain a quick upgrade, solving the problem of never being able to catch up with Su Chen's level. All in all this skill is very powerful and not something that can be captured in a few words of introduction on the panel. Before the appearance of hanging gleaming miles, the difference between the 9 to 5 and the other summoner professions was only in the strength of the summons. And after the appearance of hanging gleam miles, this profession will completely draw a border with other summoner professions. After all, it was absolutely impossible for other summoners summons to freely enter and exit their copies. You could say that this skill makes the 9 to 5 truly a 9 to 5. After analyzing the ability of hanging gleaming miles, Su Chen calmed his excitement and shifted his line of sight to another item in the mall. Finally, I can summon a new warlord. What generals will be drawn this time? Su Chen couldn't help but speculate in his heart, and even got a little jittery. Although the system hadn't screwed him over so far, but if he opened up a not-so-powerful general it would be a wasted opportunity. If it opens up a peerless general Pan Fong or Xing Daorong's big brother or something like that, then, it's not that these seniors are vegetables. It's just that they're still a little bit worse compared to Dianwei Zhao Yun. This kind of nervousness and anticipation reminded Su Chen of the card drawing game in his previous life. No wonder so many people like to draw cards. This stuff is truly magical. Without further thought, Su Chen directly consumed 15 jade seal fragments with a flash of his mind. A golden light flooded the system and it began to operate. Drawing of general's cards from. Faint blue light flickered in front of Su Chen. And three cards slowly surfaced in front of him. Essence flickered in Su Chen's eyes and his hands clenched. He hoped that this time it would be like the last time he had drawn Jiayin before Chang Banpa. Also draw a general suitable for a copy of Wolverine. Not looking to get lucky enough to open a super supreme card like Hua. As long as he could open Wei Ching or Li Guang. Su Chen felt satisfied. I don't know if it was because of the anticipation in his heart. 
but Su Chen felt that this time the wait was extraordinarily long. After a period of waiting, the blue light flashes ended. The three character cards finally appeared in front of Su Chen. The moment he saw the name of the card, Su Chen's entire body shuddered violently. Really, it's coming. General Li Guangli of the Second Division. Bravery, Huo Zhaodong. The Great Ming War God, Li Jinglong. A hot blood surged through Su Chen's chest. As a citizen of China, there is no one who can see this name and not be moved by it. At the age of 18, he was crowned Marquis of Champion. At the age of 20, he was appointed General of Huzar. And at the age of 22, he created the highest honor of military generals. Sealing the wolves, his presence shone like a shooting star and flew away like a shooting star. Although he left this world at the age of 24, he made the iron hooves of the great Han tread across the entire desert. Su Chen slowly raised his hand to point at the card in the center of the brave champion. If you accidentally tap the next two you're screwed. Fingers clicked. Faint blue ripples swept away. And the other two cards disappeared. The Hua Zhaodong card then transformed into a blue particle of light and exploded like a firework. Tap. Suddenly there was a violent stomping sound. It was the sound of horses hooves treading on the ground. Su Chen realized. The deafening sound of iron hooves like thunder echoed through the great hall. It caused both Dianwei and Zhao Yun to involuntarily raise their guard. The sound grew stronger and more shocking from far away. In the end, it was like a landslide, and the entire underground space began to tremble. Rumble. Space tore apart, and a young general riding a warhorse emerged from it. He wore a red iron blood battle robe and held a blood-colored lance. His face was clear but full of sharpness. In just one appearance, a sharp aura that was enough to tear apart an entire piece of the heavens surged out from around his body. And this was just the beginning. Behind him, rows of black and red iron horsemen continuously emerged from space. Endless majesty pressed down on Su Chen like a mountain. At some point, Dian Wei and Zhao Yun had already stood at Su Chen's side. Although they knew that the visitor was not hostile, the boundless pressure still made them feel wary. The young general raised his hand and waved, and hundreds of iron horsemen stopped instantly. The general put away his blood-colored lance and came before Su Chen. My lord Hua Daizi, see your majesty. Hua Zhaodong rolled over and dismounted kneeling on one knee and saluting Su Chen with his fists. As soon as the three words Hua Zhaodong appeared, Zhao Yun and Dian Wei's faces trembled slightly. The two of them, as descendants of the Western Han Dynasty, naturally knew of the pugnacious Hua Zhaoi, even though the memory was sealed and could not be remembered. A special feeling welled up in his heart. General Hua, please rise. Su Chen lifted his hand to help Hua Zhui up, looking at his face, which was similar to his own age. Su Chen could not help but feel a pang of emotion. It's hard to imagine that at an age when most people ignore the risks and keep installing, Hua Zaiwei had already defeated the Xiangnu and was named Marquis of Champions. As he lamented, Su Chen raised his hand to check Hua Zaiwei's attributes. General, Hua Zhaodong, level 10. Power, 2000. Agility, 2000. Spirit, 4000. Body mass, 2000. Equipment, Hua Jiaogun. Skill, Iron Horseman of the Han Dynasty. Charge Military Formation. Great Han Iron Horseman, summon 200 Great Han Iron Horsemen to fight. Charge Formation, divide the Iron Horseman into various formations to cope with different battle situations. Long Attack Formation, adopting the Long Attack Formation. The overall agility attribute of the troops will be greatly improved. Detour Formation, by adopting the Detour Formation, troops will be dispersed into groups, and the killing power of a single soldier will be greatly enhanced. Extermination Formation, by adopting the Extermination Annihilation Formation. The troops will launch a destructive charge in clusters, and the overall damage of the troops' charge will be greatly increased. As soon as he appeared at level 10, the system was really too considerate. Su Chen said in his heart. After checking Hua Zhaodong's skills and attributes, Su Chen realized that there was a big difference between him and Dian Wei Zhao Yun. Whether it's Dian Wei or Zhao Yun, their skills are a boost to their own battle power, and all of Hua's skills work on the overall unit, boosting the ability of the entire unit. Because of this, Hua's four-dimensional attributes are also most prominent in the spiritual aspect. The other three dimensions were the same as those of the same rank of Dian Wei, while the spirit was literally twice as high. Hua Zaiwei's skills are more in line with a commander-in-chief than Zhao Yun and Dian Wei. After checking out Hua Zhua, Su Chen checked out the attributes of the Great Han Iron Cavalry again. As the elite cavalry under Hua's command, they had 200 riders right out of the gate. This really shocked Su Chen a bit. This was 200 cavalrymen. But Dian Wei didn't have 300 cavalry until level 20, and was infantry until then, and it's too much for Hua to come out with 200 iron horsemen, raising his hand to open the iron rider panel, something that made Su Chen even more surprised appeared, summoned object, great Han iron horsemen, rank, 10, power, 400, agility, 400, spirit, 800, body mass, 400, 
Their four-dimensional attributes were surprisingly one-fifth of Hua's. Realized that both its Dianwei and Jiayun soldiers only have one-tenth of their attributes. This meant that the Great Han Iron Cavalry was even more elite than the Tiger Leopard Cavalry and the White Horse Boxers. With such a group of elite troops, coupled with Huo Ziwei's divine command, then what is there to fear from the demons in the district? After checking the proceeds from this upgrade, Su Chen opened his backpack again. As a large copy of Pharaoh's Heart, the attributes of its drops are generally the highest among copies of the same level. Now that Royal Mighty Vastness came to level 3, applying an aura to a single target would require 5 points of mental energy. Relying on the profession's own mental power was no longer quite enough to support such a large amount of mental exertion. He had to rely on the help of his equipment. Opening his backpack and facing the wide array of equipment, Su Chen only focused on one of their attributes. That's the spiritual attribute. The other attributes were of no use to him, and only spiritual power was something he needed. It was a good thing that the elite monsters as well as the bosses in the Pharaoh's Heart were mage-type demons that dropped a lot of mage-type equipment. One of the biggest mental power additions is the Pharaoh's Heart dropped by Tutankhamun. As a trinket, its spiritual power alone is able to increase by 500 points almost as much as the total amount one can raise by moving up a level. Only one will drop per pass. Keep in mind that everyone else is a hundred people down for a copy. The attribution of such top-notch equipment will surely trigger a great deal of scrambling. Load the pharaoh's heart on it, and the spiritual attribute is directly increased by 500 points. There is also a golden mask of the pharaoh. This item is a defense-oriented mage equipment, but it also increases mental power by 200 points. Su Chen equipped it as well and his mental strength increased by 200 points once again. Lastly, there are some scepter-type weapons, which usually increase mental power by about 100 points. However, unlike wearable props, which only need to be loaded on the equipment bar, weapon classes have to be held in the hand for them to take effect. Su Chen really didn't want to hold some strange stick in his hand, so he simply gave up that bit of spiritual power. At the same time, an idea popped into his head. That is, historically, Many legendary level professionals have had their own exclusive weapons. Those weapons were either ancient divine weapons or divine level weapons. There are even some weapons that only recognize unique professionals, and can only be used by those who are recognized as such. He suddenly remembered whether his own profession would also have an exclusive weapon. What will be the weapon that will fit the emperor? After thinking freely for a while, Su Chen cleared his thoughts out of his mind. Those are afterthoughts. Right now it's about accomplishing what you can. After wearing the equipment, Su Chen once again consulted his attribute panel. Name, Su Chen. Occupation, 9 to 5, unique. Rank, 20, 0. 5%. Strength, 200, plus 220. Agility, 200, plus 200. Spirit, 1600, plus 750. Physical fitness, 200, plus 200. Equipment, skull ring, gold mask, pharaoh's heart. Props, reset crystals. Skills, summoning general Dian Wei, level 20. Summoning General Zhao Yun, level 18. Summoning General Hua Zaudi, level 10. Emperor's Might, level 20. Emperor's Might, level 3. Hanging Flag for 10,000 miles, level 1. Summon General Dianwei, level 20 summons General Dianwei. Who can be manipulated to fight? Consumes 650 spirit power. Summon General Zhao Yun, level 18 summons General Zhao Yun. Who can be manipulated to fight? Consumes 750 spirit power. Summon General Hua Zaudong, level 10 summons General Hua Zaudong. Who can be manipulated to fight? Consumes 1000 spiritual energy. Emperor's Might, level 20 issues a mandatory command to a target within range. Refusal to execute will result in mental damage and thought stagnation. Consumes 400 mental power. Emperor's Might, level 3. Apply an aura of Emperor's Might to a friendly unit that lasts for 10 seconds. The aura will inflict 100% friendly life value damage to enemies within a range of 10 meters. The effect can be stacked. Spirit Power Consumption, 5 asterisk number of targets applied. Flare, level 1 allows any of your units to enter a state of free conquest, where they are no longer under the control of the summoner and are no longer subject to the summoning distance limit. Legion Information, General Dian Wei. Elite Tiger and Leopard Cavalry Soldiers, General Zhao Yun. Senior White Horse Guards, General Hua Zaudi. Han Iron Cavalry, Pan Shen. Dian Wei, level 20 strength 5500. Sensitivity 5500. Essence 5500. Body 5,500. Troops, 350 Senior Tiger Leopard Cavalry Soldiers. Zhao Yun, Level 18 Strength 4,700. Sensitivity 6,650. Essence 4,700. Body 3,000. Troops, White Horse Cavalry 80. Huo Zhaodi, Level 10 Strength 2,000. Sensitivity 2,000. Essence 4,000. Body 2,000. Commanding Force, 200 Heavy Cavalry of the Han Iron Cavalry. 
Other military types, Pension, Level 20 Strength 200, Sensitivity 1800, Essence 3600, Body 1800. Looking at the fact that he had boosted his attributes by a large amount again and increased his skills and martial arts panels, the corners of Su Chen's mouth curled up slightly, and he couldn't suppress the ecstasy in his heart. It was true to say that breaking through level 20 was a threshold, and the boost from this upgrade far exceeded Su Chen's expectations. It wasn't quite clear how the attributes of high-level professionals were, though, however, Su Chen conservatively estimated that even clusters of level 30 or lower professionals would not be his opponent. With this kind of battle power, getting into two higher learning institutions was almost a nail in the coffin. Getting into college isn't the end of the road though, it's the beginning of another life. Su Chen's goal wasn't just to get into a top school. The age of peace in this world is coming to an end as demons wreak havoc in neighboring countries intrude. How much battle power you can provide yourself then depends on how hard you work today. Even if the college entrance exam was already a sure thing, he still had to grab this last bit of time to upgrade. The final goal before the high school exams, do your best to level up all your generals. Closing the panel, Su Chen beckoned to retrieve all the military generals as well as soldiers. After organizing his backpack, Su Chen walked into the teleportation light pillar to leave the copy. Outside the replica, the camp crowd that saw Su Chen's clearance time had completely boiled over. Two and a half hours. Su Chen's solo clearance of the 100 player copy of Pharaoh's Heart took only two and a half hours. One Kunchi passes the barrier. Su Chen is truly a god. It took a full seven and a half hours for you to dare the second place on the leaderboard. And there's still a team of 60. Witnessing history. I witnessed history with my own eyes. When I'm old I'll be able to brag about it with my grandchildren. A large number of small monsters plus high attribute elite monsters as well as the extremely difficult deciphering link. Su Chen surprisingly passed all of them without pressure. Yeah, it's just too strong. It's like farting under the covers. You can smell it and cover it. The future is promising. The future is promising. Su Chen's appearance is an honor for my divine summer empire. Su Chen walked out of the copy, and the three swords greeted him with almost five bodies. Too strong. Brother Su Chen, it's an honor for my frying sky gang to be acquainted with you. Two and a half hours to get through. That can't be described as awesome anymore. This is just sick. Powerful to the point of perversion. The three knives had preconceived notions about Su Chen's strength. But he didn't expect Su Chen to be as powerful as this. Facing the enthusiastic three knives, Su Chen nodded in response. He turned around and reset the copy by enabling the reset crystals that the three swords had provided earlier. As he was about to enter, he suddenly realized that now was the perfect opportunity to test out his new skill. Hanging Gleam. Thinking of using Hanging Gleam Miles. Su Chen directly raised his hand and summoned the three generals. At one time, the bloody fury, thunder and lightning bursts, and the sound of iron hooves shaking the ground all surged up at the same time. Jian Wei, Zhao Yun, and Hua Xiaodong appeared in front of Su Chen at the same time. See your majesty. After the three of them finished shouting, Su Chen only heard an odd shout from behind him, looking back only to find that it was the terrified three blades and his party. The three swords gulped and looked horrified at the three generals who appeared without warning. The dozen or so juniors behind him had their souls scared out of their wits, snot and tears running down their faces. They originally wanted to send Su Chen a few bottles of potion to restore his mental strength. Where to think of a sudden flash of lightning and thunder landslide? Everyone thought they had been the wrath of God. When the three military generals appeared, the crowd's expressions became even more frantic. They had only seen Su Chen summon Zhao Yun out to fight. Just Zhao Yun's terrifying battle power alone already made them feel outrageous. And now that it was discovered that Su Chen actually had three such martial arts generals, no wonder his strength was so terrifying. Ignoring the shocked crowd, Su Chen had all three military generals enter free conquest mode. He then pointed to the duplicate teleportation array, sweep the pharaoh's heart. Once the order was given, the three military generals led the way and directly entered the copy. Watching the three of them, Jian Wei, enter the copy in turn. Su Chen didn't make any movements, just quietly waiting for the duplicate channel to close. This completely confuses the three knives and their line. So, aren't those three military generals Su Chen's summons? Why were they able to enter the copy directly and left Su Chen outside? Watching the replica channel about to close, three knives spoke out to remind them. Su, brother Su Chen, you haven't gotten on the bus yet. Su Chen didn't respond to the three knives, but directly sat down and began to meditate. A few seconds later, the duplicate channel closed and the countdown resumed on the light screen. The three knives and a group of minions were confused. 30 years of career as a professional suffered a devastating shock at this moment. Not only did the summon enter the copy autonomously, but it actually activated the copy. It doesn't make sense at all. Outside the camp, the onlookers also noticed that the light screen had restarted the clock. Holy shit, you're just going to start the second brush without a break? That's not right. 
How come it's not Su Chan's name this time? Jian Wei, Zhao Yun, Huo Zaiwei. Who are these three people? Where did these guys come from? How did they come to steal Su Chen's thunder? Even the three of them want to pass. They're looking down too much on the hundred copy. A few minutes after the three of them entered the replica, Su Chen's panel began to continuously flood with experience tips. Kill level 23 Desert Scorpion. Experience plus 1230. Obtain Stinger Asterisk 1. Kill level 23 Desert Scorpion. Experience plus forward slash forward slash forward slash. Get Stinger Asterisk 2. Kill level 23 Desert Scorpion. Experience plus forward slash forward slash forward slash. Get Stinger Asterisk 1. Kill level 23 Yellow Sand Soldier. Experience plus forward slash forward slash forward slash. Get Sandstone Asterisk 16. Kill level 23 Yellow Sand Soldier. Experience plus forward slash forward slash forward slash. Gain Sand Gravel Asterisk 36. Kill level 23 Desert Scorpion. Experience plus 1230. Obtain Stinger Asterisk 2. Some demons drop experience and items normally, while others drop only items. Obviously the normal drop was the demonic creature killed by Dian Wei, while the latter was killed by Zhao Yun and Huo Zaiwei. The experience value of those latter demons was prioritized to be used for Zhao Yun and Huo Zaiwei's own upgrades. Su Chen didn't have any objections to this. His strength increase depended entirely on the increase in the level of his martial arts generals. That's why prioritizing the upgrading of generals is the quickest way to increase your battle power. And when the generals are at the same level as themselves, they don't share the experience anymore. In addition to being able to increase the upgrade speed of martial arts generals, Su Chen felt that this feeling of people sitting at home and experience coming from the sky was also particularly good. When he went to the replica hall afterward, all he had to do was give a command and the experience would come to him like a tidal wave. Once he thought of this, Su Chen had a few more expectations for the future of this profession. After a fierce wave of experience brushed the screen, Su Chen realized that the three of them, Jian Wei, had already passed the first level, and it only took 31 minutes, almost twice as fast as the 56 minutes he had just spent. It seems that the addition of Huo Zhaodong has indeed given a qualitative boost to his sight's combat power. After all, that's a god-level military general plus 200 iron horsemen. Looking at the 31 minutes of clearance on the light screen, the three knives nearly slipped without standing still. What? How come the summons go in by themselves and pass faster? What the hell is wrong with this career? Outside the campground it was also completely crazy. The crowd hadn't yet detached themselves from the shock given by Su Chen when they suddenly realized that three more ruthless people had come. 31 minutes. 31 minutes to clear the level. Where did this war god come out from? These three what drops work. It's even twice as fast as Su Chen. I'm sorry big brothers. It was me who took the liberty just now. Little brother cowed out in thanks. Terrifying as hell. I sucked in a breath of cold air straight away. Jian Wei, Zhao Yun, and Huo Zaiwei. Three more warriors have appeared in my divine summer empire. As the first level passed, the three of them, Jian Wei, spent a longer time on the second level. Since the second level is a massive swarm, it will be difficult to handle without the imperial mighty hoarder enchantment. In the end, the time for the three to pass the second level was set at 1 hour and 38 minutes, a few minutes slower than Su Chen. This time was beyond Su Chen's expectations. He had originally thought that they would need at least 2 hours or more to solve the swarm. After passing the third level, Su Chen realized that the percentage of magic items on the panel that normally provided experience had become more. He checked his own attributes, and sure enough, he found that Zhao Yun's level had already reached level 20. Without sharing the experience themselves, the level of the military generals really increased rapidly. From this time onwards, Zhao Yun will always level up as he does. After waiting another 30 minutes or so, the time finally settled at 2 hours and 16 minutes. The speed was faster than Su Chen, and the time wasted in the second level was recovered with the third level. In this way, it could be seen that the power of Huo Zaiwei's Iron Cavalry Charge was even more powerful than Su Chen's release of the Imperial Mighty Vastness on all of his soldiers. Without the delay of the second special level, Su Chen expected their time to be much faster. 2 hours and 16 minutes. And that's without the Imperial Mighty Hoopla bonus. This meant that Su Chen's battle power had almost doubled after he broke through level 20 and gained Hua Zhaodong. The pillar of teleportation light flashed, and three military generals stepped out of the spell. After a fight, Zhao Yun leveled up to level 20 and Huo Zaiwei's level managed to reach level 15. He also had copies of Pan's Labyrinth that had been charged three times and could be filled five times before the entrance exam. By allowing Huo to solo five times, he could get him to level 20 satisfactorily before the entrance exam. All 20 full levels. Su Chen will take the high school entrance exams with a clean slate. Seal the wolves. Seeing the final pastime on the light screen, a mountain of voices once again came from outside the camp. Who would have thought that the horrible new record that had just been set would be broken once again within a few hours? 
2 hours and 16 minutes. They're even faster than Su Chen. Why have three more big shots suddenly appeared? Is our wilderness so crouching tiger and hidden dragon? If Su Chen is a god, then what are the three of them? Two passes in five hours. Don't I, Pharaoh's heart, want to lose face? My goodness. Then wouldn't these three people be able to beat Su Chen? Impossible. They're in a group and Su Chen is solo. One on one Su Chen will definitely win. Indeed. One on one. Su Chen casually beats Dian Wei, Zhao Yun, and Hua Ziwei. At the entrance of the Pharaoh's heart, Su Chen felt a little cold at his back. Catching a cold? Su Chen shook his head to check Hua Ziwei's attributes. The three-dimensional attributes other than spiritual strength were the same as those of Dian Wei at the same level. Though spiritual strength had reached 6,000 points. It's worth noting that the Great Han Iron Cavalry doesn't receive a troop upgrade at either level 10 or 15. It seemed that the upgrade of the Great Han Iron Cavalry would have to wait until level 20. Su Chen raised his hand and took the three military generals back into the summoning space. The time for brushing wild copies had ended. And now all that was left to do was to finish his copy of Panshin and go back to preparing for the college entrance exam. Before leaving Su Chen waved at the three knives, indicating that he was going to empty his backpack. Two pharaoh's hearts had burst his storage space. If he hadn't thrown out most of the groceries in his copy, he wouldn't have been able to fit it in anymore. Hearing that Su Chen wanted to sell his equipment, the three knives immediately called out to the exchange members in the camp. He bought all the equipment in Su Chen's hand for three times the price on the spot. To others he looked like an ingrate, but he himself knew the matter was worth a thousand words. After all, the opportunity to brush up in front of Su Chen wasn't something that everyone had. After buying Su Chen's materials, the three knives then deduced from the amount of materials that Su Chen's storage space was of the lowest level. He immediately stated that he was having an event today, and that he would give away intermediate level storage space if you sold something with him. Intermediate storage space had five times more capacity than low level storage space and required 500 contribution points to redeem. This is almost considered a luxury for the average professional. After all, 500 contribution points could be exchanged for two pieces of equipment below level 30 and buying storage space wouldn't result in any battle power increase. That's why most professionals would rather make a few extra trips than redeem intermediate space. Seeing that there was still such a good activity, Su Chen decisively accepted the gift, and in his mind, he raised his impression of this leader of the Frying Sky Gang who gave away reset crystals in space again. Brother Su Chen, do you want us to send you away in a car? The three knives stepped forward to inquire. Your reputation is on fire right now. If you go out like this you're afraid you'll be surrounded by everyone. Su Chen shook his head. There's no need. Then thoughts flashed in his head and he casually waved his hand. The clouds over the wilderness rolled up instantly. Golden light surging through them. The noisy crowd in the camp was attracted by the vision and looked up. What the hell? It's going to rain. I'll be damned. There's still clothes in the house to confiscate. Do you guys have any culture? This is at least a heaven and earth anomaly. A spectacle that only a top expert can create. Crap. So awesome. Are there still experts? Boom. The golden light continued to expand, then broke out of the clouds and pointed straight down to the ground. The golden pillar of light descended from the sky, wrapping Su Chen in its entirety. Bathed in golden light, Su Chen exuded a divine majesty that could not be looked at directly. When converting copies, the system automatically creates anchor points. These anchors would allow Su Chen to teleport whenever and wherever he wanted. The three knives standing around the pillar of light were in a daze, and behind him the minions had already fallen to their knees. A few seconds later Su Chen slowly rose and instantly dissipated into a golden light. The pillar of light disappeared, and the terrifying majesty gradually dispersed. WTF? The three knives and the crowd of men froze in place with their eyes wide open. This? What is this? Summoning a teleportation spell with the lift of a hand. The three knives lips trembled slightly, and their palms kept stroking over their chests. Teleportation spells are not simple things. Even a level 50 formation master would need to chant for more than 10 seconds and there were many restrictions, and Su Chen actually managed to cast a teleportation spell with a wave of his hand, and it was still golden in color, what the heck is this, 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 this is too cool, a golden light fell on the wilderness, and Su Chen re-entered the entrance to the pan god's labyrinth, there was still more than a day to go before the college entrance exams, so he would brush Hua to level 20 here before leaving, he summoned Hua Jiaoyi and turned on the free conquest mode, then directly gave the order to continuously sweep the area. Huo led the order to enter the copy, and Su Chen summoned another 50 tiger leopard rider soldiers to keep watch around the area. After getting ready, Su Chen took out the large sleeping bag from the intermediate storage space and spread it on the ground. After two consecutive days of continuous running and fighting, his body was already very tired. There was meditation for a while, but meditation isn't really a break after all. Getting into his sleeping bag, Su Chen opened his communicator to check for messages. 
In addition to Gao Zhang's series of text message bombardment, there are also some messages from Gu Xia. Most of it has to do with Li Feihu's dad who was looking for trouble. Su Chen didn't care to pay attention to these trivial matters and directly checked the information on the college entrance examination sent by the school. There are some pretest instructions and some pretest instructions. The pretest instructions were not very helpful to Su Chen. After all, he was familiar with this history and had a much better understanding of what was on the test than the predictor teacher. It ended with a few private messages from the principal, mostly inquiring about his time in the wilderness and hints on where to go with his training. Su Chen sent a thank you back to the principal and a weird emoticon back to Gao Zheng. When he was about to reply to Gu Xia, he thought about it and decided to let it go. It felt like the two didn't know each other very well. Closing the communicator. The panel was already alerted by the experience brush and there was a constant stream of materials entering the storage space. It looks like Hua has started to lead the iron horseman around the copy and kill them. It's so sick that you can upgrade even if you sleep. Su Chen secretly spat and went to sleep in the midst of the experiences that kept popping up. A copy of the heart of the pharaohs. After Su Chen left, the three knives began to settle the previous blocking. This was because the vast majority of people predicted that Su Chen would be able to get out of the copy alive. All of them are basically unprofitable. However, there was still a small group of people who didn't know if they didn't trust Su Chen or if they wanted to make a big deal out of a small amount. Surprisingly, they bet that Su Chen would die in the copy. And among them, there was a man with glasses who bet his entire fortune. The man even tried to escape for a while after watching Su Chen successfully pass, but was taken down by the angry onlookers and even had his eyes punched out. He even came to the three knives later to get a claim, saying that it was on his turf that the accident happened. The three knives indicated that the Cecil objector Wei Jinjie, this little cutie is so blind, not killed counted as good. The topic of discussion changed and changed throughout the night, finally resting on who was actually powerful between Su Chen and the three big men behind him, the capital of the Divine Summer Empire, the Imperial Ministry of Education. Inside the magnificent and solemn conference hall, top leaders from the military and education ministries are gathered in one room and are giving their final approval for this year's professional's higher education examination. As the first college entrance examination since the reform, the scale and specifications of this college entrance examination are unprecedentedly huge. If you all have any more questions, you can just ask them, the Minister of Education asked. At the head of the long table, a man with a three-star shoulder patch and sharp eyes spoke, I still think this exam copy is too difficult. The person who spoke was the legend-ranked professional Wei Zhang. The youngest major general of the Divine Summer Empire was attending this meeting as a representative of the military ministry. He will also be the top censor of this national high school exam for professionals. Is it still difficult? But we have equipped the students with all kinds of motorized equipment and provided supply points to enable them to fight long distances and for long periods of time. Wei Zhang shook his head. The difficulty I'm referring to is not from a single soldier perspective, but from an overall perspective. The enemy within the seal is well versed in a variety of tactics. And it's not really appropriate to just throw a bunch of high school students in there. And what does General Wei mean? The Minister of Education snapped. Give all candidates a centralized grouping and a short intensive training session before the replica battle begins. Let's get them to clearly identify the leader in the team as well as some basic tactics, so they don't go into the replica as a scattered bunch. According to the instructions I received, isn't the war replica to test the student's ability to react on the spot? The Minister of Education said. Wei Zhang spread his hands out on the tabletop. It's true that we have to test our clinical reactions, but don't forget, everyone, most of the candidates are also just soldiers in the future. They just need to fulfill orders. They don't need to give orders. The best clinical response for them is to listen to their superiors. That's why I suggested centralized grouping and selecting candidates who are willing to lead. Two rubrics, leadership and execution, are given for different candidates. When Wei Zheng finished speaking, the Minister of Education did not chime in, but pondered. Participants in the surrounding area also engaged in conversation. Indeed Wei Zheng's scenario makes more sense than throwing a bunch of people in. After all, Wars are fought in prepared battles, and it's impossible to throw a bunch of people into the fray like that. After a round of discussion, the Ministry of Education endorsed Wei Zheng's proposal and will urgently revise out a grading scale. My part is done. Thank you all. After receiving the approval Wei Zheng set his hand straight and listened quietly to the ensuing discussion. The copies were decided by the upper echelons of the military department, who forcefully chose the high difficulty copies. Wei Zheng understood their eagerness to choose talent but they had really overlooked the strength of most of the candidates. At this level of difficulty, weaker candidates could not even get a single point. The high school entrance exams are not only for selecting geniuses, but also for selecting other talents in a gradient. In order to minimize the difficulty, Wei Zhang constantly maneuvered between the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of War during this period. 
Even reduced to this point he still found it too difficult, he was sure he wouldn't be able to get through it by asking his high school self to do it, but it doesn't matter if you can't pass, there hasn't been a perfect score candidate in the history of the college entrance exam, more than expecting a candidate to pass, Wei Zhang wanted to see the vigor with which this new generation fought, in the wilderness, Su Chen slept for 14 hours, when he woke up, Huo Daizi, who was covered in stained blood, was standing silently by his side, your majesty, seeing Su Chen wake up, Huo Zaiwei clasped his fists and saluted, Su Chen put away his sleeping bag and raised his hand to check Huo Zhaodong's attributes, General, Huo Zhaodong, level 20, power, 5500, agility, 5500, spirit, 8000, body mass, 5500, equipment, Huo's gun, plum blossom bow, skill, iron horseman of the Han dynasty, charge military formation, great Han iron horseman, summon 400 great Han iron horsemen for battle, Charge formation, divide the iron horsemen into various formations to cope with different battle situations. Sure enough, it has risen to level 20. Before there was hanging gleaming miles, Zhao Yun had been following his fight for so long, and he was still always in the catching up stage of leveling. And as soon as he gained hanging flag miles, not only did Zhao Yun catch up with the rank, but even the newly gained Hua Zhaoyi immediately caught up. This is the power of unlocking new skills, making the leveling up of martial arts generals very swift and the strength of this skill has just begun, when he goes down to the copy later that is to upgrade at triple speed, Su Chen was a bit excited, he suddenly had the feeling of hanging around and leveling up in his previous life, having risen to level 20, Huo Zaiwei's three-dimensional attributes were on par with Dian Wei's, and his spiritual strength was as high as 8, 0, 0, 0 points, and the number of Great Han's Iron Horsemen came to an exaggerated 400 horsemen, and the Iron Horsemen who rise to level 20 receive a troop upgrade, equipped with longbows, this added another 400 fighters to his side's forces who could attack at long range. In addition to their bows, their armor was replaced with fine light armor. This type of armor is lighter in texture. But again, the defensive properties are improved. It is especially suitable for the great Han Iron Horsemen who fight in long distance running battles. In the history of his previous life, Huo Zaiwei led troops that were also lightly armed and often fought blitzkriegs. Finally all level 20, Su Chen had a soothing sense of satisfaction. Completely filled. After saying that the general had worked hard, Su Chen retrieved Hua Zhuo and the alerted soldiers. He then summoned Zhao Yun and galloped his horse towards the city, with Zhao Yun leading the way. The speed of going back was several times faster than when they came. When they crossed the barrier, those few city guards remembered Su Chen. E heave, this kid even came out alive. All the turmoil in the wilderness in the past two days, and he's not even in trouble? Blessed with a great life. It was two in the morning when I got home, and tomorrow morning was the national careerist exam. Thinking back to his previous life when he couldn't sleep all night in the college entrance exam, Su Chen would smile. I didn't expect to have to go through the college entrance exams after crossing over. It's really a running water alien world. Ironclad college entrance exams. Without sleeping, Su Chen utilized meditation to burn off the last of the waiting time. Early in the morning of the next day, after changing into clean clothes, Su Chen arrived at the Nanshan City College Entrance Examination Center. Inside the open air building, a huge pillar of duplicate teleportation light shot up into the sky. A banner wishing candidates well hangs from the building's front door. Ride the wind and the waves, and be magnificent. Go all out and win the gold medal. The momentum is as strong as a bamboo to pound the yellow dragon. A thousand sails are in triumph. I wish you all the best in the gold list. Dueling in the college entrance exams. Deciding the future. I wish all the professional candidates in Nanshan City the best of luck. The outside of the venue was crowded with parents who were transporting their students to and from the test center. They spoke to the children with final words of exhortation. There are calming reassurances and reminders to be safe. The principals of several high schools for professionals in Namsan City stood at the entrance, cheering on their respective students. Seeing Su Chen appear from afar, the principal of the first middle school shouted, Classmate Su Chen, you're finally here. It was so loud that several of the surrounding principals could hear it clearly. As soon as Su Chen's name came out, it immediately caused out a small commotion at the entrance. As the provincial top student in the mock exam, his name is almost unknown among the group of candidates in Nanshan City. The principal broke through the crowd of onlookers and personally brought Su Chen into the examination center. He also warmly greeted a couple of principals on the side as he entered. After entering the building, the principal didn't directly bring Su Chen to the teleportation point, but instead brought him into a hidden room on the side. Walking into the room, there was an officer sitting inside, seeing Su Chen approaching. The officer smiled and rose to greet him. Hello, Mr. Su Chen. My name is Zhang Yunfei. I was the examiner for your previous mock exam. After greeting Su Chen, Zhang Yunfei went straight to the point. 
I'm here specifically to deal with a case about you, Li Feihu's father, Li Hu, has sued you in the professional's trial court for hurting your classmates in the simulation replica. Li Hu used some connections to get the trial court to open today, and it seems that he intends for you to miss this college entrance exam. Zhang Yunfei purposely stopped to check Su Chen's expression when he said this. He knew that Su Chen had indeed killed Li Feihu in the copy, and at this moment, he wanted to see his reaction. Su Chen's expression did not change much when he heard Zhang Yunfei's words, but his eyes sank slightly. He didn't realize that this incident would affect his ability to take the college entrance exam. How long does the trial last? And can I still enter the high school copy after the trial? Su Chen spoke in an icy tone. The corner of Zhang Yunfei's mouth curled up slightly after watching Su Chen's performance. Worthy of being the no. One in the province, he was able to remain absolutely calm even in this unfavorable situation. Don't worry. He spoke with a smile. The military won't let you miss the entrance exam. Comrade Li Hu Kao has voluntarily cancelled his appeal after consideration. Don't worry about participating in the college entrance exam. Student Su Chen. Battle out our Zheng Dong people. Su Chen glanced at Zhang Yunfei, and in his heart, he understood that the military department had already suppressed the matter. Thanks. Su Chen shook Zhang Yunfei's outstretched hand. After explaining some more specific matters, Su Chen followed the principal out of the room. As he walked to the door, Zhang Yunfei gave a military salute to Su Chen. Mr. Su Chen, the military department of Jiangdong province wishes you good luck in the college entrance exam and a golden success. In front of the test center, students lined up and entered the teleportation spell one by one after being checked. Su Chen was standing in line when his shoulder was tapped, and he turned around to see his friend Gao Zhang. Gao Zhang had an exaggerated expression on his face. Brother Chen, you're in big trouble. I heard that the top management of Jiangdong province directly sent someone to press back Daddy Li Feihu. That's a high-ranking military department. I'm so honored to be your brother. Su Chen cried and laughed. This guy always spoke so bluntly. But it is true that he himself did not expect the war office to send anyone down directly. Li Feihu's dad is just a minor officer in Nanshan City. I also wonder what his face will look like when he meets the provincial executives. After lining up to enter the test center, South Hill City candidates make a final wait in front of the duplicate portal. In the last 10 minutes, they were about to take the most important exam of their lives. Most people seemed so nervous that they could only relieve their stress by talking non-stop. I'm so nervous. I just got to level 10 yesterday afternoon. If I fail the test I won't have any school. I'm only level 9 as well. I didn't even take the mock exams. And I heard them say that the war replicas are exceptionally difficult. Yes, this year's mock exams are exaggeratedly difficult. And they even removed the protection mechanism. Wow, can I team up with you? Big guy who took the practice test? It's useless. The national candidates will be broken up after entering the replica. There's no point in forming a team now. Then what should we do? Surely there won't be anyone to team up with us at such a low level. It's fine. Just follow the main group. But a word of advice. Stay away from the people in the seaways. The waiting time ended and the candidates walked towards the teleportation spell to a chorus of cheering. A figure entered the preparation space through the spell formation. And the ranks of all the entrants were displayed over the spell formation. In the viewing gallery. The principals of the schools have taken their places. The grades of our candidates in Nanshan City are not bad this year. A principal said. I wonder what grade that mock exam provincial top student in the first middle school has reached. The principal of the second middle school said. The principal of the first school stroked the three hairs on his head and stared at the light screen with some anticipation. Su Chen was already level 17 when he asked for his pass and had experienced another two days in the wilderness. No surprise it must have been level 18 and it might even reach level 19. However, level 19 was too much of an exaggeration, as historically those legendary level professionals were only level 18 when they took the entrance exam. I think it'll be level 18. The principal of the first school conservatively guessed the grade. Several principals on the side looked at each other and shook their heads. They all felt that the principal of the first middle school was too drifty, and level 18, and the legendary level was only level 18? But just by taking a provincial championship, he had already begun to benchmark his students against legendary level professionals. Inside the examination center, Su Chen, who was located in the middle of the group, walked towards the teleportation spell. Behind him, Gao Zheng smiled and said, Come, let me see what level you are. You haven't come to the replica hall for the past few days, so I'm afraid you haven't already been leveled up by me. Su Chen smiled and laughed, placing his hand on the teleportation crystal to enter the copy. Su Chen's name on the light screen immediately came to the prominent position of first place. The smile on Gao Zhang's face instantly disappeared. Okay, I'm stupid. Not only were the other principals in the viewing gallery dumbfounded, but even the principal of the first high school was dumbfounded. 
He had just realized that the other principals kind of wanted to see him make a fool of himself. Then in his heart, he expected Su Chen to directly come out with a level 18 or even a level 19 to blind their dog's eyes. But now Su Chen was directly level 20, blinding his own eyes. Outside the test center, a full house of candidates was instantly abuzz. Because it's just too sudden for a level 20 to appear out of nowhere in a bunch of levels below 15. What the hell is level 20? It takes 7 days to level up to 20. This is Su Chen, the first place winner of the mock exam. Su Shen is too strong too. The highest level in the history of the high school is only 18. Oh my god, I'm only just level 8. I can't even smell Su Chen's farts anymore. Oh, why can't we team up in the same school for the college entrance exam? I want to be on a team with Su Chen so badly. Light flickered, and Su Chen appeared in a light blue space, surrounded by unfamiliar faces. There were already some people in the perimeter when he came in, and some more teleported in one after another. Like the practice exams, this is the space where you prepare before you officially enter your copy. However, it was a little different from the mock exam. Su Chen found a serious looking officer in the space. After waiting 15 minutes for all candidates in the country to be transmitted, the officer began to speak. There are 160, 000 candidates for this advanced level examination for professionals. Every 5, 000 men shall be a brigade. Every 1, 000 men a squadron. And squads shall not be counted. At the request of the upper echelons, the 5,000 of us here are the 9th brigade. Now I'd like to ask all candidates who are level 13 or higher and are equivalent captains to step forward. As soon as the officer's words came out, the space of 5, 000 people immediately resounded with murmurs. Su Chen stood quietly without any indication. Theoretically being a captain would certainly have some bonus items, but he had no desire to do so. All students of the Siways province please gather here with me. The captain leader should come from among us. A confident boy in the crowd shouted, Hai Hui province. Su Chen had a slight understanding of this place. It is said to be the province with the strongest economy and power in the Xinxia Empire. Its provincial capital is also the third largest city in the empire besides the imperial capital and the magic capital. A good economy brings good educational resources. Because the empire and the magic city do not participate in the national college entrance exam. That's why candidates from the Sea Gateway province have always been the best quality group in the entrance exams. But their kind of self-important stance often upsets candidates from other provinces as well. Why should you be the captains and not mine from Shushan province? Yeah, what's with the tugging? We Hananites can be captains too. Su Chen didn't participate in this farce, but picked a corner to meditate. Imperial Capital, National High School Review Team. Inside the huge tactical conference room, Major General Wei Zhang stood in front of a huge spherical display. Hundreds of people make up the high school grading team that surrounds the monitor. The monitor splits the screen to show all that is happening in the preparation space. What candidates don't realize is that from the moment they enter the preparation space, the scoring has already begun. Wei Zheng had expected the chaos in the preparation space. To pick a captain there must be a competition. Especially a group of people from all over the world who have never met before. It's all messed up like this with officers in the prep space. Even more so if you throw in a copy and let them choose for themselves. At that time, I'm afraid that the demons won't be able to form a team even if they hit the door. Have the rank ranking lists for the provinces and cities come out yet? Wei Zheng asked. The ranked list of grades traveled from the municipal examination centers to the provincial capital, and then from the provincial capital to the imperial capital. The ones from Haiwei province and Qingxia province are already out. Two curtains of light appeared around the perimeter of the monitor. There is a large economic disparity between Haiwei province and Qingxia province, as well as a large disparity in candidate ranks between the two provinces. There were a total of six candidates who reached level 17 in Haiwei province and none in Qingxia province. The difference in the number of level 16 candidates behind them is even more remarkable, almost all of them reaching several times. The quality of candidates in Siways province is very high this year. Six level 17 candidates have come out even without a legend level. A member shouted. Wei Zhang nodded. The candidates from Haiwei province basically represented the highest level of candidates in this term. And the fact that they were able to train students to level 17 without even having a legend level represents an increase in the level of education. If a legendary ranked professional appeared in the future, it might be possible to rise to level 19 or even higher in the high school. Several provincial and municipal grade lists followed, and it was evident that the overall standard of the candidates had risen a notch. Wei Zhang was pleased with the overall improvement of the candidates, though there were still some regrets. That is, there were no high-ranking candidates this year and the empire hadn't produced a legendary level professional in seven years. It was logical that as more passages became available, the impact of the abyss deepened, and the probability of a legendary level appearing increased. The neighboring countries had exposed new legendary level professionals one after another. 
while the Divine Summer Empire had never had any. It was as if the empire's chi had been taken away by someone. There were still a few not-so-developed central provinces left, and Wei Zheng had already turned his attention back to the spherical display. Crap! Someone suddenly shouted. Wei Zhang followed the sound with a frown. The man hastily apologized for his foul language, and then brought up a copy of the leaderboard to the main screen. Ranking list of high school grades for professionals in Gangdong Province. First Middle School. Nanshan City. Jiangdong Province, Su Chen, Grade 20. Crouch. 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 I love you. Seeing the rankings on the leaderboards, the crowd nearly exploded. Level 20? How can there be a level 20? Seeing that number, everyone's first reaction was to lie down. The second reaction was to question whether something was wrong with the charts. The third reaction was that Jiangdong province had produced another legendary level. When all three reactions fell flat, the crowd was confused. Non-legendary hidden profession. Level 20 in 7 days. What kind of concept is that? Quick, pull up all the info on him. An excited look appeared on Wei Zhang's face. He had a premonition that a genius from the Divine Summer Empire was about to appear. Soon all of Su Chen's information was displayed on the big screen and everyone analyzed it. 9 to 5. A hidden profession that I've never heard of before. This is too much. Sure he's a candidate from this class? This isn't a legendary level either. How did it rise to level 20? Various voices of shock and skepticism rang out in the conference room. Only Wei Zhang was getting more and more excited as he watched the display. This is the hidden legendary profession, he said in a deep voice. Hidden legendary profession. Never heard of it at all? Now you've heard about it. Wei Zhang's face was full of exhilaration. My Divine Summer Empire has finally produced another legendary profession. What level is a profession that can get to level 20 in 7 days if not legendary? He even wanted to give this Su Chen a super legend rank if he could start a new rank. Switch to Space 9 and see what our legend rank candidates are doing, Wei Zheng said. He never hid his appreciation for talent, especially not this super talent. The monitor quickly switched into Space 9 and locked onto Su Chen. Wei Zheng and the scoring team were silent. Su Chen was sitting on the ground meditating. He's meditating in the corner while everyone else is trying to get the captain? He's not even going to fight for the captaincy at level 20? It's not going to be one of those go-with-the-flow personalities. Probably not great leadership skills. Just a hitter role. The people in the rating panel were divided. But only Wei Zhang expressed his satisfaction. Calm and collected. Emotionally stable. Prefers to go solo. And loves fried chicken. Wei Zhang quickly tagged Su Chen with a few tags. He was already somewhat looking forward to Su Chen's performance. Hai Hui City. Hai Hui Province. The governor was looking at the great rankings presented by the Department of Education. The governor couldn't help but smile as he watched the student grades in Siwei's province go up another notch from last year. Our students are still so good. Yes. And when this year's high school exams are over, we should be able to get another large grant from the empire. The minister of education said. Not bad. Not bad. Isn't this year's top student secure as well? Definitely. We have six grade 17 this year. The other provinces combined don't have as many as we do. So what are they comparing? That's good. That's good. The battle for the captaincy in the preparation space is nearing its end. Though the provinces and cities put out a lot of people vying for the captaincy. But the candidates from Seaways did win in terms of rank, mock test scores, and leadership experience. The final five. 000 man brigade leader of the 9th brigade was taken by a 17th grade candidate from Seaways. Four of the remaining five squad leader positions are also Seaway candidates. The crowd of candidates disliked it as much as they disliked it. And the strength gap was there. After the captains are divided up it's the squads that are grouped together. And then the squads are formed into squadrons. Candidates from the Seaways province came together to form squads. Students from other provinces were interspersed with each other in teams. Su Chen still didn't participate in the squad formation because he didn't need to. Occasionally, a few girls would come up and look for him to team up, but they were all rejected by Su Chen. Slowly everyone thought that he had given up on the exam and stopped coming up to the group. After 10 minutes or so the small teams finished forming and the squadron started forming again. The formation of 5 squadrons of about the same number of men was completed by the distribution of the officers. Finally, there is a 2 hour long introduction to basic tactics and the essentials of battlefield communication. Here Su Chen cancelled his meditation and stood up to listen, and the memory of the Chinese people in his body made him unable to let go of any possible examination point. The hours of pretest training were over and the countdown finally began in the preparation space. The curtain of light flickered, and everyone appeared as streams of light in an abandoned ancient city. Beyond the ancient city was a vast expanse of desolate Gobi, empty earth, deserted old town. Even though the sun was shining brightly in the sky, it could not dispel the sadness that rose in the hearts of the people. Copy of the National Professional Examination, Seal the Wolves. The Battle of Desert North, the Xiongnu lost the Battle of Hushi and retreated to the north of the desert. 
but the remnants of their forces continued to invade the borders of the Han dynasty, and after two years of rest and recuperation, the Han dynasty resolved to attack the forces of the Xiongnu monarch's headquarters. This copy of the examination has three marching routes. Marching difficulty varies. The number of supply points varies. To deal with the enemy varies. Please candidates carefully choose the route forward. This replica will experience a long battle. All candidates' candidates' backpacks have been loaded with initial supplies. Each supply point can also be replenished accordingly. Please use with caution. Please pay attention to teamwork. Tactical execution. Play as well as you can. And good luck in your exams, declared by the Ministry of Education of Dili. Sure enough, it was that historical battle. Su Chen was a little excited. Close the panel and look away. There were three teleportation light pillars outside the old city, which should correspond to the three routes of advancement. Su Chen smiled slightly, cautiously choosing a route forward? What if I choose to take them all? Opening his backpack, Su Chen realized that some supplies did appear in his backpack. Three vials of wind god potion, three vials of essence holy water and some drinking water and food. Wind god potion and essence holy water are both high-level potions. The wind god potion is able to triple the agility attribute for 20 minutes. The essence holy water is even able to fill up the spiritual power directly. Both of these potions are really helpful for prolonged and long-distance combat. It seems like the country is making a big effort this time, Su Chen thought. In front of him, the large group of five, zero 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 men fell into another argument. According to the grouping requirements, these five, zero 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 people need to enter the same channel as arranged by the brigade commander. Three teleportation lanes, three routes of march. The three routes will deal with different kinds of enemies and encounter different kinds of combat. The choice of route will have a big impact on their performance in the GCSEs. But when it's said to be a group discussion, it's really just a few captains from the Seaway province having a discussion. Other candidates' suggestions were either rejected or simply ignored. Ordinary candidates, even if they are dissatisfied, can only hold their breath, because from the moment the captaincy was established, the officer then made it clear that the captain's orders represented superior orders. Points will be deducted if you go against the captain's instructions without reason. Su Chen finished checking his backpack and moved to the front of the group. The general information of each route was displayed next to the teleportation spell, and he needed to see it for himself in order to make a choice. Seeing Su Chen walk forward, a few candidates who stood at the end of the line like him opened their mouths. Class, let's not fool around, just stand back and listen to the orders. Yeah, don't waste your energy, they don't even look down on us low ranks. Su Chen ignored them and walked straight forward. A few students were a bit annoyed at Su Chen's condescending attitude. What does this man mean, looking down on us? Is it some kind of character? Didn't see him competing for captain either. Leave him alone. He's probably someone who can't put himself in his place. The passages in the old town were narrow and five. Zero 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 people filled the roads to overflowing. Su Chen went all the way forward, causing many people to be dissatisfied. In their opinion Su Chen was completely a master who liked to get together. Su Chen walked all the way to the very front of the group where several captains were in a heated discussion. They've looked at the information on each portal and are weighing the difficulty of getting through against the efficiency of scoring, where the discussion was rightfully heated. Su Chen suddenly walked out from the crowd. What's your business? Senior Captain Kibda said with some impatience. He was the one who had called on the candidates of the Seaways province to gather within the preparation space. The discussion was at a fever pitch when a serious difference of opinion occurred among several captains. G. Boda was having a headache, and when he saw Su Chen walk out, he thought he wanted to make some mindless suggestions again. Su Chen didn't even look at Ji Boda and crossed over a few captains to directly walk towards the teleportation spell formation. Ji Boda's face instantly sank, and the several captains on the side were somewhat perplexed. It's a college entrance exam. How can there still be some pricks with no eyes? Su Chen walked to the center spell formation and placed his hand on the teleportation crystal. But instead of choosing to teleport, he chose to read the message. Hey! What are you doing? Kibda thought he was going to teleport alone and opened his mouth to yell. Acting without authorization can result in a deduction of your assessment score. Several captains shouted back. This is not the way to make a splash. Come down. There were also murmurs from the crowd. Su Chen completely ignored those voices and analyzed the information floating in his mind. Transmission location, Dingxiang County. Main routes, out of Dingxiang County to Yanran Mountain. Long Chang, Wang Chang. Characteristics of combat, long distance raids, surprise attacks. Decapitation battles, supply points, 3. According to the knowledge of his previous life, this was the marching route of General Wei Qing in the Battle of Desert North. If the copies are not mobilized, this route will meet Sean Yu's main force. After analyzing this place, Su Chen walked to the left teleportation spell formation again. Transmission location, Longxi County. Main routes, from Longxi County to Jinchang, Wuxingling, Wu Wei, 
Zhang Ye, Jiu Chuan, Dun Huang, Characteristics of Battles, Siege Warfare, Protracted Warfare, Supply Points, 7, This battle seems to have been the line of march for Hua's first battle of Hushi. This route has numerous enemy cities with many sieges. Su Chen turned toward the rightmost teleportation spell while thinking. At this point, the several captains had already become annoyed at Su Chen's complete disregard. They grew up in the limelight among their peers and were the center of attention wherever they went. Being completely ignored like today has never happened before, especially Kibda, who now holds the position of first captain. If he didn't speak up after being ignored like this, how would he convince the public next? He turned and walked out of the group, anger flashing in his eyes. This student, if you don't trust my command, you could have brought it up when you were subcaptain. Now that I have been appointed captain and have the authority to command everyone here, I order you to fall back into line now. The entire room fell silent as the sound of Kibda's angry roar echoed over the old city. The crowd stared at Su Chen dead on, wanting to see his next reaction. If he didn't back off, I'm afraid he'd be made an example of by Ji Boda. What the crowd didn't know was that Su Chen had blocked the sound of the alignment long ago, because he had to think and didn't want to be disturbed by anyone in the vicinity. Kibda's roar didn't even enter his ears halfway. Su Chen walked towards the rightmost phalanx in full view of everyone and placed his hand on it. Everyone was dumbfounded. No one expected Su Chen to be so bold. Ji Boda was a 17th level captain, crushing him in both strength and position. Being a prick on such a serious occasion as the entrance exams is really not taking your future seriously. Having been ignored three times, Kubota couldn't stand it any longer. With a grip out of thin air, his armor instantly attached itself, and a huge sword surfaced in his hand. Buzz. He slammed the ground with his foot, and his rank and profession floated above his head at the same time, except for the fact that you can check the level with insight. Professionals can also outwardly reveal their rank and profession on their own. This move is usually used when you want to shock the opponent. Kibda, level 17, Knight of the War Spirit, as soon as G. Boda's ranked profession came out, gasps of surprise immediately came from the crowd. Surprisingly, it's a battle soul knight, said to be the first ranked profession below the legendary rank. My god, is this the kind of vigor and aura that level 17 can emit? It's so powerful. That guy across the street is screwed. He's messed with the wrong people. I'll give you one last chance. Don't force my hand. G. Boda issued an ultimatum. Su Chen finally turned his head back and faintly glanced at the crowd. Just when everyone thought he was finally going to give in, Su Chen mumbled again with his chin in his hand, 2,000 miles out of Dai County, crossing the Nanku Mountains to the Wolf Jushu Mountains, and finally reaching the Hanhai Sea. This is exactly the marching route of Hua Zaiwei's Battle of Desert North. The crowd was completely dumbfounded. This big brother didn't even put Ji Boda in his eyes. With things having come to a head, Ji Boda couldn't hold back and directly swung his sword forward. Subordinates disobeyed orders, and he had full authority to govern as a first sergeant. Even knocking him out of his copy today is not wrong at all. Suddenly seeing a person rushing forward, Su Chen didn't understand what the situation was. Without waiting for Su Chen to think, a majestic and cold killing intent automatically surged out from his side. Intense killing intent had already coalesced into shape, and the entire space was wrapped in a bloody aura. Giggle. A halberd broke through space, and Duan Wei, dressed in scarlet blood armor, appeared in front of Su Chen, who is here to act recklessly. A hissing roar like a dragon's roar rushed out in all directions. The whole ancient city trembled with. The moment he saw Dian Wei come out, Ji Boda's entire body exploded in sweat, and his entire body instantly stepped backward. Countless fine beads of sweat appeared on his forehead, his heart beating furiously. This, this is something. Ji Boda's eyes were filled with panic, and his mind was a jumble of thoughts. As one of the top candidates in the Seaway province and the country, Kibda has experienced a lot of experience. Rare copies, hard level copies, or war copies. He had even followed his own pro team into a level 21 difficulty level copy. But after experiencing so many copies and slashing through so many demons, he had never encountered something like the one in front of him. Such a strong killing intent. Such a ferocious sense of oppression. The whole heart trembles just looking at it. The several captains located behind Kubota were like enemies and instinctively took out their weapons. The other candidates at the back even walked backwards several meters. Originally, I thought it was G. Boda who made an example of him, but I didn't expect such a terrifying big man to suddenly appear. This, what is this? His aura is terrifying. Is it an NPC? It feels like his battle power is terrifying. I, why do I look like the man summoned it? No way. His strength, is he that strong? Imperial College Entrance Examination Review Team, inside the tactical conference room. The members of the scoring group were all in shock as they looked at the appearance of Dian Wei on Su Chen's side. The commotion that just arose in District 9 caught the attention of the scoring team. 
They had just turned the big screen over when they saw Canonical Way show up. That terrifying aura and pressure made the crowd feel threatened even through the screen. It is important to realize that the scoring members are also proven professionals who have fought hundreds of battles. How terrifying it should be to make them all feel threatened. This, this is actually his summon. The information shows that 9 to 5 is a summoning class occupation. That is indeed his summon. Though, even though he's level 20, is it reasonable to summon such a terrifying summon? While the crowd was astonished, Wei Zhang, who was the examiner, revealed a smile. Is this the 9 to 5? What a powerful hidden profession. I'm sure there's a reason why I was able to get to level 20. After the shock was over, the scoring members started counting the points. It is their duty to score the subjective behavior of the candidates at all times. The scoring panel scores will be weighted with their monster kill scores to arrive at the final GAA score. Although his summons are powerful, his disobedience to orders is very wrong. It's true, there was strength to compete for the captain completely, but he didn't fight for it then instead he's now starting to be a maverick. Disobeying orders from the top is a very serious flaw. Listening to the murmurings of the crowd in the scoring panel, Wei Zheng directly spoke out to interrupt. Everyone, I have no intention of swaying your judgment, but here I'm going to say a few words for Su Chen. I've always been an advocate of teaching to the student, and I use different grading scales for a variety of different students. For an obvious genius like Su Chen, I don't think we should judge his behavior by the same standards we use to judge soldiers. Wei Zheng replayed the video, stopping at Su Chen's action of checking the information in front of the portal. Su Chen is obviously not purposely trying to disobey instructions. He just trusts his own judgment. Does being a genius mean you can disobey orders from the top? Someone retorted. Yes. Wei Zhang looked at the man. If you're talented enough. The retort was dumbfounded. Clearly he had never appreciated the treatment of a genius. The gap between mortals and geniuses can often be wider than you think. Measuring genius by the standards of mortals is a problem in itself. Inside the copy, Su Chen stared indifferently at Ji Boda. This man had just apparently pulled a knife on him. There is no next time, Su Chen said, then turned around to face the spell. He raised his hand and the sound of iron hooves sounded like thunder around him. Dressed in red and black armor and carrying a silver patterned lance, Hua Zaiwei appeared from the void. Also, there is more. Seeing Hua Zaiwei appear, the crowd behind him could not control their expressions at all. Ji Boda was stared at by Dian Wei so much that he didn't dare to move, but his eyes still shot out a shocked light. Surprisingly, there was another summoner with the same aura. Is this really a candidate from the same class as them? Hua Zhaoyi appeared from space and stood fixed in the middle of this deserted ancient city. He saw the Gobi Desert far outside the city, and a trance passed through his eyes. General Hua. Su Chen pulled back Hua Zaiwei's thoughts while his mind flashed to open hanging glean 10,000 miles. Please, General, embark on the route to Wolf Jushu Mountain and fight once more. For the Great Han. Hearing Su Chen's words, Hua Zaiwei's eyes flickered as hot blood continued to surge in his chest. Da, Han. The familiar and unfamiliar words sent a shiver through his body and mind. My lord, lead the way. Hua Zaiwei solemnly clasped his fists as a salute, then turned around and walked towards the rightmost teleportation spell formation that Su Chen was pointing at. The blue pillar of light then flashed, and Hua Zaiwei's figure disappeared into the spell formation. Ah, what is this? How the summon can enter the copy alone? Isn't that like being out of the summoner's control? The crowd was completely unable to comprehend the scene in front of them, which had already overturned their common sense. Dian Wei. Su Chen spoke again. You go to the far left and attack the city. Dian Wei heard the order and gave Ji Boda a hard stare as he left. District rats. I'll spare you a dog's life today. He even made a point of stopping by Su Chen's side as he walked towards the leftmost teleportation spell formation. Humph. Call someone else General Hua. Call me Dian Wei. What? After spitting without waiting for Su Chen to react. Dian Wei took two steps and walked directly into the teleportation spell. Su Chen face full of question marks. You a thick-eyed brown man to me here pretentious what the hell. As Dian Wei left, Ji Boda and the group of candidates behind him instantly breathed a sigh of relief. When Dian Wei was there just now, they really didn't dare to breathe. Su Chen didn't care about them anymore and walked towards the center teleportation spell formation in the eyes of the shocked crowd. What was that just now? That was too strong. How can he still let the summon enter the copy? How did he get it? Crap. Wouldn't he be hitting three routes by himself then? Wouldn't that score click? Kibda put away his weapon and did not move to return to the captain's group. They continued their discussion as if nothing had happened. And no one brought up what had just happened. But although they did their best to hide it, the crowd still noticed that the arrogance of all these captains seemed to have been cut down by a large margin. People didn't even put up a fight. They just summoned summons. It had already shocked this group of candidates of the highest grade. In just one look, it was clear who was stronger or weaker. The Imperial College Entrance Examination Review Team, 
The conference room was in an uproar. Everyone was checking the history, trying to find records from which the summoner had gone down the book alone, but all have failed because there is no such case in history. Summons are meant to fight around the summoner. Otherwise, what is a summon? What kind of profession is this one of his? It's completely against the basic norms of a summoner. Wei Zheng shook his head and reminded the crowd once again. Su Chen is a hidden profession. Isn't it logical for a hidden profession's skills to be unexpected? The crowd was indifferent. Wei Zheng's words had hit the nail on the head. What's a hidden profession if it's a skill that everyone knows? Seeing that the crowd understood, Wei Zheng redirected his eyes to the screen. On the screen, Su Chen had already entered Ding Xiang County and began to check out the situation in the surrounding area. A satisfied look appeared on Wei Zheng's face. Although he seemed to understand Su Chen, the fact was that the various abilities Su Chen had just demonstrated were also beyond his expectations. The mere fact of letting summons out of their control and into a copy is almost a subversive change. If this ability becomes widespread, it could even turn the cold category of summoner right into the strongest. Just how many more surprises await me? Wei Zheng muttered as he looked at Su Chen in the screen. Three routes, three tactics. Su Chen didn't send out martial arts generals haphazardly. One of the first and most difficult aspects of being in the Gobi Desert is recognizing the road. The Gobi is a vast expanse, and as far as the eye can see it all looks the same. It's easy to get lost even with a map. The Dingxiang County route of the middle teleportation array belongs to the route with medium difficulty of knowing the way. There are a few towns along the way that fall into the category of obvious landmarks, though there are also some small village gathering points where it's easy to get lost. Su Chen chose this route because he considered that his ability to recognize the road could be of great use. The second point is that this route is dominated by decapitation battles compared to other routes. This means that elite monsters and bosses will be more intense than the other two routes. Beheading battles were Zhao Yun's specialty, so Su Chen chose to take Zhao Yun down this path. The other two, one of which is the native route of Hua, and one of which is based on siege warfare. The Wolverhampton Mountain route is mostly a pursuit, with very few supply points and signposts along the way. It will give most people a headache just in recognizing the road, and is arguably one of the most difficult routes on this exam, but that's only hard for other people. For Hua to go to Wolverine Mountain is almost as good as going home, there's no need to worry about it at all. The last one is the Longxi County route that has the most supply points and the least worry about getting lost. This route is just a matter of following the avenues and taking down the cities along the way. This kind of battle where you don't use your brain and rely on brute force alone is of course the strongest for Dianwei. All he had to do was bam through the gates and take his men in to chop it up. The transmission ended, and Su Chen stepped out of the spell formation. Gusts of hacking and smoke poured out. The houses in the city were surrounded by fire and the people fled in all directions. Hunts dressed in fleece and riding black horses hacked their way through the city. The copy panel pops up. National Career Examination. Tingxiang County Route. To obtain a map of the route. Level 1, Wolf Smoke. The king of the hunts has entered the city with his clan. Please cooperate in the extermination of the enemy. Not having time to look at the map, Su Chen took the lead in checking out the surroundings. There was already a group of candidates in the city fighting against the enemy army. It should be a group of candidates who arrived early. He raised his hand and threw the insight spell at a Hun soldier. Enchanted Hun Rangers, rank, 10, power, 160, agility, 200, spirit, 100, body mass, 120, a level 10 demon. It's been a while since I've encountered such a low level monster. It's understandable though, the GCSEs are graded exams. That's why the first level is definitely dominated by low level demons. Su Chen raised his hand and summoned all 100 white horse boxers. A mosquito is still meat and there is experience not to be had for nothing. The fully silver-armored white horse boxers spread out in all directions, instantly joining the battle in the city. Su Chen, on the other hand, climbed up a tower and looked down on the entire city from a high place. The city is about just a few thousand people, and there should only be one brigade of candidates. According to the map, we know that there are more than a dozen primary cities like this one. Different brigades will be teleported to different primary cities. This allows all candidates to have ample opportunities to kill. However, as the difficulty increases, there will be fewer cities of the same level after that, and candidates will gradually pool. The first level is not too intense, but there are a large number of enemies and it is a complex situation with alleyway battles. Caution is still needed for most candidates. However, for Su Chen, a level 10 demonic creature was just a bit insufficient. After rising to level 20, he had a range of 3, 000 meters to manipulate his soldiers, coupled with the view from above. It could be said that the entire city was under its control. He kept issuing commands, adjusting the direction of the white horse riders so that they could accurately locate the enemies within the city. The white horse riders scattered throughout the city hacked and slashed frantically. 
and a steady stream of experience poured in towards Su Chen. A level 10 enemy wasn't even a cakewalk in the hands of a white horse rider. Two white horse riders would be able to kill dozens of Hun light cavalry without injury. Kill level 10 demonized Hun soldiers. Experience plus 296. Kill level 10 demonized Hun soldiers. Experience plus 278. Kill level 10 demonized Hun soldiers. Experience plus 311. While Su Chen mercilessly abused his enemies, many candidates in the city were caught in a bitter battle. A small group of eight was surrounded by a dozen demonized Hun soldiers. The highest level among them was a level 10 great swordsman. The rest were all low-level candidates at level 8 or 9 who had just come out of their training copies. They formed a circle with the great swordsman in front of everyone. Instead of rushing to attack, a dozen Hun soldiers rode around them yelling. These demonized Hun soldiers also preserved the brutal and murderous characteristics of the Huns. They will not kill their enemies quickly, but will play with them like wild animals. What should we do? Are we going to be eliminated at the first level? I'm not happy that I won't go to school if I'm eliminated here. Everyone drink the wind spirit potion. We'll break through from one direction and find the main force and we'll be safe. The great swordsman stabilized the crowd and took the lead by taking out the wind god potion from his backpack and drinking it. The crowd was ready to charge in one direction at his command. Not more than a few paces into the rush. The sound of a crisp hoofbeat came from the direction of their breakthrough. The great swordsman's heart tightened. Had the enemy come back for support? No sooner had the question arisen than a noose was precisely placed around his neck. The ropes then tightened, and his entire body was yanked away. Captain, the team behind him shouted. The swordsman's enemy in the set rides a tall black horse with a fierce face. Obviously an elite monster. Enchanted Ranger Squad Leader. Rank, 12. Power, 480. Agility, 500. Spirit, 300. Body Mass, 400. Skill, Hunting Net, with their main backbone subdued. The rest of the squad instantly lost their confidence in advancing. Most of them hadn't been out of their training copies for long shoved straight into a complex and buried copy of war without much practice. The realism and chaos of the battlefield coupled with the cruelty and murderousness of the enemy. Even more so, they were unable to fully utilize their already weak combat power. In desperation, the squad members heard the sound of another crisp hoofbeat coming from a horse. It was faster this time, and it came from the rear, without waiting for the crowd to turn around and check. For streams of colorful light leapt directly over their heads. The white horse general held his silver spear to meet the cavalry squad leader straight upstream. Put, the elite monster that had just been arrogant to the extreme instantly fell to the ground. After the beheading the white horse riders spread out on all sides and killed the surrounding Hun rangers one by one. The squad members were dumbfounded as they watched white horse rider mow down and dispose of those difficult enemies. Are these monsters so easy to kill? Quickly disposing of the Hun squads, the white horse riders galloped off in another direction. As the battle progressed. More and more candidates noticed the group of silver-armored cavalrymen. I'll go, those white horse soldiers are so strong. What camp are they in? Are they NPCs or summons? It must be a friendly NPC. How could the candidates summon such a strong soldier? Yeah, if these soldiers are summoned, I, Lu Datong, will eat them directly. It's a good thing they were there or I would have just been eliminated. Yeah, yeah, this session of the Gaokao office is too considerate. Even sending high-level NPCs to lower the difficulty for us. Following them, I realized that they are also very precise in finding monsters. As the battle proceeds, Su Chen realized that those candidates would consciously follow the white horse riding actions. It seemed to be using the white horse rider as a guide NPC. Su Chen didn't care about them and wasn't worried about the experience being robbed. The demons in the city were a quantity of 5, 0, 0, 0, and he couldn't kill them all by himself. It's nice to be able to guide candidates to a quick pass. Imperial College High School Review Team Watching the scene on the screen of a large group of people following the action of the white horse, the scoring members fell into silence. In other cities along the same route, the candidates are scattered in alleyways fighting the enemy. There was no one like Su Chen's test site. A group of people acting in an organized and disciplined manner. How did he change the exam all by himself? Someone exclaimed. The main test point of this level is not only killing the enemy, but also the ability of the crowd to react in a chaotic situation. The enemy had killed their way into the city and were scattered all around the city. Originally it was difficult to form an organization for efficient kills in this situation. But Su Chen's presence made the content of the exam completely change. He really is like the NPC in the exam room, leading the students on offense. The initial city is so big. How did he know the exact location of the enemy? Those white horse soldiers are moving too far to encompass the entire city? What's this long distance? He's letting summons into other copies. Not to talk about the command ability. Those soldiers of his are also ridiculously high in intensity aoi. Not to mention those two generals who look like they can hack it. But this horde of soldiers is so strong too? 
Wei Zheng stood in front of the screen, his eyes filled with admiration for Su Chen. Although the enemy level was not high, he could see that the strength of Su Chen's summons was very powerful. On top of that he was able to manipulate the summons with precision, which must have possessed the ability to share vision with the summons. This ability is also very rare for summoners, and only a small number of professions can obtain it through high-level transmutation. What a powerful profession, Wei Zhang said in his mind. Within half an hour, Su Chen almost led the crowd to wipe out the Hun Light Cavalry in the urban area. The rest of the enemy was probably in the dead center of his vision and he never found it. After half a day of not finding it, he simply retrieved his white horse and rode it. Lest a group of candidates just know how to follow him and won't find out for themselves, Su Chen found a place to sit down and wait for the second level prompt. Checking up on the other two paths in the meantime, he was surprised that no more experience had been credited to him in the past half hour, except for the white horse riding to kill the enemy. Hua's path was mostly on the run because of the long distance, and it's plausible that he didn't encounter any enemies in the early stages. But what does this side of Dang Wei mean? If he remembered correctly, Dian Wei's side should soon encounter the first enemy city. With a flash of his mind, he called up the large map in his head. Normally after letting a general enter a copy alone, there is no way to share vision or get their geographic location. But this high school exam is still essentially one big copy, only divided into different routes. So Su Chen was still able to gain their vision in bearings, though he couldn't give orders. It doesn't matter if you don't look at it. Once you look at it Su Chen almost had a myocardial infarction. On the large map, Dian Wei's position was already a hundred thousand miles off the main route. No way. It's possible to get lost. National Career Examiner. Longview County Route. Map of the route has been obtained. Level 1, Solid Gold. King Huaitu's men have captured the Golden City. Please work together to retake the city. Riding on his blood-colored warhorse, Dian Wei looked around at the vast desert, and then at the familiar yet unfamiliar block letters in front of him. No way, absolutely impossible. How can I get lost if I'm evil? Saying that he took out another map that he didn't know where it came from. If I can't read the words, can't I read the painting? I'm clearly following the painting. The more he thought about it, the more angry he became. He directly summoned a few tiger leopard riders and told them to set off in all directions to scout the route. One of the tiger leopard ride soldiers caught a glimpse of him looking at the map, so he looked at it twice as well. General, the tree on this picture is upside down, the soldier said. At a glance, Dian Wei immediately understood the problem. Which dog thief gave me a fake map? Even the trees are drawn wrong. Get me lost and miss my battle. The soldier froze as he looked at the broken-hearted Dian Wei and spoke again. General, it seems like the chart is held backwards. Dian Wei glared with both eyes. Imperial College High School Review Team. The scoring panel likewise fell silent. Wei Zheng cried and laughed a little as he watched Dian Wei's performance. He had wanted to see how strong the martial generals summoned by Su Chen were. Now it's hard to know what to say. He had also supervised copies of this in the military, but had never seen anyone get lost on this route. The scoring members had no choice but to switch viewpoints. The first city to be attacked on that route, Golden City, appears on the screen. The Golden City is divided into four gates, and a total of 60, 000 candidates entering this route were evenly distributed among the four gates. The wide gates and high walls were insurmountable difficulties for the candidates. The enemy army also possesses archers with fantastic accuracy. This made it difficult for the candidates to approach the gates, and they could only rely on some long-range attacks for consumption. Sieges were meant to be wars of attrition and protracted battles, and it was unlikely that anyone would be able to break through the gates as soon as they went up. And in addition to considering the depletion of supplies from a prolonged siege, candidates face a threat. That is, the enemy forces inside the city will take advantage of the candidates' fatigue to come out of the city and surround them. Many people assume that this route is the safest and easiest route. Those who think this way will suffer a big loss as a result. The siege would not produce results anytime soon. And Wei Zheng switched his viewpoint to the Wolf Jushu route. This route is known for having the longest distance and the most varied conditions, and is also known as the death route. The lack of references and signposts on the Wolverhampton route makes it the easiest route to get lost. The first focus of its examination is pathfinding ability. Pathfinding skill is a must-have ability for professionals. In many of the copies, there are complex paths and scenes where it is easy to get lost. Without the ability to pathfind, one could be trapped and die within the organs, or not even encounter the demons at all. This route is simply a test of pathfinding in the early stages, with magic items brushing up later on. Let's see how many will go off the rails at this level. Wei Zhang opened the large map as he switched the screen over. The large map is a god's perspective, capable of showing the distribution of people within a 50-kilometer radius. Once the large map came up, the situation was exactly as the scoring members had predicted. The route was so densely packed with red dots scattered all over the place that it was impossible to tell that they were in groups. 
almost all of the 30, 000 candidates on this route, in six large groups, were separated, because of the long runs required, the GAA has prepared motocross motorcycles for this group of candidates, but the motorcycle makes up for their marching speed but not their ability to find their way, thousands and tens of thousands of people marching at the same time in the desert would certainly create a scene of yellow sand, a slip of the tongue in this situation can lead to losing the group and going down a crooked path, or simply the person leading the way goes crooked and everyone behind them follows, this route is still so exaggerated, a member said, yeah, it's been half an hour and the furthest group has only advanced 7 kilometers, and that's with transportation, it can't be helped, a single slip of the tongue in this environment can lead to disorientation, and driving fast is the last thing you want to do, look at those speedy rashers, they're almost off the copy boundary, what about that Su Chen candidate summon, someone asked, Wei Zhang was also looking for the very young looking military general through the big screen, he was eager to see the strength of the two martial arts generals summoned by Su Chen, Dian Wei can't look at it now that he's lost, so he's trying to find Hua Ziwei's figure, the crowd searched the screen for half a day, but they didn't find Hua Ziwei's figure, is it possible to be running too fast and out of the map display range, offset the large map in all directions, Wei Zheng said, he didn't believe that Su Chen's summon would die out and be impossible to find, the large map lens that can display a 50 kilometer range moves ahead of the route, the crowd held their breath, a little scared, if someone shows up 50 kilometers away that's too much, moving out another 60 or so kilometers, still nothing showed up on the map, a little disappointed, Wei Zheng had the manipulator move back to the camera, hey, scared me to death, I really thought Su Chen's summons would be able to throw off a large group for more than 50 kilometers, it's a good thing it's not that counterintuitive, or I'd be prone to acute heart attacks, in that case, it seems like Su Chen's two military generals are a bit mediocre, not as good as the white horse soldiers he summoned, indeed, one got lost and one disappeared into the sea of people without standing out, Wei Zheng silently listened to the scoring members talk about it without retorting, the copy had only just begun, and he was sure Su Chen would show his potential, there are some small changes in the plot of the last chapter, so if you read it before 2 a.m., you can read it again or you won't be able to pick up the plot, Su Chen looked at Dian Wei and had two big heads, I can't believe I got the map backwards, luckily, the soldier caught it in time, and now Dian Wei had set off on his return route, but by the time he got to the first city it was estimated to be about an hour, the good thing about this road is that it's a siege, and there won't be a large scale battle until the city breaks down, this keeps Dian Wei from losing too much experience by getting lost, cutting out of Dian Wei's view, Su Chen suddenly realized that the panel jumped a bit, opening the panel, a series of experience tips popped up, kill level 11 demonized hun rangers, experience plus 396, kill level 11 demonized hun rangers, experience plus 378, kill level 11 demonized hun sentinel, experience plus 411, kill level 11 demonized hun sentinel, experience plus 432, kill level 12 demonized hun ranger officer, experience plus 2563, what the hell? Su Chen was a bit strange, he himself hadn't made a move here, and he was still lost on Dian Wei's side, that experience could only have been hacked from the side of Hua, but doesn't that route take a long run to refresh the demons, could it be that Hua has arrived, Su Chen's mind flashed and called up the large map of Wolf Jushu's route, the path would automatically show up in his head where the summon had traveled, at this moment in Su Chen's mind a strangely long and incomparable path had been lit up, the comparison to the route that Canonical walked out on is almost a dozen times greater, what a fast marching speed, Su Chen marveled in his heart, he roughly estimated that Hua had run at least 200 kilometers, half an hour, 200 kilometers, what kind of terrifying speed is that, thoughts flashed, and the memories of his previous life appeared in Su Chen's mind, it was then that he remembered the other title of the horde, that's the inventor of the Chinese blitzkrieg, his troops could always run for thousands of miles at lightning speed, often leaving the defending Huns too late to react, sure enough the Marquis of Champions is the Marquis of Champions, Su Chen cuts close to Hua's perspective to get a closer look at this thousand mile chase, everything went in, and the thunderous sound of iron hooves poured into Su Chen's ears, in the middle of the vast desert, a red and black color coordinated cavalry team was lining up to charge, ahead of them a contingent of heavily armed Hun rangers came head on, formation, Hua Ziwei shouted as he drew his sword, behind him, 400 great Han iron horsemen slowly formed an extermination formation centered on Hua Ziwei at the command, all the iron horsemen were arranged in the shape of arrowheads, and the soldiers set up their lances, the tip of the gun gleamed in the sunlight like a white rainbow, with the extinction formation boost, the entire iron cavalry's heavy damage is doubled, combined with the speed of both sides charging against each other, the iron cavalry battle power was raised to its peak, kill, with a wave of his long sword, 
Huo Ziwei's entire team pounced into the Xiong New army like a fierce tiger. The low-level demonic soldiers were defeated and could not be stopped at all. The Han Iron Horsemen were like a torrent of steel, crushing all the enemies in front of them into yellow sand. One way to push across. Thousands of Hun rangers directly lost half of them under this charge. After a wave of frontal charges, the Hun's passing horn sounded. The remaining Hun rangers quickly split to either side, turning into two groups. At the same time they took out their prairie bows and began to engage in their best guerrilla tactics. Hua's eyes flashed as he waved his sword and shouted, Detour formation! The 400 regimented Daihan Iron Horsemen instantly dispersed and methodically turned to either side. They turned around and then faced the Hun rangers again. Meandering formations can break up soldiers and drastically increase their ability to fight on their own. Soldiers who gained formation reinforcement quickly killed the Hun forces. They put away their lances and used long machetes more suited to melee combat. Level crushing coupled with formation bonus. The machete-wielding soldiers were transformed into war gods. Even when faced with a dozen or so people surrounding him he wouldn't be injured at all. Huo Zhaodong was even more like a no-man's land, waving his machete and charging around in the enemy lineup. There is no difference at all between elite monsters and minions in the enemy army. He died horribly under the blade without waiting to use his skills. Blood, severed limbs, heads, and enemy limbs flew everywhere. The blood fell into the yellow sand and quickly dried and hardened, turning the gravel into an entire hard surface. The experienced tip box crossed the panel one by one like a stream of water. Kill level 11 demonized Hun Ranger. Experience plus 326. Kill level 11 demonized Hun Rangers. Experience plus 388. Kill level 11 demonized Hun Sentinel. Experience plus 411. Kill level 12 demonized Hun Ranger Officer. Experience plus 2663. Kill level 11 demonized Hun Sentinel. Experience plus 432. Kill level 12 demonized Hun Ranger Officer. Experience plus 2563. Even if the enemy army was just low level demons around level 10, but they were originally offered to a volume of 5. 000 candidates. Now Huo went crazy and slaughtered this group of enemy troops. It was as if the experience that should have been divided into 5,000 people was all given to Su Chen alone. It was a horrifying amount of experience making Su Chen's level 20 experience bar grow with the naked eye. It was important to realize that after breaking through level 20, the experience required for upgrading had directly doubled several times, and the difficulty factor had also increased exponentially. However, Su Chen didn't seem to be receiving any effects at the moment and was completely growing at an almost insane rate. After a bout of slaughter, the Hun soldiers were killed and routed. Horatio then resumed his lineup. Just when Su Chen thought he was going to line up to clear out the remaining enemy troops, with a wave of Hu's hand, the legions of Iron Cavalry abandoned the pursuit of the remaining enemies and continued to charge ahead of the route. Although he had no more memories, he still retained the commanding style of his previous life. Unconventional and speed-seeking, high-speed attacks, continuous attacks, not giving the enemy a chance to catch their breath at all. Clear goals and thunderous action. Is this the command of a thousand famous generals? After watching the charge of Hua Ziwei and the Han Iron Horsemen, Su Chen's heart was also very excited. This is the charm of Hua Ziyao. This is the general star of the Han Dynasty who made even Emperor Wu of Han Dynasty trust immensely. It seemed that the Wolf Jushu route was completely unnecessary to worry about, and Su Chen silently cut back to the viewpoint. National Professionals High School, Xiangcheng County Route. Level 2, War in Flames, King Hu Tu's men are wreaking havoc on Han territory. Candidates are requested to join forces to drive out the foreigners. The second level opens, and the panel shows a dozen or so neighboring villages or strongholds. This would be the spot where the Huns were rampaging, and each brigade would need to choose a spot to attack. After reading the panel Su Chen moved to walk towards the gates of the old city. The city gates are set up with all kinds of transportation, utility buggies or utility motorcycles. It seems that the GAA was quite humane and didn't make the candidates walk to the various locations. Hey, buddy, take one of you, someone on the side shouted. Su Chen followed the sound and looked. The person who called him was sitting in the driver's side of the utility vehicle. Around him sat five or six other people, supposedly a small group. Come on, we're just missing a spot here. My car is fast and steady, so you'll be the first to get to the test center. Su Chen smiled politely, then raised his hand and waved it. Zhao Yin appeared on his side riding a jade lion. The silver-armored white horses were almost too bright to open one's eyes under the hot desert sun. Su Chen rolled onto his horse, and Zhao Yin led him to instantly disappear into the yellow sand, leaving a confused few people in the car. Level 20 Zhao Yun's agility attribute was extremely high, leaving those modern vehicles far behind. During Zhao Yun's march, Su Chen constantly sent white horse riders around to verify the direction. He didn't want to find himself in the same predicament as Dian Wei. 
With Su Chen's own precise mastery of direction and Zhao Yun's divine speed, he soon reached a village of his choice. The not-so-large village was already ablaze. The sound of the Huns hacking away and the cries of the people rose and fell. These voices made Su Chen's heart faintly sting, though they are just NPCs in the replica. But the Han did experience such tragic times a thousand years ago. Prior to Emperor Wu of Han Dynasty, successive Han monarchs had adopted a policy of peace with the Xiongnu, advocating peace and opposing war. They want to assimilate them with the strong tolerance of the Chinese nation. But the former kings forgot, forgot that to tame a beast, you have to use a whip in addition to meat. If it's all meat and no whip, instead of thanking you, the beast will think you're a fool. The peace policy could only solve a temporary need. And soon the Huns bared their fangs, greedy as beasts. The Xiangnu gave an inch and kept reneging on their pact with the Han, constantly encroaching on the borders of the Han dynasty. What they did succeeded in angering the sleeping lion. Now the thunderbolt is about to fall. Tap tap tap. Zhao Yun rushed towards the village like a meteor. The entrance to the village was guarded by two burly soldiers. Even the horses beneath them were much stronger than the other war horses. With two elite monsters, Su Chen raised his hand and hit insight. Enchanted Ranger Warrior. Rank, 14. Power, 600. Agility, 600. Spirit, 500. Body Mass, 1000. Skill, Meteor Strike. Levels have been increased and attributes have been enhanced. But it made no difference in front of Zhao Yun. Su Chen rolled over and dismounted. Zhao Yun shook his silver spear and charged straight at the two elite monsters. Wah! The elite monster roared and violently swung the meteor hammer in his hand. Zhao Yun did not slow down in the slightest, leaning back as the meteor hammer slammed into him, directly lying down on the back of his horse. The gun then came out like a dragon, and the silver spear was like lightning, pointing twice in front of their chests. Put. The action is small but powerful. Zhao Yun 5500 points of strength attributes. Lonely hero doubled and came directly to 110. 000. Even if it was an elite monster, it was impossible for the opponent's small body of level 14 to carry these two stabbing blows. The demonized ranger warrior's blood bar instantly cleared and fell to the ground with a whimper. Zhao Yun didn't stop hoofing it and killed directly into the interior of the village. Su Chen raised his hand and called out all 100 white horse boxers to join the battle. This level has an elevated enemy level, but the number of enemies within a single test point is no greater than in the first level. Candidates need to move to the next point once they have cleared the enemies in one point. This will maximize your score on this level. More than the first level. The second level also tested the candidates on the spot reactions as well as their ability to shift quickly. In addition to killing the enemy. This village that Su Chen was in hadn't been entered by a candidate yet. And all the demons within the village were his. Level 14 demons were no different from grass in the eyes of Zhao Yun and the white horse riders. And they died when they shot their guns. In front of the white horse boxers who were known for their agility. The Hun's proud pulling ability was also completely ineffective. Some of the bowmen also tried to shoot cold arrows at the white horse riders from a distance. The response to them was, of course, an incredibly accurate lock arrow. Although it wasn't as fast as Hua Ziwei's cavalry charge in the desert, Zhao Yun's speed in killing the enemy wasn't slow either. A steady stream of experience bars poured into Su Chen, kill level 13 demonized Hun ranger. Experience plus 596, kill level 13 demonized Hun rangers. Experience plus 578. Kill level 13 demonized Hun Bowman. Experience plus 611. Kill level 13 demonized Hun Bowman. Experience plus 632. Kill level 14 demonized Hun Ranger Warrior. Experience plus 3563. Upgrades are flying. This 10. 000 person war copy is simply a leveling artifact. The magical creatures are not high in level, but they are large and filling and with the ability to level all three of your own routes. Leveling is almost as easy as drinking water. At this speed, Su Chen felt that he would soon be celebrating his level 21. After crossing level 20, the difficulty of upgrading increases exponentially. Many ordinary professionals could only stay in the level 20 to 30 range in their entire lives, because upgrading is too hard for them. And Su Chen had only risen to level 20 yesterday and was about to welcome level 21 today. This was something that other professionals could not even dream of. Nearly a thousand Hun soldiers in the village were mercilessly decimated, including dozens of elite monsters alone. Cluster elite monsters may be very tricky for others, but to Zhao Yun, who possesses a solitary hero, a fish on a knife board. In less than 20 minutes, Zhao Yun with his white horses cleared the village of Huns. Su Chen retrieved his white horseback ride and ran directly to the next examination point village. Not long after Su Chen left, the candidates who were in the same initial city as him arrived late. Looking at the corpses of demonized soldiers all over the ground, the candidates were at a loss. Where's my blame? Imperial College High School Review Team.
The grading panel watched Su Chen's feat of clearing a test center in 20 minutes as he sked and praised. It's too fast. The strength of these summons is just too high. Has the level of the demons in this level really been raised? Why do I feel like there's no difference from the first level? That's no difference in the hands of Su Chen's summoner. Look at the other candidates who are already sweating profusely. Indeed, a level 14 demonic creature is already above the average of the candidate's levels. And from this level onwards there will be a big gap between the strong and the weak. Wei Zheng stared at Zhao Yun in the screen, a curious light lighting up in his eyes. He was more concerned about this new martial general that Su Chen had summoned than the others who were concerned about Su Chen's clearance time. From the fact that it kills elite monsters in one hit, you can see that its four-dimensional attributes must be very powerful. But what surprised Wei Zhang was not his powerful four-dimensional attributes, but his unrivaled marksmanship. That gun technique was gorgeous without losing its sharpness, and it contained infinite killing opportunities between its floating and dashing style. It could be said that by pressing his level down to the same level of combat, his chances of winning against this warlord would be no more than 40%. Terrifying, not only was the strength terrifying, or the potential was also very terrifying. After watching Zhao Yun's performance, Wei Zheng's anticipation for the other two military generals grew. Unfortunately, one hadn't run into a demon so far because he was lost, and the other martial arts general hadn't been able to show any action. Did these military generals have to be manipulated by Su Chen himself? Wei Zheng guessed in his mind. The shining jade lion broke through the sandstorm and flew through the desert, the second level of the second test point village. Su Chen rolled over and dismounted as Zhao Yun picked his spear and stabbed into the interior of the village. A group of candidates have already arrived early at this test center. After a long journey they encountered a higher level of enemy. Most of the candidates were not in good shape. The demons on the second level in particular basically appear in pairs and are all led by elite monsters. Elite monsters could often easily break through the defenses of a team of professionals by virtue of their skills or strong physique. Subsequent Hun soldiers were then able to burst into the ranks and wreak havoc. Looking at the candidates struggling to resist within the village, Su Chen realized that from this level onwards was a big watershed. If the first level was a basic question, this level is the equivalent of a medium difficulty question. Candidates who are not as strong will soon be eliminated at this level or will not get any points at all. Candidates with above average strengths will be able to last a little longer at this level. Su Chen raised his hand and waved it. And along with the constant flickering of space, a white horse rider surged out from it. Basic, intermediate or elevated or even additional questions in the eyes of others. Collectively they have one name with him, giveaway questions. 100 white horse riders poured into the village, waving their silver spears and began to slash and kill indiscriminately. Watching the white horse rider emotionally hard to describe picking off those Hun cavalry. Candidates within the village were feeling a bit confused. That was a demonic creature they had to fight for half a day. How could it be killed in seconds so easily? Boom. The third elite monster. Chung Jun smiled crookedly and closed the spellbook in his hand. He was the brigade leader of the third brigade. Rare profession rune mage. Level 17. Captain is awesome. Handling a level 15 elite monster in less than one minute. Yeah. Yeah. Surely no one can beat us to it. The group of auxiliary professions following Chung Jun shouted. They were all hand-picked by Chang Jun. Teaming up with a support professional neither has to worry about being robbed of monsters, but can also increase range. It's his usual style for the next book. One downside to this is that support professions rely on assisted scoring, and if multiple people are assisted the assisted scoring becomes less. The support professions that followed Chang Jun had a hard time getting high scores even if they lasted until the later levels. But it didn't matter to process Jun. He considered these mongrels lucky to have the opportunity to team up with him. Captain. The students over there won't be able to hold out much longer, a milkmaid in the team shouted. Chung Jun swept with a glance. That squad was being surrounded by two Hun cavalry with elite monsters leading them. A look of gloating flickered in his eyes. The captain of that team had unassumingly fought him for the position of first captain earlier. Although he was not as strong as himself, he was still considered a potential competitor. The fact that his competitors were in trouble naturally made him feel happy. Captain, let's go help. Nurse girl was a bit worried. There's no rush. Chung Jun laughed, let's deal with the demons on our side first. What an idiot. He cursed inwardly. Now go up there and save the guy, and the kill score will be split between the two teams of players. Wait for them to be killed by the demons and then go back on to get the full kill score. It's so simple that some idiots just don't get it. Chung Jun shook his head and was about to lead his squad to look for monsters in the neighborhood when several white lights flashed past his eyes. What the hell? He quickly turned his head to look. Only four white horse riders were seen killing into that encirclement just now. They were highly skilled with their guns and agile, charging left and right through the Hun cavalry. Hun mini monsters basically died in one shot, and Hun elite monsters wouldn't last more than 10 seconds with a few people surrounding them. How could this be? Where did this soldier come from? 
Chang Jun double eyes round stare at A. Thoughts in the brain constantly flashing. Wow. They're saved. Awesome. Those white horse riding soldiers are so handsome too. Where did they come from? They're not candidates too. Are they? While Chang Jun was thinking, he looked around and realized that those white horse soldiers could be seen all around the village. They moved at a rapid pace, constantly weaving in and out of villages to kill their enemies. Watching the demons fall one by one in their hands, Chang Jun was enraged. His experience and scoring. These contraptions of who knows what are robbing him of experience and points. Stop it for me. Chung Jun quickly charged towards a fallen white horse rider. The white horse rider seemed to be taller than the others and was single-handedly taking on three elite Hun cavalrymen by himself. Without waiting for Chung Jun to run far, that white horse rider had already decimated three elite Hun soldiers. Cheng Jun's heart was dripping blood. Three elite monsters, each with at least 100 points. How much of a gap that 100 points would have to be placed in the middle block of the candidates to pull it off? What the fuck? What the hell did you do? Cheng Jun shouted at that white horse rider. Hmm. Hearing the shout, the soldier on the white horse turned around. He held a silver spear, and his bright armor gleamed in the sunlight. It was Zhao Yun who rode the jade lion. Seeing Zhao Yun, seeing his sharp eyes, Cheng Jun instinctively took a step back, but the anger in his chest still controlled his brain. What are you? Why are you robbing me of my experience? Su Chen, who was being brought into Zhao Yun's perspective, frowned. Another master with an underdeveloped brain and a completely underdeveloped cerebellum. He had no intention of taking care of such people and let Zhao Yun continue to kill the enemy. How dare you leave after robbing my points? Chang Jun shouted. If you don't give me an explanation today, you're not fucking leaving. He spread out the grimoire in his hand and a red glow emerged from it. Lord of the fiery inferno domain, with wing feathers of flames, turn the earth before you into charcoal. Descend, flame spit, thumbs up, before the chant was over. A silver light flashed. In the panicked eyes of the crowd of auxiliary professionals, Chung Jun was directly picked off by Zhao Yun's lance. They didn't even have a chance to heal before Chung Jun's figure turned into a stream of light in the air. The third team's brigade leader, a level 17 rare professional, and a popular contender for the top prize of the higher education examination in Haihui province. Just like that, he was stabbed out of his copy by Zhao Yun. After stabbing Chung Jun, Zhao Yun once again plunged into the battle with the Huns without stopping for a moment. It was as if what he had just killed was not a professional, but a wild dog. Imperial College High School Review Team The members of the scoring panel looked at each other in disbelief. Attacking your peers in the high school exam room is a big no-no. In severe cases, the right to take the entrance exam can even be taken away outright. After a long period of silence, everyone's eyes looked towards Wei Zhang. Wei Zhang was the examiner of the college entrance exam, and what punishment Su Chen would receive depended on him. Seeing the crowd looking at him, Wei Zhang spread his two hands out. Mr. Cheng Jun's luck is really a bit bad. He actually bumped into someone else's gun. Go for it on next year's high school exams. Seeing Wei Zheng take such a stance, the members of the grading team immediately understood and rededicated themselves to invigilating the exam. Wei Zhang shook his head helplessly. He was not a person who liked to harbor people, but this time, Su Chen had made him make an exception. But even when it came to fault, it was the opposite side of Cheng Jun that was more at fault. Instead of uniting the team as a captain, he took the lead against his peers. If he was in the exam room he would not hesitate to kick out such people as well. Aside from these, Wei Zhang also noticed that Zhao Yun was also a one-hit kill against Cheng Jun. Even if Su Chen's level was 20, he was three levels higher than Cheng Jun. However, the gap between the lower rank levels would not be too large, and it was normally unlikely that there would be a one-move second kill. And the fact that Su Chen's martial artist was able to kill Cheng Jun with a single shot meant that his strength was almost crushingly powerful within his class. Military generals he owned three in total, plus soldiers under his command. Wei Zhang was no longer even able to place a specific position on Su Chen's strength. 9 to 5. This profession has completely surpassed the current system of professionals. Taking care of the troublesome people, Su Chen commanded Zhao Yun and the white horse boxers to keep hacking and slashing their way through the village. He tried to only take on the demons that hadn't encountered the candidates, and wouldn't try to rob the candidates of their experience or points. Occasionally, when they encountered a few squads that couldn't hold out, only then would they send Zhao Yun or the white horse riders out. While not as good as the first no-candidate village, this test site has a fair amount of experience. In less than 20 minutes, the Hun soldiers were almost cut down. Su Chen's level 20 experience bar also managed to reach two-thirds of the way up. As long as he met one more village without candidates or two villages with candidates, he would successfully break through level 21. This was too fast. Fast that even Su Chen hadn't expected. He felt that the difficulty of his upgrades at level 20 was no different than at level 10. The growth rate of the experience bar didn't slow down at all. 
Su Chen didn't let Zhao Yun hunt down those remaining soldiers. Instead, we learn from Hua Zaiwei to abandon the remnants of his army and run straight to the next village. While on his way to the next examination center, Su Chen suddenly felt something in his heart. He opened the large map in his head and saw a scene that almost brought tears to his eyes. Canonical finally reaches the first test point. Longxi County Route. Jin Cheng. Ha ha ha. I knew this was the right path. How could I possibly get lost? Dian Wei looked at the city standing in the distance with a smug look on his face. General Mighty. The soldiers on the side were forced to add a flattering remark due to the lewdness. In the distance, tens of thousands of candidates had gathered in front of the huge Golden City East City Gate. Every now and then they made a charge. And it was not long before the enemy beat them back again. Charge doesn't work. And long range attacks even less so. Powerful long range attacks have short distances. And attacks with long distances are less powerful. Anyway, in the few hours between the start of the copy and now, the eastern gate of the Golden City was hardly damaged at all. As Dian Wei looked at the arrows and spells that filled the sky from afar, the battle spirit in his heart quickly skyrocketed. After experiencing the suffocation of getting lost, he was now having a belly full of fire with nowhere to vent it. He took out his war halberd and swung it, summoning a whole 350 tiger leopard cavalry. Gentlemen, follow me and attack the city. Amidst the roars, 350 elite tiger leopard riders launched an attack towards the golden city. The pitch black tiger leopard riders exuded a bloody murderous aura, and even the yellow sand raised by the charge was dyed red. Imperial College High School Review Team. Look, Su Chen that lost summon has found golden city. Someone within the scoring group shouted. The manipulator immediately switched screens and locked onto the Jincheng test site in Longxi County. Everyone saw that to the southeast of Golden City, a wolf-like cavalry team was approaching at a rapid pace. What is this situation? Su Chen's military generals can also perform summons? There are all at least 300 cavalry here. This battle power is too unbelievable. I thought his military generals were only capable of fighting on their own, but I didn't realize that they could even summon an army. More than just summoning an army. Why does that lost general look so fierce? Such a strong killing intent. It's simply more than a demonic creature. As he watched the tiger leopard riders in the screen launch their charge, Wei Zhang's heart trembled. If anything, the white horse riding team is nimble and ethereal. This procession of black horse riders is majesty and austerity. The momentum of their charge was as strong as a landslide. There are clear stylistic differences between not only the military generals, but even each team. Su Chen is simply all round. But momentum is momentum and it's still too difficult to turn the tide of battle with these 300 men. Unlike the other battlefields, which were all fought in separate examinations, the battles on the Longxi County route were fought in groups. Like this East City Gate is surrounded by 10. 000 candidates. Can you rely on these 300 people to be useful in a city that 10? 000 candidates can't take? Look, suddenly someone else shouted. The demonized Hun cavalry is out of the city. The crowd looked at the screen and saw the dense Hun-like cavalry swarming out of the side gates. The side gates are located in a corner of the city and are hard to spot without careful investigation. And that's the second hard part of the route besides the attack. As candidates focus on how to attack the city, they often neglect the defense against enemy sneak attacks. Facing a sneak attack from the flanks of the demonized Hun cavalry, if they didn't detect it in time and organize an effective counterattack, candidate teams run the risk of a total rout. Jinxiang East City Gate. The two brigades of about 10. 000 candidates all hid behind huge boulders. In addition to the rocks there were some improvised fortifications. All of them hid their bodies tightly, lest they be shot by the enemy archers. After four failed charge attempts, the great and small captains of both brigades gathered to discuss tactics. Thirty commanders were gathered in the temporarily excavated underground cavern. Gu Xiao participated in the meeting as a level 16 rare occupant in the capacity of a squadron leader. As for Gao Zhang's level 15 ordinary occupation, he had no right to speak and could only stand at the door and listen. The discussion didn't go very well and there was a lot of disagreement between the two teams. This scenario doesn't make sense. Our fighters can't withstand so many rounds of bow and arrow fire. This won't work either. We're not sure of the number of defenders in the city. Sending out a hasty assassin squad is likely to result in a total loss. The third option is even more bullshit. Our. Boom boom boom. The heated discussion between the captains of the two teams stopped, and the crowd looked up. Only the entire cavern trembled, and sand fell rustling downward overhead. This is clearly a large group of people making a move. What the hell? Our people are departing. It can't be. Our instructions haven't been given. The two captains looked at each other, feeling that something was wrong. Get out there. Everyone ran toward the ground. Gao Zhang and Gu Xia followed the crowd and rushed out of the cave to the ground. The sight in front of them made them all giggle. The entire Gobi Beach is filled with Hun Rangers as far as the eye can see. They charged the line of candidates, brandishing their weapons and shouting. 
The earth-shattering sound of horses' hooves wrapped in yellow sand spread out, as if they were the beat of death drums. Whoosh. The Hun rangers had already surrounded the ten. Zero 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 candidates. A rain of arrows came from all directions. Shield guard defense. Gao Zhang shook the ground with one foot, and a barrier of blue light sprang up to envelop Gu Xia as well as several mage archer professionals. The bows struck the barrier. Flashing ripples. The surrounding night warrior professionals also joined him in shielding the long-range professionals. A mage released a long-range insight spell into the distance and his face sank when he got the result. Level 12 rangers and level 13 ranger archers, he shouted. The crowd that heard the shouts also changed in color. This was only the first city they encountered, and should have been the first level of the route. However, the enemies were surprisingly in the level 12 or 13 range, which was not normal level design at all. All the captains immediately headed for the main body as soon as they were informed of the situation. They had to organize a counterattack within the first hour. Otherwise those low-grade students wouldn't last long at all. At this moment, there was already chaos within the large troop, and in the face of the sudden attack coming from all directions, the people were too late to react. The attacks of the level 13 archers were both precise and powerful, and after a few rounds of attacks, a large number of low-level candidates had already been eliminated. Panic and fear spread through the ranks, and even the high-level candidates could only fall into a passive defensive situation. Imperial College High School Review Team Seeing the routed candidates on the screen, the scoring members were not surprised, they were all just students entering the battlefield for the first time, and this kind of reaction now was understandable. Sure enough, it still doesn't work. Facing a sneak attack from the enemy immediately leads to chaos. The lower ranked candidates who chose this path are going to be wiped out, and those captains are going to get a lot of points deducted from their command. I didn't realize that this seemingly safest and easiest route had become a meat grinder for newcomers. Now we can only look at their subsequent reactions and the performance of Su Chen, that military general. The Hun contingent had at least 5, 000 men this round, and a 300 man cavalry team couldn't make much of a wave even if it was good. Indeed, it's still a bit whimsical to think of relying on one's personal strength to change the course of a battle. Wei Zhang stood aside with his arms wrapped around him and did not participate in the discussion. He looked forward to it, to what the warlord would do. Replenish the wind god potion. Everyone charge with me. The two first captains charged toward one corner with the candidates who still had strength left. If they didn't make a charge, they would just stand still and be consumed by the local archers. Can't, can't catch up. Someone shouted after charging for some time. The Hun cavalry is famous for its ultra-high machine power. If you're fighting them in an alleyway city battle, you can still use terrain to limit their movement. And here in the endless Gobi, their mobility advantage is on display. As soon as the candidates charged, the rangers began to fall back. Moreover, their riding and shooting are top-notch, and they can guarantee a super-high hit rate even while withdrawing. The elimination continues, with candidates being kicked out of the test center every minute. The two candidates who were the first captains were anxious. The one. 000 man assault team they brought with them was completely kite by the opposite side. If this continues, not only will all low grade candidates be cleared out of the examination room, they, the high ranking commanders, will also be docked all their command points. Rumble, rumble. Suddenly there was a loud clatter of hoofbeats unlike those of the Hun army. Before the crowd could think about what it was, they only saw that one side of the Hun cavalry was actually approaching them of their own accord. What do you mean? The Huns have launched a general attack? The crowd was puzzled but they were perfectly capable of continuing to consume. The earth-shattering sound of iron hooves approached, and it was soon realized that the group of Huns did not seem to be charging at them. They were running away. Something is attacking the Huns from outside the encirclement. Boom. Incredibly, like a torrent of steel, the army broke through the Huns' formation. I kill. I kill. I kill you dog thief. Rushing at the front was a mountainous figure. His eyes were scarlet as he wielded his twin halberds while hacking the enemy into pieces. The Hun's army was instantly swept away, and the rain of arrows on that side stopped instantly. What is this, a copy NPC? The crowd was puzzled, but only Gao Zhang and Gu Xia got excited. It's Su Chen. Su Chen has come to the rescue. The two first captains seized the opportunity of the confusion of the enemy troops and with a big wave of their hands led the candidates team to charge the enemy troops. Two teams, one inside and one outside, killed the Huns at the same time, and the attack and defense were reversed. When confronted with the Huns, the candidates realized that those black iron horsemen were simply murderous. Hun rangers are no different than toys in their hands, especially that leading martial general. Even the elite monsters were slashed one by one, completely killing mad. Whoa, what kind of battle power is this? Those soldiers are practically pushing across. You don't even need to put on skills. It's totally a slash. Crap, that leader just ripped someone apart with his bare hands. It's too violent. I'm just a kid. 
With the strong entrance of Dian Wei with the Tiger Leopard Riders, the Huns' encirclement was completely broken up. The candidates who were tired of defending themselves were finally freed from the Reign of Arrows and joined the battle. The battle is completely reversed and a full-scale counterattack begins. Imperial College High School Review Team The members of the scoring panel were in a huge uproar. 300 people actually turned the tide of battle. Their battle power is too terrifying. A completely crushing stance. The aura of this cavalry is even more ferocious than the one led by Su Chen. Wei Zhang listened to the scoring members praising Su Chen and nodded frequently from the side. He felt like he was witnessing the rise of an imperial star. Kill level 12 demonized Hun Rangers. Experience plus 496. Kill level 12 demonized Hun Rangers. Experience 478. Kill level 13 demonized Hun Ranger Bowman. Experience plus 511. Kill level 13 demonized Hun Ranger Bowman. Experience plus 532. Kill level 14 demonized Hun Ranger Warrior. Experience plus 3563. Swipe. Swipe like crazy. Su Chen was pleasantly surprised as he looked at the experience value that was clicking and growing on the panel. Dian Wei's speed of killing the enemy had already exceeded his own speed of killing the enemy with Xiao Yun, second only to Hua Zaiwei. Looking at the completely insane Dian Wei in his profession, Su Chen felt sympathy for those demonized soldiers. These guys happened to run into the muzzle of Dian Wei's gun angry at being lost, or else they wouldn't have been able to enjoy the deathly thrill of having their hands torn out of their mouths and chewed on. As an ocean of experience came pouring in, Su Chen who was on the march ushered in an upgrade. I didn't realize that I didn't even need to make a move myself, but Dian Wei's side was full of experience. It really is an upgrade like a drink of water. Level Breakthrough Su Chen opened the panel to check the attributes of the various military generals in the bumpy ride. First is Dian Wei. All four dimensional attributes increased by 500, breaking the 6000 mark. The number of tiger and leopard cavalry under his command came to 390, a direct increase of 40 soldiers in one upgrade. Second was Zhao Yun, with strength and spirit attributes in line with Dian Wei's, and agility breaking the 7000 mark. The number of white horse guards under his command came to 120, and the team that served as a battering ram had taken shape. Lastly, Hua Zaudi, the spiritual attribute was directly increased by 1, 0, 0, 0 points, and the rest of the four dimensional attributes were the same as those of Dian Wei. The number of great Han iron horsemen under his command increased by 60 at a time, and the number came to 460. In addition to the summons upgrades, Su Chen was also pleasantly surprised to find that the Shard Arcade had also received an update. Congratulations on entering the level 20 realm and unlocking a new item in the Shard Mall. Debris Mall. 5 pieces, designated general's weapon to be upgraded, level 20. Note, there is a chance of acquiring new skills after upgrading weapons. 10 shards, randomly obtain a vocational skill up to level 40, level 30. 15 shards, permanently transform a copy into your exclusive territory, level 20. 30 shards, randomly select a general card or a noble princess card, level 30. Subsequent functions to be unlocked. After checking the updates of the shard mall, Su Chan was pleasantly surprised. This update adds the option of upgrading your military generals. The weapons of the generals can be upgraded as well as gaining new skills with their upgrades. It certainly raises the potential of this team of their own again. Su Chan had a stock of 5 shards in his hand alone, and he wanted to try out what the effect would be after upgrading his martial weapon now. Who to upgrade though, right now everyone has more than enough combat power, and no urgent need for enhancements has been identified. In the middle of his thoughts, Su Chen switched viewpoints again to check the situation of the various routes. Longxi County Route, Golden City East City Gate. The vast army of Huns was killed without a single one left. Tainted blood is spilled all over the sad Gobi Desert. Two brigades, totaling 10, 000 candidates, only 7, 000 remain. That number would have been cut in half if Dian Wei hadn't killed it in time. Candidates who were not eliminated resumed hiding behind boulders and fortifications. Having learned from the last time, this time the captains also placed several sentry squads on either side of the group, lest the Hun soldiers in the city launch another sneak attack on them. For them, the fight is far from over. Although he managed to cut down a number of Hun soldiers, the Golden City standing solemnly in the distance remained half damaged. Auxiliary professions ran back and forth in the ranks to recover the injured candidates. The captains of the brigades regrouped at the front of the group, staring intently at the group of Dian Wei and the Tiger Leopard riders that had stopped a short distance away. My god, this team is just too much. Are they sure they're copy NPCs? It's not an NPC. It's my buddy Summon, Gao Zhang, who was standing at the edge, shouted. The crowd craned their heads to look at them, contemptuous glances on their faces. Brother, bragging doesn't have to be this embarrassing. Yeah, and you're good buddy. I'd say it's my dad's Summon. One man's eyes looked wryly at Gao Zhang. Returning your brother's summons, 
I used insight to see that those summons are all level 20. You're not going to say that your brother took the entrance exam at level 20, are you? Yeah, Gao Zhang said as a matter of course. Put, everyone around them laughed. Even the highest ranked candidate in the Haiyui province is only level 17. And your buddy is still level 20 for the college entrance exam. If you really want to be such a great buddy, why should any of us take the test and find a factory to work in? Back up. If this is a summon, why don't we see any summoners on the side? Bragging rights. The crowd disliked Gao Zhang with one word from you and one from me. Gu Xia, who was on the side, looked at him with slight sympathy. Su Chen's various deeds were so outrageous that it was only normal for people not to believe them. As the crowd laughed at Gao Zhang, the first captain interrupted them by exiting. You said it was your good buddy's summon, so you're coming with us to deal with it. You're in charge of explaining our plan of attack and seeing which one he favors more. The first captain handed a copy of the drawing to Gao Zhang with a trusting blow on his face. Now the crowd was no longer laughing openly, but gloating behind their backs. Although Dian Wei sort of saved the day, those horrific ways of killing his enemies really scared the crowd. This made everyone wary of Dian Wei, and none of them dared to come forward to engage. Now out of nowhere, a rash young man wants to act like a pussy, so it's a good idea to let him try whoever he wants. Ha! Huh? Gao Zhang hesitantly accepted the drawings, his face muscles twitching. He was actually a little scared of Dian Wei, but now he'd be sitting on the fence if he didn't go and he was bragging. I can go too. Gu Xia spoke up. Takamasa threw her a grateful look. I didn't expect Miss Gao Cole to be so righteous. The 390 Elite Tiger Leopard Cavalry were neatly arranged on the Gobi Beach. Dian Wei rolled off his warhorse and looked toward the city walls from a distance. The reason for not attacking first was that he had just used his skill to increase his soldiers to 390. Now waiting for the skill to finish cooling down in case something changes when they enter the city. As he was looking away, an intercession squad came up. There were a dozen or so people in the squad, led by the two first captains, followed by Gao Zhang Gu Xia as well as some squadron leaders. The two first captains led the crowd to Dian Wei and spoke respectfully. Hello, we are the candidates of the 11th and 14th brigades, and we are grateful for your help in the battle just now. When the brigadier finished speaking, Dian Wei did not reply but just looked at him condescendingly. Even with the presence of the gale force winds from the Gobi, the crowd still felt a deathly silence. Ah, uh, well, we have a team member to explain to you about the siege and see which one you prefer. The brigadier drew back in time to top Gao Zhang. Gao Zhang tightened his throat and slowly walked over to Dian Wei. He pulled a smirk and waved at Dian Wei. Hello, do you still remember me? I'm Su Chen's good brother ah. Uh. Dian Wei narrowed his eyes and looked Gao Zhang up and down. Don't know, get lost. Gao Zhan was petrified in place, and the people next to him thought of all the things they had been sad about in their lives before they managed to hold back their laughter. This dude has a tough mouth, and now the bull has finally blown up. Gao Zhan retreated inexorably back into the crowd and handed the drawings over to the others. Several male professionals went up one after another to try to explain the siege plan to Dian Wei, but they all returned without success. Dian Wei's face was becoming more and more serious, and the crowd could already faintly feel a murderous aura surfacing. Many people are starting to get discouraged, but they can't back out easily. Without convincing this NPC, it would be very difficult for them to attack the city. At the moment of crisis, Gu Xia took the drawings and walked up. She had just taken a few steps out of the crowd when the crowd sensed that the murderous aura around them had suddenly disappeared. Looking up, Jian Wei, who had just been frowning tightly, was now stretching his brows. A smile as warm as the spring breeze was on his face. What? Gu Xia didn't expect that Dian Wei's attitude towards himself would be quite good. I remembered that when I was playing a copy with Su Chen, he had said that he was a redhead. Without dwelling on it excessively, Gu Xia kept in mind his mission of going up. She spread out the drawings of the siege plan, on which three siege scenarios were planned. The first is to send a large number of men on both sides to feint to draw fire, and then send the main force to attack the gates. The second was to cover a group of assassin professionals to come under the city first and then attack the city in its entirety after they boarded the city to thwart the archers. The third is fire against fire, repairing the battle line forward, utilizing long-range professionals to consume the enemy archers, and then attacking the city. Gu Xia narrated the three options, and Dian Wei smiled and nodded on the side. The captains on the sidelines also thought it was a good idea, and it seemed to them that this official NPC was obviously very happy with all three plans. You know that the entrance exams don't come with useless conditions. This official NPC must have come with a quest for assessment in addition to giving help at critical moments. The fact that he's very happy with the plan means that they, the plan designers, get extra points. What do you think? Gu Xia finished explaining the three plans and opened his mouth to ask. Dian Wei nodded solemnly. Not bad. It's beautiful. The bespectacled captains were beaming. It was a compliment to the beauty of their plan. 
And your choice is? Gu Xia asked again. There are still options? Dian Wei's eyes lit up. The crowd was stagnant. Why did they feel that this NPC was not the same thing as what they were talking about? Gu Xia raised the drawing high and covered her face. These three plans of attack. Dian Wei frowned as he pulled over the drawing and looked at it twice then skimmed it on the ground. What garbage? You need a plan to attack a city? The crowd was stunned and their brains felt like they had been hit hard by a hammer. At the same time, Dian Wei's skill of summoning soldiers cooled down. Flying pigeon contact later. Dian Wei gave Gu Xia a gesture. And then with a wave of his big hand. A strong murderous aura resurfaced. Generals, charge with me. Amidst the earth-shattering roars, Dian Wei led the tiger leopard riders to charge out directly. The surrounding captains were dumbfounded at what was going on. Why are you going to kill them without saying a word? Is the official NPC so tigerish? He even charged straight to the front. How is this possible? It's useless even if we rush over. We can't open the gates at all. Isn't this exam a tactical test? How come the NPCs are charging brainlessly? In the eyes of the horrified crowd, Dian Wei led the tiger leopard riders straight towards the eastern gate of the Golden City. As soon as they entered the enemy's attack range, the arrows in the sky immediately shot over like a torrential downpour. Dian Wei held the rope with one hand and took out his halberd with one hand and kept swinging it to beat the arrows away. The tiger and leopard riders behind them directly took out their shields to fend off the long-range attacks. With the high mobility of the cavalry, the enemy had just shot the fifth wave of arrows when Dian Wei led his soldiers to the city gates. Without saying anything, he directly took out his city-breaking hammer and slammed it hard against the city gate. Boom! A hammer went down. And although it rang out strangely, the gates didn't change much. Dian Wei hummed and put all his strength into swinging another hammer to slam it. With a loud boom, rustling dust fell, and the gates remained little damaged. Cutting close to Dian Wei's perspective, Su Chen held his forehead inside. I told you to be a tiger. Now you've met a tough guy. The Golden City Exam Center fights a clustered siege, with tens of thousands of candidates at a single site. In order to avoid the candidates being able to easily break through the city, the defense attributes of the city gates must have been cranked up, while Dian Wei's attributes were certainly strong. They weren't strong enough to easily break through gates designed for thousands of people. Su Chen's mind flashed, just in time to try out the new item in the Shard Mall. Whether or not to consume five fragments to upgrade the weapon of General Dian Wei, the city breaking hammer, the panel popped up with a reminder, and Su Chen chose yes. A blue blow lit up and the five jade seal fragments in the backpack disappeared. Far away from the Longxi County route, Dian Wei was still swinging his hammer at the city gates. The captains saw that Dian Wei's breakthrough was blocked and were about to organize support. In the next second, the city breaking hammer in Dian Wei's hand glowed, attracting everyone's attention. The blackened city breaker hammer was surrounded by a blue halo of light, and was upgraded from the hammer handle. Weapon upgraded successfully. City breaking hammer, purple and gold hammer, purple and gold hammer, rare class weapon. Heavy hammer strike, passive increases the unit strength attribute value by 20%. Attacking sharp weapon, passive doubles the value of damage dealt to defensive instruments by 5 times. Successfully acquired a new skill. Thunder Hammer. Thrilling Thunder Tom Tom Hammer can only be used when holding the purple golden hammer consume mental energy to recharge the purple golden hammer. And the next attack will deal four times the damage of the strength attribute. Simultaneously creates a destructive blast within a 10 meter radius. Dealing equal damage to all units with a 5 second stun. And dealing 10 times the power attribute damage to all non-creature units. The upgrade was complete. And the original city breaker hammer faded from its black paint. Turning the whole thing into a bright silver color. The bright silver center was covered with cracks, in which a purple golden light flickered constantly. Looking at the newly acquired purple gold hammer in his hand, Dian Wei's expression immediately perked up. He immediately took two steps back, running his entire body to swing the giant hammer. The thundering Tong Tian hammer, enabling the skill, dark purple light exploded out of the hammer handle to converge on the head. The cracks in the head of the hammer seemed to come to life, breathing one after the other. The dark purple light continued to converge and expand. At its peak, Dian Wei slammed out against the gates. The purple gold hammer with its light surging up slammed into the wooden city gate like a comet. The 6000 point strength attribute came to 7200 points after a 20% bonus. Then after the seed sharpener 5x bonus comes to 36, 000, 000 points. Lastly, the smashing damage of the surprising thunder tomahawk hammer was increased by 4 times, dealing 180, 000 points of damage with one hammer. Boom! A muffled sound like thunder came out. The purple sphere of light that converged on the head of the hammer then shattered, and a purple golden light shook out in all directions dealing a second damage to the gates. Destructive impact. The damage of 180, 000 was again multiplied 10 times to 1, 800, 000 points. Boom. A shocking sound like a landslide came out. 
and the giant city gate that was more than 10 meters high continuously nourished cracks, the cracks grew longer and larger, and then with a thud the gate collapsed along with the towers on it, dust poured from the sky, accompanied by the wail of a giant collapsing, kill, Dianwei roared and led the tiger leopard riders to kill the city wall, leaving the candidates outside the city in a frenzy, crap, 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 he broke the city wall alone, what kind of terrifying battle power is this, it's awesome, it's so cool, finally we don't have to attack the city, ooh hoo, he got me wet with a hammer straight away, but we're the candidates, right, so why did the NPC break the city gates, and how did he break it with a single hammer blow, does that make sense, is that scientific, it felt like the markers thought we were too good and went straight down to help with the exam, amidst the mountains and seas, several captains stood in the distance, their eyes filled with confusion, tens of thousands of them fought for hours without doing any effective damage, this NPC flirted with a girl, then grunted and ran over and blew out the walls with a hammer, aren't they going to be tested on their tactical skills, why has it turned into an NPC performance show ahoy, Imperial College High School Review Team, there was dead silence in the tactical analysis room, the crowd gawked at the golden city gates that had been reduced to rubble on the screen, the hammer that Dian Wei had just slammed not only on the city gates, but also on the jaws of their hearts, crap dash, someone couldn't help but burst out, but this time no one felt strange, not even Wei Zhang, because their feelings at this time can only be expressed with these two words, this is a wall we designed to withstand an attack by 10,000 people, he blew it up with a single hammer blow, this Su Chen's martial arts is too buggy, it doesn't make sense at all, that's sick, a hammer straight up wets me, where is it wet, Wei Zhang shook his head repeatedly as he looked at the screen, it's over the top, it's horrible, a hammer breaks through a wall, what kind of horrible damage is that, and that warlord's weapon had clearly undergone an upgrade, it must have been Su Chen using some kind of prop or some kind of occupational skill from afar, this point made Wei Zhang feel even more somewhat terrified, just what kind of summoner can manipulate a summon across hundreds of kilometers, the highest level and most powerful summoner he had ever seen had a manipulation distance of only 10 kilometers, and Su Chen was actually able to manipulate summons across hundreds of kilometers and upgrade their weapons, where exactly are the boundaries of this profession, the difficulty in Longxi County lies in attacking the gates, with the gates broken, the battle afterward plummeted in difficulty, inside the city walls, Dian Wei had the tiger leopard riders kill into the city to confront the defenders, while he himself killed directly onto the city walls, those brittle archers on the city wall were like a sheet of thin paper in front of Dian Wei, a slap to the brain, Dian Wei was carrying his twin halberds and killing like crazy on the city walls, he doesn't cut the head at all, but just the waist, a halberd went over and cut off his waist, splattering his internal organs, Dian Wei killed all the way along the city wall, killing people with his twin halberds and smashing things with his giant hammer, when you encounter a single enemy, you directly slap them to death, and when you encounter a large number of enemies, you take your twin halberds and turn on the undisputed, when encountering taller citadels they are destroyed directly with the purple and gold hammer, it was like the descent of a demon god, and wherever it went, not an inch of grass could grow, while Dian Wei was slaughtering like crazy, Su Chen's side had also reached the third village exam point, Zhao Yun led 120 white horse boxers to kill directly into the village, both paths opened up for kills at the same time, and experience was pouring in frantically towards Su Chen, destroyed key nodes, Experience plus 5387. Kill level 12 demonized Hun Ranger. Experience plus 478. Kill level 13 demonized Hun Bowman. Experience plus 511. Kill level 13 demonized Hun Rangers. Experience plus 578. Kill level 13 demonized Hun Bowman. Experience plus 632. Kill level 14 demonized Hun Ranger Warrior. Experience plus 3663. Kill level 13 demonized Hun Bowman. Experience plus 532. Kill level 14 demonized Hun Ranger Warrior. Experience plus 3563. The experience bar grew by leaps and bounds. And at this rate, it was possible to break through even level 22. That's the power of hanging gleaming miles. The ability to multi-thread for level swiping. With the increase of martial arts generals later on, experience and leveling will no longer be a problem for him. Su Chen found a corner to watch the battle while analyzing the weapon that Dian Wei had just obtained. The power of the newly upgraded purple gold hammer shook Su Chen to the core as well. He didn't expect that after multiple layers of damage stacking, the purple gold hammer would be able to directly blast through the city gates. It doesn't do that much damage to biological units, but it's a stretch. In addition to the power, Su Chen also roughly knew the general direction of this weapon upgrade. This program is separate for each martial artist. After helping Dian Wei upgrade his warhammer, it would take 10 shards to upgrade his war halberd again, but
But to upgrade Zhao Yun's lance without being affected by Dian Wei, you also start with 5 shards. And this upgrade is largely adapted to martial arts upgrades and will also provide the appropriate skills. Originally, Su Chen thought that the 5 Jade Seal Fragments wouldn't bring much of a boost to the martial artist. But after watching Dian Wei's performance, a phrase surfaced in his mind. The tube is a good product. Dian Wei and Zhao Yun were hundreds of kilometers apart and killing at the same time. A steady stream of experience poured into Su Chen. In addition to the two of them, Su Chen also checked out the route that Hua Zhaodong had taken. Good lord. This look directly shocked Su Chen. Hua has led his troops across nearly a thousand kilometers. And looking at his march, there was not the slightest deviation from the main route at all. It's like a human GPS. It was a good thing that the route was long. Or else Su Chen felt that Hua Zhaodong had already passed this point. The yellow sands and the gobi are in full bloom. The sun was gradually setting. And the whole desert was dyed a fiery red. Like a boiling ocean. Zhao Yun's side was the first to end the battle, and Dian Wei's side was nearing the end. This wave of slaughter by the two directly caused Su Chen's level 21 experience bar to reach half. I'm afraid that it would be hard for anyone in this world to reach his kind of upgrade speed. As the sun was about to set, a copy message was displayed on everyone's panels. The first stage of the replica examination has been completed and the examination center will be closed soon. So please find the nearest supply point to spend the night as soon as possible. The first stage of the replica examination has been completed and the examination center will be closed soon. So please find the nearest supply point to spend the night as soon as possible. The first stage of the replica test has ended. It was displayed three times in a row and seemed to be very important information. Su Chen didn't expect that the college entrance examination would be divided into stages. And that supply points would be provided at night for the students to rest. He himself didn't really need to rest. After all, it didn't take much effort on his part. At night, though, even the test site would be closed, which meant that no more demons would be spawned. It's not impossible to take a break at the supply point if there are no demons. Su Chen called up the map and saw that the examination points were disappearing one after another. Instead, a temporary supply point springs up around the route. Closing the panel, Su Chen directly mounted Zhao Yun and set off. Imperial College High School Review Team. The battle on the screen petered out while the members of the scoring team didn't take a break. As with combat, Finding supply points and camping and resting is an important part of the test. Being able to camp and rest and recover quickly between high-intensity battles is one of the essential professional qualities of a professional. Later on, whether it's a big copy or an expedition to various Jedi, frontier battlegrounds, or even the Abyss, it's all about making long, long treks, not getting out in a day or two. When engaging in prolonged combat, the ability to rest and recover is just as important as the ability to fight, if not more so. In addition to taking breaks, bringing candidates together promotes tactical communication and tests their ability to learn and draw out information. Supply points will be randomly generated around the candidates so that all candidates are equally dispersed across the supply points as far as possible. Hey, there seems to be an error in the Wolverine route. A technician said, one resupply point was surprisingly generated near the Nanku Mountains. One, zero 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 kilometers away. One thousand kilometers? That's an outrageous mistake. I don't know what's wrong. The furthest candidates are only up to 180 kilometers now. How can they generate one at 1000 kilometers? Wei Zhang frowned. It was normal for a system as huge as the replica to have some errors. If it's three or four hundred kilometers he'll still check it. A thousand kilometers and he'll conclude that something is wrong. Ignoring the message, he waved his hand at the manipulator. How's the message editing going? Ready to send at the point. Settle it in ten minutes, the manipulator said. Wei Zhang nodded and looked back at the screen. After tonight is the second phase of the replica. Phase 2 will put in 3 heavy hitters in addition to the magic upgrades. 3 legendary pieces of equipment. Legendary equipment. It's not too much to say that it's a national treasure resource. No one would not want to obtain these 3 top-notch equipment. Once these 3 bombs were put in, the candidates would be facing more than just a demonic attack. There's also the falling apart of companions. Su Chen came to the nearest supply point. Supply points are much like campgrounds in the wilderness in that they are temporary shelters consisting of tents. After nightfall, the wind on the Gobi Desert was as sharp as if it had been laced with razor blades. There were already a lot of cars parked around the resupply point and some people had already arrived early. Tents are picked up at the supply point and then set up in a location of your choice. The location of the build is very specific. Choosing a lot with a leeward wind and good land structure. If you lack relevant experience, it is easy to get winded in such windy conditions. Hula. A tent standing in a wide area was destroyed by the gale, and the wreckage ran towards Su Chen. Wei Awa, our tent, a shrill female voice yelled. Thereupon a group of great lords scrambled to catch up. Bro, stop it. Su Chen dodged out of the way with a sidestep. 
The rotten tent rolled headlong into the blackness. He could summon Zhao Yun to stop the tent, but there was no need. That tent couldn't be more tattered. Wo Go, not even a little help. The boys who ran past Su Chen cast furtive glances at him. Su Chen walked straight to the camping area without turning his head. There are no single or double tents at the supply points. They are all multi-person tents. It looks like it's going to be collected as a squad. Su Chen didn't team up with anyone, and if no one let him into the tent he would have to sleep in a sleeping bag. It's not that a sleeping bag won't work, it's mostly the sand and noise. Hey, why don't you help? A small potato with a visual height of no more than 1 meter 5 stood in front of Su Chen. She crossed her waist with one hand and pointed at Su Chen while releasing the windproof barrier with her other hand. Her tone was one of entitlement. Where's Missy from again? Su Chen ignored it as usual, his eyes locking onto a tent hidden behind a boulder. Hey, do you have any manners at all? I'm talking to you. Seeing Su Chen walk past without turning his head, the girl crossed her arms in anger and jumped up in place. Piss me off, piss me off, bad man, I, and Kursen, remember you, after you. Su Chen pulled back the dust cloth and walked into the tent, shutting out the murmur behind him. It's kind of strange what those white horses are riding today. Everyone says it's a copy NPC, but again, the behavioral paths look like someone's manipulating them to me. An NPC with an independent personality? It can't be a candidate anyway. I actually ran into one today. Su Chen pulled the curtain and entered, and the conversation came to an abrupt end. Kibda, who happened to be interrupted in his speech, blushed profusely. Surprisingly, it's him. He was just about to say that he met someone with a fierce summoning aura this morning. Unlike G. Boda's shock, the rest of the dozen or so people in the tent had very flat eyes. It's been a night of not a hundred but fifty haphazard break-ins. But these people often see the formation inside the tent and are afraid to stay on. All of those seated in the tent were the first captains on the Dingsheng County route. It's a gusto that no ordinary person can withstand. The crowd calmly looked at Su Chen, waiting for him to exit on his own. But to the crowd's surprise, the man didn't seem to realize who they were. Surprisingly, after looking around the room, he opened his mouth to ask. Are there still empty seats? Su Chen said. The captains were a little surprised that this kid was so blind. Anyone who isn't intimidated by seeing such occasions has either seen a lot of big games or is a bit of a fool. G Boda in the crowd froze and looked at Su Chen. Right flavor. Seeing that Su Chen didn't seem to realize what kind of occasion this was, the leader, and Xu Young, coughed twice. He's the favorite among the favorites with the highest call to take the national top spot in Seaway. His profession was a summoning class rare profession. Known as the existence closest to a legendary class profession Ocean Messenger. Class, there are still empty seats. It's just that we'll be discussing some tactical intelligence or something in the evening, so it might interfere with your rest. A very official euphemism. Normal people are going to back off when they hear that. Su Chen nodded. It's fine. He said he just pulled out a sleeping bag, spread out on the floor and sat down as the crowd looked on in shock, bewilderment, and disbelief. Ha! Huh? Ji Boda broke out into a cold sweat when he saw Su Chen's maneuver. If and Xu Ayan continue to apply pressure, I'm afraid that terrifying Martial General would come out again. Although he didn't know exactly how strong Su Chen was, Duan Wei's aura still made his heart palpitate. Seeing that Su Chen didn't listen to advice, and Xu Yang could only secretly sigh, it's not a good time to have a seizure when your every move is being watched in an exam copy. Once the vignette was over, and Xu Ayan took the lead and the crowd resumed their discussion. Apart from the copy exchange, Half of the topics discussed by the crowd were about the white horse riding. Jibda had been checking Su Chen's face. He felt that the white horse riders were most likely Su Chen's summons, as several of the military generals had similar styles. But after observing for a long time, Su Chen always had a poker face. This made him gradually dismiss the speculation in his mind again. The white horse rider's strength was so terrifying. Wouldn't it be heaven defying if it was summoned by a candidate? Su Chen sat in the corner and pulled up the large map to check the positions of Dianwei and Hua Zaiwei. Huo reached the supply point early as instructed, while Dianwei was slow but making his way to the supply point. Just as he was checking the panel, the copy alert suddenly sounded. Copy of the National Professional Examination, Seal the Wolves. Phase 2. Starting a prairie fire, the Han Dynasty's offensive against Shan Yu enters its second phase, with all the major Xiongnu princes joining the battle, and the flames of war spreading across the entire desert. The second stage is the advanced stage. The level of the magical creatures in this stage has been greatly increased and large-scale boss battles will be triggered, so please be careful to deal with the candidates. Successfully defeating the bosses of each route will result in three items of legendary equipment in addition to a large amount of experience. Candidates who have been awarded legendary equipment will permanently receive that equipment if they successfully pass the level. The three items of legendary equipment are summarized below. 
Skill Base Legendary Item, Equipment that greatly enhances the strength of the summoner. Growing Legendary Armor, a piece of armor with unlimited growth ability. Held Legendary Weapon, Weapon with Legendary Skill. Please pay attention to teamwork. Tactical Execution. Play as well as you can. And good luck in your exams, declared by the Ministry of Education of Dili. Three items of legendary equipment. After reading the message, Su Chen's eyes almost spewed out golden light. Legendary equipment can almost be considered a national treasure. Internationally they can be called strategic resources. A copy of the high school exam is given directly. And three of them? One for each route. So wouldn't it be possible to take all three outfits together with a bit of luck? In his excitement, Su Chen made a point of looking up at the others. The eyes of the others between them all fell into a frenzy. This is a legendary equipment. The artifacts that anyone would want to acquire. The eyes of the crowd immediately returned to calmness after a brief frenzy. The sound of discussion in the tent ceased and was replaced by a deathly silence. The appearance of this message made everyone an enemy. Imperial College High School Review Team. The scoring members murmured as they watched the candidates who were going straight crazy on the screen. Worthy of being legendary? Those three words are heavyweight bombs wherever they are placed. The country has really gone all out this time. To directly produce three legendary equipment? Can't you see that you have to pass to get it? No one has ever passed in the history of the high school. Let alone this time it's a copy of the war. Yes, the pass is impossible to pass. Just pray that these students can experience the feeling of holding a divine weapon in their hands. Shit, why am I not a candidate? I also want to experience the feeling of using a divine weapon once. Wei Zheng stood quietly on the sidelines, taking in the performance of the candidates as they heard this news. The three divine weapons were nothing more than a gimmick. There was no way that the country would actually hand over legendary weapons to fledgling students. The artifacts are also only one part of the test, and it is the most important test of humanity. As you get higher in level, weapons become more and more rare. Sometimes a dozen or so people go through the trouble of beating a copy, but the final boss will only pop out a divine weapon. A dozen people put in the effort and only one ended up profiting. No matter how many treaties were signed beforehand, no matter how good friends they were before, the moment you see the artifact appear again, the greed in human nature will spill out. Rare and supreme level weapons would cause a hundred people to fight, let alone legendary level weapons. This test examines the student's mental reactions when faced with great temptation. If you attack a fellow player for selfish reasons, you will suffer a serious point deduction. In order to lure out as much greed as possible from the heart, the Empire had deliberately mobilized three legendary great weapons to conduct the test. The reason Empire went to all this trouble wasn't to see a better show. Rather, they want to amplify the crowd's reaction to them and analyze them in detail. This test is not an empty one, but an everlasting pain for the Empire. Fifteen years ago, a Class 80 supergiant channel was born in the capital of the Sea Gateway province. It was an emergency, so the Empire directly sent four of the most powerful legendary level professionals at the time. The four legend-ranked professionals exerted their power together and quickly pierced through the passageway, causing the abnormal conditions in the surrounding area to gradually disappear but they defeated the demons but not their hearts. The four were divided into two teams because of the legendary grade demon and fought. It ultimately led directly to the fall of a legendary level professional. Two professionals who had captured the artifacts defected from the empire and joined neighboring organizations directly. This incident cost the empire three legendary level professionals, and the country's power instantly slipped to the second tier. Therefore, in order to prevent similar tragedies from happening again, the empire deliberately added a link to the college entrance examination. Be prepared to uncover people with faulty mindsets as students and find ways to make adjustments or just give up. Wei Zheng stared at the screen, his eyes filled with an expectant light. What happens next? Will these candidates surprise or frighten them? General Wei, the first stage ranking calculation is complete. Is it being sent? The manipulator handed a leaderboard to Wei Zheng. Above are the top 100 rankings for each route in phase 1. One of the Dingxiang County routes was undoubtedly Su Chen, while the other two routes were both candidates from Haihui province. Points for summoner kills were also accumulated on the summoner, so Su Chen's score was the sum of all three lines. Release, Wei Zhang said after a general sweep. Conference room of the Provincial Hall of Zhengdong Province. All the top administrative and military brass of the province are sitting together. On the screen in front of them was about to show the first stage of the rankings. Is that kid really as strong as you say? The governor of Zhengdong Province said. Zhang Yunfei nodded slowly as he sat on the side. Student Su Chen will definitely be the honor of our Zhengdong Province. Since Minister Zhang is so certain, we'll wait and see. The governor smiled and sipped his tea. The other high-ranking cadres in the room also smiled in disbelief. It's not that they don't want Zhangdong province to be good, except that its resources at all levels are almost always ranked in the lower middle class. 
Now that a genius who had crushed the nation's candidates had suddenly appeared out of nowhere, it was hard for them to believe for a moment. Zhang Yunfei didn't say much. He knew that Su Chen would use his grades to ruthlessly hit the faces of those of them who didn't believe in it, just like he did during the mock exams. Buzz. The screen flickered and three fluorescent colored leaderboards appeared. Under the Dingxiang County route, Su Chen's name was at the top of the list. Good good good. The governor put down his teacup and clapped his hands excitedly. The senior cadres around him also applauded with wide eyes. It really took first place. My Jiangdong province has produced such a genius. Zhang Yunfei had long since gotten used to Su Chen's shock and smiled as he applauded from the sidelines. The Longxi County route has 60, 000 candidates. The Wolf Jushu route has 30, 000 candidates. And Dingxiang County has the whole 70, 000. Su Chen stood out in one of the most crowded routes. Truly a heroic young man, the governor couldn't help but marvel. If it hadn't been divided into three routes, it would have been 160, 000 people together. I believe Su Chen is still able to take first place as well. Zhang Yunfei said at the right time. Well, 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 the governor was beaming. I hope Su Chen can win the championship in one fell swoop and bring back the first national scholar for our Jiangdong. It would be a great honor for a province if it could produce a legendary or national level powerhouse. Aside from the glory, there are countless benefits to the development of a province. Now Su Chen had undoubtedly become the expectation of the entire Jiangdong province's top management. A luxury hotel in Haihui province. How come the Dingxiang County route has been robbed of its top spot? The governor of Siwei's province looked at the super large screen and said, It shouldn't be. The Dingxiang County in the center is in Xueyang, our strongest candidate. The man on the side said, It's not a big problem. This is only the first stage. Count the man's luck. And Xueyang will catch up later. Yes. The other two routes took first place, and were solidly in the top spot again this year. After listening to the analysis of the people around him, the governor then nodded and said, Now I'm afraid that these boys will be affected by the legendary weapons. Ha ha, no it won't. Someone spoke up. We are all famous families out of the Seaway province, and we have grown up with wide eyes and a lot of insight. Legendary weapons definitely have the least impact on us. It's those other bumpkins that have the biggest impact. Then we'll see how they behave. The governor said slowly. As night fell, Su Chen didn't choose to sleep but meditated. There will be a sneak attack by the enemy on the Golden City side, and the supply point will be a possibility. After three legendary grade weapons appeared, Su Chen's somewhat weary heart regained its caution. Regardless of the purpose behind it, he wanted to take all three of these legendary grade weapons. You have to go all out if you want to take all three pieces of equipment. This is a legendary equipment. Any one of them could make a person go against the grain, let alone three of them. This time, he would definitely go all out. If you dare to give it, I dare to take it. After a sleepless night, this time the copy did not have the phenomenon of demonic creature sneak attacks that Su Chen had expected. Early in the morning, a piercing message tone poured into everyone's ears. Copy of the National College Entrance Examination. Phase 2 has begun. Please prepare yourselves. Hearing the beep Su Chen opened his eyes and realized that there were many people in the tent who were just like him, all with the meditative state on and no sleep. It seemed that he was far from the only one who wanted to have an idea about legendary grade equipment this time. Su Chen packed up his equipment and got up to leave. Although the crowd had woken up, none of them cared about Su Chen's departure, because Su Chen was not considered a competitor in their eyes. The targets they needed to be wary of were the other captains in the tent. If we were to say which gears were most affected by legendary equipment, it would have to be their elite tier. The candidates at the bottom simply didn't have the opportunity or strength to touch the legendary equipment and wouldn't have thoughts in their hearts. And as their group of elite candidates were the most capable of taking down the legendary great equipment, the competition between them became ever sharper. It was obvious to the naked eye that they would analyze each other's copy information before the news was released, and then they all shut up after the news was released. Their internal enemies were even more terrifying than the external enemies of the demons. Su Chen stepped out of the tent as the dawn hung in the distance. The sunrise over the Gobi is also so dreary and reveals sadness everywhere. One by one. People came out of the other tents as well, and Su Chen walked straight into the distance. After coming to a huge stone block, he raised his hand to summon Zhao Yun. Last night, when I heard them discussing it, it seemed like they were all treating Zhao Yun and the White Horse Riders as NPCs. This is what Su Chen did not expect. The original training copies were all still able to guess that they were summons. Now, because the martial arts generals and soldiers were too powerful in battle, it caused the crowd to not believe they were summons at all anymore. After a thunderous surge, Su Chen rolled onto his horse. Whatever anyone else's guesses were, that wasn't something he would consider. The only goal in his mind was to become stronger and do things that only the strong could do. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks or says. 
As he was about to set off, a noise came from behind him. Crap, crap, big brother you're an examiner? We were wrong, it wasn't on purpose last night. Brother spare me, I'm an idiot, don't deduct my points. Su Chen turned to look. Under the boulder hid the group of candidates who chased the tent last night. He had originally wanted to find a place where no one was looking for a low-key summoning, but he hadn't expected to walk into someone else's face. The short Missy in Kursen hid behind the male candidates, her head lowered and full of embarrassment. Who understands the family? The man who cursed last night turned out to be the examiner who summoned the white horse to ride. Ignoring them, Su Chan and Zhao Yun left towards the distance. A copy message also came through the panel again. National Career Examination. Tingxiang County Route. Phase 2. Level 3, Le Shui Yen Ran. General Zhao Xian of Izzy Shan Yu's army is stationed at Yen Ran Mountain. Please make every effort to capture him. Here we go. The second phase of the battle. Su Chen released white horse riders in all directions, then relied on the map in his mind to constantly fix the route forward. At the same time he observed the other two routes. Dian Wei's cursor hadn't even begun to move yet, and on the other side was Zai Wei. Nice guy, he's only 2 kilometers out, and Hodgson's side is already pushing out 50 kilometers. Is this the speed of a hasty march? At that speed, it would be impossible for the candidates on that route to catch up. That means that Hua is a solo brush all the way. In that case the legendary equipment for that route would have to be Hua's. Thinking of this, Su Chen's eyes brightened slightly. Theoretically, he already had a piece of legendary equipment in hand. After being slightly energized, Su Chen quickly calmed down again. While going it alone can be a surefire way to get the gear. There are downsides. Boss battles are definitely world bosses generated according to the number of candidates. Will Hua be able to take down the boss without the participation of the other candidates? As soon as the query came out, Su Chen quickly dispelled his thoughts again. The protagonist of this route is Hua Jiwei. If you can't even take down Hua Zhaodong then who else can? While he was thinking, news of the enemy's attack came from Hua's side. It was so quick to encounter the enemy. Su Chen quickly cut his viewpoint over. The sound of iron hooves running poured in and ended with 460 Dehan iron horsemen running through the desert. The formation they put up was a long attack formation like a lance, which was able to drastically increase the team's movement speed. Hua went first. His body bent low his eyes looking straight ahead, where the desert met the sky in the distance. A black figure appeared. It was a single demonized Hun soldier with a curved sword and a black aura. Much different from the first stage, this group of soldiers no longer rode horses, but a giant wolf. The inside spell hits. Enchanted Hun Wolf Cavalry. Rank, 16. Power, 400. Agility, 600. Spirit, 400. Body Mass, 500. Skill, Bloodthirsty Wolf. The first thing that came up was a level 16 demonized soldier. This grade has exceeded 99% of the candidates in the replica. Not only were they ranked, but the aura of these demonized wolf cavalry was also a lot more ferocious than yesterday. An incomparably vicious light was released from the eyes of those seat wolves that were bigger than horses. Hocus Pocus has 6, 0003 D points in addition to spirit. The Great Han Iron Horseman is one fifth of what he is, or 1, 200 points. The attribute points of the opposing wolf cavalry were already close to half the attribute points of the iron cavalry. And they're not just 460 in number. Looking around, the group of demonized wolf cavalry numbered at least 5. 000. Looking at the team that was as ferocious as a wave in the distance, Su Chen couldn't help but feel his heart tighten as a spectator. With no other candidates in the battle, Hua needed to lead his troops straight into the face of these 5. 000 enemy troops. Su Chen wanted to teleport over to unleash the Imperial Mighty Vastness right now, but he didn't have the chance. Now we can only rely on Hua Zhaoyi to see how he can defuse this crisis. Su Chen held his breath and quietly watched the battle through Hua Zhaodong's perspective. Hiss ah. The ferocious hissing of the seat wolves traveled along the desert, and the distance between the two armies became smaller and smaller. Hua looked straight ahead with electric brows. After the enemy stepped into a range, he raised his hand and bellowed. Detour formation. Split formation. The 460 Great Han Iron Horseman split into five equal columns at his command. Variant Detour Formation. A formation that boosts a soldier's ability to fight alone. The two sides drew further closer as Hua raised his hand. Strike. As soon as the order was given, five columns of Iron Cavalry rushed out in a fan shape towards the front. Hua went first, leading the middle way of the Iron Cavalry to charge forward. Seeing Hua split the formation, Su Chen's eyes glazed over. Sure enough, facing a large number of enemy troops, Hua did not choose to attack head-on. As a general star of the Great Han, winning with less was exactly what he was best at. The gale was raging and yellow sand was in the air. In the midst of the wind and sand, Hua Zaiwei leads the Iron Horsemen of the Han Dynasty to face their rivals from thousands of years ago once again. Turn. Hua's voice exploded in the desert. 
The five columns of Han Iron Horsemen made a turn the instant they were about to hit the Hun's line. There was an instant shift from a straight charge to a horizontal march. Two columns to the left, two columns to the right. The huge five, zero 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 strong contingent of the enemy was instantly divided into three regiments. Split formation, was shouted again. The two columns of cavalry drew away the enemy while splitting up again. One column continued to draw the enemy horizontally, while the other slowly decelerated to break away from the line to break into the enemy by flanking. The Han Iron Cavalry with twice as many attributes and enhanced by a single soldier was completely unstoppable after stabbing into the enemy line. The two regiments on the flanks utilized split formations to disperse the enemy's forces, all the way in the center. Huadizi took the Iron Cavalry and met them head on. His eyes were like electricity, and the lance in his hand swung with a hunting sound. The great Han Iron Horsemen are here. Giggle. Huazaiwei led the charge into the enemy lineup once his lance was out, meeting the enemy charge head on. In just a single glance, dozens of Hun soldiers were swept off a large area. With his super high attributes, Huazaiwei moves from side to side, not seeking to kill the enemy, but only to completely disrupt the enemy's charge. The charge of the wolf cavalry all the way in the center collapsed under Hua's disruption. The 90 great Han iron cavalrymen following behind Huazaiwei wielded their machetes and frantically hacked away at the slowed down wolf cavalrymen. While Hua Zaiwei kept charging through the enemy army, he also kept commanding the two sets of soldiers on his flanks. Under his adjustments, the original tactic of attracting the enemy all the way and entering the enemy formation to slash and kill all the way changed again. The column of cavalry that had attracted the enemy kept splitting off soldiers and killing the enemy from the flanks in single file. After a few rounds, the Hun wolf riders were surprised to find themselves without a target in front of them. The cavalrymen who were supposed to be charging against them were now all rushing inside their ranks. The iron cavalry that killed the enemy's interior maintained the same advance as they did. The enemy could no longer charge them and could only watch as the soldiers in their ranks continued to dwindle. One way in the center with attribute points to force a break, and two ways on the flanks with tactics to defuse the rush. The strongest wave of the enemy's charge was perfectly neutralized by Hua, and his momentum was instantly decimated. Soldiers of the three routes were frantically hacking and slashing their way through the enemy ranks, doing their best to widen the battlefield. The experience from the enemy's death came towards Su Chen like a waterfall. Killed level 12 demonized Hun Ranger. Experience plus 496. Kill level 16 demonized Hun Wolf Cavalry. Experience plus 736. Kill level 16 demonized Wandering Wolf Cavalry. Experience plus 736. Kill level 16 demonized Hun Wolf Cavalry. Experience plus 721. Kill level 16 demonized Wandering Wolf Cavalry Warrior. Experience plus 1036. Kill level 16 demonized Hun Wolf Cavalry. Experience plus 736. Across Hua Zaiwei's perspective, Su Chen marveled repeatedly in his mind. This is the general of the Great Han. Unafraid of the strongest enemy, courageous and resourceful. These several rounds of Hua's command seem simple but every step has been planned. First of all, there were a whole five, zero 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 people on the other side. If the two armies continue to engage in a frontal confrontation, your side, although numerically superior, will be crushed by the enemy army in numbers. So the first step is to avoid a frontal charge by the enemy. Who was seemingly simple two splits perfectly staggered the enemy's charge. The iron fists of the enemy troops on both sides were like hitting cotton and could not exert any power. All the way in the middle, Hua Zaiwei was directly using his physical body to open up a group, forcibly dispersing the enemy's charge. One brave and one splendid. The perfect general's panel. The experience continued to pour in and the fight wasn't over yet. A wave of encounters had just taken place, and the enemy army had lost at least three, zero 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 men. However, the second stage being a high level of the high school exam, the demons won't be the only ones with this strength. Soon, Su Chen realized that the battle situation had once again changed. After the Hun soldiers were hacked to death, the seated wolves beneath them did not disappear together. Losing their command, they attacked the soldiers as if they were crazy. Bloodthirsty war wolves, Su Chen thought about the skills in the enemy's panel. This is not an active skill, but one that is automatically triggered when a soldier dies. Now the soldiers caught in the enemy army need to face the double attack of the seat wolves and the enemy army. If it was one or two seat wolves, the soldiers could still resist with their attributes. But the more they killed, the more seat wolves that surrounded them. If it continues, your side is likely to be depleted. In the face of the change in the battle situation, Hua did not give any orders and let his soldiers harden themselves against the enemy's attack. Su Chen was slightly puzzled. Hua Zaiwei must have noticed the change in the battlefield. Why didn't he make any adjustments? The soldiers can't withstand the combined attack of the wolves and the army. And soon there is massive attrition. The next operation of Hua Zhaodong was even more confusing to Su Chen. 
Instead of pulling out his soldiers, he told them to simply ignore the wolves' attack and focus on attacking the Hun soldiers. The wolves serve as the main output, and ignoring the wolves' offense can quickly lead to total annihilation. Just as Su Chen thought, after ignoring the wolves, the soldiers began to undergo a massive attrition. They were practically trading lives one on one with each other. What is this? Su Chen exclaimed in shock, but quickly stabilized himself. There must be a reason for Hua's maneuvering. Who else could be trusted if not him? The attrition of soldiers grew faster and faster, and in less than 10 minutes, less than 100 of the 460 soldiers were left. It was at this time that Hua Zaiwei waved his lance and killed the enemy, running towards the distance. Is it? Su Chen seemed to have guessed what Hua Zaiwei wanted to do. Hua charged all the way to the very edge of the commanding heights. He stopped where he was and looked away from the crowd of soldiers fighting. The number of soldiers was still dwindling, and just as it was about to drop into single digits, Hua Zaiwei activated his summoning skill and 460 brand new Great Han Iron Cavalry appeared at his side. And at this point the two armies redrew a distance of several thousand meters. Formation, extermination formation, Hua put on a roar, his brows sharpening. The 460 Great Han Iron Cavalry formed a sequential row, forming an arrow-shaped extermination formation. At the commanding call, the imposing Iron Horsemen charged the enemy with all their might. The Iron Cavalry under the Extinction Formation received a large increase in damage from ramming, and once again killed the enemy like a torrent of steel. This time the opposing army was no longer a charging formation commanded by soldiers, but a pack of mindless seat wolves. They are quite numerous, but they cannot form a formation like an army. No wonder the front was doing its best to cut off the soldiers. It was a long time ago that he had thought of ending the battle with an extermination formation. This time there was no change in formation, and Hua led the Iron Cavalry to meet the enemy head on. A single wolf was certainly ferocious, but it was no match for an army in formation. Boom! The two armies collided, and the remaining forces of the enemy army were mercilessly crushed and instantly pushed across. Wherever the Iron Hoofs go, there are no bones left. Experience gushed out like a waterfall as Su Chen's experience bar rose crazily. Kill level 16 demonized Hun Wolf Cavalry. Experience plus 736. Kill level 16 demonized Seat Wolf. Experience plus 754. Kill level 16 demonized Seat Wolf. Experience plus 722. Kill level 16 demonized Hun Wolf Cavalry. Experience plus 721. Kill level 16 demonized Seat Wolf. Experience plus 783. Kill level 16 demonized wandering wolf cavalry warrior. Experience plus 1036. Kill level 16 demonized hun wolf cavalry. Experience plus 736. After three more consecutive charges from the fold, the seat wolf pack was broken up at full strength. Hua left some of them to hunt down the remaining seat wolves, and continued on with the other part of the cavalry himself. There was no stopping at all, and both decision making and fighting were as swift as lightning. Su Chen cut back to the viewpoint. This wave just now had almost filled his level 21 experience bar. In addition to Hua's strong command, it was also thanks to the fact that the other side surprisingly had soldiers and mounts that could brush up their experience once. Killing a soldier gets you a round, and killing a seat wolf gets you another round. The other candidates would have felt heartbroken if they had fought the wolf cavalry, but Su Chen felt very close to the wolf cavalry after seeing Hua fight. Because they are the equivalent of a 2x experience pack, a party of 5,000 people gave allowed him to absorb the experience that only 10. 000 magical creatures had buzz the sound of the horn pulled su chen's thoughts back and a large area of black smoke appeared in front of him while watching was performance his own side reached the enemy's quarters level information triggers dingxiang county route phase two enemy forces have stockpiled large quantities of supplies in each of their garrisons be careful to infiltrate and burn the granaries each grain silo burned down will greatly reduce the enemy's strength remember to alert the enemy as this will invite an attack from the enemy's main force. Su Chen opened the map, which showed a total of five locations where the enemy army stored food. Their mission was to stealthily sneak in and burn the granary. Surprisingly, it's a dive into the link. Su Chen has done a great deal of research on infiltrating this operation. Based on my experience playing the game in my previous life, there are three levels of infiltration. Following an infiltration route, avoiding all sight of enemy troops without being detected. And completing the mission in this way is called a low-level infiltration, not taking an unusual route, using strength to dispose of enemies in the way of the route without being detected, and completing the mission in this way is known as intermediate infiltration. An infiltration that enters through the front door openly and kills all the enemies that find themselves is known as a perfect infiltration. It's called a perfect infiltration because having finished killing people means that it's impossible for anyone to find them. As a perfectionist, Su Chen naturally chose to dive in perfectly. Unsurprisingly, 
If you kill all the enemies in this garrison you will be able to break through to level 22. I thought that I wouldn't be able to break through level 22 until the end of the high school copy, but I didn't expect to be able to welcome the breakthrough so soon. He raised his hand and waved his hand, allowing Zhao Yun to set off towards the enemy's compound. He was not the first candidate to arrive at the site, there were already candidates surrounding the site. They would have come from closer to the supply point, not too many of them. After the first stage of screening, 160, 000 candidates were eliminated by nearly half of them. These numbers do not include the number of lost candidates. The number of candidates who can take part in the battle in the examination hall now should not be more than 80, 000 people. Candidates on his route in Dingxiang County suffered the greatest loss. It has gone from 70, 000 at the beginning to less than 20, 000 now. Outside the compound, the first captains who had arrived from various other supply points were gathering to discuss countermeasures. They had previously sent three consecutive rounds of assassin teams in to scout. The garrison within this garrison has been ascertained. Next they'll have to pick the team to infiltrate. But picking infiltrators the crowd found very tricky. While the copy description is to burn the granary, the exact maneuver is to destroy the granary with damage. The granary has a separate and very thick blood bar. And they have to destroy it while making as little noise as possible. This puts the infiltrators to a great test. Too many people can easily be detected. And too little people operating for too long can also enhance the probability of being detected. They have to strike a balance between the two and also take into account the skill attributes of the infiltrator. It also doesn't make sense if the skill is too obvious. After several rounds of screening, the brigade commander settled on an infiltration team of 200 men. And the route forward and some of the eye candy that had to be disposed of were worked out in detail. They only had one chance. And if they were discovered and allowed the enemy to send out an alert, the mission would be considered a failure. Failure not only deducts points from everyone in the current garrison, but also causes the main enemy force to attack early. The captains were chosen carefully because of the dire consequences. Just as they had decided on a candidate, they suddenly heard a rumbling sound coming from their ears. Imperial College High School Review Team. Entering the second phase, the attention of the scoring members of the crowd became more focused. The quality of magical creatures possesses a substantial increase in this stage. On the Longxi County route, the candidates were already preparing to attack the second city, Wu Wei, Tingxiang County route, and the candidates are ready to infiltrate the various enemy garrisons. Two routes are progressing very normally. It's the third route that has been slow to come in. Wei Zheng had sent someone specifically to monitor the specifics of Wolf Jushu's route. How's it going? Why has there been no sound from the third route? Wei Zheng said. The manipulator shook his head in bewilderment. It's strange that the third route's magical creature is set to refresh only when the candidate approaches. The spearheads have now all reached a distance of 300 kilometers, but there has been no large-scale battle triggered. In all the time I've been watching, I've noticed only a few sparsely populated enemies along the way. After listening to the description Wei Zheng frowned, arriving at the location but not triggering the brush mechanism, is there something wrong with the copy? Just as he was about to inspect it himself, someone suddenly shouted. What does this Su Chen want? Everyone's attention was attracted as Wei Zheng quickly switched the big screen to Ding Xian County. Everything passed, only to see Su Chen's white horse marshal general carrying his soldiers to charge towards the garrison. The aura wasn't about infiltrating at all. It was about attacking this garrison. What is this for? Wei Zheng's eyes widened. Didn't he see the word infiltrate on the mission panel? The crowd in the observation room had been dumbfounded, not knowing which set Su Chen was playing. Hey hey hey, telling you to dive and didn't tell you to just go for it. The mission requirement is to keep the enemy from discovering it. Charging in like this is surely going to be ruled a direct failure. It's flipped over. This time Su Chen is going to flip over big time. Diving in and being discovered not only will he lose points, but also all the candidates within this station will lose points. This is a big mistake. The captains looked alarmed when they heard the buzzing of horses hooves coming. How come? How come there's so much commotion coming from it? They clearly told the team to be as stealthy as possible. Did the enemy fight it out? The captains rushed out of their makeshift tents, searching for the source of the sound. Crap, what's going on here? Someone exclaimed. The crowd followed the sound and only saw a group of white horse cavalry that appeared out of nowhere charging towards the enemy's compound. Crap, what the hell? Fucking stop. What are you doing? Several captains rushed towards the white horse riders with faces full of terror. If they were allowed to rush in like that, the enemy would surely pass on the intelligence and the mission would fail outright. High nut wall. Frost field. Draw the ground. Various movement restricting skills slammed into Zhao Yun and the white horse boxer. However, there was no way that the white horse riders could move too fast, and these skills couldn't even touch their tails. It's over. Looking at the white horse riders rushing towards the enemy, the captains held their heads and exclaimed in shock. 
The infiltration plan that had been carefully planned and prepared for so long had been destroyed by a group of reckless people just like that. Failure of the mission will deduct everyone's score, and the score deducted for them as captain will be even higher. It's likely that this wave of demerits will cause them to miss out on the top colleges. Who the hell started this offense? His crime is punishable by death. The main entrance to the enemy compound. A dozen sentries patrolled the makeshift walls. Soldiers in the garrison are divided into sentries and guards. The sentinel men hold a horn, and simply allowing them to blow it is tantamount to mission failure. And in addition to the sentries, war drums were set up at intervals on the walls. All troop types can pass on information by beating the war drums when they find a target. Sounding the drums of war naturally means failure of the mission. The main entrance boasted a dozen or so sentries, and if one dared to show the slightest break here, they would surely be detected instantly. Of course Su Chen knew this, but perfect infiltration meant going through the front door. Hula hula, like the wind. Zhao Yin appeared on the main road in front of the main gate carrying the white horse rider. Such a licentious offense was instantly caught by the sentries, all of whom went into alert mode. The commander at the head of the group immediately rushed to the war drums on the city wall. Just as he was about to sound the war drum, a sharp arrow broke through the air. Giggle. The arrow pierced through the commander's body and nailed him directly to the war drum. The other sentries saw this and immediately took out their horns, before they could put them to their mouths. A dense rain of arrows whistled in the sky. Whoosh. A dozen sentries were instantly annihilated. Kill. Zhao Yin put his bow behind his back and flashed his silver spear to kill directly into the compound. Su Chen micromanaged through God's view and quickly captured the bearings of where all the sentries in the camp were. The 120 white horse riders were out in full force, heading straight for the positions of the various sentries. The first step is to deal with the sentinels who are ready to blow their horns. Countless sharp arrows traveled over the garrison, and the screams were endless. The white horse riders were so skilled with their bows that they hardly missed, and the sentries would be shot immediately just as they picked up their horns. Kill level 15 demonized hun sentinel. Experience plus 536. Kill level 15 demonized hun sentinel. Experience plus 597. Kill level 15 demonized Hun Sentinel. Experience plus 513. Su Chen maneuvered the white horse rider to keep weaving in and out, and soon killed all the sentries in the compound. After disposing of the sentries, the only thing the enemy could still send out an alarm was the war drums. The second step is to guard the war drums and kill any guards who try to use them to send a message. As soon as the order was given, all of the dozen or so war drum transmission points in the camp were found by the white horse riders. Su Chen assigned five white horse riders to watch at each drum point, three with bows and two with guns. The remaining dozens of white horse riders roamed around the compound as a maneuvering force, relying on such a configuration. The entire compound quickly fell under Su Chen's control, as long as their means of transmitting orders were intercepted. The remaining defenders, no matter how numerous, would be nothing more than turtles in a jar. Imperial College High School Review Team After watching Su Chen's operation, all the scoring members were flaxen and dumbfounded. This thing infiltration warfare is for you to fight like this is it? Geez, what kind of brain could have come up with that? I've been invigilating exams big and small for over 20 years, and I've never seen anyone pass the forward barrier like this, locking the sentries and occupying the drums, a set of maneuvers running smoothly. Su Chen's command is also terrifying, and he seems to have stormed in since, without even doing a resident reconnaissance. It's too much. Is this really an operation that a high school student can accomplish? Wei Zhang stood on the sidelines his face full of joy. This operation of bursting into the enemy's quarters allowed him to discover yet another one of Su Chen's terrifying abilities. Having this kind of calm thinking and judgment, even if one transitions out of a normal profession, it wouldn't be too bad. As a legend-ranked professional, he had been defeated by ordinary professionals many times on his path of growth. That was why he had always believed that there was no strongest profession, only the strongest professional. And Su Chen might just be a superposition of the two. Outside the Tingxian County garrison, the captains were still angrily looking for someone in their ranks. They want to find the culprit who has undone their efforts. Where did those people come from? Did anyone see them? There is a prize for those who report it. Everyone must identify that person. Fucking animal. If you have the guts to do it, you don't have the guts to admit it. Come out here. Who the hell did this get the hell out of here? The captains gathered all the team members to try to find out who was behind it. One of the bald captains even cursed. The other members of the team are also outraged to learn that someone has sabotaged this mission and are desperately trying to find that person. Just as the crowd was getting angry, a reconnaissance team returned from the direction of the compound with a shocked look on their faces. Da, da, the captain. That, those guys, finished killing the people inside. What did you say? Several of the first captains jerked back. Those white horse soldiers are killing indiscriminately inside the compound. 
They finished killing the sentries and are now occupying the drums to slaughter the remaining defenders. Massacre. The captains were filled with shock, unable to believe their ears. This is a stage 2 demon. How dare you use the word slaughter? Moreover, the group just now was barely over a hundred people. So how could they have slaughtered an enemy army of thousands? While being puzzled, the captains suddenly realized a problem. That is, the mission failure prompt never appeared. It was reasonable that the group of white horse soldiers should have quickly sent out a message that the mission had failed when they were discovered, but they've been in there so long, and there's been no hint of it until now. Is that it? The crowd rushed towards the garrison, and just as they walked through the doorway they saw a field full of enemy corpses. Blood was splattered and broken limbs were all over the ground. This, this, this. The crowd was filled with horror. It was really a massacre. The bald head who had just been cursing immediately burst into tears. Biggie, I just rambled. You're a big man. Don't take it to heart. Seeing that the sentinels had been eliminated, the captains of the house with their candidates joined the battle. A large amount of war power poured in, and the enemy's compound fell completely. With the white horse rider's frantic kills, Su Chen's level 21 experience bar filled up again. The upgrade light pillar lit up from Su Chen's body, successfully breaking through level 22. The speed is nothing short of terrifying. If it was left to ordinary professionals, this level 21 to level 22 would take at least a few months or even half a year. And Su Chen had only used a day and a half to make two consecutive breakthroughs. Su Chen didn't realize that he was the biggest beneficiary of the college entrance examination reform adopting the war copy. If there were no copies of the war and so many enemy troops, there was no way he would have upgraded so quickly. Su Chen opened the panel to check the upgrades of the crowd of military generals. Dian Wei's four-dimensional attributes came to a terrifying six. 500 points. Many of the demons in the copy have attributes that don't even exceed a fraction of Dian Wei's. Now that's what I call true attribute crushing. The number of tiger leopard cavalry under Dian Wei's command came to 430, successfully breaking through 400. Next is Zhao Yun, whose four-dimensional attributes also receive a huge increase like Dian Wei's and the number of white horse boxers under his command reaches 140. Lastly, Hua Zaudi, the spiritual attribute was directly increased by 1, 0, 0, 0 points, and the rest of the four-dimensional attributes were the same as those of Dian Wei. The number of Dehan iron horsemen under his command increased again by 60, and the number came to 520, a number that loves you. In addition to the attribute boost, the system also popped up a prompt. This tip even made Su Chen's eyes light up. Detecting Su Chen approaching level 25, the copy will open up the Emperor's sacred item option when level 25 is reached. Complete the task according to the task requirements and collect the corresponding Emperor's holy relics to obtain the Emperor's template. You can transfer to another job with the Emperor template when you reach level 30. Unique Imperial skills will be unlocked according to the Imperial template after successful transfer. Please upgrade as soon as possible. Good luck! Transformation task? Su Chen was shocked in his heart not realizing that his profession could still undergo a second turn. All professions are able to take the second turn when they reach level 30. Second turn, which means making a second transfer. This is the moment when many ordinary professionals go against the grain. Unlike the randomness of turn 1, turn 2 will possess a great deal of tendency. And as long as you complete the transfer quest through the second turn, the odds are that you'll be able to get a more powerful profession. For example, if an ordinary mage professional makes a second turn, he or she may be able to transfer to a profession such as Storm Mage or Purgatory Mage. Ordinary Warrior Profession for the second turn. You can transfer to the Holy Sword Knight or Bloodthirsty Warrior and so on. The worse the initial profession, the more likely it is that a professional will receive a profession advancement when they make their second turn. And it's possible for a professional who is already a rare profession to transfer out of a powerful profession. Now more than half of the legendary class warriors in the Empire appeared in the second turn. Although their paper strength was not as good as a professional who was initially a legendary level, they were still the top combatants in this world. It can be said that the second transfer is like the examination in the previous life, a chance to upgrade your education again, while the second turn is certainly valuable. There are many professions where the second turn does not exist. The prerequisite for being able to successfully turn two is to also have a more powerful career in your career type. Most hidden professions have basically no chance of a successful second turn because they are not systematic. There were also professionals whose initial professions were legendary, and there was no chance for them to advance further. Because of these two reasons, Su Chen had always thought that he didn't have a second turn. After all, the only profession in this world that is going to be more powerful than the emperor is probably the Jade Emperor. Now the system had unexpectedly reminded him that the opportunity for a second turn also existed for the 9 to 5. But this second turn is different from the second turns of other professions. The other professions would completely change a profession and Su Chen's second turn would still remain emperor. However, 
After the second turn it will fuse the emperor templates of all the generations of Chinese emperors and gain the corresponding imperial level skills. Emperor Template. Intense anticipation rose in Su Chen's heart. Just what kind of imperial template will you get? Great China. A thousand years of history. Hundreds of emperors. From the first emperor of the ages, Ying Zheng, to the foreign puppet Pu Yi of the Qing dynasty. Hundreds of emperors have witnessed the rise and fall of China for millennia. Su Chen's mind kept turning over the history of his previous life, and an emperor surfaced in it. Along with the longing in his heart, his desire to upgrade rose once again. Leveling up to level 25 unlocks the Emperor Template quest, and leveling up to level 30 allows you to transfer. He couldn't wait to witness the majesty of that thousand-year-old emperor. Closing the panel, Su Chen switched between the perspectives of the many white horse riders. There were not many defenders left in the garrison, and there was little to be gained by further fighting. He raised his hand and waved it, directly retrieving all the soldiers. The sneak mission is over and it's time to head to the next enemy compound. The captains in the compound froze as they watched the white horse riders disappear. Why did the big guy just leave? The warehouse hasn't even been destroyed yet. Doesn't he want mission reward points? Is it possible? He's not even close to that score. Okay. Like, his summons killed almost half the enemy troops in the camp. This is just too strong to be true. Is it a real candidate? I originally thought he was a copy NPC too, but which copy NPC operation would be this outrageous? It's too terrifying if it's a candidate. Who else can grab a legendary grade weapon from him at this strength? Imperial College High School Review Team. Scoring members focused on the performance of the candidates, constantly recording their scores. Time passed and the second stage of the battle was nearing its end. Dingxiang County Route. A total of four sites. Su Chen's mastery of infiltration technology has broken through two places. The other two missions without Su Chen's participation all failed. In one place the candidates also triggered a large enemy attack and were almost completely wiped out. On the Longxi County route, Su Chen's military general led the crowd in a horizontal push. Those cities couldn't resist his giant hammer smashes. Compared to Dingxiang County, the loss of candidates in Longxi County was not too great. Lastly, there is the wolf juxtaposition route, which continues to be very strange and confusing to the scoring team crowd. The advance guard of the candidates had already entered the depths of the desert, but they still hadn't encountered any large-scale demons. Wei Zheng had already asked for instructions from the higher-ups. The response from above was that there could be no problem with the copy and to have them check it again. Wei Zheng's mind was full of doubts. It was impossible for the copy to have problems. Could it be that there was something wrong with the people? General Wei, Jochuan City on the Longxi County route has been broken. The third level is over. A member of the team said. Wei Zhang nodded. The candidates from Dingxiang County and Longxi County had all passed the third level one after another. Next up is the second half of the second stage. The fourth level of the replica. Candidates will trigger a boss fight at this level. And three legendary weapons will drop here. Lock onto the Dingxiang County route. Wei Zhang spoke. Su Chen's route was the first to complete the third level. So they should enter the fourth level first. The scoring members were glued to the big screen. Not wanting to miss any of Su Chen's performance. Buzz. 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 Alarms went off in the observation room, a sign that a boss fight had been triggered. Coming, coming, the crowd exclaimed. War copies were originally internal copies of the military. Most of the examiners had also never seen a war replica boss battle, so they looked a little excited. After a brief moment of excitement, doubt reoccupied their minds. The big screen showed that Su Chen was still rushing and hadn't entered the boss territory at all. Isn't Su Chen the fastest? Who else would be able to trigger a boss fight if not him? Switch to the Longxi County route. Wei Zheng shouted, if it wasn't for Su Chen this Dingxiang County would only be Longxi County, but Longxi County has only just passed the third level, so how could a boss battle be triggered so soon, there was no time to think about it, and the manipulator switched his view to the Longxi County route, boss battles are critical and there are a lot of score minus nodes, so they have to be pushed every step of the way, seeing the image displayed on the big screen, the scoring members were all dumbfounded, there was still no boss in the screen, Longxi County didn't trigger a boss fight either, but that's not the thing that leaves the scoring members speechless. What they were speechless about was the magical maneuvering in the screen. The screen shows 400 cavalrymen, each carrying a student on the back of their horses. And these candidates are all female students. That Su Chen's military general is even more outrageous. He's got two on his mom's back. One in the front and one in the back. It's a college entrance exam. What are you doing? Switch the wolf route. Wei Zheng held back the 10,000 words of Mamma Mia. Although it was absolutely impossible. There were none in Dingxiang County or Longxi County, leaving only this route. The maneuverers cut to the vanguard of the Wolverine's route, still surrounded by yellow sand and not a trace of the enemy. General Wei, there's no Wolf Jushu route either. The other two don't have it. So how could the Wolverine route have it? 
How did none of those three routes set off the alarm? It's not like the alarm system is broken again, is it? That so much can go wrong with the entrance exam. Buzz, buzz, buzz. The alarm in the observation room was ringing nonstop, and the red light kept flashing. The crowd of scoring members were in a state of confusion. People wondered why the alarm was triggered without even seeing the boss's shadow. Everyone was guessing which part of the process had gone wrong, and the technicians were full of people checking their instruments. Wei Zhang's brows were locked, and thoughts surged like mad in his mind. Something's not right. This route has always been wrong. There are a lot of suspicions, a lot of questions, but they have been ignored. Disappearing military generals, out of scale demons, black and sand, and supply points generated thousands of miles away. Wei Zhang shuddered. He was taken aback by the conclusion he came out with. Really? Could it really be that much of a stretch? Large map scouting view back. Wei Zhang bellowed. The clamor stopped immediately, and the manipulator adjusted the lens as Wei Zhang requested. The view on the large map moves backward along the copy route. Everyone was staring at the screen with dead eyes. They didn't know what Wei Zhang wanted. Camera pans back they've done before with absolutely no luck. What's the point of doing it again now? The camera quickly moved out a few hundred kilometers and the screen was white with no sign of life. Keep moving back, Wei Zheng said. The manipulator was full of doubts, but still carried out Wei Zheng's instructions. The camera is moving fast and has moved out over 500 kilometers. General Wei, what do you want to see? The manipulator wondered. Keep moving, move until I say stop. Wei Zheng ordered forcefully without explanation. The camera continues to move quickly across the vast desert. 600 kilometers, 700 kilometers. Wei Zheng's face was full of seriousness, and the scoring room was horribly quiet. They had never seen such an excited Wei Zheng before. As top-tier powerhouses, their emotions were often beyond stable. What exactly is it? What is it that can cause such strong emotional swings in even a legend-ranked professional? 800 kilometers. 900 kilometers. Wei Zheng clenched his hands into dead fists. If his conclusion was right, then it was about to appear. 1,000 kilometers. The camera stops a full one. 000 kilometers beyond the advance guard. Staring at the big screen, everyone was dumbfounded. Buzz, buzz, buzz. The ear-piercing alarm bells in their ears rang incessantly, constantly swimming in their heads. How is that possible? How can it be? Everyone was a buzz. Everyone was holding their heads in shock. On the screen, 1. 500 kilometers from the starting point. In the middle of a dead vast desert, hundreds of red dots have appeared. How is it possible? How is it possible to run 1500 kilometers in less than a day? That's not right. Could it be that those crippled demonic armies on the road are what's left of their kills? This, this is too much. They only have about a hundred people. They triggered that supply point thousands of kilometers away yesterday. Two, we completely ignored it. What kind of terrifying battle power is this? We're still looking for where the person is, and he's already hit someone's house. Blanche, this side is still in the line. What kind of operation is it that you pushed the crystal? It's too much. It's still human. Zoom in. At Wei Zhang's command, the big screen kept drawing closer. In the midst of the dusky desert, the crowd saw the group of cavalrymen in red armor. The 500 cavalry stood above the desert like a prostrate lion. The camera continued to close in and the crowd saw the general who was at the head of the group. It was the very same military general that Su Chen had sent into Wolf Jushu's route. His eyes were like electricity, and his eyes pierced through the desert like arrows to cast at the Hun troops in the distance. Even through the screen, the crowd could feel the stern aura he emitted. Wei Zhang's clenched hands loosened and he let out a long breath. Surprisingly, he did guess. This almost impossible conclusion turned out to be true. As they questioned where that military general had gone, he has crossed thousands of kilometers to kill the enemy en route. Is this really just a summoner? How come all of Su Chen's martial arts generals are so exaggerated? This one doesn't feel weaker than the other two at all. In a way, this side seems even more terrifying. It's not that the martial artist is strong alone, but the whole team is strong. Yeah, this team looks like a complete unit, and the aura is so overwhelming that you can't even breathe. Can they win the fight though? Although they are charging fast, they don't have any other candidates to support them at all. Yes, although Su Chen and Zero One Martial General were powerful, they both worked with the candidates to complete the level. While this side could only fight alone, the previous levels are still justifiable. But if 400 people pass a copy boss set at the intensity of 30,000 people, that's too much. Wei Zhang was silent, silently staring at the young Martial General in the screen. That military general looked about the same age as the candidate. But the aura he exuded was huge. Staring into those eyes, Wei Zhang seemed to see a teenage lion, hibernating in the middle of the desert, vowing to tear apart any enemy that trespasses on the territory. Despite the disparity between the two sides, Wei Zhang suddenly trusted this martial general in front of him completely. 
for no reason, he felt that the person in front of him could not possibly fail. Wolverine Route, Phase 2, Level 4, Seal the Wolves, Xiong New General Zhu Xianwang set up an ambush on the route of Wolf Jushu Mountain. Candidates are requested to join forces to overcome it. Defeating the boss will earn you a legend and a prop. The boss battle information appeared, and Su Chen saw through Hua Zhaoyi's perspective that armies were being continuously generated in the distance. The densely packed enemy troops converged together like a black storm. Nervousness surged out of Su Chen's heart. I have to say, this fight was just too difficult. This time, not only were there boss battles and a large number of elite level demons, even the level of normal demons had come to level 18. When the level of the demons reached the level of 18, it would be difficult for the Great Han Iron Cavalry to kill them quickly in seconds. And not only did the level increase, the number of demons also came to an exaggerated 10. 000. These 10. 000 men were more than just a single troop type like the wolf cavalry that could be dealt with using just one tactic. They were a mix of ranger wolf cavalry plus ranger archers, and with the elite level generals who commanded them, the group could be considered very well rounded. While the difficulty factor of the enemy increased exponentially, Wu's force was only 520 men. If Dianwei Jiayun was all there, coupled with the imperial might, Su Chen felt that he could have a fighting chance, but now there is only one person, Hua, and not even any other candidates. Can this disparity in battle still be bridged by command? Imperial College High School Review Team. Everyone in the conference room held their breath, silently observing what was going on in the screen. In the distance, thousands of demonic creatures had been generated, radiating a monstrous aura. As expected of a boss battle, the number of demons is too terrifying. Traveling archers, wolf cavalry, and elite monsters, this troop pairing is also perfected terribly. How should we fight now? Not to mention that they only have 500 people. Even if we let all the remaining candidates of that route join, I don't think we have much chance of winning. I think we should retreat for now, and wait for the other candidates to come up before we start the battle. Will this warlord retreat? How come I don't think he looks like he'll retreat? It's dangerous if we don't retreat. It's possible to lose the whole army. The atmosphere in the scoring panel was tense to the extreme, but Huo remained looming on the screen. How will he fight? Wei Zheng stares intently at Huo Zaiwei in the screen. Inside the replica, at the bottom of Wolf Juxtaposition Mountain, the Iron Horseman of the Great Han stood quietly on top of a sand dune, and Huo Zaiwei was at the forefront of the group, looking out at the great mountains in the distance. For some reason something touched his heart with an indescribable familiarity. Buzz. The horn of the enemy's attack had been blown, and like a tidal wave of Hun soldiers began to charge. At the same time a bow and arrow shot into the sky. 10,000 arrows. The enemy's attack has begun, and the battle has begun. Huo moved his eyes down to rest on top of the army, his eyes gradually becoming stern. Formation, split formation. The great Han Iron Horsemen split into four columns under Huo Zaiwei's command. Retreat, Huo spoke out again. 500 great Han Iron Horsemen reversed direction on command. Huo Zaixiao took the lead and retreated at full speed with the Han's Iron Cavalry. Retreated, the members of the scoring group exclaimed. They didn't expect Su Chen's military generals to actually retreat. I'm sure it's better to retreat. This wave of enemy ranks is just too difficult to handle. To think that it would even retreat according to the situation. The summon even knows tactics? Finally reaching their limit. I had thought that Su Chen didn't have a ceiling at all. While the retreat was the right decision, it always felt a little removed from expectations. Yeah, I was all set for them to suddenly explode in a wave and finish off the enemy army. It's good to have retreated. It's preserving strength and not losing face. Wei Zheng ignored the words of the scoring group his eyes looking straight at the fast-moving Hua Zaiwei in the screen. Although the enemy is strong, is it really just a retreat? This behavior didn't quite fit the image of Su Chen's military general in his mind. Nope. Wei Zheng's eyes flickered as he discovered the end. The retreat didn't even have to split the group into four columns. Was it tactical? Does this military general even have the ability to dispatch troops? Hu hu. 500 iron horsemen ran wildly through the desert, with the enemy army in deadly pursuit behind them. In just 10 minutes, the two teams had withdrawn nearly 10 kilometers from the battle site. What came to the flank of the group from the lead position as the group retreated. As he retreated, he kept checking the enemy's position. After a few precise observations, Hua gave the order again. Get out of formation. As soon as the order was given, the four columns that were originally marching in unison gradually dispersed. Hua led three columns to form a long attack formation, gaining a speed bonus and charging out quickly to the front. The three columns moved forward quickly running out a few kilometers before beginning to turn. Hey, he's circling back with his troops. What is the meaning of this? If you want to fight, don't you just fight, and split off some of your men. Doesn't this make it harder to fight back with only three teams? What kind of tactic is this? 
Are you making me laugh? Shut up if you don't understand, Wei Zheng shouted down. Look at the enemy formation. Most of the scoring members have no military background and are virtually blank on the tactical side of things. After Wei Zhang angrily shouted, the conference room fell into silence, but the silence was soon broken once again. My god, what happened to the enemy formation? Only on the big screen, the enemy's originally 10. 000 strong imposing force had already split into several segments over a dozen kilometers of route. At the front were the wolf riders, in the center were the rangers, and running at the end were the ranger archers. At this moment, look again at the route of advance of the troops led by Hua Jiawei. He led his troops in a large circle around the flank avoiding the first two groups heading straight for the traveling bowman unit. No way. Was this all expected of him? He's not retreating, he's utilizing the enemy movement speed gap for auto-tearing. My god, the summoner really came up with this tactic, then isn't he smarter than us? This is horrible. This is horrible. Phew. Extinction formation. Hua Ziwei let out a roar as the three columns of iron cavalry charged towards the enemy's wandering archers. Faced with the sudden appearance of cavalry from the flanks, the enemy roving archers were in disarray. Hua didn't even give them a chance to pull back and shoot arrows. Kill. Hua Zaixiao took the lead, whirling up his Hua family spear and charging straight into the enemy line. The wandering archer troopers met Yang the wicked wolf to a pack of wolves, constantly trying to distance themselves from the iron riders. But it simply wouldn't work with their movement speed. The lightly armored rangers in the front realized that their rear was lost and immediately turned to support them. But it was simply too late. They were at least five kilometers short of the rear. Crisp swim archers in front of the iron horsemen are like grass. A touch is dead. Countless blood spurted out and fell into the dry desert. Watching Hua Ziwei lead his troops to wreak havoc on the enemy's rear, the conference room was completely thrown into a frenzy. Everyone couldn't believe that this miraculous tactic came from a summoner. Wei Zhang stared at the screen and murmured, Genius. Genius tactics. Wei Zhang's heart was beating frantically. As a soldier who has climbed from combatant to the position of general, he knew best the horror of this operation of Hua's. All the tactics in the world boil down to use your strengths to attack your enemy's weaknesses. And Su Chen, a military general, had undoubtedly utilized his advantages to the extreme, facing enemy troops that are well configured to interoperate with each other. Instead of panicking, he made a methodical retreat. Create stratification over long distances by utilizing the slight movement speed difference between troop types. Then, when the enemy is unable to support you in time, use the great detour tactic to take the lead in eliminating the enemy's back row. The tactics were simple to break down and explain, but Wei Zhen was well aware of the difficulties involved. The first is knowledge of the enemy's various armies. It was impossible for a summon to have an insight technique, and neither of Su Chen's other two martial arts generals had demonstrated any relevant skills, so they could only use the naked eye to observe in the midst of an engagement with the enemy. The warlord had obviously noticed the slight disparity between the movement speeds of the enemy's troops in previous battles. Keep in mind that all three troop types in the fourth level are level 18 and they all count as cavalry, and the difference in movement speed between them isn't too great. It would be almost impossible to tell the difference between them if they were only making a run for a short distance. Only by putting in long distances does the gap between them become more and more apparent. And what a terrifying observation to be able to spot their differences with the naked eye in a short-range battle and use it to make tactical arrangements. In addition to the difference in movement speed, he was well aware of the enemy's claiming range. If the whole army had made a great detour, the enemy would certainly have been close behind so he had one team attract the enemy, while the other three teams accelerated forward to get out of the range of the enemy's claim and then made a big detour, perfectly bypassing the enemy ranks. It could be said that this tactical arrangement had been almost no less than a decision made by the higher echelons of their military department, and they are completely crushing them at the tactical execution level. Terrifying tactical ability. No wonder Su Chen sent him into this most difficult route. Kill level 18 demonized Hun traveling archer. Experience plus 1036. Kill level 18 demonized Hun traveling bowman. Experience plus 1011. Kill level 18 demonized Hun traveling archer. Experience plus 934. Kill level 18 demonized Hun archer patriarch. Experience plus 2223. In less than 10 minutes, 2000 Huns traveling archers were routed by Hua. Experience gushed out crazily, constantly filling Su Chen's experience bar. Was this the style of a genius general? Su Chen murmured in his heart. There was no recklessness or timidity in the face of a force dozens of times their own. Instead, it's a retreat, a lightning execution, and a blow by blow. Su Chen recalled the tactics again, keeping them firmly in his mind. These are the wisdom of the Chinese forefathers, the true essence of Chinese civilization. The 2,000 traveling archers were no longer a fighting force. And what was to be done with the remaining 8,000 enemies? When the Hunlance Rangers rushed back, 
All that was left for them was a desert infused with blood. Huo led his troops to withdraw immediately after killing the large force of traveling archers, once again pulling out of the enemy's claiming range. He was like a ghost hiding in the shadows, and no one knew where they would appear from. Suddenly, a group in the general rear came within scouting range, and the Hun rangers immediately caught the message. Led by the Hun elite, the four, 000 rangers charged in the direction where the enemy troops appeared. In the big front, four, 000 wolf cavalrymen clung to the iron cavalry ranks in front of them. As the fastest moving troop type, they possessed a locomotive power that was nothing less than that of the great Han iron cavalry. Kill. Just as they were in hot pursuit, a roar that seemed to tear through the heavens rang out. Immediately afterward, a man wielding a lance killed his way in from the back of the group, and behind him followed two teams of imposing iron cavalry. The wolf cavalrymen who were running wildly could not defend themselves against the attack from the rear unless they stopped and turned. The wolf cavalry officers were dumbfounded, completely unable to comprehend why a team had appeared behind them. They had clearly been following those teams. Crap, the wolf cavalry officer was once again dumbfounded. In the time it took to turn around, the group that was originally fleeing ahead had already killed from the flanks. Kill the wolves, Hua ordered. Learning from the last time, this time he targeted his attack on those seat wolves. If a soldier is killed, the seat wolf triggers bloodlust mode and becomes even more ferocious. By stabbing the seat wolf directly, you'll be able to avoid this. The life value of the seat wolf was much higher than that of the soldier, and two or three shots would not be able to take care of it. So Hua told his soldiers to attack towards the torso or legs of the seated wolf. The goal is not to kill them, but to incapacitate them. He was going to make these wolf riders walking chickens without mounts. Giggle, giggle, giggle. The Dahan Iron Horsemen raised their lances and kept stabbing and killing in the enemy formation. Each shot out took down a seat wolf. It won't kill them outright, but it will incapacitate them. Those Hun soldiers who lost their mounts would leave this cavalry battle forever. Even if they didn't die. The four, 000 wolf riders were dead or turned over in a chaotic mess. The other four, 000 rangers were still struggling to catch up with the group that Su Chen had split off, all unaware of the battle being fought by the advance guard. Imperial College High School Review Team. My goodness, it's group combat again. This last level is completely broken up into several smaller levels by him. It's too terrifying. This group of 10, 000 people can't form a match at all. This decision to kill Battle Wolf first is also perfect. He simply knows the weaknesses and strengths of these troop types like the back of his hand. Fuck. If I was one of these Huns I'd shut myself up on the spot. I'll just surrender on the spot. What's the point of playing when your bottoms are all over the place? Wei Zheng kept shaking his head, no longer able to find words to describe this martial general. It's safe to say he's in complete control of the situation. You can't pick any faults in either the tactical arrangement or the judgment of the enemy and us. Even though the test wasn't over yet. He already wanted to give him a perfect score. He was already imagining what the scene would be like when Su Chen appeared on the battlefield carrying these military generals. What a spectacle that would be. Within the replica, after nearly half an hour of killing, the 4000 wolf cavalry team only had soldiers left, or remnants of soldiers. After resolving this side, Huo led an attack on the last of the rangers. After a bit of maneuvering, the number of rangers also began to plummet. And after plummeting to a certain number, the copy panel popped up. Boss Battle Trigger, Demonized Kings with Xian of Xiangnu descends, Legendary Props have appeared Golden Banner of Heavenly Sacrifice, Candidates are asked to work together to kill and complete the mission, Imperial College High School Review Team, Seeing the Legendary Equipment appear, Everyone got excited, This was National Tier Equipment, And most of the ordinary professionals just knew that this type of equipment existed, Many professionals spend their entire lives without being able to see the power of Legendary Great Equipment with their own eyes, I didn't expect legendary great equipment to appear so soon. The golden banner of heavenly sacrifice. What exactly does it do? Based on the name it feels like it's a prop that has the ability to command a team. My god. There are no candidates competing with him in this route at all. Wouldn't Su Chen be bound to win this legendary prop? Let's not talk about whether or not there's any competition. I think it's very likely that Su Chen will take all three items of legendary equipment. My god. It's really possible. Su Chen seems like he really has a chance to take all the legendary great equipment. Don't jump to conclusions. Let's see if he can get past this one. And rightly so. How can you break out the champagne before you've even fought? Sacrifice of the Golden Banner. Wei Zhang's eyes trembled slightly. Unexpectedly taking out props of this level. This is the most important equipment in the frontline battlefield. And its effect can even reach the purpose of turning the battlefield. Suddenly, Wei Zhang thought of a problem. That is... The above choice to put in three pieces of legendary equipment was made without knowing about Su Chen's existence. Wei Zhang was present when this proposal was finalized, and he also agreed to the entrance of the legendary weapons. 
This was hardly an objection at the time, because we all know that even if some candidates do get through the various route boss fights and get a legendary weapon, the copy's true final level also defeats them and reclaims the weapon. Wei Zheng thought so at the time, but now he wasn't sure. If all three legendary grade weapons were obtained by Su Chen, it was truly possible for him to take down the final boss with his strength. What happens if you do pass? Wei Zhang was a little afraid to imagine it. How exactly will the military brass handle the aftermath? Sacrificial Heavenly Golden Banner? Su Chen felt that the name of this legendary great equipment was very familiar. He retrieved the memories of his previous life and realized that it should be a holy relic of the Huns. Faced with the first legendary grade weapon in his career as a professional, Su Chen became a little excited. From Hua's perspective, he could already see a dark shadow being generated in the distance. The huge black shadow possessed a height of nearly 10 meters and exuded a black fury. The black breath gradually condensed and took shape, and a hideous and gruesome giant head appeared. This was followed by a strong chest with a necklace of human heads hanging in front of it. Finally the lower half of his body's black chi came together and took shape. It wasn't a human's lower limb at all, but a horse's, much like the centaurs of western mythology. Howl. With a roar, a giant black longbow appeared in the boss's hand. Su Chen sent an insight spell at the boss. Demonized General, Kings Wu Xian of Xiangnu, World Boss, Rank, 18, Power, 50, 000, Agility, 5000, Spirit, 40, 000, Body Mass, 60, 000, Skills, Soul Chasing Arrows, Chain Soul Chasing Arrows, Void Jumping, Soul Chasing Arrow, Releases a Penetrating Magical Arrow in the Specified Direction, Hitting the Enemy will Deal 50, 000 Points of Real Damage, and the Hit Target Cannot Be Restored revived, or summoned until the end of the copy. Chain Soul Chasing Arrows, releases three Kuchuan 2 magic arrows in a fan-shaped area in front of you, each of which will deal 3,000 points of damage when it hits an enemy, and the hit target cannot be restored, resurrected, or summoned until the end of the copy. Void Jump, shoots a teleportation arrow into the sky, which can instantly teleport when it lands. This panel strength, Su Chen marveled in his heart, simply powerful to terrifying. It had been a long time since he had encountered an enemy that surpassed the attributes of a martial artist. This time, the world boss's various attributes were nearly ten times as much as Hua Ziwei's. With such a horrific attribute gap, even a single flatty shot would be instantly secured. Not to mention skills. It's difficult. Su Chen muttered. I'm sure it's still hard to get legendary equipment. Imperial College High School Review Team. Seeing the boss attributes, everyone sucked in a breath of cold air. Worthy of being a world boss? This attribute makes it impossible for me to fight for the rest of my life. It's too much. This damage is killed by a random rub. I reckon that's the end of it. No more fighting. Yeah, this is going to be a real homecoming if we keep fighting. Wei Zhang laughed lightly as he stood on the sidelines. Instead, his heart was filled with anticipation compared to the worries of the others. World bosses are scary, but they're not completely flawless. And what that martial artist was best at was catching others in a flaw and then hitting them hard on their weaknesses. So he looked forward anticipating just how Huo would handle this battle of disparity. A true warrior is not unafraid of difficulty, but rises to the occasion even in the face of fear. Huo cast his eyes into the distance. The demonized Zhuo Xianwang, who was covered in a fierce aura, had already made his appearance. He could feel that powerful aura, could feel that thick killing aura. This is no simple enemy. Retreat, Huo ordered with a wave of his hand. The iron horsemen regrouped at his command, using their speed to distance themselves from the few thousand remaining rangers. The opponent's weapon was a longbow, and it was obvious that they possessed the means to kill from a long distance, so they could no longer tangle with the rangers. Not long after the iron riders left, the entire space began to tremble slightly. Huo looked from afar and saw that King Xuxian was drawing his bow. As he drew his longbow, a violent energy gathered in front of it. Zip! The energy condensed into a giant magic arrow. That arrow was incomparably thick, and its body continuously gushed outward with black-purple breath. Hiss ah! The whistling sound of an arrow being released and tearing through space came out. Boom. The arrows weren't directed at Hua Ziwei's group, but at those remaining Hun rangers. The magical arrows flashed by, and all the objects that stood in the way of its advance were instantly turned into ashes. With just one arrow, the entire 1000 rangers who were standing in a dense position were reduced to death. Waste. The left virtuous king roared lowly in a deep voice, and his voice spread throughout the entire desert. Giant magical arrows cut a crack in the desert setting off a wild sandstorm. This scene, which was like a natural disaster, came from the hands of the world boss, having been killed by half of them with a single arrow from King Xuxian. The Xiongnu wolf soldiers were instantly thrown into chaos. The remaining rangers instantly broke up and fled into the distance in panic. This action stunned the members in the observation room. 
Why would demons attack their own soldiers? Is this a copy setting? And why are those soldiers running away? Do the minions still have a fear value setting? Wei Jing took the fear of the crowd in his eyes and did not make an exit to explain. Most of the people invigilating the exam here are civilians, and the highest level is only 30. This low level can only know some common sense knowledge, and in-depth knowledge of the replica is definitely lacking. The matter about magical creatures having an autonomous consciousness had long been a consensus among senior professionals. When the strength of the demons in the replica exceeds a certain stage, they will develop an autonomous consciousness. All of these realizations seem to come from the same world they were called to, regardless of those realizations. Demons with self-awareness will be very tricky. This is because they will no longer follow the copy setting and use a fixed mix of skills. Instead, they will be unpredictable, depending on the opponent's constant switching of offense based on the battlefield. The creation of consciousness is accompanied by a great change in their thinking behavior, etc. They don't necessarily simply attack the professional, but generate other behaviors. There have been times when magical creatures have compelled professionals to try to learn detailed information about this world. As Wei Zhang pondered, a scene appeared on the screen that caused the crowd to gasp. Inside the copy, King Xuexian finished shooting the rangers and then turned to look at Hua Ziwei. The moment he saw Hua Ziwei, his pupils suddenly shrunk and the expression on his face was instantly hideous. Han, upon hearing those two words, Hua Ziwei, who was leading his troops in a flanking detour, had a slight tremble in his eyes. Something came to mind. It's been a long time since I've heard anyone yell those two words. How can a mere Han Chinese set foot on our land? King Xuexian drank. Something else welled up at the sound of those words, as if struck in the soul, the fragments of memory in his mind began to reorganize, a scene of past memories kept flashing back in his mind, the battle of desert south, the recovery of Hoshi, the battle of desert north, seal the wolves, drink the horse from the vast sea, a quick flashback of a short, brilliant bang, and his hand shook slightly as he tightened his grip on the reins, I am Hua Dahan, the Huzar general, seeing that Hua Daizi was silent. King Xuexian became even more rampant. Are you scared? Ha ha ha. Offer up your women if you're afraid. I may spare your life. King Xuexian laughed. Huo looked ahead. Everything was so familiar and so unfamiliar. The world no longer seemed to be the same Dehan he was in. No longer surrounded by those familiar names either. I seem to have slept too long. Han, offer your head to the king. Snickering the left sage king once again drew his bow. Boundless energy converged in front of the bow, and the entire space began to tremble slightly. Well looked ahead and then at the Han Iron Horseman following closely behind him. Although everything has changed, it seems like the enemy is still the same, only, a little bigger. Before the Huns are destroyed, there is no home. Huo remembered the bold words he had once spoken. Do we have to kill all the Huns to get back to that world? Well, let's give it a try. Looking at the distance was Xian Wang who was drawing his bow and storing up his strength, Huo De Wei laughed softly. Can a mere left virtuous king speak out in front of this general? The Huns of this world are really underprivileged. With a flash of his thoughts, the scarlet Hua gun appeared in his hand, the tip of the spear trembled slightly as the warhorse advanced. Hua Ziwei locked onto the left virtuous king, his eyes gradually becoming stern. He raised his hand and recalled the 500 iron riders behind him, then he violently yanked on the reins, bent low, and shot forward like an arrow. Attila child, let's watch this general beat you to death. Seeing Hua Daiji charging out on a single horse, the scoring members all went crazy. This was undoubtedly an act of death in their eyes. What the hell? What are the two of them saying? Why can't I understand? Why do summons and magical creatures have consciousness? Is there something wrong with my perception? That's not the point. The point is how did he charge out alone? He doesn't think he can beat a world boss by himself. Does he? This is sending him to his death. He's still going up against the boss's stored arrows. As long as he gets hit, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's finally over. Hearing the crowd cry out. Wei Zheng also clenched his fists. How could he not expect Hua to charge solo? He's clearly strongest in command, so why give up his strengths? And Wei Zheng realized that Hua Ziwei's personality had begun to transform from the moment he had conversed with the demonic creature. It was as if he was no longer the calm and stable general, but had become a young general who was new to the battlefield. What's going on? Was it compelled by a demon? Su Chen, who was across the screen, was also very shocked. The first was shocked that demonizing the left sage king seemed to have stirred up was consciousness. Another shock was that his character seemed to have transformed, and even the tactical command has become so aggressive that he dares to charge alone. Is this a tactic or what? Hiss ah. The soul chasing arrow that tore through space shot out again, and a scratch appeared directly on the desert. Violent energy and terrifying pressure violently attacked, like the god of death descending. In the face of the giant arrows that were sizzling, Huaziwei smiled lightly at the corners of his mouth and did not slow down at all. 
Just as the arrow came into a range, he yanked on the reins and tilted his entire body to one side. The warhorse instantly swerved and managed to avoid the terrifying arrow. Phew! The arrow shot through set off a fierce wind and yellow sand fluttered about. Ho rushed out of the sandstorm on his horse, looking contemptuously into the distance and laughing. Little Huns, go home and dance, go home and dance, seek your own death. King Xuexian shouted angrily, drawing his bow and shooting again. Giant arrows once again cut through the desert. Ho remained unhurriedly stuck at the most extreme point in time to dodge the arrows. Death comes, the left sage king drew his bow again. Once again, Ho ducks and is accompanied by relentless taunts. Meanwhile the distance between the two sides was closing frantically. After another shot and a dodge, Ho Ziwei had already killed in front of King Xuexian's eyes. At this time, the left sage king could no longer store up his strength to shoot arrows, but could only use his feet to stomp violently. The desert trembled and countless yellow sands were raised. Huo weaved from side to side, constantly dodging the clumsy stomp. At the same time, the lance in his hand stabbed at King Xuexian's feet with a single shot. The left sage king's extremely thick blood bar began to deduct blood. The fight really begins. Imperial College High School Review Team. Inside the copy of the left sage king all kinds of skills flying around. Gorgeous. And no matter how intensive its attack was, Huo was able to dodge it at the most extreme moment every time. This was a skill that would lead to direct death if he touched it, and he had the audacity to control it every time he wiped his shoulders. What a gutsy, manipulative thing to do. Seeing Huo Zai constantly wandering amidst the demonized left virtuous king's frantic attacks, the scoring members all froze. So this military general is not just good at commanding, he can also go into battle and kill the enemy himself. And this martial skill is not at all weaker than Su Chen's other two combat-oriented martial artists. Yeah, facing a world boss with this kind of attribute, he can still be so relaxed. More than easy, that's not taking the opposite side seriously at all. Wei Zheng looked at Hua Ziwei and froze out. His eyes filled with shock. Unexpected. Too unexpected. Before this was commanding ability was so dazzling that even he overlooked his strong fighting ability. Now waiting until he was on the field himself, the crowd then realized its horrifying one-man ability. Su Chen, who was watching from a first-person perspective on the other side, felt it most intuitively. His heart hung in his throat as he watched that one skill cross in front of him, especially when Hua charged against the soul-chasing arrows, he almost forgot to breathe. With 50, 000 points of damage from this arrow, Hua Ziwei's attributes would only be killed in a second by a single move, and instead of being cautious about it, he performs a knife-edge act. Hiss ah! Inside the replica the left sage roared angrily. He launched 100 attacks in a row to no avail, which drove him completely insane. Wow wow wow. With a fierce bang, a burst of purple and black baleful aura began to erupt from his body. The black armor that was originally condensed on his body was fading away. The newly generated purple baleful aura began to condense again, enveloping the entire body of King Xuexian. Berserk mode is on. I can't believe that berserk mode was turned on right away. This doesn't make sense at all. The scoring members exclaimed. Berserk mode should only be turned on at most when you're below half-blooded. How can it be turned on when you're nearly full-blooded? This doesn't seem to be a blood trigger for him. He seems to be enraged. How can there still be this trigger mode? A boss with an autonomous consciousness will not be reasonable. Wei Zheng said. They will automatically release their skills based on the current battle situation. And things like full-blooded openings will happen. After hearing Wei Zheng's explanation, the scoring members were all shocked in their minds. They couldn't imagine that a demonic creature with self-awareness would be so unpredictable. This irregular skill release undoubtedly greatly increased the difficulty of combat. If you're fighting, why are you undressing? Hua Ziwei laughed at the feet of the left virtuous king. At the same time, he didn't let go of the hardening effect produced by the left sage king's entry into the berserk demonic creature. Frantic stabbing strikes attacked the left sage king's ankle, and its blood bar began to drop blood as far as the eye could see. The moment the left sage king came out of his hardness and entered berserk mode, Hoi immediately disengaged himself while throwing his lance out against the left virtuous king's crotch. Giggle. Deals both physical and mental attacks. The left sage king completely broke his defense and directly drew his bow and shot an arrow into the sky. Wawa. Death to the Han traitors. Hua Xiaodong recondensed his lance and rode his horse around King Xuexian. A merciless sneer hung at the corner of his mouth while his eyes focused on the arrow that shot into the sky. Zip. The magical arrow landed. And a purple black sphere appeared in front of King Xuexian to suck him right in. In the next moment, King Xuexian appeared where the arrow had landed, instantly pulling away from Hua Ziwei by a distance of several kilometers. The moment it landed, a terrifying energy gathered in the distance, with King Xuexian as the center. The sand of the entire desert converged in a spiral. Hua Ziwei's eyes flinched as he met the terrifying pressure and once again charged forward with his horse. Zip zip zip. Three consecutive giant magic arrows were fired, 
setting off a huge sandstorm. Chain Soul Chaser Arrows, releasing three giant magical arrows, blocking all routes that can be traveled. Unlike the fluidity of one arrow, Huo pulled his horse and began to turn almost the moment he saw three arrows being fired. Boom! Three high-speed arrows blasted in, distorting even space. Huo narrowly dodged and dashed out of the sandstorm created by the arrow's penetration. Again and again, he let out a roar. While gripping the reins with full concentration, the enraged King Zhu Xian began to launch a continuous attack, and magical arrows spewed out like no money. Each attack could carve a trail several thousand meters long on the desert, raising sandstorms that covered the sky. Huo Zaiwei kept advancing towards the left Sage King against this attack that was like the end of the descent. The arrow slid through at high speed generating high temperatures, and the hot air set the red accessories on his body on fire. The gun was set up with one hand, eyes staring angrily ahead. No stopping, all the way forward. It was like a meteor stabbing at the enemy's chest. The bodies of all the scoring members in the observation room shuddered. The sight of Hua's lone brave charge set everyone's blood on fire. Though millions of people will go. This is the hero should have the courage. In the early days of the descent of the demon passage, it was with such a life or death defying charge that the heroes of the human race exchanged for their current lives, and now we all see again in Hua Zaiwei the moment when our forefathers burned their blood. Heroes, that's a real hero. Damn. Got mace in my eye. Come on, kill him for me. Charge. Inside the observation room, the examiners, who were not supposed to be grading objectively with emotion, began to cheer Hua on in unison. As the examiner, Wei Zhang should logically intervene, but he did nothing to deal with it and just let the examiner shout, because even he himself was raging to the point of no return at the moment. If he could, he would hate to enter the copy right now and charge the enemy army together with Hua Zaiwei. Inside the copy, Hua went around the heavy attack and killed in front of King Zhu Xian once again. Underfoot is the blind spot of the left sage's offense, where he can only engage in haphazard stomping. The moment Hua entered the blind spot of the attack, King Zhu Xian once again shot a teleportation arrow into the sky. Your time to die has come. King Zhu Xian shouted angrily and entered the teleportation spell sphere, once again appearing at the point where the teleportation arrow landed a few thousand meters away. Su Chen, who was located in the first viewpoint, had his eyes twitching and was at an impasse. I'm afraid that next Hua will not even have a little chance to grind his blood. Dodging a chain of soul-chasing arrows required a long detour, and in the process King Zhu Xian's teleportation arrows could cool down. In this way, Hua Zaiwei had no more chance to run into King Zhu Xian. Moreover, he was already at his utmost limit in dodging the chain arrows, and the slightest mistake would result in a complete failure. Imperial College High School Review Team Seeing the left sage pass away again, the mood within the scoring group was downcast. Anyone with combat experience could tell that Hua had reached his limit. He couldn't touch a single hair of the demonized left sage king anymore even if he tried his best. Wei Zhang's expression was grim as thoughts flashed in his head. He was thinking about how he could have a way to break the situation, and the more he thought about it, the more he realized the severity of the current battle. Is that the end of it? Is the end of a burning meteor only a fall? The scoring room is a slump, though it was just an exam, and Hua's success or failure wouldn't affect anything at all, but for no reason at all. They just wanted Hua to defeat the boss and take the victory. Everyone was expecting a miracle, but the hearts of all were already bleak. The boss's blood level had only just dropped by one-tenth, and even if Hua could still find a chance to draw closer, it would take at least nine times to decimate it, whereas the left sage king would only need one arrow hit to kill him. The two sides' margins of error were simply not of the same magnitude. As the crowd despaired, someone suddenly roared. Quick look, look at the boss's blood bar. As the crowd followed the sound. They only saw that the wide blood bar of the left virtuous king was dropping at a frantic pace. How is this possible? The crowd was all dumbfounded, looking at the scene in front of them incredulously. Hua Joey wasn't even close to the boss, so how could the boss be dropping blood? Hiss ah. A miserable scream came out from the left sages in the screen, and it directly cancelled its power storage and began to trample madly. The crowd looked at the ground and realized that amidst the roiling sand and dust, there were countless cavalrymen walking through it. Iron Cavalry, it's that warlord's Iron Cavalry, how can that be, how did they appear at the feet of the boss, I'm going crazy, I can't be dreaming, the moment he saw the Iron Horseman, Wei Zheng's eyes also widened violently, his pupils filled with incredulity, how to do it to, this is how to do it, why did the troopers happen to be at the feet of the boss, though the summon can be commanded to travel great distances, the summon must appear next to the summoner at the time of summoning, this was the case with all of Su Chen's summons of these several martial arts generals, without any exceptions. So how exactly did that work? And why did these soldiers happen to be at the boss's teleport drop point? Did he anticipate everything? Die, die for me. The left sage king roared madly and kept trampling.
but his trampling did nothing more than raise sand and dust. The 50 Dehan Iron Riders were not only in his offensive blind spot, but also perfectly avoided the trampling range. They rode around King Zuo-Sien, constantly using their bows and arrows to shoot. The single rider Dehan Iron Cavalry has one-fifth of Hua's attributes. 50 Iron Horsemen attack together, causing 10 times as much damage as Hua at the same time. Left Sage tries to solve the dilemma by charging at the Iron Horseman. As soon as he charged, though, his shift flaw was exposed. His whole body attributes were as high as 10, 0, 0, 0 points. But his agility attribute was only a mere 2, 0, 0, 0 points. Even if this attribute was only slightly higher than the Iron Cavalry, there was simply no way to catch up with them in a short period of time. Without the chain soul chasing arrows blocking him, Hua Zaishia once again charged at King's Wuxian with his lance at the top. The charge was significantly slower this time, however, and never made it to the front of the battlefield. After being surrounded and killed by the soldiers for several minutes, King Zuixian finally waited for the teleportation arrow to cool down again. He released the teleportation arrow again in the opposite direction of Hua's advance. These stray minions he could clear with a single arrow and had to stay away from Hua. Teleportation activated. The purple-black mana ball once again teleported King Zuixian to several thousand meters away. Go to hell, bastard. King Zuixian roared and drew his bow. No sooner had he pulled away to the fullest extent than the sound of a horse's hooves sounded behind him. The left sage king's eyes stuttered as his pupils burning with black flames looked downward. Fifty red-armored iron horsemen were shooting arrows at his bow. A bow and arrow shot into his body and into his soul. How is that possible? The Imperial College Entrance Examination Review Team. Everyone was abuzz. Surprisingly, there's another batch of iron riders. This boss is seeing through his bottom. How did this happen? I can't even see it from God's view. As the crowd cheered, they all turned their attention to Wei Zhang. They simply couldn't understand Hua Ziwei's maneuver and could only expect Wei Zhang to give an answer. Wei Zhang's hands clenched tightly, his face filled with shock. He could no longer find words to describe this series of operations by Hua. This is something that truly only a supreme genius can do. Looking at the dead Zhu Xianwang in the screen, Wei Zhang calmed down and slowly opened his mouth. Not being able to see it has nothing to do with your professional level. This is already a genius level operation. It was only at the last minute that I surmised how he was doing the operation. The crowd looked at each other in disbelief. They did not expect even Wei Zhang to see through it until the very end. We were wrong from the start. He wasn't even trying to charge the boss solo. He's just testing the boss's various offenses with his own high movement speed. And the soldiers don't have enough movement speed to be easily killed by the boss. So they can't charge together. In the first wave of the attack, he tested out the boss's shuttle arrow in trample range, as well as hitting the boss's berserk mode. Later, during the berserk phase, he tested out the boss's chain shuttle arrow and teleportation arrow, and gained insight into the boss's logic for releasing the teleportation arrow. After that, it's all about lining up the soldiers, the soldiers don't have enough movement speed to chase them down, but if they're set up ahead of time they can deal high amounts of damage. The crowd immediately got excited when they heard this, and this is where they were most confused. Why are soldiers appearing one after the other in boss drop locations? He almost makes a big circle around the boss while dodging the chain of soul chasing arrows. And while he's doing so he leaves a group of soldiers at each point. But releasing the soldiers why didn't the boss notice? Not even us in God's view? Someone asked. Sandstorms. Wei Zhang said. Roiling sandstorms. It was the roiling sandstorm caused by the boss's powerful attack that obscured the soldiers' movements. And he hides his soldiers' whereabouts by performing a soldier call every time he burrows into a sandstorm. This is surprisingly a ploy that could be thought up in such a short period of time. The crowd exclaimed. The last thing is to guide the boss to fall into a siege of soldiers. Wei Zheng continued. Although he set up a lot of enclosures for insurance purposes, it still wasn't enough at a range of a few thousand meters, and someone had to guide it. The way to channel it was himself. He used the first wave of offense to put fear into the boss. Fear that he had to stay away from him. That's why the boss releases every teleportation arrow in the opposite direction of his advance. The direction furthest away from him. Relying on that will allow the boss to fall into the soldiers with precision. Amazingly heavenly, Wei Zhang exclaimed. As soon as he spoke, a loud bang came from the screen. Boom. The demonized left sage king's huge body fell to the ground, setting off a tsunami-like sandstorm. The world boss demonized king Zuixian has been defeated and the legendary prop sacrificial golden banner has been dropped. Kill level 18 world boss demonized Hun Zuixian Wang. Experience plus 362,103. Obtaining a route pass reward for the golden flag of sacrifice. Get Jade Seal of Transmission Fragment Asterisk 10. Successful clearance of Wolf's Route. The teleportation spell is up. Please enter the preparation space for the final challenge. Successfully leveled up to level 23. Killing the left Virtuous King. A large mass of experience was directly injected into Su Chen's body. 
levels are once again upgraded. What a speedy upgrade this is. Too terrifying, too exaggerated, Su Chen said in his heart. Opening the panel, Su Chen scrutinized his own attributes. It's been 30 chapters since a full panel has been shown. Not counting water here. Name, Su Chen. Occupation, 9 to 5, unique. Rank, 23, 10, 35%. Strength, 230, plus 220. Agility, 230, plus 200. Spirit, 2800, plus 750. Physical fitness, 230, plus 200. Equipment, skull ring, gold mask, pharaoh's heart, props, reset crystals, golden banner of heavenly sacrifice, legendary grade. Skills, summoning general Dian Wei, level 23. Summoning general Zhao Yun, level 23. Summoning general Hua Zaudi, level 23. Emperor's might, level 23. Emperor's might, level 3. Hanging flag for 10,000 miles, level 1. Summon general Dian Wei, level 23 summons general Dian Wei. Who can be manipulated to fight? Consumes 800 spiritual energy. Summon general Zhao Yun, level 23 summons general Zhao Yun. Who can be manipulated to fight? Consumes 900 spiritual energy. Summon General Hua Zaudong, level 23 summons the General Hua Zaudong, which can be manipulated to fight. Consuming 1, 100 spirit power. Emperor's Might, level 23 issues a mandatory command to a target within range. Refusal to execute it will result in mental damage and thought stagnation. Consumes 500 mental power. Emperor's Might, level 3. Apply an aura of Emperor's Might to a friendly unit that lasts for 10 seconds. The aura will inflict 100% friendly life value damage to enemies within a range of 10 meters, the effect can be stacked. Spirit power consumption, 5 asterisk number of targets applied. Flare, level 1 allows any of your units to enter a state of free conquest, in which they are no longer under the control of the summoner and are no longer subject to the summoning distance limit. Legion information, General Dian Wei. Elite Tiger Leopard Cavalry Soldier, General Zhao Yun. Senior White Horse Guards, General Hua Ziwei. Senior Han Iron Cavalry Soldier, Pan Shen. Dian Wei, level 23 7000 strength, 7000 sensitivity, 7000 essence, 7000 body. Commanding troops, 470 senior tiger leopard cavalry soldiers. Zhao Yun, level 23 strength 7000, sensitivity 8950, essence 7000, body 4800. Troops, white horse cavalry 160. Hua Xiaodi, level 23 strength 7000, sensitivity 7000, essence 10000, body 7000. Troops, Han Iron Cavalry Heavy Cavalry 580. Other military types, Panshin, level 23 strength 3000. Sensitivity 2600. Essence 4600. Body 3000. After checking the attribute boost on the panel, Su Chen couldn't help but get excited. Dian Wei's four dimensional attributes had surpassed the 7000 mark, and the number of palm soldiers had come to 470. Zhao Yun's agility attribute was already as high as 8950 and the number of white horse boxers had come to 160, and Hua Ziwei's spiritual attribute exceeded 10, 000 points, and the number of iron horsemen was as high as 580, as you level up, you gain more attributes with each level, after checking the panel properties, Su Chen flashed his mind to materialize the legendary props, blue light flashed, and a banner with gold all over the front appeared in Su Chen's hand, unlike the other props Su Chen had seen, this flag could feel the warmth contained within it even when held in his hand, Sacrificial Golden Flag, Legendary Props, Description of Props, Cast by Huns, Core Props Used for Heavenly Sacrifices, Blessed Holy Light, Passive Effect After Equipping the Golden Banner of Heavenly Sacrifice, The Holder's Spiritual Attributes Are Increased by 100%, Including the Equipment Effect, Soul Condensation, Active Effect Actively Triggers the Golden Banner of Heaven Sacrifice, Applying an Aura to Your Troops, Which Can Condense the Troop Souls, The Troop Souls Can Choose Offensive and Defensive Forms According to the Battle Situation, Offensive form, the embodied military spirit will charge with the team to launch a wide-range powerful attack, with the damage being the number of team members asterisk the team's average power attribute slash 10. Defensive form, the embodied military spirit will form a shield over the team, the shield can withstand damage for the number of people in the team asterisk the average physical attribute of the team slash 10. Note, the soul condensation effect can only bind one team of the same type. Not bad for a legendary prop. After checking the synopsis, Su Chen pressed down on his excitement. The most obvious difference between high-quality props and ordinary props lies in the enhancement of attributes. High-quality props are not going to simply increase attribute points like normal props. They will directly boost attributes by a percentage. For example, the Pharaoh's Heart, obtained in the wilderness, is able to boost the spiritual attribute by 500 points when worn. This might look good in the early stages, 
but as you level up those 500 attribute points quickly become chicken feed. This is not the case with high quality weapons, as they will increase the player by something like a 20% or 50% boost. As a legendary grade weapon, the golden banner of heavenly sacrifice even directly gave a 100% increase to the spiritual attribute, and this effect will also take into account the effects of the equipment worn by the holder. Without the slightest hesitation, Su Chen directly equipped the sacrificial heavenly gold banner. A golden light floated up, and Su Chen felt that the spiritual power in his brain was expanding rapidly. This is an experience that has never been possible with previous upgrades. After equipping himself, Su Chen once again checked his attributes. The base spiritual attribute of 2800 points plus 750 points of spiritual attributes provided by the equipment gained an increase at the same time. This brought his spiritual attribute directly to 7100 points. What's 7? 100 points? Using level 3 Emperor's Mighty Vastness on the entire army required 6. 050 spiritual power points, which meant that Su Chun was able to apply the Emperor's Mighty Vastness aura to the entire army. After Zhao Yun appeared, Su Chen's mental power could no longer support the consumption of the All Army's aura, and now the sacrificial Heavenly Gold Banner directly allowed him to regain this effect. The mental strength boost was still just a passive effect, the active effect was even more terrifying. This was a group gain buff comparable to the Imperial Mighty Vastness, and with the ability to switch between offensive and defensive attributes. It's simply not too comprehensive. Although he hadn't seen the specific combat effects yet, its powerful effects had already appeared in Su Chen's mind. Another point is that the active effect of the Golden Banner of Sacrifice can only bind the same type of team. That is to say, it cannot be used on the entire army, and you can only choose one of the Tiger Leopard Cavalry, the White Horse Boxers, or the Great Han Iron Cavalry. Which team to pick? You only get one chance to bind, so you have to be careful. Putting aside the attributes of the generals, the overall strength of the three teams must be the strongest of the Great Han Iron Horsemen. The first is the largest in numbers, and that advantage should continue. The second is that the attributes of the Great Han Iron Cavalry are different from other troop types. They are one-fifth of the attributes of the Hokum, which means that their average attributes will be higher. Military spirit effects both offensive and defensive calculate effects based on numbers and average attributes. That's why the Great Han Iron Cavalry is the most suitable team for military soul condensation. With a flash of his mind, Su Chen bound his soul condensation to the Great Han Iron Cavalry. A figurative military spirit that can attack or defend coupled with Wu's command is the perfect choice. Closing the panel, Su Chen looked into the distance and saw the enemy camp looming in the desert. Hua has finished the fight and he should be up next. According to the display after the Hua pass, the final level of the replica will only come after the three route boss battles are over. Surely it wasn't that easy. Su Chen thought in his mind. He had only temporarily gained this legendary item now and would lose it if he failed to pass the level. And as far as he knew, there had never been a candidate who had passed in the history of the college entrance examination. This is because the copies of the college entrance exams test the extreme abilities of the students in addition to screening talents. In this case, it's not surprising that no one has cleared a copy. But just because no one had cleared it didn't mean it couldn't be cleared. Su Chen's eyes glowed. Anyway, he didn't want to lose this just gained doubled spiritual attributes and military soul effect. Imperial College High School Review Team Seeing the boss fall to the ground with a thud, bursts of applause came from the observation room. It's so strong, it's unbelievable that it actually passed. Yeah, although geniuses come and go every year, this one is a bit too scary this year. The first legendary grade prop fell into Su Chen's hands. What about the next two? Unsurprisingly it must be Su Chen's. His martial attributes are just too high. While the crowd was discussing, Wei Zhang remained focused on Hua Ziwei's movements in the copy. Can't help it. Love and appreciate it too much. If Huo was a candidate, he would not hesitate to pull him into the army. It is no exaggeration to say that he would have been able to fill a commanding position in the war department. Wei Zhang's eyes stared, sensing that something was wrong with the situation in the screen. How come Huo didn't enter the teleportation spell, but instead walked towards the outside of the copy? Inside the copy. You are beyond the examination area and have reached the boundary of the replica ahead. You are beyond the examination area and have reached the boundary of the replica ahead. You have exceeded the examination area. Ahead. Hua closed the panel prompt and headed towards the towering wolf Jushi mountain ahead. He was going back to that well-remembered place to fulfill his mission. Buzz. Hua crossed the red copy boundary directly. Once again, his figure disappeared from the view of the high school review team. It's impossible for their detection system to monitor the area outside the replica. How? Why was he able to break through the replica boundary? Ah, the crowd exclaimed. The world that the channel connects over to is bordered and no one can cross the red border wall. Hodgson's move was clearly beyond the perception of the scoring members. Wei Zhang was similarly deeply surprised. Border crossing. 
He's also only seen this happen once in his career, associated with the conversation between Hua and the boss. Did he possess some sort of bond with this passage? Detecting that Hua was sailing out of the border, Su Chen did not do anything to intervene. If you don't go to Wolf Jushi Mountain, how can you call yourself Hua Xiaoyu? There was a buzzing and the sound of Han's hooters rang out in all directions. Dingxiang County Route, Phase 2, Level 4, Battle of Xincheng. The Huns are stockpiling a large amount of supplies in Zhaoshan City. Please work together to attack the stronghold and destroy the enemy's logistical supplies. Legendary Equipment Quest, Kill a Boss to get a Legendary Equipment. Already setting off for the boss battle, Su Chen looked at the current remaining number of people. After the third level of screening, the number of people on the Dingxian County route had plummeted to 6, 0, 0, 0. From 70, 0, 0, 0 on the very first route to 20, 0, 0, 0 on the second stage to 6, 0, 0, 0 now. The elimination rate is now as high as 91% and fewer candidates will pass this hurdle to reach the final hurdle. Not to mention passing, even the candidates who could meet the final boss of the replica could be called 1 in 10,000. This shows the cruelty of the society of high school and professionals. Arriving outside Zhao Xian City, there were already nearly a thousand candidates stationed here waiting. Unlike Longxi County's siege test, Dingxiang County examined encounters and alley battles. So there is a city here but no need to attack it. All the gates are wide open. Su Chen entered the candidates' quarters and prepared to attack with them. The city of Zhao Xian was not like the desert and there was no room for pulling like Huajua. Moreover, the number of candidates in this route is much larger, and the world boss attributes will be stronger. Su Chen was not certain that he could take down the world boss by himself alone. Entering their quarters, the brigade commanders gathered at the temporary command headquarters for a discussion. The other candidates surrounded the outside on guard while waiting for orders to be issued. Su Chen casually found a place to sit down, and the surrounding candidates were speculating about the effects of the legendary great equipment. Now the remaining candidates' levels were basically all above level 15, with the lowest being no lower than level 13. Being able to come to the fourth level and see the boss is their normal play. Failure or failure of the next boss battle was within their expectations. Legendary equipment was also definitely not available to them, and it would be nice to look at it. So there was no pressure on the regular candidates and the atmosphere between the teams was exceptionally good. The complete opposite of the off-court atmosphere is the on-court atmosphere. Because of the addition of the legendary equipment, it was no longer possible for the great captains to push each other as much as before. After a few sentences of cursory discussion to determine the cutoff orientation in front and back row stations, the meeting was ushered to a close. Just as it dispersed, a message popped up on everyone's panel. The wolf's route has been cleared, and the legendary equipment has been dropped. Candidates on the other two routes are asked to continue their efforts to complete the assessment. Two short lines popped up and delivered a truly explosive effect. The captains looked at each other with incredulity written in their eyes. Isn't the Wolverine route the hardest and furthest route? And I'm surprised it's the first one to pass. In addition to the pass, the words of legendary equipment dropping stirred the anxiety in their hearts even more. Far away from the other route there were already people who had obtained legendary great equipment, which made them feel incredibly critical. Outside the temporary command center, the ordinary candidates instantly boiled over when they saw the news. Legendary equipment. It really dropped legendary equipment. I wonder who got the legendary equipment. They should be waking up laughing in their dreams. Geez, I'm really curious what the effect of that legendary equipment is. Opposite Su Chen sat a small fat man with the occupation of anti-armor milkmaid. Su Chen had been striking up a conversation with him ever since he walked into the compound, bragging about how he resisted damage and milked his teammates at the same time. It's even more boastful when you hear about legendary equipment drops. Indicates that his cousin's dad's war buddy's nephews and has a piece of legendary equipment. After talking a lot, he also confidently predicted the effect of that legendary great equipment. It says it must be equipment that can summon a mount, or it wouldn't be set up that far away. He also made a point of asking Su Chen for his opinion after the prediction. Su Chen took out a golden flag and wiped his sweat, saying he didn't know. Fatty skimmed his mouth, indicating that Su Chen didn't know what he was talking about, turned around and went off to discuss it with someone else. Don't want to talk to mediocre people. When the news of the wolf juxtaposition route clearance was communicated across the entirety of the sub, there was a group of people who were dumbfounded. They are the same candidates who are on the Wolverhampton route. What's going on? What? The first captains at the front of the line leading the crowd forward were full of questions. We run hundreds of kilometers in the desert and kill more minions than we eat sand. Didn't even see the ghost of the boss. And now you're telling us that the route passes? Boss defeated? Legendary equipment dropped? So we're here for sightseeing. Ha! Huh? The first captains were dumbfounded, and the ordinary candidates under their hands were even more raw, which hangers on just passed ah, are you kidding me, 
I got a six on the damn thing. What am I going to tell my mom when I go out there? I can't believe you still have six points. I got lost once halfway through and got 50 points backwards. God damn it. You pushed the crystal before we even saw the troop line. Imperial College High School Review Team. The scoring members were crying and laughing as they watched the skeptical candidates on the wolf juxtaposition route. Candidates on this route were the ones who had a little bit of bad luck on their side, having managed to overcome the desert weather without even seeing the enemy. Although Su Chen's other two military generals were strong, they had a positive effect on the passage of all the other candidates. And the martial arts general, Wolf Juxia Route, was so horrible that he didn't give any of the other candidates any leftovers at all. Wei Zheng also sighed as he held his forehead when he saw the scene. Schedule a makeup exam. It does have too much impact. Tingxiang County Route. Candidates and captains who hadn't been eliminated yet had arrived at the frontline stronghold one after another. The crowd is making final preparations. The brigadiers of the Siways province regrouped and discussed their strategy of attack. This offensive strategy was not an overall offensive strategy, but an offensive strategy between a few of their Siway provincial grand captains. The strongest candidate in Haidui province, summoning class rare professional in Shuayang, was the first to speak. It's hard to say with him it's the first captain. Now that it's just our own I'd better say a few words. In addition to fighting for our own college this college entrance exam, we also have the honor of the entire Seaways province behind us. I don't need to say much about the importance of a legendary great equipment. Getting it as a Seaways province candidate is surely a great credit. Although our strength is unquestionable, the legendary equipment drop depends on who ends up terminating the boss in the end. When fighting world bosses, everyone throws skills, and the final decimation is still somewhat dependent on luck. Now I am gathering you all to put aside your selfishness and kill that faint element of luck for candidates from other provinces. The brigade captains looked at each other after hearing this and nodded slightly. Legendary gear has dropped for the wolf juxtaposition route. There were 30, 000 men on that route, and four of the six team's first captains were from the Seaway province. So there is a high probability that the legendary equipment will be obtained by candidates from the Seaways province. Lumchi County siege routes are also more captains in the Seaways province, and the chances of taking them are high. And while their Dingxiang County was the most pressurized route, the other provinces were 50 50ths with the captain of Haidui province. This meant that one slip up in legendary equipment could fall into someone else's pocket. How humiliating it would be if the other two routes got legendary equipment and they didn't. Seeing the captains acquiesce. And Xu Yang continued. My method is for all of you to unleash your strongest skills once in the early stages and see how much damage you will do to the boss. Report back to my summons when everyone has finished their calculations and I will total up a decimation line. After the boss enters the decimation line, everyone listen to my order to release their skills and decimate the boss. That way no matter which one of us gets it, we've saved the outfit for Seaway province. The captains nodded their heads after hearing this. This was already the best option in the current situation. I have a question. Kibda said. What about that white horse rider? They seem like they're going to steal experience. And Shuayang pondered in silence. The white horse riding that followed was something he hadn't considered. Does anyone know the maximum damage the lead one can do with one hit? The captains shook their heads. He stabs demons all in one shot. There's no way to know where his damage cap is. And Xu Yang thought for a moment before saying, That's a no-brainer. With so many of us, the damage stacking up may not be inferior to him. No matter what, he's still one person. We can definitely take down the equipment with our combined efforts. After the captains had finished their discussion, they began to command their players to advance towards the city where the boss was located. The huge Zhao Xian city towered over the oasis, and several falcons were circling above the city. After a few revolutions, the falcons flew toward the line of candidates and landed on the shoulders of one of the first captains. There's a huge palace in the middle of the city. It should be the boss room. The number of enemy troops in the city is probably around 10. 000. The alleyways are filled with enemy troops, and archers are configured around the walls. That first captain informed all the candidates of the information he had learned. And Xu Yang shouted to the group as he understood the situation. All assassin types please step out of line. Your mission is to equip the Hun archers around the city walls. The rest of the candidates should follow their original squads or regroup. The situation in the alleyway is complicated and there are many ambushes. So please rationalize your occupation and let the warrior type candidates open the way. Never act alone. After a few brief words, the candidates team moved forward into the enemy's range of attack. The defenders on the city walls released their bows and arrows directly at the candidates and instantly the entire sky was covered with bows and arrows. Top of the front row, quickly enter the city, and Xu Yang shouted. All the warrior-type candidates either had huge shields or turned on their auras and rushed at the front. The rest of the candidates quickly charged the city under their shelter. But there was one thing that surprised the crowd. That is, the intensity of the demons in the last level of this route is a bit high. 
After a few rounds of bows and arrows, many warrior-type professionals couldn't carry them anymore. A large number of front row professionals fell to the ground, and the output-type professionals at the back with weak self-protection abilities were instantly exposed to the enemy's offensive. In just one entry into the city, the group of 6, 0, 0, 0 had once again lost nearly 1, 0, 0, 0 men. The remaining candidates desperately squeezed into the city gates, temporarily escaping the enemy's arrow rain attack. Just as the crowd was trying to take a breath, the floorboards overhead suddenly collapsed, slamming down a thousand pound boulder. Boom! Another round of bombardment killed and wounded the ranks of the candidates. At this point in time the group that was still somewhat large was immediately broken up, and the candidates entered Zhao Xian city in small groups. When everyone had entered the city, there was a loud boom. The thick gates that were originally open closed instantly. The candidates were dumbfounded. This was meant to be a jar. Buzz. As the gates of the city closed, the mournful music of the Hu flute resounded all around. The copy alert appears on everyone's panels. Boss battle trigger. Demonized Hun King Zhao Xian descends. Legendary props have appeared purple sky thunderlance. Candidates are asked to work together to kill and complete the mission. Seeing the news, all the candidates were dumbfounded. How can you trigger a boss battle as soon as you enter the city? How do you fight a boss with 10? 000, 000 soldiers? In the boundless black sandstorm, two figures appeared on top of the rubble. One is human, the other is made up entirely of shadows. Having cleared one route and triggering a boss battle on the second route, this year's Divine Summer Empire candidates aren't bad. The figure made of dark shadows moved his mouth, which he didn't know if it was a mouth or not, and made a low, strange sound. The human spoke. The Divine Summer Empire has always been alright. Otherwise it wouldn't have been targeted by you. Cock a cock. The shadow let out a strange chuckle. Love a fine little thing. Has the disengagement spell been arranged yet? The one invigilating the exam this time is that monster Wei Zhang. I don't want to get stuck with him. Didn't you kill his master more than 10 years ago? So what if you kill him again now? Shadow said grimly. You think it's that easy to kill a legendary rank? And there are three legendary grade weapons in this copy. If we can't get out in time, those old monsters at the top will be here in minutes. The human said. Okay, okay, just kidding. Don't worry about getting out of the spell. I set it up outside of the replica, and no one can get to that place but me. There's this operation? Where are you located? Is the top of wolf juxtaposition hill robust enough? Solid indeed. Then I'll relax and kill. Humans are so cruel. They can even lay hands on their fellow humans. The black shadow laughed strangely. Humph. This is a world that speaks with power. Don't talk about patriotism. Those who benefit me live. Those who hinder me die. I can't believe the boss battle was triggered so quickly. Su Chen was shocked in his heart. Could it be that the boss would join the battle with the soldiers? That's a bit more difficult indeed. However, Su Chen looked at the name of that legendary grade weapon. Purple Sky Thunder Pattern Gun. Legendary Weapon. First the legendary props and then the legendary weapons. The top management really put in the blood this time. If one could get their hands on this weapon, then their own battle power would definitely increase by a large margin once again. Thinking of this, Su Chen's heart began to get excited again. The charm of a legendary class weapon is just too great. Whoosh. A shower of arrows rained down, shooting through the windows and falling into the chamber. Wei Awa, Fatty, who was hiding in the room with Su Chen, was hit by an arrow and screamed miserably. Su Chen's thoughts were interrupted and he looked at him in disbelief. Aren't you a meat suit milkmaid? One arrow and you're done? Fatty cried wolf and shouted in indignation. 800 damage from one arrow. Have the guts to hit an arrow and try it. Crap, you really got hit by an arrow. Why don't you react at all? Su Chen froze for a moment looking at his arm. There was indeed a bow and arrow that had hit his left shoulder, but there was no feeling in his left shoulder, let alone pain, and he didn't even know when it was shot. He turned slightly and drew his bow and arrow in one swift motion, not even blood on the arrow. Little Fatty saw froze and looked at Su Chen, even forgetting to scream miserably. No fair, why does it not hurt you at all? Su Chen waved his hand and stuck the bow and arrow into his thigh again before pulling it out again. The panel showed 200 points of blood deducted, though he still didn't feel anything. This loyal guard skill of Dian Wei was so buggy that he himself even lost his sense of pain. Eh? Suddenly Su Chen thought of another idea. The next time Dian Wei dares to show up in a scene where he's embracing people left and right, it's perfectly fine to remind him of that by mutilating himself. If sticking your thighs in doesn't hurt, try wiping a neck for him next time. Regardless of little fatty who was still in a daze, Su Chen walked out of the room and raised his hand to summon Zhao Yun and the white horse boxers all together. Kill. Softly spitting out a single word, Su Chen returned to the room to reseat himself. Zhao Yun, on the other hand, carried 160 white horse boxers to kill various parts of the city. 
A streak of white streams of light joined the battlefield, and the originally panicked candidates instantly found their backbone. The white horse riders seemed to become some kind of symbol of safety and strength, and their presence gave the candidates a sense of full security. The white horse riders are coming. The white horse riders are coming. There were excited cheers from the candidates outside. Fatty forgot about the previous incident again and limped over to the window to check it out. The moment he saw the white horse riding, his eyes lit up and he excitedly shouted at Su Chen. White horse riding. Did you see that? It's white horse riding. Oh. Su Chen answered and cut into the white horse riding viewpoint to start micromanipulating. Seeing Su Chen's perfunctory attitude, little Fatty immediately fought for white horse riding. These were the elite NPCs that galloped through the replicas, and he wouldn't allow anyone to disrespect them. This is the white horse riders. Haven't you seen them before? Don't you know how strong they are? Su Chen commanded Zhao Yun to pierce through three elite monsters in a row, and experience flowed into the panel. Kill level 18 demonized Hun Archer Patriarch. Experience plus 2223. Kill level 18 demonized Hun Ranger Warrior. Experience plus 2463. Kill level 18 demonized Hun Ranger Warrior. Experience plus 2877. Is it that strong? Su Chen asked rhetorically. It's strong. Super strong. Fatty yelled. Those white horse soldiers move super fast and their attack power is extremely high. We have to fight half a day's worth of minions. And they all kill them in one move. Also there's that white horse martial general. That's even more exaggerated. He even kills elite monsters in one move. Without them, there would be at most one. Zero 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 candidates who could reach this level. Su Chen commanded three white horse riders to eliminate a group of Hun Ranger squads. Kill level 18 demonized Hun Ranger. Experience plus 836. Kill level 18 demonized Hun Ranger. Experience plus 897. Kill level 18 demonized Hun Ranger. Experience plus 813. Kill level 18 demonized Hun Ranger Warrior. Experience plus 2877. Surprisingly so powerful? Su Chen marveled. Seeing that he had succeeded in giving Su Chen an amenity, Fatty pouted and smiled. Now you know how powerful it is. You, you'd better follow me to see more of the world. How do you know them so well? Su Chen asked. Hey, Fatty's eyes lit up. I'm not going to lie. That leading warlord is my brother. Oh, Su Chen almost couldn't tense up. Luckily he killed a team of Huns to calm down. Kill level 18 demonized Hun Ranger. Experience plus 856. Kill level 18 demonized Hun Rangers. Experience plus 887. Kill level 18 demonized Hun Ranger. Experience plus 819. Kill level 18 demonized Hun Ranger Warrior. Experience plus 3023. Ha ha, scared you. Little Fatty was very satisfied with Su Chen's reaction. How else do you think I lasted through this level as a level 13? With a brother covering me of course. Good good good. Su Chen's eyes flickered between replies. He saw that the palace in the center of the city was trembling. The world boss is coming out. The candidates followed Zhao Yun and the white horse riders as they killed their way into various parts of the city. Because of the many times they have worked together, the candidates have learned the tactics of working with the white horsemen. First the white horse riders will lead them to the enemy squad, after which they will burst right in to decapitate and disrupt the enemy formation. Candidates following closely behind will be able to kill the battlefield and harvest while the enemy ranks are in disarray. It's safe to say that the white horse riders are simply perfect teammates. It can also front row and output and disrupt formations, and always rushes at the front of the line. Ask any pro who wouldn't want a player like that. The battle has gone exceptionally well since white horse rider joined in, so well that it doesn't even seem like a boss level. Within half an hour, 10, 000 enemy troops had been eliminated. Nearly 3, 000 of them. The archers around the city wall were almost completely annihilated by the white horse boxers arrows and the assassin type professionals. As the battle entered white heat, the palace in the center of the city began to tremble violently. This violent shock caught everyone's attention, and Xue Yang's mind flashed dozens of listening water spheres surged out of the staff, an auxiliary summoning class skill that can attach itself to a target and send messages through the mind. The magnetic field within the passage in the replica was unusually chaotic, which rendered all human communication devices completely ineffective. That's why long distance information transfer and communication within the replica must be accomplished through special skills. Listen to the blisters as they drift in all directions, pinpointing the Seaway provincial captains scattered throughout the copy. The boss is about to appear. Please report back to me as soon as possible by testing the maximum damage you can inflict. And Shua Yang's voice traveled through the blisters to the captains. The captains immediately nodded their heads in agreement. Their gazes turned to the palace that was constantly shaking. A first captain wearing a full lava suit immediately began chanting. Lava Inferno. A ranged spell that takes a long time to chant but creates massive amounts of damage. 
He was going to release his spells early to finish his first attack on the boss. I'll take your first time. Secret technique of fire. Lava hell. After the chant, a pillar of fire shot up from the palace. The boss's blood bar appears above everyone and is continuously dropping blood. It really hit. The blood stains are out. The boss hasn't even officially shown up yet. And our first captain is dealing damage. Captain Mighty. We are the strongest. The team member next to that first captain shouted, looking very excited that his captain had accomplished his first wound. While they were excited, a point of dark purple light suddenly flashed in the air. Like a shooting star in the darkness of the night, that point of light grew bigger and faster. Zilla, purple ons burst forth as an electric dragon cut through the sky. The moment the purple aura approached, someone saw the true face of that electric dragon. It was a lance that flashed with electricity. Giggle, without waiting for the crowd to react, the lance shot into the ground directly penetrating the first captain who had unleashed the lava inferno. Whoa a dash. The brigade was directly nailed to the ground, blood spurting out, and instantly triggered the protection mechanism and disappeared into a phantom in the copy. The surrounding team members all froze. How could the captain who had just released his skills be killed in an instant? Zilla. Wild surges of electricity once again flooded around the lance, and the entire lance that was stabbed into the ground began to vibrate. What's this? What's going on? Before the crowd could figure out the situation, they only heard a loud bang explode in their ears. Boom. A figure smashed into the ground like a meteorite, instantly causing a huge explosion. Endless purple electricity on with dust drifted in the air. As the dust settled, a huge crater 20 meters in diameter was smashed directly into the ground. The dozens of juniors that had just surrounded the big captain had already been reduced to pieces. The huge figure pulled out his lance, his body's fierce aura surging wildly. The route boss finally made his entrance, and everyone was stunned by the horrific entrance. What kind of attack is this? I didn't even see how it appeared. It's over. It's over. Can this thing really fight through? Spread out spread out. That attack does ranged damage. Su Chen struck out at the boss with an insight spell. Demonized general, King Zhao Xian of Xiangnu, world boss. Rank, 18. Power, 60. 000. Agility, 10. 000. Spirit, 60. 000. Body mass, 100. 000. Weaponry, Purple Sky Thunder Lance, Legendary. Skills, Lance of the Stars, Sweeping the Thousands, Dance of the End. Penetrating Star Lance, Project of Penetrable Thunder Lance in the specified direction. Hitting an enemy will deal 60, 000 true damage, and the enemy hit will be immobilized. After a short channeling, itself will leap to the target location, dealing 60, 000 true damage within a certain range. Sweeping Thousands, Sweeps within 10 meters of itself. Sweeping back all enemy targets and dealing 60, 000 points of real damage. Enemy swept back will be stunned for a short time, and the hit target cannot be restored, revived, or summoned until the end of the copy. Final Dance, a hidden skill that cannot be viewed, a more powerful attribute than the Huns was Xianwang, and his skills are more flexible and more versatile than the Huns. This was undoubtedly the strongest demonic creature Su Chen had ever encountered. Imperial College High School Review Team, seeing Zhao Xian's value. All the scoring members were shocked. This terrifying intensity was even more exaggerated than the left sage of the wolf juxtaposition route, being able to displace over long distances again, and inflicting ranged strikes, as well as its own means of defense. This boss's means are too comprehensive. Indeed, compared to the left sage's obvious shortfall in movement speed, this boss has almost no weaknesses. Not bad for the most competitive route. That's enough for these candidates to fight. Wei Zhang looked at the boss in the screen, and if he remembered correctly, the lance in his hand was none other than the Purple Sky Thunder Ripple Gun, and its skill panel is also the skill that can be obtained by equipping the Purple Sky Thunder Strike Gun. This showed that unlike the left wise king, this boss was using a straight up legendary weapon, a world boss plus a legendary weapon. It's not like those executives could think of it. The difficulty feels like it could even be the boss of the final level. Doubts rose in Wei Zhang's heart as he looked at the candidates who were once again in chaos on the screen. Can Su Chen still lead the candidates through this time? With only one military general, could Su Chen still lead the candidates through this time? The scene within the copy was once again thrown into chaos with the appearance of Boss One. Seeing the tragic death of that great captain, no one at all dared to take another shot at the boss. If you face a normal boss, everyone will throw skills to swipe some damage. But now this boss has a super long range burst skill that will instantly kill you in seconds if you dare to make a move. This resulted in no one daring to take a second hit at all. No one wanting to draw hatred to others with their lives. Those great captains of the seaside province who had originally discussed using their skills to test their damage all hit at the moment. Being targeted by a boss at this juncture now could be the end of it. 
and Shua Yang hid in a cellar and sent a message to all the captains by listening to the water bubbles. Guys, standing up for yourself in a situation like this is a definite plus. We, as Haihui province candidates, must strive for this honor. After in Shua Yang finished speaking, no sound came back from there. All the first captains remained silent, they were all intelligent men who had calculated the pros and cons very clearly. Although there are bonus points for leading an attack, what use is that bonus point if you are directly seconded by the boss? We haven't reached the final level yet, so it's a loss to die here anyhow. Not to mention the fact that Death now didn't even have a chance to compete for a legendary grade weapon. Bunch of cowards, and Shua Yan cursed as he turned off his skills. How can you become a professional if you don't even have the courage to be the first? A bunch of losers. The face of the candidates of Siwei's province has been disgraced by them, and Shua Yang changed his usual image of strategizing, and the more he cursed, the more angry he became, and his entire face turned red. Behind him, several squadron leaders spoke solemnly, Team N, if you're on offense, we'll be sure to follow you. Hearing their words, and Xu Yang snorted and looked at them like they were idiots, are you guys nuts, if others don't go, why should I go, old me is the strongest candidate, everyone should protect me how dare you let me rush ahead to die. A group of squadron captains were dumbfounded by Enshu Yang's scolding and looked at each other. It is said that people show their true colors only in the most difficult and dangerous situations. The appearance of a world boss completely ripped off the mask of these so-called elites. Underneath those crown skins lies a heart of selfishness. Without anyone to step in and attract hate, the boss would attack the candidates who attacked the demons. Under the boss's intimidation, most of the candidates hid. They didn't want to be discovered by the boss and eliminated early. Gradually, only the white horse riders and some candidates who still had the courage to continue fighting were left in the huge city. Imperial College High School Review Team The scoring members of the congregation were very disappointed with the performance of the candidates. How could this be? This is the new generation of professionals from our divine summer empire. Why don't you discuss a strategy? Organize a group of people to attack together. Why are you scared like this? Yeah, or attack simultaneously in multiple directions and from multiple angles. How can they be so smart that they just dare to hide? The members of the grading team spoke to each other, and their statements were filled with disappointment in the candidates. It's not that simple. Wei Zheng shook his head and said, attacking together, attacking in different directions. These methods are theoretical. Even if they timed their attacks together, one of the damages will act on the boss first, and the boss will immediately kill that candidate. Because they're smart, they know that, and they know that if they make a move, they run the risk of being eliminated. In this situation, no one dares to make the first move. They're all waiting for the boss to mix it up with someone else. Human nature is inherently selfish. You can't be too hard on a group of students who have just become professionals. In other words, if you were put in this examination room, who would dare to risk their lives? Wei Zheng's words caused the observation room to fall silent. Yes, heroes are always limited. So why should we be harsh on anything when we are all just ordinary people? After Wei Zheng finished speaking, he himself fell into deep thought. That comment he just made was just to round up the candidates so that the scoring panel wouldn't give them too low a score. In fact, as the examiner, he was the one who was most disappointed with these candidates. They had expected such a reaction from these candidates, especially those grand captains of the provinces, those sons of God. They are not playing the role a leader should play. The empire has been experiencing peace for far too long. The initial set of social laws that sought selflessness have long since failed. The more powerful a family was the more they pursued profit above all else and the offspring they raised were the same. This kind of person is okay to play a smooth game, but as soon as they hit a rough patch they will immediately back off. How can a group of such people be relied upon to lead humanity to victory over the demons? Thinking of this, a touch of sadness appeared in Wei Zhang's eyes. Gathering his emotions, he looked back at the screen. Although the others had let him down, they still had Su Chen. The group of white streams of light continued to weave through the copy without stopping, and the candidates weren't all hiding. There were still small groups struggling in the city. Focus on scoring, Wei Zhang said to all the scoring members. Candidates who are still struggling on the battlefield right now will have their kill points doubled tenfold. Inside the Dingxiong County replica, Su Chen was fully concentrating on maneuvering the White Horse Riders movement. Most of the candidates had causing the frontal enemies to become more numerous, which put more and more pressure on him. Despite having a high sensitivity attribute, it was inevitable that as the number of enemies increased, they would still be injured. These damages have accumulated and have caused the white horsemen to experience attrition. Su Chen didn't expect these great captains to take the lead and hide. This boss had ranged type control skills that were extremely restraining to Zhao Yun. And right now he doesn't have any soldiers around for Zhao Yun to trigger Lone Ranger. There's a huge probability that randomly sending Zhao Yun out to attack will result in death. This boss, like the left sage, 
has the summoner restriction skill, if Zhao Yun were to lose under him, he wouldn't even have the chance to re-summon again, caution must be exercised, Su Chen sent a dozen or so white horse riders to surround the boss not far away, observing his movements at all times, without the other candidates as cover, any mistake on his part would now cause the situation to spiral out of control, what to do, what to do, everyone is hiding, Fatty peered out the window, sweating profusely, he had just clamored for some points to be mixed up behind white horse riding, then the boss came out and scared him straight to the point where he couldn't breathe, suddenly he saw a squad not far away still fighting the enemy, and the location of the fight was getting closer and closer to the room they were hiding in, seeing the scene Fatty was so frightened that he almost went into cardiac arrest, that group would definitely lure the boss over if they were to keep getting closer, hey hey, he anxiously yelled to Su Chen, wake up don't fall asleep, someone's coming over here, and if they get any closer, we're screwed, Su Chen opened his eyes, and sharp edges flashed in his eyes, as soon as little fatty's words fell, a zippy sound of electricity rang out in the space, giggle, the sound of a sharp instrument breaking through the air followed, fatty immediately put his head down to the window to check it out, seeing the scene in front of him he instantly fell into fear, that's the boss's lance, that dark purple lance hit the small leader of that team with unerring precision, boom, another loud smashing sound rang out as the boss fell from the sky, the squad that was still fighting just now instantly turned into dust, the powerful shockwave destroyed everything in the vicinity, and a large number of houses close to the fallout point collapsed, the wall in front of them broke, and Su Chen and Fatty were directly exposed in front of the boss's eyes, at a distance of no more than a hundred meters, Fatty desperately covered his mouth, fine beads of sweat analyzing on his forehead, the powerful oppressive feeling of the world boss was as fierce as a mountain calling out to the sea, the dust settled and the boss and the giant pit slowly rose, he scanned around and resumed retrieving his target. There are also many hiding candidates in the surrounding buildings. In the face of this death-like sweep, not a single person dared to make a sound. Seeing the boss's gaze sweeping in, Fatty instantly lowered his head not daring to look again. This is a deadly thing to watch. Just as he buried his head and trembled, his afterglow happened to catch a glimpse of Su Chen beside him. It was only as if Su Chen had not noticed the boss at all. Still sitting in place and meditating, little Fatty felt bad in his heart. What's the deal with this guy? What's the point of showing off here if you're not going to bow down and save your life at this time? He began to frantically give Su Chen hand signals. Quick, bury yourself. Don't get seen. You'll die. Su Chen completely ignored little fatty's words and continued to sit on his own. The next moment, the world boss locked onto Su Chen. On the sidelines, fatty felt the gaze of the boss. Instantly soaked to the skin. His hands tangled involuntarily. It's over. It's over. Good luck is over this is going to be eliminated, Su Chen felt the boss's powerful gaze, but the focus of his attention was not the power of this force, but the fact that there was actually contempt in this gaze, originally, he had wanted to play it safe and let the others test out the boss's skill characteristics first, but there seems to be no need for this steadiness now, the opposite side has hit the gun, and it would be impolite not to open it, facing the world boss of the fourth level of the second stage of the 10,000 man replica, Su Chen slowly opened his eyes, a pair of clear black eyes met the pupils filled with pitch black flames, and a light smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, the little fat man looked dumbfounded, why, why does he dare to face the boss, do you have any undercard, you just dare to face the world boss straight on, it's almost like you don't want to die, imperial college high school review team, the atmosphere in the scoring room became incredibly tense, as if a string could break at any moment, everyone held their breath, focusing on Su Chen and the boss's stare down in the screen, Su Chen was strong, this was already a fact recognized by everyone, but even if Su Chen was strong he was still a summoner and had to abide by the laws of the profession, summoner's most fatal weakness is poor life preservation ability, no matter how the summons they themselves are still brittle mages in the end, that's why the summoner's biggest pet peeve in battle is being close to the enemy, at this moment, what Su Chen was facing wasn't the close up of an ordinary enemy, he was facing the close up of a world boss, this was still a boss with the ability to snipe from a long distance, meaning that it was impossible for Su Chen to have a chance to escape, and in such a critical situation, not only did Su Chen not get nervous, he instead smiled at the boss, why isn't he scared, does he not realize how dangerous the situation is, Su Chen is so experienced in actual combat, how could he not realize the danger, there must be a backhand, backhand, now if he dares to move a bit, the boss will get him, so what if he has a backhand, Wei Zhang stared intently at the screen without speaking, he didn't expect Su Chen to be so unlucky to be directly exposed under the boss. The slightest misstep is now a surefire way to get knocked out of the game. Not to mention the other two pieces of legendary equipment. Even the legendary props that he had just gotten would be lost. The slightest mistake would be a total loss. 
and it is now at the most dangerous moment. But why? Why didn't Su Chen see the slightest hint of panic on his face? Does he really have a backhanded approach? Inside the copy, Su Chen slowly opened his eyes to look at the boss flatly, being looked directly at by Su Chen. The pitch black flames in the eyes of boss King Zhao Xian grew more and more intense. He pulled out the long spear on the ground, the tip of the spear pointing straight at Su Chen. That is, if you see this king, why don't you kneel? The solemn tone was accompanied by a strong bloody killing intent. Little Fatty was so frightened that he directly fell to his knees, shivering unceasingly under his breath. There were also many people watching the scene in front of them in the houses that had not yet collapsed around the huge pit. Many people were infected by Su Chen's courage to face the boss head on, but they all felt that Su Chen's time to die had come. Here's to you being a man. Have a good trip. It's not enough to have light courage. Ah, it must be complemented by strength. Let's run when the boss kills him. Don't let this brother die in vain. The short seconds but seemingly 10. 000 year long stare down ended. Almost there. Su Chen lightly spat. Then raised his hand and waved it. Z z z z z. In a blink of an eye. The wind and clouds stirred. The space around Su Chen began to distort. And countless blue and white currents began to surge and burst out. It's something. Little Fatty was shocked as he watched the change. Seeing such a strong energy fluctuation. The boss instantly moved. As the world boss of the college entrance exam copy, he wasn't the type of demonic creature that would wait for the candidates to finish releasing their skills. He'll take the lead and finish the kill before the enemy's skills are released. Boom. King Zhao Xian fiercely stepped on the ground. But the distance of a hundred meters was no more than a snap of his fingers to him. Die. King Zhao Xian swung his lance. The purple sky thunder ripple gun swung. And the pressure hit like a landslide. It's over and done with. Mom. At the last moment of death. Fatty couldn't hold up the pressure to let out a yell. On your knees. Phew. A majestic, irresistible voice came from behind him. It was so violent that everything was silent. The terrifying pressure from the world boss disappeared in an instant. King Zhao Xian surprisingly stopped swinging and entered some kind of stagnation. How can it be? How could a world boss be controlled? Does it? Fatty jerked back. Only Su Chen could be seen standing in place, with golden flames burning in his eyes. Behind him, the accumulated energy detonated completely, between the blue and white electric awnings. Zhao Yun slowly came with his spear in one hand. Seeing Zhao Yun appear behind Su Chen, Fatty's entire body froze. No way. No way. This warlord is actually his summon. How is this possible? Little Fatty was so embarrassed that he wanted to die when he remembered the words he had bragged about in front of Su Chen. Seeing the boss being fixed and the white horse martial arts general appearing, those candidates who had gathered around the perimeter were also dumbfounded. Why isn't the boss fighting? And how did this white horse warlord suddenly appear? This person wouldn't be a relation. Would he? That the white horse martial general would show up to protect him. You've left your damn brain at home. That white horse martial artist is clearly his summon. Ah, isn't the white horse martial general an NPC? How could it be a summon? Imperial College High School Review Team. All the scoring members froze. Completely. Unlike the candidates, their point of concern was not Zhao Yun, but the world boss being fixed. In large copies, bosses don't eat control this is common knowledge for almost all professionals. And at this moment, Su Chun used his own strength to break the common sense that had existed in their hearts for decades. He actually released a skill to interrupt the boss's attack. What kind of skill is this? It can even control world bosses. So strong, I wanted to execute the commands he was giving through the screen. It's so cool, his pupils turned completely golden when he activated his skill. A world boss can be controlled. How powerful does it have to be? Su Chen broke me, and my worldview collapsed. Coach, I want to learn this. Aside from the members of the scoring team, even Wei Zhang was shocked by Su Chen. He anticipated that Su Chen would definitely have a backhand, but he didn't expect it to be such an exaggerated backhand, a skill that can control even world bosses. This could no longer be considered an ordinary mind control type skill. This was simply a rule type skill. Rule based skills are a class of super legendary skills. They are able to fundamentally change the rules by which the world operates and fight as such. Wei Zhang himself had encountered occupiers who could change the laws of gravity in an area. These are often powerful skills that can only be learned at high levels. He didn't want to delve deeper nor did he have the energy to delve deeper as to why it had appeared on Su Chen. There were so many things that were out of the ordinary in Su Chen's body that he might never be able to penetrate them even if he investigated. Gathering his emotions, he looked back at the screen. The fight isn't over yet. Although Su Chen was able to briefly control the boss, the huge strength gap between the two sides was still impossible to ignore. Judging from the battle on the Wolf Jushu route, there was still a big gap between the strength of Su Chen's martial arts generals and the boss. And the Ding Xiang County boss is twice as strong as the Wolf Jushu boss. There is always a moment when the control ends, 
and at the end of the control, how will Su Chen react? Should we run or fight? The boss had a super long range slamming star lance, and it was impossible to have a chance to escape. In a fight, I'm afraid that martial artist wouldn't be a match for the boss. Although Su Chen had given them a shock, this shock was not enough to turn the tide of battle. Being close to the boss completely killed Su Chen's room to maneuver. Inside the copy, King Zhao Xian's figure began to loosen, and the short stagnation effect was about to disappear. The boss revived, and the endless killing intent began to leak out again. Little Fatty's back went cold and ran directly behind Su Chen. The boss pressure reappeared, and the tense atmosphere once again descended on the entire exam room. More and more candidates are following the battle. What do you mean? He's still not running? It's hard not to really want to take on the world boss solo. It's impossible. If you can take on a world boss alone, why are you taking the test with us? That white horse martial artist is strong, but he definitely can't compete with a world boss. Somewhere inside the cellar, Haiwi Province's brigade leader, and Xu Yang, learned from listening to the water bubbles that someone was at war with the boss. What? White horse rider is actually a summon. How the fuck is that possible? Don't get on. Tell all your men not to get on. Just in time for him to be killed by the boss. Otherwise we won't be able to grab the artifact at all. Not a single one is to be shot without my order. The controlling effect of the Imperial might disappeared completely, and King Zhao Xian recovered from his stagnation as a monstrous murderous aura spread out in all directions. Just as he was recovering, the sound of horses' hooves galloping came from all directions. Su Chen smiled lightly at the corner of his mouth. Just right. Tap tap tap. Only a white horse that's rushed out from all around, followed by a group of demonized Hun soldiers behind them. Su Chen started maneuvering the white horse boxers around to attract the scattered enemy troops as early as the moment he opened his eyes. Just in time for the boss to awaken, White Horse Rider arrived with the attracted soldiers. This was the only way Su Chen could think of that would allow Zhao Yun to fight the boss head on. The Lone Ranger. As the enemy army pours in, Zhao Yun's lone hero triggers. All attributes except physique were climbing wildly. Double. Twice. Triple. Zhao Yun's silver spear began to tremble violently, emitting a gradually harsh battle intent that was as palpable as a blade. Eleven times. Twelve times. Thirteen times. Blue-white lightning began to surge around Zhao Yun like a storm that had been brewing for a thousand years. Griffin, King Zhao Xian sensed Zhao Yun's irregular growth in battle power and directly struck out to launch an attack. His strike was not directed at Zhao Yun, but at the summoner, Su Chen. As a world boss, he understood that Su Chen was Zhao Yun's weakness. Giggle. The purple sky thunder ripple gun violently stabbed out, and a severe killing opportunity descended in an instant. When, in a flash of flowing light, a silver-white lance blocked in front of Su Chen. The clash of iron horsemen made an ear-piercing trilling sound that resounded throughout the entire city. Your opponent. It's me. Giggle. Zhao Yun stabbed out with a spear as swift as lightning. King Zhao Xian couldn't dodge in time and was directly hit in the abdomen. Electricity flashed and thunder roared. And the power enhanced by 20 times directly took away a tenth of its blood bar. One strike directly took away a tenth of the world boss's blood. All the candidates were dumbfounded. How is it possible? How can the damage be so high? One tenth of a shot. This power attribute must not be tens of thousands. This is a candidate from the same class as us. How can this be a candidate in the same class as us? Too strong. He can actually take on a boss solo. Motherfucker. What makes him so handsome? I must be dreaming. I'm dreaming. Zilla. As Zhao Yun and the boss kept exchanging blows purple and white lightning exploded all around. Through the lone hero enhanced 20 times Zhao Yun removed physical attributes comprehensively crushed the world boss. Combined with perfect spear techniques. King Zhao Xian gradually could not hold back Zhao Yun's attacks. Each stabbing blow was a tenth of the blood, and the boss's blood bar quickly dropped below half blood. Hiss ah! A roar of fury struck, and Zhao Yun instantly withdrew back a hundred meters. Just as he exited, the boss used his lance to sweep outward. Sweeping, a ranged offensive skill. This ranged skill Zhao Yun must be dodged not hard countered. This was because his physical attributes were still far from the boss. After entering berserk mode, the boss will frequently use sweeping thousands. This definitely made it much more difficult for Zhao Yun to cut through. However, Zhao Yun's mission was over. Su Chen's eyes flickered as he raised his hand and gave Zhao Yun the order to retreat. He, Su Chen, was not the only one on this route. No one dares to attack when the boss is full of blood and has not yet locked on to a target. But now the boss had dropped to half blood and had its hatred completely locked onto Zhao Yun. Those candidates hiding in the shadows must have smelled it and came. Sure enough. At the juncture when Zhao Yun withdrew and the boss was preparing to continue his attack, several giant fireballs of different colors smashed into the world boss. Oh you fireball, secret combo, frost storm, the spells are followed by a variety of long range props, 10,000 arrows, highly toxic flying needles, throwing brute stones, 
People from all walks of life rush towards the world boss from all directions, wanting to grab the last time to get points on the boss. No one dared to face the boss alone, but mixing in with the crowd and throwing two skills was something most people could do. In an instant, all sorts of skills flew in the sky, and the scene that a world boss crusade deserved finally appeared. Inside the cellar, and Shua Yang was roaring at the listening blisters. We said we'd let the boss get rid of that white horse warlord. Who let these people out? How can this be managed? Everyone wants to take advantage of this time to brush up their scores. Can't control them at all. The boss blood level is halved. If we don't fight, we won't have a chance to swipe points. Listen to the shouts of the brigade captains coming from within the blisters. And Shua Yang was enraged and roared after thinking for a long time. Then all hands on deck. Test the power of your skills and perform a decapitation action on the boss on my command. I don't believe this kid alone can stand up to a dozen of us. Su Chen had already withdrawn several thousand meters from the center of the battlefield with Xiao Yun. Now that almost everyone had joined the boss crusade, all kinds of splendid skills flew in the sky. The boss goes into berserker mode to frantically abuse the various candidates. However, the melee had already opened up, and the intimidating pressure from the boss was diluted by the sheer number of people. Even though they will die in battle, Candidates are going out of their way to take advantage of the chaos and mix up their points. The crowd picked up the pieces of wood, and although the rate of blood drop was completely unable to match Zhao Yun's attack, the boss's blood bar began to gradually drop as well. As the boss's blood level gradually bottomed out, the candidates on the field who wanted to compete for the legendary grade equipment began to stir. And besides the candidates who already wanted to compete for the legendary grade equipment, some ordinary candidates also had thoughts arising in their minds. This was the world boss getting hit by dozens of skills every second. Who knows what skill will hit him the moment he dies. In case your skills were the last straw that broke the camel's back, wouldn't the legendary equipment be in your hands? After possessing this idea, many candidates began to store up their spiritual energy. Retaining his most powerful output skills he wanted to fight for this final blow. The original boss crusade had turned into a head-to-head -head battle because of the addition of legendary equipment and Xiu Yang had already tallied up the theoretical damage that all the great captains were able to inflict with an all-out strike at this moment. Taking the theoretical damage and removing the effects of various unfavorable factors yields a rough range of decimation damage. The decimation got out, but the question remains. That is, their decimation damage was completely unable to match the damage of that white horse warlord, and Xiu Yang's eyes were gloomy, and his mind was churning with thoughts. No matter what, this legendary great equipment was something they had to get their hands on. If it was taken by someone else, the crowd of candidates from their Haihui province would lose face. The world boss's blood bar was at the bottom, and it had entered the final stage. Su Chen calculated the boss's decimation blood level and had Zhao Yun start accelerating to activate the streaming cloud stab. According to rough calculations, the streaming cloud stab could take away at least one tenth of the boss's blood as long as it hit. However, Su Chen wasn't going to be stuck attacking at the chopping point for the sake of stability, because he still had concerns about that hidden skill of the boss. Final Dance, a hidden skill that cannot be viewed. Since it's a hidden skill it's definitely not to be underestimated. And judging by the name it's likely that it can only be triggered at low blood levels. There was only one chance to fight for the legendary great equipment. And he intended to decimate the boss when its blood level fell into the 20th percentile. The other candidates, even if they have the stratagem to make a combined attack, will greatly reduce their damage due to the timing of their moves, their hit rate, etc. And are unlikely to reach 1 20th of the decimated blood. The boss blood level was about to enter the decimation line, and Zhao Yun began to charge forward with his silver spear in hand. As his speed grew faster, the silver light at the tip of Zhao Yun's spear grew sharper and sharper. Streaming Cloud Stab, a skill that gives a bonus to attack power based on movement speed. As long as he managed to stab the boss, this strike would surely help him get back his second piece of legendary equipment. Buzz. Drawing the ground. Just as Zhao Yun charged forward, two grayish-yellow formation lights snapped on the road. Countless chains rushed out from the ground, instantly stopping Zhao Yun's attack and restricting him to the formation. Su Chen's expression stagnated as anger erupted from his chest. How dare you use such tactics? Die! Su Chen raised his hand and pointed at the two formation masters who were combining their efforts to release their skills. 7. 000 points of spiritual power poured directly into their brains through imperial might. Whoa! -ah. The two professionals hissed as they clutched their brains, blood spurting from their eyes. After the doubling of spiritual power by the golden flag of heaven sacrifice, Su Chen's imperial might also gained a huge boost. It wasn't enough to kill them, but with the current power of the imperial might it could definitely cause irreversible damage to their brains. The formation master falls to the ground, and the restriction formation ends. Zhao Yun resumed his forward charge without stopping his horse. It was limited to a mere two seconds, but nothing was the same. 
Not only does Zhao Yun need to re-accelerate, but the streaming cloud stab is also interrupted and needs to be restored. More importantly, within those two seconds, the boss's blood level had dropped into nearly 1 50th. This is likely to have reached the chopping block line for other candidates. Boss enters the decimation line, all hands on deck, and Xu Yan yelled at the listening blisters. That white horse marshal general after being restrained couldn't even make it to the battlefield, and the legendary great equipment was theirs, trading two formation masters for legendary equipment. This deal was too profitable. As soon as Xu Yan's command was given, the space around the boss instantly launched a violent vibration. A dozen or so great captains used their most powerful skills at the same time. The top combatants among the candidates made their moves at the same time, launching a final attack on the boss. Boom. In a flash, all sorts of skills bombarded the boss, shaking his brothers seen splendidly. Dust rose in all directions, and the boss's blood bar instantly cleared. And Xu Yan laughed, the corners of his mouth grinning in an exaggerated arc. Success. And the legendary equipment was going to be his. He purposely released his skill one step later than everyone else, which would have given him the boss's head. Although he didn't use a lance, obtaining legendary equipment would be a great honor. The Siwei province would be proud of him, and the family would be proud of him. And Xu Yang excitedly waited for the news of the boss's death and the broadcast of the legendary equipment drop. Instead of flowers and glory, the response to him was a landslide of shaking. Captain, the boss isn't dead, he's still attacking. Don't, ah. Listen to the screams of the candidates coming from the blisters. And Xu Yang looked at the boss incredulously. How can that be? The blood level is zero. It's not zero. It's one. Why does the boss still have a drop of blood? Boom. A boulder blasted at him and the whole world was plunged into darkness. Su Chen replayed his insight spell at the boss that had fallen into madness. That hidden skill finally activated at this moment. Dance of the end, after taking fatal damage. It will forcibly lock in a single drop of blood and trigger the dance of the end effect. Entering the dance of the end will gain a tenfold increase in all attributes except physique, and open a dominating effect that cannot be controlled for ten seconds. Famous swordsman? Watching the boss in the center of the battlefield frantically kill, Su Chen was very glad that Zhao Yun did not enter to decimate him. That boss attribute was going to be boosted by another ten times, and Zhao Yun wouldn't be a match for him at all. If no one had just limited their entry to decimation, then not only would they not get their equipment, they would be knocked out of the copy. This is now a complete blessing in disguise. Su Chen looked into the distance, silently calculating the countdown to the end dance. Near the end, Zhao Yun re-accelerated his entry. Because of the boss's last-minute destruction attack, the candidates within the battlefield were dead and wounded, and it was unlikely that anyone else would be able to compete with him for this equipment. Giggle. Stuck at the moment the dance of the end ended, Zhao Yun successfully assassinated the demonized Hun King Zhao Xian. Kill level 18 world boss demonized Hun King Zhao Xian, experience plus 106, 354, obtaining the route pass reward purple sky thunderlance, get jade seal of transmission fragment asterisk 10, successfully pass the Dingshan county route, the teleportation spell is raised, please enter the preparation space for the final challenge, killing the boss, the experience ball of light surged out of Su Chen's body, this time the experience gained was not as much as that gained by Hua. This was because Hua Zhao Dong had soloed the boss, while Su Chen's side of the boss experience was also divided among the other candidates involved in the battle, although it didn't usher in another upgrade. The entry of the second piece of legendary equipment also made Su Chen feel immensely excited. He directly opened the equipment bar to check the attributes of the Purple Sky Thunder Ripple Gun. What surprises will the second piece of legendary equipment bring? Purple Sky Thunder Gun. Legendary Props. Props Description, Unknown Source, Inextricably Linked to the Purple Heavenly Thunder. Thunder Power, passive effect after equipping the Purple Sky Thunder Ripple Gun. The holder's power attribute is increased by 50%, including the equipping effect. Power of the Cloud Pattern, passive effect after equipping the Purple Sky Thunder Pattern Gun. The holder's agility attribute is increased by 50%, including the equipment effect. Penetrating Star Lance, active effect project a penetrable Thunder Lance in the specified direction. Hitting an enemy will deal true damage of the current attack power, and the enemy hit will be immobilized. After a short channeling, you will leap to the target location, dealing true damage of your current attack power within a certain range. Sweeping the thousands, active effect sweeps within 10 meters of itself. Sweeping back all enemy targets and dealing real damage to the current attack power, enemy swept back will fall into a short stun and cannot be restored, revived, or summoned for a short period of time. Dance of the end, passive effect after receiving fatal damage. It will be forcibly locked in a drop of blood and trigger the dance of the end effect. Entering the Dance of the End will obtain a tenfold increase in all attributes except physique, and turn on the immune to control of the hegemonic body effect. 
lasting for 10 seconds. There were a few hiccups in the process, but this legendary great weapon was still firmly in his hands. Moreover, the Purple Sky Thunder Ripple Gun was completely worth the frustration that Su Chen had to go through for it. This attribute was only stronger than the sacrificial heavenly gold banner. The first is the thunder power and cloudburst power which boost the strength and agility attributes respectively. And this was already a percentage boost for legendary level equipment. Not the kind of numerical boost for normal equipment. The power of the other two skills, penetrating lance and sweeping thousand army, needs no introduction. The boss just now had already shown the effects of these two skills. An ultra long range pursuit, a close range sweep back enemy troops, a perfect combination of offense and defense. Lastly, there was the dance of the end which in Su Chen's opinion was simply a god-level skill. Up to 10 seconds of invincibility plus a hegemony effect, and that's if you pair it with a powerful martial artist. Su Chen simply didn't dare to imagine how powerful it would be. With a flash of thought, a burst of purple lightning flashed around Su Chen. The purple sky thunder ripple gun appeared in his hand. Before Su Chen could hold it steady, the tip of the gun plunged straight into the middle of the ground. There was no way. The lance was too heavy for his weak strength to support. Not even giving the opportunity to pick it up and dance a bit ah, Su Chen helplessly shook his head. With a flash of his mind, he directly placed the purple sky thunder pattern gun into Zhao Yun's backpack. There won't be anyone else in the world better suited for this kit than Zhao Yun. Whether or not to equip the purple sky thunder lance as General Zhao Yun's weapon, this decision will cost 10 pieces of the imperial seal. The system panel popped up with a prompt, and Su Chen confirmed. Zhao Yun and the others were still summons after all and wouldn't come with their own equipment backpacks or anything like that. If he wanted to give him the Purple Sky Thunder Ripple Gun he would have to assimilate it through the system, a process that would cost 10 shards, consuming the fragments. Zhao Yun successfully equipped the Purple Sky Thunder Strike Gun. Zhao Yun, who was running towards Su Chen in the distance, felt something in his heart and directly summoned the Thunder Ripple Gun. Several thin flashes of lightning flashed by, and the legendary great weapon appeared in Zhao Yun's hand. Su Chen looked at Zhao Yun and a sense of pride grew in his heart. From today on, what's wrong with a ride? With the purple sky thunder ripple gun in his hands, Su Chen's gaze was redirected to the center of the battlefield. The two array masters who had just restrained Zhao Yun he had seen before, they were those great captains in the resting point tents. They wouldn't have risked eliminating Zhao Yun by limiting him if it was for personal reasons. There must be someone organizing behind them, and the odds are that the organizers are the student leaders of the seaways. People don't offend me. I don't offend them. But if someone else messes with the face and doesn't step in, how else can you take on the profession of the 9 to 5? Su Chen slowly walked towards the ruins in the center of the battlefield and quickly found the location of the Grand Captain of the Seaways Province through inquiry. The weak minded brigade captains quickly confessed to the organizer of the attack on Zhao Yun and Xu Yang when they saw Su Chen coming forward. He designed to limit Zhao Yun's entry after calculating that the combined damage was far less than Zhao Yun's. After locking on to Xu Yang's location, Su Chen had Zhao Yun pick him out from, from the pile of bricks. Without waiting for him to regain consciousness, Su Chen raised his hand to release his imperial might. Die. The unconscious in Xu Yang stifled a grunt as blood flowed from his eyes and mouth. Being in the copy protection mechanism, candidates will be ejected from the copy and healed whenever they take fatal damage. So generally candidates in the replica don't suffer a lot of damage. However, Su Chen's imperial might was spiritual damage rather than ordinary damage. Mental injuries cannot be cured by external forces, even if the protective mechanisms are not. This plan of imperial might struck, and to say the least, the spiritual attribute would be severely damaged. If it's heavy, it's not impossible to end up with dementia. Imperial College High School Review Team Seeing Su Chen name and Xu Yang, the observation room fell into silence. Although in Xu Yang organized the crowd to restrict Su Chen in the first place, the way Su Chen handled this was just too shocking. Su, did Su Chen use that skill that can make bosses stagnate on in Xu Yang? Seems like it. Isn't that brain done for when you get hit by that kind of mental skill? What's going to happen now? How are we going to explain this to the side of Haihui province? And Xu Yang was backed by a prestigious family. And Su Chen was an absolute genius. The interplay of the two made it impossible for them to make up their minds. The crowd looked alarmed as they all cast their eyes towards Wei Zhang. Wei, General Wei, what are we going to do about it? Someone asked. Handle it normally. Wei Zhang's expression was calm, as if he didn't think this was a big deal and Xu Yang organized a group to compete viciously, deducting 50% of the points for the entrance exam and 20% for the rest of the participants. Su Chen counterattacked out of self-defense, deducting 10% of the Gao Gao points. The crowd looked at each other in disbelief. Clearly this was not the focus of their attention. Deducting points like this had no effect on Su Chen at all. There's no way anyone can compete with him for the top spot right now. 
The point they cared about was what to do when An Xu Yang was seriously injured and his family pursued the matter. This isn't just any family. They're going to pursue this to the end. Seeing through the thoughts of the crowd, Wei Zheng continued. Once the results of the college entrance exams come out, Su Chen will definitely become a talent that the country will focus on cultivating. With our military department and the state watching over us, a mere worldly family can't make waves. The crowd was stunned. Wei Zheng was representing the military department to protect Su Chen. This is really a treatment that only the super genius level can have. Inside the copy, throwing down the rotten in Xu Yang, Su Chen turned around and walked towards the teleportation spell formation. Entering the teleportation spell, Su Chen was transported to a space that was the same as when he was preparing for the exam. This was the final location for them to rest and resupply before facing the final boss of the copy. The battle on the Dingxiang County route had come to an end, and now only Dian Wei's Longxi County route remained. As long as Dian Wei doesn't make any trouble, then the three pieces of legendary level equipment are really all in hand. Su Chen found a place to sit down and meditate while switching to the Longxi County route in his mind. To be honest, this was the route Su Chen was most worried about. He was not convinced that Dian Wei would honestly attack the city to pass. The viewpoint switched, and Su Chen came to another battlefield. The last city of Longxi County, Jochuan City, stood in the middle of the desert oasis. Candidates ready to attack had already converged, and the crowd was in full force. Come on little ones, give it to me. Dian Wei's roared and led his troops to attack. Su Chen was puzzled. When did Dian Wei call his soldiers little ones? Switching viewpoints again. Immediately behind Dian Wei was not a tiger and leopard rider at all but a group of candidates with large swords. Rows of warriors followed closely behind Dian Wei, followed by long-range outputs, and finally various supporting professions. There's no talk of a tactical setup, but at least the formation is very complete. Su Chen felt 10,000 surprised. Dian Wei this is mixed into their leader. The army killed to the bottom of the city and was already in the range of the enemy's bow and arrow. Dian Wei bellowed again and summoned the full 470 Tiger Leopard Cavalry. The Tiger and Leopard Riders nailed the front of the troops, raising their shields to shield the crowd behind them from the fire. Methodically killing his way to the bottom of the city, Dian Wei took out his purple gold hammer and broke down the giant city gates in three tries. The gates are broken, the army is killed, and the whole process is plain but impeccable. It seemed that this group of candidates had already cooperated with Dian Wei many times and had a tacit understanding with each other. After breaking into the city, the boss battle triggers. Boss battle triggered. Demonized King Huaitu of Hans descends. Legendary props have appeared. Scarlet armor. Candidates are asked to work together to kill and complete the mission. After attacking the city, the candidates also remained unperturbed in the face of alley battles and encounters. All of them pressed forward with Deng Wei and the Tiger Leopard Riders at the center. With the Tiger Leopard Cavalry as the main force coupled with the help of the candidates, the enemy army was simply unable to resist. Kill level 18 Demonized Hun Ranger. Experience plus 836. Kill level 18 Demonized Hun Ranger. Experience plus 897. Kill level 18 Demonized Hun Ranger. Experience plus 813. Kill level 18 Demonized Hun Ranger Warrior. Experience plus 2877. Enemies fall like weeds and experience runs like a waterfall. Su Chen completely didn't expect the route that Dian Wei was on to be so harmonious. With the combined efforts of the crowd, the last level of the route did not show its difficulty at all. It didn't take long for most of the city's defenders to be wiped out. The route boss, King Hugh Butcher, makes an appearance. It was also a behemoth. Between the size of King Zhu Xian and King Zhao Xian, he wore a set of scarlet armor and held two giant hammers. Demonized General, King Huaitu of Xiongnu, World Boss, Rank, 18, Power, 40. 000, agility, 6000, spirit, 60, 000, body mass, 300, 000, weaponry, scarlet armor, legendary, skills, bloody harvest, thorn spikes, bloody harvest, each attack gains 50% of this damage back in blood, thorn spike, when taking physical damage, it will rebound half of its damage to the attacker, born to run, a hidden skill that cannot be viewed, it was also a boss that wore legendary equipment and was about as strong as Ding Xiang County. The strength and agility attributes are slightly worse, but the physique attribute is much improved. Looks like it's a tank type boss, compared to the boss itself. What Su Chen cared more about was the equipment on him. I didn't expect this last piece of equipment to be armor. Su Chen exclaimed in his mind, the GAA is also really considerate. With weapons, armor, and props, all at once, putting aside the other attributes. The two small skills of the scarlet armor already made Su Chen excited. A blood absorption and an anti-armor. Both skills are well suited for a reckless person like Dian Wei. Because of the presence of the loyal guard, any damage that Su Chen received would be taken by Dian Wei. 
So Dian Wei wearing armor was equivalent to Su Chen himself wearing armor. While Dian Wei is more meaty, he is also increasing Su Chen's survivability. Take it down. This outfit must be taken down. How can you let go of equipment that increases your survivability? Thinking of this, Su Chen suddenly had a bad premonition in his heart. That is, I'm afraid that Dian Wei doesn't know that he will only drop equipment if he decapitates a boss, which means he won't purposely leave his skills up, and he was surrounded by candidates who knew it, and they would probably organize themselves to get the equipment like an Xue Yang did. What now? Longxi County Route. When the boss appeared, Dian Wei raised his arms and shouted, leading a large group of people to kill the boss. After killing the boss palace, Dian Wei swung his twin halberds at the boss's heels. The tiger leopard riders were also outputting at full power, not giving the boss any respite at all. The other candidates seemed to be inspired by Dian Wei, and each one of them forged ahead without any fear at all. In addition to fighting melee fighters, there are a variety of long-range skills to smash into bosses for support. One part of the candidates dealt with the boss, and another part dealt with the remaining Hun soldiers. Both sides are advancing methodically. On the world boss side, although Dian Wei looked like a brute, his combat IQ wasn't bad at all. His attacking style is reckless, but his timing of cuts is very fine. Each time, he led the crowd to attack when they were stuck between boss attacks. The other candidates didn't have to use their brains at all just to follow the wisdom Dian Wei up and swing their swords. Between one advance and one retreat, the boss's blood level quickly went down to half. It's incredibly efficient. This speed not only dumbfounded Su Chen, but also scared the scoring team. It is not like the lone battle of Hua Zhaodong's Wolf Jushu route, or the ergonomics of Su Chen's Dingxiang County route. Dian Wei this route crowd surprisingly harmonious, highlighting a win-win cooperation. The scoring group couldn't help but TSK and TSK at the scene in front of them, so it turned out that this military general was the real genius general. Wei Zhang was also quite shocked as he watched. Could this seemingly reckless military general have even mastered the imperial art? He was able to unite the crowd when everyone else was fighting with each other over legendary grade weapons? When he was puzzled, Wei Zhang asked the examiner who specialized in monitoring the Longxi County route to see what method he had used. The supervising examiner smiled sarcastically and handed over the record of demerit points. Nice guy, this martial artist has already knocked over 20 candidates out of their copies, and its means of killing are exceptionally brutal, either by lumbar decapitation or beheading, and there is even one that is hand-torn. Attacking a candidate is a felony, and that's killing more than 20 candidates in a row. This would have been kicked out of the copy long ago if it wasn't for Su Chen's summon. Wei Zheng held his forehead inside. He thought that it was some kind of high-end commander party, but it turned out to be killing the disobedient ones, and the rest were the obedient ones. Take it back. Those candidates who were killed will be dealt with uniformly when it's over. The boss in the copy enters the final berserk phase and the thorn spike triggers. All those who deal physical damage to the boss suffer counter damage. The tiger leopard riders and some warriors with only physical attacks all withdrew from the front line. Jian Wei, on the other hand, whacked the ground with his purple and gold hammer, constantly generating splash damage. The warrior withdrew, and the boss's blood level dropped at a slower rate, but it was still dropping overall. And with Deng Wei controlling the rhythm of the offense, the candidate's formation was not disorganized at all. It went on like this for another 10 minutes or so, and the boss's blood bar was about to bottom out. The heart of Su Chen, who was watching the battle, hung in the air. This is an important moment to decide where the legendary equipment belongs. The blood bar was at the bottom, but Dian Wei did not have any special reaction, still excitedly pounding the ground on the side. With a buzz, the boss fell to the ground with a whimper. Kill level 18 world boss demonized Hun Hui to King. Experience plus 86,354. Get Jade Seal of Transmission Fragment Asterisk 10. Successfully pass the Longxi County route. The teleportation spell is up. Please enter the preparation space for the last challenge. This, looking at the information on the panel, Su Chen was speechless for a while. Sure enough, Dian Wei didn't have the sense to decimate bosses, and he missed out on legendary equipment. Although regretful, Su Chen quickly accepted the reality. You have to have it when it's meant to be, and you can't force it when it's not meant to be. It was good enough for him to get two routes of legendary equipment. Life is always exciting when it's full of regrets, right? Inside the copy, it was not easy to kill the boss and the candidates were all paralyzed with exhaustion. Jian Wei, on the other hand, excitedly looked at the clearance information in front of him. Although he couldn't read it, he knew it meant pass. Your majesty should praise me this time, Dian Wei said with a smile on his face. Suddenly, one of the candidates in the crowd jumped up and shouted, I got the legendary equipment. The legendary equipment is actually here with me. Dian Wei turned to see the man dancing with his hands, and his heart came to life. The surrounding candidates all coaxed for him to summon the equipment and take a look. After all, 
no one had ever seen a legendary great equipment. The man's mind flashed and summoned the scarlet armor out. With a loud bang, the man didn't hold it steady, and the half meter high armor smashed to the ground. I'm not even level 10. I can't wear equipment yet. So you guys take a look like this first, the man said excitedly. Crowds of people surrounded in layers to check out that legendary great armor. The legendary level was eye catching, but no one was thinking about it. Hurting a candidate can get you kicked out of the exam, and kicking out of the same less than equipment is not worth the cost. As the crowd gathered around, Dian Wei squeezed in. At the sight of that armor, starbursts came straight out of Dian Wei's eyes. Isn't this kind of divine weapon precisely tailored for him? Wicked. Dian Wei picked up the armor and put it on himself directly in front of the crowd. Ha ha ha, just the right fit. Dian Wei laughed. The candidate on the other side of the room was a little confused and scared. General, general, general. This, this is my, my. With a bang, a huge halberd over two meters long fell from Dian Wei to the ground. Nori picked it up off the ground and opened his mouth. What did you say? That candidate suddenly released a smile. General, general, your armor is beautiful. Getting route pass reward bloody armor. Seeing the prompt that popped up, Su Chen's eyes glazed over. What the hell is this? Canonical wouldn't have killed anyone else. While puzzled, Su Chen still opened the Scarlet Armor's attribute panel by hand. It came from an unorthodox source, but don't take it for nothing. The man was killed by Dian Wei. What's it got to do with me? Su Chen. The moment he saw the panel, Su Chen was immediately attracted by the first attribute. This is surprisingly a permanent growth piece of equipment. Scarlet Armor. Legendary Props. Props Description, from a dimension with a blood moon. Unending life, passive effect after equipping the scarlet armor. The user will permanently raise the physical attribute of each enemy killed. With the number of points raised being 1% of that enemy's physical attribute. With no upper limit. Bloody Harvest, passive effect when equipped with scarlet armor. The user's attacks will gain a blood absorbing effect. With each attack gaining 50% of this damage back in blood. Thorn Spikes, passive effect when attacked physically. It will deal rebound damage to the attacker, which is one thousandth of the current constitution attribute. Three passive effects, plain and simple but powerful. Su Chen thought that he was considered someone who had seen two legendary great equipment and had seen the world. But I didn't expect to be surprised by this last piece of equipment this time around. This piece of equipment does not directly improve the attribute bonus, but it has a permanent growth type effect. Born alive, you gain a permanent constitution boost for every enemy you kill, and there is no limit to the effect of the boost. For example, if Dian Wei wore this equipment to decapitate the boss that just had a body mass of 300, 000 points, then Dian Wei would directly gain 3000 points of constitution bonus, which was almost half of his current constitution, and it's not a one-time bonus, the more enemies you kill the more bonuses you get. It can be said that after obtaining this equipment, Dian Wei's blood volume will exceed that of all copy bosses in the later stages. Terrifyingly, the skill Thorn Spike still countered damage based on the physique attribute, when Dian Wei's physique stacks up, standing still and letting people hit can be used to counter armor someone to death. Because of the existence of the loyal guard, Dian Wei's physique was Su Chen's physique. As his physique attribute became higher and higher, Su Chen's safety would also be greatly enhanced. This is truly a perfect outfit. Whether or not to equip the scarlet armor as the weapon of General Dian Wei, this decision will cost 10 pieces of the Jade Seal of Passage. The panel popped up with a message, and Su Chen didn't hesitate in the slightest to directly equip it. After a brief flash of blue light, Scarlet Armor appeared in Dian Wei's equipment bar. Although there hadn't been any attribute boosts yet, Su Chen somehow just felt like himself had become safer. The Longxi County route is over, and only the last level of the high school replica remains. In the final level, all three candidates will be teleported to the same test point to face the final boss. As long as he passed this final level, according to the rules Su Chen would be able to take the three items of legendary great equipment away. Thinking of this, the corners of Su Chen's mouth couldn't help but rise. These three items of equipment he liked very much. One enhances one's spiritual power and allows Huo to gain the military soul strengthening ability. One piece increases Zhao Yun's combat power and unlocks his powerful pursuit ability. One piece gives Dian Wei a permanent life bonus, increasing his safety. It could be said that each of these three pieces of equipment added to Su Chen's heart. It was practically tailor-made for him and his men-at-arms. Although he didn't know why the office of the higher education office had made such a great effort. He would definitely not let go of this opportunity. Even if the last level was the king of heaven himself, he wouldn't be able to stop him from taking away these three pieces of legendary great equipment. Closing the panel, Su Chen summoned back Dian Wei, who was out there doing wrong. Zhao Yun and Dian Wei had both entered the summoning space to recover, and Hua Zaiwei was the only one still outside. I don't know if it was because he had broken through the boundaries of the replica or what, 
but Su Chen couldn't share his vision or summon with him. Su Chen didn't worry too much about this. Huo Zhaoyi was the most reassuring martial general to him, so there definitely wouldn't be any major problems. After recalling Dian Wei, Su Chen sat in place and began to meditate. They have one more night of rest and recuperation before the final showdown kicks off tomorrow. Imperial College High School Review Team With the end of the three route bosses, the second phase of the gauntlet comes to an end. After two days of intense invigilation, the members of the grading team are now paralyzed in their chairs. When the high school exams are completely over, that's when their real work begins. They will review each candidate's combat footage afterward, scoring demerit points for correcting misjudgments, errors, and omissions, and the final out of their high school scores. Moreover, the special way in which this GCE examination is conducted and the students taking the examination are very special. Their workload will be even greater. Wei Zhang knew how hard the examiners worked, and at the moment, he also let them take a short break at their workstations. He commanded the manipulators alone and had them check the equipment at the final level. The manipulator runs the equipment as ordered for a final check. After a period of inspection, the manipulator's brow furrowed and a look of growing panic crossed his face. Wei Zhang noticed that his state was not right and immediately exited to inquire. The manipulator, after several checks, was filled with horror. General, General, we've lost the final level maneuver. How is that possible? Wei Zhang's face was instantly serious. The importance of the college entrance exams cannot be overstated. And something going wrong at this juncture can be a major problem. This copy of the war is a passageway that the empire once fought through. The control has always been in our hands. How could we lose it? Unbelievably, Wei Zhang personally went up to inspect it. And the results he came up with terrified him. The copy protection mechanism had disappeared. And they had completely lost control of the gauntlet copy. The total of seven. 000 candidates still remaining in the replica are simply in the middle of a wild passage. This will kill people. Wei Zhang, who was always known for his calmness, was also in a mess in his head at the moment. He ruled out all the reasons for the loss of the manipulation, leaving him with one of the most unlikely guesses. Abyssal demons. This is a group of completely unknown creatures, and according to information it was they who opened the passageway and brought endless calamity to mankind. Historically, there have been several instances where a mega copy of a past mega has suddenly transformed into a wild passage. Only these creatures have the ability to reverse copies, but they hadn't appeared for nearly a hundred years. So how could they suddenly appear in a copy of the Divine Summer Empire's entrance exam? Notify the higher-ups immediately. Wei Zhang's hefty shout scared all the scoring members awake. Whether it was possible or not, they had to prepare for the worst. Notify all occupiers in Gambei province, where the replica is located, to enter a state of battle readiness. If an accident occurs in the exam room, please make sure they are the first to back up. Wei Zhang violently ripped off his communicator and quickly walked towards the door. The position of examiner will be replaced by you, and I will immediately rush to the Ganbei province. By losing the controls, they lost all direct teleportation access to the replica. The only way to enter is to get to Gambit and find the original entrance to the passage. It was the lives of seven, zero 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 candidates, and he would never be able to forgive himself if something went wrong. The moment Wei Zhang stepped out of the conference room, the large surveillance screen lit up. A man's face appears on the screen. Wei Zhang, don't waste your energy. Wei Zhang instantly froze in place, that voice he would never forget in his life. Hearing the voice, Wei Zhang stiffened and turned around. Sure enough, I saw the face I'll never forget. Blood Eater Zhu Kai. He was the one who killed his teammates and defected to the Empire for legendary equipment back then. And the teammate he killed was the very master who had nurtured him for more than a decade. On Zhu Kai's face, a hideous scar ran from his left eyebrow to the corner of his mouth, it was the master's desperate blow. Zhu Kai. Wei Zhang spoke slowly, his tone cold. Zhu Kai is dead. The man grinned, then pointed to the emblem of the Eastern Kingdom on his chest. I am now Nagata Yamashita, commander of the Third Group Army of the Eastern Kingdom. Wei Zhang was dumbfounded. He couldn't imagine that a former Divine Summer Soldier would join the Eastern Kingdom forces. You shameless traitor. You really deserve to die. A scoring member cursed angrily at Zhu Kai. Wei Zheng immediately stopped him. To be angry, he was the angriest person at the moment. But now that the candidates were still inside the replica, they absolutely couldn't afford to anger Zhu Kai. Who knows what horrors he will do. Hoof. Facing the member's angry scolding, Zhu Kai didn't get angry. Don't waste time going to Gambit. We'll be gone soon. Don't do anything to harm the candidates. Wei Zheng's face was grave. Or the Empire will not let you go. Ha ha ha. Zhu Kai grinned widely, the scar on his face extraordinarily terrifying. You think that scares me? Haven't I been alive and well for over a decade? And where is your empire? Don't worry, I don't have any thoughts about those losers, I'll leave when I get the legendary equipment. But it's hard to say about my friends, 
Shu Kai said. Something made entirely of dark shadows entered the screen and spoke hoarsely. Greetings, people of God's summer. This is. Wei Zheng's expression stagnated and his breathing became extraordinarily heavy. His horrible guess was surprisingly right. The abyssal demon had appeared. Why is Xu Kai, who defected from the east, involved with the abyss? How did they take control of the copy without realizing it? And how did they know there would be legendary equipment in the copies? Countless questions exploded in Wei Zhang's mind, which he was simply unable to deal with for a while. It's time, we're going to work, so watch yourselves. There goes the Eat God Summer Man, ho ho ho. Shu Kai and Shadow disappeared into the screen, leaving behind a crowd full of angry faces. Wei, General Wei, what should we do now? The candidates are still in their copies. What would they do down there? There's some way to get into the replica bar. I'm going in to fight them. Animal, simply animals. Bring the communicator. I want to talk to the military department. Wei Zheng said. We can only hope for the candidates until the Gambit military headquarters arrives. They are the students of the Xinxia Empire. The pride of the Xinxia Empire. And I believe in them. As soon as Wei Zheng's words came out, the members of the scoring panel also became enraged. Yeah, they're the future of Divine Summer. We have to believe in them. We still have Su Chen. There's still Su Chen's military general. It's not certain who will lose or win. A fucking traitorous piece of shit. This time I'll make sure they know the power of God Summer. Come on. Make sure you do. Buzz. There was a flash of blue light within the replica. And the candidates who were still in the preparation space were directly transported to the final level of the replica. Looking at the endless blood-colored desert around him. Su Chen frowned slightly. What's the situation? Isn't there a night of preparation before the final level? Why would you just teleport? Is it a surprise test for the GCSEs or is it something else? While the candidates were confused and constantly complaining, Su Chen began to carefully analyze the current situation. In addition to the fact that there was no hint of being suddenly teleported, Su Chen also realized that no copy hints appeared when entering the final level. Originally, all of them would have had approximate copy information appearing on the panel for introduction, but this time nothing was shown. Even if it's a sudden act like a provincial simulation copy removing the protection mechanism, the exam team will provide the information. And this time there was no message prompt. Su Chen vaguely felt something strange. Could it be that something has really gone wrong within the copy? In the midst of the doubt, the sound of Hans Chang flutes came from all directions. However, this time the sound was not mellifluous, but rather very hoarse. Not at all like the sound of a Chang flute. Hello children dash, came the raspy voice. A black figure descended from the sky and the final boss, Monarch of the Huns, made his appearance. Demonized Monarch, Izzy Shan Yu of the Huns, World Boss, Rank, 20, Power, 60, 000, Agility, 20, 000, Spirit, 60, 000, Body Mass, 500, 000, Skills, Shattered Star Chop, Skeleton Shield, Wolf Soul. Seeing the boss that made an appearance without any warning, the candidates froze. What's going on here? And why is it so sudden? Why is this boss even talking? What the hell? I haven't even gotten my status back. Wouldn't it be death to start fighting now? Most of the candidates hadn't figured out the situation yet, and only Su Chen and a small number of people had discovered the clues. The boss that debuted earlier was also covered in fury though, but never one that was almost all black like the one in front of me. Abyssal infestation. The word quickly popped up in Su Chen's mind. It's something that's been taught in history classes in this world. Abyssal infestation refers to a copy of Abyssal Demon Invasion, and its invasion produces the same effect as the situation at hand. By the looks of this boss, it can't be an Abyssal Invasion. What's the situation? Haven't the Abyssal Demons not appeared for hundreds of years? How can the high school be invaded? Don't scare me. More and more candidates are noticing the difference in the situation at hand. Looking at the oppressive final boss, the atmosphere in the examination room gradually became tense. Phew. A cloudy wind rose up and the giant boss took out a giant scimitar out of thin air. In the war a hundred years ago, you Xinxia people caused us a lot of trouble. Nowadays, your country is not as strong as it was, but we still consider you as the number one target for decimation. The best time to plant a tree is ten years ago, and the same goes for killing a legendary powerhouse. Just as the voice of the demonized boss fell, a humanoid figure appeared at its feet. Don't worry, let me get my gear first. The visitor was none other than Zhu Kai, the blood eater. Chu Kai raised his hand and released some sort of skill into the sky, and dust drifted towards the candidates. Three pieces of legendary equipment should be in the hands of three people. These three should be the strongest among the candidates. He wanted to see how strong the new generation of Divine Summer had become after so many years. I hope it's not too weak. Seeing Ju Kai who suddenly appeared, the candidates were like enemies. As one of the empire's most wanted criminals, 
his scarred face was too easy to recognize. This was the man who killed the legend level powerhouse who escaped back then. A true murderer. The Empire's top brass had hunted him for years without being able to do anything about it. Let alone letting a group of students face him. Even though Chu Kai had only released a scouting skill, there was no release of intimidation like the boss Shan Yu, nor did it show any intention to give an estimate of the O side. But just such a simple action had already made the candidates not dare to move. Facing the boss, the crowd subconsciously believes that they are still in the exam room now and that someone will keep them safe. But in the face of this poor and evil man, the people realized that they feared their lives were no longer in their hands. Su Chan stood in the back half of the group, quietly observing the progress of things. The situation must not be reckless. The other side dared to enter the copy of the high school to do something, and most likely had already dealt with the problem of reinforcements. They have six, zero 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 candidates here completely isolated and on their own. And if I remember correctly, Chu Kai was a level 80 plus legendary profession over a decade ago. It's even impossible to guess what the level is today. Facing an opponent of this level, Su Chen didn't think he had a chance of winning, but they still exist to have the only breaking point. That's the copy limit. This is a parochial point of theoretical knowledge that is reasonably easy to ignore. However, Su Chen, as an excellent traverser of China, gave full play to his test preparation ability in his previous life. Not so clearly remembered this little tip located in the middle of page 53 of the Copy and Channel Basic Theory textbook. In the little box at the end of the sixth paragraph, copy limit, most copies possess a maximum level limit, and higher level creatures forced into the copy will be suppressed to the copy's maximum level. If the high school copy follows this rule and Jukai is suppressed to a low rank, then they still have a fight in them. Jukai's reconnaissance mists were drawing ever closer, and he had to be sure of this message before the mists reached him. There is no time to lose. Unleash insight on him. Su Chen whispered to Fatty beside him. Ha, me? Little Fatty stiffly twisted his head to look at Su Chen, his clear eyes filled with confusion. Unleashing insight on another person without permission means unleashing hostility. Having him put insight on a murderer is like asking him to kill himself. It's no death. Su Chen said, there are so many people, he doesn't know it's you. Ha, Fatty's eyes widened. I'm just vegetable. I'm not stupid. An opponent of this level would not be able to tell who unleashed the insight spell on him. Not intending to dilly-dally, Su Chen directly activated the imperial might. Release the insight spell. Fatty immediately turned around and pointed at the distant Chu Kai. The moment he released the insight technique, Chu Kai's sharp eyes instantly shot over. Fatty's chrysanthemums tightened. Goosebumps stood up all over his body, and chills began to creep upward from his spine. This feeling was not at all the kind of oppression one feels when facing a copy boss, but the fear of facing death head on. Very good. Chu Kai pinpointed Fatty in the crowd, a scarred face smiling in a particularly creepy way. I admire your courage. You're the only one of the group who dared to unleash insight on me, but being a hero comes with a price. Let me try you out. Saying so, Chu Kai instantly disappeared in place and shot towards the crowd like the wind. Wei Awa, don't kill me. It has nothing to do with me. Little Fatty's spirit directly collapsed. Don't be afraid. His level is restricted. You can deal with it, Su Chen said. Fatty was so scared that his nose and tears flowed together. Level 35 can also kill me 200 times. Level 35? I can't believe I've been pressed to level 35? Who gave you the courage to invade even after being pressed to level 35? Seeing Zhu Kai stab in, the terrified crowd instantly withdrew a path to both sides. Fear flooded everyone's hearts as they felt the passage of that overpowering killing intent. Just what kind of person dared to unleash the insight spell on him? This was definitely the end. While the crowd was fearful, someone had a different feeling. G. Boda, who had been positively intimidated by Dian Wei, said that this was a legendary wanted criminal? This killing intent isn't even as good as one of Dian Wei's ah. Chu Kai killed little fatty with a bloody blade on top of him, his speed flying, although his attributes suffered suppression. The combat experience of a high-level professional couldn't be cut down. In this case, it is necessary to cleanly resolve the other party and make an example of them. It's time to let these ungrateful brats know know the battle power of the seniors. Bloody Surge. Zhu Kai's eyes glazed over as he directly enabled the highest damage skill at level 30. The entire body turned into a blood-colored stream of light and charged forward. Right at this moment, a scarlet red ball of light appeared in the middle of Little Fatty and his attack route. Giggle. Stabbed. The blood type spike hit. But instead of the smoothness of stabbing flesh, it was like stabbing a rock. Chu Kai opened his eyes slightly, only to see his entire body shrouded in shadow. When he looked up, there was a tall, mountainous figure in front of him. What's the situation? Where did this guy come from? Candidates are so well nourished now? For a while, doubts rose in Chu Kai's head. There's an assassin. Suddenly a roar came, and Chu Kai only felt that his eardrums were about to crack. Phew. 
Blood light flashed as a huge halberd flew towards him. Shu Kai's face suddenly changed, and he drove all his strength to leap out backwards, dodging the terrifying blow. Pulling away, Shu Kai had a chance to see the monster in front of him. He was over two meters tall, wearing a scarlet armor, holding a giant double halberd, and exuding a terrifying killing intent all over his body. What's the situation? How could this kind of monster appear in a copy of the high school? General Dian, General Dian has come to our rescue. Seeing Dian Wei come out, the Longxi County candidates cheered. The scene enraged Chu Kai. I didn't realize that instead of scaring these losers, his attack also gave them a morale boost. No way, it can't end like this. He, Chu Kai, would never fail here. Giggle. Chu Kai directly sliced his wrist, and blood gushed out wildly. The spurting blood gradually gathered on top of his blade. The blade infused with blood transformed into a light red transparent like substance. It looks weird and sharp as hell. Blood manipulation. The most core skill of the legendary assassin profession, Blood Moon Assassin. A weapon infused with one's own blood can cut through any defense. Bloody tide. Zhu Kai shouted angrily, and his figure transformed into streams of light that continuously leapt up in the surroundings. This time instead of him using a straight bloody jab, he maximized the assassin's trait. The assassin is the one who finds the enemy's weakness in the midst of the vagaries and then strikes a blow. This hulking hulk is nothing but a lamb to the slaughter. Whoosh. Looking at the constantly transforming Zhu Kai, Su Chen raised his hand and waved it. Electricity surged through the space. You want to play with speed, don't you? Su Chen raised his hand, and the surrounding space instantly surged with a strong electric current. Blue white and purple black currents flashed crosswise and kept running. Powerful energies kept converging at one point. Giggle. An explosive sound that tore through space came from Zhao Yun as he stabbed out with his lance in hand. As soon as Zhao Yun appeared, Su Chen directly gave the order to attack. In an instant, Zhao Yun stabbed out as a white stream of light. A spear stabbed out, stirring up a sandstorm in the surrounding area. After the thunder lance boosted his attributes, Zhao Yun possessed an extremely terrifying speed even without triggering Lone Hero. Zhu Kai, who was still flickering around Dian Wei to observe his weaknesses, suddenly had a flash of mind. More than a decade at the point of a knife, danger tells him that death is approaching. Zhu Kai further increased his speed, countless cold sweats analyzing from his forehead. How is that possible? Even if he is pinned down at 35, but there was no way anyone in this exam room could keep up with his speed either. This is what's going on. What the fuck is going on here? Giggle. In his anger, he felt the speed of the pursuing man behind him increase once more. Would die. A thought appeared in his mind. Keep this up and you'll die. Blood mark trigger. Zhu Kai enabled the skill and his figure instantly disappeared. The next moment he reappeared at the boss's feet. The Blood Moon Assassin's skill allows for point-to-point -point teleportation with a good mark. After flashing out, Zhu Kai's face was horrified and his heart pounded. His cautious character saved his own life again. Otherwise he would have just died directly in that person's hands. Zhu Kai's heart palpitated as he looked into the distance and saw Zhao Yun in white armor. White Horse Rider, the White Horse Warchief is here. Our heroes, go for it. The crowd once again resounded with the cheers of the Ding Xiang County candidates. As he watched the candidates' atmosphere rise, Chu Kai could no longer contain the humiliation in his heart. Originally, these people didn't even dare to utter a single breath, but now they actually dared to cheer and raise a ruckus. He felt as ridiculous as a clown right now. What the fuck is this? Chu Kai yelled at the shadowy figure inside the boss. The shadow inside the boss was also in shock at the moment. In addition to the strength of those two military generals, what shocked it even more was that they were actually summons. It was surprising that such a powerful battle force was summoned. Summoned. Learning the news Zhu Kai was struck by lightning. You can summon such a powerful summon at a level 20 copy. This was the emergence of a supreme genius in the divine summer empire. No way. Absolutely no way he can be allowed to live. One man and one monster looked at each other. Surfacing the same goal in their minds. Kill that summoner. Such a person should never be allowed to grow up. Strike, leave no one behind, Zhu Kai said sinisterly. Those two are just strong on their own, not in battle. Shadow nodded slowly as he maneuvered the boss, then activated the skill to summon all his minions. 20,000 Hun soldiers were called out. Rangers, roving archers, wolf riders, all troop types were included. It was a full army of demonized Huns. The strongest thing in the copy is naturally the boss, and the bosses don't have to be limited by the bar under their control. You can directly summon all the soldiers and you can turn on berserk with full blood, everything is under their control, whoever controls the boss is the strongest being in this copy, an army of 20, 000 Huns appeared, and the newly revitalized candidates were thrown back into fear, looking at the mountains full of Hun cavalry, no one's heart was without fear, seeing the candidates return to silence, Chu Kai laughed harshly, 
scream, scream, don't you know how to scream? At the same time, Su Chen and Dian Wei Zhao Yun were both slightly glowing with white light. Xu Kai's eyes glazed over and locked onto Su Chen in the crowd. Three legendary, three pieces of legendary equipment are there. He's the summoner. He's the summoner of those two damn military generals. Three routes, three pieces of legendary equipment. Why is it all on him alone? Xu Kai stared dead at Su Chen, at the man who had caused him to lose face. After the demonized soldier crushes these losers, he must be tortured. 20,000 demonized Hun soldiers appeared, connecting together as if a monstrous wave of fury. All 6,000 koans in a state of discontent were in a state of fear. The vast majority of people began to tremble, and some were even unable to even stand. By now everyone realizes that something has gone wrong with the copies. No one will come to their rescue, they are on their own, and there's a good chance the copy protection mechanism has failed. They'll be truly dead if they die here. In the face of death, all people feel fear. Imperial College High School Review Team the grading teen teachers had begun to pray, and many of the female teachers even wiped up their tears. They all knew what kind of desperate situation the candidates were facing. Fuck, these guys are trying to kill everyone. Bastards, they are simply animals. Why is the high school being invaded? Why? When is the support coming? When is the support actually coming? Are we hopeless? Su Chen hasn't even made a move yet. There are only a thousand Su Chen soldiers combined, and there's a group missing. The other candidates are even more dissatisfied with their status. What else can be done? Damn it. Let me in. I'll kill them. Don't give up hope boys. In the sad and angry atmosphere of the conference room, Wei Zhang clenched his teeth fiercely. It's not over yet. He believes in Su Chen. He believes in the candidates. Su Chen was forever able to turn the tide of battle. And the other candidates possessed hot blood. Don't give up. Even in the face of death. No one can condemn the people of God's summer until the last moment. 20,000 people. This is going to be a tough battle. Su Chen said in his heart. This battle must mobilize everyone. Looking at the candidates who were gradually falling into despair, Su Chen moved to the front of the line. Behind him, Dian Wei and Zhao Yun followed closely. A few figures swimming against the current stood out among the ever-retreating and timid group. General Dang. We still have General Dang. Don't give up everyone. The White Horse Warchief. The White Horse Warchief is still there too. Who is he and why is he walking ahead of those two military generals? His name is Su Chen. A candidate from Nanshan No. One middle school in Jiandong province. Remember this name. Gao Zhan walked out from the crowd. He didn't panic from the start because he knew Su Chen would stand up for himself. Gao Zhang silently walked behind Su Chen and followed closely. Gu Xia also walked out of the crowd to follow him, with the two of them taking the lead. More and more people followed Su Chen towards the front of the battlefield. Candidates led by Dian Wei in Longxi County and Zhao Yun in Dingxiang County. One after another. All the candidates gathered together and walked toward the unknown front. The originally scattered and panicked crowd regrouped. Stand still in front of the battlefield. Confrontation with 20. 000 Hun soldiers. Damned gods and charlatans. The abyssal demonic creature hiding inside the boss roared. The scene in front of him brought back memories of the great battle a hundred years ago. That's how the Shinsha people turned the tables on desperate situations back then. But this time. Not a chance. This time he would completely destroy this group of egotistical guys. Completely destroyed. Buzz. Su Chen's mind flickered slightly and Hua Zhaodong's action track reappeared. It's amazing that Hogwash reconnected at a critical moment. Seeing Hua Zaiwei rejoining, the concerns in Su Chen's heart were directly dispelled for the most part. Spell defense with Dian Wei. Spell single combat with Zhao Yun. The strongest in this aspect of playing the group is undoubtedly Hua Zhaodong. Moreover, Hua's orientation to kill the battlefield was perfect. This is a battle that can be won. Phew. As the gusts of wind rose, Su Chen raised his hand and summoned all of the tiger leopard riders and white horse boxers. The tiger and leopard riders were located at the left front of the team, and the team dressed in pitch black battle armor looked like a steel city wall. The white horse boxer appeared at the right front of the group, his bright armor and silver spear gleaming in the desert. War! Dian Wei roared furiously, his voice resounding throughout the desert like a thunderous tremor. Boom! The tiger and leopard rider soldiers slammed their shields with their machetes, making an earth-shattering sound. War! The soldiers responded in unison. Zhao Yun walked slowly to the front of the white horse boxer without speaking, silently gripping his lance. Behind him the white horsemen were equally silent. But in the midst of this soundlessness, a strong battle intent continued to spread. They are not good with words, and actions make the best slogans. The majestic aura of the tiger leopard riders and white horse boxers directly affected all the candidates behind them. Seeing them appear, all the candidates perked up. That powerful aura and strength told them, they are not lambs to the slaughter. They can fight. This was the territory of the Divine Summer. 
and neither the abyss nor the traitors would ever take half a step into it. I can't believe I can summon so many soldiers. Zhu Kai's eyes locked onto Su Chen, and the killing intent in his heart increased. Such people should never be allowed to grow up. So what if you can summon soldiers? Not even a thousand. The boss laughed arrogantly. The more you resist, the more fun I'll have killing you. Release the arrows. The shadow boss raised his hand and roared, and the team of Hun traveling archers located at the very back of the Hun team drew their bows and shot arrows. 5. 000, 000, 000 demonized wandering archers, each shooting three arrows at once. Countless bows and arrows covered the entire sky shooting towards the candidate team. It's truly a million arrows. Block. Dian Wei roared as the tiger leopard riders raised their shields to block. Zhao Yun, on the other hand, led the white horse boxers to brandish their lances and flick away their bows and arrows. To them, the bows and arrows of the wandering archers were not considered a threat. But for the candidates, the power of 10, 000, 000 arrows was too terrifying. The front row candidates released their protection skills at the first sign of the incoming bow. However, against a level 20 traveling archer, the low level defense skills simply weren't enough. Coupled with the candidate's dissatisfied state, it was only a matter of time before the defense was broken. This is not a candidate. There is no copy protection. A broken defense would mean the death of a large number of candidates. The tiger leopard riders and the white horse boxers brought a brief revitalization. Instantly, he was crushed by this brutal gap in strength. Even though they are passionate, most of them do not even see the face of the enemy. Imperial College High School Review Team. The scoring room fell into dead silence. The emotions of the crowd, which had just been ignited by the candidates, were gone in this moment. Zhao Yun and Dian Wei's appearance was too dazzling. Let the crowd ignore the fact that the other side was a full Hun force of 20. 000, 000 men. Back row shooter. Front row surge. Flanking roamer. They have the perfect setup. Looking at the candidates who were desperately defending themselves on the screen, Wei Zheng's heart seemed to sink to the bottom of the sea. Perhaps Su Chen could really defeat the enemy, but these candidates in the back would definitely die and be heavily injured. It's all about kids who haven't had a chance to see the world yet, and their lives shouldn't stop here. There was a burst of arrows breaking through the screen. Countless arrows traveled through the air like a life-sapping evil spirit. If you don't play full defense, there is a high probability that you will get injured. This terrifying attack left the candidates with no way to advance. In the screen Su Chen dispersed the tiger leopard cavalry and white horse boxers into the candidates' ranks. Help take the pressure off their defense as much as possible. But that's just quenching the thirst. As the candidates run out of energy, sooner or later the defenses will be breached. They had to get rid of the five. Zero, zero, zero traveling archers. But what to do with it? Wei Zhang's heart was ashen. The traveling archers were in the last row of the line, nearly a kilometer from the candidates' line. Before they could even touch the traveling archers, they themselves had been shot through a sieve. It's a total dead heat, and all that can be expected is a miracle. Will there be a miracle? Will someone save them? Wei Zhang stared blankly at the screen, not realizing that he had a day to pray. Whoosh. Whoosh. The shadow boss apparently found the bow and arrow to be of significant use. Instead of ordering an attack, he had the roving archers keep firing. That's the beauty of self-control. Normal boss fights swim archers shoot a few rounds and then move up to spam. And with shadow control, it allows the traveling archer to attack infinitely. Soon, soon, the shadow laughed. A few more rounds of offense would completely crush the opposite defense. In the face of absolute strength, courage is a joke. I can't, can someone, anyone top. A knight's aura defense disappeared and the person fell straight to the ground. Several mages within his protection zone were directly exposed to the rain of arrows. In the nick of time, a mage raised an earth wall for defense. But the mage's defenses would soon be disintegrated. This happened all over the battlefield. Candidate's defenses are crumbling. Su Chen took it all in. He's done everything he can. Now there's only waiting. Waiting for that figure to appear. More and more fell. And the defense system collapsed further. Candidates are already beginning to suffer. Can't hold out. They're about to. Tread. Tap. Tap tap tap. The ground began to tremble. Some of the candidates who had not yet lost their minds realized that the gravel was vibrating under their feet. It was the sound of a large army marching. Has the enemy begun to attack? It's finally time to crush them in one fell swoop. Fear and relief spread among the candidates, and all thought the enemy was about to charge. Only Su Chen eyed the distance, looking at the place where the desert met the sky. Here we go. Finally waited. Accompanied by the sound of earth-shattering hoofbeats, a flash of red appeared in the middle of the gray and yellow desert. The red grew and grew, closer and closer, and soon spread across the strip of skyline. Here we go. Hua Zaiwei is here with the Han Iron Horseman. It came straight around from the wolf juxtaposition route, straight to the heart of the enemy. Tap tap tap, tap tap tap, 
The sound of the Great Han Iron Horseman marching resounded through the sky. Shadow Boss and Chu Kai finally realized that something was wrong. How can there be hoofbeats when all your own troops are here? The Shadow Boss suddenly felt something and looked violently behind him. A large group of soldiers in red armor was charging at him. This is where the troops come from. The back is not even part of the replica area. So why would a team show up? What the hell is going on here? What the fuck is going on here? General, General, there's a team appearing behind us. A member of the team yelled from the conference room. Everyone's attention was drawn. The big screen pans back, only to see a red team out behind the enemy formation. The dead silent conference room instantly boiled as everyone cheered. They all knew the battle prowess of Hua Zaiwei and the Great Han Iron Cavalry. With such a team attacking the enemy's back row, the situation would be completely turned around. Miracle, a miracle has occurred. How did they get there? My god, how could we forget about this martial artist? We can definitely win with him. Kill, kill those archers, kill them. It's so shocking, go for it. I'm going to cry. Seeing Hua Zaiwei appear, Wei Zhang was struck by lightning and his hands could not stop trembling. It's that genius conductor Su Chen. Surprisingly, he didn't take the portal and came directly around from Wolf Jushi Mountain. He ran with his team hundreds of kilometers around the enemy's main rear. How on earth did this come to mind? In shock, Wei Zhang's heart beat frantically. Can win. This time it can be won. This time it will be a win. Inside the copy, the shadow boss urgently redirected the swimming bowman's attack. The pressure on the candidate's side of the line was instantly reduced. Gradually the crowd realized that the sound of hoofbeats was not at all the sound of the enemy marching in. They looked up into the distance and saw the great Han Iron Horseman that appeared behind the enemy army. Reinforcements are coming, someone's coming to save us. The candidates cheered with excitement. Su Chen raised his hand to reorganize the formations of the tiger leopard riders and white horse boxers. This is not the time to cheer. All generals obey. The voice attached with imperial authority spread out in all directions. Charge. Su Chen violently waved his hand forward. Dian Wei and Zhao Yun led the Tiger Leopard Cavalry and White Horse Boxers to kill directly. Double teamed. This is the best time to attack. The crowd of candidates who heard the instruction also didn't hesitate in the slightest and rushed out immediately after the group. Kill. Kill those beasts. The long accumulated bitterness and humiliation were completely detonated at this moment. Candidates are at an all-time high. For a while shouts, hoofbeats, and the waving of swords and spears resounded across the desert. At this moment, the offense and defense are different. Release the arrows, release the arrows. What kind of speed is this? This is the kind of speed a level 20 can have. The shadow boss was completely dumbfounded. From the time he discovered the great Han Iron Riders to the time they killed them in front of him was only 10 seconds or so. It was more than 10 seconds they had surprisingly crossed a distance of several thousand meters. The terrifying speed made the bows and arrows all miss. The team of candidates also launched a charge. In just 10 seconds or so, their advantage was gone. Die, all of you. The shadow boss roared and sent out all of his rangers and wolf riders. So what if you don't use bows and arrows? You're nothing but a bunch of losers. A vast line of demonized cavalry poured out and killed the attacking group. In the rear of the enemy army, Huazaiwe's eyes were like lightning as he led his team in a prone charge. Izzy, the last enemy. Extinction formation. At Huazaiwe's command, the Han Iron Cavalry formed a sword tip like extermination formation. Military spirit. With another shout. The military soul effect brought about by the binding of the golden flag of sacrifice to the heavens activated. Countless red air waves floated out from the charging soldiers' bodies to converge in the sky. Those waves of chi continued to merge and condense, forming a huge ferocious tiger. The concrete military spirit will charge with the party to unleash a single large powerful attack. Damage is the number of people in the party asterisk average power attribute of the party slash 10. The strength attribute of the great Han Iron Horseman is 1. 400 points. And their number is 580. A total of 81, 200 points of damage. With the addition of the extinction formation, this damage would exceed 100,000. One charge deals 100, 000 points of damage to all the teams it touches. A level 20 demonic creature can't afford to be so harmful. All enemies who meet them are looking for death. Wherever the iron hooves go, not an inch of grass grows. On the other side, all of them were led by Dian Wei and Jia Yun to kill the enemy army. Su Qin directly took out two bottles of officially issued spirit potions and drank them. The mental energy consumed from using Imperial Might earlier was instantly filled up. This time, he would make the Abyssal Demons remember forever. Imperial authority cannot be invaded. Phew. The pressure of the two armies meeting directly created a hurricane on the desert. The enemy army had already killed before them. And Wazaiwe clenched his lance as the wind and sand roared in his ears. To think that this is how he killed and routed the Huns ranks a thousand years ago. And today, he's going to repeat it again. Before the Huns are destroyed, there is no home. 
Anyone who offends my strong Han will be executed even though they are far away. Boom. Shocking the sky with a thorough tiger's roar, the great Han Iron Horseman directly stabbed into the enemy formation, sweeping through everything like a torrent of steel. Imperial might is vast. An aura with a range of 10 meters surged up from the tiger leopard riders and white horse boxers. Between the golden ripples, enemies covered in fury were washed away. Both sides attacked at the same time, and the ranks of demonized Huns collapsed like a tidal wave. All the enemies that stood in front of Su Chen were reduced to pieces in an instant. Kill level 20 demonized Hun rangers. Experience plus 1031. Kill level 20 demonized Hun wolf cavalry. Experience plus 1467. Kill level 20 demonized Hun traveling archer. Experience plus 1291. Kill level 20 demonized Hun ranger. Experience plus 1113. Kill level 20 demonized Hun ranger warrior. Experience plus 3277. Kill level 20 demonized Hun wolf cavalry elite. Experience plus 4877. Imperial College High School Review Team. Everyone is boiling. Too strong. Su Chen is too strong. What kind of skill is this? I can't understand it at all. We can really win. It seems like we can really win. Why? Why do I want to cry so much? Kill. Isn't it a drag? Kill them all. As he watched the military soul attacks of the Dahan Iron Cavalry and the vastness of Imperial might released by Su Chen, Wei Zheng's heart trembled. That's heroic. That's heroic. To help the building to fall. To save it from collapse. Su Chen is the hero of the empire. It is the glory of the empire. Boom. The iron horsemen of the great Han are unstoppable. Breaking through all the enemy troops along the way and directly mounting the demonized boss Shan Yu. The impact that carried the military spirit directly decimated a quarter of his blood bar. This was a world boss with 500. 000 points of physical attributes. What a power this is. On the other side. Under the overlay of level 3 imperial mighty vastness. The Hun ranks were annihilated in batches. As much as half of the 20, 000 strong enemy force was wiped out in just one shot. The rest were all scattered and fled in all directions. The candidates took advantage of the situation and ran after the remaining 10, 000 men. Shadow Boss and Chu Kai looked at the scene in front of them with eyes full of confusion. Why have things gotten to this point? Didn't they come to slaughter? Portal. Go. Chu Kai flashed to the Shadow Boss's shoulder. He'd been careful all his life and hadn't thought he'd miss out on a candidate copy. Now that they've lost, there's no need for them to stay. The shadow boss knew that the tide had turned and began to operate the teleportation spell that was connected to the mountain in Wolf Jushi. Once back there they can get out of the copy and escape. Zhu Kai stared at Su Chen, who was emitting golden light, and opened his mouth to roar. I, Zhu Kai, have memorized today's revenge, and you won't have any more peaceful days in the future. There's nothing you can do in the copy. Let's see you die when you're out of the copy. Wait to die you, you scumbag. That, the shadow interrupted Jukai. The teleportation array. It seems, it's broken. Jukai jerked his head around to stare at him, his mouth slightly open, confusion written all over his face. Below, Dian Wei scraped his twin halberds against each other, shooting out bits of sparks. Zhao Yin stabbed his spear into the sand, dragging out deep scratches along the way. Hua Zaiwei stood in the midst of 10,000 troops, a bow long drawn. Who dares to disrespect his majesty? Isn't Wolf Jushu Mountain outside the replica? Why would someone destroy it? Chu Kai weakly opened his mouth. A shadow of death was enveloping him. Shadow Boss looked terrified. Could it be the unit that appeared in the rear? Don't panic, Chu Kai said, forcing down the fear in his heart. The battle isn't over yet. The two of us together still have a chance. Good. I'll regroup the troops and you take advantage of the chaos to assassinate the student. Shadow said. Perfect plan, Chu Kai exclaimed. Whoosh. Hua released his arrows and the sharp arrows slammed into Zhu Kai. Together, Zhu Kai and Shadow roared at the same time and enabled their skills at the same time. Swish, the color of blood flashed, and Zhu Kai's figure instantly disappeared. The black aura on the other side of the boss Shan Yu also instantly dissipated. Ran, boss Shan Yu regained consciousness and looked at the vast army at his feet with a blank face. Imperial might is vast. Su Chen drank another bottle of mental power potion, not giving him a chance to make a move. Golden ripples vibrated and the last of the single boss's bloodstains were instantly vaporized. Kill level 20 world boss Izzy Shan Yu. Experience plus 212,103. Successful clearance and ownership of legendary equipment. Get Jade Seal of Transmission Fragment Asterisk 30. Successful clearance of the final level and the end of the entrance examination. Successfully leveled up to 24. The world boss died. A massive amount of experience surged into Su Chen's body, and the upgrade light pillar lit up again. Surprisingly, it was upgraded again. Su Chen sighed in his heart. 
I didn't realize that I had risen four levels in a row within the high school copy. This was something he hadn't even thought about before entering the copy. But now is not the time to be happy. With a flash of his mind, Su Chen turned on Zhao Yun's expedition mode. The fight isn't over yet. Cutting off the roots is a lesson left by our old ancestors. In the middle of the vast desert, Zhu Kai was running wildly at a high speed. As a legendary assassin at the tip of a blade, it was impossible for him not to leave himself a way out. Through the scarlet mark he left behind, it would only take another hundred kilometers to reach the original entrance. It was slower than passing out directly from the teleportation array, but it was the only chance now. There was still that abyssal demon on the battlefield stalling for time, and it was impossible for the other side to arrive in a moment. As long as he escaped the copy, he would have plenty of chances to take revenge. As he ran, a sound of electricity stirring came from his ears. Whoosh! Chu Kai's intuition flickered, and chilling hairs rose all over his body. He drove his muscles to leap out to the side. Put! A long spear haunted with purple lightning stabbed straight into where he had just been. In the sky, a silver figure shot toward him like a meteor. It's over. Chu Kai's eyes trembled slightly. On the front battlefield, as the copy boss fell to the ground, the candidates realized that the battle was finally over. This two day long, hundreds of kilometers of running, countless battles, and finally a demonic invasion of the college entrance exam is finally over. Victory! We are victorious! The candidates shouted. Mom, I'll live to see you. I can't believe I actually won. I thought I was going to die. As they cheered, the candidates all turned their gazes to Su Chen in the center of the battlefield. After this battle, everyone knew that those powerful martial arts generals were Su Chen's summons. Now the crowd knew who the real heroes of the battle were. Thank you Su Chen, it was he who saved us. Long live Su Chen, long live Su Chen. I must put Su Chen on my epitaph. Those summons were actually all summoned by him. It's just too powerful. Ha ha ha, my brother is awesome. Isn't he? Of course it's my brother. White Horse Marshal General and Su Chen are both my brothers. We wear the same pants. Heaven does not give birth to Su Chen, and all ages are like a long night. Amidst the indulgent cheering of the ordinary candidates, those high-grade candidates from the Siwei's province silently lowered their heads. If placed before, they would have questioned Su Chen's strength and been jealous of his battle power. But after the final battle, even those who were high-minded had to be convinced. He saved the team of candidates, with unimaginable power. This is an indisputable fact. Imperial College High School Review Team. Seeing the collapse of the demons, the scoring members hanging hearts finally dropped. Did it. They really did it. This is the candidate of our divine summer empire. Su Chen saved the day. Saved everyone. Amidst the cheers of the crowd, Wei Zhang also revealed a rare smile. Not only was it for the candidates to gain salvation, but it was also for the divine summer empire to usher in another new genius. The screen flickered and the GAA regained control of the copy. This meant that the abyssal demon was out of the copy. These demons come and go without a trace and are hard to kill. The abyssal demon escaped, and Chu Kai, who came with him, didn't have such a good chance. Open the teleportation channel. Have the medical team on standby to calm the candidates. Wei Zhang left behind a sentence and turned to leave the conference room. He was going to take care of that beast with his own hands. Inside the copy, a huge pillar of blue light lit up, and it was a pass spell that had never appeared before in the Gao Gao copy. Getting out of there means successfully passing back to reality. Gathering their emotions, the candidates move one by one towards the passing phalanx. The end of the high school battle is finally in sight. Su Chen didn't leave in a hurry and took Dian Wei and Hua Zaiwei to wait for Zhao Yun on one side. It was just as the sun was setting in the west, and the silhouettes of the three of them lengthened infinitely across the desert. What had been a perfect drop scene was marred by the exuberant popularity of Dian Wei. General Dang. Goodbye. Bye bye. General Nori. I'm going. Girls of all colors came to Nori to say goodbye to him. Su Chen stood to the side with his eyebrows constantly rising. This one or two is fine. What's the meaning of hundreds? Hey. In the face of Su Chen's questioning, Dian Wei nervously scratched his head and played dumb. At the end of the candidate's line, Gao Zhang and Gu Xiao walked up. Not bad for you. Gao Zhang gave Su Chen a thumbs up. Su Chen nodded. See you at the university. See you at college. Gao Zhang turned to leave after a few pleasantries. And Gu Xia didn't say anything. Instead, it was Dian Wei who smiled at Gu Xia. You recognize this too? Su Chen was puzzled. Hey, in the middle of the desert, Chu Kai was panting heavily, covered in electric marks and in a sorry state. In front of him, Zhao Yun held up his lance in a calm manner. It's finished. Chu Kai's eyes were filled with panic. Although his attributes were suppressed, Zhu Kai was very confident in his battle skills. He had wanted to take down the warlord in front of him by virtue of his maneuvers. But who knew that the opposite side of a long gun used out of the ordinary? Killing him simply cannot return. 
On what grounds, he was a legend-ranked professional, honed by decades of combat. Surprisingly, you can't even spell a summon. What the hell are these things from? Buzz. A pillar of teleportation light fell not far away. Wei Zhang, who was wearing a military uniform, slowly walked out from it. Wei Zhang. Wei Zhang you're finally here. Xu Kai saw Wei Zhang like he saw a savior. He was now the military commander of the Eastern Kingdom of Ing, and it was impossible for Wei Zhang to kill him directly. Compared to the man with the spear in front of him, Wei Zhang was his savior. You get me out of here. He's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. Zhu Kai stared at Zhao Yun while retreating towards Wei Zhang. He was truly scared by Zhao Yun. Wei Zhang walked slowly towards Zhu Kai with an expressionless face, and a layer of red light surfaced on both fists. Boom. He swung his fist violently into the back of Zhu Kai's head, knocking him to the ground with a punch and spitting blood from his mouth. Zhu Kai was dizzy, but a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Being punched by Wei Zhang was a necessity. As long as one resisted the punch, one could live. After knocking over Zhu Kai with one punch, Wei Zhang clasped his fists and looked at Zhao Yun. General, I have a deep grudge against this man. May I have him at my disposal? Wei Zhang did not recognize Zhao Yun, but naturally shouted out the word general. His majesty's orders are to kill him, Zhao Yun said. The order Su Chen gave was to kill Chu Kai. Whether or not he killed Chu Kai himself Zhao Yun didn't care, but he had to see Chu Kai die. Zhu Kai, who had fallen to the ground, laughed in his heart. What the hell dares to call himself his majesty and kill me? You see he dares to touch me. That's what I came for. Wei Zhang's dual fists glowed with a great deal of light, and intense energy continued to converge. Zhu Kai's eyes widened angrily. Wei Zhang, how dare you? I'm the military commander of the Eastern Kingdom, and I'm going to the war tribunal. Kill me here. Aren't you afraid of causing an international dispute? Wei Zhang slowly walked towards him. What is Eastern Ing? When has my divine summer empire ever cared about the East? Puffing. Wei Zhang and Zhao Yun appeared together at the exit of the copy. Su Chen recognized the youngest general in the empire. Classmate Su Chen. Good job. Wei Zhang's face was full of relief. Being there in person is not the same as being across the screen. Standing here. Wei Zhang clearly felt the powerful auras of several martial generals. This was simply not the kind of powerful energy that ordinary people could display. Good day General Wei. Su Chen nodded in response. After a short conversation, Wei Zhang raised his hand and gave a military salute to Su Chen. On behalf of the Divine Summer Empire's military department, I would like to express our gratitude. You are our pride. After making the confirmation of the legendary great equipment with Wei Zhang, Su Chen walked into the teleportation light pillar. Instead of connecting directly to reality, the pillar of light connected to the preparation space. Here members of the medical department will examine the candidate in all aspects. Ensure that the candidate is not infested by the abyss. After exiting the preparation space, Su Chen was directly teleported to the imperial capital. Three pieces of legendary equipment was no small matter, and he had to make a final report at the imperial capital. Inside the waiting room, Su Chen reorganized the gains of the past two days. The first is the successive breakthroughs in rank. Several battles in two days had brought his level to 24. This was already the highest rank that many professionals had worked their entire lives to touch. A third of the experience bar was saved for level 24. By saving up the next two thirds, he would reach level 25. At level 25 he will be able to unlock the Emperor's sacred item option and collect Emperor's exclusive equipment. And after collecting a set of Emperor's exclusive equipment, he can also unlock the corresponding Emperor's template for a second turn at level 30. I'm sure he'll get another quantum leap in battle power when he reaches level 30. Exclusive Emperor Equipment. Emperor Templates. Just thinking about it made Su Chen incomparably look forward to it. The road to upgrading is a long and arduous one. The invasion of this high school also made him feel that a crisis was near. Despite the victory this time, the abyssal invasion would only grow more and more powerful. They're back. The demons that brought untold suffering to mankind a hundred years ago. And I'm afraid the enemy this time isn't just demons. Judging from the fact that Chu Kai has joined forces with them, I'm afraid that the entire country of Eastern Japan is in trouble. They certainly wouldn't be the only country involved with the abyssal demons either. An abyssal invasion. A huge crisis is slowly surfacing. All he could do was strengthen himself. In addition to leveling up, the most important thing was the three pieces of legendary equipment that were in hand. Without these three pieces of legendary great equipment, there was no way he could have won the final battle so cleanly. Of course, it wasn't easy to say whether the abyssal demons would invade without these three pieces of legendary great equipment. This is followed by the acquisition of the jade seal shards. You get 10 shards for each of the three routes and 30 shards for the final level. Assimilating Zhao Yun and Dian Wei weapons costs 20 pieces, for a total of 40 pieces, together with the remaining 5 from before. Su Chen had a total of 45 fragments. 
a proper huge amount of money. He opened the Shard Mall, Debris Mall, five pieces, designated general's weapon to be upgraded, level 20. Note, there is a chance of acquiring new skills after upgrading weapons. Note, after upgrading, the consumption of the next use will be doubled, and each general will be counted separately. 10 shards, randomly obtain a vocational skill up to level 40, level 30. 15 shards, permanently transform a copy into your exclusive territory, level 20. 30 shards, randomly select a general card or a noble princess card, level 30. Subsequent functions to be unlocked. Both Dianwei and Zhao Yun have new equipment, so they don't really need the first upgrade, and they've already spent 10 shards assimilating legendary weapons. Updating the weapon again would cost a full 20 shards. Hua Zhua hadn't updated his weapon yet, and Su Chen directly spent 5 shards to upgrade it. Whether or not to consume 5 fragments to upgrade the weapon of General Hua Zaiwei, the plum blossom bow, the panel popped up with a reminder, and Su Chen chose yes, a blue blow lit up and the 5 jade seal fragments in the backpack disappeared. Weapon upgraded successfully. Plum blossom Baya yang bao. Flare bao, rare class weapon. Lightly loaded, passive increases the value of a unit's agility attribute by 20%. Invulnerability, passive provides 50% armor piercing effect. Successfully acquired a new skill. The bao formation. Traveling bao formation, can only be used when holding a flare bao consumes mental energy to put troops into the traveling bao formation mode. When entering the bao formation mode, troops will receive an overall agility increase and the damage of long-range attacks will be greatly increased, as well as the armor-piercing effect. Not bad, not bad, Su Chen rejoiced. Once again, I've unlocked a skill, so it seems like I'm getting lucky, and the skills unlocked this time go very well with Hua. Gives him another tactical option to add to his repertoire. With 40 shards left, neither the skills nor the summon generals are leveled enough. There is only one option to convert a copy. That copy of Pharaoh's heart in the wilderness could be considered, but he's already at level 24. Returning to swipe the pharaoh's heart again, the experience gain may not be as lucrative as before. After some consideration, Su Chen closed the panel. There's no need to spend it all at once. Level 25 mall may unlock new items again. You can canton until then. Just after closing the panel, Wei Zhan walked in. There's a bit of disagreement up there about those three pieces of legendary equipment. Regarding the three pieces of equipment, the upper echelon is still wrestling with whether or not to follow the rules. Wei Zhang paused for a moment. Observing Su Chen's expression, Su Chen sat on the chair without showing any emotion. There was obviously a follow-up to what Wei Zhang had said, and now was not the time for him to take a stand. Moreover, he believed that the senior management of God Summer would not do something like destroying credibility by going back on their word. Once again even if they did want to take back the legendary equipment, his attitude rather didn't matter. What else can we do if we don't turn it in? Be a traitor like Chu Kei? Seeing Su Chen's calm demeanor, Wei Zhang smiled with satisfaction. Pleasure and anger are not visible, and the aura is strong and stable. This is the seedling who can do great things, genius he'd seen plenty of. Those people tend to be high-minded and feel that the whole world revolves around them. It was almost impossible to pick out someone with Su Chen's performance. Wei Zhang continued, tangled as they are, there are reasons for them up there. You should be aware of the rarity of legendary weapons, whose impact is national. Surely the higher-ups aren't ungrateful for the three weapons. Here Wei Zhang paused again and smiled sarcastically. There's a little bit of that side of it too, but it's not the main reason. The main reason is for your safety. Holding three pieces of legendary equipment in your hand will give you too much attention in the future. A lot of people are going to be watching you, not to mention the forces that are hiding in the dark. The main purpose of this abyssal invasion is the three legendary weapons, and this situation could occur in the future as well. If you want to wear the crown, you must bear the weight. So be prepared. Su Chen slowly nodded his head. His profession is the 9 to 5. And how could the 9 to 5 fear a stinker in the darkness? That's about it. You can leave now. But don't leave the imperial capital until the results are discussed up there. Wei Zheng smiled and got up. It's your first time in the imperial city, right? It's just as well that the college entrance exams are over for a few days of relaxation in the imperial city, isn't it? We'll make the clarification on your parents' end. Just contact my principal and homeroom teacher. Su Chen said indifferently. Wei Zheng was slightly stunned. All right, have fun. The 13th General Directorate of Homeland Security of the Empire, or the 13th Directorate for short. Inside the magnificent and solemn building of the 13th Bureau, a confidential conference room was holding an emergency meeting. The meeting gathered all the top brass of the 13th Bureau as well as several active legendary class professionals. The meeting focused on preliminary exploration of the possibility of an abyssal invasion approach and the treatment of the impact of the invasion. The foregoing advanced quickly, and there was little dissent from the crowd. But when it came to the impact of the invasion, the crowd was more divided. 
especially for the distribution of the three legendary weapons. It's completely unreasonable for a level 20 candidate to take three legendary weapons, a senior opposed handing over the equipment. It's not level 20, interrupted a legendary ranked professional. He rose four levels in a row within the copy and is now level 24. The whole room was in an uproar. Four levels up in two days, and that's at the level 20 stage. This talent is truly unprecedented. It's even more important that such an excellent seed not be prematurely exposed to the enemy's vision. The top brass argued with reason. Yeah, legendary equipment is a double-edged sword, and I don't think he's strong enough. Controversy continues to rage between the two sides over whether or not to hand over the legendary weapons. Finally, a vote was proposed. After some maneuvering, the vote was tied 7 to 7, with 5 abstentions. If it's not possible, then let Elder Yen decide. He had a hand in the proposal to put three legendary weapons into the gauntlet replica. And those three legendary levels were also kindly sponsored by Elder Yen. Agreed. Let Wei Zheng inform Elder Yen. The moonlight is hazy and the night is enchanting. Inside a certain mansion, a white-haired, white-bearded old man leaned leisurely against the window, holding a pot of tea. Elder Yen, the ashes-level patriarch of the Divine Summer Empire, the founder of the Thirteen Duros is now in semi-retirement. Back then he was known for his thunderous methods and brutal tactics against the enemy. Now over 100 years old and retired for many years, the long hours had long since erased the restlessness in his mind. Elder Yen, Elder Yen, there was a sharp shout from the doorway. The young correspondent rushed all the way into the tea room. Hey, how many times have I told you? Don't be hasty when things happen. Be calm. Elder Yen opened his mouth to lecture. I'm sorry Elder Yen, General Wei Zhang is here in person. Saying that it's about the legendary grade equipment, the correspondent said, you're returning it after using it for high school? This kind of thing also needs to come to me this late? Yan Lao said calmly, no, it's the legendary equipment that can't come back. Hmm, Elder Yen raised an eyebrow, picking up the hot tea from the table and slowly savoring it. What's the hurry? You youngsters, it's just a piece of equipment. When you get to be my age, you'll know that equipment is nothing more than a body. No, it's three pieces of equipment. All three are gone. Put. Yen took a mouthful of spray and spat the correspondent's face with tea froth. I'm your grandma. This is all the equipment that I fought back from the battlefield. We agreed to give it back when we were done using it. How come it's gone when we said it was gone? In the commercial center of the imperial capital, the bustling crowds were all attracted by a scene. On the street, three fierce men nearly two meters tall and wearing ancient armor followed a boy side by side. There was nothing special about that boy other than the fact that he was as handsome as the great readers. The crowd speculated that this was your son traveling and had hired three professionals as bodyguards. Su Chen was a bit bored shopping by himself, so he summoned Dian Wei and the others. However, he didn't expect that the three of Dian Wei would attract so much attention. You said these are all houses where the people live. Hui is quite interested in everything in the modern world. Looking at the street a car, a high-rise, dazzling neon lights, colorful and fragrant snacks. Curiosity was written all over Hua's eyes, and a touch of regret hung in the corners of his eyes while he was curious. He stood at the crossroads of traffic, his eyes reflecting the brilliant lights. If my great Han could be as peaceful as this country, how good would it be? Hearing these words, Su Chen's heart thumped. He turned to look and saw three generals side by side. That glance traveled through a thousand years. The country is at peace with itself and the people. And this is the belief that has sustained how many generals have gone into battle to kill the enemy. The country is prosperous and the people are at peace, which is the deepest expectation of how many generations of emperors. General, Su Chen spoke softly. The Great Han after a thousand years is indeed as peaceful a country as it is here. Your Majesty, you, Hua Ziwei is a bit surprised how Su Chen knows about the Great Han. I am also a citizen of Dahan. These two chapters are a bit on the daily side, P.S., seeing as the little author is coding on New Year's Eve. Don't say I'm watery. Your Majesty, hearing Su Chen speak of the people of the Great Han, Hua Ziwei immediately knelt down on one knee and saluted. Zhao Yun was also touched and his heart trembled as he knelt down and saluted along with Hua Daizi. Seeing that they had all knelt, it was inappropriate for him to stand, so he knelt as well. Generals, please rise. Su Chen helped everyone up. Please rest assured. General, that in that world, the Great Han will always be well. Hua Ziwei looked at Su Chen and nodded solemnly. With Su Chen's words, the last attachment in his heart was put down. The scene of Hua Ziwei saluting Su Chen once again attracted many passers-by to watch. Su Chen picked up Hua Ziwei and realized that it might be that Dian Wei and the three of them were too particular in their attire. Walking down the street in this kind of attire does tend to attract the attention of passers-by. Then go clothes shopping. A thought rose in Su Chen's mind. He now has nearly six million dollars full of money. It's all about the money you get from buying and selling duplicate drops. 
He is undoubtedly super rich now than in the old days of nibbling potatoes. That's why everyone wants to be a professional. Just like most people wanted to be actors in their previous life. The social status and ability of professionals to earn wealth is simply not on the same scale as the average person. Su Chen, who had just become a professional for less than half a month, had $6 million in savings, not to mention the top professionals. The current Su Chen somewhat experienced the feeling of Sister Shuang Zi's millions of dollars a day in her previous life. After making the decision, Su Chen led the three to set off. The goal is the best custom suit store in the empire. If you're going to wear it, wear the best. The three military generals were using legendary equipment, so they couldn't be given a drop. On the way to the suit customization store, Cannon also made a wave of sharp comments about the cars on the road. It started when Hua Ziwei and Zhao Yun were very interested in the power source of the car and asked Su Chen about it. Su Chen introduced them to the principle of the internal combustion engine with his knowledge of physics, which he had pretty much forgotten. After listening to Su Chen's explanation, Dian Wei said that he felt nothing. In my opinion, it's just a carriage. Where are the horses? How can you call this a carriage? Yeah, a wagon without horses. They don't have horses. Well well well. Su Chen just couldn't stand Dian Wei's broken mouth and directly shut him up with his imperial might. After circling around a few streets, Su Chen brought the group into a suit store with a foreign name. According to his search on the communicator, this was the best customized suit store in the empire. As Su Chen's few people approached, their powerful aura immediately shook the crowd present. A waiter hurriedly introduced several people into the VLP box. Professionals need to be respected, not to mention being such extraordinary professionals. A few of you will wait a little while, and someone will be here shortly to make the connection. The service retired, and before long several cups of mellow coffee were thoughtfully brought up. Dian Wei looked at the finger-sized cup with interest. Claude took a sip of his coffee and spewed it out again in a puff. Poison. Your majesty be careful. It's poisoned. Watching Dian Wei spit out his tongue because his mouth was full of bitterness, Su Chen cried and laughed. This kid is always up to something. Fortunately, the store had good service, and someone soon came to clean the opposite side of the room and change fresh water for canonical. Zhao Yun and Hua Zhao are much better groomed for coffee. Both of them took a sip and then silently put down their cups without making a sound. How? Su Chen asked. Zhao Yun and Hua Ziwei nodded their heads in unison. Not bad. Not bad. Really good? Well, uh, Su Chen saw through their forced smiles. Anyone else want to change the clear water? Me, both voiced at the same time. Su Chen let out a giggle. On the side, Dian Wei couldn't stop laughing. He didn't stop until two murderous eyes locked onto his back. After some time, the special person who serves the mouth came. The visitor was also a professional, but of the cold tailor class. After a short exchange of pleasantries, the tailor inquired about Su Chen's expectations. They have three grades of customized suits here, each with a different price point. Without hesitation, Su Chen directly chose the highest grade. All generals who charge for themselves must wear the best. Besides, how much is a dress worth? The tailor complimented Su Chen's taste and then handed over the price list. Su Chen almost didn't throw the price list flying out on the spot when he took a look. This isn't a price list. This is the book of life and death. Every number in there is killing him. Measurement, customization, material selection, pattern determination, process guarantees, expedited handling of all sorts of miscellaneous costs add up. Not to mention the highest grade. The price of the lowest grade set of suit is more than a million dollars. Ha ha. Su Chen laughed twice and calmly got up. You go ahead and measure them. I'm going out to pick up a friend. Su Chen walked out of the VLP box with faith, walked out of the suit store, and came to the street and turned a few more corners. Determining that he had fled far enough, he raised his hand and waved it, directly retrieving the three Duan Wei people back into the summoning space. A million dollars address. Think I'm stupid. Phew. Su Chen raised his hand again and summoned a few people out. Who froze a bit? Why did you suddenly pull them away when you agreed to measure? After thinking about it for a while, the clever Zhao Yun and Hua Ziwei had guessed the reason for what happened. Only Dian Wei opened his mouth to inquire. Your Majesty, are you shy in your pocket? Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Su Chen sternly denied it. That store isn't very good. I'm going to take you to the best one. Which one? Ami's tailor shop. Several people appeared in front of a slightly downtrodden tailor store. The bold neon sign still has a few words on it. Came to the right place. Su Chen secretly said in his heart. This kind of store is superb value for money at first glance. Drilling through the roll-up door. The owner's wife was alone in the store. The boss's wife was so big that she was almost the same size as the cannon. When she saw a few people enter, she came up carrying a measuring tape, without waiting for Su Chen to speak. She clicked a measure at Dian Wei. Such hospitality made Dian Wei blush. Done. The boss's wife tossed the measuring tape. We only offer the whole package here. 
and you have to pay in full after the measurements whether you buy or not. Snap. In order to not let Su Chen retort, the boss's wife directly used her hand to slap a small note on the wall. Full payment for service, not for business. Good. Su Chen smiled. This was another encounter with a strange person. There weren't many people who could make make even Dianwei shy, and Su Chen appreciated this boss. One set for each of the three of them, with the best materials and the best processes. Atmosphere. The boss's wife roared, her voice no smaller than that of Dianwei. There is one request. Su Chen pointed at Dianwei. I just measured him not meticulously. Better re-measure him again. Dianwei violently turned back to look at Su Chen, his eyes filled with panic and consternation. Su Chen and Zha Yunhua Ziwei, on the other hand, were inwardly ecstatic. Come on shouted the boss's wife. No wow. Wei Zhang was guided into the tea room by the correspondent. As soon as he entered, he saw Elder Yen sitting in his chair, and his pair of sultry little eyes. Seeing the scene Wei Zhang almost laughed out loud. He was not expecting an old man of over a hundred years old to possess such an expression. You brat must give me a clear explanation today. Elder Yen roared. Wei Zheng smiled and took his seat, nodding with an apologetic face. I'll make sure to satisfy Elder Yen. The three pieces of legendary grade equipment that Su Chen took were all privately sponsored by Elder Yen. As the first batch of professionals in Divine Summer, the founders of the 13 bureaus, he had descended countless copies and had seized numerous legendary equipment. Most of the legendary great equipment had been surrendered to the state, leaving only these three pieces of equipment that had accompanied him for the longest time. Elder Yen fought on the front line all his life and did not marry or have children. Upon his death, the three pieces of equipment are automatically turned over to the state. Now he just wanted to spend his last moments with these old friends. Originally, it was a zeal to add a test to the entrance exam. Who knew that this zeal went straight through the family? Who else could stand it? Elder Yen rest his anger. Wei Zheng methodically made tea for Elder Yen. Yen had taught him, taught his master, taught his master's master. With so many layers of relationship, Wei Zhang knew his temperament very well. That's absolutely knife edge. Tough on the outside and soft on the inside. And he has a major weakness, which is the appreciation of good talent. Fortunately, the vote was tied, which gave Wei Zheng the chance to find Elder Yen. Although Su Chen's performance was stunning, the executives needed to consider many aspects and could not make a direct conclusion. And in Elder Yan's case, Su Chen's performance was simply a Jedi technique. He was completely defenseless against this kind of genius. Guess who took each of the three pieces of legendary equipment? Wei Zheng handed over the tea with a somewhat odd expression. Elder Yan glanced at him and took it rather reluctantly. Three routes and three men. Yan muttered up. Out of his thirst for talent, he pays attention to the college entrance exams every year. Some of the best candidates are examined before the exam. This year it should just be that summoner from the in family and that kid with the sword from old man G's family. I don't remember much about the others, and to be honest these two boys are pretty average, so why did they make it through the final level? How the hell did you guys design the level? Your grandma's you, Elder Yen, Elder Yen. Seeing that Elder Yen was getting more and more agitated, Wei Zheng hurriedly interrupted him with his exit. Not both of them, you guessed wrong. If not the two of them, then who else? Elder Yen was puzzled. He had knowledge of the strength of the candidates in this class and it was even more unlikely that the others would take the equipment. A candidate from Jiangdong province, Wei Zheng said. Candidates from Jiangdong province? One, I've lost all three pieces of equipment, and you're only talking about one person here. Humph. Wei Zheng laughed lightly, he took it all by himself. It's all him. He alone took it all. Elder Yen Miso jumped up from his chair with an incredulous look on his face. In the middle of the night, you boys come running here just to tease me? Having fallen for the trap. Wei Zhan was secretly happy in his heart. Su Chen, first middle school of Nanshan City, Jiangdong Province, hidden profession 9 to 5, first place in South Hills City training replica, a record, first place in Jiangdong Province's simulation replica, crushing the second place in points, a copy of the national high school exam, no grades are out, but 20, 000% is number 1. Wei Zhang spoke out Su Chen's biographical information one by one, the more Yen Lao listened the brighter his eyes became, and a wrinkle extruded from his face. 9 to 5? There's even a new hidden profession this year. Those kids in Jiangdong are also too low-key, and they don't even make news out of this? What type of profession? Mage or warrior? How did he get three pieces of equipment by himself? Wei Zhang smiled lightly. From these few questions from Yen Lao, he could tell that he was already trapped. His focus was no longer on the three pieces of legendary equipment he had lost. It's a summoner, Wei Zhang said and it can almost be an army of one, one man into an army. Elder Yan's hands trembled a little. Did you bring the test center monitor? I want to see for myself. Elder Yan, 
You also know our rules. How can the examination center monitor? Cut the crap brat. Don't you just want to talk about those three pieces of equipment? If this one called Su Chen really has the strength, how much equipment will I take? I'll admit it. Good. Wei Zhang succeeded in his ploy and took out a palm-sized piece of instrument from his sleeve. With Elder Yan's words, the three pieces of equipment were almost halfway there. The instrument rotated, and the clip Wei Zhang had intercepted was projected on the wall. The first image that appeared was Su Chen walking towards the three teleportation channels alone. Kabodeka steps in to block him being scared back a few meters away by Dian Wei. The moment Dian Wei appeared, Elder Yan's expression lifted. The murderous aura displayed in those eyes was terrifying even to him. What a strong aura, is this a level 20 summon? The scene continued as Su Chen summoned Hua Zhua. Then one of the three chose a passage and walked in. Elder Yen pointed at the screen and turned his head to look at Wei Zhang, his face full of doubt. This, how is this done? Summoner breaks away from the command and enters the copy alone? Where you feel doubtful. I am likewise. Wei Zhang shook his head. Don't be in a hurry to be shocked. There are so many secrets about him. The screen continued to jump around as Zhao Yun and Dian Wei struck out one after another. From the very beginning of the battle, Elder Yan's mouth never closed. I'll go, that's okay? I'm your grandma. What is this? Good shooting, good shooting. The more Yan Lao looked at it, the more excited he became, and the light flashed in his eyes. Wei Zhang carefully observed Elder Yan's feelings from the side. Seeing his reaction, Wei Zhang was also overwhelmed with emotions in his heart. What could make an old general happier than the appearance of a genius? The screen jumps to the wolf juxtaposition route of the horde. As he watched Huizhua's wave of genius-like maneuvers, Elder Yan let out a burst of emotion. As a veteran general, Huizhua is undoubtedly the martial artist that resonates with him the most. The disparity in strength and the dangerous boss battles were even more heated. The three paths of the duel converged and watched as the candidates rushed towards the abyssal demon under Su Chen's leadership. He was moved in his heart, as if he had returned to the battlefield a hundred years ago. He saw in these candidates the vigor of the people of God's summer for thousands of years. At the last moment, Huajizi arrived with his army, and the two armies combined their efforts to crush the enemy. Yen Lao directly cheered and shouted, without the slightest trace of the old general's composure. There is a successor to my divine summer. There will be a successor to my divine summer. God bless divine summer. The clip screen ended and Wei Zhang retrieved the instrument. Elder Yen sat stroking his old heart. When Elder Yen slowed down, Wei Zhang reopened his mouth. Elder Yen, that equipment? Leave it all to Su Chen. I'm relieved to leave it to him. I thank Elder Yen on behalf of Su Chen. Wei Zhang respectfully gave a military salute. Yen Lao gave a sarcastic laugh. Relying on you brats, it's time for the old thing to step aside. After killing Chu Kai this time, there will definitely be movements on the side of the east, so you should be prepared. Yes, go ahead and bring the boy happy tidings. Remember Wei Zhang. Focus on cultivating this brat. The future will definitely hold great promise. The next day, Wei Zhang passed on the senior management's decision to Su Chen. The three legendary weapons were still in his custody. There is another thing. Wei Zhang continued. Here are the enrollment brochures of three top academic institutions. Although the entrance exams have not been released yet, these colleges have the ability to know your results in advance. My phone has been ringing off the hook with their admissions office this morning, so you can see how sought after you are. Wei Zheng smiled as he placed three copies of the university brochures in front of Su Chen, the Imperial Academy, the Kyushu Academy, and the Southern Heavenly Academy. Three institutions of learning at the top of God's summer with some of the best educational resources in the country. The most powerful professionals in the country converge in these academies. Looking at the three briefs of the top academies, Su Chen suddenly felt a bit dazed. In the days of 0% fit, these academies were places he couldn't even think about. And now all three of these top academies have come to compete for him. This is what comes with great strength. Each of the three institutions has its own strengths and advantages. It's hard to compare the two if you have to. But Su Chen had already had his mind made up. Without giving it much thought, he simply put down the other two briefs. I choose the Imperial Capital Academy. Su Chen said, making a decision so quickly? Wei Zhang was a bit surprised. Su Chen nodded. If he was any other profession perhaps there would be a combination of considerations. But he's a 9-5er. And 9-5ers can only choose the Imperial Capital. Good. Wei Zhang beamed. Then you'll probably be my student. That would be an honor for the student. After determining the school choice, Wei Zheng's words changed. By the way, there's about two weeks between now and the start of school. Do you have any plans for the next two weeks? Su Chen shook his head. There are no arrangements for now. I have a quest here, and I was wondering if you wanted to do it. A graduating junior class I led is on graduation duty. The quest location is Sky Sea Island, a large replica of the Chalk Volcano. 
the level of the copy is at level 26 to 32, and although you're not leveled up enough, the team copy is looking at the average. If you say yes, you can go forward with this graduating class. Su Chen directly nodded his head in agreement. The mission provided by General Wei alone definitely had its special features. Don't promise so quickly. Wei Zhan laughed. One thing to tell you, the Chalk Volcano is not a native copy of the Divine Summer Empire. It sits on top of public waters and is a shared copy of neighboring countries. So not only will you have battles with the demonic martial arts this time you go, but I'm afraid you'll also clash with students from other countries. There is a certain amount of danger involved in the mission, so it's okay to refuse me if you have concerns. Nanshinxia Empire copies? Shared copies? Su Chen quickly captured the keywords in Wei Zheng's words. Isn't a wild copy the same as a wild passage? As soon as he passes this copy he will be able to convert straight away, and as a high-level copy, it would certainly be even better than Pharaoh's heart. Now the pieces of jade seal that had been stocked up finally had a place to spend. As for whether it was dangerous or not or whatever, it was hardly in his mind. After briefly exchanging blows with Chu Kai, he was certain that enemies of level 35 and below were no match for him at all. It's possible that Chu Kai is of the assassin lineage and isn't good at head-on combat, but that's not going to be too much of a margin of error. As for the highest level enemy one can defeat it's unclear at this point, but it's not expected to pose much of a threat under level 40. With such strength against the enemy, he doesn't really need to think too much about safety. Su Chen nodded his head in agreement once again. Good, the time is tomorrow morning, and I will come to you then. By the way, given your performance within the copy of the college entrance exam, the school will offer to provide you with 30,000 contribution points. It'll be in the books when we get back from this mission. So get ready and behave. Wei Zheng patted Su Chen's shoulder and got up to walk out of the couple's room where Su Chen was staying. Good taste. Wei Zheng pointed at the pink-colored room. Su Chen gave a sarcastic smile. It was too late yesterday to have a room. Wei Zhang nodded, revealing an expression of knowing it all. After seeing Wei Zhang leave, Su Chen resumed his seat. For Wei Zheng to be able to hand him a level 30 copy of the mission, it was obvious that he valued his strength. And this time the collaboration was with a junior college senior. Universities in this world are generally three-year programs, so junior year is the graduating class. Estimating by the level of the replica, they should also be around level 30. This was a student from a top-tier academy, and he was only about level 30 near graduation, and he had reached level 24 before he was even a freshman. Su Chen was once again shocked by his exaggerated upgrade speed. Hanging Gleam is really a great way to upgrade, but there's something to be said for going through two copies of the war. In the future, if there were no copies of the war, his upgrading speed should slow down. In any case, Wei Zhang's mission should definitely be completed properly. This could also be said to be a test Wei Zhang had given him. After success, you should get more special missions in the future. It just so happened that there was still some time left, so Su Chen directly opened the teleportation. His copy of the labyrinth in Nanshan City had recharged, just in time to brush up a couple times while you wait. It's called upgrading using all the fragmented time. The next day, Wei Zhang brought Su Chen to meet the group that was with him this time. There are five people in the group, two on offense, two on defense, and one on support. A very complete and solid lineup of classics. Wei Zhang left on his own after slightly introducing Su Chen. The presentation did not mention the results of the entrance exams, which, after all, had not yet been announced. After Wei Zhang left, one of the warrior schoolmates at the head of the group was the first to speak. Hello, Su Chen student. I'm Lian Shi. Just call me Sister Ying Shi. This is Shield. That's what everyone calls you. Li Yunhio pointed to a simple, strong man who carried a giant shield behind him. Little sister left. Little sister right. Lianchi pointed to two more girls. Is it indistinguishable because they are twins? Oh, and finally, our fellow Halo master, Richard Wong. Li Yunhio points to the boy in glasses at the back of the line. Su Chen greeted them one by one, leaving a general impression in his mind. The teammates all seemed friendly and dependable. Then let's go. Lianchi said cheerfully. Under Li Yunhio's guidance, the crowd arrived at the teleportation hall. Teleportation spells require different levels when released depending on the distance, and maintaining it after release also requires energy consumption. The teleportation hall supports all teleportation. Getting to Sky Haven Island requires identity verification as it is still out of the country. Li and she lightly led the crowd to complete the identity verification and stepped into the wide long distance teleportation spell formation. Senior Su Chen, you're new here. So let me give you a slight introduction to the target this time. Li Yunhio found a moment to speak to Su Chen. Chalk Volcano, as the name suggests is a replica within a volcano. Water elemental skills will gain enhancement. Fire elemental will reduce damage due to the same type of resistance. Ice elemental skills are even more dramatically affected. 
and not only damage skill-based forms. Senior Su Chen, what type are most of your skills? Will it have an effect? Elemental resistance and environmental effects? Su Chen quickly distilled the key points in Lian Qi's words. He hadn't realized that the elements would react with each other. It seemed like he had to take an advanced course in college to learn that. As for whether it would have an effect on himself, Su Chen recalled his own skills. Imperial might mental damage. Nothing to do with the elements. Emperor's mighty hulk does real damage and has nothing to do with the elements. Soldiers and military generals basically slashed with their swords, and presumably had little to do with the elements. There is no impact. Su Chen said. That's good. Li and she continued excitedly. Aside from the setting, the other most famous point of the chalk volcano is the eye of lava. It's an ultra rare material that's only refreshed once a year. The eye of lava only has a chance to drop for one day today. And after dropping it once you have to wait a year for it to reappear. The eye of lava is a symbol in addition to its own value. Li Yanshi narrated and gave Su Chen a clear explanation of the importance of this mission. Because it only happens once a year. It also appears just in time to be stuck at the graduation of each graduating class. And again, his location is at the crossroads of several countries. These several factors combine to make the competition for the eye of lava a competition between outstanding graduates from various countries. Every year at this time, each country would send out the strongest students from their strongest colleges to compete for the Eye of Lava. Competing for this Eye of Lava is not only an honor for the students, but also a demonstration of the country's power. Sure enough, what Wei Zhang gave would not be a mere copy, Su Chen said in his heart. After explaining the various points of the copy, Li Yinchi focused on Su Chen's expression. She said so much partly to give Su Chen a background, and partly to see his reaction. Although the person who can make General Wei personally inserted must not be bad in strength. But Su Chen was, after all, a newcomer and a candidate who had just taken the college entrance exam. Even if one is talented, there is something lacking in experience and level. So she focused on observing Su Chen's reaction, trying to sidestep his reaction to see where his strength lies. From Su Chen's unchanged expression, Li and she guessed that his strength should not be weak. It would even be stronger than what she had predicted in her mind. Li and she was satisfied with this. After all, this mission was related to their graduation and tied to national honor. She really didn't want anyone to hold the whole team back. By the way, Senior Su Chen, we're not even sure what your occupation is yet. Li and she said, Summoning class occupation. Su Chen was concise. Summoning class A. Ah. Li Yunhio pondered. Are your summons on the protective or offensive side? I will organize your duties on the team according to your abilities in all areas. Protection and offense both a little bit. Su Chen said, Like this? Does that summoning offense favor melee or long range? A little bit of both melee and long range as well. Ha, huh? Li Yunhio was a bit surprised. Okage you're, you're also, too omnipotent. Su Chen responded with a light smile and didn't show too much. Then you'll be listed as a free agent with Richard Wong. It would be nice to be free to play in case of a battle emergency. Li Yunhio didn't doubt Su Chen's words but made suitable arrangements. Su Chen nodded in agreement. Then everyone get ready. We're going to enter the Heavenly Sea Island range. Li Yunhio gives a final reminder. After we get to the island our first goal must be to find the duplicate entrance. It's best not to clash with other squads unless it's necessary. After clarifying the mission objective, the light pattern fluctuated and the crowd entered the Heavenly Sea Island boundary. Located in the tropics, Tenkai Island is densely covered with a variety of tall palm trees. The harsh sun hung overhead and the air smelled of earth. Come on, move as planned. Li Yunhio leads the crowd through the jungle. Su Chen followed them without releasing his white horse to ride the scout. Li Yunhi and the others did detailed route planning before they left. Su Chen believed in these elder siblings of the Imperial Capital Academy. And the white horse riders would be very ineffective as cavalry for scouting in jungle terrain. Not very useful. Li Yunhio and the others made really good preparations and moved forward without a moment's pause along the way. In addition to being well prepared, they have extensive experience in pathfinding. In the jungle, the terrain is complex and references are not obvious. It's easy to get lost even with a map to show you the way. But they traveled quickly through the jungle, maps in hand, with little hesitation. Sure enough, a higher learning institution is a higher learning institution. Su Chen said in his heart, Stop, Li Yunhio, who was leading the way, suddenly shouted. The squad stopped at her command. There's someone. Li Yunxi pushed aside the bushes in front of her. Su Chen looked forward through the bushes, and a squad of seven people was camped ahead of them. The uniforms of that seven member squad were different from theirs, and they were obviously not from Xinxia. Through the markings on the armband, Su Chen recognized their affiliation. It's a team from the east, Li and she said. The crowd nodded. Everyone saw the badges on their shoulders. Li Yunhio gestured for the crowd to retreat. Backing up a few hundred meters, he rechose a direction to go around those easterners again. 
Not quite right, Li Yunhio said. What's wrong? Shield, who was close behind her, asked. I can't say for sure, but something just doesn't feel right, Li Yunhio said. It's camping. Su Chen spoke. If they're here to fight for the Eye of Lava, there's no way they'd camp in a place like this. Right. Lianxi was nudged through by Su Chen's words and turned around to cast a thankful look. Su Chen's powers of observation surprised her a bit. There's only one copy of the Chalk Volcano on Skyhaven Island. It's not for this copy. Yet we're camping here. They have another purpose. Li Yunhi said. Su Chen's eyes stared. What's this East Englander who's having a good time trying to do again? In order to avoid the camping spots of the Easterlings, Li Yunhio temporarily adjusted her route to take the crowd around a long way. Running through a tropical jungle where the air is stifling and humid is not a blissful experience. Beads of sweat were on everyone's foreheads. Sweat made the clothes cling to their skin, outlining the delicate figures of several of the girls. Su Chen didn't have the heart to look at these things. Now his heart was all filled with anger towards those Easterners. They didn't have to go all the way around if these contraptions weren't around. Stop. Lian Shi raised her hand again and looked back at the crowd rather helplessly. It can't be, can it? A bad feeling rose in the hearts of the crowd. Lian Shi pushed aside the bushes. And sure enough, another group of Easterning squads appeared in front of them. Grandma, what are these grandsons up to? The long run finally angered Shield. I don't want to go around anymore. Go out and deal with it. The silent auxiliary at the very back of the team, Richard Huang, also spoke up at this time. Lian Shi looked at them rather helplessly. Rationally she certainly wouldn't have chosen to engage with the Easterlings. There would have been too many variables, but emotionally she had to take care of her teammates again, and she had no choice if everyone didn't want to go around. Unable to decide for a moment, Lian Shi couldn't help but turn her gaze to Su Chen. This youngest schoolmate was instead the calmest person at the moment, and there was a quality about him, a quality that made him feel reliable. Lian Shi expected Su Chen to give some advice. Su Chen pondered for a long time and slowly opened his mouth. No need for a detour. Ha, huh? Lian Shi didn't expect Su Chen's suggestion to be so decisive. We definitely didn't stumble upon them by chance. Su Chen analyzed. These strongholds are simply set up by them on purpose. Even if we continue the detour we're sure to run into other strongholds. Set up on purpose? Li and Shi's eyes flinched. Could it be that they're setting up a stronghold around the entrance to the replica for the purpose of preventing other teams from entering the replica? To make such a big deal. What are the Easting people up to? Shield said angrily. There's no other way. We have to break through from here. Su Chen said. The crowd nodded in agreement. If the other side had really set up a circle of strongholds, then there was no point at all in making a detour. Sasha Sasha. There was a noisy swaying of bushes and someone was advancing quickly toward them. Li Yunhi leads the group into quick concealment, but they still run into the incoming party. Yun Hio, a boy peeked his head out of the woods. Seeing that person, Li Yun Hio's face instantly collapsed. Howing Jun, a classmate of theirs. His existence is a perfect testament to the saying that what's in a name is what's missing. A face so anthropomorphic in appearance that Su Chen thought it was a wild demon at first glance. An Shi, you really can't forget me after all. You even gave up your life to clear the way for me. Howing Jun said. Go away if you want to fart. Li and she clearly didn't have half the patience for this person. Howing Jun gave a sarcastic laugh and led his team out of the bushes. His eyes twitched slightly at the sight of the Easterner stronghold in the distance. It's true. I'm afraid the East Japanese are up to no good this time. After checking out the situation. How Young Jun explains the situation to Li Yunhi. He had come to scout on behalf of the Divine Summer Empire team this time. The teams coming out of the Divine Summer Empire were all located at the same birth point. So they were all coming in the same direction. Squads from various colleges and universities in Kamicha made a brief alliance once they discovered the Easterner stronghold. Now it's their job to figure out what these people are up to. Although they are wearing the uniforms of the Eastern High School, they don't look like students at all from the outside. And after a secret probe with the advanced scrying technique, their levels generally exceeded level 30, with some even reaching level 35. We suspect that these people aren't students at all, but are disguised by the Eastern military. Howing Jun shares their guesses. For the sake of a lava eye, the East would even send out the military department. The hearts of the people present were all in awe. Their goal is not just the eye of lava. Su Chen slowly spoke. If the goal is to make sure your side gets the eye of lava, simply guard the entrance to the copy. Now that there are guards all around the perimeter of the replica, there must be some other purpose. Really? Howing Jun slapped his thigh and looked at Su Chen. A new face. I just thought something was weird. As things were urgent, he suppressed his curiosity about Su Chen's identity and turned around to run towards the jungle. You guys stay here, I'll head back and report back. How Young Jun drops a line and leaves, and Li Yun He and the others look at each other in disbelief. Then we'll rest on the spot? Li Yun Hio asked. There were no objections from the crowd, 
and only Su Chen shook his head. Staying put and waiting wasn't his style, and he was almost certain in his mind of the purpose of the East. They're probably rushing this whole copy. Skyhaven Island is an unspecified territory, and Chalk Volcano is an unattributed copy. It was likely that they wanted to take this opportunity to fight for the Eye of Lava to directly dominate the entire copy. That was why it was necessary to establish a stronghold around them, which would prevent others from disturbing them from establishing the transformation formation. If it was just for the Eye of Lava, Su Chen could still stop and wait. After all, the Eye of Lava was nothing more than material, and it wouldn't enhance him much, but if the goal is this copy, it can't wait. He had 40 Jade Seal Shards on hand just waiting to transform this public copy. Don't blame him for having a hard hand if you want to grab this, don't you want to wait here? Seeing Su Chen shaking his head, Li and she opened her mouth to inquire. Waiting will only waste time. While we wait, the Easterlings may have accomplished their goal. Li and she nodded her head and agreed with Su Chen. This is a time when every second counts, and there is a real risk of missing the battle by waiting. So what do you have in mind? Li Yunhio asked. Break through this stronghold and head inward. How is this going to break through? There are 7 level 30 players on the other side. If they were allowed to pass out information to the outside world, it would surely alert all the strongholds. Li Yunhio vetoed Su Chen's proposal. Then don't let them pass on the information. Don't let them pass on information? You mean sneak in? Li Yunhio was puzzled. Su Chen nodded. Pretty much, but we don't have an assassin type profession at all. Li Enshi looked around and her eyes finally landed on Su Chen again. Could it be? Your summon. Still dive in a little bit? It does go a little bit. When Su Chen's words came out, Li Enshi and the other members were a bit wide eyed. It wasn't that they didn't believe Su Chen. It was just that this was too outrageous. It's amazing that a profession can be front row and output at the same time. And now you can learn to play infiltration as an assassin. Who's going to believe this? Senior Su Chen. This isn't in school. You have to be responsible for what you say. Although it was a bit emotionally destructive, Li Yunhio had to exit and remind. If Su Chen was being credulous, it wasn't just their squad that would be affected by the failure of the mission when the time came. Su Chen's eyes were calm and did not make an explanation. He understands Li Yunhio's reaction. After all, it's not the first time he's been questioned. Since senior brother has confidence, let's give it a try. Halo Master Huang Zikai said, give it a try. The person recommended by General Wei is definitely not an ordinary person. Shield also spoke out in support. Good. Li and she nodded in agreement. Su Chen immediately raised his hand. The aura lit up. And the three meter tall mercenary pan god appeared behind him. A withered and hunched figure. A half man. Half goat shape. Plus a variety of bizarre runes. Pantheon looks terrifying even after demonization. When Pan Shen appeared. He almost didn't scare the crowd into shouting. This is not a summoned object. This is simply a demonic object. Right. Su, Senior Su Chen. This summoning object of yours. It's a bit chic. Shield sighed. Li and she looked at Pan Shen with a pang of horror in her heart. This thing looked like Hao Ying Juan's brother. Su Chen ignored the crowd's horror and directly asked Pan Shen to start blowing. This thing is ugly. But it works. Ranged mind control. A skill not often seen. The sound of the piping slowly drifted through the jungle and into the ears of the seven professionals inside the enemy stronghold. Their figures lagged for a moment, visible to the naked eye. The opportunity is not to be missed. Su Chen directly raised his hand to summon, and 180 white horse riders leaped out. Pan Shen is only level 24, and his control won't last long against level 30 plus professionals. It's not good to move around on horseback, and all the white horse riders are on foot. As a soldier with the highest agility attribute, even walking speed is very impressive. Sasha Sasha. Sasha Sasha. The sound of armor rubbing against leaves rang out as the white horse riders flew towards the stronghold. Looking at the white shaking like a tidal wave of white horses riding, all the players were dumbfounded. Why are there suddenly hundreds of people? What the hell is this? And what about the promised sneak? Is such a large group of people coming to spring break? Li he was even more upset as the captain. If this is exposed, it affects all the colleges of the Divine Summer Empire. It's hard to tell if you'll be expelled by then, let alone graduate credits. Inside the stronghold. All of the players from the Eastern Kingdom of Japan had misty eyes. Lost in thought, they suddenly felt a white blur appear in front of them. There's still a hint of coolness on his neck. That's not right. Isn't this in the tropics? How can it still be cool? Several experienced team members immediately sensed something was wrong. Bakayalu. It's mind control. Someone opened their eyes with an angry roar. As he rose he saw the dozen or so silver spears at his neck. The anger in his heart instantly disappeared. And all that remained was good behavior. Hey. Hey, hey, Yasi, my friends, do we have any misunderstanding? Li Yunhio and the others were still in shock. 
All that was going through his mind was how to explain it when he was exposed. Success. Su Chen withdrew his pan god and moved to the front. Eh? Li Yunhio and the others looked at each other. You can infiltrate like this. Really? Puzzled, they realized that the stronghold was indeed quiet. No way. Sneaking in like that and not getting caught. Following Su Chen as he approached, he only saw hundreds of white horse riders surrounding the enemy seven. Each man had dozens of lances pointed at his vitals. If you dare to move your body a little bit, the chicken will fly away, or the flesh and bones will be separated. Looking at the scene in front of them, Li and Shi and the others were a bit bewildered. That's a different kind of diving than what you learn in school. You're right about him, right? This battle has absolutely nothing to do with infiltration. You say he was wrong, and it's true that he didn't let the enemy spread the alarm. Su Chen slowly walked into the encirclement, his gaze locked on the Eastern Ing man in the center of the group. Understand Chinese? Su Chen said. The man shook his head. Su Chen's mind flashed, and the white horse rider behind him stabbed into his thigh with a spear. Put. Whoa! The officer screamed. I ask and you answer, and don't think of anything else. After some inquiries, Su Chen was sure that the other party's purpose was really the entire copy. And that's not all. They're going to use this copy as an anchor point to take down the entire Heavenly Sea Island. The teleportation array had already been set up, and they now only needed to wait for the students within the replica to pass before they could start operating. There is no time to lose. If you let the other side gain ownership of the copy, it will not be easy to get it back. What are we going to do now? Li Yunhio asked. Unconsciously, she had begun to follow Su Chen's instructions. Enter the copy and pass the copy ahead of them. But they've been in there a long time. Is there a chance? There's a chance. Su Chen was decisive. Good. Li and Shi and the others chose to trust Su Chen's judgment. He wasn't at a high level. But he could summon hundreds of summons at a time. This proved that his strength was already similar to theirs. If not a bit stronger. Having teammates with that kind of strength on board also boosts their confidence immensely. Forward, Chalk Volcano. By removing the strongholds and entering the interior, the Easterling's defenses were much weaker. It seems that they were so confident in the first cordon that they set up little or no positions inside. During this advance, Su Chen rode his white horse through the jungle to spread out to scout the way for his side. With the white horse rider's reconnaissance, they quickly bypassed one stronghold after another and headed straight for the entrance to the replica. Finally reaching the entrance to the replica, a squad was standing by at the entrance. Su Chen used the combination of Pan God plus White Horse Rider to quickly resolve the battle. To enter the copy, Su Chen's level wasn't enough and had to be averaged with Li and Shi and the others before he could enter. Several people placed their hands on the entrance crystals at the same time. Space rippled as pillars of teleportation light fell from the sky to envelop them. The moment before entering the copy, Su Chen left Jia Yin behind with a flash of his mind. Guard this place and don't let anyone in. My lord. In the jungle, the Divine Summer Empire Collegiate Alliance gathered to discuss the news that Howing Jun had brought back. All of them here were juniors from the Imperial Capital, Kyushu, or the Southern Heavenly Academy. Just stick to the plan and don't take any liberties. The temporary captain laid out the task. Just as the action was taking place, a member of the team ran over. Someone's broken through the defense line, and the Easterlings are on full alert. How can it be? Who else but us could break through the stronghold? There is a timed alarm inside the stronghold in addition to the crew. It needs to be clicked manually every half hour or it will automatically alert the police. Su Chen and the others finished off the soldiers and no one pressed the alarm. So the alarm went off automatically. All of the eastern soldiers on Tenkai Island began to move towards the lost stronghold. The manhunt for the Shinsha people outside the duplicate has begun. Within the copy, the teleportation was completed. And Su Chen and the others appeared in a fiery red. As soon as you enter your copy, the heat hits you. The walls all around were a fiery red color, with lava flowing in the cracks. The air burned so hot that it seemed to burn with each inhaled breath of the tube. Shield, vapor beads, Li Yunhio shouted. With a flash of intent, Fixed Amount took out six blue water beads the size of fingernail caps from the space. Vapor beads that protect the skin mucosa of the respiratory tract from burns from the inside. Li Yunhio explained a little and swallowed the soda bead in one bite. Su Chen also took one and swallowed it. The burning sensation in his chest disappeared the moment he swallowed it. In its place was a refreshing sense of coolness. The taste is very much like the mints of a previous life, but of course an enhanced version of the effect. It does seem like they did a lot of homework on this copy. I'll lead the way. Li Yunhio took the lead and walked ahead. They had studied the fastest route forward within the replica before entering. The crowd had no objections and followed Li Yunhio's rear quickly. The main priority now is to get through the copy quickly and put all other goals on hold. Led by Li Yunhio. The group quickly encountered the first batch of demons in the copy. Volcanic-shelled giant crabs. The group is a complete red rock when it's dormant and not moving. 
Only when a person approaches do they stand up, revealing their gastropods beneath the volcanic crust. Volcanic shell giant crab. 100% fire magic immunity. 80% sharp weapon immunity. High vitality. The skill is volcanic eruption. A small range type magic skill. Fire magic. Swords don't work. The best way to do that is blunt force and long range spell damage. Leon he had obviously done her homework and had spelled out all the characteristics of the volcanic shell giant crab. Su Chen struck out with a scrying technique. Volcanic shell crab, enhanced magic item, rank, 28, power, 1600, agility, 1600, spirit, 1300, physical fitness, 3000, worthy of being a level 28 demonic creature. These attributes had fully surpassed the tiger leopard right soldiers, and those 3000 points of constitution were also very exaggerated almost enough to be worth a small boss. When Li and she finished speaking, the two twin sisters, Little Left and Little Right, had already started chanting magic. Halo Master Richard Wong also drives the ability to apply a buff to both of them. Su Chen, you summon soldiers to cover for them as well. Li and she said, Volcanic Rock Chiron has 80% sharpshooter resistance. Su Chen's soldiers with those cold weapons were now of no use. Don't release the magic yet. Let me try. Su Chen opened his mouth. It was a race against time, and he couldn't care less about anyone else. Although this demon had sharp weapons to resist, his soldiers didn't just dance with swords and guns. With a flash of his mind, Su Chen directly summoned 300 Tiger Leopard cavalry soldiers. Tiger Leopard riders in black armor appeared in the copy, holding round shields and machetes. Enter. At Su Chen's command, the Tiger Leopard cavalry soldiers immediately charged towards the demons, not caring about the local offense at all. Su Chen forced the soldiers to surround those volcanic rock giant scorpions. Imperial might is vast. A solemn and majestic shout rang out. A golden ripple lit up in this fiery red world. The gold and red colors glowed together, giving off a sun-like light. Hiss. With 300 soldiers surrounding the demonic creature, the sheer numbers brought about a huge stack of damage. The damage from Imperial mighty vast is true damage, completely ignoring the magical and physical resistances of the volcanic rock giant crab. Each burn is an attack deep into the soul. Boom, boom. But in a few seconds, before they could fight back, the volcanic rock giant crabs came in droves to meet their end. The demonic creature died, and a large amount of experience poured into Su Chen. Kill level 28 demonized volcanic rock giant crab. Experience plus 3120. Kill level 28 demonized volcanic rock giant crab. Experience plus 3011. Kill level 28 magical volcanic rock giant crab. Experience plus 3291. The experience light clusters flew to fill Su Chen's experience bar. Only the last fifth of the experience bar was left at level 24. Su Chen estimated that he would be able to usher in an upgrade within this copy. The first batch of battles ended, and the Tiger Leopard Rider soldiers also suffered considerable damage. The volcanic rock giant crab causes a small explosion when it dies. The explosion was powerful and took a large number of soldiers with it, but it was good that Li Yunhio reported the enemy's ranged skills. Otherwise, if Su Chen had summoned all of the Tiger Leopard Riders, the current damage would only be even more tragic. Keep moving, after resolving the demons, Su Chen shouted, but this time no one behind him responded to him. Turning around, all of Li Enchi's people were dumbfounded. It was as if they were nailed to the ground. Right now their brains are going haywire. Wasn't it the white soldiers before? How come this time it's a black armor one? And don't they use knives? Why would you suddenly have a golden light coming out of your body and click two clicks to kill all the people off? Would this strength be a little too strong? Not leaving? Su Chen spoke again. Only this time did Li Yunhio come back from the shock. Oh well, I'll lead the way. This time, the way she looked at Su Chen changed. I was thinking of taking care of my schoolmate, but now it seems completely unnecessary. Li and she and the others had seen many big scenes as students of the Imperial Academy. They quickly adjusted and got back on their feet. No one asked Su Chen for any information during that time. Being mature professionals shouldn't be influenced by other things. Li Enqi led the crowd to a lava lake. A large expanse of fiery lava flowed through the lake, with treadable debris floating sparsely above. To cross the lava lake you have to step over the gravel. You must be careful at this level. Look above you, Li Enqi said. Su Chen raised his head and looked, only to see a large group of translucent demonic creatures floating above the cave. They were like snakes with wings that kept circling above the volcanic lake. Blazing gray worms, flying magical creatures, immune to all magical damage. Capable of launching long-range magical attacks, they turn to ash and stone upon death. Eliminating them would increase the treadable area on the volcanic lake, which is the only way to cross it. Li Enqi still detailed the information about the blazing gray worm. After saying that, she dropped her eyes on Su Chen's body. 
there was anticipation and speculation in the eyes. This time the demons are not only overhead but also magically immune. Is there a way out of this for him? Su Chen looked into the air and raised his hand to summon 300 Great Han Iron Cavalry. One by one, the Iron Horsemen drew their bows and arrows, pointing directly at the blazing gray insects in the sky. Just in time to try out the traveling bow formation that I acquired last time. 